as a waste in the eyes of countless people. I can make a group of immortals bow down in worship, and even kill a powerful expert in the realm of immortal emperor with just a glance. It's all because there is a heavenly sea pearl in my Dantian, sealed with endless oceans, and a sinful immortal island with a radius of a hundred miles. In the ocean, there are countless sea monsters and rare treasures, while on the sinful immortal island, there are thousands of immortal cultivators, demons, beasts, and birds. Although these creatures have extraordinary abilities, with just a thought, I can control their life and death, and all beings respect me as the island master. Since the age of eight, I have condensed my spiritual body in the pearl, embarked on the path of cultivation, and in just a short ten years, I have reached the five realms of embracing the Dan realm that many martial cultivators cannot achieve in their lifetime. However, I have always maintained the image of a waste to the outside world, because my elder brother, Chen Ping, has been exceptionally talented in martial arts since childhood, successfully establishing his foundation at the age of 13 and was once hailed as a peerless genius. Unfortunately, Chen Ping was suddenly killed at the age of 15, after enduring torture and torment. Obviously, the person who killed Chen Ping wanted to force something out of him. The Chen family has never been able to find the real culprit who killed Chen Ping, nor do they know the reason for his murder. Only I know what the murderer wants, but after secretly investigating for many years, I still couldn't find the culprit. In addition to the heartache, I also sensed a crisis and understood that I needed to hide before my wings were fully grown, hence the name of my waist. But I didn't expect that my hiding would harm Gubuyu. Gubuyu is my childhood sweetheart and also my fiancé. Although I am seen as a waste by others, Gubuyu has never distanced herself from me, and instead occasionally sends me some precious spiritual materials. In my current situation, if I were the character Lu Ruyan in a novel, I would have been divorced 800 times. However, Gubuyu not only never thought of divorcing me, but even a year ago, she reluctantly joined the Tian Bao sect hundreds of miles away in order to obtain more valuable spiritual materials. In the year since Gu Buyu joined the Tian Bao sect, she has sent me three valuable spiritual materials. I originally thought she was doing well in the Tian Bao sect, but now Gu Buyu has been expelled from the sect. Her cultivation and her own Tian Feng spiritual vein have been destroyed. The reason given by the Tian Bao sect is that Gu Buyu stole spiritual materials from the sect. I have always been gentle and rarely get angry because there are few things worth my anger. But when I heard that Gu Buyu had been stripped of her cultivation and her spiritual vein destroyed, I was angry. My grandfather, Chen Shangsheng, sighed and took out a marriage certificate from the mysterious space ring, wanting me to divorce. I know Chen Shangsheng is doing this for my own good. If Gu Buyu has offended the Tianbao sect, I may be implicated in the future. But I will not accept this kindness. What do I have to fear from just the Tianbao sect? Chen Chongqing's face turned pale, about to scold me for not knowing my place, but suddenly felt a terrifying aura emanating from me, making Chen Chongsheng, a peak expert in the Linghu realm, feel immense pressure. Chen Chongsheng was both excited and shocked, full of incredible surprises. I said in a low voice, Grandfather, your grandson has actually reached the fifth realm long ago, but since the death of my eldest brother back then, I chose to hide my abilities. Today, revealing my strength, I just hope that grandfather can believe in me. Chen Shangsheng was overjoyed to hear me say that I had reached the fifth realm, but then his face stiffened slightly, furrowing his brow, and said, You have endured so much hardship until now, are you really going to give up for Gu Yuiwei? It is said that the Tianbao sect has at least four strong individuals who have reached the Dan realm. The reason for Gu Yuiwei's disability is definitely not simply because of stealing spiritual materials. She must have offended someone she shouldn't have, to receive such a heavy punishment. But I am resolute. Gu Yuiwei has been wholeheartedly devoted to me and I have long regarded her as my lifelong love. Chen Shangsheng knew my true strength, feeling good, so he helplessly said, the marriage can be postponed for now, but your wedding date must be delayed. Leaving my grandfather's place, I returned to my own courtyard, where there was only a mongrel named Da Huang. I glanced at Da Huang and said lightly, guard the courtyard, no one is allowed to approach. Master of the island, rest assured, with Da Huang here, no one can disturb you. Da Huang unexpectedly spoke human words. No one could have imagined that Da Wang, who looked like an ordinary mongrel, was actually a genuine demon dog. After entering the house, I sat cross-legged on the bed, my mind sinking inward. The next moment, my mind sank into the Tian Hai Pearl and landed on the altar of the sinful immortal island. At this moment, all living beings raised their heads in fear, their hearts apprehensive. The return of the island master was not a good thing for them. After all, this one, however, was a supreme existence that could decide their life and death with a single thought. Yu Qian, the corners of Qin Fan's lips opened slightly and he called out a name in a low voice. In the southeast corner of Sin Immortal Island, in a cave, 
A white-bearded old man's eyes trembled and he hurriedly transformed into a shadow and disappeared into the cave. Buzz. On the void outside the golden altar, the white-bearded old man bowed and emerged. Yuchian meets the island master. Chen Fan said indifferently, with all your cultivation wasted and your spiritual veins destroyed, do you have a method to recover? Yuchian is the highest cultivation alchemist on Sin Immortal Island. A alchemy art has long been through the Xian into the realization of his cultivation, but also the outside world cannot be expected to exist. Chen Fan was able to cultivate into the clasping Dan realm in 10 years within the heavenly sea pearl, and that was because he hadn't taken a lot of the immortal pills refined by Yuchian. Yuchian sniffed and respectfully said, Although this injury is heavy, it's not difficult to heal. All that is needed is to refine an immortal spirit creation Dan. Chen Fan's heart was relieved and smiled. It is true that even the heaviest injuries are not hard to defeat you old man. How long does it take to refine the immortal spirit creation pill? Yuchian nodded his head and said, If the materials are complete, two days would be sufficient. However, the materials for refining the immortal spirit creation pill are still lacking in the old immortals collection. What materials are all needed? Name them all together. Chen Fan said, although all of these top-tier powerhouses on the island had once committed great evils, which was why they were imprisoned within the heavenly sea pearl by the first island lord. After countless years of imprisonment and the absolute heavenly mighty deterrent of the island lord, these people on the island, nowadays, were all much more honest. At first, within the heavenly sea pearl, there were only a total of 300 immortal demons and demons with heavenly strength imprisoned. Although these immortals, devils and demons were trapped in the space of the heavenly sea pearl, the first island master did not restrict their freedom in the space, but only confined them within the space forever, unable to leave by unusual means. After countless years, these initial 300 immortal demons and demons, naturally, would not be willing to be lonely, and under constant reproduction, there is now the size of tens of thousands of people. Yuchian was not polite, and immediately listed the required materials, one by one. Chen Fan nodded his head and said, Good thing that all these materials are available on Sin Immortal Island. You can wait here for me for a moment. When Chen Fan said that, his figure leapt out of the golden altar and flew into the deep forest below. While waiting, Yuchian watched Chen Fan transform into streams of light and jump at speed. Every time Chen Fan jumped, it meant that he had acquired a spiritual material. Yuchi was envious in his heart. Being on the Sin Immortal Island, even for top-tier powerhouses like them, their divine sense would be limited unable to extend beyond 10 meters. However, as Chen and was the owner of this space, his spiritual sense could easily cover the entire space. Any material you want is at your fingertips. For Chen Fan, the only regret was that he couldn't take anything in this space out in its normal form, but could only transmit it out in its energy form, through the medium of the space spirit body and the heavenly sea pearl. If not, Chen Fan, who held these endless resources, would have long been able to build the Chen family into a super powerful clan. However, transferring medicinal power with one's physical body. This kind of thing was simply unimaginable when told. And since Chen Fan did not want to expose his biggest secret, he never used it on anyone. The spirit body of Chen Fan within the space of the heavenly sea pearl shared a soul with the physical body of Chen Fan in the outside world. When Chen Fan's soul was in the outside world, the spirit body within the space would be in a state of self-cultivation, with the gong method running in an endless cycle. Similarly, the outside physical body absorbs the spiritual chi of heaven and earth as well as the power of spiritual materials, which can be transferred into the spiritual body as well, fueling the spiritual body's cultivation. While everyone else practiced in one physical body, Chen Fan was practicing in both realms with two bodies. Together with the heavenly sea pearls increase, the speed of this cultivation was unrivaled since it was a million miles a day. The cultivation of the spiritual body could be transferred to the external physical body by Chen Fan with a single thought. And in a sense, the heavenly sea pearl was Chen Fan's true Dantian. Soon after, Chen Fan returned in the air, and with a wave of his hand, he levitated a cadre of spirit materials that emitted a powerful immortal spirit aura in front of Yuchian. Don't worry island master, after two days, I can give you at least one immortal spirit creation pill. With a wave of his hand, Yuchian put away all the spirit materials and laughed under his breath. Chen Fan smiled and said, thank you then, it's a blessing for the old immortal to be able to refine pills for the island master but I have an unforgiving request. I wonder if Island Master can agree. Yuchian asked carefully. Chapter 4, Rhubarb Opens the Way. Chen Fan's eyes narrowed lightly. Tell me first. Yuchian hurriedly bowed and said, the old man's great-granddaughter, Yu Chi Ling, wants to go to the outside world. I wonder if Island Master can fulfill her wish. Chen Fan's eyes couldn't help but narrow lightly when he heard this. Yu Chi Ling is already in the middle stage of the Clutching Dan Realm. You don't think you want to use her hand to kill me so that Sin Immortal Island can enter the masterless years once again, do you? 
Chen Fan said in a cold voice. Yu Qian suddenly felt enveloped by a chill, scared stiff and numb, and busily said, Island Master rest assured, the old immortal never had such an intention ah, I just wanted to rank that linger girl first, when Island Master steps into the late stage of the clasping Dan realm, then it won't be too late to extract her soul and cultivation on the soul separation altar, the only way for a living being within the sin immortal island to leave the sin immortal island is to be put to death on the soul departure stage before borrowing it for rebirth. Only those who were defeated by the islander with their own strength could successfully leave their souls and gather their spirits. This was the case with the big yellow dog, which was originally a golden spirit dog in the heavenly sea pearl. With Chen Fan's current realm, when he fought with Yu Qi Ling, although he had a chance of winning, it wasn't a great one. The soul departure altar is also the only place on the island where the spirits dare to fight with the island master. Because the soul departure altar is the only place where the heavenly might of the island master doesn't work. However, Chen Fan had always been very dogged, and from the time he had grasped the heavenly sea pearl until now, he would only pick opponents with a lower cultivation level than his own, and help them to turn their spirits to be reborn. Although because of this restriction, it made it impossible for Chen Fan to recklessly transfer the strong people on the island out and turn them into helpers from the outside world. But actually, when he thought about it, it was not a bad thing. After all, once they left Sin Immortal Island, those strong guys might not necessarily be willing to be under Chen Fan's control again. A strong guy who was out of control was equivalent to letting a tiger return to the mountain. These people who had been trapped on Sin Immortal Island for countless years, on the surface, were respectful, but in their hearts, how could they not have half a grudge against the master of Sin Immortal Island? Even though he had his relatives as a tie, Chen Fan did not dare to gamble. After all, the strongest of those old monsters here were once bad things that had committed great evils. However, at this moment, Yu Qian, who possessed a heavenly cultivation, was only trembling in front of Chen Fan. Without leaving Sin Immortal Island, even the strongest person would have to pretend to be a grandson in front of Chen Ping. I'll make a note of this. If you want your heavy granddaughter to go out quickly, then you'll have to refine more cultivation enhancing pills for me. Chen Fan said with a faint smile. Yu Qian's expression was delighted as he hurriedly bowed and said, Once I have refined the immortal spirit creation pill, I will immediately close the door and focus on refining the pill for the island master. Chen Fan nodded and said, stand down, and two days later, send the pills, the old man will retire. Yu Qian made a respectful salute, turned around and swept away. Chen Fan sat down on his knees and operated the prime diffusion technique, allowing his spirit body to enter a state of cultivation. The prime diffusion technique, a cultivation technique inherited from the heavenly sea pearl. This work can be said to be heaven defying. Under the same realm, a circumference of the line of cultivation enough to offset the Chen family's work of a hundred times the effect. The spirit body was even more tireless like a machine, cultivating day and night, every second, enhancing Chen Fan's cultivation. In comparison, Chen Fan's cultivation in the outside world was instead only a supporting effect. Withdrawing his mind, Chen Fan's eyes narrowed lightly as he said in a low voice, Ten years ago, I lost my big brother, and this time, I will never lose Yunyu again. If you dare to hurt my Chen Fan's beloved, no matter who it is, I will make you pay back a hundred times over. Getting up and out of bed, Chen Fan pushed open the door, and Big Yellow immediately got up from his lazy sleeping position. Chen Fan left the Chen family and headed towards the Gu family. Big Yellow obediently followed behind him, always keeping a distance of half a meter. East Street, outside the Gu family mansion. The four guards had worried faces and apprehension in their eyes. From the moment Gu Buyu was left outside the door of the Gu mansion by the heavenly treasure sex disciples, the entire Gu family, was thrown into a state of trepidation. After all, the Heavenly Treasure Sect was a super sect within a thousand mile radius of Tiger Spirit City. If they offended the Heavenly Treasure Sect, the Gu family would never have a good time in the future. And as the Gu family's guards, as long as trouble came, they, those people, would surely bear the brunt of the casualties. In just one or two hours, there were already some Gu family guards ready to run away. Isn't this the Chen family's wasted young man? He has indeed come. A guard with a burnt-out heart and a tired mind suddenly spotted Chin Fan and Big Yellow who were walking towards the Gu Mansion. Humph, this trash, still has the nerve to come. If it wasn't for him, how would Miss go and steal the Tian Bao sect's spiritual materials? Yes, Miss is really stupid, obviously carrying a spirit vein and being the body of a heavenly pride. But for the sake of a loser, she gave up her bright future for nothing, and even dragged the entire Gu family into it. I heard that the family had almost emptied the entire Gu family's family fortune in order to make amends to the heavenly treasure sect. If we can quell the Tian Bao sect's anger, it's worth it to empty our family's pockets. But I'm afraid that the Tian Bao sect won't just let it go. Didn't you guys hear the Tian Bao sect's disciples say that if the young lady doesn't admit her mistake for a single day, 
The Gu family won't have any peace and quiet. The whispering of the several guards, even though they were separated by dozens of meters. Chen Fan still heard them clearly. His eyes were chilly as he walked over coldly. Two guards stepped forward with anger and stopped Chen Fan, saying in a cold voice, Young Chen, please return, an incense stick ago. The family head has already ordered that from today onwards, Young Chen and the dog, shall not step into the Gu mansion again. Chen Fan guessed that this prospective father-in-law of his, Gu Shan Chuan, would certainly be angry with him because of what happened to Gu Yunchuan, but he did not expect it to be this determined. But even so, Chen Fan would not leave. This young man must see Bu Yu today, Chen Fan said in a cold voice. If young Chen wants to force his way in, then we can only be offended. A person coldly grunted and openly raised his right hand lightly, pointing his sword at Chen Fan. Chen Fan didn't care about the guards, he just gently raised his gaze and looked within the Gu mansion, bowing and saying, Uncle Gu, please still allow my nephew to meet with Bu Yu. If you are capable, then break in, otherwise, you will never see Bu Yu again in this life. A cold voice from hundreds of meters away in the Gu Mansion's inner courtyard, came out. At the sound of the four guards' voice, they dared even more not to let them go, and they all took out their blades and pointed them at Chen Fan. Chen Fan inclined his head towards Big Yellow and said in a low voice, Then break in, don't hurt anyone's life. The four guards had cold smiles on their faces, with just a dirt dog. They also wanted to break into the Gu Mansion? Although the Gu family was only a second-rate family, and its strength was not comparable to the Chun family but the guards in the house were basically all of the foundation establishment realm cultivation, and something like an earth dog, even if it was born to be strong, could not stand the power of a single finger of the foundation establishment realm. However, in the next moment, the four guards were completely stunned. Just see the big yellow openly long body rushed, body like a golden shadow, two front paws just each shot twice, four guards as one after another flying backwards, directly crashed through the door of the goo house. Boom boom. The four guards flew backwards and crashed through the door, falling on their backs on both sides behind the door, all with their hands covering their chests, a grimace, a very painful appearance. Although Big Yellow did not use the power of his demonic spirit, the brute force of a fourth realm great demon's demonic body was still not something that the foundation establishment realm could easily withstand. If it wasn't for Chen Fan's admonition, with the power of his flesh claws alone, Big Yellow would have been able to easily penetrate through the flesh of the four. Offended, Chen Fan let out a low voice and took a step towards the mansion. Big Yellow opened the way in front. The Gu family guards who came at the sound of the sound, rushed up to several sets, were all sent flying out by Big Yellow with a paw. Good earth dog, the power is ferocious, but you can only tremble in front of the foundation establishment realm. Swish, with a furious shout, a silhouette swept in rapidly, splitting down a crimson blade, instantly transforming into a flaming tiger shadow, pouncing ferociously towards Big Yellow. The big yellow dog's eyes narrowed and crooked his doggy mouth, seemingly with a few mocking intentions, while his right front paw was raised to meet the fire tiger and slapped it. Chapter 5 Ling Lan Yuan Spiritual materialization was something that could only be done with a cultivation of at least the true spirit realm. In Tiger Spirit City, where the spirit lake realm was already the pinnacle, the true spirit realm was already a first-class powerhouse. Boo! Big Yellow's dog paw swiftly slapped the pouncing fire tiger spirit shadow. When everyone thought that Big Yellow would be knocked away by the fire tiger and burned bald all over his golden hair, Big Yellow's dog paw, however, as if it had the power of crashing into a mountain, boomed with a sound, and blasted the fire tiger's spirit shadow into bursting apart. How? The person who struck out was shocked as if he was staring at a bell. This fire tiger spirit shadow is not the kind of theater phantom that does not have the slightest attacking power but a powerful killing move that he condensed with the power of the true spirit and the fire tiger mad blade martial art. Even if they were the same true spirit realm martial arts cultivator, they would not be able to easily withstand a strike from the fire tiger. But now, his strongest strike was actually dispersed by the paw of an earth dog. This made it really hard for Gu to accept. The person who had struck out was none other than Gu Weiwei, Gu Chang's eldest brother. Gu Yunchuan was suffering, and in his anger, the person who implicated his anger on Chen Fan was naturally not the only one. Gu Shan Chuan, Gu Weiwei similarly hated Chen Fan, so when he saw that the guards were unable to stop Chen Fan, Gu Weiwei decided to take action himself to stop Chen Fan. Big brother Gu, I know you all resent me now, but let me meet Bu Yu, Chen Fan said in a deep voice. Gu Weiwei retracted his gaze from Big Yellow and gritted his teeth as he looked at Chen Fan. You have victimized my sister like this, what face do you have left to see her? It's just as well that you're a waste of space yourself. Why did you encourage my sister to steal spiritual materials for you? Chen Fan said in a low voice, I have never egged on unswerving. Ha! Gu Weiwei gave a cold and angry laugh. You mean, my sister is stupid herself? 
in order to want to help you. A loser. Build her foundation. She'd rather destroy her own future and steal the Tian Baosek's spiritual materials? Chen Fan shook his head and said, That's not the case. I just believe in Bu Yu. She would never do anything to steal spiritual materials. Could it be that Big Brother Gu has never asked Bu Yu the truth about the whole thing? What was it really like? Gu Wenwu angrily said, My sister has been in a coma with serious injuries, so where can I go to ask? Chen Fan, no matter what the truth is, the fact that my sister would be in such a state today has nothing to do with you. You know in your heart that if it wasn't for you, my sister wouldn't be willing to join the heavenly treasure sect. Chen Fan nodded his head and said, I agree with this point, so I will take up this responsibility. No matter what happens in the future, I will take care of Bu Yu. Ha, hey, take care of? You're a loser. How are you going to take care of her? Let her follow you and be ridiculed together? Even if you're the Chen family's second youngest, the Chen family won't protect a waste like you for the rest of your life. Gu Wenwei laughed angrily. Chen Fan said indifferently, even if I am a loser, I can still protect her for a lifetime. Brother Gu, get out of the way. I'm in a hurry to see Bu Yu. If you stop me again, I can only be offended. Gu Weiwei's eyes narrowed. If you want to see my sister, unless I lie down. Chen Fan's eyes sank slightly. Big yellow, then let my big brother Gu lie down. Today, no one can stop me from meeting Bu Yu. Chen Fan's voice turned slightly cold. Woof, big yellow's ferocious teeth bared, barking furiously, his tall and sturdy dog body. Rushing straight towards Gu Weiwei. What a speed. This is by no means the speed that an earth dog can have. Gu Wei was shocked in his heart. After seeing Big Yellow's ferocious brute strength, he had long since not dared to take it lightly. At the instant Big Yellow lunged, a crimson glow boiled up around him, as if a fiery shield covering his figure. At the same time, the spirit ranked lower grade battle blade in his hand, made a horizontal chop, forming a fire wave blade that swept towards Big Yellow. Red wave flame blade. Boo. What shocked Gu and the others again was that the flaming sword wave that came at them was still broken by the big yellow claw, and the two waves of fire, like a fire python that had been chopped off, jumped away to the left and right, and then turned into a starburst of flames and crumbled away. Big yellow swooped in swiftly, his claw shadow landed on the fire shield in front of Gu Wenwu. With a bang, the fire shield shattered in response, and Gu Wenwu let out a cry of misery. His chest shirt shattered, hanging five bloody claw marks, and flew out upside down. Put. Gu, who had landed on the ground, sprayed a mouthful of blood, but there was only unstoppable shock in his eyes. This dog, this dog can never be an earth dog. Gu Chuanzhuan gritted his teeth and said, it really isn't an earth dog. All along, it's just that you guys thought it was an earth dog. Chen Fan said indifferently. Gu Wenwei's pupils exploded. Chen Fan, a punk, could have such a ferocious demonic dog by his side. Old family master Chen is really pampering you. Going so far as to allow such a strong demonic dog to stay close to protect you. A waste of space. I really don't know why old family master Chen and my sister are both so confused. Gu Wenwei grunted angrily. In Gu Wenwei's opinion, with Chen Fan's own strength, it was categorically impossible to subdue such a powerful demonic dog. The only possibility was that Chen Changsheng was afraid that Chen Fan would be bullied outside. So he gave Chen Fan a demonic dog to protect him closely. Chen Fan didn't explain and only said, I can go see Bu Yu now, right? Big Yellow has yet to utilize its demonic spirit, and you are already no match for it. So if you continue to fight and provoke its ferocity, I'm afraid that no one in the entire Gu family will be its enemy. The corners of Gu Weiwei's eyes shrunk. No one in the entire Gu family can deal with this demonic dog? Could it be a great demon above the middle stage of the fourth realm? Gu Wenzhuang said in shock, the strongest existence of the Gu family was Gu Shanchuan, but Gu Shanchuan was only at the early stage of the spirit lake realm. Chen Fan did not reply but only continued walking in the direction of the Spirit Lawn Academy, where Gu Yunchang was located. Chen Fan, even if you have the protection of a fourth realm great demon, my sister's life has been ruined by you. In the future, if you ever neglect her again, even if I have to put my life on the line, I will never let you off the hook. Gu Weiwei lay on the ground on his side and roared at Chen Fan's back. Don't worry big brother, from now on, I won't let Bu Yu suffer half a bit. Chen Fan stopped and twisted his head, saying solemnly, this was the promise he had made to Gu Weiwei, as well as a request to himself. After that, no one stopped him. Soon, Chen Fan arrived outside a familiar small courtyard. The four maidservants guarding the courtyard, seeing that Chen Fan had come, scattered three of them, leaving only one named Zi Ling. This Zi Ling, similar in age to Gu Bu Yu, was sold into the Gu residence at the age of four, and grew up with Gu Bu Yu. The two were called master and servant, but in reality they were like sisters. When Zi Ling saw Chen Fan, 
She didn't complain much because she was well aware of Gu Yinchan's feelings for Chen Fan. Fan young master, Miss Shi. Zeling just opened her mouth, then sobbed uncontrollably too. Chen Fan said in a low voice, Don't worry, Bu Yu will be fine. I'll go in to check on her. You stand guard here and don't let anyone come in to disturb us. HM, if young miss hears young master Fan's voice, perhaps she will be able to wake up. Zi Ling said with reddened eyes. Chen Fan's heart seized with pain. Even though he already had a way to save Gu Chuanqin, when he thought of the pain Gu Chuanqin had endured, his heart, it still hurt and ached. That monstrous killing intent was also in the depths of his heart. Similarly surging and roaring wildly, Chen Fan took a few steps forward and pushed open the door of the house. A wave of spiritual energy fluctuation swirled and attacked his body. In this courtyard of the spirit Lan Yuan, on the day Gu Bu Yu was detected to possess the heavenly wind spiritual vein, Gu Shanchuan was overjoyed, and he made a bloody effort to specially hire a fourth grade formation Dao Master to lay down a spirit gathering formation in the house. The reason for this was to allow Gu Yujin to have a better cultivation environment and live up to his talent. Chapter 6, Is This the Truth? Inside the room, on the bed and couch, there was a woman lying flat on her back. The woman's face was pale, her brows still furrowed in her coma. The severe injuries in her body could not escape the pain even when she was in a coma. Chen Fan walked to the bedside and sat down gently, his warm palm, heartbreakingly stroking over Gu Bu Yu's cheek. This face that was once as light as a jasmine flower and always liked to wear a few shy smiles, was so gentle and tender. But now, it is as pale and haggard as it can be. I really regret that I shouldn't have promised you to go to that heaven-breaking treasure sect in the first place, Chen Fan whispered, his eyes filled with regret and self-blame. If he insisted on not letting Gu Chenliang leave, perhaps Gu Chenliang would choose to stay. Or, if he had confessed to Gu Buyu earlier, Gu Buyu wouldn't have agreed to join the Tian Bao sect in order to help him get more and better resources. Unfortunately, there is no medicine for regret in this world. Chen Fan's eyes were slightly closed as his mind sank into the middle of the Dantian Heavenly Sea Pearl, Yu Qi Ling, on the main altar of Sin Immortal Island. Chen Fan's spirit body opened his eyes and called out in a low voice, to the southeast of the island. A woman in red, her eyes opened in surprise, could it be that I can get out? In the next second, a red aura rushed up into the air, and the woman in red flew onto it, her feet stepping on the crimson sword aura as she quickly rushed in the direction of the altar. Yu Qi Ling pays his respects to the island master. Yu Qi Ling half kneeled on the crimson sword awnings, his face could not hide his excitement as he clasped his fists in salute. Chen Fan said indifferently, do you have any pills on you to stabilize your injuries and ease your pain? Yu Qi Ling froze and hurriedly said, Naturally, I don't know how many grades the island master wants, Chen Fan said. Cultivation is abolished. Spirit veins are broken. Such a weak body should not be able to withstand the impact of too high-grade medicinal power. The injured person was once at the great circle cultivation of the foundation establishment realm. How many products do you think would be appropriate for her to take? Yu Qi Ling drifted off, then realized that the island master had called her over, not to take her out, but for the person whose spirit vein had been destroyed. She laughed and said, in this case, you can take the 4th grade Tian Lin Dan. The Tian Lin Dan's medicinal power is mild, although it cannot directly renew the severed veins. Stabilizing the injury and relieving the pain can definitely be done. Moreover, after taking the Tian Lin Dan, it can also consolidate and cultivate the injured person's vitality first, and when the immortal spirit creation Dan is taken two days later, the effect will be even better. Chen Fan nodded his head and said, Worthy of being a Dan Queen person. You are indeed professional. I think you should have a collection of this fourth grade heavenly Lindan. Give me one. Yu Qi Ling immediately raised his right hand, and a turquoise elixir flew towards the main altar. Chen Fan raised his hand and inhaled the heavenly Lindan into his palm, then swallowed it into his stomach, not waiting for the medicinal power of the heavenly Lin pill to begin to dissipate. Chen Fan's mind retreated. Inside the spirit Lun courtyard, Chen Fan's right hand burrowed into the quilt and pressed against Gu Bu Yu's navel. And in the next moment, a stream of pure and gentle power of the elixir passed through his palm and slowly crossed into Gu Bu Yu's body. Sure enough, as the medicinal power of the heavenly Lin pill entered Gu Chichi's body, those tiny wounds in Gu Chichi's body were quickly healed, and her entire body was warmed up in a soft medicinal power. Gu Weiwei's originally tightly knitted brows, but also gradually Xu Zheng open. At this moment, although she is still in a coma, but she feels that she is soaked in the spring breeze in general, and there is no longer a trace of pain. When all the medicinal power had been transferred into Gu Bu Yu's body, Chen Fan's mind sank inward and returned to his spirit body, smiling at Yu Qi Ling, who was still in a half-kneeling position on the void outside the altar. He said, Many thanks for the elixir, and I will make arrangements as soon as possible for you to go out. Yu Qi Ling's complexion was delighted as he hurriedly said, Many thanks to the island master. 
Go ahead, Chen Fan smiled. Yu Qi Ling blushed slightly and hesitantly asked, Island Master, can I have a small request? Of course, if you find it difficult, you can balk at me. Chen Fan laughed, what is the request? Tell me first, if it's not too much, I can promise you. Yu Qi Ling rejoiced and said, after I go out, don't I need a physical body? Can the Island Master find me a younger woman whose beauty is at least not inferior to my current body? If you find me an old ugly one, I'm afraid I'll have a hard time looking in the mirror in the future. Chen Fan nodded his head and said, that's not too much to ask, it just depends on your luck. Yu Qi Ling froze, in the outside world, aren't there very few women who look almost as good looking as me? Chen Fan looked at Yu Qi Ling, who had long hair swaying and a white and playful face, and laughed softly, with this appearance, you are indeed considered to be a stunning beauty on earth outside, but most importantly, a physical body represents a life. And this island master cannot hurt someone's life for no reason just to help you out. Yu Qi Ling smiled indistinctly. Then Ling'er will look forward to a young woman who was born as beautiful as a flower and wants to seek death. Appearing in front of the island master earlier, Chen Fan smiled faintly. Stand down. Ling's farewell. Yu Qi Ling got up, and the crimson longsword under her feet once again transformed into a fiery red sword aura, carrying the red clothed, fluttering Yu Qi Ling down. If there really was an ungrateful and beautiful woman who came to find Chen Fan's trouble, Chen Fan naturally wouldn't be soft. In his previous life, as a top mercenary, he had not killed many people. Not to mention that in this life, this world of martial arts is a world full of killing, and it is even more unlikely that his hands are soft. About half an incense stick later, under the effect of the heavenly Lin Pill's medicinal power, the unconscious Gu Bu Yu, with his long eyelashes, like cicada wings, finally quivered. Chen Fan looked delighted and hurriedly said in a soft voice, Bu Yu, you've woken up. Gu Yunchan's eyes slowly opened, just a moment's trance, then saw the familiar face in front of him, white and pure nose, could not help but sour red, brother Van, I'm in, I'll be there from now on, Chen Fan grasped Gu Yuchu's palm and said excitedly, the crystals in Gu Weiwei's eyes turned, and she choked out, it's so good to be able to see brother Fan again, Chen Fan's heart was about to break, Gu Weiwei suffered so much pain, yet she still thought of him in her heart, in his past life and in this life, such a simple girl, he had only met such a one. Bu Yu, don't worry. Your injuries, brother Fan will definitely help you heal. Chen Fan solemnly said. Gu Chenliang squeezed out a bitter smile on his face. Spiritual vein severance? Such an injury. How could there be a possibility of it being cured? Even if there really was, such a heavenly means was by no means something that the people here in Tiger Spirit City could do. I believe in brother Bu Fan's words. I'll recuperate properly and won't think twice about it. Gu Chenwei laughed. Well, then tell brother Fan, why exactly did the heavenly treasure sect do this to you? Chen Fan asked. In Gu Weiwei's eyes, an anger flashed, but it was quickly hidden from her. She closed her eyes, teardrops dropping down the corners of her eyes, and choked out. I'm sorry brother Fan, Bu Yu let you down. It was my momentary obsession that stole the clan's spiritual materials, and that's why I was punished by the clan. Chen Fan shook his head. Bu Yu, you never tell lies, tell me all the truth. This is the truth. Now I am no longer worthy of Brother Fan. Brother Fan, let us break off the engagement. Gu Qianwei sobbed. The delicate body, along with her heart, trembled. Chapter 7000 Spirit Trading Company. Chen Fan sniffed, but smiled. It was just his smile that was a bit morose. This heavenly treasure sect, it's really a great crime. Not only did it make the always well-behaved and honest Bu Yu learn to lie, but it also scared her into breaking off her engagement with me. It really deserves to be destroyed. Chen Fan's other hand, tightly clenched into a fist, the bone knuckles were convex and white. Chen Fan understood in the bottom of his heart that no matter if it was Chen Changsheng or Gu Quanju who said that they wanted to withdraw from the marriage, they were actually trying to protect him. Both of these men were worried that they would implicate him because of this incident. Breaking off the engagement, are you willing to give up? Chen Fan forced a smile and pinched Gu Bu Yu's face. Gu Yunchan's tears, instantly became threads. She was naturally reluctant to give up but it was the only way to save her brother Van. Fearing that Chen Fan, who had learned the truth, would be furious and go to seek trouble with the heavenly treasure sect, the consequences of which were undoubtedly not something that a small family like theirs could bear. Gu Weiwei forced herself not to say anything because she was afraid that if she opened her mouth, she would be unable to cut off this love affair. Bu Yu, you first rest in peace and recuperate. Two days later, I will come back to see you. Chen Fan got up and said, Gu Qiantian was still weak now and Chen Fan did not want to put her under too much pressure. Only if he left first, could Gu Chen Tian be slightly more relaxed, or cry a lot to properly vent the aggression in her heart. 
It was only when Chen Fan left the house that Gu Chuanqin opened her tearful eyes and choked. Brother Fan, Bu Yu can't bear to part with, but how can we fight the Tian Bao Sekta? Chen Fan did not leave the Gu Mansion directly, but had the Gu Mansion guards send word to ask to see Gu Shanchuan. But Gu Shanchuan didn't agree to see him. It was not easy for the Gu family to produce a genius, even if it was a daughter. But as long as the Gu unswerving grew up smoothly, it would be able to bless the Gu family in the future to become stronger step by step. It was only a pity that Gu Yunchuan had fallen into the realm of doom for the sake of Chen Fan, shattering all the hopes in Gu Shanchuan's heart. At this moment, Gu Shanchuan was both heartbroken for his daughter and angry and hateful. Just as well. Then let's wait to see this prospective father-in-law again after curing Bu Yu, Chen Fan secretly said in his heart before leaving the Gu family. It wasn't long before a man and a dog appeared outside the Thousand Spirit Merchants branch. Since Bu Yu is unwilling to tell the truth, then I will have to find out for myself. Chen Fan's eyes were slightly cold as he said in his heart. Although Chen Fan did not yet know what the truth was like, he could conclude that what Gu Unswerving had said was by no means the truth. Even amongst a great martial arts sect like the Heavenly Treasure sect, there were definitely not many people who possessed spirit veins. A martial artist's meridians, from weak to strong, are categorized into four levels, mortal meridians, spirit meridians, immortal meridians, and divine meridians. The more powerful the meridians, the wider and more powerful they are, the faster they can swallow aura, and the more ponderous the aura they can hold in a single session. This would not only affect the speed of cultivation, but also directly affect the explosive power during combat which was like the difference between the barrel of a cannon and the barrel of a gun. Spirit veins, which were already rare on the Xianling continent, not to mention immortal veins and divine veins. The mortal vein is the mainstream of martial arts cultivation in the world. For example, the Chen family has hundreds of martial arts practitioners, all of which are ordinary mortal veins. The entire tiger spirit city, within the last hundred years, has only ever produced two spirit veins. One was Gu Buyu, and the other was Luo Qian Jun the second young master of the Luo family, which was also one of the three great families. Therefore, any disciple with a spiritual vein is definitely a person that a party's clan is devoted to cultivating. So how could he be deprived of his cultivation and destroy his spiritual vein just because of the small mistake of stealing spiritual materials? A fool would believe it. Although Chen Fan was accompanied with the heavenly sea pearl, his physical body was of the Chen family bloodline, and in terms of qualifications, there was nothing surprising, just an ordinary mortal vein body. But his spiritual body within the heavenly sea pearl possessed the world's top mixed divine vein. With regards to the commonness of the fleshly body in the outside world, Chen Fan did not care. As long as he wanted to change his qualifications, he could always use the resources within Sin Immortal Island to strengthen his physical body. It was only in these few years that he thought about hiding his clumsiness so that he could secretly investigate his elder brother's murderer, which was why he didn't start strengthening his physical body. After all, once the qualification of the physical body was enhanced, it would be difficult to hide. A man and a dog. Just after walking into the lobby of the merchant house, a disdainful laugh came out. Yo, isn't this the Chen family's second youngest? I don't know what the second youngest of the Chen family, a person who is unable to build up his foundation, is doing here at the Thousand Spirits Trading House. What we sell here are things that only a true martial cultivator can use. The implication of these words was that although Chen Fan had the cultivation of Qi practicing realm, he could not be considered a real martial arts cultivator and was calling him a waste in a roundabout way. Chen Fan glanced at the source of the voice, but he saw a rather enchanting and charming woman in a tight cyanotype dress, shaking a small round fan and twisting her thin waist towards him. It seems that this young man has really traveled to the wrong place, originally thought that the Thousand Spirit Merchant Bank was a high-class place, but it turns out that it's no different from a youthful building, and this teller recruits all slutty little bitches. Chen Fan sneered disdainfully. If it was usual, Chen Fan naturally did not care about this point of ridicule. Some people ridicule, in order to appear that he pretends to be a waste to pretend to be very successful, but today he was in a mood that was already unpleasant, and someone else dared to come up and touch his bad luck, so how could he be polite, being scolded as a bitch, the woman's delicate and pretty face suddenly turned red with rage, gritting her teeth and saying, you punk, who are you calling a slutty little bitch, Chen Fan said indifferently, what, hasn't what this young man said been obvious enough, it seems like you're not only a slutty little bitch, but also a big boob with no brain. You, how dare you, a punk, talk about me like that. Don't think that just because the Chen family is one of the three great families of Tiger Spirit City, you dare to act recklessly here. Don't you forget that this is the territory of the Thousand Spirit Merchant Company. Even if your grandfather came, he would never dare to act out here. Lu Yanru chilled her face and said in a hostile voice, The Thousand Spirit Merchant Company was a transnational merchant organization, 
and when looking at the entire Xianling continent, it was also an extremely strong merchant force, even a single branch was strong enough to rival the three great families. Even powerful sects like the Heavenly Treasure Sect and the Mountain River Sword Sect sometimes had to sell the people of the Chamber of Commerce a few points of face. Of course, they will only sell the branch head's face. It was only that the Thousand Spirit Merchant Company had never done anything but business, and did not participate in any of the city's local family strife. Chen Fan looked Lu Yan Ru up and down, then laughed. You're just a teller with such a big mouth. I think you've already climbed into the bed of a certain person in charge of the branch. If not, even if this young man is a loser, a commodity like you would never have the guts to dare ridicule this young man. Lu Yan Ru's face skin was fiercely pumped, not expecting that his own little thing, but was actually seen through by Chen Fan at a glance. Just when Lu Yan Ru was still not thinking of how to dislike back, Chen Fan waved his hand and said with an impatient face, Don't gabble here. The strength of your mouth is better safe to serve that gold master behind you. This time, this young man has come to find your Professor Ding. You quickly go and inform Professor Ding that Chen Fan of the Chun family has come to visit. It doesn't matter if you slow down this young man, but if you delay the affairs of the Ding Feng, I'm afraid that the gold master you serve can't protect you. After all, as long as anyone with a brain can tell which is the lesser of an offering and a plaything, they will be able to figure it out. Hearing Provider Ding, Lu Yenru's face changed violently. She didn't think that Chen Fan, a waste of space, would be able to recognize the branch's Ding provider. Although Confessor Ding had just joined the branch less than a year ago, he was deeply respected by the branch president. It simply wasn't comparable to someone like her who relied on selling her sex to get into the branch. Humph, you wait. If Efficient Ding doesn't recognize you at all, and you've affected Efficient Ding's purification, the branch will definitely not forgive you lightly. Lu Yanru pretended to be tough and gave a light snort, then rushed off to the back hall to report. Chapter 8, Dark Chess, Ding Chuanxiu. A year ago, a strong spirit lake realm practitioner named Ding Chuanxiu, who claimed to be a cloud traveler to Tiger Pillar City, accidentally became acquainted with Merchant Guild branch president Luo Xingyun. The two of them met and talked, and Ding Chuanxiu agreed to stay at the branch and make offerings for a few years. Ding Chuanxiu was usually not in charge of specific matters and was in the back hall purifying himself. Only when the branch encountered trouble would he show up to deter or solve the trouble. Luo Xingyun had also repeatedly instructed the hall staff that they should not disturb the Ding worshippers' purification unless it was necessary. For strong people of the Spirit Lake realm, such as Lu Yanru, these hall personnel were incomparably in awe. Even if she stripped naked, she couldn't catch up with the scenery of others. The back room. A middle-aged man was cultivating with his eyes closed in a spirit formation enhanced room, and between the operation of his gong methods, a huge stream of spiritual qi, like a green mist, was frantically converging towards the man's body. Such a terrifying speed of spirit nascent soul was incomparable even to branch president Luo Xingyun of the same realm. Ding. Ding offering. The Chen family that wasted. That Chen fan said he wants to see you. Lu Yanru's voice nervously entered from outside the house. The man in the midst of cultivation. His eyes snapped open and he said in an urgent voice. Go quickly and invite him in. Outside the door. Lu Yanru's eyes trembled. Her heart tensed to the extreme. It turned out that this waste of a man. Chen Fan, was actually really acquainted with Confessor Ding. Moreover, listening to the tone of Provider Ding, it seemed that he was still eager to see Chen Fan. It's over. If this waste of a man Chen Fan chews his tongue in front of Provider Ding, I'm definitely going to be kicked out. Lu Yanru's still good-looking face instantly turned pale and bloodless. Yes, I'll go and invite Chen Xiao over. Lu Yanru promised and hurriedly turned around in a hurry, running towards the hall. In the hall, Chen Fan wandered around in boredom surveying the various things sold by the Thousand Spirit Merchant Company on the shelves. Suddenly, his eyes landed on a golden vine root. I didn't expect to see such a rare thing in this Thousand Spirit Merchant's branch. Chen Fan's eyes narrowed slightly. Chen Xiao. Chen Xiao. At this time, Lu Yanru's urgent voice came from the hall. She came to the hall, and when she didn't see Chen Fan at a glance, she was anxious. If Chen Fan left, she couldn't account for it at Provider Ding's place. What are the chickens crowing about? This young man is here. Chen Fan said indifferently. When Lu Yanru heard Chen Fan's words, not only did she not get angry, but instead she was happy. As long as Chen Fan didn't leave, it was good. Is young Chen Fan seeing this gnarled dragon vine root? Lu Yanru followed the sound and found Chen Fan, piling up a fawning smile and said, If young Chen wants it, Yan Ru can give young Chen a 20% discount. Chen Fan raised his eyebrows lightly. You have such a right? It seems that the gold master you serve is not of a low status. Lu Yanru awkwardly said. Young Chen is joking, Smokeru does not have such great power since, but just now, Smokeru was confused and offended Chen Xiao, Smokeru would like to make up the difference in price after the discount to the merchant bank on her own, K 
counting it as an atonement. Chen Fan smiled lightly, then wrap it up for this young man, Lu Yanru excitedly said. Is young Chen not blaming Yanru for this? Wouldn't it be too degrading for this young man to get too involved with goods like you? Chen Fan said disdainfully. Although this Lu Yanru's character is not good, but she is tall and charming, but is a good good skin, maybe it can be used in the future. Chen Fan words out of ridicule, but this time Lu Yanru is not angry, but as if amnestied, the heart is much more relaxed. Many thanks to Chen Xiao for his tolerance and generosity. Lu Yanru gave a thank you, then took out the gnarled dragon vine root and led Chen Fan towards the counter to settle the bill. After settling the bill, Lu Yanru also had a face of flesh pain. The 200 spirit stone difference she made up was already 10 months of her monthly salary. The common currency of the Xianling continent was mainly spirit coins, spirit beads, and spirit stones. Spirit coins were basically used by ordinary people, while the currency used more by martial arts cultivators was spirit beads. The spirit bead was only the size of a green bean and contained a thin spiritual chi, the product of a broken spirit stone, a complete spirit stone. On the other hand, was worth a thousand spirit beads, and the amount of aura stored in it was also a thousand times that of a spirit bead, a monthly salary of 20 spirit stones. In the Xianling continent, it was already considered a super high monthly salary. No wonder Lu Yan Ru couldn't afford to give up this camp. After all, when she went to the greenhouse, even if she worked 10 times harder, she wouldn't be able to earn so many spirit stones. Young Mr. Chen, Provider Ding is inside. Smoke Ru will retire first. In the future, if Xiao Chen has any dispositions, feel free to command. Smoke Ru will not fail to obey. Bringing Chen Fan to the room outside of Ding Chuancho's cultivation room, Lu Yan Ru said with a shy and charming brow. She was worried that Chen Fan would not let her go so easily, so she bit the words any errand quite heavily. She was sure that any man who was a man could understand her. Chen Fan naturally understood. The corner of his lips lifted slightly and smiled. This is what you said. I hope that when this young man needs you in the future, you won't refuse. Lu Yan Ru covered her mouth and smiled. Although Yan Ru is not as noble as Chen Xiao, she will definitely keep her words. Retire first, Chen Fan said with a faint smile. The door to the room opened on its own as soon as Lu Yan Ru left with her front foot. Ding Chuanxiu looked at Chen Fan with an agitated face and fiercely knelt down on one knee, saying, Ding Chuanxiu, greetings to the island master. Chen Fan smiled faintly. Get up and talk. Don't let anyone see you. After saying that, Chen Fan walked towards the room. Ding Chuanxiu hurriedly got up and closed the door to his room. Before Chen Fan arrived, he had already brewed the concentration tea. Island master, please use the tea. Ding Chuanxiu handed over the concentration tea with both hands and respectfully said. After becoming the island master for three years, Chen Fan had naturally brought out more than just Big Yellow as a living being on the island. Ding Chuanxiu is the descendant of the Ding family on Sin Immortal Island. Nowadays, this body was a middle-aged man, which didn't match his real age. Although Ding Chuanxiu was at the Spirit Lake Realm cultivation level, he was actually very young, but only in his early 20s. The descendants of the old monsters on the island were actually quite talented. It was only a pity that because of their ancestors' mistake, their descendants, too, could only remain imprisoned on Sin Immortal Island. Without the island master's amnesty, this life would have been spent on Sin Immortal Island. Chen Fan looked at the respectful Ding Chuanxiu and smiled faintly. It's rare that you can still maintain this loyalty after you're free. Ding Chuanxiu said with a straight face, the fact that my subordinate was able to leave Sin Immortal Island is all due to the Island Master's gift, and my subordinate will be loyal and willing to serve the Island Master forever. Chen Fan shook his head and said, it doesn't have to be forever. This young man is a man of his word. Counting from the day you left the island, for a period of 10 years, after 10 years, you will be completely free. Ding Chuanxiu was delighted in his heart, but his face did not show it. No one wants to be a henchman forever. For cultivators, 10 years is really short. As for Chen Fan, after 10 years, Ding Chuanxiu's loyalty would have little value for him to speak of. The reason why Ding Chuanxiu is still very loyal nowadays, apart from gratitude, more importantly, there are still dozens of lives of the Ding family on the island, all of which depend on Chen Fan's thoughts. If he betrayed, the destruction of the Ding family would only be a matter of moments. This time, this young man has come to see you because he wants you to use the connections around you to gather news about the Heavenly Treasure Sect. Other than that, this young man wants to know the real reason why the Gu family's Gu Yujin was invalidated by the Heavenly Treasure Sect. Chen Fan narrowed his eyes and said, Chapter 9, How Many Games? Ding Chuanxiu busily said, The Thousand Spirit Merchant Company is well informed, so this is not difficult to do. Seven days later, my subordinate will deliver the news to your residence. Chen Fan laughed. Seven days later, we will meet at the sparse shadow place. Your relationship with this young man must not be shown to be too close. 
It is only because of some common interests that you have hit it off. Upon hearing the sharing place, Ding Chuanxiu's eyes lit up and he dryly smiled. My subordinate understands, and this sharing place is indeed a good place. Chen Fan smiled. Sparse shadow place, that's where men like to go. He casually pulled out a folded piece of paper. Keep an eye on the spirit materials up here for this young master as well. How many spirit stones are needed? You advance them first, and when this young man takes these spirit materials, he will settle with you. Chen Fan said. Ding Chuanxiu busily said. What kind of words are these from the island master? It is my honor to do something for the island master. How can I ask for the island master's spirit stones? Chen Fan said indifferently. You only need to remain loyal. Although the Xianling continent is freer than Sin Immortal Island, the spiritual qi is far inferior to Sin Immortal Island, and you need a lot of resources to cultivate here. So the matter of spirit stones, this young man will not take advantage of you in the slightest. When Ding Chuanxiu heard this, he couldn't help but gain a few more points of respect for Chen Fan. Chen Fan didn't stay in the Thousand Spirit Merchant Company for long, and quickly brought Big Yellow and headed outside. Chen Fan? You're a loser. What are you doing here at the Thousand Spirit Merchant Company? Just a few steps out of the merchant house, a few people walked up to him. The person at the head was not unfamiliar to Chen Fan. It was Luo family's youngest, Luo Ding Tian. The Luo family and the Chen family were the second of the three great families of Tiger Spirit City. But in these years, the Luo family had really become more popular, and was vaguely the number one family in Tiger Spirit City. Not only because Luo family's second youngest, Luo Qianjun, possessed the body of a spirit vein, but more importantly, the Luo family now possessed four spirit lake realm powerhouses. The Chen family, on the other hand, only had three, one of which was still in the status of a guest minister. The guest secretary, although also part of the family's overall strength, was not stable. It was not good to say that they would just throw their faces away and leave one day. In terms of loyalty, it was far inferior to the family's martial cultivators, the four spirit lake realm members of the Luo clan. On the other hand, were all members of the Luo clan, and the cohesion of the strongest members of the clan was completely higher than that of the Chen clan. At this moment, Luo Dingtian had a playful look on his face and waved his hand for a few attendants behind him to block Chen Fan's path. Chen Fan glanced at Luo Dingtian and said indifferently, Luo Dingtian, what do you want to do? Luo Dingtian crossed his arms across his chest with one hand and cupped his chin with the other. The corners of his lips raised in an evil smile. It's rare to meet a punk like you, so of course I want to have some fun with you. Chen Fan smiled lightly. How do you want to play? If you want to fight, you will be winning even if you win, and you will make people laugh. Luo Dingtian smiled disdainfully. Hitting out with a punk like you, that would indeed make people laugh. This young man is not bullying you, so let's play a little fair with you. Let's just go to the south of the city to the gambling house, each depending on their luck. How about betting on a few games? Chen Fan frowned lightly, but I don't have many spirit stones with me. Luo Dingtian laughed evilly. No matter. You can owe it first. Although the Chen family is about to fall, but there is still more or less some heritage in. This young man is not afraid that you will renege on the dead if you lose. Chen Fan smiled faintly and said, It seems like I won't be able to make it without going. Luo Dingtian's lips lifted and said with a bad smile, In this tiger spirit city, no one dares to spoil this young man's fun nowadays. Then go ahead. Although I am not as good as you in cultivation, I may not be as good as you in gambling skills. Chen Fan said indifferently, I just hope that when you lose at that time, you won't renege on your debt. Luo Dingtian looked at Chen Fan's calm and confident demeanor. His heart was extremely irritated, sneering, don't worry, as long as you have the ability to win, this young man will never renege on his debt. Let's go then. It just so happens that I am also short of spirit stones to use recently. Chen Fan let out a faint smile and actually took the initiative to walk towards the south of the city. Although within the heavenly sea pearl, Chen Fan was basically not lacking in resources. In this world of the Xianling continent, Chen Fan was really not considered rich. Right now, since someone wanted to be a money giver, Chen Fan was happy to fulfill the other party. Luo Dingtian looked at the back of Chen Fan's head as he walked past. His eyes were cloudy, but in his heart, he was laughing coldly. This city south gambling house, but my Luo family secretly operates the industry. Even if you really have a few gambling skills, how can you win over this young man? Seeing that you have the courage to call the shots with this young man, this time, this young man must make your Chen family spit out blood. 9 out of 10 gamblers are cheats. And gambling houses have all the tricks in the bookies if they want anyone to win. So Luo Dingtian was confident. Buzz. Luo Dingtian waved his right hand. And a silver bracelet on his wrist flashed out a fierce black light. The black light landed and transformed into a huge black wolf with flying fur. Roar. The black wolf tilted its head and whistled. The demonic wind became a scroll. 
scaring the pedestrians on the street. They all turned pale and rushed to avoid. Luo Dingtian smiled smugly, and with a single movement, he straddled the back of the black demon wolf. TSK, TSK, Chen Fan, you carry this old yellow dog every day. Could it be that it can occasionally carry you up a stretch of road? Why don't you mount it now and let's compare speeds? Luo Dingtian teased, his black demon wolf. Although it was only a second realm demon beast and its battle power wasn't particularly powerful, it was fast. Chen Fan glanced at Luo Dingtian and laughed lightly. It seems that your words, when they are spoken, are really like farts that are not very believable. Just now, you also said that you won't bully me. You let the second realm demonic beast compare its speed with the Sturk dog beside me. Is it still not called bullying? If you are so faithless, this city south gambling house, I won't go. Luo Dingtian's eyes narrowed, not realizing that although Chen Fan was useless as a person, he had a powerful mouth. If Chen Fan didn't go to the city south gambling house, how else could he ruthlessly slaughter the Chen family today? Chen Fan was a member of the Chen family after all, and Luo Dingtian couldn't really tie up Chen Fan to go to the gambling house. Ha ha, this young man was joking with you, and you took it seriously. However, you're also really desperate. It's just that you're a waste yourself, but you also have to raise an earth dog to follow you around. As if you're afraid that other people won't know that you're a waste, Luo Dingtian laughed. Chen Fan laughed lightly. Yes, this is something that everyone knows, but there are still people who are happy to try to mock this young man. It's really boring. The corners of Luo Dingtian's mouth twitched. This Chen Fan's qi cultivation kung fu was really so strong that even he was somewhat impressed. If anyone else dared to mock him over and over again, he would have blown up long ago. This fellow, it's thanks to the fact that he can't cultivate. Otherwise with his heart and his city, he would really be a tricky opponent. But it's a pity that he couldn't succeed in building his foundation three times, destined to be mediocre in this life. Sooner or later, this tiger spirit city will be a situation where my Luo family will have one hand in the sky. The Chen family, the Su family, will all be trampled under my Luo family's feet. Luo Dingtian laughed coldly in his heart. Not long after, a group of people arrived at the south of the city's gambling house. It was still morning, and the gambling house was not crowded. The gambling house is at its busiest in the evenings, followed by the late afternoons. The morning is basically a closing state, but the Luo family's great young man arrived in person, and the person in charge of the gambling house, who had stayed up all night, could only open the door with a smile. Boss Li, this young man is going to play a few games of betting on the size with Chen Xiao. So arrange it. Luo Dingtian smiled faintly. Fine, fine, Mr. Li will make the arrangements. Li Jun, the owner of the gambling house, hurriedly responded and laughed. Li Jun turned around and said, Go and call Li Rue here. Chapter 10, Playing Big is Fun. This Li Rue is the most powerful card officer in the south of the city gambling house. It is said that this person shakes the dice to determine what point he wants. Luo Dingtian looked at Chen Fan with a smile and said, Chen Fan, if this young man bets against you and you lose, you will surely feel that this young man is relying on the power of cultivation to bully you. So this dice, let the people in the gambling house to shake. You and I will directly bet on guessing the size of the person who guesses correctly will win the bet of the person who guesses incorrectly. And the next round of bets how much? By the winner of the previous round to determine. You can agree? Chen Fan nodded and said, That's fair, I agree. Luo Dingtian grinned. Don't say that this young man is bullying you. Let's let you set the bets for this first round. Chen Fan was silent for a moment and reached into the cloth bag on Big Yellow's back, rummaging through it. Before his cultivation reached the foundation establishment realm, he didn't even have the ability to use the Xian Kong ring. So every time he went out, Chen Fan let Big Yellow carry a cloth bag with some things that he might use. For example, spirit stones and spirit beads. If you pretend to be a waste, you have to pretend to be a full set. So Chen Fan could only give up this convenience of the Xian Kong ring. Luo Dingtian and Li Jun and the others, who watched Chen Fan rummage through the cloth bag on De Huang's back, all just wanted to laugh. It was pathetic and ridiculous that the second youngest member of the Chen family did not even have the ability to use the Xian Kong ring. Soon, Chen Fan touched out ten spirit stones and placed them on the gambling table. It said that the first time you gamble, you'll have better luck. So I'll bet all of the remaining bit of spirit stones, Chen Fan said. Luo Dingtian's face twitched. All in for ten spirit stones? This Chen Fan was even poorer than he had imagined. It was also true that a waste that had no hope of even building a foundation. How could the Chen family waste spirit stones on Chen Fan? Ten is also too little. If young Chen wants to play bigger, he can just say a number. If you win, this young man will pay as usual. And if you lose, this young man will just accompany you back to the Chen family to get it. Luo Dingtian laughed. Chen Fan raised his eyebrows and looked at Luo Dingtian coldly. Luo Dingtian, you seem to be very sure that you can win me? 
can it be that there are ghosts in this bet? Luo Dingtian rolled his eyes and said, Chen Fan, you can't afford to play, can you? This hasn't even officially started yet, and you're just being paranoid? Chen Fan said in a cold and deep voice, I just have a feeling that you want to trap me. Luo Dingtian heart surprised, this Chen Fan's feeling, really quite accurate ah, size is all about luck, where there are ghosts and pits, since you don't have the guts, let's just play a few small games. Boss Li, has your man come yet? Luo Dingtian grunted, coming coming, Li Jun hurriedly laughed with him, and at this time, a young man in his thirties, with a few sharp points in his eyes, came walking briskly with large strides, little man Li Rui, I've met young master Luo, and I've met second young master Chen, Li Rui walked up to the crowd and respectfully saluted, Luo Dingtian nodded indifferently, don't waste the time of this young master in Chen, let's begin, yes, Li Rui sniffed and walked to the dealer's position on the gambling table, and with a single hand, the bamboo tube copied the three dice on the table into it, and then it hovered in the air and shook up at a rapid speed, boo, the bamboo tube fell back to the gambling table, and Li Rui respectfully said, Luo Xiao, Chen Xiao, you can guess the size now, I guess big, Chen Fan jumped ahead, his eyes dead set on the bamboo tube, looking at Chen Fan's anxious and nervous appearance, Luo Dingtian's lips tugged at the corners, his heart was extremely disdainful, ten spirit stones only, but it made him so nervous, then I'll guess small, Luo Dingtian casually waved his hand and ten spirit stones landed on the position of the idler who had bought small, since there were only two people in the idol family, and both Chen Fan and Luo Dingtian had already bought the final size, Li Rui directly uncovered the bamboo tube. 4, 5, 6, big, Chen Xiao wins. Li Rui announced the results. Ha ha, it seems that Young Chen's luck is indeed good, winning the first hand. Since it was Young Chen who won, the bet for the second hand is still set by Young Chen. Luo Dingtian narrowed his eyes and laughed. Without letting Chen Fan win a few games first, would Chen Fan dare to play bigger? Chen Fan thought about it and said, the bet is still 10 spirit stones, even if we lose the second hand the capital is still there, Luo Dingtian's face darkened slightly, still wanting to keep his capital, then who would he pit against, continue, Luo Dingtian glanced at Li Rue, Li Rue willed it and started shaking the dice, it had to be said that Li Rue's skill was really good, no matter how the bamboo tube flipped in his hands, the three dice inside would not fall, after that, in a series of three hands, no matter whether Chen Fan bought big or small, the winner was always Chen Fan, and every time Chen Fan placed a bet, it was ten, after winning several times in a row, the tension on Chen Fan's face was also covered by a smile, but the bet never changed, it was always 10, this made Luo Dingtian very angry, he didn't expect to let Chen Fan win so many hands in a row, and Chen Fan didn't even get on top, he had thought of letting Chen Fan play a big game on his own, so that even if Chen Fan lost, when the time came to go to the Chen family to ask for spirit stones, the Chen family would have nothing to say, but now that Chen Fan was even more of a dog than the dirt dogs around him, Luo Dingtian could only decide to change his pit technique and take the initiative himself instead. Big. Junior. 1. 3. 4. Small. Ha ha. Young Chen. It looks like your luck has to take a break. This one is a win for this young man. Luo Dingtian laughed out loud. Chen Fan glanced at Luo Dingtian and said disdainfully, It's just that I only want a hand. And it's worth Luo Xiao's excitement? Moreover, I believe in my luck. Next hand. The win will definitely be me. Oh. Is Young Chen so confident? In that case, how about we play a big game? Luo Dingtian said with a smirk. Chen Fan frowned. According to the rules, if you win this game, you will naturally decide how much to bet on the next game. But this young man will play this last game. Win or lose, this young man has to go back. Otherwise, if I am late to return, my grandfather will definitely be worried. Luo Dingtian laughed evilly. Fine, let's play one last hand then. At that time, this young man will accompany you back to the Chen family and pay a visit to Elder Chen. Next bet. 50,000 spirit stones. As Luo Dingtian's words left his mouth, Chen Fan's face changed wildly. 50,000. Luo Dingtian, are you crazy? I'm not playing with such a big amount. Chen Fan said angrily. Luo Dingtian laughed coldly. What? This young man has kept the rules for so many innings. But when it comes to you, you want to be unruly? Chen Fan, even though you are the young master of the Chen family, if you want to be an unruly person in front of this young man, neither you nor the Chen family are strong enough for that. Chen Fan said in a cold voice, This young man didn't want to be unruly, but your bet is too big. In case you lose, I'm afraid you can't afford to lose. Ha ha ha, this young man will lose? Luo Dingtian couldn't help but laugh out loud, but once he thought about it, he felt that it wasn't a good idea, and hurriedly added, Don't worry, 
If it's true that this young man loses, this young man won't be missing a single one of these 50. 000 spirit stones from you. Whoever reneges on the debt will not be allowed to die. Worse than a dog or a pig. Chen Fan said with a sullen face. It looks like you have to play so big. It's only fun to play big. Luo Dingtian narrowed his eyes and laughed. Chen Fan, you've already been ridiculed in your cultivation. Can't it be that you want to be looked down upon at this gambling table as well? A touch of anger welled up in Chen Fan's eyes and he gritted his teeth as if he was gambling. Fine. Then this young man will gamble with you. I don't have 50. 000 spirit stones right now. So I owe it. You don't have to take it out either. After we split the winners and losers, we'll just go to the loser's house to settle the bill. Ha ha. Young Chen is bold and courageous. Mr. Luo admires it. Seeing that Chen Fan had finally taken the bait, Luo Ding Tian let out a laugh, gave a wink to Li Rue, and said, Shake it up. Li Rue didn't say anything, just skillfully copied the three dice on the table. Chapter 11. I'm right here. Kill me if you dare. After a tinkle of sound, the bamboo tube thumped and lightly hit the tabletop. I'll take the big one. Luo Ding Tian shouted at the first moment the bamboo tube landed on the table. Chen Fan said indifferently, Originally, I wanted to buy a big one as well. But since you're buying a big one, it's better for me to buy a small one. Open up, Luo Dingtian said with a smile. The corner of Li Rui's lips lifted as he confidently uncovered the bamboo tube with one hand. Ha ha, this young man has won. Luo Dingtian laughed. Chen Fan raised his eyebrows and stared at the three dice on the gambling table, asking Luo Dingtian with a perplexed expression. Luo Dingtian, could it be that you don't know how to count? One, two, three, this is clearly small. How could you think you won? What? One, two, three? That's impossible. Luo Dingtian's face changed drastically as he fiercely looked at the tabletop. Li Jun, Li Rue, and the others also looked at the three dice incredulously. One, two, three. The number of points opened is really one, two, three. How is this possible? What I shook out was clearly five, five, six. Li Rue's face was white and trembled. He was confident in his gambling skills and believed that it was absolutely impossible to shake the wrong number of points. You useless thing, did you do it on purpose? Or did you collude with this loser a long time ago? Luo Dingtian glared ferociously at Li Rue with an ironized face. The number of points has already been opened. So it's not possible to renege on the debt explicitly. If you want to renege on the debt, then you can only let Li Rue take the blame. As long as Li Rue was willing to admit that it was him and Chen Fan who conspired. Luo Ding Tian would not only not have to lose 50, 000 spirit stones, he would also be able to proceed to find trouble with Chen Fan. But Li Rue was still in an incredulous muddle. Where did he understand Luo Ding Tian's meaning? His mouth only trembled. Impossible. This is impossible. How could it turn into a 1, 2, 3? I obviously shook a 5, 5, 6. Rubbish. This young man is asking you words. Are you not hearing them? Luo Ding Tian roared angrily grabbed the chair behind him and smashed it at Li Rue. Boo! Li Rue was immediately smashed to the ground, his head bleeding. Only then did he return to his senses in terror and hurriedly said, Luo shall spare my life. My subordinate swears to be loyal to the Luo family, and would never dare to collude with Chen Xiao to victimize the main family. Chen Fan laughed coldly. The main family? So this city south gambling house is really the property of the Luo family. However, Luo Xiao is quite principled and did not deliberately victimize this young man on the basis of being on his own territory, but willing to gamble to lose. This 50,000 spirit stones, please also ask Luo Xiao to settle it. Luo Dingtian's face was like black charcoal. Settlement? Where is he going to get 50? 000 spirit stones to settle. This young man is not convinced. Let's bet again. Luo Dingtian said with crimson eyes. Chen Fan nodded and said, Okay, but this time, it has to be the last round. All right. This young man guarantees that this is the last game. Luo Dingtian's eyes lit up with joy. As long as he gambled one more round, he would be able to get it back. Although Li Rue had missed once, he would never dare to miss a second time. But just as Luo Dingtian was getting excited, Chen Fan indifferently took out a spirit stone and pushed it to buy the small position. The winner of the last hand was me. So I'll set the stakes for this one. I'll bet one spirit stone. Just buy small. A spirit stone? Chen Fan, are you fucking kidding me? Luo Dingtian's face first stiffened, then he was so angry that he wanted to kill someone, a bet of one spirit stone, even if he won, so what, Chen Fan said indifferently, the rules are like this, what do you care about me, if you don't want to bet on this last game, we can go to the Luo family now, Luo Dingtian's eyes flashed with murderous anger and laughed angrily, going to the Luo family, ha ha ha, you believe it or not, 
This young man let you can't get out of the door of this gambling house today. Chen Fan nodded his head and said, I believe it. After all, I'm just a chi practicing realm, and when it comes to moving, I'm definitely dead. Humph, you're quite self-aware. Luo Dingtian sneered. Chen Fan said indifferently, this young man has always been very self-aware, and the one without self-awareness is you, Luo Dingtian. Even if this young man were to stand here and let you kill him, would you dare to do so? Chen Fan looked at Luo Dingtian with more than a touch of sarcasm in his eyes. Your Luo family has indeed been flourishing in recent years, and has the momentum to become the number one family in Tiger Spirit City. But nowadays, if your Luo family wants to completely crush my Chen family, it is still far from enough. As for me, although I'm no good at cultivation, I'm my grandfather's favorite grandson. If you kill me, a bloodbath will surely be unavoidable between the Chen family and the Luo family. This bloodshed, even if my Chen family is ultimately undefeated, your Luo family's attrition is bound to be not small. And at that time, I'm afraid that Elder Luo's dream of making the Luo family the number one family in Tiger Spirit City will have to turn into a bubble. Your talent, already not as good as your brother Luo Qianjun, and then ruined half of the old master's heart and soul. A hundred years of dreams, even if you are the son of the Luo family, there will be no hope of inheriting the Luo family. Even if you are the son of the Luo family, you will no longer have any hope of succeeding the Luo family. As Luo Dingtian listened to Chen Fan's analysis, his pupils swelled and the murderous aura on his body could not help but weaken a lot. Destroying the Luo family and his own great future because of killing a loser was not worth it at all. Humph, you've really overestimated your position in Elder Chen's heart. You're nothing but a waste. Even if this young man kills you, would he fight my Luo family in blood for your sake? Although he was already scared enough to put away his killing intent, his mouth still refused to concede defeat and said, Chen Fan said indifferently, this young man is right here. If you have the guts, you can kill. If you don't dare, this young man will have to go to your Luo family to collect the debt. Luo Dingtian's face changed as he gritted his teeth and said, it's only a mere 50, 000 spirit stones. There's no need for you to go up to the Luo family to beg. Ten days later, this young man will personally deliver it to you. Chen Fan frowned. Ten days? Do you know that 50,000 spirit stones? If lent out for ten days, you can have at least 500 interest. If you want this young man to forgive you for so long, after ten days, you will have to pay back 50,000 and 500 spirit stones before you can do so. Luo Dingtian's eyes glowed ferociously as he gritted his teeth and said word for word. Chen Fan, don't go too far. Chen Fan laughed lightly. Are you unable to lose? Such an ugly face? Didn't we agree that the gambling game would end and the winner would go to the loser to settle the spirit stones? If you want to be lenient, this young man can agree. But isn't it right to charge some interest? Why is that too much? If you really don't want to pay this interest, then go to the Luo family to settle now. Luo Dingtian took a deep breath, knowing that he was planted today. Immediately, he took a deep breath, suppressed the killing intent that filled his heart, and said grimly, 10 days later, this young man will give you 50,500 spirit stones. But Chen Fan, you give this young man to remember. This account today. This young man will find you sooner or later. If he went to the Luo family now, if Luo Dingtian's father knew that Luo Dingtian had lost 50, 000 spirit stones to this waste of a man, Chen Fan, Luo Hongquan wouldn't be able to blow Luo Dingtian's head off. Chen Fan smiled faintly. This young man will wait for you. Let's go. Rue Barb. And when we get back, we'll give you extra food. One man and one dog turned around in style and walked towards the outside of the gambling house. The people in the gambling house, naturally, did not dare to stop Chen Fan. Even if Chen Fan was only a qi practicing realm, Luo Dingtian's attendants were all holding their breaths at the moment, not daring to make a sound, because they were all clear about Luo Dingtian's temper. After taking such a big loss, the youngest must be going crazy. As soon as Chen Fan and Big Yellow left, Luo Dingtian looked at Li Rui with reddened eyes. Li Rue shivered when he was stared at by the pair of scarlet eyes and hurriedly explained, Luo Xiao, this time it was definitely an accident, please spare Luo Xiao's life, spare your life, ha ha ha, you made this young man eat such a big loss, lost such a big face, you still want this young man to spare your life, Luo Dingtian laughed morosely and coldly, and in the next moment, a ferocious light exploded in his eyes as he said, give this young man the opportunity to pull this dog down and chop it into mud, if there is still a bone in sight, all of you will die with him. Chapter 12, The Heavenly Treasure Sex Visitors. I beg Luo Xiao to be merciful. What are you all standing there for? Why don't you pull this punk down and chop him into mud? Li Jun rushed to the other fighters in the gambling house and shouted angrily. Although Li Rue had always been his right hand man, at this moment, Li Jun did not dare to plead for Li Rue. Even if this Li Rue 
is actually still his own nephew, second uncle. I'm your own nephew. Pull down. Li Jun drank with a pale face. Li Rue was pulled down, and soon a scream came from the back hall, followed by the sound of knives and axes chopping. Luo Dingtian smiled grimly and angrily, his gaze ghostly cold as he looked at the apprehensive Li Jun again. Ten days later, this young man will come to you to get 50,500 spirit stones. One of these spirit stones may not come out of the account. If you can't come up with all of them, ten days later, it will be his fate as well. Luo Dingtian laughed grimly. He had lost spirit stones in Li Jun's field, and this debt, of course, had to be counted on Li Jun's head. Li Jun pupils tightened. Wanna say that they cannot come up with so many spirit stones, but do not dare to open their mouths at all. Luo Dingtian also didn't wait for Li Jun to reply and turned around before coldly leaving. Ten days later, he only needed a result. As for how Li Jun went about getting these 50, 500 spirit stones, he didn't care. If he can't get it all together, he'll kill someone, and then find someone else to put it together. On the way back to Chen's house, the smile at the corner of Big Yellow's mouth didn't stop. Island Master, this Luo family's brat, having suffered such a big loss this time, I'm afraid that he won't stop. Big Yellow transmitted his voice and laughed. The fact that Chen Fan's bet could win was naturally due to Big Yellow's tactics. With the ability of a great demon of the fourth realm of De Huang, the moment the bamboo tube was unveiled, it would not be a breeze to flip the dice with the power of the demon spirit unknowingly. Chen Fan was only in the Qi practicing realm, and Big Yellow was a dirt dog that couldn't be dirtier in the eyes of the onlookers, so no one would even suspect them as a master and a servant. Chen Fan said indifferently, Quite good. I was worried that I couldn't find a suitable skin to house the islanders of Sin Immortal Island. When the time comes, you'll have to leave a good corpse for the people he sent. He he he, subordinate will be careful and won't push too hard. Big Yellow grinned. The master and servant duo returned to the Chen family. Chen Fan was just about to go find Chen Changsheng when the old housekeeper, Zhou Bo, hurriedly greeted him and said, Young Master Fan, you are back. The Tian Bao sect has come and specified that they want to see you. Chen Fan's eyes were cold, this young man has not yet gone to look for them, but they have come to the door themselves, do you know what they are looking for me for? Uncle Zhou shook his head and said, this old man does not know, the family head has been in the guest hall as a companion, and only said that he would let you come back and hurry over. Chen Fan said coldly, I will go over there. Unusual martial cultivators were extremely respectful of the heavenly treasure sect, however, this did not include Chen Fan. Chen Fan idly walked towards the guest hall and the Chen family guards guarding outside hurriedly went inside the guest hall to report. Family master, Deacon Huang, young master fan has returned. The guards entered and respectfully said. Chen Changsheng nodded and said, tell him to come over quickly. Deacon Huang has been waiting for him for a long time. Yes, when the guards exited, Chen fan happened to walk outside the hall. Young master fan, the family head has asked you to enter. The guards said. Chen fan nodded and walked towards the parlor. In the parlor, Aside from Chen Changsheng and the two maidservants waiting on the side, there was also a middle-aged man with a goatee. The middle-aged man was wearing a golden tunic with a rather pompous attire. At this moment, he was slightly raising his chin, staring arrogantly at Chen Fan who walked in. Grandfather, I heard that someone is looking for my grandson? Chen Fan entered and bowed respectfully towards Chen Changsheng. It's Deacon Huang looking for you. Fanner, this is Deacon Huang Su Huang of the Tian Bao sect. Chen Changsheng introduced. At the same time, a soul voice quietly entered Chen Fan's ears. Fanner, be careful how you deal with it. This Huang Su has come here, and I'm afraid that he is not at ease. When one's cultivation level reached the spirit lake realm, they could conduct voice transmission with their soul power. Grandpa don't worry about it, it's just a lapdog of the heavenly treasure sect. Chen Fan responded. Chen Changsheng's heart was overjoyed. Although he had felt Chen Fan's powerful aura of the fifth realm before, but now that he saw that Chen Fan was really able to do the soul transmission as well, he was even more convinced of Chen Fan's true strength. Huang Su's gaze filled with amusement looked Chen Fan up and down, half narrowing his eyes and teasingly said, Are you the Chen Fan who has failed in three consecutive foundation building attempts? Chen Fan raised his eyes to Huang Su and said indifferently, Did Deacon Huang come to find me just to see me as a joke? Fanner, do not make a mistake. Chen Changsheng reminded. He knew that because of what happened to Gu Weiwei. Chen Fan had a lot of resentment towards the people of the Tian Bao sect, but to the Chen family, the Tian Bao sect was a behemoth, an existence that should never be messed with. Huang Su laughed and waved his hand. There's no harm in that. He looked at Chen Fan and smiled. This deacon has come this time to give you a creation. The Grand Elder of my sect has heard about you and is willing to make a move for you once to help you open up your meridians and successfully build your foundation. Chen Fan laughed coldly. The Heavenly Treasure sect is really powerful. Not only can they waste a genius, 
but they can also help a waste to build a foundation. Chen Chongqing's face went white. This heavenly treasure sect would never be so kind for no reason. And Chen Fan was even more like a changed person, becoming not the least bit measured. Daring to troll the heavenly treasure sect in front of Huang Su, how could Chen Chongqing know that Chen Fan had no intention of letting Huang Su go back alive? So why should he be polite? Huang Su's eyes narrowed lightly as he stared coldly at Chen Fan. It seems that you have quite a bit of resentment towards Gu Buyu's abolishment. Chen Fan ignored him and instead looked at Chen Changsheng and said, Grandfather, you go out. My grandson has some words that he wants to talk to Deacon Huang alone. Chen Changsheng was startled and busied himself. Fanner, don't do anything rash. Although he knew Chen Fan's true strength, Huang Su was after all a deacon of the Tian Bao sect. Offending Huang Su would be the same as slapping the Tian Bao sect's face. Messing around? This deacon would like to know how this Chen Fan, a waste of qi practicing realm, can mess around. Chen family master, please go out. Don't worry, no matter what happens, this deacon will leave your grandson alive. Huang Su laughed disdainfully. He had the cultivation of the true spirit realm with him, so how would he be afraid of a qi practicing realm messing around? Seeing that both of them told him to go out, Chen Changsheng could only get up and walk towards the outside. As he passed by Chen Fan's side, he transmitted his voice. Fanner, Grandpa knows that you have resentment in your heart, but you also have to think about the Chen family. Tian Bao's sect. My Chen family cannot afford to offend yet. Chen Changsheng was not just Chen Fan's grandfather alone. Even if he doted on Chen Fan, he did not want to see Chen Fan drag the Chen family into a dangerous abyss for the sake of Gu Qiwei. As soon as Chen Changsheng left the guest hall, Huang Su was all smiles with a playful smile. Chen Fan, as long as you are willing to break off the marriage contract with Gu Buyu, you will be able to obtain the creation of our clan. This deacon advises you not to give up this great opportunity to change your destiny against the heavens for the sake of a woman who is already an invalid. Chen Fan's eyes were ice cold as he said, how exactly did she offend your heavenly treasure sect, making you feel that scrapping her wasn't enough, but you also want me to break off the engagement with her? Chapter 13, Consequences? Huang Su playfully narrowed his eyes and smelled playfully. What? That little bitch didn't tell you? Huang Su already knew about Chen Fan's visit to the Gu family. Chen Fan said expressionlessly, Since you won't talk properly, we can only talk in a different way. Buzz. Openly. Chen Fan waved his hand, and a pure spiritual energy, rippled out, quickly enveloping the entire guest hall. Huang Su's face changed drastically, and his original arrogant expression instantly turned into one of horror as he shouted, Spirit power into forbidden. This is a tactic only available to those who are at least as strong as the spirit lake realm. You are not a waste. Waving the spirit with his hand, he would become a forbidden system. Having seen such a mysterious means, where would Huang Su still think that Chen Fan was a waste that could not build the foundation? This kid is clearly a supreme genius. Chen Fan didn't enjoy Huang Su's shock, but just said in a cold voice, Tell me, why are you persecuting Gu Chuanqin like this? Huang Su's expression flickered and he quickly came back from his shock and laughed out loud. So what if you're not a waste? I am the deacon of the heavenly treasure sect. Swish. Chen Fan's figure in place turned into a residual shadow and flickered away. Snap. With a loud slap sound, Huang Xiao was directly drawn by a strong force and sent flying diagonally out, crashing hard on the short tea table. You. You dare to make a move on this deacon. Chen Fan. I think you want the Chen family to be exterminated. Huang Su hurriedly climbed up, screaming and cursing in a colorful manner. Chen Fan took a step and flashed, arriving in front of Huang Su, and lifting his hand, he pinched Huang Su's neck in his palm. Huang Su's eyes bulged as he shuddered. Chen Fan, I advise you to think clearly about the consequences. Chen Fan's revealed strength made Huang Su not even have the courage to put up a fight, and could only threaten with words. Consequences? Big deal. Destroying your heavenly treasure sect is. Chen Fan snorted coldly, and the powerful aura of the clasping Dan realm was offered with a roar. Put. This powerful breath which blasted against Huang Su at close range, directly blasted Huang Su into spitting out a bloody arrow. Fortunately, Chen Fan's chi rushed around his body and dispersed the blood, otherwise he would have had to spray his own face. After spitting out blood, Huang Su's entire aura wilted quite a bit, and the fear in his eyes became more intense. Today's Chen Fan, in his eyes, was a madman who was crazy for love and didn't think about the consequences in the slightest. Will you speak properly now? Chen Fan said in a cold voice. Huang Su gritted his teeth and said, That little bitch Gu Chuan Chuan doesn't know. Snap. Chen Fan backhanded another slap over and said with fierce eyes, If you dare to insult my fiancé again, this young man will tear your mouth off. Huang Su angrily took a low breath, secretly admonishing himself to hold back first. Otherwise, it was likely that he would not really have the life to leave the Chen family. Gu Chuan Chuan didn't know how to appreciate himself and refused to become the young master of my clan's cauldron. 
that's why he's being targeted. Huang Su grunted. In the art of cultivation, there is an art of harvesting. Men are yang and women are yin. And male-oriented gong methods can steal women's yin yuan to increase their cultivation. Similarly, female-oriented techniques can also steal a man's yang energy and increase his cultivation. Shen Fan knew one such woman. Shen Fan didn't expect that the Tian Bao sect was at least considered a great martial arts sect, and that their young patriarch would even practice this kind of harvesting technique. So that's how it is. You, Tian Bao sect, just wait to be exterminated. Shen Fan said with a murderous aura in his eyes, daring to let his fiancée be a cauldron. This Tian Bao sect's young patriarch was already on the list of certain death in Chen Fan's mind. The corners of Huang Su's lips had just raised a disdainful smile, and the next moment his smile, it was fixed on his face. A terrifying force of spiritual awareness forcefully blasted into Huang Su's soul sea, blasting him to the ground. Even if Huang Su died, it wouldn't bring any trouble to the Chen family, because there would be someone to replace Huang Su and return to the Tian Bao sect. Chen Fan sat cross-legged, his palm lightly covering towards Huang Su's forehead. Buzz. In the next moment, a powerful soul power surged down Chen Fan's palm and into the yellow void's empty soul sea. A few moments later, the eyes of the hollow-eyed Huang Su were strangely restored, and a look of surprise appeared on his face. Island master, subordinate this is already out? Yellow void asked excitedly. Chen Fan smiled lightly and said, Come out. From now on, you will be Huang Su, the deacon of Tian Bao sect. The person living inside Huang Su today was naturally an islander of Sin Immortal Island without a doubt. At this moment, on the soul separation platform, there were several ready-made soul bodies, only that they were all waiting in line for a suitable host body. Although Chen Fan had the heart to kill, he would not kill innocent people in order to resettle the islanders. People like Huang Su are not innocent even if they die a hundred deaths. Yes, Huang Su said excitedly, as long as he could get out of Sin Immortal Island, he didn't care if this physical body was older and uglier. Remain calm. This young man will transfer your spirit body power. As well, Chen Fan said. Thank you, Islander. Transmitting the power of the spiritual body was a bit more time-consuming than transmitting the power of the soul, and it took half an hour before it ended. Subsequently, Huang Su sat down on his knees and performed a deep fusion of his new physical body, and to take all of his powerful spiritual energy and proceed to recondense it into a Dan Mass. The moment the Dan Mass condensed, a powerful aura that was a hundred times stronger than his original body erupted from his body. Big Yellow, who was guarding the side, his doggy eyes shook. This is the aura of the clasping Dan realm. The island master has actually placed islanders of the clutching Dan realm. Within the yellow void, it seems that the island master is truly prepared to exterminate that bunch of scumbags from the heavenly treasure sect. Rhubarb licked his lips with bloodlust. When the islander goes to destroy the Tian Bao sect, it won't have to pretend to be a dirt dog anymore, right? Although Tian Bao sect was not considered a dragon's den in Chen Fan's eyes, he would not be unprepared at all. With Huang Su as an insider, it would be easier to exterminate the heavenly treasure sect in the future. After the yellow void fusion was completed, Chen Fan waved his hand and dispersed the power of the prohibition. Chen Changsheng hurriedly ran in. If it wasn't for the fact that with his strength, he couldn't forcefully break the prohibition, he would have rushed in the moment Chen Fan laid the prohibition. If it was just a chat, there was no need for Chen Fan to put up a ban at all. Ah, Grandpa, Chen Fan shouted with a smile. Huang Su's eyes flashed as he respectfully saluted. Greetings to the old master. Chen Changsheng froze. This Wang Su, how could he suddenly be so courteous to him? He glanced at the blood that had dried at the corner of Huang Su's mouth, and the tea table that had fallen apart on the side. Obviously there was a fight between the two. Ah, cough, Deacon Huang. Nothing unpleasant happened between you and my grandson, right? Chen Changsheng asked sheepishly. Chen Fan laughed. Grandpa, I had a pleasant chat with Deacon Huang. Let Deacon Huang stay in the mansion tonight. Huang Su also laughed. Don't worry. Master, Mr. Huang and your grandson did have a good chat. Chen Shangsheng had some suspicion in his eyes. Why did he always feel that the current Huang Su looked a bit strange? Grandfather, my grandson will first lead Deacon Huang to the guest house to rest for a few moments. You can also order the kitchen to prepare the dinner. We can't neglect the tea on Bao Sex honored guests, can we? Chen Fan lightly laughed. Chen Shangsheng said stiffly, All right, I'll make the arrangements for the dinner. You send Deacon Huang to the guest house first. Come back to me. Grandpa has something to say to you. Good. Chen Fan answered in one gulp and led Huang Su out of the guest hall. Chapter 14 My Fanner is truly a supreme genius. Chen Fan sent Huang Su to the guest house. On the way, he explained some more things to Huang Su and told him to adapt to his new identity as soon as possible. For Huang Su, it was also the first time Chen Fan had seen him, so he naturally did not understand. However, this time, 
The person who came to Tiger's Pillar City with Huang Su was also a few disciples of the Heavenly Treasure Sect. On the way back to Tian Bao Sect, as long as Huang Su caught one of them and read their memories with the soul searching technique, he would be able to get a rough idea of Huang Su's identity and Tian Bao Sect's information. After settling down with Huang Su, Chen Fan went to see Chen Changsheng. Once they met, without waiting for Chen Changsheng to open his mouth, Chen Fan laughed, Grandfather, I know what you want to ask. In fact, it's that my grandson has mastered a secret technique that can control other people's minds. And now this Huang Su has been controlled by my grandson. So you don't have to worry that he will be unfavorable to my grandson and the Chen family when he returns to the Heavenly Treasure Sect. When Chen Changsheng heard this, his face nevertheless changed and he said in shock, Controlling his heart and mind? Fanner, are you not practicing an evil art? Chen Fan laughed. It's not an evil technique, but a soul technique. Chen Changsheng's eyes flickered lightly. Although he was skeptical, he didn't ask more questions. He believed in Chen Fan's sense of propriety. He just looked slightly sullen and said, Then how do you plan to do what Huang Su mentioned? Chen Fan's eyes narrowed lightly, and he said in a low voice, Bu Yu is full of me. How can my grandson neglect her by half? What a great lover like your father. But sometimes too much infatuation may not be a good thing. Chen Changsheng leisurely sighed. Chen Fan glanced at Chen Changsheng, his eyes flickering slightly as he said, Grandfather, do you know something else about my father and mother's deaths? Chen Changsheng hesitated for a moment, finally biting his lips as if he had made up his mind. He looked up at Chen Fan and solemnly said, Fanner, in fact, your father and mother are not dead. Chen Fan laughed, It's really like this. I told you that when the bad news came back then, your sadness didn't last two days before it passed. Chen Changsheng froze, When your parents left, you were only two years old. How could you still remember what happened back then? Chen Fan touched his nose and laughed. My grandson is a prodigy. And at the age of two, he could already remember many things. He carried the mind of his previous life with him, reincarnated and reborn. And he even remembered the matter of his father always asking his mother quietly in the middle of the night as Fanner asleep, when he was still an infant. He he, no wonder you looked like a young adult when you were very young. Chen Changsheng stroked his whiskers and laughed. Then, his eyes snapped open and he said with delight, Fanner, with such a precocious mind, you must have been born with a powerful soul. Perhaps you have a great potential to become an alchemist or an array master. To become an alchemist and formation master, the primary condition was that one must have a strong enough soul strength, which was actually the talent for spirit cultivation. Spirit cultivation talent determines the height, while soul strength directly affects a martial cultivator, whether or not he can become an alchemist and array Dao master. Chen Fan laughed. Grandfather, in fact, both alchemy and formation Dao, grandson is slightly proficient in these skills, he would eventually have to reveal them gradually, and since Chen Changsheng already knew his true strength, there was no harm in saying it. Chen Changsheng's face reddened with excitement as he said in a trembling voice, Fanner, in that case, you are already an alchemist and a Ray Dao master. Then, then how many grades of alchemist are you, and how many grades of formation Dao master? All of them are at the third grade level. I guess, grandson's energy is mainly in the area of spirit cultivation. So he didn't delve too much into alchemy and array formation. Chen Fan said, that, he didn't lie about. When he was on Sin Immortal Island, he only occasionally studied alchemy and the Tao of formation when he was bored with his cultivation. Most importantly, he didn't have to delve too deeply into these two paths. And anyway, capable people such as these were available on Sin Immortal Island. By bringing them out, he would have people working for him and all he had to do was make himself stronger. After all, absolutely strong force is the supreme power. Third grade, Chen Changsheng, however, almost dropped his jaw in shock. A third grade alchemist was already the highest grade alchemist within Tiger's Pillar City. Formation Taoist, the highest is only the second grade of. Ha ha, my fanner is truly a supreme genius. The rise of my Chen plan is finally in sight. Chen Changsheng laughed in excitement and resumed. If fanner is so accomplished, perhaps in a few years, your father and mother will be able to return to the Chen clan. Chen Fan's eyes narrowed. So, where exactly are my father and mother and them now? And why did you say that they fell? Although Chen Fan had a mature mind back then, his parents had disappeared so suddenly that he naturally couldn't look deeper with his ability back then. He just thought that there was something fishy about the death comment through his dark observations. However, as Chen Changsheng worked hard to put on a show, he did not break it down, only thinking that when he was strong enough, all the problems would be solved. Chen Changsheng's gaze flickered lightly as he said in a low voice, When you step into the immortal infant realm, Grandpa will tell you everything. Nowadays, it's not the right time yet. Good, Chen Fan responded. Chen Changsheng had his own reasons for choosing to continue keeping the secret. Seeing that Chen Fan was so understanding, 
Chen Shansheng was pleased and said, Among the Chen family heirs, Grandpa has always valued you the most. Even back then, when your elder brother's talent was the best in the entire Tiger Spirit City, Grandpa still believed that you were the most suitable candidate for the Chen family heir. It's because you've been a calm and stable person since you were a child, and you know the ways of the world. Now that you have such a talent, Grandpa believes that under your leadership, the Chen family will definitely be able to be amongst the top powerful clans in Longxia in the future. But now, there are some things that Grandpa hopes you can still continue to hold back. Chen Fan was silent for a moment and said, Don't worry, Grandpa, my grandson will never let the Chen family fall into danger. Chen Chongqing smiled and nodded, All right, with your words, in the future when you do something, Grandpa won't ask too many questions. You don't have to tell Grandpa where the skill of yours came from either. Chen Fan was touched in his heart and said, Actually, Sunner didn't intend to hide it from Grandpa, only that, back then, when Big Brother's accident happened, it was more than likely related to the fact that Sunner had secretly passed on one of Big Brother's kung fu techniques, so from the time after Big Brother's accident, Grandson chose to hide and pretend to be useless, only waiting for the opportunity to find out the murderer, and then avenge Big Brother's death. Chen Chongxing's eyes shook, so the so-called mysterious master that Pinger spoke of is actually you, so, you also suspect that your elder brother's death was due to someone coveting the peerless technique he practiced? Chen Fan's eyes were sinister as he clenched his fists. The way my big brother looked when he died tragically, I will never forget it. If it wasn't for someone coveting his technique, would he have suffered so much? When Chen Ping died, all of his features were mutilated, all of his limbs were broken, and the murderer's methods were extremely ferocious. Chen Changqing's body trembled, the same ferocious murderous aura contained in his eyes as he said, Grandpa can't forget it either. It's just a pity that after all these years, Grandpa has failed to find out a single bit of information about that murderer. Chen Fan narrowed his eyes and said, Since we can't find out, we should find a way to fish him out. Nowadays, it's about time. Chapter 15 Heavenly Spirit Golden Chrysalis Dao Martial Heart Sutra Chen Changsheng looked startled and said, Fanner, could it be that you want to use your body as bait? No, this is absolutely not acceptable. Although Chen Fan was not weak now, and had even crowned the entire Tiger Spirit City. But what if the murderer was not from Tiger Spirit City and was even stronger? Chen Fan laughed. Don't worry, grandfather. Before the plan begins, Sunner will definitely be prepared for everything. Moreover, Sunner has no intention of using himself as bait. Chen Changsheng was stunned. Then who do you want to use as bait? Chen Fan touched his nose. Grandson thinks that Shua Di is quite suitable. The corner of Chen Changsheng's mouth twitched. So it turned out that Chen Fan had actually hit his idea on Chen Shua. After hesitating for a moment, he said in a deep voice, If you really intend to do this, make sure you ensure Chen Shua's safety. Chen Fan solemnly said, Grandchildren promise. Chen Changsheng sighed softly and nodded. Chen Fan knew that Chen Changsheng was still worried in his heart, but he didn't explain much. After all, those helpers he had hidden in the shadows couldn't be explained to Chen Changsheng. Grandfather. Grandson has a good thing for you. Chen Fan smiled and took out the gnarled dragon vine root to divert Chen Changsheng's attention. Chen Changsheng froze. Gnarled dragon vine root? It's not bad, but it's not of much use to Grandpa. Chen Fan laughed. Grandpa, its value is not in the gnarled dragon vine root. From his boot, Chen Fan drew out a sharp dagger. Chen Changsheng was surprised, not expecting Chen Fan to hide a dagger in his boots. This was Chen Fan's habit as a mercenary in his previous life. Snort. Chen Fan directly used his dagger to slice through the gnarled vine roots, the outer skin was rolled over, and inside the rhizome, there was actually a golden insect pupa the thickness of a little finger. The insect pupa, which still seemed to be alive, puckered its tail twice after it was exposed. Eh, it's still a gnarled dragon vine root with a worm. Fanner, you're not saying that the worm is worth more than the gnarled dragon vine root, are you? Chen Changsheng froze. It was the first time Chen Changsheng had seen this golden colored insect pupa. Chen Fan smiled. Grandpa, this is not an ordinary insect chrysalis. It is called the Heavenly Spirit Golden Chrysalis, and it likes to parasitize within spiritual materials and devour their medicinal power. Don't look at it as only the thickness of a small finger, but for the Heavenly Spirit Golden Chrysalis to grow to an individual of its kind, it would need to devour at least hundreds of spiritual materials that are of a comparable grade to the gnarled dragon vine root before it can do so. This unassuming little bug is, in reality, a pure spirit mass that contains a majestic amount of spirit power. Chen Changsheng was astonished and could not help but stare at the heavenly spirit golden chrysalis a few more times. Chen Fan laughed. Grandpa, you have been at the great peak of the spirit lake realm for many years. If you can refine and absorb the spiritual energy of this heavenly spirit golden chrysalis, there is a high chance that you can condense the Dan in one fell swoop and step into the clasping Dan realm. 
Chen Shanxing's eyes shook violently, and his face reddened from overexcitement. This little thing, can it really help me condense Dan? Grandson thinks that there can be a 90% hope. If grandpa practiced this gong method again, then it would be a 10% possibility. Chen Fan smiled, and from the Xian Kong ring in his pocket, he took out another secret book of the gongfu that he had copied down with his own hands. Although Chen Fan didn't wear the Xian Kong ring on his fingertips, it didn't mean that he didn't have it. Now that he had the strength to preserve the Chen family and pass on the supreme technique, he didn't have to worry that something like Chen Ping would happen again. Dao Martial Heart Sutra Chen Changsheng looked at the four black brush strokes on the cover, his heart beating wildly with excitement. Grandpa, this Dao Martial Heart Sutra is an immortal technique. It will never be a problem to assist you in condensing pills. Chen Fan laughed. In fact, the Dao Martial Heart Scripture was passed down by a heavenly powerhouse within the Sin Immortal Island, and the grade was far more than immortal. But Chen Fan did not want to shock Chen Shangsheng too much, so he only said that it was immortal. The technique that the Chen family practiced today was only a spirit grade. Immortal grade techniques were only passed down by the top clans and martial arts clans. Ordinary martial cultivators might not be able to come into contact with immortal techniques for the rest of their lives. Immortal product. It's actually an immortal product. Chen Shangsheng was so excited that he shivered a little. Unable to resist cupping his hands to receive the secret book. Chen Fan said. When you step into the clasping Dan realm, you will then pass this feat to Shu Adi. At that time, our plan can begin. Chen Shangsheng's gaze shone brightly as he said confidently. Good. At that time, my Chen family will have two clasping Dan realm powerhouses. As long as that murderer isn't at the immortal infant realm, our grandparents and grandchildren should be able to handle it. Chen Fan felt that the strength of that murderer was most likely not that strong, but just hidden deep enough. The grandparents and grandchildren chatted for quite a long time. And as they watched the sky turn dusky, it was already time for dinner. Chen Shangsheng then sent someone to invite Huang Su to the banquet. At the dinner party, Huang Su became a bit cold again towards the Chen family group. This was what Chen Fan had instructed. Lest more people become suspicious of Huang Su's identity. Shortly after the dinner was over, for Tian Bao sect disciples with cold and sharp looks came from outside the Chen mansion. My sect's deacon Huang. Can he still be in your Chen residence? Among the four people, the leader, a young man of 25 or 26 years old, stepped forward and grabbed the collar of the Chen family's guard, asking fiercely. It had been most of the day since Huang Su had arrived at the Chen family, and these four disciples were worried that something might happen to Huang Su, so they searched for him. If it was a normal day, they naturally wouldn't have this kind of worry, but now that the second youngest member of the Chen family's fiancé had been wasted, there was no guarantee that the Chen family wouldn't grow evil under their resentment. Although the Chen family guards were filled with darkness, they didn't dare to offend the heavenly treasure sect disciples, so they could only hold their breath and said, Deacon Huang has been in the mansion and hasn't left, if a few people want to see him, I can pass on the message. Upon hearing this, the youth's brow loosened slightly and he grunted, go and pass the message quickly. The guards turned and ran into the Chen mansion, sending the news to Chen Fan. The guards were also surprised in their hearts because long before the dinner, Chen Fan had instructed them to report immediately if a disciple of the heavenly treasure sect came. Chen Fan said indifferently, go to the guest house and tell Deacon Huang to go back with these people. Yes, the guards rushed to the guest house. It wasn't long before Huang Su exited the Chen mansion with his guards. Seeing Huang Su, the Tian Bao sect disciple's face revealed a smile. Disciples and others have met the deacon. What are you and others looking for? Huang Su asked indifferently. The previous youth arched his hand and smiled. The deacon hasn't returned for a long time. We were worried that the Chen family had offended the deacon. So we came over to take a look. Huang Su disdainfully said, The tiny Chen family, how could they dare to be unfavorable to this deacon? You guys go back first. This deacon will return after a stroll. Yes. The four of them responded and immediately turned to leave. Huang Su's eyes flickered slightly but he quietly trailed behind the four. Without tracking these four people, he didn't know where Huang Su originally lived. Chen Fan's excuse to let him stay overnight. The purpose is to wait for the Tian Bao sect's disciples to find and bring the way to Huang Su. Early the next morning, Huang Su and the others left Tiger Spirit City. After leaving the city, Shua Yu Enqing, a disciple of the Tian Bao sect, who was getting more and more upset by the thought, said in a deep voice, Deacon, this waste of a man, Chen Fan, dares to refuse. Could it be that we're really going back just like this? Huang Su glanced at Chui Yuanqing and said in a cold voice, What can you do if you don't go back? The Chen family has Chen Changsheng sitting in the town, and if we really make a move, it is small for us to suffer a loss, but big for us to lose the face of the sect. We only need to bring the meaning of the clan to the Chen family. If the Chen family does not respond, we can go back and report truthfully what to do afterward. 
That's a matter for the Grand Elder and Young Patriarch, Zhuo Yuanqing busily said. What the deacon said is true. Chapter 16, Bite Her Mouth Off. Another day passes. Chen Fan brought Big Yellow with him early in the morning and headed to the Gu family. This time, no one dared to stop him, but no one greeted him warmly either. Chen Fan was like a touch of transparent air as he walked through the Gu mansion. Chen Fan did not care that the reason why the Gu family treated him so coldly was all because of Gu Chuanqin. When he cured Gu Bu Yu, everything would naturally change. However, just as Chen Fan walked near the Spirit Lun courtyard, he heard a shrill voice that was shouting at the Spirit Lun courtyard. Sister, you are no longer able to cultivate the martial arts path, but you are still occupying the Spirit Lun Yuan. How much more inappropriate, right? Your elder brother is too embarrassed to ask. You as a younger sister, how can you have no awareness at all? The person who shouted this was none other than Gu Weiwei's sister-in-law, Lu Jinlian. The spirit Lan Yuan was enhanced by a spirit formation, which was very helpful for cultivation, and Lu Jinlian had been eyeing it for a long time. It's just that in the past, Gu Yunchang was the proud daughter of heaven, so it was useless for her to be jealous. Chen Fan, who saw this scene, had ice-cold eyes to the extreme. Gu Weiwei had not yet recovered from her serious injuries, and Lu Jinlian was actually about to ask her to vacate the courtyard. Such a snobbish Lu Jinlian really made Chen Fan's liver flare up in anger. Seeing the house of Gu Nat Yu did not respond. Lu Jinlian's face is also cold. Simply pretend not to pretend. Once again grunted Gu Chuan Chuan. You do not think that pretend to be deaf and dumb on the line. You do not make a loss of family style. The Gu family can continue to take you in. You should be grateful. But also how to have the face to continue to occupy the spirit Lan Yuan? The Gu family will depend on my husband after all. Today, you'll have to let go of this spirit land courtyard even if you don't let me. Young lady, since she's pretending to be mute, why don't we just charge in? She's a waste anyway. Even if the family head knows, he won't really blame us. The maidservant beside Lu Jinlian gave a sinister smile and suggested. Lu Jinlian hesitated, then said with sinister eyes, Good. In the past, she was the proud daughter of heaven. I can't compare. But now, she's just a waste. Even if the family head knows about it, he won't chastise me for her. Although I married into the Gu family, I am still the eldest miss of the Lu family. And she, Gu Bu Yu, will only be a waste in this life. Go, rush in. We must make her promise to hand over the Spirit Lan Academy today, Lu Jinlian said, and then stepped aside, signaling her accompanying maidservant to forcefully push open the courtyard door. The handmaiden rolled up her sleeves and was about to launch herself to push on the door when the door to the house inside opened. Gu Yunchan's face was pale, wearing only a lined white coat, and he indifferently glanced at Lu Jinlian. Her pretty, clear face was now haggard. I'll move out of Spirit Land Courtyard tomorrow, Gu Weiwei said indifferently. Lu Jinlian looked delighted and said, This is what you said yourself. I didn't force you. After a pause, he threatened again. Don't go to father's place to chew on the root of the matter, or else, in the Gu family in the future, there will be no good life for you. Gu Yunchang looked indifferent and didn't speak again only closing the door of the house. The purpose had been achieved. Lu Jinlian was satisfied and turned to leave with her maidservant. This time, when he turned around, he saw Chen Fan and Big Yellow standing not far away. Lu Jinlian couldn't help but stutter in her heart. Two days ago, she had heard about Big Yellow sweeping through the Gu family, even though she hadn't seen it with her own eyes. When did this guy come without a word? Lu Jinlian whispered. The maidservant said, It's just another piece of trash. The young lady doesn't have to worry. Even if that earth dog by his side has some ability, would it dare to make a move on the young lady? Lu Jinlian's heart was slightly settled, pretending to be calm as she walked towards Chen Fan's side. She wanted to just walk over, but Big Yellow showed his teeth and took two steps forward, stopping the master and servant pair. Lu Jinlian was flustered, her face slightly white as she rebuked. Good dogs don't get in the way. You dead dog, get out of my way. Woof! Big Yellow exclaimed with a fierce expression and roared. Ah, the master and servant. Frightened, retreated backward. Chen Fan, what do you mean? And don't mind your dog. Lu Jinlian drank at Chen Fan as she retreated. Chen Fan said indifferently, didn't you bark quite vigorously just now? You wimped out when you met a real dog? As long as your master and servant can win over Big Yellow today, what's the harm in letting you have this spirit Lan Yuan? Lu Jinlian's pupils shrank. Even the true spirit realm's Gu Weiwei was no match for Big Yellow. So how could she, a mid-stage foundation establishment realm, be able to defeat Big Yellow? Second Young Chen. Don't forget. This is the Gu family. Not your Chen family. It's not your turn to meddle in the Gu family's affairs. The servant girl shivered and called out. Right. And in terms of status, you still have to call me sister-in-law. How dare you let your dog growl fiercely at me. Your sister-in-law? 
Lu Jinlian busily said. Sister-in-law? Chen Fan sneered. Do you deserve this title from this young man? Big yellow. Go and bite this bitchy servant girl's mouth to pieces, lest she continue to bewitch the lord with her demonic words in the future. Woof. With Chen Fan's command, Big Yellow pounced ferociously, charging straight at the maidservant beside Lu Jinlian. Young lady help me. Ah, ah. Without waiting for Lu Jinlian to respond, the maidservant was pounced on by the rhubarb and gnawed on her face, instantly bloody in flesh, just two heartbreaking screams, and even her voice could not be screamed clearly behind her. Lu Jinlian was so scared that she twisted around and ran away. Where did she care about the death of her maidservant? The commotion outside startled Gu Bu Yu in the house. Gu Weiwei hurriedly came out of the house, lightly covering his chest as he trotted out of the courtyard, and when he saw this ferocious and bloody scene, his complexion was also shocked, but even if she wanted to stop it, it was too late, Ru Barb, give her a hard time, Chen Fan said faintly, and then greeted Gu Bu Yu as he walked over, brother Chen Fan, I know you are doing this for me, but I don't want you to become so vicious because of me, Gu Chen Wei looked at Chen Fan and said miserably, at this time, the maid servant, who had already had her neck broken by a bite from the rhubarb, was lying in a pool of blood and convulsing. Although it looked shocking, it didn't scare Gu Bu Yu. As a martial arts cultivator, Gu Yujin had since long been accustomed to seeing blood. What she was alarmed about was only the change in Chen Fan, not the bloodshed in front of her. Chen Fan laughed softly and raised his hand, holding Gu Yunchang's palm and said, I am saving your sister-in-law. If I leave this bitchy servant girl alive today, next time she encourages Lu Jinlian. I may not be able to hold back my killing intent, Gu Weiwei hurriedly said, although sister-in-law's words are unpleasant, they are also the truth, now that I can't cultivate, it's indeed inappropriate for me to still occupy the spirit land courtyard, who said you can't cultivate, Chen Fan smiled, have you forgotten what I told you two days ago, Gu Chiwei froze, could it be that brother Chen Fan really had a way to help her repair her broken spirit vein, let's go. Go inside and talk. Chen Fan smiled and held Gu Bu Yu's palm as he walked towards the spirit lawn courtyard. Big Yellow, on the other hand, guarded the outside of the courtyard, not allowing anyone to disturb Chen Fan and Gu Bu Yu. Entering the house, Gu Quan Qian couldn't help but ask excitedly, Brother Chen Fan, do you really have a way to cure me? Gu Wei Qin naturally wasn't willing to be reduced to an invalid from then on. It was only the reality that made her despair. But as long as Chen Fan said she could, she was willing to believe it. Chapter 17 Advanced Immortal Veins 17. Looking at Gu Qiantian's excited and somewhat expectant eyes, Chen Fan smiled. You must be able to. I will cure you later. But before that, you have to eat this elixir. Chen Fan raised his palm and a purple-colored elixir was added to his palm. Gu Weiwei's bright eyes widened. Then she called out with eyes full of surprise. Brother Chen Fan, you've succeeded in building your foundation? If he hadn't succeeded in building his foundation, how would Chen Fan have been able to use the Xin Kong Ring? Chen Fan said with some guilt on his face, Boo Yu, I'm sorry, I actually managed to build my foundation when I was 12 years old. It's only because my elder brother's death was most likely related to the powerful talent he displayed. So I have been hiding myself and pretending to be a waste. Nowadays, the only person who knows that I'm not a waste, besides you, is my grandfather. And my grandfather, too, only found out the day before yesterday. Gu Bu Yu, who had heard the words, immediately had her eyes reddened and tears flowed lightly down her face but her face was filled with a smile and her mouth said excitedly. I knew that there was no way that my brother Chen Fan would not be able to build a foundation. Brother Chen Fan, you don't have to tell me you're sorry. My father had the same suspicion as you about brother Chen Ping's death. He said that the wood showers in the forest and the wind will destroy it. Brother Chen Ping was just too good. That's why he caused jealousy as well as scorn from others. Chen Fan wiped away the tears at the corners of Gu Bu Yu's eyes with heartache. This girl, always so accommodating to him. Bu Yu, Brother Chen Fan promises you that one day, I will tell you all the secrets in my body, Chen Fan solemnly said. Gu Chen Wei blushed slightly and softly said, as long as brother Chen Fan has me in his heart, anything else, is unimportant. The day before yesterday, you also had to break off your engagement with me. Chen Fan laughed and scratched Gu Chen Tian's nose. Gu Chuan Qian's eyes reddened again. Reason told her to break off the engagement in order to keep Chen Fan uninvolved, but she really couldn't let it go. Seeing that Gu Chen Tian was about to cry. Chen Fan hurriedly handed over the pills in his palm and digressed. This is the sinking dream pill. After taking it, you will temporarily fall into a deep sleep. When you wake up, your spirit vein will be fully restored. Chen Fan did not hide the efficacy of the elixir. Gu Weiwei nodded obediently, and without hesitation, he flicked the elixir up and sent it into his mouth. Snow White neck, slightly rolled. The elixir went down the throat. The medicinal power quickly dissolved. 
Gu Qianwei only felt her head sinking. A strong sense of drowsiness came over her. She leaned over and lay on Chen Fan's shoulder, and she fell into a deep sleep. Chen Fan picked up Gu Buyu and sent him to lie flat on the bed. Looking at Gu Yunchang's calm and haggard face, Chen Fan said in a low voice, Yun Chang, even if you are able to recover, brother Chen Fan will surely ask the Tianbao sect for you a hundred times over for the sins you have suffered. Chen Fan then sat on the edge of the bed, his mind sinking into the heavenly sea pearl, sensing that the island lord had returned to his position. Yu Qian, who had long ago refined the pills, instantly transformed into a stream of light and flew to the void outside the main altar. Yu Qian greets the island master. Yu Qian respectfully saluted. Chen Fan nodded and asked, Is the elixir refined? Yu Qian laughed, refining pills for island master. Even the heavens have favored it. This time, the refining of the immortal spirit creation Dan went surprisingly well. Not only did it turn out to be an excellent color, but it even turned into two pills in one furnace. As Yu Qian spoke, he respectfully held an elixir bottle in both hands and handed it across the air. Chen Fan smiled lightly and said, You are a supreme powerhouse, and even more so a senior, so there is no need to fawn on me, as long as you do your best to refine pills for me. One day, when my strength is great, I will also find a suitable opportunity to send you out. Chen Fan reached out and sucked the pill bottle over and placed it by his side. Although the immortal spirit creation Dan was not of a low grade, with Yu Qian's alchemy skills, being able to have multiple dawn in one furnace was not a difficult task. What heavenly favor! But it is all just Yu Qian taking the opportunity to pat himself on the back. Yu Qianman bowed his waist and said gratefully, Thank you, island master. Those who were trapped in Sin Immortal Island lived a carefree life, but there was not a single person who did not want to go out. After all, no matter how big Sin Immortal Island was, it was only a hundred miles in circumference. It's the world out there that's more exciting. You go back first, Chen Fan said. I'll retire. Yu Qian bowed and retired. Chen Fan opened the pill bottle and poured out one of the pills. The elixir was round and turquoise, emitting a refreshing Dan fragrance, worthy of being a Dan Dao supreme power. This elixir color is definitely of the highest quality. Chen Fan secretly praised and sent the immortal spirit creation pill into his mouth. The elixir melted and dispersed inside the spirit body, but Chen Fan did not refine it. Instead, he withdrew his mind and extracted all the power of the elixir inside the spirit body into the outside physical body. Chen Fan lifted Gu Bu Yu's white shirt and lightly pressed the palm of his right hand against Gu Bu Yu's belly button. As Chen Fan's palm rotated slightly, an extremely pure and majestic medicinal power seeped out from his palm, seeping and surging towards Gu Yunshan's body. The medicinal power of the immortal spirit creation pill not only possessed an extremely strong healing effect, but also the divine power of creation. As the medicinal power entered Gu Bu Yu's body, the injuries in Gubu Yu's body that couldn't be healed by the heavenly Lindan were being healed at a rapid pace, and the fine fragments of those broken spirit veins began to renew and grow. In less than half an incense sticks effort, Gu Weiqin's spirit vein had already been renewed and completed, and was even elevated to the immortal vein level by the powerful medicinal power of the immortal spirit creation pill. This immortal spirit creation pill really possesses the effect of creation. Chen Fan was pleasantly surprised, not realizing that not only did he cure Gubu Yu's injuries, but he also allowed Gu Bu Yu's heavenly wind spiritual vein to advance into an immortal vein. Although the medicinal power had been completely absorbed by Gu Bu Yu, and Gu Bu Yu's injuries were all healed, Chen Fan did not rush to let Gu Bu Yu wake up. These past few days, Gu Chuan Xian had been holding up too hard, and it was time to let her get a good night's sleep. Chen Fan, come out here. Outside the courtyard, an angry roar came, listening to the voice. It was none other than Gu Weiwei. I think Lu Jinlian was angry that her maidservant was killed and went to find Gu Wenchang to cry. Chen Fan's eyes narrowed lightly as he covered Gu Qiwei with a quilt before he walked out of the house without a hitch. Something is wrong with big brother Gu? Chen Fan asked indifferently. Gu Weiwei's face darkened and he said angrily, Hong Wan's corpse is still here. Why do you need to knowingly ask? Chen Fan said in a cold voice, Does brother Gu know my reason for killing her? Gu Weiwei frowned and said, She just contradicted you. Lu Jinlian naturally won't tell the story of her forcing Gu Yuchu to vacate the yard only saying that she bumped into Chen Fan, and because of a little verbal dispute, Chen Fan let the dog bite. Chen Fan said coldly, if she only contradicted me, there is no reason for her to die, but if she encouraged Lu Jinlian to humiliate Fu Yu, then she deserves to die. Gu Weiwei's face changed as he asked, what exactly is going on? Chen Fan said indifferently, you'd better go back and ask your lady, and give her a message on my behalf, if she dares to bully Bu Yu again in the future. She will be the one who gets her mouth bitten off next time. If it wasn't for your face, she wouldn't have the life to go back and cry to you. But your face is only enough for me to spare her once. Chapter 18 Where is the best place to pinch? Gu Weiwei's eyes sank. 
He didn't expect Chen Fan to even move to kill Lu Jinlian. Even if Jinlian is in the wrong, she is still my wife. If you dare to touch her, I will never spare you. Gu Wenwei said angrily. If you don't make it, you won't die. Chen Fan just coldly dropped four words, turned around and went back inside. Gu Weiwei's fists clenched in anger as he gritted his teeth and cursed. Just a waste. What's the point of pretending? If it weren't for this big yellow dog, I wouldn't be able to let you be so arrogant in the Gu family. As Gu Weiwei drank and cursed, he couldn't help but glance out of the corner of his eye at Big Yellow, who was squatting on the side of the courtyard door. Rhubarb showed his teeth at him, in a way that seemed to be a sneer. Gu Weiwei only felt a blockage in his heart. Get rid of the body. Gu Weiwei impatiently shouted to a few guards behind him, and then huffed and puffed his way to Lu Jinlian. In person, he protects his wife, but in person, he needs to know exactly how the whole thing started. Soon after, Gu Weiwei returned to his own small courtyard with a dark face. As soon as Lu Jinlian saw that he had returned, she hurriedly greeted him and asked, Husband, how is Hong Wan? Is she still saved? Hong Wan was the mate she brought from the Lu family to accompany her, and the two of them had been master and servant for more than ten years. Although Lu Jinlian was scared away by the ferocity of the rhubarb at that time, after running back, Lu Jinlian still couldn't bear to do so, so she shouted out the Gu in cultivation and asked him to go and save the people. Gu Weiwei said in a cold, deep voice, she's already had her neck bitten off by that big yellow dog, and she's long since dead. Jin Lian, tell me honestly, what exactly were you and Hong Wan going to do when you went to Spirit Lan Yuan? What? Hong Wan had her neck bitten off. Lu Jilian's face was pale. She also did not expect that Chen Fan would be so ruthless. Her eyes were slightly flustered. And she added, we didn't. T do anything ah. We just went to visit our little sister. Unexpectedly, Hong Wan's mouth was uncontrollable. Joked about that Chen Fan. And it became such a mess. Gu Weiwei said in a deep voice, I do understand Chen Fan as a person. It would never be because of a little verbal dispute that he would let the demonic dog lay such a cruel hand on him. Husband, you don't even believe my words? Lu Jinlian said angrily. Gu Weiwei just said in a cold voice. Chen Fan asked me to bring you a message, saying that if you dare to bully your little sister again in the future, the next person to have their neck bitten off will be you. Even if you don't tell the truth, I have roughly guessed something. Jin Lian, don't blame me for not reminding you that your little sister is Chen Fan's scales. Although Chen Fan is only a chi practicing realm. This demonic dog beside him is not something to be messed with. Not to mention, it's the Chen family behind him. If he really touches you, no matter if it's my Gu family or the Lu family, there's nothing they can do to him. Ha ha ha. Lu Jinlian was laughing ruefully. Even he, Chen Fan, a waste of space, regards his fiance as an adversary. And you, Gu Weiwei, are unwilling to trust your own wife. Good. Very good. Gu Chuan, since this is the case, there is no need for me to stay in your Gu family anymore. I'm going back to the Lu family now. Lu Jinlian said, then turned and ran to the house, packing up her clothes. Gu Shiwei wanted to stop, but thought, now that the little sister is seriously injured, Chen Fan is bound to come often. Let Lu Jinlian back to the Lu family to live for a period of time is also good, so as to avoid the two people meet. Renewed conflict. Something can't happen to the Gu family today. With this thought, Gu Weiwei turned around and left the courtyard. Lu Jinlian, who went back to the house, never waited for Gu Wenwu to come in after her, and was so angry that her face turned green, and she gritted her teeth and cursed, Gu Wenwu, you're really more of a waste than that waste Chen Fan, in vain, I've been working for you with all my heart, yet you didn't even retain me, well, in that case, you don't blame me, a few moments later, Lu Jinlian left the Gu family alone, Chen Fan sat in front of Gu Chantian's bed and stayed quietly with her, it was only until nightfall, when she saw that Chen Fan had no intention of leaving, that a woman of great charm, with two maids, came to the outside of the spirit land courtyard. Rhubarb's eyes narrowed and he stood up menacingly. Rhubarb, do not make a mistake. Chen Fan's voice came out from the house, and then he opened the door and walked out. Greetings, Auntie. Chen Fan saluted across the courtyard towards the woman. This woman was Gu Buyu's mother, Nan Lingyu. Nan Lingyu looked at Chen Fan, her eyes expressionless. Chen Fan. It's already dark, if you don't go back, it will be inappropriate. Or is it that your Chen family still intends to continue this marriage contract? Chen Fan laughed. Auntie what are you talking about? The Chen family has never had any intention of regretting the marriage. Of course this marriage contract will continue. Nan Ling Yu's expression, at last, softened a bit. She had thought that the Chen family would definitely regret the marriage after what happened to Gu Chuanju. This was not only because Gu Chuanju had become an invalid but more importantly had offended the heavenly treasure sect. Chen Changsheng's cautious temperament was also known to the Gu family. 
So they guessed that Chen Changsheng would definitely not implicate the Chen family in danger for the sake of Chen Fan and Gu Buyu's feelings. Can what you said represent the attitude of the Chen family? Nan Ling Yu asked in a deep voice. Chen Fan solemnly said, Naturally, this is likewise my grandfather's intention. Nan Ling Yu's heart was slightly relieved as she said, Even so, now that you two have not yet consummated your marriage, it would be inappropriate for you to stay too late. Go back early. If you want to accompany Bu Yu, just come back tomorrow. After Nan Ling Yu finished speaking, she didn't say anything more, and with a few attendants and maids, she turned around and left. Chen Fan knew that Nan Ling Yu's appearance was actually testing his and the Chen family's attitude. Chen Fan turned around and went back to the house, lifting his hand and surging out a pure spiritual energy into Gu Qiwei's body, dissolving the medicinal power of the sinking dream pill in her body. Gu Weiwei's long eyelashes, like cicada wings, gently fluttered a few times, and the person woke up leisurely. As soon as she opened her eyes, she saw Chen Fan's smiling face. Brother Chen Fan, how long have I been out for? Gu Qianli asked with a sweet smile. Chen Fan laughed. It's not that long, just six hours. Ah, did I sleep for so long? Gu Weiwei gave a startled cry and sat up a little embarrassed, blushing, but this sleep was so comfortable. I feel so much more relaxed all over. Chen Fan laughed softly. Just a lot easier? You run your gong method and try it. Running the gong method? But I've, Gu Yujin murmured in a lost voice. And in the next moment, she raised her head violently and looked at Chen Fan in disbelief. Brother Chen Fan, could it be that my spirit vein has really been cured by you? But, but how is this possible? Chen Fan laughed. How would I go back on my word if I promised something undying? Try it. Although he still couldn't believe it, Gu Weiwei nodded his head excitedly and said, Okay, I'll try. She hastily lifted the covers and sat up in a cross-legged position. With the operation of the gong method, Gu Weiqian only felt that her body was smooth and unrivaled, and the surrounding spiritual qi madly converged towards her body. This, not only has my spiritual vein really recovered, the speed of swallowing spiritual qi seems to have become even faster. Gu Chenwei looked at Chen Fan with incomparable surprise and said excitedly, Brother Chen Fan, I'm not still dreaming, am I? Quickly pinch me to let me know that I'm not dreaming. Chen Fan smiled and swept a glance in front of Gu Buyu's bulging body and said with a bad smile, then where is the best place for me to pinch? Gu Qianwei felt Chen Fan's unsuspecting gaze, and instantly blushed with shame, lowering her head and ranting, Brother Chen Fan, you, you're bad. Chen Fan laughed out loud and raised his hand to scrape Gu Yuchu's nose, saying, Of course you are not dreaming, from now on, not only will you be able to recultivate your martial arts, but you will also become even more powerful than before. As the spirit vein turned into an immortal vein, Gu Weiwei's achievements would naturally be higher in the future. Moreover, on top of that, Chen Fan had also chosen a stronger technique for Gu Quan Zhu. Chapter 19, Together We Are. Brother Chen Fan, you're really amazing. Even my injuries that are so severe can be cured. Gu Qianwei's gaze was filled with admiration. She knew that her brother, Chen Fan, was never mortal, even before she knew the truth. When Chen Fan had failed to build his foundation three times, she had not suspected this, and had only thought that it was because Chen Fan's opportunity to build his foundation had not yet arrived. Chen Fan's heart softened and said, Bu Yu, don't you have any resentment against me in your heart? If it wasn't for me, perhaps you wouldn't have suffered this. Gu Qianli shook his head hurriedly. Brother Chen Fan, in fact, I didn't go to the Heavenly Treasure Sect entirely for your sake. In the past, I thought that the Heavenly Treasure Sect was a great martial arts sect and would have more opportunities to become stronger. So in my heart, even though I was reluctant to leave you, I still wanted to go. Getting more spirit materials so that I can help you build your foundation early is actually a reason for me to convince myself to leave ruthlessly. Gu Qianliang was only a gentle and well-behaved little woman in front of Chen Fan, and when it came to martial arts, she had the same overriding ambition as the world's martial arts cultivators. She also had a pride and pursuit in her bones that belonged to her. Chen Fan smiled and stroked the hair on Gu Buyu's temples, saying, In the future, we will become stronger together. A flash of cunning flashed in Gu Weiwei's eyes as he said, In addition to becoming stronger together, we also have to pretend to be useless together. This matter of my spirit vein recovering must not be known to anyone outside of us. Chen Fan was delighted. Then won't we really become a couple of losers in the eyes of others? Gu Chuanxian's pretty face blushed slightly as she shyly said, Brother Chen Fan, we haven't gotten married yet. Chen Fan's heart stirred as he gripped Gu Yunchan's palm tightly and said, Then let's get married earlier. As long as you are willing, I can marry you right away. Gu Qianwei was about to agree in excitement, but her face suddenly turned white again and she shook her head. No, brother Chen Fan, we can't get married yet. Chen Fan knew that Gu Chuanxian was worried about the heavenly treasure sect. Tian Baosek's young patriarch has coveted Gu Buyu, 
and even led Huang Su to the Chen family to try to make the Chen family regret the marriage. If the two of them are married now, this young patriarch shall not be angry and explode? At that time, he would definitely try to deal with the Chen and Gu families by all means. Although Chen Fan was not afraid of the Heavenly Treasure sect anymore, he could not disregard the safety of the Chen and Gu families, and there's no need to rush the marriage. I understand your concerns, so let's not get married yet. But remember, with me here, you don't need to fear the Tian Bao sect anymore. One day, I will definitely take down the Tian Bao sect for you, Chen Fan said seriously. Gu Yunchan's eyes trembled. To flatten the Heavenly Treasure sect, this kind of wild talk was something she didn't even dare to imagine before. But now, looking at Chen Fan's resolute eyes, she inexplicably had a surge of confidence in her heart. If there really is such a day, I will join Brother Chen Fan and kill the Heavenly Treasure sect to avenge the destruction of my veins. At this instant, a ferocious aura also flashed through Gu Yunchu's bright and clear eyes. Good, we'll be together. Chen Fan laughed. Brother Chen Fan, in fact, I didn't steal the Tian Bao sect's spiritual materials. It's them who slandered me. But right now, we don't have the strength to get our innocence back. So promise me that you must endure. Otherwise, not only you and I, but even the Gu and Chen families will be in trouble. Gu Chenwei said with a touch of pleading in his eyes. Before, when she didn't say anything, she was worried that Chen Fan would be impulsive and reckless. But now she knew that Chen Fan was a person who could hold back more than herself and should not be impulsive. Even if you don't say it, I believe you won't do such a thing. Chen Fan said. Gu Chenli smiled sweetly. This feeling of being trusted made her feel incredibly happy. She slowly leaned over and leaned her head on Chen Fan's shoulder. Her face tinted a few shades of red and said, Brother Chen Fan, can you stay tonight? Chen Fan smiled and was just about to agree when a cold and deep voice came through the air. Chen Fan, you should go back. Gu Qianli's face changed slightly as he said in shock, Could it be that my father has been listening in on our conversation? Chen Fan laughed. No, it's just a coincidence. If Gu Shanchuan had secretly peeped in with the power of his spiritual sense, it was impossible for Chen Fan not to notice. I'd love to stay, but my old husband has given the word, so I can't stay even if I want to. Tomorrow morning, I'll come back to see you. Chen Fan stroked Gu Buyu's hair and said. Gu Yunchang blushed and nodded. Soon after Chen Fan came out of the Spirit Lawn Academy, he saw a broad back figure in a light gray robe standing in the center of the green stone path ahead. Chen Fan walked over and bowed. Uncle, Gu Shanchuan turned around scrutinized Chen Fan, and asked, what you said with your aunt, is all true? Is your Chen family really still willing to continue this marriage contract? Chen Fan solemnly said, Bu Yu treats me with deep love and friendship, and even if I die in this life, I will never lose half of her. Gu Shanchuan couldn't help but let out a soft sigh. Previously, I also secretly felt that you have long been unworthy of my daughter. Now it seems that this girl's infatuation is not misplaced. But are you really clear about what you're going to face if you stick together? Gu Shanchuan asked. Chen Fan said, We know it very well and we'll face it together. I hope you can do what you say. When you return, send my regards to the old master. After Gu Shanchuan finished speaking, he walked past Chen Fan and headed towards Spirit Lan Yuan. Spirit Lan Yuan, father and daughter meet. Now can you tell my father why the Heavenly Treasure sect wants to harm you like this? Gu Shanchuan asked as he looked at Gu Yuchuan. Gu Qianwei's eyes reddened as she pursed her lips and said, the fact that father can ask this means that he believes in his daughter. And she is content. Now that my daughter has been invalidated. Let this matter pass. The only thing that is best for the Gu family. Gu Shanchuan's eyes darkened and he sighed. It was my father's incompetence that failed to protect you. However, you can rest assured that my father will definitely look for a capable person to renew your spirit vein. As long as there is hope, everything is still possible. Gu Weiwei was so moved in her heart that she really wanted to say that her spirit vein had been restored. But she finally held back. Thank you father, but my daughter doesn't want to live in Spirit Lan Yuan anymore. This Spirit Lan Yuan, it's better to give it to Big Brother. Gu Yunchu said. Gu Shanchuan frowned. Nonsense. This Linglan courtyard is your boudoir. Even if you get married in the future, my father will still keep it for you. If your elder brother is upset in his heart, let him come to me to speak. Gu Chuanxian hurriedly said. This is none of Big Brother's business. It is the daughter herself who is willing to give it up. Gu Shanchuan grunted. Even if it has nothing to do with him, it has something to do with Lu Jinlian, right? My father is not confused. You can stay at ease and recuperate well. As long as my father is alive, I won't let you still suffer in your own home. Get some rest. Looking at his father's back as he turned away, Gu Weichin's eyes reddened as he smiled and laughed. Only by destroying the heavenly treasure sect will all this happiness I have not be destroyed. Brother Chen Fan, father, you have treated me so well, so I can't even drag you down. I hope you can forgive me. As the night deepens, 
a silhouette quietly from the goo house backyard. Over the wall away. Chapter 22 Letters Left Behind Before the spirit vein was restored, Gu Quanxian had already made up his mind to leave the Gu family in Tiger Spirit City. Only, at that time, when he thought of leaving, he was looking for a chance to recover his spirit vein. And secondly, he didn't want to bring trouble to the Gu family and Chen Fan. Now, her spiritual vein had recovered, but she still chose to leave, because the Tian Bao sect was an absolute behemoth for the Gu and Chen families, and a single slip-up would result in both families suffering annihilation. Vengeance must be avenged, but Gu Buyu would not bear to implicate the Gu and Chen families, so, she still chose to leave, and she was going to get her revenge in her own way. Alone, she had thought that she would hand herself over to Chen Fan before she left, but it was because her father suddenly sent a voice, urging Chen Fan to leave causing her to leave more or less with a little regret. Early the next morning, Chen Fan came back to the Gu Mansion, but only found two copies of the letters within the Linglan courtyard. One reads from brother Chen Fan and the other reads from father. Chen Fan's face turned pale as he opened the letter Gu Buyu had left him. Brother Chen Fan, I'm sorry, please forgive me for leaving without saying goodbye, but I really can't drag you and the Gu family down with me. I will remember our agreement, and one day, I will come back for you, and at that time, we will set foot on Tian Bao sec together again, and keep our happiness together. But this time, I ask Brother Chen Fan to forgive Fu Yu's capriciousness and misbehavior. Brother Chen Fan, you don't need to look for me and you won't be able to find me. Half a year ago, I befriended a very strong being who was interested in taking me as a disciple. Only that I was already a disciple of the Heavenly Treasure sect at the time. So I refused. Now, I will seek her out. If I can still worship under her, I believe that in a few years, I will be able to come back to you. The inscription reads, unchanging. Rhubarb, go and chase the person back to me. After reading the letter, Chen Fan said in a deep voice. Big Yellow said awkwardly, Island Master, apart from this room, there is no longer any scent of the Master Mother outside. I think that when the Master Mother left, she used some means of concealing her scent. Chen Fan knew that it was really a bit difficult for Big Yellow to find someone now. He looked at the letter and said in a low voice, but she's just about to be injured. So it's ultimately too dangerous for her to leave like this. Da Huang said, Island Master, in fact, you don't have to worry too much, now that the main mother has been able to recultivate and has the talent of the immortal vein, it's not difficult to restore her cultivation, moreover, the main mother should know that the people of the heavenly treasure sect won't let her go just like that, so she will definitely hide herself, Chen Fan's eyes narrowed, it's all because of this damn heavenly treasure sect, since this is the case, I will exterminate it earlier, as long as the heavenly treasure sect is removed, without this threat, Bu Yu will naturally return. Big Yellow grinned. Island Master is wise. Chen Fan laughed bitterly. Big Yellow, do you think if I tell her about Sin Immortal Island, will she still leave? Chen Fan couldn't help but feel some regret in his heart when Gu Yunchang suddenly left. Big Yellow lightly coughed. My subordinate does not know. However, the main mother looks soft and weak, but in reality, she is a person with a great idea. My subordinate feels that the island master should respect the decision of the main mother. The life of the martial way is different from the life of an ordinary person. And only by walking out the path on your own can you have a deeper understanding of the martial way. Chen Fan nodded and said, You have a point. In that case, I will respect her decision. Most of all, he couldn't disrespect it even if he wanted to now. If Gu Chuanqin was still on his heels, he wouldn't let her leave for any reason. Chen Fan put the letter away and sent another letter. To Gu Shanchuan. Gu Shanchuan's face changed drastically when he learned that Gu Chuanqin had left, and he hurriedly opened it to read the contents of the letter. That silly boy. Gu Shanchuan's gaze was red after reading it. Chen Fan asked, Uncle, what did Bu Yu say in his letter? Read it yourself. Gu Shanchuan sighed, but he did not avoid it and directly handed the letter to Chen Fan. Chen Fan took the letter and read it. Father, the daughter is gone. The daughter failed to bring honor to the clan much less bring danger to the clan. The heavenly treasure sect won't let up just because my daughter has become an invalid, so only when the daughter leaves will the clan be free from intrusion. Fathers don't have to worry about their daughters either. They know a. The content behind the letter, basically the same as Chen Fan's, was to tell Gu Shanchuan that she knew a powerful being who might be able to renew her spiritual vein and help her step back into martial arts cultivation, and gave Gu Shanchuan something to look forward to, saying that within five years, regardless of whether or not she could recover, she would return. This strong person she's talking about, do you know about it? Gu Shanchuan asked in a deep voice. Chen Fan shook his head and said, haven't heard her say that, but I believe her words. Gu Shanchuan said in a low voice, even if such a person really exists, with her current physical condition, how would she be able to withstand the pain of a long journey? This girl, 
Why didn't you let me send a few people to follow and protect her? Since such an opportunity exists, how would I not let her go? Chen Fan said. A large number of people can easily reveal their whereabouts. She won't say anything to anyone. We won't be able to find her. And the Tian Bao sect won't be able to find her just the same. Perhaps. This is the safest. Ku Shanchuan's eyes were gloomy as he said. I only hate that I, as a father, am not strong enough. Otherwise, wouldn't she have to be like this? Ahem. Uncle need not blame himself. Chen Fan just comforted a sentence. Gu Shanchuan's gaze is coldly turned to him. Not only should I blame myself, you should also blame yourself. Chen Fan, although you have a heart of sincerity, but just having a heart of sincerity is not enough. You also need to strive to get up. The Buyu spiritual vein was destroyed and you still don't give up. Can't you work hard and succeed in building a foundation? Chen Fan's face lightly twitched as he said, I promise uncle, before Buyu returns, I will definitely succeed in building my foundation. Humph. It had better be. Now that Fuyu isn't in the Gu Mansion, you don't need to stick around. When you have time, think more about how to build your foundation. Gu Shan Chuan grunted. Chen Fan was helpless for a while in his heart. This prospective father-in-law was a bit too realistic. Then nephew will take his leave first. Chen Fan made a bow and turned around to leave the Gu family. Gu Weiwei's sudden departure broke all of Chen Fan's original plans. For the next few days, he basically had no side business and nestled in his small courtyard to cultivate. It was only when the day he had agreed to meet with Ding Chuanxiu arrived that he went out the door. A man and a dog came outside the sparse place. Young Master Chen, do you have to bring this earth dog with you even when you enter the sharing place? I'm afraid this will scare the other guests. The pimp of the sharing place glanced at Big Yellow in disgust. Chen Fan glanced at the pimp and flung her a bag that had been prepared long ago. The bod froze, opened it, and was filled with light. There are actually a hundred spirit stones, the pimp said in surprise. Enough for a package? Chen Fan said indifferently. Enough is enough, the pimp exclaimed. In the sparing shadow workshop, although there were also a few spirit sisters G who charged quite a lot, this high-end route was only more high-end for ordinary people. And the charges were usually just a few spirit stones. Chapter 21 Moon Ying's News 100 spirit stones, enough to be nearly half a month's profit for the sparse shadow workshop. Chen Fan was so extravagant, there was no problem in wrapping up the venue. Arrange an elegant room for this young man. Later on, this young man will have some honored guests coming over. So you guys have to entertain them well. Chen Fan said indifferently. Definitely. Definitely. Sparse Shadow Place will definitely not slow down Young Chen and Young Chen's honored guests. The old bod's pair of smiling eyes were almost falling into the bag as she laughed without lifting her head. Then hurry up and arrange it. Chen Fan frowned and urged. The old bod hurriedly put away the bag and said with a smile. Yes. 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 My concubine will make the arrangements. Yu Ying. Quickly lead Young Chen to the windy room. He he. Yu Ying is here. A wonderful woman wearing an emerald colored gauze skirt with a lithe figure. Playfully twirled her waist and walked over. Young Chen. Let my slave accompany you to the windy elegance room. Will you? Yu Ying's marvelous eyes flashed as she affectionately took Chen Fan's arm and asked with a smile. Chen Fan smiled lightly and said. This young man has chartered the venue today. Only for his honored guest. You guys just serve him well later. Giggle. Your guest is to be served properly. But even more so. We can't neglect Young Chen. Young Chen, please follow my slave. Yuing laughed, pulling the palm holding Chen Fan away and instead holding Chen Fan's hand, walking towards the upper floor. The pimp then began to smile at the other guests and asked them to leave the sparse shadow place. Although the guests were upset and knew that Chen Fan was a waste, but even if he was a waste, he was still the second young master of the Chen family. So how could these people dare to offend him? And they only had to leave with their displeasure. This is the difference in status. Some people no matter how incompetent they are, are born to be superior to others as long as they have a good background. That's the reality. Upon entering the windy elegant room, the originally flirtatious Yu Ying instantly became respectful and hurriedly let go of Chen Fan's hand, kneeling down on one knee and saying, My subordinate, Yu Ying, pay my respects to the island master. Chen Fan nodded and said, It's aggravating to let you hide here. Yu Ying covered her mouth and laughed. Island master don't say that. This sharing place is a blessed place of cultivation for Yu Ying. How could there be any half-assness? Chen Fan smiled. It's good that you like it. This Moon Ying was originally the descendant of a demonic cultivator on Sin Immortal Island. Although his cultivation was not very strong, he was proficient in the art of extracting yang and replenishing yin. But in the Sin Fairy Island, those islanders, all are the descendants of the peak of the strong, naturally, will not easily let the devil cultivation. So such as the Moon Ying this kind of rely on cultivation techniques to enhance the cultivation of the devil cultivator. In the days of the Sin Fairy Island, in fact, had a very bitter life. Now out. The Mooning really did not expect. 
outside the lustful man is so much, every day lined up to let her pick up. Recently, can you tell this young man any valuable news? Chen Fan asked. Sharing place, although it is a place of greenhouses, it is also a place where news circulates. In the face of these girls, many guests, when they are full of wine and food and their lust for sex is high, they will be unguarded, and their mouths will not be covered. Ewing said, even if the island master doesn't come today, Ewing intends to arrange for someone to send you a message. Chen Fan's eyes narrowed. News of little value. Ewing would basically not pass it on her own accord. Ewing said, the Su family seems to have discovered a vein of spirit stones in the Tiger Ridge Mountains north of the city. This is what one of the Su family's guard captains told my subordinates last night when he was controlled by my subordinates with charming techniques. He said that the Su family lady, the day before yesterday in the Tiger Mountain hunting, accidentally fell into a hole in the ground. The depths of the hole in the ground. The spiritual chi is extremely rich. There is a four realms of the great demon entrenched in it. If not for the timely rescue of a Su family guest secretary, the Su family miss would probably have already fallen into it. However, after that, the Su family secretly blocked off Tiger Ridge Mountain and secretly recruited many craftsmen. The head of the guards suspected that there was a spirit vein hidden in the mountain. And my subordinate feels that he was right in his suspicions. Chen Fan's eyes moved slightly. This was indeed good news. Spirit stone veins, for a family, were of great significance. In the world of martial arts, whoever sits on powerful resources will have a better chance to reign supreme. As for Tiger Ling Mountain, it was originally an ownerless land, since whoever can grab it, this spirit vein will belong to whoever. A smallest spirit vein would be able to mine at least nearly a million spirit stones. If there really was a spirit stone vein in Tiger Ridge Mountain, this would definitely break the existing situation for the great clans of Tiger Pillar City. No matter who obtained this spirit stone vein, regardless of whether or not a spirit stone vein really exists in Tiger Ridge Mountain, this piece of information is valuable. This young man will credit you. Chen Fan laughed. Yuing was delighted in her heart. Chen Fan smiled faintly. Reach out. Yes. Yuing had an excited look on her face and hastily extended her right hand. Chen Fan's palm slightly overlapped and covered the palm of Yu Ying's right hand in vain. A pure power of the elixir seeped out from Chen Fan's palm and crossed towards Yu Ying's palm. Yuing had been an islander of Sin Immortal Island and had long known Chen Fan's secret, so Chen Fan naturally didn't need to cover up in front of her. A few breaths later, the power of the elixir was transferred and Chen Fan moved his palm away. Ewing smiled playfully and said gratefully, Many thanks to Island Master. The power of this one elixir was enough to offset Yu Ying's cultivation efforts for several months, and her breath, obviously, had improved quite a bit. Chen Fan said, After you get things done, you will be rewarded. Go out and wait for Ding Chuanxiu. When he arrives, bring him over directly. He will be your regular customer in the future. If this young man is no longer in Tiger Spirit City in the future, the two of you will work together in the shadows to support the Chen family. Yuing was surprised. So the Thousand Spirit Merchant House's provider Ding is also one of the Island Master's people. Chen Fan smiled faintly and did not respond. Over the years, although he hadn't done anything for the Chun family head-on, in the shadows, he had long since laid down quite a few secret moves. The Chen family's heritage was still too shallow when looking at the entire Xianling continent. If it suddenly became too powerful, it would instead be targeted by some powerful forces, which would not necessarily be a good thing. It would be better to use dark chess, to arch the Chen family in the dark, to escort the Chen family's steady improvement. It wasn't long before Ding Chuanxiu was led into the windy elegance room by Yuing. My subordinate has met the island master. How are things looking into it? Chen Fan asked directly, although he already knew the truth. The extent of Ding Chuanxiu's attentiveness in doing his job could be seen in his reply. Ding Chuanxiu respectfully said, My subordinate has found out that my lord mother actually rejected Tian Baosek's young patriarch Zhang Feng because she rejected him, and Zhang Feng became enraged, which is why she designed to frame my lord mother. Cough. The other subordinate also found out, although the master mother suffered, but always threatened with death, and was not scourged by that Zhang Feng, this point island master can rest assured. There is also, that Zhang Feng threatened, one day will let the mother willingly do his furnace. I'm sure that even if the master mother's cultivation is abolished, this Jiang Feng won't let up. Chen Fan's eyes narrowed lightly as a murderous aura surged. The heavenly treasure sect is doomed to perish when it has a young patriarch like him. Ding Chuanxiu's eyes were slightly startled as he said, Is the island master making a move against the Tianbao sect? Chen Fan waved his hand and said, You don't need to intervene in this matter. Your duty is to stay hidden in the Thousand Spirit Merchant Company and secretly guard the Chen family. Yes, Ding Chuanqiu answered, and in his heart, he secretly breathed a sigh of relief. With his current strength, if he were to follow Chen Fan to attack the Heavenly Treasure Sect, it would be tantamount to sending him to his death. Chapter 22 It's a good feeling to be an underdog. After today, 
You will come here once a month to exchange news with Yuing. If I am not in the city and you have an urgent matter, you can also discuss and finalize it with her. Chen Fan said. Ding Chuanqiu's heart was clear. This Yuing must be from Sin Immortal Island as well. Chen Fan smiled. If you want to hide deeply, you have to expose some weaknesses out, so that you can make people feel good to hold. Today, you can spend your time here, and this young man will not let you suffer this aggression for nothing. Aggrieved? Ding Chuanqiu was filled with consternation. Can you call it being aggrieved when you spend time in a kiln? Although he was a righteous monk by birth, he was also a normal man. For that matter, wasn't he? But since the islander said he was aggrieved, so be it. As long as it is to serve the island master, my subordinate is willing to suffer the indignity. Ding Chuanqiu arched his hand and smiled sarcastically. Over the past year, he has been cultivating. One is to improve his cultivation, and the second is also to let Chen Fan know that after he came out, he did not act recklessly and forget. So he has been holding it. Today, at last, I can be honorable and release my nature as a normal man. As long as you are loyal enough, this young man will definitely help you step into the clasping Dan realm as soon as possible. Chen Fan smiled and promised a sweet date. Many thanks, Island Master. Ding Chuanqiu was thrilled. With the Island Master helping to raise it, it would be much easier than if he were to cultivate on his own. After Chen Fan left the sharing place, Ding Chuanqiu began his revelry and at once called seven female concubines into the company. After today, the martial cultivators of Tiger Spirit City had a new perception of this towering ding provider of the Thousand Spirit Merchant Company, and many of them followed Chen Fan's example and threw themselves at him in an attempt to corrode Ding Chuanqiu and gain benefits from him. Ding Chuanqiu's network of contacts in the city of Hupa, also from this day onwards, to be able to rapidly expand. On the way back to the Chen family, Chen Fan had been searching for the Tiger Ridge Mountain, Big Yellow, Follow me to Tiger Ling Mountain to take a look. If there really is a spirit stone vein in Tiger Ridge Mountain, the Chen family will get a share of it. Chen Fan narrowed his eyes and said. Big yellow grinned. Island master. With the power you've laid out within Tiger's Pillar City, it's entirely possible for the Chen family to eat this vein. So why are you only thinking of getting a share of it? Chen Fan said indifferently. The Chen family's apparent strength is not strong enough. So if they become a target, they will have to expend a great deal of effort to deal with all sorts of trouble. In this way, even if they obtain the spirit stone veins, it will not mean much to enhance the Chen family's strength. It would be far better to maintain a balance so that the Chen family can borrow the spirit stone resources obtained to steadily increase their strength. Spirit stone veins were, indeed, a sizable fortune. However, it took a long time for the spirit stone resources, converted into cultivation power, to be raised into real strength. Instead of letting the Chen family hold a gold mountain floating in the midst of huge winds and waves, exhausting the mind and spirit, it would be better to take only some of the gold bricks and lightly ride the wind and waves, gaining the power of its mutual help. After the Chen family consumed this portion of spirit stone resources, with Chen Fan's ability, he also had to be the means for the Chen family to obtain more resources from other means. The bottom line is not strong enough to be greedy, but instead, it's self-defeating. One man, one dog, out of town. Not long after leaving the city, Big Yellow was squinting his doggy eyes and transmitted, Island Master. There's a sneaky guy that's been following us, and his strength doesn't seem to be weak. Chen Fan said indifferently, It's Luo Yuanwu of the Luo family. Big Yellow grinned in embarrassment, and said in his heart, He is really light on worry. Even I have found out. How could the island master not know? Don't worry about him for now. Go to an unpopulated place and kill him. Chen Fan said lightly with his mouth. His body shape did not have the slightest hesitation and kept walking forward normally. He he he. This Luo family really doesn't know how to live. How dare they repeatedly provoke the island master. Big Yellow secretly laughed in his heart. The Luo family naturally didn't really know how to die. Only, they didn't realize what kind of existence they were inviting. North of the city. Whiplash slope. Horsewhip slope. A small mountain forest 10 miles away from Tiger's Paw City. The mountain is not high, but still quite long. The whole mountain forest stretches for more than 20 miles. Surviving some small beasts. It is a place where hunters outside the city often hunt. At the end of the whiplash slope. It connects to the Tiger Ling Mountains. Unlike the Whiplash Slope, there were already quite a few demonic beasts entrenched in the Tiger Ridge Mountain. But so far, there hadn't been any powerful demonic beasts. This time, Miss Su Wenjun of the Su Clan had stumbled upon a fourth realm great demon, which was rare, and it was also the first time that the people of Tiger Pillar City had discovered a fourth realm great demon's trail in Tiger Ridge Mountain. At this moment, Chen Fan and Big Yellow had just walked to the side road under the Whiplash Slope. Luo Yuan Wu who had been quietly trailing all the way, could not wait to violently verticalize his body and swept towards Chen Fan. Luo Yuanwu obviously didn't intend to talk nonsense with Chen Fan. 
His body was like a wild storm, holding a long sword in his right hand. The cold aura flashed, and it came straight to the back of Chen Fan's heart. It's a ruthless person who wants this young man's life without even saying hello. Chen Fan sneered in his heart. This ruthless and decisive style of action is a bit like him. When he kills, he's just as much of a no bullshit guy. Everything behind the scenes, Chen Fan and Big Yellow pretended not to know. Luo Yuanwu wanted to play a sneak attack, and Chen Fan and Big Yellow didn't mind returning a surprise to their opponent. Swish. When Luo Yuanwu saw that the tip of his sword was about to stab Chen Fan in the back of his heart, but Chen Fan didn't react at all. He couldn't help but laugh coldly in his heart. Indeed, he's a piece of trash, dead to the end of his life. He doesn't know it yet. However, just as Luo Yuanwu's eyes killed Aura flashed harshly, a sword stabbed the moment. Big yellow openly body shape a turn. Fierce demonic spirit then burst out of the body. The entire body of the dog transformed into a dark golden residual shadow. Close to the Luo Yuanwu's sword body, shot out a dog claw, smashed directly in front of Luo Yuanwu's chest. Boo! Where would Luo Yuanwu have thought that at this moment of certain death, the earth dog by Chen Fan's side would explode with terrifying speed and powerful battle strength? The moment his chest was struck by the dog's claws, his entire body flew backwards, spitting out a mouthful of long bloody arrows. He crashed 30 meters away from the back, and the man fainted directly after a muffled grunt. Islander, this cunting is a great feeling. No nonsense. Snap and it's settled. Big yellow hemmed and hawed, and his dog paw even snapped his fingers. Chen Fan said indifferently, drag it into the forest. This is a good opportunity to plant a dark chess piece in the Luo family. Big yellow grinned. His dog's paw tugged at the distant Luo Yuanwu, and under the pull of a force of demonic spirit, Luo Yuanwu floated along with Big Yellow's figure into the Whiplash Slope Mountain Forest. Chen Fan entered the mountain forest and sat down on his knees in a hidden place, his mind sinking inward into the heavenly sea pearl. Big Yellow, on the other hand, was on full alert, guarding five meters outside Chen Fan's body. As for Luo Yuanwu, under the serious injury, he will not be able to wake up for a while. Even if he wakes up, it won't matter. He has long been confined by the demonic spirit of the rhubarb, and if he wants to sneak attack again, it is impossible. All rhubarb was wary of was the possibility of other contingencies that might arise. Sin Immortal Island, the main altar. Chen Fan, the spirit body, slowly opened his eyes. Where is Luli of the Lu family? Chapter 23, The Battle of the Departed Soul. Chen Fan just gently opened his mouth, and the entire sky of Sin Immortal Island echoed out his indifferent voice of heavenly might. In one of the courtyards on the island, a young man in hemp clothes hurriedly ran from the house to the courtyard and bowed across the air in the direction of the altar and saluted. Luli is here. Chen Fan's gaze pierced through dozens of miles of emptiness and looked straight over as he said indifferently, The time has come for you to leave the island, so head to the soul departure altar at once. Luli obeys. Luli said excitedly, Brush up. Several silhouettes, flying through the air and flashing, fell into Luli's courtyard. Grandfather and grandmother. Father and mother. Brothers and sisters. Lu Li's eyes reddened, although he had always wanted to go out, but when he really had to leave, his heart was also very reluctant. It's too hard to say goodbye today. The opportunity to leave the island bestowed by the island master would not be given only to the Lu family. So basically, those who leave the Sin Immortal Island and their closest relatives are like saying goodbye forever, and it's hard to see each other again. Lear don't be sad. It's a heavenly good that the descendants of my Lu family are able to leave this island. After you go out, you should follow the island master well in order to repay this favor of the island master. Lu Li's grandfather, Lu Qi Gong, lightly smiled and relieved. Even though he couldn't let go of this grandson in his heart, leaving Sin Immortal Island would not only allow Lu Li to gain more freedom, it would also allow the Lu family lineage to see the outside world again and get rid of the Sin Immortal stigma. Lear, although it's free out there, it's also more dangerous than Sin Immortal Island. Take care of yourself after you go out. Lu Li's father said in a deep voice. A father's love is like a mountain. A word of care is a concern. Lu Li's grandmother was fine, but his mother, however, was already sobbing uncontrollably. Chen Fan sensed all this from the main altar and did not urge Lu Li. Lu Li had made a request to leave the island a few months back. Chen Fan had been observing Lu Li in secret for quite some time and thought that this person's heart was still good, so he gave him this opportunity. Although there were still a few more soul bodies on the soul departure altar, these few soul bodies were all at the spirit lake realm cultivation level. It was not easy to have a chance to plant a secret pawn in the Luo family, so Chen Fan naturally wanted to hide a big move. This Luli was already at the clasping Dan realm cultivation level. Go! A moment later, Lu Qigong smiled faintly. Luli bowed to bid farewell to his group of relatives and flew to the soul departure altar. Thank you for the island master's great kindness. The Lu family is willing to remain loyal to the island master for all eternity. 
Lu Qigong's loud voice resounded through the heavens and earth, echoing within the Sin Immortal Island. Countless people were envious of Lu Li, but there are also some people, their gazes as cold as snakes, their low eyes flashing fiercely, praying in their hearts that Chen Fan will lose his hooves, and it's best to be finished off by the Lu family's little brat, as long as the island master was defeated and killed. Sin Immortal Island would be able to temporarily become a land without a master, and those of them who were at the peak of their cultivation would no longer have to be subject to others. As Lu Li flew onto the soul separation altar, Chen Fan's eyes narrowed lightly as his body transformed into a stream of light and swept from the main altar into the soul separation altar. Buzz! When Chen Fan entered the soul departure altar, the powerful and unrivaled aura of heavenly might on his body was openly buzzed away. This was not the first time Chen Fan had ascended the soul departure altar and he had long been accustomed to such changes. That dispersed heavenly might power was the power of his absolute control over everyone on this island. But as long as he left the soul departure altar, this power would return to him again. Island Master. Luli clasped his fists in salute. Chen Fan smiled lightly. You should know all the rules. Go all out. The subordinate has taken offense. Swish. Luli let out a low gulp as his dantian flew around and a strong aura burst out. 10,000 sword immortal technique. Luli's arms opened up and immediately countless spiritual sword shadows emerged behind him like peacocks opening their screens. Each of these spiritual power sword shadows was condensed like a solid form, stern and sharp, glittering with green light. Chen Fan secretly praised in his heart, although he was also at the clasping Dan realm. Lu Li's battle power was definitely above Huang Su. The islanders here, although they varied in cultivation, strong and weak, all of them had one thing in common. That is, all of these islanders have a strong heritage in them. The existences that could be imprisoned by the first island master into the sin immortal island. Whether they were immortal and devil cultivators or demonic beasts, they were all once peak powerhouses that dominated one side. All of their descendants have been inherited from their ancestors, and naturally none of them are mediocre. The 10,000 swords immortal technique that Luli practiced was a top-notch sword dao technique, putting it into the entire Xi'an Ling continent. There weren't many sword dao techniques that could be comparable to it. Seeing Luli's spirit sword forming a screen, Chen Fan smiled faintly and said, You cultivate the sword Dao, then this island master will battle you with the sword Dao. Prime diffusion technique. Spiritual power into a sword. Heaven's punishment sword of execution. Buzz. As Chen Fan let out a low gulp and raised his right hand, terrifying spiritual energy surged out sharply from his dantian and gathered in the palm of his right hand, transforming into a purple sword shadow of spiritual energy. The purple sword was like a substance, slightly blooming with a layer of purple halo and the fluctuation of spiritual energy emanating from the sword caused the space on the soul separation altar to gently tremble, sending out layers of ripples. Lu Li's eyes stared. Is this the legendary Heaven's Punishment God Execution Sword that was derived from the Prime Heaven's Great Derivation Technique? What a strong sense of oppression, Lu Li said in a deep voice. Lu Li had been living on Sin Immortal Island for a long time, so naturally, he had heard some things about the Prime Diffusion Technique from the elders in his family. Knowing this gong method, not only is it extremely fast to cultivate, but it is also able to diffuse the laws of the world with the technique of the great diffusion. Whether it was an immortal technique or a demonic technique, all of them could be derived from this technique, thus making the spells more advanced and multiplying their power. Gathering spiritual energy to form the heavenly punishment punishing god sword was precisely the strongest divine means in terms of the Tao of the sword that the prime diffusion technique was currently capable of. However, how much power one could utilize this sword art depended on Chen Fan's own cultivation and his perception of this sword art. Chen Fan smiled faintly and said, This island master doesn't want to bully you either. But naturally, this is the rules of the soul departure altar. And anyone who ascends the altar must all go all out to do so. Make your move. The business outside is important. Although Lu Li was not weak, the moment Lu Li's aura was fully unleashed, Chen Fan knew that it would be easy for him to kill him. Although Lu Li was powerful in the underpinnings of these islanders. The prime diffusion technique that he practiced was even more powerful. The moment Chen Fan gathered out the heaven punishing punishing sword, Lu Li similarly sensed the gap between himself and Chen Fan. But even so, he wouldn't sit around and wait for it to happen. And he couldn't sit around and wait for it to happen. Flying rain sword formation. Lu Li's gaze lingered. And between his arms lightly shaking, the countless spirit swords behind him instantly exploded out, turning into a rain of swords that enveloped Chen Fan. The corner of Chen Fan's lips slightly raised as he raised his sword with his right hand and swung it out. Sword execution. Boom. The purple light swept out, and the terrifying purple shadow sword she blasted out like a monstrous purple wave. The flying rain sword formation that attacked the sky was engulfed by the roaring tide of purple sword chi before it was fully formed. Boom. The tide of purple sword chi took a strong stance and quickly crushed all the green light sword shadows that shot out explosively, and finally blasted through Lu Li's body. Boo. 
With an explosive sound, blood rained down on the soul separation altar. Buzz, buzz. But the next moment, the altar buzzed and trembled twice, and in the midst of the violent energy turbulence, it was gathered into two hazy silhouettes, one black and gray, one dark green. Chapter 24, Coercion of Confessions The black and gray figure was none other than Lu Li's soul body. The dark green silhouette, on the other hand, was the spirit body that Lu Li had coalesced together with all his cultivation as well as his bloodline power. Although Lu Li's physical body was destroyed, his soul and spirit body were kept intact by the mysterious power on the altar. This is the magic of the soul separation altar. Even Chen Fan, who was the island master, couldn't figure out for the time being what kind of powerful force could have such a magical yet powerful ability. This islander is waiting for you outside. Chen Fan smiled faintly at Lu Li's soul body, and with a single movement of his spirit body, he left the soul departure altar and returned to the main altar. When the spirit body sat down on its knees and entered the state of autonomous cultivation, his mind left the spirit body and exited this space, outside, in the forests of the Whiplash Slope Mountains, Chen Fan opened his eyes, and a force of spiritual awareness rushed directly into the depths of Luo Yuanwu's soul C. Luo Yuanwu, who was originally seriously injured and unconscious, was instantly stunned and awakened by Chen Fan's spiritual sense rushing into his soul C. But at this moment, even though he was awake, he couldn't do anything more, he could only stare dryly, feeling the extreme panic. Soul search, buzz. Chen Fan's powerful power of spiritual consciousness spread out in Luo Yuanwu's soul C, forcibly reading Luo Yuanwu's memories. In particular, Luo Yuanwu's memories from more than a decade ago. Boo! Ten or so minutes later, Luo Yuanwu's soul, completely disintegrated. Could it be that I thought wrong? Big Brother's death actually has nothing to do with the Luo family? Chen Fan frowned. He rarely performed the soul search technique because he didn't really want his mind to be laced with too many stray memories belonging to other people. However, he had always suspected that the death of his elder brother might have something to do with the Luo family, and Luo Yuanwu's status in the Luo family was not low, which was why he had used the soul searching technique. But unfortunately, Luo Yuanwu's soul had no memories related to Chen Ping's death. Luo Yuanwu attacked and killed him, and was only requested by Luo Dingtian. Buzz! Chen Fan's palm lightly covered the brow of Luo Yuanwu's corpse, transferring Lu Li's soul power from within the heavenly sea pearl and injecting it into Luo Yuanwu's body, a physical body for a martial arts cultivator, was a skin, as long as the vitality of the skin, has not been completely cut off, and the soul is moved into the body in time, then the vitality of this physical body can be continued, not long after, the dead Luo Yuanwu, his eyes opened and he hurriedly got up, half kneeling on the ground, excitedly saluting Chen Fan, many thanks to Island Master, Chen Fan smiled lightly and said, from today onwards, your new identity will be Luo Yuanwu of the Luo family. When the right opportunity arises, you can use your identity back, but not yet today. Lu Li solemnly said, My subordinate will follow the island master's arrangements in everything. Ten years, after ten years, you will be completely free. Right now, you will follow this young man for now. While this young man transmits your spirit body power, he will give you the general information about Luo Yuanwu. Chen Fan said, Yes. Lu Li respectfully answered. Half an hour later, the spirit injection ended, and Luo Yuanwu was afraid that until he died, he never thought that this physical body of his would still have the day to condense Dan. It's time to head to Tiger Ridge Mountain. Chen Fan smiled lightly and got up. The two of them, one dog, walked towards Tiger Ridge Mountain. Although it was strange for Luo Yuanwu and Chen Fan to walk in one place, there was also no one at all in these wild mountains. Even if there was someone, they could sense each other's presence from a long distance away, and it wouldn't be too late to separate then. After entering the outskirts of Tiger Ridge Mountain, Chen Fan had indeed sensed quite a few scents, hidden in the mountains and forests. It seems that the news is true. The Su family has indeed sent quite a few people over. But whether or not there really is a spirit stone vein underneath the bottom of this mountain, we still have to probe to confirm. Chen Fan's eyes narrowed lightly and he gave a wink to Big Yellow. Rhubarb understood, grinned, and ran towards where the scent was hidden. Not long after, Two silhouettes angrily chased after Big Yellow and rushed over in the direction where Chen Fan was. Damned Earth Dog, daring to tease you Master Zhang. Today, I will slaughter you and stew you into a pot of dog meat. Brother Zhang, this Earth Dog looks a bit familiar. Why does it look a bit like the one beside the Chen family's wasted youth? Humph, even if it's the same one. So what? Have you forgotten what the family master ordered? In the near future, as long as one dares to approach Tiger Ridge Mountain, no matter who it is, they will all be killed without amnesty. Even if that Chen Fan comes, I dare to kill even a piece of him. That's right. After all, what's in this mountain is too important to the main family, and there's no room for error. 
The two men hummed in conversation as they chased after it. Openly, in the middle of the mountains and forests, two spiritual energies were catapulted out, striking the two of them on their heads. The two stifled a grunt and planted themselves on the ground before they could let out any yells. The person who struck out was Luli, who was in control of Luo Yuanwu's physical body. Tie it up, Chen Fan commanded. Soon, these two guards of the Su family were tied to a large tree, and Luo Yuanwu's figure flickered, going to the perimeter to police the area while preventing others from approaching over. Pust, Chen Fan took out his dagger, raised it directly and stabbed it into the left shoulder of Zhang's guard. Ah, the intense pain caused Zhang Song to instantly wake up in pain. When he saw the person in front of him, his pupils contracted hard. Chen, Chen Fan, Zhang Song trembled in shock. This young man is right in front of you, but you don't seem to have that ability to kill this young man, Chen Fan said indifferently, but his palm held the dagger and slowly turned it. Zhang Song grimaced in pain, his cold sweat was like beans, and the veins on his neck were bulging high. Chen, Chen Xiao spare my life, the small person is just heartless, and did not really dare to offend Chen Xiao. Zhang Song trembled and begged for mercy, although between him and Chen Fan, he had almost never crossed paths before, but now that he had fallen into Chen Fan's hands, and had seen Chen Fan's harsh and ferocious methods, how could he dare to continue to clamor? Oh, heartless words? Then say something heartfelt for this young master to hear. If your answer can satisfy this young master, this young master will let you all go. Chen Fan stopped turning the hilt of his sword and looked at Zhang Song indifferently and said. Zhang Song took a low breath, his eyes lightly trembling as he said. What does young Chen want to know? Chen Fan revealed a smile. What is the Su family doing in the Tiger Ridge Mountains? Zhang Song's face changed and he gritted his teeth. I can't say this, I still won't be able to live if I say it. Pust. Ah, Chen Fan pulled out the dagger. Zheng Song's head tilted back in pain, not waiting for him to slow down. The dagger in Chen Fan's hand, with a plop, stuck into Zhang Song's right shoulder again. It seems like you don't quite understand your current situation. If you say it, this young man will let you go. And even if the Su family wants to kill you, you still have a chance to escape. But if you insist on not saying anything, you will be nailed to this tree right now, Chen Fan indifferently reminded. Zhang Song's eyes were hideous as he gritted his teeth. Even if I can escape, my family won't be able to escape. Chen Fan, if you have the guts, kill me. In that case, this young man will ask a different person. Hopefully, he will be as tough as you are, Chen Fan said. Pulled out his dagger and walked in a half circle around the tree to another person. Pust. The dagger dug into the guard's small left arm. Ah, the guard woke up screaming in pain. When he saw Chen Fan, the guard was equally surprised and alarmed, and hurriedly said, Chen Young spare your life, I, don't know that the earth dog is really the one you raised ah, if I knew, I would not dare to chase it, Chen Fan smiled, there is no harm, this matter is not something that this young man intends to pursue, but I hope that you can tell this young man what exactly is in this Tiger Ridge Mountain, this, thumbs up, Chen Fan's wrist was slightly raised, and the dagger that was stuck in the guard's left small arm was sticking to the arm bone and picking upwards, I say I say, Chapter 25, Sui, the second master of the Su family. Wang Shan, you can't say that. Zhang Song gritted his teeth on the other side. Big Yellow, kill him, Chen Fan said indifferently. Big Yellow showed his teeth and laughed as he sprang up, bursting Zhang Song's neck with a bite. Zhang Song's eyes were wide open and his legs and feet stomped around a few times before he died of gas. Wang Shan's face, pale with fear, was trembling. Speak, this young man doesn't like to waste time. Chen Fan stared at Wang Shan and said, over the years of pretending to be useless, Chen Fan rarely fought with people, but he was never a good fighter. In his previous life as a top mercenary, those torture methods he knew could be considered ruthless and poisonous. Wang Shan's eyes were terrified as he said in a trembling voice, If I say it, will Chen Xiao spare me? As long as you speak truthfully, this young man will keep you alive. Chen Fan nodded his head. Wang Shan's eyes were a bit hesitant, and just when he wanted to ask Chen Fan how he could guarantee it, Chen Fan's eyes narrowed coldly and started to pick the dagger upwards again, causing Wang Shan to show his teeth again in pain and screamed miserably. I'll tell you. I'll tell you right now. The Su family has discovered the entrance to a spirit stone vein in a hole in the ground in Tiger Ridge Mountain. Chen Fan nodded his head and said, Who is the person from the Su family guarding this place nowadays? It is Su Yi, the second master of the Su family. Wang Shan said with a trembling voice. Chen Fan asked, Su Wenjun isn't here? No. Missy went to Crescent City. It is estimated that it will take a few more days before she can come back, Wang Shan said. Chen Fan secretly mused that this Su Wenjun had most likely gone to Crescent City to recruit manpower in preparation for mining the Spirit Stone Vein. If the Su family recruited people in Tiger's Pillar City, it would surely easily attract the attention of other families. 
Chen Fan said indifferently, when the person who saved you arrives, you tell the second master of the Su family that before the hour of tomorrow, he must come to the Chen family to find this young man, if he doesn't come, the Su family won't be able to keep the secret here, Wang Shan said in a trembling voice, Chen Xiao, if I see the second master, I will definitely still be spared from death ah, I beg Chen Xiao to be merciful and let the villain go now, Chen Fan said indifferently, you'd better pray that second master Su is kind-hearted and won't bother with you, Chen Xiao, please let me go straight away, after meeting the second master, I will never be able to survive, Wang Shan shouted in fear, Ru Barb, back in town, Chen Fan didn't pay any more attention to Wang Shan, pulled out his dagger, greeted Big Yellow, and walked towards the outside of the mountain, the purpose of coming to Tiger Ridge Mountain had been achieved, and he didn't need to continue deeper into the mountain, although Su Yi and these people were not his opponents, once they took a shine to him, they were bound to expose a lot, furthermore, Chen Fan's purpose of coming here was not to kill anyone, shortly after leaving Tiger Ridge Mountain, Chen Fan stopped in his tracks and Luo Yuan Wu flew over, you stay here, and after Su Yi discovers that guard, you find an opportunity to let the Su family see you, but you don't have to shine, Chen Fan commanded, Luo Yuan Wu respectfully said, subordinate obeys, the purpose of letting the Su family see Luo Yuan Wu's face was to enhance the Su family's sense of crisis and force the Su family to engage in cooperation with the Chen family, the Luo family was powerful and ambitious, so as long as the Su family's brains weren't broken, they would know what to choose, when it was time to rotate the guards, the guards from the Su family who came to change the guards did not see Zhang Song and Wang Shan, they were shocked, and hurriedly reported to Su Yi in the mountain, upon hearing this, Su Yi's face changed wildly, immediately allowing all the Su family guards hiding in the mountains to spread out and search for people, naturally, they could only find Zhang Song's corpse and Wang Shan, who was tied to a tree, while Chen Fan, at this time, was already almost back to Tiger Spirit City, second, second master, when Wang Shan saw Su Yi, his eyes set in fear, who did this, Su Yi asked as he stared at Wang Shan with a dark face, Wang Shan's throat rolled as he said, it's that wasted young man Chen Fan of the Chen family, Zhang Song was bitten alive by that dirt dog under him, second master, you, must avenge brother Zhang, Su Yi's eyes narrowed, Chen Fan, this Chen family trash, why would he come to Tiger Ridge Mountain, he swept a glance at the tortured wounds on Zhang Song and Wang Shan's bodies and couldn't help but suck in a dark breath, this Chen family's trash, he's ruthless in his strikes, so, you have told him the secret of this Tiger Ridge Mountain, Su Yi's gaze turned fiercely fierce as he said in a chilling voice, Wang Shan hurriedly said, my subordinate is also forced to do nothing ah, that Chen Fan's means of torturing people is really too ruthless, second master, that, that Chen Fan also left a message for you, what words did he leave behind, Sui raised his eyebrows coldly and asked in a deep voice, he asked you to go to the Chen family to find him, if he can't see you before the hour of tomorrow, the secret of this Tiger Ridge Mountain can't be kept, any other words, no, no more, click, Sui violently slammed out a punch that went straight to Wang Shan's throat, the bones in Wang Shan's neck were directly smashed to pieces, the man who kept the secret is still dead, and you, a gutless traitor, have no reason to live again, strengthen the staring defense, don't make a single mistake again, Su Yi angrily barked, yes, the Su family's group of subordinates hurriedly answered, at this time, a team of guards hurriedly ran to, the leader's face panicked and said, second master, just now we were in the mountains and forests, we saw a silhouette sneakily skimming past, that person, that person seems to be the third master of the Luo family, Luo Yuan Wu, what, Su Yi's face turned white, could it be that even the Luo family had discovered the secret of this place, the Su family discovered the spirit vein in the mountain, before and after only a few days of things, and also blocked the news at the first time, this news and how to leak, bloody hell, who on earth has leaked the news, if I am told to find out, I will have to skin him, Su Yi spoke angrily, his fierce gaze sweeping over the group of guards, the eyes of the crowd trembled and they all lowered their heads down, not daring to look directly at Sui. We can't delay any longer. We must immediately go back and discuss with father. Sui took a low breath. The sun sets, the moon rises, and night falls. After Chen Fan returned, he told Chen Changsheng about the discovery of the spirit vein in Tiger Ling Mountain. Chen Changsheng said excitedly, I really didn't expect that there was a spirit stone vein hidden in the Tiger Ling Mountain. It's just a pity that the Su family discovered it first. Chen Fan laughed. So what if the Su family found it first? This Tiger Ridge Mountain is an ownerless land. It's not like his Su family owns it. Chen Changsheng raised an eyebrow lightly and said, Listening to what you're saying, you're trying to step in and compete with the Su family? Chen Fan laughed. Why not? It is said that there is a share for those who see it. And since my Chen family knows about the news of the spirit vein, we should get a share. 
Chen Changsheng laughed, although the words are true, it's just that forcibly intervening is more or less unorthodox. Chen Fan shook his head and said, Grandpa is overthinking, how could the Su family not need an ally? Although the Su family has discovered a spirit vein, with the strength of the Su family, they may not be able to guarantee that all of the spirit stones will be mined out smoothly. Sun Sun has already sent a message to the Su family, and if the Su family is willing to form an alliance with the Chun family, they should soon send someone over to discuss the alliance. For this alliance matter, Sunner hopes that grandfather will let Sunner take charge of it. Although Chun Changsheng was relatively harsh on the Chen family's children, externally, he had actually been quite benevolent. Chen Fan had gone through so much effort, so naturally he didn't want to share only three melons and two jujubes. When Chen Changsheng saw Chen Fan take the initiative to request, he smiled and said, it would be a good thing if the two families could really form an alliance. All right, grandpa will leave this matter in your hands. But this matter is after all my Chen family going to take advantage of the Su family, and you must not be too forceful in the negotiations. Don't worry, grandfather, my grandson will make the Su family willing. Chen Fan laughed. He he, in terms of mind alone, I'm afraid that even grandpa is inferior to you. Of course grandpa believes in you. Chen Changsheng stroked his beard and smiled. At this time, the housekeeper Jobo respectfully sat outside the courtyard. Family master, eldest young master, the second master of the Su family is here, saying that he has an appointment with the eldest young master. The second master Su came much faster than I expected. It seems to be in a real hurry. Chen Fan smiled faintly and got up, saluting Chen Changsheng. Grandfather, grandson will go and meet him. Chapter 26, My Chen Family Wants Half of It. Chen Changsheng laughed, Go ahead, grandpa will be waiting for the results. Grandson will not let grandpa down. The corners of Chen Fan's lips rose lightly. Walking outside the courtyard, Chen Fan said to his housekeeper Zhou Bo, Lead second master Su directly to my courtyard. Yes. A moment later, Uncle Zhou led Su Yi to the outside of Chen Fan's courtyard. Second master Su, please come in. In the courtyard, Chen Fan smiled faintly. On the stone table, an altar of fine wine and two wine marquee had been set up. Su Yi's eyes narrowed coldly, and with a dark and heavy face, he stepped into the courtyard. Uncle Zhou, you can step back first, Chen Fan said. Yes, although Uncle Zhou was a bit uneasy, after all, this Sui looked quite unkind, but since Chen Fan had orders, he should comply. Moreover, this was the Chen family after all, so I thought Sui wouldn't dare to mess around. Sui coldly sat down opposite Chen Fan. Chen Fan, you're an idle person, why do you need to worry about something you shouldn't have to worry about? Sui said in a deep voice. Chen Fan smiled faintly and poured himself two glasses of wine. Second master is joking, those big events that will affect the future pattern of Tiger Spirit City, even if my little nephew is no longer willing to worry about it, he still has to go and worry about it for a while, otherwise, in the future, this kind of idle days, I'm afraid that it will be hard to have it again, Chen Fan smiled and pushed one of the wine, in front of Su Yi, this is Cloud Lake City's spirit spring brew, bringing it to entertain second master, my nephew is not considered to be out of line, is he, the corners of Su Yi's eyes narrowed as he said, Chen Fan, if you have something to say, just say it straight. You and I both know clearly that I didn't come here to drink this cup of your spirit spring brew. What exactly do you want by asking me to meet you? Chen Fan laughed lightly. Those who see it, naturally want to ally and cooperate with the Su family. I, the Chen family, will share half of the spirit stone veins in Tiger Ridge Mountain. Su Yi's face changed. Then he laughed angrily. Half? You have a big mouth. Chen Fan laughed. Don't get angry in a hurry. Second master, if there was no Chen family to help, it would be hard to say if the Su family could hold on to the other half. My nephew was able to get the news. This Luo family is not a dry food. Sooner or later they will also know. Second master thinks that by then, the Luo family's people will dryly watch the Su family exploit this spirit stone mine? Su Yi laughed coldly. If that day really comes, my Su family can cooperate with the Luo family and share half of it with them. There is no need to cooperate with your Chen family. Although some words are not very nice to hear but it is also the truth. Since your father died, your Chen family is not as good as one day, now can still top the name of one of the three big families, but because the old family Master Chen is still alive, but the old family Master Chen is ultimately the body of the old. If we're talking about longevity, it's still more appropriate for the Luo family and my Su family to be partners in this cooperation. Chen Fan laughed, second master is saying this against his will. If the Su family really wanted to cooperate with the Luo family, second master would not have come to me. Sui coldly laughed, I came here, but I just want to hear, just how big of an appetite you have. Chen Fan smiled, how big my nephew's appetite is, second master knows now, if second master really doesn't want to cooperate with the Chun family, then go back. Sui said in a cold voice, 
Chen Fan, don't you dare play such old tricks with me. Chen Fan smiled without saying anything. Tricks do get a little old, but as long as they work. Seeing that Chen Fan did not make a sound, Sui could only say with a black face, half of it is absolutely impossible. Chen Fan laughed lightly. It seems that the second master still wants to cooperate with the Chun family. After all, everyone knows that that Luo family is extremely ambitious and acts in an overbearing manner. If they cooperate with them, I am afraid that one day, they will be clamored for, to seek the skin of a tiger, and then to turn it against itself. This kind of thing, cannot be uncommon. In comparison, my Chen family is much more reliable than the Luo family. After all, our two families have equal strengths, and we both know that the only way to be invincible in the future is to keep watch and help each other. Sui narrowed his eyes coldly and stared straight at Chen Fan. Chen Fan's reputation as a wasted young man was known throughout the city. However, not many people truly understood Chen Fan. Even people of the same generation were unwilling to get too close to Chen Fan. A waste, let alone Sui. However, once he saw it today, Sui knew that he could no longer underestimate this kid in the future. First, the means of forcing the Su family guards in the mountain forest could be described as ruthless. But now, sitting opposite him, a mid-level Spirit Lake Realm powerhouse, he was still able to talk without being humble, and even had the guts to harbor a few teasing thoughts about him. Such a person, thanks to not being able to build a foundation, otherwise the future would likely be even more terrifying than Luo Qinjun of the Luo family. The Luo family is not a good person. And your Qin family's action today is not considered a good person either. Su Yi coldly snorted. If the Chen family really wants to intervene, my Su family can only give up at most 20% of the spirit stones. After all, this spirit stone vein was discovered by my Su family, and it should rightfully take the lion's share. Chen Fan smiled faintly, picked up his wine and took a small sip. As he put down the wine, he shook his head and said, 20% is too little. If the Su family is really unwilling to part with half of it, I do have another suggestion. Sui tensed his face and asked expressionlessly, Tell me. Chen Fan laughed. As long as the Chen family and the Su family are able to join forces, I, the Chen family, will only need 40% of the spirit stone's mind. Marriage? Sui laughed angrily. Do you not still want to marry my Su family's daughter? Chen Fan, even though you have a few tricks up your sleeve, do you yourself think that you are worthy of my Su family's daughter? Even if she is the daughter of the concubine of the Su family, you, a person who is unable to build a foundation, will not want to think about her. I advise you to break this heart as soon as possible. Chen Fan smiled. Don't worry, second master. I know that my qualifications are mediocre and I am not worthy of your Su family's daughter. So I am not the one who will be joining the Chen family and Su family in marriage. Not you? Sui raised his eyebrows. Could it be that you want Chen Shua to marry the daughter of my Su family? This is not impossible. Chen Shua's qualifications, although not comparable to Luo Qianjun and Gu Buyu, were considered excellent among his peers. Moreover, Chen Fan was so wasted, the future heir of the Chen family should be Chen Shua without a doubt. Chen Fan laughed. That's right, if Chen Shua can conclude a marriage contract with your Su family's daughter, Su Wen Jun, the relationship between the two families can be furthered. In that case, it's not impossible for my Chen family to step back and take only 40%. Su Yi coldly laughed. My Su family daughter, how can she be worthy of the Chen family's second son? Unless, you are willing to write a blood contract. Swearing that you will never compete with Chen Shua for the position of heir. Chen Fan laughed. Second master really thinks highly of me. How can I, a waste who can't build his foundation, compete with Chen Shua for the position of heir? But since second master wants a guarantee, I'll just write it. Su Yi's eyes narrowed. He did not expect Chen Fan to agree so easily. Could it be that he had misjudged Chen Fan? This kid, who actually had no great ambition, and now dared to face him, was merely a victim who was pushed out by the Chen family? It seems that he has also resigned himself to his fate, knowing that no matter how high his mind is, he can't make up for the lack of talent, Su Yi secretly said in his heart. After Su Yi pondered, he added, the matter of marriage, my Su family can consider it, but 40% is still too high, seeing that the two families may be joined in marriage. My Su family is also willing to give up a step and give your Chen family a share of 30%, but since then, the Su and Chen families must make an offensive and defensive alliance and not turn their backs on each other. 40%, the Chen family will not let it go again, Chen Fan said indifferently. Humph, it seems that your Chen family doesn't have much sincerity either. Sui sneered. Chen Fan smiled faintly. The Chen family has sincerity, but that's all. Sui's face turned green and said, I can't be the master of this matter. I will come back early tomorrow morning. Then my nephew will sit and wait for second master to bring good news. Chen Fan smiled faintly and got up to see him off. Sui left with a black face since. Chapter 27 Luo Pengying Scene
Early the next morning, Sui went to the Chen family again. This time, he had wanted to talk to Chen Changxing directly, but he was told by Uncle Zhou that Chen Changxing was in seclusion and was not in a position to meet with guests. There was no choice but to be brought to Chen Fan's small courtyard again. At first, Sui still insisted on giving only 30%, but after arguing for half a day, Chen Fan never had the slightest intention of backing down, so Sui could only unwillingly give in again, promising to share 40% of the spirit stones to the Chen family. After all, the secret of Tiger Ridge Mountain, in Su Yi's opinion, has already been discovered by the Luo family, although the Luo family has not reacted much yet and has not sent anyone to make contact with the Su family. With Su Yi's understanding of the Luo family, it is likely that the Luo family has already begun to plot in secret. The Su family dare not delay any longer. Otherwise, once the Luo clan made an attack, the Su clan would not be able to fight against the Luo clan without the Chen clan as a reinforcement, relying solely on the Su clan's own strength. The Luo family was powerful, and in addition to the four great spirit lake realm powerhouses, there was even a Luo Qian Jun who practiced in the Mountain River Sword sect. The Mountain River Sword sect was even a bit stronger than the Heavenly Treasure sect. It was said that Luo Qian Jun was extremely valued within the Mountain River Sword sect, and was a Heaven's Pride disciple that was being focused on cultivating. If the Luo family were to make an issue of it and the two families fought, Luo Qian Jun would naturally not stand idly by. However, during the negotiation, Sui also put forward a condition. The Chen clan must deploy three spirit lake realm and twenty true spirit realm to guard Tigerling Mountain. Everyone knew that the Chen family, including Chen Changsheng, had a total of three spirit lake realms, and Sui had only wanted to make things difficult for Chen Fan, but he hadn't expected Chen Fan to actually agree to it. This surprised Sui. If Chen Fan didn't want Chen Changsheng to personally go to Tiger Ridge Mountain, then he would have to find a way to recruit another spirit lake realm guest minister to come back. A spirit lake realm guest secretary, with a yearly salary, would have to start with at least 50, 000 spirit stones. This was a considerable expense for any clan. Unbeknownst to him, Luo Dingtian was thinking of killing Chen Fan directly in order to be able to renege on his gambling debt of 50, 000 spirit stones. As soon as Sui returned, he announced the news of the upcoming marriage between the Su and Chen families. This news was undoubtedly a heavy bomb for the many clans in Tiger Spirit City. There were dozens of families in Tiger Spirit City, and among them, the Luo, Su, and Chen families were the strongest. Nowadays, the marriage of two of the three great families would invariably affect the pattern of power in Tiger Spirit City. Everyone could see that the marriage between the Su and Chen families was a precautionary measure or was simply targeting the Luo family. The Lo family, Luo Hongwan, the Luo family head, had a gloomy face as he gathered all the people of the Luo family. Together, a marriage between the Su family and the Chen family. Such a big matter, didn't you guys get any news beforehand? On the main seat, Luo Hongwan angrily asked in a deep voice. Luo Pengying and Luo Yuanwu both hung their eyes in silence, and the Luo family's group of juniors, even more so, did not even dare to utter a single word. Big brother, even if the Su and Chen families succeeded in marrying each other, they wouldn't be ironclad. Not to mention, aren't they still united now? Luo Pengying, the second master of the Luo family, his eyes lightly narrowed as he laughed out sorrowfully. Luo Hongqiao raised his eyebrows and said, Second brother, there are no outsiders here, so if you have any ideas, feel free to say them, no need to hide them. Luo Pengying laughed, You guys say, if one of the young men in the marriage between these two families dies, will the marriage still work? Luo Hongwan narrowed his eyes and said, That's said, but once this is done, I'm afraid that these two families will immediately join forces and take advantage of the opportunity to turn on my Luo family, now that father is still in seclusion. If we really go up against the two families, my Luo family may not be able to take much advantage. Luo Penging laughed, Big brother, this taking of human life may not necessarily require us to do it ourselves. Some ears and eyes reported that this Su family's Su Wenjun went to Crescent City. If she was killed by martial bandits on her way back, what does her death have to do with our Luo family? Luo Hongqiao's eyes lit up and he sneered, It's still second brother who has more ideas. In that case, this matter will be under your full responsibility. Second brother. Good. Luo Pengying answered in one gulp. Luo Hongqiao looked at Luo Yuanwu, who hadn't made a sound, and said, Third brother, go check to see why the Su and Chen families have suddenly joined forces. The Su family's high profile this time makes my brother feel that there is something abnormal. Big brother is being overly concerned. If I look at it, the Su Chen two families are merely seeing my Luo family becoming stronger day by day and feeling threatened, so they want to use a marriage to embrace and survive. Luo Yuanwu laughed with an unconcerned expression. Luo Hongwan shook his head and said, It's better not to be careless. I heard that the Chen family just offended someone from the Heavenly Treasure sect, 
Even so the Su family is still willing to marry the Chun family, there must be a reason we don't know about, Luo Yuanwu secretly said in his heart. This Luo Hongwan's mind is quite delicate. Fine, since big brother is not at ease, then I will go and check. Luo Yuanwu answered with his mouth. Ding Tian, you guys also get in touch with the juniors of these two families and see if you can find out anything. Luo Hongwan looked at Luo Ding Tian and instructed. Luo Ding Tian busily said. Yes, father, then let's all move around. Luo Hongqiao waved his hand, signaling the end of the meeting. As soon as the meeting was dispersed, Luo Ding Tian looked at Luo Yuanwu who was about to leave. So he chased after him and said, Third uncle stay. Since the beginning of the meeting, Luo Ding Tian had thrown a few glances at Luo Yuanwu, but Luo Yuanwu acted as if he hadn't seen him and simply ignored him. There's no need to say more. Third uncle thought about it, and third uncle can't help you with what you've entrusted him with. Luo Yuanwu glanced at Luo Ding Tian and dropped a sentence before striding away. Luo Ding Tian's face turned white. Even his third uncle, who usually loved him the most, refused to help him this time, couldn't it be that he really had to send 50, 500 spirit stones to that waste of a man? Chen Fan? Ding Tian? What are you entrusting your third uncle with? Luo Hongwan's voice came out. Luo Ding Tian's gaze trembled, and he quickly turned around and smiled. It's fine. It's just that my son had a crush on Lu Qingping of the Lu family, and he wanted third uncle to go and make a match for my son. But third uncle felt that Lu Qingping was not worthy of his son, so he didn't agree. Luo Ding Tian made up his own words, but Luo Hongquan listened seriously, and after a slight meditation, he laughed softly and said, that Lu Qingping is a commoner, and really doesn't deserve you, but there is nothing wrong with taking her as your concubine, since you like, tomorrow my father will arrange for someone to go to the Lu family to propose marriage, just can also take the opportunity to enlist the Lu family to our side, in Luo Hongquan's opinion, the Lu family should feel honored that the eldest son of the head of his Luo family was able to take the daughter of the Lu family's concubine as a concubine. Luo Ding Tian was delighted and hurriedly said, Many thanks, father, although he was just saying it as an excuse. If he could really have more concubines to play with, he would be glad to do so. Well, go down. Luo Hongqiao waved his hand. Child excuses himself. Luo Ding Tian made a bow and retired. As soon as he left the council hall, Luo Ding Tian's brows locked. If Chen Fan doesn't die, it won't be so easy to renege on that gambling debt ah, uh, that bastard Li Jun, he even ran away, if I let this young man catch him again someday, I have to thwart this bastard, Luo Ding Tian cursed in his heart and rubbed his temples as he went out the door, yesterday, he was ready to go to Li Jun to collect the spirit stones, only to find out that Li Jun not only ran away, but also rolled away all the spirit stones in the casino, previously, he never thought that Li Jun would dare to have such a big courage, chapter 28, Crescent City, Slave Market, the Chan family. Uncle Zhou came outside Chen Shua's cultivation room with a smile on his face and laughed. Young Master Shua, the Su family has agreed to a marriage. Chen Fan, this trash, even my marriage, he dares to take matters into his own hands. However, this marriage is quite to my liking, so I will spare him. Chen Shua's voice came out from the room. His voice was cold, but a smile curled his lips. Su Wenjun of the Su family, although her talent was not as good as Gu Yuchen, she was an extremely talented woman and was the first of the four beauties of Tiger Spirit City. So of course Chen Shuo was satisfied with this marriage. Uncle Zhou laughed. The family head said that when Miss Su returns, he will let the two of you get engaged. And the Su family has agreed to this. Aha. Uh -huh. I'll just listen to the family's arrangements. Chen Shuo said. A man and a dog roam the city of Tiger Paw. How come I didn't run into a single ungrateful one today? Chen Fan muttered with some depression. For Chen Fan, it wasn't hard to find a guest secretary of the Spirit Lake realm. What was hard to find was a good skin. Big yellow transmitted. Could it be that my subordinate's performance on that day in the Gu family was too majestic, so it scared those dog-eyed fellows in Tiger's Paw City who didn't dare to mess with the island master? Chen Fan drifted off. That must be it. Alas, what did I say? I can't expose my strength. Now I don't even have anyone who dares to mock me. Big yellow smiled sarcastically. It's all my subordinate's fault. My subordinate shouldn't have been so majestic. Chen Fan smiled and blankly glanced at the bastard. This dog, quite narcissistic, island master, my subordinate has something to report. Suddenly, a soul sound, entered Chen Fan's ears. The soul sound was coming from Luo Yuanwu from a short distance away. Chen Fan's eyes narrowed slightly as his soul condensed his voice line and transmitted it to Luo Yuanwu. Could it be that the Luo family has already discovered the matter of the spirit stone vein? Luo Yuanwu transmitted. The Luo family hasn't discovered the matter of the spirit stone vein for the time being, but Luo Hongguang sensed that there must be a reason for the marriage between the two Suchen families, and is instructing his subordinates to investigate the matter. 
Luo Hongwan's sense of smell is quite good. Is this the matter you want to report? Chen Fan asked. Luo Yuanwu said, What my subordinate wants to report is not this matter, but that Luo Pengying will use the name of a martial bandit to kill Su Wenjun when she returns to Tiger's Pillar City as a way of destroying the marriage between the Su and Chen families. Chen Fan's eyes went cold as he lightly hummed. This Luo family is really underhanded. Luo Yuanwu transmitted. Should my subordinate find an opportunity to kill Luo Pengying before he makes his move? You don't need to care about this matter. If you have the chance in the Luo family, you can help me ask Luo Hongbao sideways if the death of my elder brother Chen Ping back then was related to the Luo family, Chen Fan said in a deep voice. Although Luo Yuan Wu's soul see had no memories related to this incident. But if the murderer was someone from Tiger Spirit City, the person who dared to make a move on the Chun family members would most likely be the Luo family. Yes, Luo Yuan Wu answered and then went far away. Destroying the Luo family was nothing more than an easy task for Chen Fan. But what he wanted was a truth. Although he was not a shallow killer, he would not randomly do something that would destroy a person's family. But if Chen Ping's death was really related to the Luo family, he would have annihilated the entire Luo family. In that case, I will go to Crescent Moon City to take a stroll. It's also more appropriate to use a raw face from over there to be my Chen family's guest secretary. Chen Fan said indifferently. Big Yellow's eyes lit up. After being out for so long, could he finally wander outside of Tiger Spirit City? Island Master. Then when do we move? Big Yellow asked excitedly. Chen Fan laughed. It's me. Not us. Your mighty image is too eye-catching. Seeing you. It's not likely that even the people in Crescent City will know that I'm the Chen family's wasted young man. Chen Fan. You go back and tell my grandfather. Just say that I went to New Moon City and will be back in a few days. Rhubarb was instantly dog-faced with disappointment. Chen Fan didn't care about Big Yellow's loss and immediately left the city. After leaving the city, in a deserted place, Chen Fan's lips flicked up, and a terrifying spiritual energy suddenly surged into existence. Swish, the long figure, a vertical rise, the next moment, a stream of light flashed in the sky, toward the north. Although Crescent City was Tiger Spirit City's neighboring city, the distance between the two cities was more than 120 kilometers. If they were on foot, it would take at least a few days. Half a tea later, a stream of light, like a meteor falling and flashing, landed on the southern outskirts of Crescent City. The flying speed of the Clasping Dan realm is really faster than taking an airplane. Chen Fan smiled. According to the time, Su Wenjun should also have just arrived in Crescent City not long ago. Chen Fan secretly said in his heart. Su Wenjun departed from Hupa City the day before yesterday. The speed of the party to catch up will never be too fast. Two days to arrive in Crescent City has been considered good. Chen Fan went through the South City Gate and entered Crescent City. After entering the city, he walked up to a vendor casually handed out two spirit beads, and smiled. This big brother, could you inquire which way I should go if I want to recruit some smiths and laborers? Once the vendor saw the two spirit beads, the light in his eyes appeared, and quickly said, Sir, you really asked the right person. The east side of the city, is the slave market? My cousin's second uncle, in charge of things over there. Sir, if you want to recruit craftsmen and laborers, small people can lead sir over. Chen Fan laughed, there's no need to bother big brother with this. I'll just go around by myself. With that, Chen Fan left the spirit bead behind and headed towards the east of the city. The vendor had some regrets. This gentleman is so generous. If you follow the service, perhaps you can also get some other benefits. Places like the slave market are found in almost every city. Here, not only can you hire manpower, but you can also buy slaves directly. Crescent City, the city's eastern slave market. Chen Fan had just arrived over here when he was startled by the bustling crowd and the yelling that filled the street. I didn't expect the slave market in Crescent City to be much more prosperous than Tiger's Paw City. Male slaves for sale. 5,000 spirit beads apiece. Half a bowl of rice a day. Can move 10,000 pounds of bricks. Good little slave girl. Washing and cooking during the day and accompanying you to rock the boat at night. Only 100 spirit stones. Good deal. Foundation building martial slave. 2,000 spirit stones apiece. 50 spirit stones per month. Starting at one year. Foundation building slave girl. Can be used as a cauldron. One bite price, 3,000 spirit stones apiece. Monthly rent is 500. Starting from one month, listening to the various yells, as well as looking at the notice boards with clearly labeled prices, Chen Fan also secretly shook his head. Although this world was a hundred times more arcane than the blue planet, the class distinction of people was also much more obvious. It's hard for the weak, the backgroundless, to even want a simple, ordinary life. Thousand Spirit Merchant Company Recruiting Foundation Establishment Martial Cultivator. Monthly Salary 30 Spirit Stones. True Spirit Martial Cultivator. Monthly Salary of 100. Willing to come over and sign up. 
Recruitment for the Longxing Merchant Fleet, Foundation Establishment Martial Cultivator, Monthly Salary of 31 Spirit Stones, Opportunities Don't Come Along Often, Come and Follow Me. Further on, Chen Fan heard the voices of some recruiters, the Su family, they should be at the head of this place as well. Chen Fan gave a dark cry and continued to squeeze inside the slave market, open up the barren mountains, and recruit a large number of craftsmen, hard laborers, 600 spirit beads a month, regardless of gender, and with sound limbs, sure enough, without walking for long, Chen Fan heard the yells of recruiting smiths, only the one who shouted was a middle-aged man, Chen Fan swept his gaze over and did not see Su Wenjun's figure, chapter 29, the mask, Su Wenjun naturally wouldn't show up at such an occasion, Chen Fan secretly observed for a while, and other than the fact that craftsmen and laborers were being recruited here, there was no one else recruiting, these people, they should be the Su family, Chen Fan secretly said in his heart, he was just hanging around, just waiting to follow them and find Su Wenjun, Chen Fan had no intention of making direct contact with the Su family, he only needed to make sure that Su Wenjun could safely return to Tiger Spirit City, Chen Fan waited until it was dark and the slave market was closed, and only then did the three people who recruited collect the notice board and leave the slave market, with a quiet tale, Chen Fan followed the three to a restaurant called Duan Yulu, it seems that Su Wenjun lives here, Chen Fan's eyes narrowed lightly, and his powerful spiritual sense power subtly probed towards the middle of the restaurant, one early spirit lake realm, for true spirit realm, 23 foundation establishment realm, the rest, are all chi practicing realm and ordinary people, this early stage of the spirit lake realm should be the guest secretary of the Su family, Lu Feng Dao, Chen Fan made a judgment in his mind while sensing the aura within the restaurant, it was a pity that he was not familiar with Su Wenjun, so he was also unable to recognize which one was Su Wenjun from among the many scents, however, it was difficult to defeat Chen Fan, with a wave of his hand, he took out a mask from the Xin Kong ring and put it on his face, the mask was ordinary looking, a gadget that Chen Fan had personally refined a few years earlier, although it wasn't of much use, it could conceal the breath, boss, open a room for me that is the best you have here, walking over to the counter, Chen Fan said indifferently, the shopkeeper sniffed and hurriedly said, sir, this is really embarrassing, the best rooms in our restaurant are on the fifth floor, but right now, the fifth floor has been fully booked, there are still a few rooms left on the fourth floor, do you want to consider it, then get me a room on the fourth floor, Chen Fan nodded, okay, the shopkeeper was delighted, after checking in, Chen Fan followed the fellow and went up to the fourth floor, once he entered the room, Chen Fan peered his spiritual sense towards the fifth floor, eldest miss, a total of two smiths and twelve laborers have been recruited today, subordinate has instructed them to gather outside the south city gate in five days, in a room on the fifth floor, a man respectfully said, this recruitment is a bit slow, at this rate, the number of men that can be recruited in five days is far from the number we expected, a woman's voice, lowered, the man said helplessly, the price we offered is already a hundred spirit beads higher than the market price, but we're new faces, and the people over here can't believe us at all, the woman pondered for a moment and said, what if we had someone from Crescent City, to vouch for us, would the speed of recruitment increase, that's definitely going to happen, at the beginning of today, when we first released the price, there were actually a lot of people who were watching, after all, for those ordinary people, 600 spirit beads a month is already a very high income, the man said, it seems that it's still necessary to borrow the power of the Sun family to do so, the woman's voice was somewhat helpless, obviously, she had been unwilling to go and contact the Sun family, brother Luo, you've been tired all day too, go down and rest early, tomorrow I'll have someone from the Sun family, go over and stand up for you, the woman added, the subordinate retires, on the fourth floor, in the room, Chen Fan, the corner of his mouth raised a smile, is it such a coincidence that this one above my head is actually Su Wingjun's room, looks like I'll have to stay in Crescent City for five more days, Chen Fan let out a light laugh, where he stayed made little difference to him, anyway, once his mind sank, he was able to enter the heavenly sea pearl to cultivate, early the next morning, Chen Fan wore a mask and came to the second floor dining hall, in a corner of the dining hall, he saw seven or eight people gathered around a large table, consuming breakfast, among the seven or eight people, there was a woman wearing a white dress with a white veil covering her face, even when she was eating breakfast, she had no intention of unveiling her veil, but instead, her left hand gently lifted a corner of the veil, and with her right hand, she put a frying stick, gently pushing it towards her mouth, so troublesome, might as well wear a mask like me, at least the eyes and mouth are exposed, Chen Fan secretly laughed in his heart, just as Chen Fan was secretly making a smile, suddenly, a cold and sharp gaze, looked towards him, Chen Fan glanced at the old man as if nothing had happened, 
and then found a seat. The old man put down his chopsticks, but he suddenly got up and walked towards Chen Fan's side. As soon as the rest of the Su family saw the old man's movements, they also had their gazes blazing up, looking like they were ready to strike at any time. Chen Fan froze, could it be that he had been discovered? It shouldn't be. This little brother, this mask of yours is not bad, can you sell it to me? The old man walked up to Chen Fan and said with a faint smile. Chen Fan was somewhat speechless. He thought that this old man was extremely perceptive and had discovered him, but it turned out that he was looking at his mask. Chen Fan smiled lightly and said, You bought it for that girl, right? It is indeed a bit inconvenient for her to eat like that. I happen to have an extra one here, so just give her one. Su Wenjun will soon be his sister-in-law, and it is nothing to send a mask. After Chen Fan finished speaking, he reached out with his right hand, and with a flash of light, a white rabbit head mask fell into his hands. When the masks were first refined, Chen Fan had refined a total of two, a tiger head mask, for himself, a rabbit head mask, on the other hand, was for Gu Buyu, only, he had never found a suitable opportunity to give it to Gu Wei Qian, so he had kept it in his Xin Kong ring, Lu Fengdao's spiritual sense surged, sensing that the rabbit head mask also had the effect of concealing his breath, his eyes were happy and said, then thank you little brother, but I can't take little brother's mask for nothing, little brother say a price, the mask that possessed the effect of astringency was a gadget in Chen Fan's hands, but in the eyes of an ordinary martial arts cultivator, it was a rare treasure. Going out, meeting is both fate. There's no need to be polite. Old man, Chen Fan smiled. Lu Fingdao's eyes flashed as he said in his heart. It seems that this son's origin is really not small. Otherwise, with my age, how could I be worthy to address him as a senior? Lu Fengdao smiled on his face, arched his hand as a salute and said, Since little brother is so generous, then the old immortal will not be pretentious. In this way, little brother this morning meal, then by the old immortal to invite. How? He he, if someone invites me to dinner, how would I refuse? Chen Fan laughed. At the same time, he handed the rabbit head mask to Lu Fengdao. Lu Fengdao received the mask with a smile and said to the fellow serving in the dining hall, give this little brother one of your restaurant's most sumptuous breakfasts, and just put it on the old man's account. Okay, the fellow answered with a smile and went to make arrangements. Little brother, then the old immortal will go over first. Lu Fengdao smilingly arched his hand in farewell. Chen Fan smiled and returned the greeting with an arch and did not say much. Lu Fengdao had just returned to the big table when Su Wenjun asked in a low voice, Lu Lao, is there anything peculiar about this pasta? If it was an ordinary mask, there were plenty of them in the market. There was no need for Lu Fengdao to take the initiative to run over and buy it from a stranger. Lu Fengdao laughed, Miss doesn't know, this mask is not an ordinary mask but a mask that can conceal the breath. With that little brother wearing the mask, even with Lao Fu's cultivation, he was unable to detect half of his breath. Su Wenjun was surprised. In that case, this mask is really considered a rare treasure. This person even gave it away casually. It's really generous. Chapter 30 Whale Shark Gang Lu Fengdao nodded his head and said, This little brother should be of some origin, but it's a pity that we are burdened with a heavy responsibility on this trip. It is not advisable to have too much contact with the living. Change into it, miss, it's a little easier, Lu Fengdao said, handing the rabbit head mask to Su Wenjun. Su Wenjun smiled faintly, took the mask, turned his back, removed the veil and replaced it. The rabbit head mask, which covered most of Su Wenjun's face, was hollowed out just enough to reveal all of her features. Dressing up like this gave her originally cold and clear temperament a hint of playfulness and cuteness. The size is still just right. Su Wenjun let out a shy smile, then got up, and towards Chen Fan's direction, Oda Bowen said, Thank you, sir. Chen Fan waved his hand and smiled without saying much. It seems that this one doesn't want to have deep contact with us either. Lu Fengdao laughed. One of the guards grinned. That's because he hasn't seen the true face of our eldest miss. Otherwise, wouldn't it be this kind of reaction? Lu Fengdao frowned. Luo Ran, don't talk too much. Luo Ran smiled awkwardly and hurriedly lowered his head to eat. Not daring to say more, neither party crossed paths again until after breakfast. After leaving the Duanyu building, the Su family split into two waves. One wave went to the slave market to recruit people, while Su Wenjun and Lu Fengdao headed towards the Sun family. The Sun family, the maternal clan of Su Wenjun's mother, Sun Yunji. But since three years ago, Su Wenjun cousin Sun Changjin, to Su Wenjun to propose marriage was rejected. The relationship between the two families has been in an awkward, which is also Su Wenjun to the Crescent City, but has not been to visit the Sun family reasons. But right now, for the sake of the recruitment matter, Su Wenjun could only go to the Sun family for help. Not long after, Chen Fan walked out of the Duanyu building and headed in another direction. 
Lu Fengdao and Su Wenjun, who had originally left for a long time, walked out from the street corner at this time. It seems that the old man was overly concerned. Lu Fengdao laughed lightly. Su Wenjun said softly, You can't do harm to others, but you can't do nothing to prevent others. Elder Lu is doing this for our safety. Lu Fengdao said, Yes, people's hearts are treacherous, it's good to be cautious. Since he's not coming at us, let's go to the Sun family here. Hopefully the Sun family won't be too difficult. Su Wenjun said, Nowadays, Grandpa is still in charge and the uncle's lineage doesn't think it would dare to really do anything to us, I hope so, Lu Fengdao answered, but he was not as optimistic as Su Wenjun thought, that son Changjin he has seen a few times, he is a narrow-minded person, not a good thing, in the land of Crescent City's West City, there was an existence called the Whale Shark Gang Entrenched, this was what Chen Fan had inquired from the mouth of the restaurant's shopkeeper, according to the shopkeeper's words, the Whale Shark Gang in the Crescent City is not small, in recent years the development is very fast, the west side of the city originally has several families, now all by the whale shark gang to make the family broken. In the dungeon of the whale shark gang, the children and descendants of these broken families were even imprisoned, and they were bullied by them for a long time. There was no deep hatred between the whale shark gang and these families, and the bullying of the descendants of these families was only to deter and remind those foolish family forces in Crescent City. Half an incense stick later, a man dressed in a black shirt with a black tiger head mask came to where the whale shark gang was. Just as Chen Fan arrived, he saw two grey-clothed gang members, carrying a bloody corpse, walk out. Boo! The two of them exerted their forces in unison and actually threw the body directly onto the street. Ma Kong Yun, the remaining member of the Ma clan, has been exposed for three days. Anyone who dares to collect his body will be offending my whale shark gang. The two gang members gave a ferocious shout, and even gave a cold look at Chen Fan before turning around and heading back to their quarters. Chen Fan's eyes narrowed lightly. This whale shark gang was really a bunch of vicious people. He glanced at Ma Kong Yun's corpse, although it was a freshly dead body, but the bones around his body were broken most of the time, and some of the broken bones were pierced out of the skin, and his eyes were also plucked out. The death was really miserable. A body like that can't be used. Chen Fan walked straight in towards the whale shark gang. Where did the bastard come from? Daring to break into the whale shark gang, the few gang members guarding the gate, at the sight of Chen Fan walking directly over, immediately rushed up with fierce shouts. Chen Fan's eyes were icy cold, and with a casual move of his right hand, an ordinary mortal grade long sword appeared in his hand, although it was only a mortal long sword. In the hands of Chen Fan of the clasping Dan realm, even if it was just a piece of scrap iron, it could explode with an indestructible and powerful force. Boom! The sword was casually waved, erupting with a terrifyingly powerful sword chi. The four guards had just rushed a step before they were swept by the sword chi to their waist, breaking into eight pieces and falling to the ground. The four of them stared in horror, their mouths wailing and spitting blood. There were many people who had died tragically at their hands, but they didn't think that one day they themselves would die so tragically. Someone has broken into the compound. The people inside the compound, hearing the commotion and seeing the tragic deaths of the four guarding gang members, immediately ran inside while screaming in terror. Their strength, which was not much stronger than the four people guarding the door, naturally did not dare to come forward to stop Chen Fan. Chen Fan was also too lazy to go after these little shrimps. Who has eaten the guts of a bear and dares to come to my whale shark clan to sow their wild oats? Boom! With a furious cry, a huge hammer, wrapped in terrifying power, exploded across the sky and smashed violently towards Chen Fan. The corner of Chen Fan's lips lifted coldly, his long sword raised diagonally and a sword light flashed away, splitting down on the hammer. Boo! The huge hammer that was charging so violently was easily split by the sword light and flew backwards. Swish! A tall and sturdy silhouette, longitudinal air came, Big hand angrily tugging between, will fly backwards hammer sucked down in the hands. The fierce-faced Yuan Wei's eyelids were also subtly trembling twice at this moment. On top of the hammer, an inch-deep sword mark was actually cleaved out by the sword light. One must know that this hammer was a spirit weapon. Even if it was only a lower grade of the spirit rank, it was still incredibly hard. Good boy, you really do have some strength. No wonder you dare to break into my whale shark gang. Yuan Wei sneered. Chen Fan said indifferently, this young man came here. Not to talk nonsense with you, the whale shark gang still has three spirit lake realms. All of them come out. Yu and Wei originally wanted to say, against you, Lao Z1 is enough. But the words reached his mouth, but still held back. This mysterious kid, looking at something, he didn't want to be in the gutter. Swish swish swish, behind the compound, three silhouettes swept in from different directions. These three people, an old man, a middle-aged man, and a middle-aged woman with black lips. The old man was none other than the whale shark gang leader Zhang Jing, the man and the woman, 
just like Yuan Wei, were the vice masters of the whale shark gang. Very well, all have come, Chen Fan said indifferently. Zheng Jing's eyes narrowed coldly. Your Excellency has a grudge against my whale shark gang? The whale shark gang isn't a place for reasoning, so why ask for such nonsense? Either fight with this young man, or directly kneel down and submit to this young man. Chen Fan snorted coldly. His figure directly stormed up and rushed towards the four people. Damn, this is the first time I've met such an arrogant person since I grew up. Boss, let me meet him first. Vice gang leader Song Fang's eyes were fierce. A majestic spiritual energy, ferociously bursting and surging, charging towards Chen Fan. Chapter 31, The Great Transformation. Boo! The braggadocio Songfeng had just rushed out when he was slammed into by a silhouette that was so fast that it was terrifying. In the instant of the collision, Songfeng's figure flew backwards, and the blood that spewed out of his mouth was still floating down in the air. But his person had already been blasted to the back of the premises, his life and death unknown. Dead silence. At this moment, the whale shark gang, which had thousands of gang members, fell into a dead silence. Songfeng was a middle stage spirit lake realm powerhouse, and when looking at the entire Crescent City, his strength could be ranked among the top three existences. However, it was such a strong person who was blasted out of sight under a single glance. Zheng Jing, Yu Bai Hua, and Yu Wenwei's pupils contracted. Their hearts trembled furiously, and at the same time, they had the urge to turn around and run for their lives. However, they had come to Crescent City for four years, and it was not easy for them to lay such a foundation for the whale shark gang, and it was really not willing to run away just like that. Is Zun, Zuanzhou a strong clutching Dan realm master? Zheng Jing's throat rolled and trembled as he hurriedly clasped his fists and asked. Although Song Feng's life and death were unknown, how could he dare to apologize for Song Feng at this moment? People as evil as them, if they didn't know how to judge the situation, they would have died countless times already. The corners of Chen Fan's lips rose lightly as he said lightly, You old thing, you do have some eyesight, how is it? Do you still need this young man to continue to make a move? No need, no need. Zheng Jing hurriedly smiled and said, we wouldn't dare to fight with a clasping damn powerhouse. If you have any orders, just say so. As long as my whale shark gang can do it, I will definitely do it for you. Chen Fan nodded his head and said, Since you are sensible, it is good for this young man to talk. Bring that punk who was blown away just now to your council hall. This young master has something to admonish. All right, Lao San and Lao Si. You guys go carry Lao Air to the council hall. Zheng Jing hurriedly ordered. Yu Baihua and Yu Wenwei hurriedly responded and hurriedly flew in the direction Song Feng had fallen. Knowing that the other party was at the clasping Dan realm, they didn't even have the courage to fight to the death. Facing the clutching Dan realm, even if four spirit lake realm great circles went together, they might not be able to have a chance of winning, let alone the fact that they were now left with only three combatants, and there was only one late stage of the spirit lake realm. Zheng Jing, your honor, I will lead the way for you. Zheng Jing piled on the smiles, although he was in this state now. It was humiliating, but it was better to be humiliated than to lose one's life. Chen Fan nodded indifferently. He followed Zheng Jing and landed towards where the Whale Shark Gang's council hall was. Soon, the four heads and vice heads of the Whale Shark Gang apprehensively gathered with Chen Fan. At this moment, Song Feng had long since fallen into a seriously injured coma. The power of Chen Fan's punch blasted him to the point where he was left with just a breath. Buzz! Chen Fan raised his hand and waved it, and powerful spiritual energy blasted out transforming into a party of powerful prohibitions that enveloped the entire council hall. Zheng Jing's three people, their hearts tightened. If Chen Fan were to strike at them at this time, they wouldn't even have a helping hand, but soon they were relieved. Those gang members outside, even if they were able to rush in, facing an enemy of the clasping Dan realm, it wouldn't change anything at all. Cough, your honor, if there's something you want, please command. Zheng Jing lightly coughed. Chen Fan narrowed his eyes and said, then this young man will be straightforward. This young man wants to borrow your flesh for a while. Zhang Jing's three faces changed greatly. Borrowing their flesh? What does this mean? Swish. Without waiting for them to ask for an understanding. Chen Fan had already flashed his body and exploded towards Zhang Jing. Bastard. We're already willing to submit. So why would your honored servant still strike at us? Fight this asshole. Spell it out. Zhang Jing. You one way. And you bite Hua roared out in anger. And their figures flickered gathering the strongest battle power to meet Chen Fan. It was a pity that with their realm, even if they held the intention to fight to the death, they would not be Chen Fan's opponent. Boom, boom, boom. Under the heavy punches and kicks, the three of them were blown away one after another, ruthlessly crashing into the forbidden barriers, spitting out blood and falling to the ground, their breath rapidly wilting. For, why? Zheng Jing asked as he climbed up with difficulty, blood hanging from the corners of his mouth. 
his eyes fierce and resentful. Chen Fan said indifferently, the weak are the strong, just as you are bullying others. It's just that the person being bullied today has been replaced with you guys. Zheng Jing's face twitched, and for a moment, he was surprisingly unable to retort. Yeah, the underdog, the weak are beaten, and weakness is the reason. We are willing to serve and submit, and we only beg your honor to spare our lives. Boo! Just as Zheng Jing finished his plea for mercy, a powerful force of spiritual awareness rushed into his soul sea, crushing his soul away. Chen Fan had snubbed the three of them here and set up a prohibition, both to prevent anyone from escaping and to stabilize those in the whale shark gang. If Chen Fan had directly knocked out the four people outside, I'm afraid that the huge whale shark gang would immediately fall into a state of disintegration. And this was not the result Chen Fan wanted. Right now, the three of them were trapped in the restraints, and when he unlocked the restraints, the whale shark gang would not disintegrate as long as the gang members saw that the gang leader was still there. Boss, Yu and Wei and Yu Bai Hua watched Zheng Jing fall to the ground with unwilling eyes, and both of them cried out in pain with pale faces. Buzz, buzz, Chen Fan waved his hand, and the two spiritual forces transformed into two confining forces that landed on Yu and Wei and Yu Bai Hua, confining them, in order to ensure the freshness of their flesh. These two cannot die prematurely yet. Chen Fan walked over to Zhang Jing's corpse and lightly pressed his right hand towards Zheng Jing's forehead. Buzz! A not-so-weak soul power was injected along Chen Fan's palm towards the center of Zheng Jing's soul sea. What? Are you doing to our boss S corpse? Yu Wen Wei asked through gritted teeth. A person who was about to die. How would Chen Fan pay attention to him? Soon, Yu Wen Wei and Yu Bai Hua were shocked in unison. Because, they saw the boss, who was obviously dead. Sitting up, my subordinate. Duan Mu Xiao, thanks for the great favor of the island master, Zheng Jing said respectfully, Chen Fan smiled, from today onwards, your name is Zheng Jing and you are the leader of the whale shark gang, yes, Duan Mu Xiao responded, Yu and Wei and Yu Bai Hua were shocked and dumbfounded, the boss turned out to be a different person, they finally understood what Chen Fan meant when he said he wanted to borrow their bodies, however, this kind of soul shifting and body seizing means, they have never heard of it ah, demon cultivator, you must be a devil cultivator. You damned devil cultivator. Let us go. Yu and Wei trembled and roared, but his eyes were filled with fear, because he knew that soon it would be his turn. Chen Fan glanced at Yu and Wei and indifferently said, let alone the fact that this young man is not a demonic cultivator. Even if he is, what's the harm? Even though you guys are practicing spiritual laws, the things you have done are even more evil than demonic cultivators. The fact that this young man did not let your forms and gods perish and still let your physical bodies continue to survive. You should be grateful. Bullshit. I won't be grateful to you. Quickly release old me. Release old me. You and Wei hissed and roared. Boo. The next moment, he collapsed on the ground, his eyes, glaring like bronze bells, full of fear and unwillingness. One hour later, the prohibition was lifted, and Chen Fan and the four head and vice heads walked out of the council hall. The whale shark gang members who were guarding the outside as well as the small executives of the gang then let out a sigh of relief in unison. Zheng Jing took a step forward and said coldly, This gang master declares that from today onwards, the whale shark gang has changed its ways and will never do anything wrong again. All the prisoners held within the dungeon are released. The people of the whale shark gang were first stunned for a while, but it soon dawned on them, knowing that this must be what the masked male meant. Cough, gang master, then those industries that we appropriated, should we return them? A true spirit realm hall master asked with a dry smile. Zheng Jing said indifferently, the old owners of those industries, even if they are still alive, they are no longer strong enough to control those industries. Therefore, the industries are still under the continued control of my whale shark gang. In addition to this, from today onwards, a new law transmission hall will be established, with vice gang master Yu Baihua also serving as the law transmission hall master. Anyone who has meritorious deeds will be able to obtain a top grade spirit grade feat technique passed down by Vice Gang Master Yu. If there is any significant merit, there is even a chance to obtain an immortal grade merit law. Boom! The entire whale shark gang instantly boiled over. Immortal grade feats. That was a powerful inheritance that only the top martial arts sects could possess. Chapter 32 Luo Ran comes looking for. It was originally impossible for the whale shark clan to possess an immortal technique. The only possibility was that this mysterious youth who had subdued the four gang leaders had passed down immortal techniques. The gang members were excited. Even if they couldn't act as recklessly as before, if they could cultivate top-level spiritual techniques, or even immortal techniques, that would be much more meaningful than being a villain. Ah, we respectfully follow the orders of the gang master, and from this day on, we will abandon evil and change our ways. We will be willing to be oxen and horses, and do our best to contribute to the gang. Thousands of gang members, in unison, 
kneeled on one knee and shouted under their breath. Its sound echoed, but it was quite majestic. Zheng Jing smiled faintly and said, All of you remember your promises, and if any of you commit evil again, you will be killed without mercy. Disperse. Zheng Jing lightly waved his hand and the gang dispersed in excitement. Whale Shark Gang, I'll leave it to the four of you, Chen Fan said with a faint smile. Zhang Jing and the four of them hurriedly bowed and made a salute, saying, Please rest assured, Island Master, we will definitely restrain the Whale Shark Gang and lead it to the right path. Chen Fan said, Although the Whale Shark Gang already has a good power in Crescent City, it is not enough. I will give you half a year's time to make the Whale Shark Gang the number one force in Crescent City. In addition to that, you must also set up a hall in Tiger Spirit City to secretly defend the Chen family. Yes, Zheng Jing responded. Purge the extremely evil people within the Whale Shark Gang and put them in the dungeon. I will come back in two days. Chen Fan narrowed his eyes and said. Zheng Jing grinned. There are quite a few of these people in the Whale Shark Gang. Chen Fan laughed. The people will pick and choose when the time comes. Envious, this physical body of mine feels a little too old. I don't even know if that thing works well anymore. Zheng Jing said more or less depressed. He was a young man in his 20s, but he was put into the flesh of an old man who looked to be in his 60s by the islander. Although he didn't dare to complain, but the depression was still there. Chen Fan smiled lightly. If you don't want this body, just wait for this island master to open the spirit gathering altar and then send you back to Sin Immortal Island. Zheng Jing's eyes changed and he hastily knelt down and said, My subordinate made a slip of the tongue. Please forgive the island master. Inventory the resources of the whale shark gang. After two days, this young man will take away half of them. Chen Fan indifferently dropped a sentence and walked towards the outside of the whale shark gang. Yes, Zheng Jing knelt down to receive the order. His forehead was already covered in cold sweat. Even though he had come out from the Sin Immortal Island, and that heavenly might was gone from the island master, Duan Mu Xiu was still filled with awe and fear of Chen Fan. Duan Mu Xiu, you really have a lot of guts. Yu Wen Wei glared at Zheng Jing as he saw Chen Fan walking away. Zheng Jing laughed bitterly. I'm really just whining, the two of you are in the prime of your physical bodies, so of course you don't mind, Yu Bai Hua giggled, Duan Mu Xiu, don't you want to know if that thing of yours still works, do you want to find a place where I can try it out for you with this body, Zhang Jing's face turned black, Chu Chiu Tsan, you don't want to cheat me of Yang Yuan, this Zhang Jing a big gang leader, can still not have a daughter-in-law, I need to find you to try, humph, what if, his daughter-in-law is also an old woman, Yu Bai Hua giggled, ha ha, Yu and Wei and Song Feng couldn't help but laugh unkindly. You, you guys. Zheng Jing's face turned green and he was too angry to speak. Look at you. If his daughter-in-law is really an old woman, then just repudiate her. Zheng Jing is dead, and you have no obligation to support his daughter-in-law. Yu Bai Hua laughed. Zheng Jing's eyes lit up. That's right. Zheng Jing's daughter-in-law has nothing to do with me. If she looks good, she stays. If she doesn't, let her go. Yu and Wei stifled his laughter and said, All right. Don't even say anything funny. It's better to hurry up and do what the island master ordered. The three nodded in unison. Let's call a few hall masters in first and find out about the whale shark gang situation. Chu Chiu Cicada. You're good at this. You do it. Zheng Jing said. Yu Bai Hua said. In the future, don't even call them by their previous names, so that they won't be heard and become suspicious. Well, old four has a point. Song Feng hugged his arms and laughed derisively. Quickly go and call the person in. Yu Bai Hua flirtatiously glanced at Song Feng, the corners of her lips lifting slightly, the fiery body that still had its charm, actually exuded a charming and confusing atmosphere that was hard for people to resist. Song Feng was flirted with his eyes, and secretly said in his heart, This body of flesh of mine is not bad, the evil fire is quite strong. For the next two days, Chen Fan didn't go anywhere and nestled in the guest room of the Duanyu building. He wasn't idle, though, on the soul separation altar. The last four ready-made soul bodies had all been placed within the whale shark gang, so he'll need to replenish his new soul body as well. The four people, Duan Mushio and Chu Chiu Cicada, had all left their souls earlier, and their cultivation levels were all just the Spirit Lake Realm Great Circle. And nowadays, Chen Fan naturally would not choose an islander of the Spirit Lake Realm anymore. Within two days, Chen Fan fought 23 consecutive battles, separating the souls of 23 clasping Dan Realm Islanders. Among them, there were even three islanders who were at the middle stage of the Clasping Dan realm. Battling against three mid-Clasping Dan realm islanders allowed Chen Fan to painfully experience the exhilarating feeling of cutting down his opponents by crossing over the ranks, and at the same time discover some of his own shortcomings in this kind of high-intensity, high-pressure battle. Therefore, after winning three consecutive victories over the middle-Clasping Dan realm islanders, Chen Fan ended the battle and entered meditation. The Xianling continent was huge, and although the Clasping Dan realm was powerful, 
it was not the ultimate powerhouse, and opponents of a higher or even much higher realm than him could appear. Therefore, he couldn't be satisfied with crushing the same realm, but even more so, he had to have the ability to defeat those who were in a higher realm than his own before he could do so. However, according to Chen Fan's estimation, the battle power of the middle stage of the Clasping Dan realm on the Xin Ling continent should be much weaker than the middle stage of the Clasping Dan realm on Sin Immortal Island. Therefore, although his current cultivation level was at the early stage of the Clasping Dan realm, it was not impossible for him to kill a strong person at the late stage of the Clasping Dan realm. That heavenly treasure sect's supreme elder is rumored to be a Clasping Dan realm great circle. When I step into the middle stage of the Clasping Dan realm, I'll be more certain to kill him. Inside the Duanyu building, Chen Fan's mind withdrew from the heavenly sea pearl and a cold light swept through his eyes. Immediately, Chen Fan raised his eyebrows and looked outside the house with a cold gaze. A silhouette stopped outside his guest room and hesitated for a moment before knocking on the door. My lord, villain Luo Ran, I beg you to meet me. Chen Fan narrowed his eyes and said, what is it? It's like this. My young lady instructed me before she left the house this morning to give this letter to Gunzi, Luo Ran said. As he spoke, there was already some urgency on his face. When Su Winjun left in the morning, he had instructed Luo Ran to send the letter to the masked male downstairs if she didn't return within two hours. Although Luo Ran didn't know what had happened, he could guess that something should have happened to Missy. Otherwise, he would never have been asked to find this strange and mysterious masked male. Chapter 33 Sun Chang Jin Must Die Chen Fan frowned lightly and had a bad feeling in his heart. He got up and opened the door to the room. Luo Ran hurriedly handed over the letter. The envelope was intact with fire paint, and Luo Ran didn't know the content of the letter. Chen Fan directly unwrapped it. Wen Jun ventured to disturb. Please forgive me, since I am in another country and have no help. I can only implore you to save me. If Wen Jun can get out of this safely, he is willing to offer 50,000 spirit stones as a reward. After reading the content of the letter, Chen Fan asked, when did your family's eldest miss leave the house and where did she go? Luo Ran hurriedly said, leaving early in the morning, it has been two hours now. Missy went to the Sun family. Lead me to the Sun family. Chen Fan did not talk nonsense and directly said in a deep voice. Luo Ran's expression was joyful as he hurriedly said, good, thank you, your excellency. Luo Ran hurriedly turned around and walked ahead to lead the way. Chen Fan followed Luo Ran, and the two of them walked briskly all the way, and in one tea's time, they arrived in front of the Sun Mansion. Who are you people and what are you doing in the Sun family? The guard who was guarding the door, stepped forward and asked. Luo Ran was just about to open her mouth when Chen Fan said in a cold voice, We are here to find Su Wen Jun. The guard's eyes flashed as he said, Eldest Miss Su did come to the Sun Mansion early in the morning, but she left long ago. You guys might as well look for her elsewhere. Chen Fan said icily, Is that so? But I sense her aura is still in the Sun Mansion. Hoomph. Get lost. We said she left and she left. What a waste of words. The other guard grunted impatiently. Boom, boom. With a wave of Chen Fan's hand, a powerful spiritual energy, stirred away. These two guards who were guarding the door were instantly blown away into the inside of the Sun Mansion, collapsing on the ground, blood spurting wildly from their mouths. Luo Ran's eyes bulged. This mysterious masked male, his strikes were actually so vicious. However, this masked male is also really strong. These two gatekeepers, both of them are at the late stage of the foundation establishment realm cultivation, but they were blown away casually. Luo Ran was shocked and surprised at the same time. In that case, Missy will be saved. You stay out there. Chen Fan dropped a sentence and with a flash of steps, his figure transformed into a black shadow and swept into the Sun Mansion. Luo Ran just blinked and didn't see Chen Fan's shadow anymore. This speed, it's too fast too. Luo Ran was once again shocked. Sun Mansion, in a small courtyard. Su Wenjun was so hot that her skin was scarlet as she collapsed on the bed, but in her eyes, there were still a few moments of sanity left. Sun Chang Jin, I'm your cousin. You, can't do this to me. Su Wenjun was so weak that she only had the strength to speak. In front of the bed, a man stood with an evil smile, admiring the way Su Wenjun's medicine kicked in. You still know that you are my son Chang Jin's cousin? Even your mother's life was given to you by my son family, so who are you to refuse my marriage proposal? Today, as long as we cook raw rice, I'd like to see how you can still refuse this marriage. TSK, TSK, cousin, if you're enduring it too hard, then beg cousin, cousin will surely love you well. Sun Chang Jin's lips were hooked in a bad smile. The reason why he didn't rush things was that he wanted to see how long Su Wen Jun could hold out. He was going to wait until the woman couldn't hold out any longer at all and come begging for him on her own knees. Don't you dare. Su Wen Jun bit her lips fiercely, and a stream of blood instantly nourished out, and her lips which were dry, became even more colorful and red. 
Looking at the stubborn Su Wenjun, Sun Chang Jin's eyes clouded and he coldly grunted. You will beg me. Boo. A forceful chi suddenly blasted through the door of the room. Sun Chang Jin's face was furious, twisted his head and drank. Which dog thing? Dare to spoil this young man. Boo. Before Sun Chang Jin finished cursing, he was approached by a silhouette flashing, and his abdomen also suffered a huge impact, and the whole person, with a bang, collapsed the wall and tumbled into a pile of ruins. Drugged? Chen Fan glanced at Su Wenjun and a murderous aura flashed in his eyes. Gongzi, you can't kill him. Quickly, quickly take me out of the Sun family first. Su Wenjun hurriedly pleaded. He must die, Chen Fan said icily. If he dares to touch his sister-in-law, how can Sun Chang Jin survive? Humph, what a big mouth. Swish swish swish. With a furious shout, three silhouettes swept in. Boom. One of the old men raised his hand and blasted out a powerful palm force that came straight at Chen Fan. Chen Fan's eyes were icy cold as he raised his hand and pointed out with a sword. Boom! The powerful sword Qi, like a shocking dragon, not only easily cut through the old man's palm force, the sword Qi residual momentum, but also snorting, from the old man's right shoulder pierced through the past. Ah! The old man screamed miserably, and his body was carried flying backwards by the momentum of the sword Qi. Father! Master of the house! The other two, alarmed and anxious, suddenly chased after the old man who was flying backwards. Boo! The old man crashed to the ground, his right shoulder bloody. The sword chi from just now had pierced a bull-sized bloody hole through his right shoulder. At the moment, his entire right arm was hanging down, with only the bloody skin attached. With this kind of injury, even if he doesn't die, his right arm will be ruined. And this old man was none other than the current head of the Sun family, Sun Ming, Su Wenjun's own grandfather. Damn, you thieves are so ruthless, Sun Ming's son, Sun Tian Lord. Once he saw how badly his father was injured, his eyes turned red and he roared viciously towards the house, a person on his side. On the other hand, Blanchton said, Big brother, this thief's strength is too ferocious, don't provoke him any further. Otherwise, my son family is afraid that we'll be finished today. Sun Tian Lord's eyes shook. In the next moment, the corners of his eyes narrowed as Chen Fan slowly walked out, carrying the mortal grade long sword. The son of your son family, bullying a woman with charming drugs, doesn't that deserve to die? Chen Fan asked in a cold voice. Sun Tian Lord gritted his teeth and said, Su Wenjun is my son family's niece, and even if Chang Jin is at fault, that is a family matter between our son and Su families. My son family will also give the Su family an explanation. I don't know what relationship your excellency has with Su Wenjun. What gives you the right to meddle in the family affairs of our two families? Chen Fan said indifferently. Su Wenjun offered 50,000 spirit stones for me to come and rescue her. If you take someone's money, you should be able to help someone out. Sun Tian Lord's face twitched. Such a powerful person was only hired by Su Wenjun? Sun Tian Xiong, next to Sun Tian Lord, had slightly happy eyes and hurriedly said, If we give your excellency 50, 000 spirit stones, can your excellency spare us? Save a life for 50,000. Spare a life for the same 50,000. The three of you Sun family, if you still want to all live, then go prepare 150, 000 spirit stones. Chen Fan coldly said, Sun Tianxiang busily said, It's four people. There's also Xiao Jin. We'll go prepare 200,000 spirit stones right now. Preparing 150,000 spirit stones is enough. As I said, Sun Chang Jin must die. Chen Fan said icily. Sun Tian Lord's body trembled. Both knees openly kneeled down and said, Your Excellency has already saved Su Wenjun. Su Wenjun this single business. Your Excellency is considered to have already completed. So please be magnanimous and spare my son's life. My son family is willing to pay double the price to save my son's life. Yes, I'm sure Wen Jun doesn't want to see her cousin lose his life. Sun Tian Xiang busily said, even if she is the employer, some things are not up to her. Chen Fan coldly dropped a sentence, turned around and walked back inside. Chapter 34 Lust Breaking Grass Snow Cold Spirit Big Brother What now? Watching Chen Fan walk back into the house, Sun Tian Xiang looked at Sun Tian Lord at a loss for words. Sun Tian Lord's face turned pale as he gritted his teeth unwillingly. As you said, this person's strength is too fierce, and he refuses to spare Xiao Jin, so there's nothing you or I can do about it. After saying that, Sun Tian Lord closed his eyes in pain. Soon, he heard a poof, and his heart followed with a jolt, a pain that took his breath away, assaulting his entire body. Cam Dash. Only after a long time did Sun Tian Lord let out a long mournful roar. Sun Tian Xiang paled his eyes flickering with resentment. At the same time, it is also clear that Sun Chang Jin can no longer respond to them. You only have one incense stick of time. Chen Fan's ice-cold voice came out from inside the room. Sun Tian Xiang gritted his teeth and said, 
Big brother, take care of father. I'll go fetch the spirit stones. Sun Tian Lord nodded woodenly. Sun Tianxiang got up and left in a hurry. In the ruins of the fallen wall, Sun Changjin was already dead. His heart, pierced through by Qin Fan's sword, and the power of the sword qi emanating from the sword, even crushed Sun Changjin's entire heart, into smithereens. Well, as Qin Fan wiped the blood from his sword on Sun Changjin's corpse, a tingling moan came from inside the room. Chen Fan frowned and walked back inside. He didn't care about Su Wenjun just now because he didn't want to hear Su Wenjun plead for the Sun family. But I did not expect. Just this moment of effort. Su Wenjun has been unable to hold on. Eyes confused began in the self-tugging clothes. Chen Fan had just approached when Su Wenjun's palm grabbed at him. Boo! With a wave of his hand, Chen Fan delivered a hand slash that directly knocked Su Wenjun unconscious and collapsed on the bed. Yu Qi Ling, Give me an elixir that can cure the poison of the enchanting medicine. Chen Fan's mind entered the heavenly sea pearl and shouted towards Yu Qi Ling. Yu Qi Ling, who was in the middle of her meditation, froze at the words and said with a slightly reddened face, Island Master, Linger is a proper alchemist, so how could she have an elixir that can cure the poison of the enchanting pill? Chen Fan's complexion changed slightly as he said in a deep voice, Yu Qi In, do you have it? Yu Qi In's voice was busy saying, Island Master. The old immortal is also a serious alchemist ah, uh, are you in a hurry to use it? If it's not urgent, the old immortal will go to collect medicine now and refine one out for you. Chen Fan's face darkened. If he hadn't knocked out Su Wenjun, Su Wenjun's pants would have been peeled down by now. So you'd say it's urgent. Island master. In fact, the antidote to the charming medicine may not necessarily be an elixir. As long as you are willing to sacrifice yourself, it can easily be solved ah, uh, Yu Qi Ling said with a bad smile. Chen Fan said in a deep voice, don't talk nonsense, is there any power of spiritual materials that can suppress the poison of Wings first? There is, the lust severing grass, which can suppress the poison of the enchanting pill for about an hour, but if the toxicity is still not dissolved after an hour, the power of the Wings will explode even more violently. Yu Qian said busily, what does the lust severing grass look like and where is it found on the island? Chen Fan asked, it's right there in Snow Valley, with slender and ice blue leaves, it's very recognizable. Swish, Yu Qian had just finished speaking when Chen Fan's spirit body left the main altar in a single bound, arriving in the snowy valley in the northernmost part of Sin Immortal Island. The snow in the snow valley is waist deep and does not melt for 10,000 years. A thousand foot long silver white snow python was imprisoned here. Not waiting for Chen Fan to personally go to find the broken desire grass, amidst the snow, an open wave of snow rolled over, and a tall woman wearing a short silver white dress, broke through the snow and came out. In her mouth, she was also holding an icy blue strange plant. Island master, this is the lust breaking grass you were looking for. Little snake has brought it over to you. The short skirted woman with a bare pair of long white legs, smilingly handed the lust breaking grass to Chen Fan. Knowing that she was the thousand foot snow python snow cold spirit, Chen Fan nodded his head and said, thanks a lot. He he, little snake also wants to go out and play. Can the island master make some arrangements? Shui Hanliang asked with a smile. Chen Fan's face twitched as he said, if I remember correctly, you are in the Tongtian realm, right? For this snow cold spirit to make such a request, it was a blatant attempt to devour the lord? The snow cold spirit playfully laughed. Little snake is at the Tongtian realm yes, but little snake is about to enter the molting stage, and will be very weak and frail at that time. As long as the island master can cross over into the immortal infant realm during this period, and then little snake will make himself seriously injured, then the island master will be able to easily defeat little snake. In this way, Little Snake will be able to go out and play early. It's really boring to be here where you can only drill snow every day. Chen Fan was really speechless. This snow cold spirit was too desperate in order to be able to go out earlier. Although ascending the soul departure altar with a severely injured body should not be considered a violation of the rules. Even if Chen Fan was able to defeat the severely injured snow cold spirit, the power of the demon spirit that the snow cold spirit had condensed would be greatly reduced. With the level of aura in the outside world. It would be difficult for the snow cold spirit to recover to its peak strength. Let's talk about this matter later. Right now, I have urgent matters, so I will leave first. Chen Fan dropped a sentence and turned his body around, flying in the air towards the main altar. Yu Qian, within one hour, make sure to refine the antidote pill. Chen Fan commanded towards Yu Qian. Don't worry, island master, I will not dishonor my mission. Yu Qian hurriedly said, mission a ghost. Chen Fan to this old thing, really powerless to spit caught the opportunity to show presence. As soon as the spirit body sat down at the main altar, it began to absorb the power of the lust severing grass. An ice blue extreme cold force penetrated through his body, chilling the Chen Fan in the outside world and sending a shiver down his spine. What a strong cold power. 
Shen Fan gritted his teeth and transferred this medicinal cold power into Su Wenjun's body. As the cold power surged in, the hot and dry feeling on Su Wenjun's body was quickly suppressed. Su Wenjun, who felt much more comfortable, also woke up. Hiss. My neck. Why does it hurt so much? As soon as Su Wenjun moved, he felt a swelling pain coming from his neck. I hit it, Chen Fan said indifferently. Su Wenjun froze, then blushed incomparably. Although she couldn't remember what she had done, she could guess why the masked male in front of her had hit her. I don't blame you sir. It must be because Wenjun was rude under the effect of the medicine. Su Wenjun's face was scalding red. Her head was lowered and her eyes didn't dare to look at Chen Fan. No harm. There is no need for the girl to be embarrassed. It's all just the medicinal power acting up. But the medicinal power in your body is only temporarily suppressed now. If you want to completely remove the medicinal power, it's better to go back and talk about it. Chen Fan said. Su Wenjun's face changed. She thought that the medicinal power had already been dissolved by the masked male. Then does your excellency have a way to completely dissolve the medicinal power in my body? Su Wenjun asked nervously. I can, but I still have some things to do here. Luo Ran is waiting for you outside the Sun Mansion, so follow him back to Duan Yu House first. Chen Fan said. Su Wenjun's heart tightened as he hurriedly looked in the direction where Sun Chang Jin had been blasted away earlier. When she saw Sun Chang Jin, who was collapsing in a pool of blood with blood crumbling from his chest, her pair of almond eyes were immediately filled with horror. Gongzi, you, you still killed Sun Chang Jin, Su Wenjun said in a trembling voice. It is he who deserves to die, Chen Fan said indifferently. Su Wenjun said in a trembling voice, but once he dies, how will the Sun family let us go? No, I seem to have heard my grandfather's voice, her pair of almond eyes, openly round again, exclaimed, you, you will not even my grandfather, uncle they also killed it? Chen Fan turned his head, and his eyes under the mask, with a bit of indifference, asked, if I kill them all, what will you do? Chapter 35, Detoxification when Sun Ming and the others arrived, Su Wenjun had also completely lost his mind. Naturally, she didn't know anything that happened after that. At this moment, her face was pale and she stared at Chen Fan in horror. If Chen Fan killed all the Sun family members, then she really didn't know how to face Chen Fan. Sun Chang Jin was trying to bully her, but the Sun family, after all, was her mother's maternal clan. He he, do you think that the Sun family will not know a bit of what Sun Chang Jin did? They are just letting Sun Chang Jin off the hook. If not, would that spirit lake realm beside you have been branched out? Chen Fan said disdainfully. He hadn't sensed Lu Fingdao's aura within the Sun Mansion, so he must have been detached. Su Wenjun's eyes trembled lightly, pursed her lips tightly, lowered her head, and said mournfully, Then you can't kill them all. They are my grandfather, my uncle. Chen Fan said indifferently, I only killed Sun Chang Jin. After saying that, he walked towards the outside. He didn't have to explain too much to Su Wenjun, if it wasn't for the fact that there was already a marriage contract between Su Wenjun and Chen Shua, he wouldn't have come to the Sun family to meddle in this idol business. Seeing Chen Fan walking out and knowing that the rest of the Sun family was fine, Su Wenjun hurriedly straightened her dress and got up to chase after him. My lord, I know that you are chivalrous and hate evil, but I still want to ask you to spare the rest of the Sun family. Su Wenjun chased after Chen Fan and pleaded. Chen Fan said, they don't need you to plead for mercy their lives, they will redeem themselves, you'd better go back first and get the 50,000 spirit stones ready, if what you promised cannot be honored, I will not help you get rid of the poison of the enchanting pill in your body, Su Wenjun's eyes trembled, could it be that this masked male was really helping her so much just for that 50, 000 spirit stones, in Su Wenjun's heart, he couldn't help but feel a sense of loss, at this moment, her face has long been without a mask, and there is no veil, the other party has long been able to see what she looks like, is there not a little bit of, moving heart? Su Wenjun was originally quite confident in her own appearance, but now, she only had a self-deprecating smile. Don't worry, your excellency, I will deliver 50,000 spirit stones, one by one, no less, only, this can only be honored after I return home. I don't have so many spirit stones on me for the time being, Su Wenjun said with a flushed face. Chen Fan's eyes were cloudy as he coldly looked at her and said, is it true that the fact that this young man gave you a mask gives you the nerve to dare to fool this young man? No, Su Wenjun explained in shock and urgency, I just think that to ask a capable person like Gongzi to come to the rescue, a few hundred or thousands of spirit stones definitely won't do, so that's why I made a promise of a heavy reward. Moreover, in this crescent city, I can only think of asking Gongzi to save me, so, that's why I made a promise that I can't honor for the time being, but please don't worry, as long as I return to Tiger's Pillar City, 50, 000 spirit stones, I'll definitely give them all, 
Poof, it better be. Chen Fan snorted coldly. Even if this is a future sister-in-law, that's one size fits all. More importantly, Chen Fan saw Su Wenjun looking at him with eyes that seemed a little off. But we can't let this woman get in too deep. Otherwise Chen Shua shall not hate him to death? Swish. A silhouette. Sprinting. Was none other than Sun Tianxion. Su Wenjun wanted to call out to his second uncle. But after thinking about it, he tilted his head to the side and pretended to be invisible. Cough. Your Excellency. 150. 000 spirit stones. They are all in this Xin Kong ring. Please be magnanimous and spare my son family this time. Sun Tianxion's face was a little stiff with embarrassment. The nephew was killed. The father was wasted an arm. The Sun family almost emptied the family foundation before coming up with 150. 000 spirit stones to buy his life. And he still had to beg. It would be strange if he could smile naturally. Chen Fan raised his hand and sucked the Xian Kong ring into his hand. After slightly sensing, the number should be error free. Before saying to Su Wenjun, let's go. After saying that, he didn't even look at Sun Tianxion and walked towards the direction of the mansion gate. Chen Fan was ruthless in the Sun family. But in fact, it was also in order to completely break this relationship between the Su family in Crescent City. So that when Su Wenjun returned to Tiger's Pine City, and then faced the pressure from all sides, no matter whether she was willing or not, she could only accept the marriage of the two families of Su and Chen. This was because only a marriage could ensure that the Su family could mine the spirit stone veins peacefully and without worry. Su Wenjun lowered his head and followed Chen Fan. She didn't greet Sun Tianxion. Sun Tianxion's gaze sank as he said coldly, Wenjun, when you go back, tell your mother to never return to the Sun family again. Su Wenjun's gaze trembled, his footsteps slightly paused, and he said in a deep voice, even if second uncle doesn't say anything, my mother shouldn't be going back to the Sun family. Sun Tianxion clenched his fists and turned his back on the duo with a somewhat grim look in his eyes. He actually hated Su Wenjun in his heart. If Su Wenjun had agreed to marry Sun Changjin, wouldn't so many things have happened? Today, even if he and his father and brother had saved their lives, the Sun family's strength was not what it used to be. Chen Fan walked out of the Sun mansion, and Luo Ran, who was waiting outside, immediately greeted him with surprise. Missy, are you alright? Luo Ran asked hurriedly. Su Wenjun didn't say anything, just shook his head. Thank you, your excellency. Only then did Luo Ran thank Chen Fan. Chen Fan said. Go back to Duan Yu house first. After saying that, he was the first to head forward. Luo Ren hesitated and asked to Su Wenjun. Missy, where is Elder Lu? Su Wenjun said. Before that, some family's people came to inform that something happened over at New City. So Lu Lao rushed over. Luo Ren's face changed as he said. Something happened in New City? How come I didn't receive the news? Then I'll go over and take a look. Su Wenjun nodded his head and said. Go, meet Elder Lu and tell him to go straight back to Duan Yu house. Good, Luo Ran responded. Although Missy's state didn't look particularly good, Luo Ran was relieved to have the masked male accompanying her. Back at the Duan Yu building, Chen Fan and Su Wenjun went up the stairs one after the other. Seeing that it was almost time to reach the fourth floor, Su Wenjun blushed and said, Gongzi, how do you plan to remove the medicinal power from my body? You'll know when we get to your room. Chen Fan faintly answered. Su Wenjun's complexion tightened, her face rolled up, biting her snow white teeth and secretly saying in her heart, is it still necessary to use that kind of way in order to dissolve the medicinal power? With shyness and nervousness, Su Wenjun led Chen Fan to his guest room. Gongzi, too, how to solve it? In the guest room, Su Wenjun shyly lowered his head and asked in a small voice. She wasn't sure if she was nervous about this moment, or if she had something to look forward to. Buzz, the only thing that responded to her was a soul force. This soul whisked and spread out in front of Su Wenjun. And Su Wenjun felt a blackness in front of her eyes and fell away softly towards the side. Chen Fan helped her with a hand and assisted her to the bed to lie down. Yu Qian's elixir had already been refined. And after the spirit body swallowed it, Chen Fan then transferred the power of the elixir into Su Wenjun's body, helping her to dissolve the power of the winks. Soon, the medicinal power in Su Wenjun's body completely dissolved. Ha! This sister-in-law, on the contrary, is a blessing in disguise. Chen Fan couldn't help but laugh lightly and then left Su Wenjun's room. He had just gone out when he saw the hurried Lu Fengdao and Luo ran sprinting from the building. Chapter 36, Falling Suns XXVI. Many thanks to little brother for stepping in and saving my big miss. I am grateful. When Lu Fengdao saw Chen Fan, he hurriedly arched his hand and thanked him. After meeting with Luo ran, Luo ran had naturally told him about the matter. Although Lu Fengdao and Luo ran didn't know what exactly had happened within the Sun Mansion. But Su Wenjun was able to come back unharmed, so it must be that the process shouldn't be easy. Chen Fan said indifferently, 
I didn't work for nothing, you guys don't need to thank me. Lu Fengdao and Luo Ran froze, somewhat confused. The matter of 50, 000 spirit stones was unknown to the duo at the moment. She is no longer in trouble, just let her rest well, Chen Fan said, and then walked through the two of them and left. Elder Lu, what was the meaning of this male's words just now? Could it be that Missy has promised him some favor? Luo Ran scratched his temples and asked with a dry smile. Lu Fengdao blankly glanced at him. If you don't know, the old man knows? It's better to wait for Missy to rest up and ask again. The two didn't bother Su Wen Jun, but they also didn't dare to let their guard down again. Just like a door guard, one on the left and one on the right, guarding the outside of Su Wen Jun's room. About half an hour later, Su Wen Jun was suddenly awakened by a wildly conflicting force within his body. These two unfamiliar forces in my body are actually helping me flush my veins through. Am I going to break through? Surprised, Su Wen Jun hurriedly sat up and entered the cultivation state. Boom boom. At this moment, within her body, there were two more strangely majestic forces. One was a strangely cold, supremely pure and feminine power, and the other, a supremely sunny and domineering power of warmth. The two forces, although a yin and a yang, did not clash, but instead went hand in hand, like twin dragons rushing into the abyss, traveling rapidly through her meridians. Boom! Cultivating for just a few moments, Su Wenjun broke through the cultivation bottleneck that he had been unable to break for half a year. Crossing over from the peak of the middle stage of the foundation establishment realm to the late stage of the foundation establishment realm, the power is still majestic and continues to punch the veins. Su Wenjun was excited. It was hard to believe that she would be able to break two realms in a row today. This Gongzi, what exactly did he use to detoxify me? After detoxifying the poison, there is still such a terrifying medicinal power left. Su Wenjun is not stupid. Naturally know that these two forces in the body must be masked male helper detoxification left. Boom. After the burning of an incense stick, Su Wenjun's delicate face turned red because she was too excited. True spirit realm. I actually broke through into the true spirit realm. According to my original cultivation plan, it will take at least two more years before I can step into the true spirit realm. Su Wenjun collected his energy and got out of bed, eagerly going to thank Shen Fan. As soon as I opened the door, I saw two door gods. Lu Feng Dao just wanted to ask about the Sun Mansion, but he suddenly realized that Su Wenjun's aura had changed and asked in surprise, Missy, you've broken into the true spirit realm? Su Wenjun exulted. Yes, Elder Lu. I didn't expect that I would be blessed by a disaster this time. Where is that gentleman? I have to thank him properly. He should be back on the fourth floor. Lu Feng Dao laughed. I'll go look for this gentleman first. The matter of the Sun Mansion. Let's talk about it later. Su Wenjun hurriedly said, and went to the fourth floor. But she knocked on the door several times, and no one answered inside the house. Su Wenjun couldn't help but feel a little lost. Looks like he went out. For some reason, after her breakthrough, she wanted to share her joy with this masked male. Su Wenjun had no choice but to return to the fifth floor, called Lu Fengdao and Luo ran into the room, and began to recount what had happened within the sun house. And at this moment, Chen Fan was already in the dungeon of the whale shark gang. In the dungeon, dozens of people with terrified faces were being held. Gang master, my subordinate is loyal to you. Please spare my subordinate. Gang master, those things in the past were all things you told your subordinates to do. Zheng Jing, you shameless man, without us people, how could the whale shark gang have so much territory and industry today? You're unloading on us. Shut up. All shut up. Zheng Jing's gaze was fierce, and his powerful aura boomed and surged away, rushing all the people in the dungeon and collapsing on the ground. Some of the ones with poor strength directly passed out. Island master, these people are all ten evil people. Take a look and see if there are any suitable ones, Zheng Jing said respectfully to Chen Fan. Chen Fan said, you guys go out too, I alone can do it here. Yes, Zheng Jing answered and exited the dungeon. This gentleman, I really know I'm wrong, I beg you to spare me. In the future, I will definitely do one good deed a day. No, ten good deeds a day. To make up for the mistakes I made before, a middle-aged man at the level of deputy hall master hurriedly knelt down towards Chen Fan and pleaded. There are some people who want to repent only when they are on the verge of death. Chen Fan glanced at the other party and snapped his fingers to shoot out a powerful chi, directly piercing through his forehead. Noisy. Boo. The deputy hall master stared at him and fell on his side. The others were so scared that they didn't dare to make a sound anymore. Half a day later, Chen Fan left from the dungeon. Behind him followed 26 men and women with hidden eyes and joy. Those whale shark gang villains who didn't use it, on the other hand, had all died in the dungeon. Even to keep the secret. Chen Fan would not let them live. Go, outside the dungeon. Chen Fan faintly said, We bid farewell to the islander. Twenty-one of them, 
kneeling on one knee, resigned and then quickly left the whale shark gang through a side alley. What these people were going to do? Chen Fan had long ago instructed in the dungeon. There were still five people left. Standing behind Chen Fan, Chen Fan turned around and said to the three people standing respectfully on his right, Xia Dong, Lu Rue, and Xu Wei Chinga, the three of you, immediately head to Tiger Spirit City. The Chen family is recruiting Spirit Lake Realm guest ministers, so the three of you can take this opportunity to join my Chen family. Yes, two men and one woman, clasped their fists and answered, and then also from the side alley, flew away. These three, were the three Spirit Lake Realm that Chen Fan had temporarily selected in the dungeon. He had wanted to directly get three clasping Dan realms to be guest ministers in the Chen clan, but ultimately changed his mind. The trees attract the wind. Although these people are equipped with a means of restraining breath, but the realm of the stronger, but still able to see through at a glance. Therefore, Chen Fan still decided to place all of the clasping Dan realms in other families, in the shadows, arching over the Chen family. They were all in the same city. So if something happened, they could support the Chen family at any time. And, wouldn't it be nice to be able to eat the resources of someone else's family and improve your cultivation? Jia Yuan, you secretly follow the Su family and escort them all the way. On Su Wenjun's return journey, without any surprises, she will be attacked and killed. At that time, you choose an opportunity to enter and step in to save Su Wenjun, on the grounds that she has good qualifications. Take her as a disciple and stay in the Su family. Chen Fan said to a thin, long-faced old man among the remaining two. This old man, Jia Yuan, and the other woman, Tong Xiao Xiao, were both in the middle stage of the clasping Dan realm. Jia Yuan respectfully said, My subordinate will take orders. Chen Fan nodded and said, Go. Even though the Su and Chen families were about to be united in marriage, Chen Fan still had to plant a secret agent in the Su family. After the spirit mine was mined, the strength of the Su and Chen families would definitely increase. And at that time, there was no guarantee that the Su family would not have other thoughts. Even though the Chen family's true strength would be stronger and was not afraid of the Su family's intentions, Chen Fan could not allow others to have any dissenting thoughts. The only way to be safe is to have the Su family dynamics in your hands. Tong Xiao Xiao, you also go to Tiger Spirit City. Find a place to settle near the Chen family, and secretly protect the Chen family. If someone comes to commit an offense, as long as the Chen family can handle it, you don't have to make a move. When I am not in the Chen family, you are the Chen family's last card. Chen Fan looked at Tong Xiaoxiao and said. Tong Xiaoxiao respectfully said. Subordinate understands. After 10 years, you will be completely free. Go. Chen Fan smiled. Tong Xiaoxiao's eyes were delighted. Many thanks island master. Then my subordinate will leave for Tiger Spirit City. Chen Fan hummed. Only after Tong Xiaoxiao left did Chen Fan summon the four Zhang Jing over. Island master. 70% of the whale shark gang's resources are in this Xian Kong ring. Zhang Jing hurriedly handed over a Xian Kong ring. Chen Fan shook his head. Half is enough. You guys need a lot of resources for your own cultivation and running the whale shark gang. Zhang Jing grinned. Don't worry island master. Although this whale shark gang has only been established for 4 years, there are a lot of resources that have been scavenged. And the remaining 30% is enough for us. Moreover, the whale shark gang has many industries and has a considerable daily revenue. Chapter 37, Letting the Dogs Out Whenever You're Not Sure. Seeing Zhang Jing say so, Chen Fan was no longer polite and nodded his head. In that case, I'll take it. Zhang Jing grinned and said, if it wasn't for the sake of leaving us a place to stay, the island master could have swept away all the resources of the whale shark gang. Chen Fan smiled faintly. This Zhang Jing, today he can talk. Chen Fan didn't return to Duan Yu Lu, but instead, he directly ventured into the air and flew towards the direction of Tiger Spirit City. Wanting Su Wenjun's 50, 000 spirit stones, he still had to escort her all the way back to Tiger Spirit City, which Chen Fan thought was too much of a hassle. And most importantly, it wouldn't be too convenient to get out of the way when the time came. Su Wenjun waited blearily at the Duan Yu building until late at night, but did not wait for Chen Fan to return. He shouldn't have just left, right? Even if he really didn't look at me, then he wouldn't even want 50,000 spirit stones, right? The lost Su Wenjun held on to his last shred of hope, but for the next two days in a row, she didn't see Chen Fan. Boss, the gentleman on the fourth floor wearing a tiger head mask, has he already checked out? Su Wenjun ran to the counter and asked the shopkeeper. The shopkeeper shook his head and laughed. That gentleman didn't check out. Su Wenjun's eyes were delighted. Then in these two days, have you seen him come back? That's not true, the shopkeeper said. However, in my experience, if this gentleman doesn't return for two days, most likely he has already left. Like this kind of guest who doesn't want a deposit and leaves directly. I have encountered many of them. Su Wenjun couldn't help but lightly bite her red lips. Eldest miss, 
The recruits are almost done. Shall we go back today? Luo Ran asked in a low voice from the side. Su Wenjun said in a low voice, the more manpower the better. Recruit for two more days. Good. Luo Ran grinned. How could he not know that Missy just wanted to wait for that masked male again? Unfortunately, another two days passed. Su Wenjun still couldn't wait for Chen Fan, and could only give ten spirit stones to the shopkeeper, so that if he saw the masked gentleman return, he would pass a message for her. And then he led the team back to the road in a gloomy manner. It seems that this little ninny is in love with the island master. Ha! Huh? Her vision is quite poisonous. If she can really accomplish good things with the island master. In the future, won't the island master have to call me Master Jia as well? At the back of the caravan, Jia Yuan quietly followed the Su family's group and said with a smile. At this time, Jia Yuan did not know about the marriage contract between Su Wenjun and Chen Shua, and was still under the delusion that he could make Chen Fan call him master. Tiger Spirit City, outside the Luo family mansion. A man and a dog, standing cold. Luo Ding Tian, come out for this young man. Chen Fan clasped his arms to his chest and shouted aggressively. Su Wenjun's 50, 000 spirit stones. Chen Fan could not want them, but the 50, 000 spirit stones that Luo Ding Tian owed, he must receive, right now. Long past the Luo Ding Tian should return the spirit stone days. See Luo Ding Tian did not move. Chen Fan can only door to collect the debt. This Chen family wasted youth is crazy, right? How dare he yell outside the Luo family's door? He he, does he really think that just because he's a member of the Chen family, Luo Di Xiao will spoil him? Just wait and see. This wasted young man will definitely get a beating today. The four guards of the Luo family who were responsible for guarding the door also had dark faces at this time. Chan Ursheo, our eldest is not in the mansion. You'd better come back another day. A guard snorted coldly. Luo Dingtian had instructed them a long time ago that if Chen Fan came looking for them, they should say that he was not in. Luo Dingtian had been in a bad mood for the past two days. A few days ago, he had managed to borrow enough 50,000 spirit stones, but on his way home, he was knocked on his ass. Not only is 50, 000 spirit stones gone, even the Xian Kong ring has been stripped. It was almost impossible to borrow another 50, 000 spirit stones, so he could only think of continuing to renege on his debt. Chen Fan looked at the Luo family guard and sneered. Not there? Then it's fine for me to look for the Luo family lord. The guard's eyes jumped out of the corner of his eyes as he grunted. My family head, is it not something you can see just because you want to? I advise Chen Ursheo to stop fooling around here and hurry up and leave. Otherwise, don't blame us for not being polite. Uncourteous? Chen Fan's eyes narrowed as he laughed coldly. I would like to see how you dare to be impolite to me. Ru Barb, let's go in. Whoever stops us will bite me. Luo Ding Tian owes me 50, 000 spirit stones and won't pay me back. We're the ones who have the upper hand in this matter even if it breaks the sky. Chen Fan gave a wink to Big Yellow. Big Yellow grinned with a mouthful of sharp teeth. So he walked ahead of Chen Fan and headed towards the Luo mansion. The four guards' eyes were fierce. Hoomph. With a dirt dog. You want to break into the Luo family? Does Chen Ursheo really think that we, these people, are just eating rice? The guard sneered. Chen Fan clasped his arms together and said disdainfully. This young man would think that all the dry rice has been allowed to be eaten by you for nothing. Big Yellow. Go. Phew. Woof. With a ferocious roar. Big Yellow pounced and attacked. And the four guards laughed angrily in unison. Blasting out spiritual energy and shocking Big Yellow. Although Chen Fan was a waste. But after all. He was the second youngest of the Chen family. They didn't dare to take action against Chen Fan at will. But a dirt dog. What was the harm in killing it? However. What the four guards didn't expect was that the four of them blasted out spiritual energy from different directions, but all of them were actually dodged by Big Yellow flexibly. Snap! A dog claw, slapped in front of the crotch of one of the guards. The guard instantly stared with wide eyes. His mouth let out an awe scream, stumbling backward towards the rear. When the other three saw this, they all sucked in a sharp breath of cool air. Such a big dog's paw slapped there. The pants are red. This brother's that thing. I'm afraid it's going to be ruined ah. Damn it! Brothers, chop this dog together. The three guards roared, directly drawing their swords and infusing spiritual energy to chop at Big Yellow. But Rhubarb's figure was just too agile. Even though the trio's swords and shadows were intertwined into a net, they were unable to touch a single hair of Big Yellow's dog. Instead, the Rhubarb seized the three people once the cracks. With the swiftness of the momentum, the three people as much as shot away. And every time the dog paw shot down the location, are in the man's that thing on? Chen Fan is also speechless. A few days have not seen. This rhubarb how suddenly have pulled out the anus to attack the in of bad habits. The onlookers on the street were all stunned at the moment. Shocked not only by the strength of the rhubarb, but also by the blackness of the rhubarb's hand. Is this, 
This still a dirt dog? How come it's even fiercer than a martial arts expert? It seems that the news coming out of the Gu family is really correct. Ha! Huh? What news? Why haven't I heard? A friend of mine who works as a guard in the Gu family told me that this dog besides second young master Chen is actually the reincarnation of a great master of martial arts. Even though it doesn't have half the power of a demonic spirit, its fighting techniques are exquisite and ferocious. Even a true spirit powerhouse would find it difficult to block the sharpness of his dog's claws. At first I didn't believe it, but now I'm completely convinced. This dog is definitely the reincarnation of a certain martial arts grandmaster. Ah, there really is such a thing as reincarnation? What? Do you think that this big yellow's exquisite and unrivaled fighting ability can still be taught by that punk Chen Fan? The sniffers shook their heads. How could Chen Fan, a waste of space, possibly train a fierce dog like Big Yellow? In the future, let's all stay away from this wasted young man. Otherwise, if he releases a dog at the drop of a hat, not only will the lower half of his body be finished, but even his next life will be finished. When the people who were watching heard these words, they all felt a cool breeze pass through their crotches, and there was horror in their eyes. Chapter 38, What a Pain in the Ass, Ah, Ah, Four Guards, Screaming Miserably, Rushed Inside the Luo Mansion, Although they were not fatally wounded, the injury was more life-threatening than fatal, and it had also made them completely incapacitated, at this moment they also finally realized a truth, it was better to fight with a ruthless man than to fight with a mad dog, especially this big yellow dog beside Chin Fan, it could not be messed with, the screams of the guards quickly alarmed the rest of the Luo family, Luo Dingtian naturally received the news and rushed out in a panic. He had to get rid of this waste of a man, Chen Fan, before he alarmed the elders, or else he would really have a hard time afterward. Chen Fan, you punk, what are you doing in front of my Luo family? Hurry up and leave for this young master. Just that little thing, do you need to make such a mess? You go first, this young man will find you tomorrow to solve the problem. Luo Dingtian's face was dark and heavy, but his speech was extremely fast as he cursed. Chen Fan bristled and said, since 50, 000 spirit stones is just a small matter in Luo Xiao's eyes, then don't delay it until tomorrow, settle it for this young man today, Luo Dingtian gritted his teeth and said, this young man has said that he will find you tomorrow by himself, just today, after all, it's not the first time that Luo Xiao has gone back on his word, this young man can't trust you, Chen Fan said indifferently, Luo Dingtian's face twitched, so angry that he wanted to kill someone, however, he glanced at Big Yellow and still held back his killing intent. Those trashy guards, wasted and wasted. His thing, can't be wasted. What's going on? Inside the Luo mansion, an angry and deep voice came from within. Luo Dingtian's eyes shook. It was his father's voice. When he turned his head, he saw his father, as well as his second and third uncles walking over together with cold faces. Father. Father. It's nothing. It's just a little thing. Child can handle it. Luo Dingtian hurriedly said. Luo Hongqiao grunted and said, if you could have handled it, those four guards wouldn't have been injured, stand aside, Luo Dingtian's face went white and he stepped aside, but out of the corner of his eye, he swept a resentful glance at Chen Fan, Chen Fan, this young man will get you killed sooner or later, he said ferociously in his heart, Chen Fan, you've been getting more and more arrogant lately, after breaking into the Gu mansion, you've come back to break into my Luo mansion, what, did your grandfather step into the clasping Dan realm? to make you, a waste of chi practicing realm, suddenly become so confident, Luo Hongxiao stared at Chen Fan and laughed coldly, Chen Fan laughed lightly, although my grandfather did not step into the clasping Dan realm, why don't I have the backbone to go to my door to collect the gambling debt that someone owes me, Luo Hongxiao frowned and couldn't help but coldly sweep another glance at Luo Dingtian as his mouth coldly said, what gambling debt, Chen Fan laughed, it seems that uncle Luo still doesn't know, more than 10 days ago, Luo Dashao blocked my way and forced my nephew to go to the south side of the city to gamble for a few rounds. The result was that Luo Xiao lost 50, 000 spirit stones, saying that he would give them to me after 10 days. But this has been more than 10 days. Luo Xiao has never sent the spirit stones to the Chen family, so my nephew could only come over to ask for them in person. Although Luo Hongquan had already guessed that it was related to Luo Dingtian, when he learned that Luo Dingtian actually owed Chen Fan 50, 000 spirit stones for being a punk. The veins on his forehead still couldn't help but tense up. Ding Tian, can this be true? Luo Hongwan asked Luo Tian Tian in a chilling voice. Luo Ding Tian wanted to rely, but in front of Luo Hongquan, he didn't dare to tell a lie, and only had to harden his head and say, it was a moment of bad luck for the child, and he lost 50,000 spirit stones to him. Originally, the child has already raised enough 50, 000 spirit stones, but two days ago, he was attacked by someone. Not only did he lose the spirit stones, 
even the Xian Kong ring was taken away by the other party. This matter was so humiliating that if he hadn't been approached by Chen Fan, he would never have said anything about it. Luo Hongwan's face darkened a few more points. The great young man of the Luo family was actually attacked by someone and stole the Xian Kong ring. You really know how to show your father's face. Luo Hongwan cursed angrily and droned again. Get back to confinement. Yes. Luo Dingtian hurriedly turned around and sprinted towards the mansion. Chen Fan raised his eyebrows. Uncle Luo, what about the spirit stones that Luo Xiao owes me? Luo Hongqiao said indifferently, willing to gamble, my Luo family will not rely on you. Eldest, go to the treasury and fetch 50,000 spirit stones. Yes, big brother. Luo Pengying glanced at Chen Fan grimly and went to get the spirit stones. Luo Yuan Wu laughed coldly. Chen Fan, my Luo family's spirit stones are not that easy to cheat. With your ability, if you hadn't used some unseemly means, how could you have won 50,000 spirit stones from my great nephew? Luo Hongquan's face twitched. This third brother, what's the point of saying this at this time? Without evidence, it's pointless to say it. Instead it will make outsiders look and think that it's the Luo family that can't afford to lose. Chen Fan bristled. Gambling is what Luo Xiao grabbed me to do. And the city south gambling house is your Luo family's property. What means can I use? Humph. Anyway, I'll keep this account. My Luo family. Luo Yuan Wu laughed angrily. Chen Fan coldly, turned around and shouted towards the street. All of you listen to this, the Luo family lost the spirit stone and threatened me. If anything happens to this young man afterward, it will definitely be the Luo family's intentional retaliation ah. Luo Hongqiao blackened his face and transmitted his voice to Luo Yuanwu. Oldest three, you're confused. I wanted to find an opportunity to teach this Chen family brat a lesson, but when you say it like this, I can't do anything about it instead. Ah, big brother, I'm sorry, I was too angry. I just can't stand to see this kid being arrogant. Luo Yuanwu hurriedly transmitted his voice. That's all. After the spirit stone is given to him, let him roll, and don't cause any more trouble. Chen family, I'll clean them up sooner or later. Luo Hongqiao grunted. The corner of Luo Yuanwu's mouth hooked into a grim smile. Luo Hongqiao thought Luo Yuanwu was understanding, but he didn't know that Luo Yuanwu's grim smile was aimed at him. Chen family brat, don't talk nonsense. A mere 50,000 spirit stones. Would my Luo family care? Luo Hongwan said indifferently. Chen Fan laughed. Uncle Luo, I forgot to tell you, when I gave Luo Xiao a 10-day grace period, Luo Xiao promised to give an extra 500 spirit stones as interest. For these few days over, I won't want the interest. You can just give me a total of 50,500 spirit stones. Luo Hongqiao was so angry that his eyelids trembled. How dare you charge the Luo family interest? Ha! <laughs> this little waste of the Chun family. His guts are not wasted at all. 500 interest. My Luo family will give it. But your dog. Injuring my Luo family's guards. How is this going to be calculated? Luo Hongwan suppressed his anger and said faintly. Chen Fan shook his head and said. They can't even beat a dog. So what does Luo family master care about them? Such trash. Just kick them out of the Luo family and leave them to fend for themselves. If Uncle Luo lacks a watchman, my nephew can lend you big yellow for a while. The Luo family was confused. Injuring their guards like that. And this kid is still making such snide remarks? Luo Yuanwu almost couldn't hold back his laughter. Luo Hongqiao blackened his face. And half a day later, he couldn't figure out how to dislike Chen Fan back. After all, it was true that his Luo family's guards couldn't beat a dog. Even though Big Yellow had performed exceptionally well, no one had ever seen it use a demon spirit. A dog without a demonic spirit is a dirt dog. Soon, Luo Pengying walked out with a cold face. Take that. Luo Pengying threw a Xian Kong ring throwing it at Chen Fan. Chen Fan grinned, caught the Xian Kong ring and laughed. Here, is it 50,500 spirit stones? Don't fool me. Second master. Luo Pengying's face also darkened and he was about to rebuke. When Luo Hongbao said in a deep voice, make up for him 500, and tell him to get lost. Luo Pengying only had to make up for Chen Fan's 500 spirit stones. Chen Fan shook his head and smiled. The world is going downhill, and those who owe debts are still so horizontal. If I had known, I shouldn't have given Luo Dingtian a 10-day grace period at that time. Obviously, it's only 50, 000 spirit stones, but so many things have come up. It's really annoying individuals. Rhubarb, let's go, and never let a loser go into debt again. Chen Fan greeted Big Yellow, one person and one dog, and turned around. This is not one person and one dog. It's clearly two dogs. Luo Hongwan angrily clenched his steel teeth, so angry that he wanted to explode. Chapter 39 Martial Bandit Mu Qian kill. I didn't realize that the marriage between the Su Chen families had made even a punk become so domineering. Big brother, it looks like I'll have to personally go over there and keep an eye on things, just in case there are any accidents. 
Luo Pengying said gloomily, Luo Hongxiao said in a cold and deep voice, Good. Luo Pengying clasped his fists and walked straight away. Luo Yuan Wu's eyes showed disdain. He had already told the island master about Luo Pengying's plan. The island master must have already made arrangements. What's the use of going to an extra Luo Pengying? He has told the island master about Luo Pengying's plan. And the island master must have made arrangements. Elder 3, have you gotten an inkling of what I asked you to look into? Luo Hongwan inclined his head and asked Luo Yuanwu. Luo Yuanwu laughed. I didn't find out any particular reason. I think the two Suchen families just want to grow in strength through marriage. Luo Hongqiao frowned. Is that all? Why do I still feel something is wrong? Could it be that big brother doesn't trust third brother's ability to do things? Luo Yuanwu pretended to be somewhat displeased. Luo Hongwan laughed. Wouldn't big brother not believe you? Forget it. No matter what plots they have. As long as this marriage union doesn't come to fruition. Their two families won't be able to succeed in their schemes. Big brother is wise. Luo Yuanwu laughed. Luo Hongqiao sighed and said helplessly. It's just a pity that a tiger's father is a dog's son. Top heaven is really disappointing me more and more. Luo Yuanwu laughed in his heart. The son is truly a dog's son. But you're a person who is almost 50 years old. And you're only in the middle stage of a mere spirit lake realm. Can this be considered a tiger's father? This Luo family is really blindly confident. In the Luo Yuan Wu's opinion at this moment, if you can't step into the immortal infant realm before the age of 40, it's all waste. As the sun fell into dusk, a line of cars and horses and hundreds of people slowly walked. In another hour or so, we should be able to arrive at Tiger Ridge Mountain. Su Wen Jun lifted the curtain of the car and said in his heart, the smiths and laborers she recruited would be sent directly to Tiger Ridge Mountain, and her heart had long since flown back to Tiger's Paw City. I also don't know if he went to Tiger Spirit City first. The figure of the masked male figure floated in his mind. Su Wenjun's face can't help but dye a color that is redder than the evening sun to. Missy, something's not right. Suddenly, Elder Lu's eyes narrowed lightly as he approached the carriage and said in a low voice. Su Wenjun's face changed. Lu Fengdao was a spirit lake realm powerhouse. His perception was very powerful. If he said something was wrong, 80% of it was a problem. If there are any changes, we can rely on Elder Lu. Su Wenjun said in a deep voice. Don't worry. Miss, I will definitely protect you and the caravan. Lu Fingdao's gaze was cold and sharp as he assured. Ha ha ha, then I'd like to see how you, an early stage of the spirit lake realm, are going to be able to protect them. The voice of a loud laugh came out openly from the mountains and forests not far away. Powerful soul force, vibrating the air and rippling, formed a black light pattern that impacted towards the Sioux clans group. Those guards, whose strength was on the low side, had their minds swollen and their faces pale, and the craftsmen and laborers who followed behind, even more so, directly fainted in pieces on the ground. Lu Fingdao's eyes changed in shock as he gritted his teeth and said, Damn it, how could I run into the middle stage of the spirit lake realm? Luo ran, as soon as you get a chance, you take Missy and leave first. Luo Ran's eyes shook, although he didn't want Lu Lao to be the one to deal with it, but Missy's safety was the most important, so he only gritted his teeth and said, Good. Su Wenjun's heart was cold at the moment. Being targeted by a mid-spirit lake realm powerhouse. How could she have a chance to escape? You can't leave. Negotiate with them first. And if they can't be negotiated, then fight them to the death. Su Wenjun gritted his teeth. Lu Fingdao's heart was sad. The result of a deadly battle. I am afraid that all really have to die. Against the middle stage of the spirit lake realm, he had no confidence at all. Swish swish swish. In the middle of the mountain forest, the shadows of people were like a tide. Hundreds of people quickly rushed out and quickly surrounded the Sioux family group. In fact, there were only seven or eight people in the Sioux family who still had the power to fight at the moment. Those in the Foundation Establishment Realm, under the sole attack of the Mid-Spirit Lake Realm powerhouse, had long since fallen into a state of confusion. And even if they hadn't fainted, they had already lost their fighting strength. Lu Fingdao's gaze was dead set on the three silhouettes that were slowly walking in the middle of the mountain forest. I, Lu Fengdao, guest secretary of the Sioux family would like to offer 10,000 spirit stones to borrow the passage, Lu Fengdao said in a deep voice. Ha, 10,000 spirit stones? What about sending out beggars for food? The middle-aged man on the left side of the trio laughed disdainfully. Lu Fengdao's eyes narrowed lightly as he asked in a deep voice. Then please state a number. Your Excellency. The man put up a sheet in his right hand and grinned. Half a million spirit stones. Lu Fengdao's eyes were furious as he gritted his teeth and said. Your Excellency is sincerely not giving us a way out. Ha ha ha. Old thing, when you meet me, Mu Qian killer, you still think you have a way out? The man smiled playfully. Lu Fengdao and Su Wenjun's faces swished white. You, are the Mu Qian killer who has been wreaking havoc in the land of the seven cities. 
Lu Fenggao exclaimed in shock. The man laughed evilly. It seems that someone Mu still has some fame. It's over. Su Wenjun was also desperate. She had also heard about Mu Qian Slayer's fierce reputation. This is a group of powerful bandits that roam in a thousand mile radius. The caravans of the seven neighboring cities are often intercepted and killed by them. Wherever they encountered them, no caravan was able to leave alive. Lu Fengdao held back his panic and said in a deep voice, Your honor is stopping the road, but it is only to rob resources. There is no need to harm people's lives. And here, besides the old man, the others are just ordinary guards and some hard labor. Even if you kill all of us, you won't get many resources. It would be better to let them go and leave the old man as a hostage. Although the old man is the body of a guest secretary, but at least he is also a spirit lake realm. I think the Su family will be willing to offer a generous ransom to save the old man. Big brother, sister-in-law, this old thing seems to be teaching us things? Mu Qian Slayer looked at the man and woman next to him and said, kill them all. What's the point of wasting words with them? The middle-aged man in the center said indifferently with an expressionless face. Mu Qian Killer grinned. What are you all still standing there for? Didn't you hear Big Boss's words? Kill them all. Luo ran. Take Missy away. I'll hold them off for a moment even if I fight to the death. Lu Feng Dao clenched his teeth fiercely and roared. TSK. Go. A fool's dream. Mu Qian Slayer smiled disdainfully as a chilling killing intent suddenly narrowed in his eyes. Even if you fight to the death, you won't be able to block a single blow from someone named Mu. Swish. Mu Qian Killer's figure flashed and his blinking flashed out a green light that went straight to Lu Fengdao. Boo! However, without waiting for Mu Qian Jian to get close to Lu Fengdao, a horrifying forceful qi suddenly came through the air from the back of the caravan, fiercely bombarding Mu Qian Jian's storming body. Wa dash! With a mouthful of blood spraying wildly, Mu Qian Slayer flew backwards several times faster than when he was charging and swiping. Mu Liabuang and Qi Wanrong's faces instantly changed drastically. Boom! A silhouette! From the void at the back! as if it was an instantaneous flash, landed in front of the carriage with a bang. Between the silhouettes landing, a circle of golden yellow air sword light and shadow, shot out explosively in all directions. Put, put, put. The martial bandits that surrounded and killed the carriage were quickly pierced and killed by the golden and yellow air swords, flying backwards. By the time they landed, there wasn't a living soul left. Lu Fengdao and Su Wenjun were overjoyed. They did not expect that in such a situation, a strong man could still fall from the sky giving them a chance to survive in a desperate situation. Chapter 40 Jia Yuan accepts a disciple. The two of them, Mu Liu Guan and Qi Wan Rong, were terrified to the extreme at this moment. The strength possessed by the visitor was simply not something that the couple could deal with. They want to break their heads also cannot think. Why the tiger prancing city nearby will suddenly pop up a so powerful existence? Run! Mu Liu Guan barely hesitated, and with a sharp cry, he turned around and flew away. As for the severely injured Mu Qian Slayer, he couldn't care less even if he wanted to. When Shi Wanrong saw that Mu Liu Guang had run away, she naturally didn't dare to linger and turned around to escape. Since I've met you, you stinking insects still want to escape? What a fool's dream. Jia Yuan skimmed his lips, his right hand double fingered sword technique was drawn, and immediately two sword shadows, hovering in front of him, appeared in the air. Go! Jia Yuan pointed his fingertips, and two sword shadows flew through the air, chasing after Chi Wanrong and Mu Liu Guang. Put! In a matter of moments, Chi Wan Rong's body trembled as she looked down unwillingly. A sword light rushed out from her chest, bright red, and sprayed into a curtain of blood in front of her eyes. This time, is a real plant. Chi Wan Rong let out the last sound of her life in pain. Her eyes went black and she planted herself on the ground, sensing Chi Wan Rong's murder and the sword shadow chasing the air. Mu Liu Guan looked horrified and accelerated to run away while screaming, Please still spare my life. Senior, I'm willing to hand over all my collections. Jia Yuan's eyes narrowed, his mind moved, and that sword light instantly deflected a few inches, and with a plop, it pierced through Mu Lu Guang's right shoulder. Ah! Mu Liu Guang screamed miserably and planted himself on the ground under the momentum of the sword shadow's rush. If you don't want to die, roll back yourself, Jia Yuan said indifferently. Mu Liu Guang understood in his heart that he was still alive because the other party had deliberately left him alive. He didn't dare to run away again and hurriedly covered the bleeding wound on his right shoulder as he staggered towards Jia Yuan. Lu Fengdao and Su Wenjun rushed to Jia Yuan's back at this time, bowed and saluted. Many thanks to Senior for saving my life. Jia Yuan turned around, glanced at Su Wenjun, and smiled. Although the young girl's natural talent is average, but to be able to step into the true spirit realm at such an age, I think she is a person with extraordinary perseverance. And the old man's cultivation method is in need of great perseverance in order to be able to inherit. I don't know if you are willing to worship me as your master. 
Chen Fan asked Jia Yuan to take Su Wenjun as a disciple on the grounds that she had good talent, but Jia Yuan could not really say such words, because in his opinion, Su Wenjun's roots and bones, in fact, are very general. Although he has the cultivation of the true spirit realm, there are obviously traces of medicinal enhancement. Su Wenjun didn't know what Jia Yuan had in mind, and his eyes were filled with ecstasy. What's going on lately? Pie in the sky all the time. First, she met the masked male and helped her out of the danger of the Sun family. Now that she had encountered such a powerful senior, not only did he save the lives of her party, but he even took the initiative to accept her as his disciple. She's so lucky, isn't she? The Su family, as a group, was equally surprised. Although this opportunity didn't belong to them, if Missy could have a powerful master as her backing, the Su family would become stronger in the future. The stronger the Su family was, the better they, those who depended on the Su family for survival, would naturally be able to survive. Disciple greets master, Su Wenjun, who was excited, directly knelt down to worship his master. It's a fool's errand, spirit stone vein, powerful master. These two great opportunities would surely make the Su family rise, and she, Su Wenjun, would soar to glory. Ha ha, good. Jia Yuan stroked his whiskers and laughed, then stepped forward and helped Su Wenjun up and said, after drifting around for half a lifetime, it is finally time for me, Jia Yuan, to meet a satisfied disciple. In the future, you will follow your master in practicing the 3000 sword heavenly skill. Su Wenjun said excitedly, although my disciple is not gifted enough, I will definitely work hard and use my energy to live up to my master's grace. Jia Yuan nodded and smiled lightly. At this time, Mu Liuguang, who was hundreds of meters away, finally covered his wounds and walked back with a pale face. Lu Feng Dao sneered. Senior, that martial bandit is coming over. Such a ferocious bandit has committed countless evils. Please don't spare him lightly. Senior. Jia Yuan nodded and turned to look at Mu Liuguang indifferently. If the collection you are talking about is just what you have hidden in your ring, that won't save your life. Mu Liuguang hurriedly said, Back to Senior. Most of my collection is actually hidden in another place. As long as Senior agrees to spare my life, I will take Senior to get it. Jia Yuan's eyes narrowed lightly as he said, How far is it from here? It's only about 60 miles. Mu Liuguang said. Jia Yuan turned his head to look at Su Wenjun and asked with a smile, This collection of his, Consider it as a meeting gift for you from master. You go over with master. Disciple obeys. Su Wenjun exulted. Lu Feng Dao was a bit hesitant, but seeing that Su Wenjun had already agreed, he couldn't say anything else. Moreover, when he thought about it carefully, this Jia Yuan should not have any problems, so he was relieved. Su Wenjun turned to Lu Fengjie and said, Elder Lu, when they wake up, you can take them to Tiger Ridge Mountain. Later on, I will return directly to Tiger Spirit City with my master. Good, Lu Feng Dao answered. Jia Yuan looked at Mu Liuguang and said, point in a direction. Mu Liuguang didn't dare to hesitate and instantly pointed towards the east. Jia Yuan smiled faintly and waved both of his sleeves, and instantly two streams of qi curled up, entangling the figures of Mu Liuguang and Su Wenjun and flying towards the east. Not long after, under Mu Liuguang's guidance, the three of them landed halfway up an unnamed mountain peak. In front of them, there was a two meter high narrow mountain crevice that allowed only one person to pass. Senior, all of my collection is inside. Mu Liuguang respectfully said, Well, not only is there your collection in here, there's also a small killing formation. Jia Yuan's lips lifted up in a playful smile. Mu Liuguang's eyes bulged. Right now, the killing array has not been opened. There is no breath fluctuation. How did this old man notice? It, is that I didn't explain it clearly. In order to prevent the collection from being stolen, I did hide a killing array disc inside. However, Senior don't worry. I know that that killing array can't stop senior's power, so I definitely won't open the killing array and offend you, Mu Liuguang hurriedly explained. If he could get away with it, he turned and ran, but when he was in his heyday, he still couldn't escape, and now I'm afraid that as soon as he turns around, he will immediately die. Mu Liuguang was ruthless enough and tolerant, and wasn't stupid. It was just that this time he had met Jia Yuan who was far too powerful than him, which was why he could only admit defeat. Buzz. Jia Yuan waved his hand and raised a stream of spiritual energy, transforming it into a force of prohibition that landed on Mu Liuguang's body. Mu Liuguang's face changed dramatically, and he hurriedly said, Senior, you are a high-ranking person, how can you speak out of turn? Jia Yuan said indifferently, Old husband's words naturally count, Old Mi will not take your life, but you almost killed Old Mi's disciple. There should always be an end to the feud between you and Old Mi's disciple. Apprentice, go kill him. Jia Yuan smiled at Su Wenjun. A fierce aura narrowed in Su Wenjun's eyes as he responded. This kind of evil thief should indeed be damned. Buzz. 
Su Wenjun took out a long sword and walked towards Mu Liuguang with murderous eyes. Mu Liuguang was angry and terrified, but now that he was bound by the prohibition, he was a piece of fish meat to be chopped and sliced, and there was no way to save himself. Wait a minute, Su Wenjun, don't you want to know why I appeared on your way back? Mu Liuguang suddenly exclaimed. Jia Yuan breathed a sigh of relief in his heart and secretly laughed, this stupid bastard. Is he finally going to sell out the Luo family? Chapter 41, Who's Got the Guts? How dare you recognize me? Seeing Mu Liuguang call out his name, Su Wenjun looked surprised. Mu Liuguang said, I don't know you, but I know that you're Su Wenjun, the daughter of the Su family in Tiger Spirit City. Say, who in the world asked you to kill me? Su Wenjun's eyes were fierce. His long sword stabbed straight to the front of Mu Liuguang's throat, and the snowy tip of the sword had already nudged through a bit of bloody skin. Mu Liuguang's pupils shrank. The tip of Su Wenjun's sword, if it moved forward another inch, he would have died through. If you refuse to spare my life, why should I tell you? Although Mu Liuguang was scared, he knew that this secret was his only chance to live. Therefore, he would never let go until he got Su Wenjun's promise. Fine, as long as you say it, I will spare your life. Su Wenjun said in a cold voice, I want you to swear on the Su family. Mu Liuguang narrowed his eyes and said, Pust, you. What Mu Liuguang didn't expect was that Su Wenjun directly handed out his longsword and put Mu Liuguang's sword through his throat. Jia Yuan stood back and his eyelids fluttered. This little ninny, her strikes are ruthless enough, Jia Yuan said in his heart. Pust. Su Wenjun drew out his longsword, and blood spurted out from the bloody hole in Mu Liuguang's throat. It is only by receiving the favor of the clan that I have come to be. How can I swear by the entire clan for the sake of my own safety and security? Even though I, Su Wenjun, am only a woman. You have underestimated me too much. Su Wenjun looked at Mu Liuguang's corpse and snorted coldly. Good kill. Jia Yuan laughed softly. Su Wenjun turned around and said with a slightly reddened face. It's good that master didn't think the disciple was too ruthless. This Mu Liuguang has done many evil deeds and killed countless people. Disciple originally didn't want to spare him either. Jia Yuan stroked his whiskers and smiled. From the body martial arts path. If one's heart is not ruthless, one cannot be stable. Against this kind of person. It is right to be even more ruthless. However, don't you want to know just who wanted to lend him a hand to kill you? Su Wenjun pursed her lips, her eyes slightly miserable and said, Mostly the Sun family, right? Jia Yuan was a little helpless in his heart, although this little ninny's suspicions were reasonable. But this time it was the Sun family that was wronged. He had started secretly protecting Su Wenjun when he was in Crescent City. I have heard something about the Sun family. Then what are you going to do? Do you need Master to accompany you to find them? Jia Yuan laughed. Since he had become Su Wenjun's master, he naturally had to have the appearance of being a master. To stand up for a disciple, this is what a master should do. Su Wenjun, however, shook his head and said, Master, this matter, I don't want to pursue it. Although the Sun family's decline is their own fault, the Sun family is after all related to the disciple, and the disciple doesn't want to go too far. But if they dare to make a move on disciple again, disciple will not condone them anymore. Jia Yuan nodded and said, Master respects your decision. Then you will wait here while Master goes in to fetch this thief's collection. Su Wenjun hurriedly said. Then the killing formation inside. Don't worry. No one is in the main formation. Even if the formation is triggered. The killing formation in here only has the power of a third grade killing formation. Master can break it with a snap of his fingers. Jia Yuan smiled proudly and walked towards the narrow mountain crevice in large strides. Boom. A moment later. A wave stirred out with a boom. Master. Su Wenjun was in a hurry. Ha ha, there's no harm. Master is just eating some dust. Laughing, Jia Yuan walked out from the cave. Hair, body, all dirt and dust. Jia Yuan was also speechless. This Mu Liuguan used the cave as a place to hide his treasure, and did not reinforce the four walls of the cave. He broke the killing formation, causing the cave walls to shake, and all that dust, falling all over him. Apprentice, this Mu Liuguan's collection isn't bad, just the spirit stones alone. There are more than 100. 000 of them. On top of that, there are quite a few spirit materials. So my master guesses that this place is not only his treasure cave, it should also be the breakthrough place he chose for his own impact on the clasping Dan realm. Jia Yuan laughed. Su Wenjun rushed forward and helped Jia Yuan pat away the dust while saying joyfully, that was really a great harvest. Congratulations master. Jia Yuan laughed. As my master said, his collection is my master's meeting gift to you. So everything in here is yours. You and take it. With that, Jia Yuan handed a Xin Kong ring to Su Wenjun. Although this Xin Kong ring, Mu Liuguang had hidden it very stealthily. How could it escape the spiritual sense perception of Jia Yuan? A middle stage of the clasping Dan realm? 
When Su Wenjun saw that Jia Yuan really wanted to give her all of Mu Liaguang's collection, she hurriedly said, Master, this is too expensive, disciple cannot take it. Jia Yuan smiled lightly and said, How can an apprentice refuse something given by his master? This is impolite. Ah, then, that disciple will accept it. Thank you master. Su Wenjun had no choice but to accept it, and although he was a bit embarrassed, he was happy in his heart. I didn't expect that this master, who had just worshipped, would actually favor himself so much, he was really lucky. How did she know that Jia Yuan had actually secretly withheld half of Mu Liaguan's collection? After all, today, he's poor, too, only to be able to look like a good master. This cuts half of the meat. Go and strip the ring from this thief's hand. Two, don't waste it, Jia Yuan reminded. Master is right. Su Wenjun let out a light laugh and went to peel off the Xin Kong ring from Jia Yuan's finger. Master, this is for you. Apprentice can't take it anymore. Su Wenjun said. Jia Yuan laughed and said. Good. Since this is a piece of filial piety from my disciple, then I will accept it. That's a good apprentice. He knows his stuff. Jia Yuan said in his heart. Su Wenjun hesitated for a moment on his face and finally spoke. Master, disciple has been out for a long time and must make a trip back to the Su family. Can you? Without waiting for her to finish, Jia Yuan laughed. Master has been wandering around for half a lifetime and has been living in no fixed abode just because he wanted to find a suitable successor to his mantle. Now that he has found one, he will naturally settle down in Tiger Spirit City for a period of time. After you have learned the techniques and gotten a glimpse of the doorway, Master will then consider where to go in the future. Su Wenjun was overjoyed and busily said, Many thanks, Master. As long as Master is willing, he can stay in the Su family forever. And the Su family will surely provide for Master for a thousand years. Ha ha, you can do it if you have the heart. But I won't stay in one place for that long. If I stay for a long time, I'm bound to develop human feelings that will hinder my Tao. In a maximum of ten years, Master will definitely have to leave. Jia Yuan laughed. Once the ten-year period expired, he would be completely free. At that time, he didn't want to continue harboring in a small tiger spirit city. Su Wenjun's heart rejoiced. Ten years should be enough time for her to build the Su family into the number one strongest clan in Tiger Spirit City, right? Go. Jia Yuan smiled, and with a roll of spiritual energy, he wrapped Su Wenjun and flew towards the south. Although it was his first time going to Tiger Spirit City and he didn't know where it was, the general direction Su Wenjun had traveled in earlier was precisely to the south, inside the city of Tiger Paw, a silhouette that flew into the Luo mansion in a hurry, who was so bold as to dare to, trespassing on my Luo family. Luo Yuan Wu, who was seated in a plate, opened his eyes fiercely, and a powerful chi shot out, violently blasting towards the silhouette that flew into the Luo mansion. Boo! Ouch! A miserable scream was followed by an angry roar. Old third, are you stupid? You don't even recognize second brother. Luo Pingying's voice of angry curses startled the rest of the Luo mansion. Luo Yuan Wu's lips were hooked in a cold smile. Of course he knew it was Luo Pingying. Only, he was really surprised that Luo Pingying could actually come back alive. Eldest, what's going on? Luo Hongqiao swept in and landed next to Luo Pengying and asked. At this moment, Luo Pengying collapsed on his side, covering his waist in pain and anger. Big brother, it's all my fault. In the daytime by Chen Fan that kid angry nest, night suddenly flew to a person. I thought it was an outlaw night intruder to come, so I did not even think about it and blasted a palm over. Second brother, why do not you also hide ah? Luo Yuan Wu said, but was aggrieved. Luo Pengying rolled his eyes in anger. He was scared all the way. As if he were a scared bird fleeing back. Where would he have thought that? Not being bombarded outside. He could still go home and suddenly take such a hit. Chapter 42 How dare he harm me like this? Luo Hongqiao was helpless. They were all his own brothers, and they were injured by mistake. He couldn't say anything. He could only ask with concern. Lao Air, how are you? Not seriously hurt? Luo Pengying laughed bitterly. The injury isn't serious. It's just suffocating. Oldest three. In the future, look carefully before striking. Spirit Lake Realm's attacks are no joke. If you get it wrong, your second brother's life will be on hold in your hands. Luo Hongwan glared at Luo Yuanwu. Luo Yuanwu awkwardly said, Big brother's lesson is right. Second brother, I'll help you up. Luo Yuanwu hurriedly helped Luo Pengying up. Eldest, what's going on over there? How's it going? Luo Hongwan asked with a slight flash of his eyes. Luo Pengying's face trembled and with a bit of panic in his eyes, he said, dead, all dead, ha ha, good, good death, Luo Hongqiao smiled broadly at his words, when Luo Yuanwu saw Luo Pengying's expression was so rich, he was not convinced that this dead person might be someone, sure enough, 
Luo Pengying said in a trembling voice, Big brother, it's not the Su family that s dead, it's the Mu Qian killer group that s all dead. What? Luo Hongxiao was shocked and stared angrily. Didn't you say that there were three spirit lake realm people in that group? Among them, there was also a late stage spirit lake realm. How could they all be dead? Luo Pengying gritted his teeth and said, I had also thought that it would be foolproof. But who knew that just as the group was blocking the Su family's party, an old man was suddenly killed out from the back. With just one strike, he blasted Mu Qian Jin, who was in the middle stage of the spirit lake realm, away, rendering him completely incapacitated. With his hand, he also condensed two sword shadows, killing and injuring Mu Liu Guan and Qi Wanrong, who were in the midst of running away. Luo Hongqiao's pupils shrunk. This old man, who exactly is he? When did the Su family have such a strong dependency? Luo Pengying shook his head. I don't know. From a distance, I could only vaguely see that it was an old man. I was worried about being discovered. So after Mu Liu Guan was injured, I hurriedly fled back. Big brother, as a matter of urgency, we still need to think about how to deal with the situation afterward. Ah, Mu Liu Guang is now in the hands of that old man and the Su family. There's no guarantee that he won't betray us. This gang of martial bandits, they won't talk about benevolence and morality. Luo Hongxiao's face went white. If Mu Liu Guang betrayed them, and the Su family rushed into the Luo family, with this old man, even if his Luo family had one more spirit lake realm than that group of martial bandits, he might not be able to block it. Ah, do you have any evidence that fell into Mu Liu Guang's hands? Luo Hongwang asked. Luo Pengying shook his head and said, This big brother can rest assured. I only gave Mu Qian killer 60,000 spirit stones and nothing else. I have even never met with Mu Liu Guang. Luo Hongxiao let out a sigh of relief and said, As long as there is no evidence, the Su family can't do anything about us. Within Tiger Spirit City, I don't believe they dare to do it blatantly. Big brother, we must not be lucky. We still have to make some preparations. In case, case that old man really helps the Su family to deal with us, then we will be finished. Luo Pengying hurriedly said, He had seen Jia Yuan strike, and although he was separated by four or five hundred meters, in the gloomy dusk, Jia Yuan's methods were even more so amazingly eye-catching. Whether it was the golden yellow sword chi that blasted out, or the spiritual sword shadow that flew and struck in the shimmering air, those were all heavenly means. Luo Hongqiao pondered slightly and said, In this case, immediately send a message to Qian Jun and ask him to rush back for support. It would be best to invite a few powerful people from the Mountain River Sword sect. As long as Qian Jun can come back, no matter what the identity of that old man is, with the name of the Mountain River Sword sect, it will surely be able to make him throw his weight around and not dare to move. Also, early tomorrow morning, have Top Sky go and invite the young city lord to come to the residence as a guest. As long as we make it through tonight, the Luo family will be fine. Yes, Luo Pengying said excitedly, as the second master of the Luo family, he had never been as frightened as he was today. Eldest, why haven't you said a word? Luo Hongwan asked Luo Yuanwu. Luo Yuanwu said, I do think that second brother is worrying a bit too much. Even if the Su family has the help of a mysterious strong man, this is Tiger Spirit City after all. No matter how bold the Su family is, they would never dare to come straight into my Luo family like martial bandits. And what if it's an assassination? If that old man really kills us, I'm afraid that before the people from the city lord's mansion arrive, he'll kill all of us and escape. It's a matter of the Luo family's survival. How can we be lucky? Luo Pengying exasperatedly said. Oldest three. Think about what your second brother said is still right. It's a matter of the family's survival. We mustn't hold on to our luck. Luo Hongwan said in a deep voice. Luo Yuanwu nodded his head and said. I'll just listen to my big brother and second brother's arrangements. I believe that as long as the three of us brothers are united, no one will be able to touch my Luo family in the slightest. Right. As long as we three brothers are of one mind, no one can touch my Luo family. Luo Hongwan laughed out loud. By the way. There is another good news to tell you guys. Originally, I didn't plan to tell you guys about this so early, but now that I'm telling you in advance, it's also good to give you guys more confidence. Luo Hongwan smiled. Luo Yuanwu's expression moved as he asked, Big brother, what good news? Ha ha, father has been in seclusion for a long time, and this time, he finally feels the opportunity to condense the Dan. I think it won't be long before I can step into the clasping Dan realm. Luo Hongwan laughed. Luo Pengying was overjoyed at his words and said excitedly, This news is wonderful. As long as father steps into the clasping Dan realm, my Luo family will have no one to fear anymore. Not bad. As long as father succeeds in congealing pills, my Luo family will have secured its position as the number one family in Tiger Spirit City. And at that time, even the city lord's mansion will have to respect my Luo family three times. Luo Yuanwu said with a smile. Luo Hongqiao lightly coughed. 
Third brother. No nonsense. Although there are no clasping Dan Realm powerhouses sitting within the City Lord's Mansion, the City Lord's Mansion is the official residence of the Holy Dynasty. And even if they are all ordinary people, that's not something that family forces such as ours can take lightly. Where is this Luo Hongwan's Hongwan's ambition? Even a small little city lord's mansion has to be treated so carefully. It's really called this name for nothing. Luo Yuanwu laughed in his heart. As a sin immortal island islander, he didn't care about any city lord's mansion or sacred dynasty. As soon as Su Winjun returned to Su's house, he exploded with anger. The original good mood was wiped out by a marriage contract. Father, I will never agree to this marriage. Su family, Su Winjun reddened her eyes and roared at her father. Su Jian. Su Jian saw that Su Winjun was so resistant. He could not help but smile bitterly. Wen Jun, my father knows that you are very averse to the act of marriage, but that Chen family Chen Shua, talent is not weak, character is not much of a problem. Looking at the entire young generation of Tiger Spirit City, he is considered to be a very good choice for a good match. Su Wen Jun said angrily, no matter how good Chen Shua is, that is not my daughter's intended husband. My daughter has never been obedient, but this time she will definitely not marry. Su Jin's face sank as he said. This marriage is about whether or not the Tigerling Mountain Spirit Vein can be successfully mined. Without the help of the Chen family, the Su family would not be able to rise, and would even be in danger of toppling over. You should calm down first and think about all of this, Su Wenjun said coldly and calmly. My daughter is now calm and thinking clearly. Daughter, not to marry. Now I only want to know whose idea it was for the marriage. Was it you, or was it second uncle? Su Jian shook his head and said, None of them. It's that Chen fan of the Chen family. He didn't know from what channel he had learned the secrets of Tiger Ridge Mountain. And the Su family had to be held by him and agreed to the marriage. Although my father also feels aggrieved on your behalf, I have to say that the act of marriage can indeed make the cooperation between the two families a little more refined. Chen Fan? That punk who can't build his foundation? How dare he harm me like this? Su Wenjun's gaze was cold and angry, and his white hands, violently clenched into fists. This guy, it's just that he's a waste of space himself, but he wants to destroy me? He's dreaming, Su Wenjun said in a cold voice. Chapter 43, I think you're thinking about farts. Wenjun ah, don't be in a hurry. Why don't you go to the Chen family tomorrow for your father to see if the candidate for this marriage can be changed? Su Jian said. Su Wenjun in his eyes, has always been well behaved and understanding, able to understand the big picture. This time so angry. I think it is really not willing to marry Chen Shua. Although Su Jian had to plan for the family's interests, he also wanted to do it for his daughter. Once again, no need. Tomorrow, I will personally go to the Chen family and speak to them. Su Wenjun said with a cold face. Su Jian frowned and said, You must not, you will still have to make a scene if you go. This ally of the Chen family cannot be lost for the time being. Su Wenjun pursed her lips and said, My daughter knows the importance of the matter. And my daughter assures my father that no matter what the outcome is, it won't affect the mining of Tiger Ridge Mountain. From today onwards, no one will dare to hit my Su family's idea again either. Su Jian raised an eyebrow and said, Because of that master of yours? Wen Jun, my father must remind you that although your master is a strong person, you have just joined the clan, it is not good to borrow too much of your master's power, involving your master in the family matters, in case it causes your master to be dissatisfied, you are destroying your own future. Su Jian, as the head of the Su family, was still very sensible. It wasn't swept away just because the Su family had an additional powerful existence. Su Wenjun's eyes leapt with crystals and said, I know, I also don't want to rely too much on my master, but I'm even more reluctant to lose my life's happiness. Father, let my daughter be capricious for once. Alas, our for the father did not consider thoroughly, did not think, you will be so resistant. In fact, Chen Shua that child, for father to see is really good. Su Jian bitterly laughed. The heart is also quite regretful. Daughter first goes back to rest. Su Wenjun didn't want to say anymore, choking back sobs as she turned to leave. When she returned to her boudoir, she burst into tears. Perhaps, without meeting the masked gentleman, perhaps she would have listened to the family's arrangements. But now, her heart has been loaded into a lingering figure, and how willing to go to marry a person they do not feel. The next day, when the East was just showing the white of the fish, Su Wenjun came to the door of the Chen mansion with an ice-cold face. I'm Su Wenjun of the Su family. Go tell your Chen Ursheo that I want to see him. Su Wenjun said in a deep voice to the Chen family's guards who were guarding the door. The guards were stunned. Why did this young master Shua's fiancé come to ask to see young master Fan? Although puzzled, the guards still informed Chen Fan's small courtyard of the news. It seems that Su Wenjun is not too reluctant about this marriage. Otherwise it wouldn't have just returned to the city last night and come to me so early this morning. In the house. 
Chen Fan secretly said in his heart. He didn't think that Su Wenjun had gotten up early to thank him for being the Moon Master, but was most likely here to ask for trouble. Bring Miss Su here, Chen Fan commanded. Yes, the guard answered. Soon, Su Wenjun arrived outside Chen Fan's small courtyard. Chen Fan also happened to clean himself up and opened the door to walk out. Su Wenjun, who originally had a face of cold anger, was dazed the moment she saw Chen Fan open the door and walk out. Eldest Miss Su is looking for me early in the morning. Is it about the marriage union? Chen Fan opened his mouth and laughed. Su Wenjun, who was in a daze, was awakened by Chen Fan's words, and secretly said in her heart, Is it my illusion? Why did I even see a shadow from this Chen Fan's body? No, this can't be possible. This Chen Fan isn't even in the foundation establishment realm. How could it be him? Su Wenjun didn't know what cultivation level the masked male was, but she was pretty sure that it was at least the late stage of the Spirit Lake realm. Otherwise, it was impossible for them to leave the Sun family so easily. Chen Fan, on the other hand, was a Qi practicing realm great circle, a waste known to all. She pursed her lips, took a light breath, and asked in a cold voice, Chen Fan, do you know how shameless you are? Chen Fan froze, then nodded his head and smiled. Well, no a little, but if I can get some benefits for the Chun family, a little bit of shamelessness is a little bit of shamelessness. Miss Su is also a son of the family, so I'm sure she can understand this kind of sacrifice of this young man. Su Wenjun's face darkened. This guy could still describe his shamelessness, as a sacrifice, even if the body shapes are somewhat similar, no matter if it's martial arts talent or character, the two of them are a far cry from each other, Su Wenjun grunted in his heart, she even felt that Chen Fan's figure resembled that of the masked male, and that was all to discredit her masked male, Su Wenjun turned his mind back and said in a cold voice, it's just a pity that you've played your cards wrong, your Chen family can't get their hands on the spirit stone veins, and the marriage is absolutely impossible. Chen Fan's eyes narrowed. Miss Su speaks so firmly. Could it be that she has some kind of dependence that this young man doesn't know about? He asked indifferently. But in his heart, he guessed something. It must be Jia Yuan, the master, who had inflated Su Wenjun. Su Wenjun said in a cold voice, I have nothing to rely on, except that I, Su Wenjun, do not like to be coerced. What's more, the spirit stone vein was originally discovered by my Su family first. Why should I let your Chen family take 40% of it for nothing? Your marriage proposal is even more of a joke. It's obvious that your Chen family wants to take advantage of my Su family. So why should my Su family be the one to marry off their daughter? If the Chen family really wants to form an alliance with my Su family, you can let your Chen family's daughter marry into my Su family. Chen Fan said indifferently, It's just a pity that I don't have a sister of the right age to marry into your Su family. Moreover, sharing away 40% is not taking advantage of the situation for nothing. My Chen family will likewise invest a large amount of manpower to participate in guarding the veins in mining. Without my Chen family's help, I'm afraid that your Su family will not be able to guard the spirit mine just after the construction has begun. It is precisely because your second uncle and father understand this reasoning that they agreed to the conditions I proposed. Su Wenjun didn't argue on the necessity of cooperation between the two families because she knew clearly that Chen Fan was right. She just said in a cold voice, There is no woman of the right age. This is not a reason. A doll's marriage is also acceptable to our Su family. Isn't it a doll's marriage between second young master Chen and the Gu family's Gu Chuan Chuan? Could it be that second young master Chen has forgotten about it? Chen Fan smiled. I didn't expect that this Su Wenjun's mouth was quite powerful when he started to get angry. Sure is a talented woman. Well, there's nothing wrong with what Ms. Su said. But now that your engagement with my Shu Adi is known all over the city, and your Su family has agreed to it, if you want to regret your marriage, have you thought about the consequences? Chen Fan said indifferently. Su Wenjun's eyes narrowed. What? If I insist on repudiating the marriage, does the Chen family want to come together with the Luo family? Seeking the skin with a tiger will backfire on oneself. This is something that Chen Ursheo said to my second uncle. Chen Fan smiled faintly. The Chen family will never come together with the Luo family. It's enough to just quietly watch your two families fight each other. Snipers and muscles fight. The fisherman gains. My Chen family did not want to go and be the fisherman. Since Miss Su is so resistant to this marriage contract, then just pretend that I did not mention it. Anyway, I was originally a loser. What I say can carry no weight. If you are willing, it counts. If you are not willing, it cannot count. Miss Su, please go back. When you go back, you can directly announce that the marriage contract between the two families is null and void. Anyway, the marriage contract hasn't been signed yet. It's just a verbal contract, so there's no need to withdraw from the marriage. Chen Fan smiled with an indifferent look. In a negotiation, it's most important not to be taken for a ride. He just didn't believe that Su Wenjun really dared to gamble on the consequences of the collapse of the two families' relationship. He, 
Chen Fan, could be shameless, the face of the Chen family, Su Wenjun can not care, but the Su family, dare not not care, and in matters involving the interests of the Chun family, Jia Yuan would not be Su Wenjun's backer, so Chen Fan was eating up the Su family, seeing Chen Fan directly ousting him, Su Wenjun couldn't help but frown and said in a deep voice, although the Su family and the Chen family didn't have much of a friendship in the past, they have never been at war either, I also don't want this matter to affect the relationship between the two families, so I can agree to a marriage, but it can only be in the form of a daughter of the Chen family, marrying into my Su family, Chen Fan faintly said, my Chen family is prosperous, only one sister, and now just six years old, is my Chen family's only pearl, her marriage, it is impossible to be hasty, the Su family was fortunate enough to discover the spirit stone vein, it is indeed a great opportunity, I Chen Fan real name envy, but you do not have the heart to cooperate, I also do not have the intention to force people to make things difficult, there is no need to talk about this matter any further, Su Wenjun frowned again, though she spoke harshly, she knew it in her heart, even if the Chen family didn't trip up behind their backs, the Su family would not be able to cope with the Luo family alone without her master's hand, after all, the Luo family still had the mountain river sword sex connections in place, so reason told her that the Chen family, as an ally, should still try to get it, she took a deep breath and said, don't you just want to increase the trust between the two families by way of a marriage? Since you don't want to marry your sister, I can give you another chance. Although you are unable to build a foundation, my Su family doesn't mind raising an additional idler. As long as you join my Su family and marry my cousin Su Shan, the spirit stone vein, my Su family can share 20% of it with your Chen family. Wen Chen Fan, who was originally in a cloudy mood, heard this, his eyes instantly narrowed ferociously and he laughed coldly. Wanting this young man to join your Su family? I think you are thinking of farts to eat. Chapter 44, A Real Bitch. You. Su Wenjun's face turned red with anger. This Chen Fan, actually said she wanted farts to eat. No one had ever dared to say such a thing to her since she was a child. Chen Fan coldly grunted. Do you really think that just because this young man is a chi practicing realm, he can be at your mercy? Nowadays, it is your Su family that is harboring a false accusation. The one who needs external assistance and allies is also your Su family. My Chen family took the initiative to extend a helping hand. You don't appreciate it, but you also want to break up my marriage and humiliate my character. Su Wenjun, this young man advises you not to let a momentary opportunity overwhelm your mind. Ru Barb, see off the guests. Woof, Big Yellow jumped out at once and roared ferociously towards Su Wenjun. Su Wenjun gritted his teeth and said, I can make another concession. The mineral vein will be divided into 30% of your Chen family, but the marriage must be cancelled. This is the biggest concession I can make. Chen Fan frowned, looking at Tiger Spirit City. Besides Luo Qian Jun, is there anyone better than my Shua Di? Why are you unwilling to marry him? Su Wen Jun pursed her lips and bit her lip, because I already have someone I want to be with. Just like how you are unwilling to turn your back on Gu Chuan Shen and join the Su family. Chen Fan was stunned. This Su Wen Jun's intended lover, it couldn't be himself, right? What's going on? Didn't I already act indifferent? And it's all gone out of my way. Can't it be that this woman likes the high and mighty? Chen Fan had a bit of a headache. He went to save Su Wenjun, but he even saved something? It doesn't matter if he agrees or not. I do. Accompanied by a cold voice, Chen Shuo walked from not far away. Ever since Su Wenjun entered the mansion, he received the news and followed him. He had heard most of the conversation between Su Wenjun and Chen Fan even though he hadn't heard it completely. You're Chen Shuo? Su Wenjun turned around and looked at Chen Shuo in surprise. Although they were all somewhat recognizable figures within Tiger Spirit City, they were usually rare to see. What's more, Chen Shuo was still considered a cultivation freak, and the number of times he went out was not as much as Chen Fan. Su Wenjun is even less likely to show his face. Chen Shuo looked at Su Wenjun, smiled and made a salute. Well, I am Chen Shuo. Chen Fan rolled his eyes. This dog, usually with him cannot be so gentlemanly. See a beautiful woman, began to pretend? Su Wenjun owed a bow and returned the favor, saying, I know that I don't agree with the marriage and that it will have some effect on you, but I have long had the person of my choice in my heart, and I don't want to be negative to him, nor do I want to aggravate myself, and I shouldn't be sorry to the innocent you. Therefore, this marriage, it is better to cancel it. Chen Shua laughed. A strongly twisted melon is not sweet. What's more, this matter of marriage is originally Chen Fan being meddlesome, and I have no plans to start a family for the time being so there is absolutely no need for Miss Su to be concerned about it. Su Wenjun breathed a sigh of relief in his heart, and a smirk grew in his eyes. She really didn't expect Chen Shua to be so generous. Such a gentleman. Wenjun thanks a lot. Su Wenjun once again owed his body and made a thank you. 
Chen Shua laughed. If Miss Su is fine, you should return first. I will talk to my grandfather about the cooperation. 30% of spirit or is already quite a lot. I think my grandfather will agree. Chen Fan said in a cold voice, Shua D, your own marriage. You can make your own decision, but the matter of the spirit minds. Grandpa has long since given full authority to it. It's useless for you to go to him. 30%. I won't agree. At least 40%. Chen Fan, you are too greedy. Su Wenjun said in a cold voice. Chen Fan said coldly, Greedy? My Chen family now has six spirit lake realms. If I were really greedy, do you think I would only take 40%? With my Chen family as a guarantor, your Su family will be able to get 60% of the benefits of the spirit minds without any problems. And when it comes down to it, it's still your Su family that will take advantage of the situation. If you can't even think clearly about this, it only shows that you are too naive. Really think that the discovery of the spirit mine, the spirit mine is your Su family? The right of belonging to an ownerless land never depends on who discovered it first, but rather on who has the strength to occupy it. Su Wenjun's eyes narrowed. How do you know that my Su family doesn't have the strength? Chen Fan said disdainfully. If you really had this strength, you would have simply left long ago. I just don't want the relationship between the two families to get too stiff. Su Wenjun said in a deep voice. Chen Fan said indifferently. There's no point in talking more. Either 40% or my Chen family doesn't want 10%. You choose. You. Su Wenjun was so angry that he clenched his teeth. This Chen Fan. He was obviously a waste of space. Why was his attitude so tough? Chen Shua frowned. Chen Fan. 30% is fine. Chen Fan said in a cold voice. Shut up. Do you know how many spirit stones 10% is? Even for a small vein, 10% is over a hundred thousand spirit stones. If it's a medium-sized vein, 10% is a million spirit stones. The two families are in an alliance. They have the same manpower. They share the risk. And I'm only taking 40%. That's already very kind. Usually when I eat a few spirit materials, you come running and gabbing about it. Now with so many spirit stones, you say you don't want them? Chen Shua's face turned red when he was sipped by Chen Fan, and he gritted his teeth. Chen Fan, I gave you face didn't I? Originally, Miss Su was there. I didn't want you to lose face. If you keep pretending, don't blame me for not being polite. Chen Fan raised his eyebrows. You're going to take a shot at your second brother for a woman who doesn't want you? Chen Shua's face was black. For a woman who didn't he want him? Why does this bastard have to put words so hard to hear? Su Wenjun's face twitched as he said in his heart. This Chen Fan's mouth is also too underhanded. But this Chen Shua, as father said, his character is not bad. It's just a pity that I already have someone else in my heart. It's impossible for me to break it off with him. I already have a guilty conscience, and I can't let him turn against his own brother because of this. It's just that, since father and second uncle have both agreed to 40%, then 40% it is. Su Wenjun sighed in his heart and said, just 40%. However, other than the marriage alliance, everything else will be as previously agreed upon. And your Chen family needs to send three spirit lake realm members to guard Tigerling Mountain. Chen Fan smiled faintly. It's still Miss Su who knows what's right and understands the human condition. Unlike this Shoal brother of mine, who is a complete simpleton. Seriously, Miss Su, there aren't many honest people like my Shua Di. Are you really not going to consider it anymore? Chen Shua's face is dark and heavy. People have clearly said that there is a sweetheart. You bastard. Still have to be in the old man's wounds and then sprinkle salt? Besides, what an honest man. I'm not going to be an honest man. Su Wenjun was also speechless and was too lazy to bother with Chen Fan. She only owed Chen Shua. Then Wenjun will take his leave first. Well, Miss Su goes slowly. No need to pay attention to him. This Chen Fan person is just mouthy. Chen Shua laughed. Su Wenjun nodded and laughed. It is indeed quite cheap. Ha! Chen Shua smiled. Su Wenjun could agree with him about Chen Fan. And he was inexplicably happy in his heart. Looking at Chen Shua's silly and happy look, Chen Fan shook his head straight. After Su Wenjun left, Chen Shuo walked into Chen Fan's courtyard with a dark face. Big yellow. Why don't you protect your master? Chen Fan shouted and rushed towards the house. Woof. Big yellow ferociously showed his teeth towards Chen Shuo. Chen Shuo's face twitched as he grunted. In the future, you'll mind my business less. I thought you didn't care? Why are you so angry? Chen Fan leaned over the doorway and teased. Chen Shuo was furious. How could he not care? He had been stealing joy for days. But now Su Wenjun doesn't want to marry. What else can he do? Anyway, stay out of my business from now on. If you make me lose face again, I'll fucking poison you into a mute. Chen Shuo exasperatedly dropped a vicious sentence, turned around and strided away. He was no longer angry. But he was not so angry that he really moved towards making a move with Chen Fan. And at most he said a few harsh words. 
After all, in his eldest uncle's lineage, there was only Chen Fan left. In fact, in Chen Shua's heart, he had always been quite sympathetic to Chen Fan, and sometimes he felt that Chen Fan was very pitiful. Chapter 45, Be Thankful, Watching Chen Shua Leave in a Huff, Chen Fan also revealed a helpless smile, he can't help it if he wants to arrange flowers, it seems that it's necessary to mention Shua Di's strength to soothe his wounded heart, Chen Fan narrowed his eyes, in the morning, while the Luo family feasted the young city lord, Chen Fan went to the Thousand Spirit Merchant Company, these days, Ding Chuanxiu had already bought quite a few spirit materials for Chen Fan, when the bill was settled, a total of 30,000 spirit stones had been spent, this was still the internal price. A normal purchase would require at least 35, 000 plus spirit stones. After the spirit materials were bought back, Chen Fan entered a short retreat. After Su and Chen had confirmed their alliance, they each mobilized their own manpower and set off to Tiger Ridge Mountain to formally enter the spirit mining project. The Luo family hadn't been waiting for the Su family's retaliation, and was secretly celebrating, when they suddenly received the news that the two Su Chen families were mining spirit stone veins in the Tiger Ridge Mountains. And Luo Hongguang was so furious that his hair stood on end. Waste. Bunch of losers. Such important news as the spirit stone vein. And you guys haven't explored it at all. What do you all do for a living? What's the use of raising you in the Luo family? In the Luo family's council hall. Luo Hongguang was furious. His face red with rage. As if he wanted to kill someone. Big brother. Now it seems that the two Suchin families previously intended to join forces for the purpose of mining this spirit stone vein together. Luo Pengying said gloomily. Luo Hongqiao sneered, do I still need you to say it now? With all your cleverness, can you advance that many days? The corner of Luo Pengying's mouth twitched. Lao San, Luo Hongqiao looked at Luo Yuanwu with a ferocious coldness. Earlier when the two families were planning to marry, he had Luo Yuanwu investigate. But Luo Yuanwu hadn't found out anything. Luo Yuanwu said awkwardly, Big brother, it's third brother's incompetence. Please chastise big brother. Luo Hongqiao gritted his teeth and said, there's no use chastising you now, but in the future, can you do something with care? Luo Yuanwu laughed dryly. Big brother, I think we should be grateful that we didn't find out before. Luo Hongqiao blared angrily over and scolded. How can you say such words? Luo Yuanwu busily said. Think about it big brother. If we had known before that the Su Chen two families had discovered spirit stone veins, what would we have done? Luo Hongqiao grunted. What's there to think about? Of course it's to snatch it by all means. Yeah, if that's really the case. Wouldn't my Luo family be finished already? Luo Yuanwu smiled sarcastically. Big brother don't forget that the Su family has been hiding a mysterious strongman. Luo Hongqiao and the Luo family members froze in unison. Ha, huh, it seems to be really like this ah. Uh. Luckily, Lao San didn't find out. If he did, the Luo family would definitely have to go and grab it. And this grabbing, wouldn't it be the same as sending it to the door to be exterminated? In that case, it is indeed time to celebrate. Luo Hongwan nodded. Luo Yuanwu had a cheap laugh in his heart. This family of stupid birds. Big brother. Even though we missed the first opportunity, let them mine it then. But it's not certain who those mine spirit stones will ultimately belong to. Luo Panging laughed sinisterly. Luo Hongwan's eyes narrowed and he sneered. That's right. Just wait for father to break the barrier in Qianjun to return. That's when that spirit mine will change ownership. He he. Without enough strength. Any greater opportunity will only be doing my Luo family a favor. Luo Pengying laughed badly. Luo Hongqiao said in a cold and deep voice, but we can't just wait around. We have to get in touch and feel the bottom of the situation. You are responsible for this matter. If the Su family is sensible and also lets our Luo family take up a few percent, maybe I'll let them live a little longer. Luo Pengying got up and cupped his fists. Good. Leave this to me. Old third. Forget it. You rest. Luo Hongqiao had wanted to arrange a little something for Luo Yuan Wu as well. But once he thought of Lao San's recent ineffective performance, he gave up. Luo Yuanwu was also happy to be free. In the blink of an eye, a few days passed and Chen Fan came out of his seclusion. Whom? Suddenly, he raised his eyebrows lightly and looked to the northwest. A heaven and earth aura fluctuation that was difficult for normal people to perceive was gathering in the direction of the Luo family. It seems like that old man from the Luo family is going to condense his pills. Chen Fan skimmed his lips. Even if Luo Chenkuan could successfully condense the Dan and step into the clasping Dan realm, Chen Fan did not care at all. The Luo family, he could have destroyed with a snap of his fingers a long time ago. Only, at the moment, the division had no name, and Chen Fan didn't want to fall into disgrace. Just waiting for the Luo family to swell their own hand, he would then backhand a slap over, slapping the Luo family's heart of claiming the throne, completely shattering it, and at that time, even the city lord's office would not be able to hold the Chun family accountable. 
The city government will not intervene in ordinary feuds. In the environment of the martial arts world, it is normal to have a bit of friction in the fight. If the chicken hairs are all in charge, the city government shall not be busy dead. However, if the situation is serious and affects the survival of a clan, the city lord's office will intervene to mediate. Grandpa should be getting close as well, Chen Fan secretly said in his heart. Chen Shangsheng had been cultivating the Dao Martial Heart Sutra for some time, and in recent days, he had even been in seclusion. He was already at the Spirit Lake Realm Grand Completion Realm, and with the help of the top-level techniques and the Heavenly Spirit Golden Chrysalis, stepping into the Clasping Dan Realm was not in doubt. Only, Chen Changsheng knew that his physical body was old, and he sought stability in everything, and during the period of seclusion, he mostly consolidated his foundation and adjusted his state, which was why he delayed his breakthrough. Chen Fan arrived outside Chen Shua's small courtyard. Cough, young master Fan, young master Shua has ordered that in recent days, he is going to be in closed door cultivation and won't see anyone. Outside the courtyard, a guard was busy saying. Chen Fan touched his nose and laughed. Looks like he was hurt a lot. It's fine. You go down. I'm his second brother. He'll definitely see you. The guard was a little embarrassed. Chen Fan raised his eyebrows. Don't force this young man to call Big Yellow. You should have heard about what happened to those guards of the Luo family, right? The guard's pupils shrank and he hurriedly said, Young Master Fan, don't be angry. I'll step back now. The matter of the four guards of the Luo family, who were bitten by the rhubarb to burst their front crotches, nowadays in the entire Tiger Spirit City, there is no one who doesn't know about it. The guards hurriedly fled away, and Chen Fan grinned as he walked towards the courtyard. Shua Di, second brother is here to see you. Chen Fan shouted with a smile. Chen Shua inside the room, his face darkened and he grunted, What are you doing here? Didn't second brother make a small fortune recently? Coupled with the Su family's matter, second brother knew that you were sad, so he bought some things and came over to comfort and relieve you. Chen Fan laughed. Chen Shua grunted, No need, you hurry up and get lost, don't disturb my cultivation. Third grade spirit gathering pill, you don't even want it? Then I'll feed it to Big Yellow. Chen Fan narrowed his eyes and laughed, Kala. The door of the house was openly pulled open, and Chen Shua glared. Where did you get the third grade spirit gathering pill? The spirit gathering pill, although it was only a third grade, but in a place like Tiger Spirit City, it was already an extremely high grade pill, and it was often available without a price. And every time the thousand spirit merchant house arrived, it would be snapped up by all the major clans. And with such precious pills, the family would usually give priority to the strongest of the true spirit realm and spirit lake realm to take them as well. Martial cultivators below the true spirit realm basically took first and second grade pills. Chen Fan smiled lightly and said, Didn't I just say that I have recently made a small fortune? And since I am familiar with the thousand spirit merchant houses provider ding, I asked him to buy some for me. Chen Shua's throat rolled as he said excitedly, I didn't think you could really climb into the relationship of the ding provider. So how many did you buy? Chen Fan raised his right palm and opened his five fingers with a smile. Five? Chen Shua's eyes lit up. Is it okay to share two with me? Chapter 46, The City Lord's Mansion Invites You. No. Chen Fan smiled and shook his head. Chen Shua's face twitched. Isn't this guy here to relieve himself? Can't even split two out of five? Then it's okay to share one with me. Chen Shua said irritably. Chen Fan narrowed his eyes and smiled, pulling out an elixir bottle from his sleeve pocket. Follow. Whoosh. Chen Fan threw the elixir bottle directly at Chen Shua. Chen Shua's pupils shrunk, hurriedly sprinted a few steps, pouncing on the butterfly cupping the pill bottle together in his hand. You guy, you're not afraid of breaking it, Chen Shua exasperatedly said. Chen Fan teased, you're a middle stage of the foundation establishment realm. If you can't even catch a bottle, aren't you even more useless than me? Take that again. Chen Fan threw his hands together. This time he directly threw out four pill bottles. Chen Shua rounded his eyes. Even if you put one in a bottle, that's five. Swish swish swish. Chen Shua, who had been emaciated for a few days instantly recovered to a dragon spirit, his body swept between the four bottles of elixir, one by one, all copied in the hand, you're not keeping a single one for yourself? Chen Shuo wondered, Chen Fan used to always grab spiritual materials from him, and although most of the time, it was grandfather who took the initiative to give them to Chen Fan, Chen Fan did not give in to each other, this time, Chen Fan's unprecedented generosity made Chen Shuo very puzzled, a third grade spirit gathering pill was worth at least 1,500 spirit stones each, and sometimes it would go up by a few hundred spirit stones. Chen Fan smiled lightly. The future of the Chen family is in you, and in the future, second brother will need you to cover him. But with your current cultivation, you can't even beat Big Yellow. How can this cover me in the future? 
I hope these pills can help you step into the true spirit realm as soon as possible. I've heard that Su Wenjun has already stepped into the true spirit realm. Chen Shou is shocked. Su Wenjun is at the true spirit realm? Yeah, so it's no wonder people don't look up to you. Chen Fan irritated with a bad smile. Chen Shuai is just a 20-year-old young man. It is the time when the blood is strongest. Where can stand this stimulation? Immediately gritted his teeth and grunted. I will not let anyone underestimate me. These five spirit gathering pills of yours, I thank you in advance. And in the future, I will find an opportunity to return this favor to you. Chen Fan smiled and said, between hand and foot, there is no need to say thank you. Second brother returned. Chen Fan turned around with a smile, and after walking a few steps, he twisted his head around again and said with a bad smile, don't be too surprised, and don't be too touched, who made me your second brother? Chen Shu rolled his eyes, five spirit gathering pills, he was thankful, but he wasn't moved, right? Chen Shua went back to the house and casually opened an elixir bottle and poured it into his palm, the fall startled him, the bottle unexpectedly rolled out ten pills in one bone, holy shit, how come there are so many, did he not say five, but fifty? He bought me all the spirit stones he won from Luo Dingtian to buy the spirit gathering pill? Chen Shuo was shocked beyond words. Chen Shuo looked at the other four pill bottles as well. And sure enough, they were all ten pills in a bottle. This guy, Chen Shuo's eyes are slightly red. With these pills, it was enough for him to rush into the true spirit realm, or even the middle stage of the true spirit realm. But how on earth did he manage to buy so many spirit gathering pills at once? As far as I know, the Thousand Spirit Merchant Company only has 10 spirit gathering pills for sale every month. Could it be that he started saving up spirit gathering pills for me as early as half a year ago? Chen Shou brainstormed and couldn't help but feel guilty. On ordinary days, he was still indignant because Chen Fan had eaten a few spiritual herbs and went to find Chen Fan's unhappiness several times. But Chen Fan not only didn't bother with him, but also secretly saved so many spirit gathering pills for him to help him impact the true spirit realm. Phew! Chen Shou let out a long breath his eyes gradually firming up as he said in a deep voice, second brother, I will definitely not let you down, Chen Shua immediately ate a spirit gathering pill and absorbed it, the cultivation effect of taking pills was naturally much faster than normal traveling cultivation, the medicinal effect of a single spirit gathering pill was enough to be worth a month of Chen Shua's usual cultivation, Chen Fan's small courtyard, rhubarb, open your mouth, whoosh, a rounded elixir flew down into big yellow's mouth, rhubarb came with his eyes closed, showing an expression of enjoyment, pills are indeed good, it's just that they are a bit troublesome to refine, Chen Fan narrowed his eyes and smiled, stuffing one into his mouth as well, this time in seclusion, he had refined a total of 60 spirit gathering pills, he gave 50 to Chen Shua and kept 10 for himself, in fact, this kind of third grade elixir was no longer of much use to his cultivation level, but after all, after all the hard work, he had to keep a few for himself to taste, moreover, he also intended to give one to Ding Chuan Shou, Yu Ying, and the three Chen clan guest ministers, Xia Dong, Lu Rue, and Xu Wei Chinga. It's not that he's cheap, but if he gives more at one time and less later, there will be a gap in these people's hearts, which may affect loyalty. At this moment, Uncle Zhou walked over and stood outside the courtyard and respectfully said, Young Master Fan, the city lord's mansion is here, saying that they are asking you to come over. Chen Fan raised his eyebrows lightly. The city lord's mansion invited me over? Did it say anything? Uncle Zhou shook his head, the visitor did not say, Chen Fan nodded his head and said, this young man will go over there, mostly it's about the spirit mine, can it be that the city lord's mansion also wants a piece of the pie? Chen Fan said in his heart as he walked out, Tiger Ridge Mountain is said to be an unclaimed land, but as long as it is a long Xia territory, all of it belongs to the sacred dynasty, the sacred dynasty has long stipulated that the person who discovers an vein can have the right to mine it, only that the proceeds of mining need to be surrendered 40% to fill the national treasury. The distribution ratio agreed upon by the Su and Chen families naturally removed the portion that needed to be surrendered. First, however, the portion that was paid up was paid up to the Holy Dynasty, and was not a benefit that the city lord's mansion had gotten, which was why Chen Fan had this speculation. When they arrived at the gate of the mansion, two city guards with black armor first glanced towards behind Chen Fan, and only after they did not see Big Yellow, did they faintly say, Chen Ursheo, come with us. Chen Fan smiled lightly and said, the two of you please go ahead. Without further ado, the two turned and walked ahead. The city lord's mansion was located in the center of Tiger Spirit City, and the three of them walked for an incense stick of time before they reached it. The city guards led Chen Fan directly inside and then rolled over to outside a side courtyard. Luo Dingtian's breath. Su Wenjun is also there. Chen Fan's eyes narrowed slightly. Young city lord, 
Second Young Chen has arrived. The city guards reported respectfully outside the courtyard. He he, please invite Second Young Master Chen in. A bright young man's laughter came from within the courtyard. Second Young Master Chen, please come in. The city guards made a gesture to invite Chen Fan. Chen Fan didn't say much. Since he was here, he was at peace. He walked into the side yard, where three people were sitting in front of a stone table. Luo Ding Tian, Su Wen Jun, and young city lord Tung Fei Young. Su Wenjun's face was a little less than pretty, while Luo Dingtian's lips curled up when he saw Chen Fan, seemingly a little pleased with himself. Chen Fan has met the young city lord. Chen Fan smiled faintly and made a salute at Tung Fei Yang. The position of city lord had been passed down for three generations in the Tang family, and if there were no accidents, the next city lord would be Tang Fei Yang in front of him. Tung Fei Yang got up and smiled. Second young master Chen, don't be polite, quickly take your seat. We've been waiting for you for a long time. Chen Fan smiled and walked over, sitting on the remaining side of the seat. Chen Fan had just taken his seat when Su Wenjun spoke in a low voice. Chen Fan, the Luo family also wants to participate in the mining of the spirit mines in Tiger Ridge Mountain. What do you think? Chapter 47, I promise to do this. Chen Fan sniffed and glanced at the three people in the audience, and laughed lightly. Miss Su's question is a bit redundant ah, since the young city master has saved us together. This matter is naturally up to the young city master. Su Wenjun's face changed, and his eyes became even more chilly. She had thought that Chen Fan must be just like her and would not agree to this matter. After all, before, Chen Fan's attitude was incomparably tough in order to be able to ask for 10% more. Sure enough, a waste of space, so bullying and fearful. Su Wenjun's heart was on fire, and he was incomparably disappointed in this ally of his. Ha ha, Chen Ursheo is joking. This is a matter between your three great clans. How can this young man make decisions for you? This young man is merely bringing your three talented families together at a table for friendly negotiations. Tung Fei Yang said smilingly, although Chun Fan's words made him sound comfortable. Yet the city lord's mansion had its own rules, and was not allowed to directly intervene in disputes of interests between families. Chen Fan raised his eyebrows. Is that really all the young city lord meant? Tung Fei Yang laughed. That's just what it means. Chen Fan laughed. Since the young city lord has no intention of favoring the Luo family, then in this matter, my Chen family does not agree. The smiles on Tang Fei Yang and Luo Dingtian's faces stiffened. Chen Fan, do you really disagree? Have you thought about the consequences of rejecting my Luo family? Luo Dingtian came back to his senses and laughed angrily. Tang Fei Yang coughed lightly and laughed. Brother Luo, don't be in a hurry to get angry. Let second young Chen think about it again. Tang Fei Yang inclined his head and looked at Chen Fan again with a smile. Second young master Chen, harmony breeds wealth, don't you think so? Tung Fei Yang had been smiling and staring at Chen Fan as he asked. He believed that anyone who wasn't a fool would be able to see what he meant. Although he was not in a position to say it explicitly, his willingness to help Luo Dingtian save this bureau and favor the Luo family was obvious. Chen Fan, however, pretended not to understand and laughed. If the young city lord wants us to share a portion of the vein out to the Luo family, I, Chen Fan, will never say anything. But if I were to be fair, I would never be willing to give even a single spirit stone to the Luo family. Tung Fei Yang's face was lightly twitching. This Chen Fan was forcing him to make his words clear. Su Wenjun's eyes flickered slightly. At this time, she finally saw that Chen Fan was retreating in order to advance. Chen Fan was certain that Tang Fei Yang wouldn't dare to openly help the Luo family, which was why he said that in the beginning. After Tang Fei Yang cleared the relationship, if he wanted to help the Luo family again, it would not be good to ask. Tang Fei Yang was so blocked by Chen Fan's words that he couldn't make a sound out of his throat for half a day. Young City Lord. There are no outsiders here. No matter what you have said, that won't be able to be passed on. What do you mean? You might as well be straight with this fool. Luo Dingtian sneered. Tung Fei Yang slanted a glance at Luo Dingtian and cursed in his heart. I'm afraid that this fool is you. Luo Dingtian yourself. Do you really think that this brat Chen Fan can't read this young man's meaning? However, Luo Dingtian had a saying that was correct. This was the city lord's mansion. And other than Chen Fan and Su Wenjun, no one here would spread his words out. Even if Chen Fan and Su Wenjun exposed him afterward, they couldn't produce any evidence. Tang Fei Yang pondered for a moment, revealing a smile and said, Since second young Chen has put his words to this point, then this young man will be direct as well. Luo Xiao and I have a great friendship, so this young man hopes that both of your families can let out a portion of their spirit minds to the Luo family. Su Wenjun's expression was icy cold, and his raised eyes stared straight at Chen Fan. Before Chen Fan came, she had already made it clear that the Su family's attitude was one of disapproval. Now it was up to Chen Fan to see if he could carry the pressure. The look on Chen Fan's face, from start to finish, 
did not change in the slightest, and he always wore a smile. Even when Tang Fei Yang made it clear, it didn't affect him. Chen Fan laughed. Then how much does the young city lord want us to give to the Luo family? 30%. Luo Dingtian laughed evilly and stretched out three fingers, adding, the spirit mine was discovered by the Su family. So the Su family can take 50% of the entire vein. I, the Luo family, will take 30%, while you, the Chen family, will share 20%. He he, so this is bullying my Chen family? Chen Fan laughed. Tung Fei Yan laughed and leaned back, leaning on the back of the chair without speaking again. Luo Dingtian laughed disdainfully, still letting your Chen family take up 20%. Your Chen family should be content. If you hadn't taken advantage of the Su family, what would your Chen family be? Tung Fei Yang couldn't help but frown slightly when he heard this and slanted another glance at Luo Dingtian. This dumbass, is he stupid? Already bullying people, why irritate them further? Chen Fan smiled and looked at Su Wenjun. What about Ms. Su? Do you agree? Su Wenjun said in a cold voice, my Su family naturally disagrees, but if your Chen family is really willing to eat this loss, it is not impossible for my Su family to take another 10% out. After all, with an unreliable ally, my Su family is alone, so what else can I do but admit defeat? Su Wenjun wasn't afraid of the Luo family anymore, but the attitude of the city lord's mansion was something she had to be concerned about. If the Chen family was as tough as she was, she would still dare to top the pressure from the city lord's mansion. But if the Su family was the only one that had a hard top, she didn't want to offend the city lord's mansion for the sake of 10% of the vein. Chen Fan sniffed and nodded his head. I don't want to suffer a loss either. But this is the city lord's mansion after all. And the words of the young city lord. How would my Chen family dare to disobey? It's fine to admit defeat. I'll agree to this. Ha ha, count on you to know what you're doing. Luo Dingtian laughed out loud. I didn't realize that the second uncle didn't do what my father commanded him to do, but he took care of it easily. Su Wenjun's eyes were full of disappointment. This Chen Fan is really too wasted to stand up. Tung Fei Yang's face, however, didn't have much elation, but instead had a few moments of gloom. Chen Fan's words of admitting defeat were not mocking him, since second young Chen has agreed. Then you three great clans, let's sign a contract here, so as not to have any more disputes in the future. Tung Fei Yang said indifferently and beckoned. At that moment, two maidservants came over. One carried a pen and ink, and the other held a deed that had been drawn up long ago. Chen Fan laughed. The young city lord is right. One should sign the contract. However, it cannot be signed today. Luo Dingtian's face darkened and he grunted. Why can't you sign today? Your hand isn't broken. Chen Fan glanced at Luo Dingtian and said indifferently. Young master Luo is able to represent the Luo family. And Miss Su is able to represent the Su family. But I, Chen Fan. Am just a waste of space. How can I represent the Chen family? When I go back, I will definitely convince my grandfather. And only with my grandfather's permission will it be useful for me to sign this contract. Tong Fei Yang frowned. Isn't it true that you've always been in full charge of this spirit mind matter in the Chen family? Chen Fan laughed. The young city lord is right. It has indeed been me in charge. However, it doesn't matter about the small things but I can't be in charge of such a big thing. But the young city lord can rest assured that I am still very sure that I can convince my grandfather to agree. Humph, since you're so sure, then sign it first, Luo Dingtian said in a cold voice. The smile on Chen Fan's face was no longer there, and it was openly cold and chilly. It seems that weak people really don't get respect from others. Since this is the case, I, Chen Fan, will be tough today. I won't agree to share 20% of your Luo family's vein. Luo Dingtian and Tang Feiyang's faces changed in unison. This Chen Fan's idea, just like his face, had become too fast, hadn't it? You've been talking about it all along. Why are you suddenly disagreeing? Cough. Luo Xiao. You're just in too much of a hurry. What's the harm in waiting for a day? Chen Ershao also has a hard time ah. Mutual understanding. This contract. Just sign it tomorrow. Tong Feiyang hurriedly laughed. Luo Dingtian also didn't want the good thing to be yellow like this. And grunted. Okay then sign tomorrow. If you dare to change your mind tomorrow, look at me. Luo Xiao, have a sip of tea. You should be thirsty after talking so much. Tung Fei Yang said in a deep voice. He said the words almost through clenched teeth. If Chen Fan really changed his mind, in Tung Fei Yang's opinion, it would be because of Luo Dingtian's stupid mouth. Chapter 48, It's not my fault if you get yourself killed. Luo Dingtian was reminded by Tang Fei Yang and also collected himself. Humming, then we'll sign it tomorrow. After saying that, he picked up the tea and took a sip. He was really a bit thirsty. In that case, I will take my leave first. Chen Fan got up and said. Tong Fei Yang laughed. Good. Then I won't send Chun Ershao off. Su Wenjun also got up. 
Without saying a word, and walked towards the outside of the side yard, Chen Fan smiled and followed. When Su Wenjun saw Chen Fan following him, he deliberately accelerated his pace. Chen Fan rolled his eyes and simply slowed down his pace, wandering slowly. Returning to the Chen family, Chen Fan directly went back to the small courtyard and cultivated on his knees. Right now, Chen Changsheng was in the critical period of his breakthrough, so how could he bother Chen Changsheng for such a trivial matter? He's just waiting for it to get dark. The night is falling, and it is getting to the end of the night, and everything is silent. Chen Fan, who was in the room, also ended his cultivation and slowly opened his eyes. A flash of sharpness and coldness swept through his eyes. In the darkness of the night, a silhouette swept away, melting into the night so that no one could see it. A moment later, a pair of cold eyes, like a falcon, looked down on the entire city lord's mansion. Buzz, buzz, the two guards who were guarding the outside of Tang Fei Yang's courtyard suddenly collapsed in a faint. Tang Fei Yang was sleeping as if something good had happened, and the corners of his mouth were still hooked in a faint smile. Buzz, openly, the room formed a layer of rippling momentum lightly swinging away, transforming into a forbidden force that enveloped the entire bedroom. Tung Fei Yang snapped out of it. Seeing that on the side of the bed, there was a man sitting at some point. He screamed in terror. Who are you? Young city lord's memory. Is it that bad? Didn't we just meet during the day? And you can't recognize this young lord this time? Chen Fan smiled. Chen. Chen Fan. How did you? You end up in my house. And how did you get in? Tung Fei Yang was taken aback. His eyes flickered slightly for a moment as he gritted his teeth and shouted, Someone, someone. Chen Fan smiled disdainfully. It's useless for you to scream your head off. This young man asks you, What exactly did the Luo family give you to make you willing to help the Luo family? Tang Fei Yang saw that his shouts were really useless, and his face turned pale. Chen Fan, although I don't know how you came in, do you know the consequences of trespassing into the city lord's mansion? Chen Fan's eyes narrowed lightly. When you were helping Luo Ding Tian, why didn't you think about the consequences of offending this young man? Tung Fei Yang's face twitched. Chen Fan was in everyone's eyes. That was a waste. Did he need to think about the consequences? But at this moment, Tang Fei Yang knew he was wrong. The mere fact that Chen Fan was able to break into his house silently would show that Chen Fan was by no means a waste of space. One must know that although the city lord's mansion did not have any clutching Dan Realm powerhouses sitting in the town, there were actually ten Spirit Lake Realm experts guarding various parts of the mansion. Even if they were at the same spirit lake realm, it was unlikely that they would want to sneak into the city lord's mansion. Chen Fan, what exactly do you want? Tong Fei Yang asked through gritted teeth. Chen Fan said indifferently, don't want to do anything, just want to know why you want to help the Luo family. Tong Fei Yang said in a deep voice, Luo Dingtian promised me that as long as I help the Luo family get the mining rights to the vein, no matter how much it is, he will share half of it with me. This temptation, it's not small. Chen Fan nodded his head and said, since you can't hold back the temptation, it's better for someone else to take this position of young city lord. Tong Fei Yang froze, then sneered. I'm afraid it's not up to you. Although my father has quite a few sons, he has never valued me the most. If anything happens to me, your Chen family will not be able to save you either. Chen Fan said disdainfully, my methods are beyond your imagination. Hit the road. Tang Fei Yang's pupils shrunk as he blasted a fist at Chen Fan. He had long been building up his spiritual energy in secret just waiting for an opportunity to explode in a strike. Punching spirit fist. Boom. Tung Fei Yang blasted out a fist, ferocious spiritual energy rushing into a spring. Quite powerful. However, what shocked Tang Fei Yang was that Chen Fan just gave him a disdainful smile and raised one hand to block the power of his fist seal easily. And as Chen Fan's palm swirled, the power of the fist print instantly dissolved and dissipated, not even making a sound. You, you really aren't a waste. What exactly is your cultivation level? Tung Fei Yang's face turned white his eyes filled with panic. He's in the true spirit realm. Chen Fan said indifferently, what my cultivation level is, originally has nothing to do with you, but if you seek trouble from me, then you are seeking your own death, so you can't blame me. Chen Fan, don't kill me, please spare my life, and I promise that I'll stay out of the affairs between your three great clans. Tung Fei Yang hurriedly begged for mercy. Late, Chen Fan indifferently let out a cry, and between his eyebrows, a spiritual sense power blasted out directly breaking through Tang Fei Yang's soul sea. Boom! In an instant, Tang Fei Yang's soul fly away. Eyes gradually lost their spirit, fell on the bed. The next day, Su Wen Jun, Luo Ding Tian, and Chen Fan were once again invited into the city lord mansion's side courtyard. The three of them arrived back and forth, and after waiting for a while, they didn't see Tang Fei Yang. Hey, that one who? Where is your young city lord? Luo Ding Tian frowned and shouted towards one of the guards outside the courtyard. 
The guard faded. I don't know. Go shout if you don't know. Can't you see that we've been waiting for a long time? Luo Dingtian was annoyed at the guard's cold response. With his relationship with the young city lord, he still needed to look at the face of a guard? The guard simply ignored it this time. His duty was to guard the outside of the side yard, and to leave rashly would be to go AWOL. Besides, is the young city lord not something he can rush? Dog, just an underling of the city lord's mansion. And you're still bullish. Turn around and this young man will talk to the young city lord and give you a new job of digging shit. Luo Dingtian's complexion was cloudy as he cursed. This was actually his intention to show off the relationship between himself and the young city lord in front of Chen Fan and Su Wenjun. Luo Dingtian's eyes flashed, swirling with a bad smile as he looked at Su Wenjun and said, Su Wenjun, I heard that you rejected the marriage with Chen Shua? It seems that you have also long seen that the Chun family is declining and will not last long, but my Luo family is flourishing. Why don't you marry me? Su Wenjun coldly said. I refused this marriage. I just don't like marriages. It has nothing to do with anything else. As for you, I'm the one who really can't see it. Luo Dingtian's face turned green as he laughed angrily. Can't see it? Oh, you really have a big mouth. Today, you can't look up to this young. Another day this young will let you climb high. A touch of contempt swept across Su Wenjun's eyes as he sneered. Then I'll wait to see just how far you, Luo Xiao, will be able to wield your power in the future. Hoof, you'll see. Luo Dingtian sneered. Chen Fan, did your grandfather agree to you signing the contract? Luo Dingtian's eyes turned to Chen Fan and asked. Chen Fan smiled faintly. I'm sorry Luo Xiao. My grandfather he doesn't agree. Disagree? Luo Dingtian froze. Then stood up angrily, gritting his teeth and drinking. Then you're fucking taking this young man for a monkey? Su Wenjun's eyes lit up. It must also be Elder Chen's hard bones. Chen Fan touched his nose, then took a serious look at Luo Dingtian and showed his teeth and laughed. Don't say it. Looking like this, Luo Xiao, you really do look like a monkey for seven minutes. I'll get you. The furious Luo Dingtian raised his hand to slap Chen Fan's face. Stop it. An angry shout came from the young city lord, Tong Fei Yang, striding in with a cold face. Luo Dingtian's expression was delighted as he hurriedly closed his hands and welcomed him, saying, Young city lord, you've come, this Chen Fan dared to tease us, he must not be lightly spared. Chapter 49, Su Wenjun's Suspicion. Teasing us? How? Tong Fei Yang asked with a frown. Luo Dingtian gritted his teeth. Yesterday, Chen Fan said that he would be able to persuade his grandfather to agree, but now he's saying that his grandfather doesn't agree to sign the contract. Tong Fei Yang's expression sank as he asked, Second young master Chen, is that really the case? Chen Fan got up and arched his hand. Young city lord, I'm sorry, my grandfather really doesn't agree. Tong Fei Yang said grimly, since the old master refuses to give face to me as the young city lord, then that's it. Young city lord, it can't be just that. Luo Dingtian hurriedly said. Snap. Tong Fei Yang flung his hand, a resounding slap on Luo Dingtian's face. Young city lord, what are you doing hitting me? The person who teased you was Chen Fan. Luo Dingtian was shocked, angry, and aggrieved. But the person who hit him was the young city lord, so he couldn't fight back. Tong Fei Yang said grimly, This matter was originally forced upon people, now that they don't agree. What else do you want this young man to do? I don't dare to let the young city lord do anything. But could it be that we are being teased by this kid like this? Luo Dingtian said unwillingly. Tong Fei Yang said in a deep voice, It's not really a tease. It's just one less friend, second young master Chen, Miss Su, since this is not going to work out, this young master will not keep you as guests, Su Wenjun raised her eyebrows lightly, Tang Fei Yang just let them go, she found it a bit unbelievable, yesterday, Tang Fei Yang had already picked his position ah, alright, then I will take my leave first, Chen Fan got up and smiled, take your time and don't see me off, Tang Fei Yang said in a cold voice, Miss Su, together, Chen Fan smiled at Su Wenjun, Su Wenjun grunted, you and I don't go by the way, just go your own way. After saying that, she hurriedly got up and left first, and her footsteps got faster and faster, as if she was afraid that Chen Fan would catch up. Chen Fan touched his nose and left with a smile. He only wanted to tell Su Wenjun that there was no need to worry about the matter of the spirit mine. Young city lord, this can't just be left alone. As soon as the two left, Luo Dingtian hurriedly said. Tung Fei Yang's eyes sank coldly and said. This matter really can't be left at that. Someone come. Boom boom boom. In an instant, a group of black armored city guards rushed over. Luo Dingtian's eyes were overjoyed and he laughed. It's still the young city lord who is mighty. The city guards must be mobilized to give these two families a good show. Tung Fei Yang smiled coldly and looked at the city guards. Bring Luo Dingtian down to me. 
break both his legs and throw him out of the city lord's mansion. This kind of person shall never set foot in my city lord's mansion again. Yes, the city guards responded to the drink in unison, frightening Luo Dingtian's face to a white color, and hurriedly exclaimed, Young city master, I am your iron brother ah, this is why ah, snap, Tong Fei Yang waved his hand, and this time, the slap directly sent Luo Dingtian flying. Why? This young master didn't get half of the benefits, not only did he lose face, he also offended the Su Chen Tu families and ruined his reputation. And all of this is because of you, Luo Ding Tian. If I don't beat you up, where will this young master's anger come out? What are you waiting for? Pull them out and beat them to death. The city guards hollered and surged up, racking Luo Ding Tian up and dragging him outside. Luo Ding Tian's face turned pale, and he sharply roared, Young city lord, it's none of my business that this didn't work out. It's because they didn't agree to it. Ah, oh ho ho ho, oh ho ho ho. Soon, the sound of Luo Dingtian screaming and wailing came from outside. The corner of Tang Fei Yang's mouth was hooked in a cold smile. The Tang Fei Yang at this moment was naturally not the Tang Fei Yang of yesterday. Chen Fan originally did not intend to extend his hand into the city lord's mansion. After all, the city lord's mansion was an official force of the Dragon Summer Sacred Dynasty. And in case the matter of the soul exchange was revealed one day and was traced down by the Sacred Dynasty, it would not be a trivial matter. Although Chen Fan now had the cultivation of the Clasping Dan realm, but the Dragon Summer Sacred Dynasty was the strongest dynasty on the Xianling continent, and under the Imperial family, it was a true powerhouse like a cloud, and with the power that Chen Fan was laying out right now, he was completely unable to fight against the Sacred Dynasty, and once something like soul swapping is revealed and known by the Holy Dynasty, the Holy Dynasty will never tolerate it, because, the Holy Dynasty will also be jealous, but now, Tung Fei Yang took the initiative to mess with him, so naturally, Chen Fan would not tolerate someone bullying his head, since Tung Fei Yang didn't want to be a good human being, let his body change owners. Su Wenjun frowned his fine eyebrows all the way back to the Su family with doubts. Su Jian learned that Su Wenjun had returned and rushed to find him. Wenjun, have you signed already? As soon as he saw on, Su Jian asked with a sigh. Su Wenjun shook his head and said, It's not signed. Didn't sign? Su Jian froze and immediately rejoiced. How come it's not signed again? Elder Chen didn't agree? Aha. Uh -huh. Su Wenjun answered in a trance. A bit distracted. Ha ha. Elder Chen is really tough. It seems that the Chen family has not found the wrong ally. Su Jian laughed out loud. Su Wenjun frowned. Although it is a good thing that the contract has not been finalized, it is ultimately an offense to the city lord's mansion. Moreover, today's Tong Fei Yang is a bit off. Chen Fan said he didn't agree. He actually let us go easily. I am worried that the city lord's mansion will turn to the dark side to make things difficult for us. The Su Chen two families, robbing in the open isn't scary. It's tripping in the dark that causes more headaches. Su Jian narrowed his eyes and said, Let's just defend. If we really let the Luo family get 30% of the mineral veins, within a few years, the Luo family's strength in Tiger Spirit City will really have no one to contend with. I think Elder Chen is also aware of this and that's why he disagrees. Su Wenjun hummed and added, There's another oddity. What else is strange? Su Jian asked curiously. Su Wenjun said, It's Chen Fan. Yesterday, he promised very quickly. But today, he brought, clearly, the opposite result. Yet he is just as calm. Now that I think about his previous coercion of my Su family, I suddenly feel that this person is probably not as simple as we thought. Su Jian froze. He is just a waste that can't build a foundation. No matter how uncomplicated he is, what can he do? At best, he has some heart and city skills. Su Wenjun shook his head. It's not right. Father, anyone who does anything needs a bottom line. Chen Fan's backbone shouldn't just be the Chun family behind him. Those three Spirit Lake Realm Chen family guest ministers from Tiger Ridge Mountain suddenly appeared in the Chun family, right? Su Jian nodded his head and said, Well, ever since the two families confirmed their alliance, the Chun family has started recruiting externally. After all, when your second uncle proposed that the Chun family should send out three Spirit Lake Realm powerhouses to sit on Tiger Ridge Mountain, and the Chen family, counting Elder Chen, only had three Spirit Lake Realm realms, so the Chen family had no other choice but to recruit again. However, their Chen family was lucky that they recruited three at once. Speaking of this, Su Jian's eyes, too, grew a little envious. To think that he, the Su family, only had one Spirit Lake Realm guest secretary. Su Wenjun shook his head, but I don't think it's luck. Chapter 50. Not luck? Su Jian raised an eyebrow lightly and said, Can it be that you suspect that these three guest ministers were originally raised outside the Chen family? Only taking this opportunity to return to the Chen family? Su Wenjun's eyes lit up as he said, I originally just thought that the appearance of these three people was too coincidental, 
And when father said this, then it all makes sense, it must be like this, if it is a newly recruited guest secretary, there will definitely be a period of bonding with the main family, and between each other, there will not be too much trust, but the Chen family, however, directly put these three in charge of the matter of the mineral vein, this shows that the Chen family trusts them very much, Su Jian's eyes widened in shock, and he suddenly cursed, dog thing, hoping to get half a day, the Chen family is that big tiger, the weakest, has always been our Su family, Chen Changsheng this old thing, is also too sinister, the Luo family had four spirit lake realm realms on the surface, but Su Jian knew that Luo Chengkun also kept two spirit lake realm guest secretaries in the red sleeve villa outside the city, all along, he had thought that the Chun family was just like the Su family, just three spirit lake realms, it was also because the difference in strength between the two families was not too great, and there was no possibility of being appropriated, that was why Su Jian was willing to ally with the Chen family, but if everything was really as Su Wenjun said, then the Chen family was the one that had been hiding its strength, and it was likely that like the Luo family, it also had great ambitions, his Su family, properly as the two fierce tigers staring at the little sheep, Su Wenjun's eyes were slightly chilled as he said, there is no need for father to worry, nowadays, our Su family also has my master at the helm, Although I won't take the initiative to involve my master in the Su family's affairs, if someone wants to disadvantage the Su family, my master will definitely not stand by and do nothing. Yes, 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 we still have your master, Su Jian said excitedly. Wen Jun, do you know what kind of cultivation your master, actually, is? Su Jian asked in a low voice. Su Wen Jun shook his head and said, I asked master, but master only smiled and replied that the gaze of a martial cultivator should not only focus on cultivation but also on the cultivation of the Taoist heart. He didn't say it positively, so I didn't have the good sense to keep asking. Su Jian said with a face of admiration, Your master is a truly high person. Only a truly superior person would have such a transcendent realization. Miss, family master, my subordinate has important news to report. Outside the hall, a hurried guard came running. Su Wenjun's face changed. Could it be that they have launched their retaliation so quickly? Say, what happened? Su Wenjun asked in a deep voice, the guards were busy saying, latest news, Luo Dingtian had his legs broken and was also thrown out of the city lord's mansion, and when he was thrown out, the person had fainted, what, Su Wenjun's entire body froze, Su Jian was also shocked, are you sure the information is correct, the guards said, it's definitely true, the black armored guards directly threw Luo Dingtian onto the street outside the city lord's mansion, the news has spread quickly, there's no way it could be false, uh, the two of them, haven't they always been working together? What's going on here? Su Jian was a bit confused. Su Wenjun was also surprised beyond measure. She was worried that the city master's residents would secretly retaliate. But she didn't expect to cripple Luo Dingtian first. Could it be that the city lord learned of what Tang Fei Yang had done and couldn't bear to beat up his own son? So in his anger, that's why he moved against Luo Dingtian? Su Jian guessed. Su Wenjun shook his head and said, Impossible. Lord City Lord wouldn't be this impulsive. Do you know who ordered the move? Su Wenjun asked the guard. The guard said, Rumor has it that the young city lord ordered it. Su Wenjun laughed. It seems that the young city lord did not get the benefits promised by Luo Dingtian. And because Luo Dingtian also failed to help the young city lord achieve his goal, the two of them had a conflict. Luo Dingtian has always been domineering. And if he was provoked and used this domineering energy on the young city lord, it is indeed possible that the young city lord would teach Luo Dingtian a lesson with a heavy hand. Only, this will not end well between the city lord's mansion and the Luo family. Ha ha, no matter how they end it. But this matter is ultimately a good thing for my Su family. Ha ha, Su Jian couldn't help but laugh out loud. Su Wenjun also laughed. The relationship between the Luo family and the city lord's mansion had collapsed. And the city lord's mansion shouldn't make things difficult for the Su family anymore. Father, I'll go to the Chen family. I want to see Chen Fan's reaction when he finds out about this, Su Wenjun suddenly said, Su Jian froze, what's so great about his reaction, Su Wenjun's eyes narrowed lightly and said, I didn't care too much about him in the past, there really just wasn't much to look at on him, but nowadays, I want to take a good look at this person, Su Jian laughed and said, you, are overly concerned, this kid, is a solid waste, someone who has failed to build his foundation three times, what else can he be, father advises you, don't waste your mind on him, Su Wenjun said, if he is really a waste, why has Gu Chuanjun never thought of withdrawing from his marriage, before Gu Chuan Chuan was wasted, she was a proud daughter of heaven, would someone with her kind of talent, whom she didn't even dislike, really be worthless, Su Jian skimmed his lips and said, 
it's that Gugu Yu who lacks heart. If you were the one who had an engagement with him, father would have given you a refund. Not even if you didn't. It was only that fool Gu Shanchuan who would let Gu Bu Yu be capricious, and as a result, he harmed his own daughter. Su Wenjun frowned lightly. Was it really just like that? But since she had met Chen Fan, Chen Fan had been acting exceedingly calm. Except for getting angry once and scolding her. This kind of calmness was not something an average person could possess. Much less a punk. Father, daughter still wants to go and take a look. Daughter is leaving. Su Wenjun owed a smile. Su Jian was full of helplessness, not understanding his own daughter. Why should she be so curious about a waste? Chen family, small courtyard. Chen Fan looked at the sky above the Chen family. A ripple of aura, gathering and falling towards Chen Changxing's courtyard, and a smile appeared on his face. Although it's a step slower than that old man from the Luo family, Grandpa is finally going to start condensing pills as well. Chen Fan laughed lightly. Young Master Fan, Miss Su is asking for an audience. Uncle Zhou came and reported. Chen Fan bristled. Not seeing, let her go back. Zhou Bo froze and hesitated. This, is not good, right? Chen Fan said indifferently. There's nothing wrong with it. Just say that this young man is preparing for the fourth foundation establishment and doesn't have time to meet guests. Zhou Bo smiled helplessly and bitterly, and only answered. Yes, then the old slave will so return to Miss Recovery. Outside the Chen family's door, Su Wenjun's face darkened slightly as he listened to Uncle Zhou's relay, preparing to build the foundation. Not being in the process of building the foundation, how come you can't meet the guests? This guy, clearly doesn't want to see her. What a careful eye, Su Wenjun muttered. She guessed why Chen Fan didn't want to see her, because when she was in the city lord's mansion's side yard, Chen Fan invited her to go with him, but she refused. Go tell your second young master that I'm waiting for him outside the mansion, Su Wenjun faintly said. Uncle Zhou said helplessly, Miss Su, you'd better go back first. Su Wenjun didn't say anything, just stood. Uncle Zhou shook his head and had to run back to find Chen Fan again. Chen Fan, at this time, had already brought Big Yellow and arrived outside Chen Changxing's courtyard. It was difficult for those below the Clasping Dan realm to perceive the movement of the Congealed Dan, but a Clasping Dan realm martial practitioner who wasn't very far away would definitely be able to perceive the abnormality of the fluctuation of the aura in the void. The Luo family, Luo Yan Yun, should have already sensed the change in aura over the Chun family. Chapter 51 Bloodstorming Golden Elixir The Lo family, the seriously injured Luo Dingtian, lying on the bed, was unconscious with painful murmuring sounds coming out of his mouth from time to time. A purple-robed old man with disheveled hair, as if he was a raging lion, was checking on Luo Dingtian's injuries. Father, top Tian's legs, can they still be cured? Luo Hongwan asked with a nervous face. It's not difficult to cure, but if you want to fully recover and not affect your cultivation in the future, you have to take the fifth grade spirit bone pill to do so. The old man's eyes were gloomy as he said. This old man was none other than the Luo family's old man. Luo Changkuan, who had broken out of the gate. Fifth grade spirit bone pill. This, elixir of this grade. I'm afraid that there's none within Tiger Spirit City. Luo Hongwan panicked. Luo Changkuan said in a low voice. If you want this elixir, you'll have to go to one of those great martial arts sects to beg for it. When Xian Jun returns, let's see if he has a way to get it first. Luo Hongxiao's eyes revealed a light of hope as he said in surprise. Yes, Xian Jun is a disciple of the Mountain River Sword sect. Surely he can get the spirit bone pill. Luo Chengkuan's eyes were shadowy as he said. This Tung family's little boy. He is really arrogant. Daring to lay such a heavy hand on my Luo family's grandson. In this matter, the city lord's office must give our Luo family an explanation. Luo Hongqiao gritted his teeth and said. That's right. My son will personally go to the city lord's mansion and ask them for a statement. Suddenly, Luo Chengkuan's brows furrowed as he looked up at the roof. Luo Hongqiao raised his eyebrows. It was hard to believe that someone was eavesdropping on the roof, but he didn't sense anyone's aura. What kind of curmudgeon? Get your ass down here. Luo Hongwan rushed towards the roof with a furious shout. Although he didn't sense the presence of the breath, but his father was a strong clasping Dan realm master, so he definitely wouldn't be able to sense it wrongly. Luo Chenkuan's face twitched, and he said with a black face, What the hell are you screaming for? Where is anyone up there? Ha? Huh? No. Nobody? Luo Hongwan was embarrassed for a while. His face flushed red as he asked. Then what are you looking at? Luo Chengkuan's eyes narrowed vainly as he said. That old dog from the Chun clan. He's going to start condensing pills as well. What? Chen Changsheng is going to break through as well? Luo Hongqiao's face changed. Then his eyes were sinister as he said. Father, Tiger Spirit City has enough with you at the Clasping Dan realm. We must not let the Chen family's old dog succeed in his breakthrough. Luo Chengkuan narrowed his eyes and said. You're right. 
It's enough for Tiger Spirit City to have one clasping Dan realm for old man. Originally, I wanted to let this old dog of the Chun family live for a while longer, but he had to rush to his death, so it's not my fault. Father, even though you are already a clasping Dan powerhouse and no one in Tiger Spirit City can compete with you anymore, but for this assault, you still need to cover up a bit so that no one recognizes you, Luo Hongwan hurriedly said. Luo Chengkuan glanced across at Luo Hongquan and laughed coldly. Does my father still need you to remind him? You really think you're smarter than my father, don't you? Cough. Child wouldn't dare. Luo Hongwan hurriedly said. He's just used to being the head of the house. And he's used to droning on a bit more. Luo Chengkuan left Luo Dingtian's room. After a short while, a black robe wrapped Luo Chengkuan. Quietly left from the Luo family's backyard. Out of the Luo family. Before the figure of a longitudinal long space. Towards the Chen family shot away. Luo family. In Luo Yuan Wu's courtyard. A cold smile swept up in Luo Yuan Wu's eyes as he held a cup of small wine and sent it into his mouth. After staying up for most of my life, I was able to enter the Clasping Dan realm. It's just a pity that I'm going to hiccup just a few days after stepping into the Clasping Dan realm. TSK TSK. Coming. Outside the Chen Changsheng courtyard. Chen Fan faintly said. Big Yellow. It's up to you. Chen Fan looked down at Big Yellow and smiled. Big Yellow's eyes glazed over as he said. Island Master. You're asking me to deal with that old man of the Clasping Dan realm? Although I am already at the peak of the fourth realm, there is still some gap in strength between me and the Clasping Dan realm. Don't worry. It was prepared for you a long time ago. Chen Fan smiled faintly. His right palm lightly overlapped and a ferocious power of the elixir was poured towards Big Yellow's body. This is the power of the tyrannical blood golden Dan. Big Yellow's pupils fluttered in excitement. The violent blood golden pill was a fifth grade elixir that could drastically stimulate the power of a demonic beast's bloodline, and after taking it, it could allow the demonic beast to enhance its battle power tremendously within a short period of time. Although they would be weak for a while after the battle, the demonic beasts would become stronger after recovery. Because the stimulation of the bloodline of the demonic beast by the violent blood golden pill was not a momentary effect, but was able to completely stimulate the potential of the demonic beast, causing it to metamorphose and enhance and even be able to produce some kind of special mutation. However, whether or not it could produce a mutation depended on luck, and what it could mutate into could only depend on creation. Chen Fan could not interfere with this. Swish, above the void, a black shadow swiftly flew in, and without saying a word, the black shadow directly rushed towards Chen Shangsheng's courtyard. There's no need to keep your hands off. Get him killed for this young man. After today, you will be able to completely get rid of the status of a dirt dog. A murderous aura narrowed out from Chen Fan's eyes as he said icily. Big Yellow licked his tongue in excitement and said with a bad smile, My subordinate has been waiting for this day for a long time. Swish, Big Yellow leaped out, like a beam of golden flashes, rushing to the front of the black shadow in the blink of an eye, cutting it off. This black shadow was undoubtedly Luo Chenkuan. Luo Chenkuan had long noticed Chen Fan and Big Yellow, only that he did not care. A piece of trash, a dirt dog, he didn't even bother to look at it more than once, but let him 10,000 was not expected. Earth Dog Rhubarb unexpectedly instantaneous burst out of the horror of speed, in a flash to his front, that raised the dog claws, but also cohesion of an extremely ferocious demonic spirit power. Hoomph. So it's a fourth realm demon dog. Since you're looking for death, I'll send you on your way first. Luo Chenkuan smiled coldly and angrily, and with a single palm blast, the majestic spiritual energy instantly condensed into a huge green colored palm print in front of him. Wind splitting palm. Boom. The green colored palm print. Pressed down angrily. Its might was quite strong. Big yellow's pair of dog eyes. Narrowed with ferocious color. Raised the dog's paw. Golden aura spit shot. Transformed into five half meter long golden spikes. Spirit shattering demon yuan claw. Boom. Golden demon claws and green palm prints. In the void above. Diagonal collision. Rumbling sound. Spread shock. Two powerful energy ripples. Rolling away. The martial cultivators within Tiger Spirit City were shocked, and they climbed up high, looking towards the source of the sound. That's the direction of the Chen family. Surprisingly, someone dares to kill the Chen family. You guys take a quick look at that dog. Isn't it the big yellow beside that wasted young man Chen Fan? That's it. This fellow, it turns out, is not an earth dog. Rather, it's a powerful demonic dog. Ha ha, I've known for a long time that Scrappy Youngster is really Scrappy Youngster. But this earth dog, can never really be an earth dog. At this moment, everyone who saw rhubarb knew that rhubarb was not an earth dog. A golden demonic spirit, flashing and piercing, can also fly in the air and fight with people, which can be the earth dog. That black-robed man, what could he be? How could he suddenly kill the Chun family? Who knows? 
But this kind of guy who hides his head is certainly not a good person just right. It's also strange. Where are the rest of the Chen family? How come we're relying on a dog to hold the fort? I also don't know if this big yellow can block this black-robed man. I see it's a bit up in the air. This rhubarb seems to be pressed into a downward spiral. Boom boom boom. In the skies above the Chen clan, Luo Chenkuan and Big Yellow had exchanged more than 10 rounds in the void since their first encounter in this short while. A man and a dog, martial arts and demonic techniques, bombarded each other, constantly colliding with terrifying booms. In the sky above the Luo family, the eyes of Luo Hongquan and Luo Pengyin couldn't help but become a bit gloomy. What's wrong with this Chen family's earth dog? How could it be so powerful? There's such a powerful demonic dog hiding in the Chen family. Why didn't you guys find out anything about it earlier? Luo Hongqiao gritted his teeth and said angrily. If he was kept in check by Big Yellow and waited for Chen Chongqing to complete his breakthrough, the one who would be in danger at that time would be his old father Ah. The corners of Luo Pengying's mouth twitched, secretly a little upset. This boss, what else can he do on his own except to hold them accountable? Chapter 52, Master Dog Sends You On Your Way. At the first moment when Big Yellow and Luo Chengkuan exchanged blows, the Chen clan's crowd surged over at great speed. However, Chen Fan did not let them interfere. In a battle of this level, the Chen family guards could only send themselves to their deaths by rushing up. Little Fan, can Big Yellow block this person? A middle-aged man with a knife-like face stood at Chen Fan's side and said in a deep voice. Chen Fan laughed softly. Don't worry about second uncle. Even if Big Yellow kills him, he can still delay until grandpa succeeds in his breakthrough. This middle-aged man was none other than Chen Ming, the second master of the Chen family who rarely appeared. Chen Shua on cultivation fanaticism, with his father Chen Ming, father and son, can be said to be cultivation maniacs, although the natural talent in general, but has always believed that diligence can make up for clumsiness, most of the time in life, are used in the cultivation. But in today's situation, Chen Ming naturally couldn't sit still. The first moment Chen Ming came out, he wanted to rush up to help Big Yellow, but he was stopped in his tracks by a voice transmission that surprised him to the core. Chen Ming then came to Chen Fan's side. Without waiting for Chen Ming to ask, Chen Fan used the method of voice transmission to ask Chen Ming to keep the secret for him first. Chen Mingjin had a lot of things he wanted to ask, but he also knew that now was not the time to ask those, so he could only hold back his curiosity and stood beside Chen Fan, watching the battle together. Father is in the critical period of his breakthrough, and this black-robed man is actually killing my Chen family at this time, so his heart is really in the right place. I just don't know who the hell this asshole is, Chen Ming said angrily through clenched teeth. Chen Fan laughed softly. There's no rush. When he's dead, strip the black robe off of him and you'll know who he is. Chen Ming said with slight concern in his eyes. I just don't know if Big Yellow can hold out until father breaks through Ah, It seems that it is currently at a disadvantage. It's probably because the earth dog has been an earth dog for a long time. And its ferocity has been tempered quite a bit. Second uncle doesn't have to worry. Soon Big Yellow's ferocity will be fully aroused. By then, the battle should be reversed. Chen Fan said. Chen Ming's eyes were astonished. Chen Fan seemed to have full confidence in Big Yellow? At that moment, Yu Dong and Chen Shua, the other guest secretaries of the Chun clan, sprinted over. Father, why are you all just watching and not going to help? Chen Shu hurriedly said. Chen Ming glanced at Yu Dong, who looked rather calm, and then at Chen Fan before saying to Chen Shua, it's useless for us to go up in a battle of this level. Let's take a look first. Chen Shua sniffed and looked up at the rhubarb on the void, his eyes burning as he said, second brother. You've hidden rhubarb deep enough. It turns out that it is actually a demonic dog. Or such a ferocious demonic dog. Chen Fan lifted his eyebrows and teased. Yo, it's really a case of taking the shorthand and eating the soft mouth. Finally you know to call me second brother. Chen Shua's face reddened as he glared. Don't be too complacent. If you've been unable to build a foundation. Even if I call you second brother. I still won't look up to you in my heart. Chen Ming secretly laughed in his heart. It seems that he was not the only one who was kept in the dark. Little Fan, Big Yellow should be a fourth realm great demon, right? Chen Ming asked. Chen Fan nodded his head and said, Well, the peak of the fourth realm. After fighting this battle, it should be able to impact the fifth realm soon. Chen Ming's face changed. Peak fourth realm? This black robed man was able to gain the upper hand against Big Yellow. Who was at the peak of the fourth realm? Can't it be that he's at the clasping Dan realm? A demonic beast at the peak of the fourth realm could be considered ferocious in battle. Even if it was the Spirit Lake Realm Great Circle, it might not be able to press Big Yellow into a disadvantage before it was. At this moment in the battle, it was the black-robed man who had the upper hand, which meant that the black-robed man was most likely a clasping Dan Realm. Chen Fan nodded and said, seeing that he is not very useful, he should only be at the beginning of the clasping Dan Realm. 
The corners of Chen Ming and Chen Shua's mouths twitched. This black-robed man's battle power was so ferocious, and he still called it not very useful? When was there a clasping Dan Realm powerhouse within Tiger's Pillar City? Moreover, it's also targeting my Chen family in such a way. Chen Ming's eyes clouded over, and suddenly, a flash of anger flashed across his eyes. Little Fan, do you think it's possible that this person is the same person as the one who killed your big brother? Chen Fan's eyes narrowed coldly as he said, it shouldn't be, he hoped so. In this way, the truth of his elder brother's death will be revealed. It was a pity that the news that came from Luo Yuanwu was that the Luo family had mostly nothing to do with Chen Ping's death. This was because when Chen Ping was killed back then, Luo Qingkun happened to be on his way to send Luo Qianjun to the Mountain River Sword sect. Chen Ming said in a low voice, Then back then, who exactly harmed Ping Er? If Ping Er had not been killed, my Chen family would certainly have been able to produce a great sect disciple. Chen Fan laughed. What was so great about a great sect disciple? Second uncle, there's no need to envy others. After today, my Chen family is bound to rise, and Grandpa alone will be able to crush the hundred clans in the city. Chen Fan laughed. Chen Ming said with excitement in his eyes, that's right, as long as father is able to successfully condense the Dan, my Chen family will be the only family within Tiger's Pillar City to possess the clutching Dan realm. Chen Shuo was ecstatic when he heard this from the side and asked excitedly, Grandpa is going to condense the Dan? Is this true? Chen Ming laughed, of course it's true. However, it's also necessary to dodge this calamity first. Ha, huh? rhubarb seems to be really getting stronger as the battle goes on. Chen Ming's eyes lit up greatly. Chen Fan smiled faintly. The power of tyrannical blood golden pill had been completely dispersed within Big Yellow at this moment, and the power of Big Yellow's bloodline had been stimulated to the extreme. Old man, have you had enough? If you've played enough, your dog master will have to get you killed. Big Yellow's evil laughing voice shook the void. Luo Cheng Kuan's eyes shook. Playing? This dog has been teasing me all along? The real situation, naturally, is not so. Big Yellow couldn't wait to come up and paw Luo Cheng Kuan to death. Only, just now, the power of the violent blood golden pill was still rushing through its body and hadn't been completely absorbed. So it didn't dare to be careless and could only hold Luo Cheng Kuan back while absorbing the power of the pill. And in this moment, it no longer needed to be concerned. Boom! With a boom! Terrifying demonic spirit power accompanied by a stream of blood red breath stirred from the big yellow demon, and its aura, rapidly skyrocketed. Old thing, master dog sends you on your way. Planar sky thousand extreme claws. Big yellow laughed fiercely. Two front claws, suddenly flying fast staggered up. In an instant, pieces of claw shadows, to Luo Chenkuan violent bombardment and go. When Luo Chenkuan saw the countless claw shadows blasting at him, a pair of old eyes, fiercely shrunk, spiritual power into a wall. Buzz. In an instant, majestic spiritual energy blasted out from within Luo Chenkuan's body, transforming into an extremely thick wall of light, as if it were a green jade wall, blocking in front of his body. Boom boom boom. Countless claw shadows bombarded the green wall formed by spiritual energy, although the green wall possessed a notable defense, but at the moment the spiritual energy on it was constantly collapsing, and it looked like it would not be able to support for long. Damn. This dog thing is clearly just a fourth realm great demon. Why is it so ferocious? It seems that we won't be able to kill that old thing Chen Shangxing today. Looking at Big Yellow, who was getting stronger and stronger, and even had a hidden upper hand in terms of momentum, Luo Chenkuan's heart had already had the intention of retreating. It was not easy for him to step into the Embracing Dan realm. Even the power of Embracing Dan, have not yet had the opportunity to shake in front of a group of families in Tiger Spirit City it. In case of such a death here, it is really too suffocating. Chapter 53, Turning Back Retreating for a lifetime, Luo Chenkuan was no longer in love with the battle. After blasting out a few more channels of majestic spiritual energy to strengthen the defense of the green wall, he turned around and swept towards the back. Only a cold snort, echoing in the void. Dog thing, old man today first spare you, next time I see you again, I will slaughter you. Cooking meat, this clasping Dan realm, actually escaped? Chen Ming's eyes were filled with dismay. Was this still the legendary clasping Dan realm powerhouse? It was rare for the people of Tiger Spirit City to see a clutching Dan Realm powerhouse. Occasionally, there were clasping Dan Realms that appeared within Tiger's Pillar City, and none of them were extremely imposing. With the appearance of a strong man, this escaping clasping Dan Realm was the first time they had seen it. Want to run? Your dog master didn't promise. Big Yellow's eyes were furious. The island master had asked him to kill Luo Chenkuan. If Luo Chenkuan ran away, how could the island master be happy? Swish. Big Yellow's body swept the dog's body scuttling out a golden rainbow in the void, chasing straight after Luo Chenkuan. Little fan, quickly let Big Yellow come back. It's only at the fourth realm after all. 
and under a prolonged battle, it's bound to run out of strength first, Chen Ning hurriedly said. Chen Fan shrugged helplessly and said, it can't hear me even if I call out to it at this moment. The crowd was dumbfounded. In this few moments of effort, one person and one dog could no longer be seen in the sky above Tiger Spirit City. Regardless of whether it was the Clasping Dan Realm Luo Chenkun or the Peak Fourth Realm Big Yellow, their speeds were extremely fast, and they could fly through the air for several miles in an instant. What then? A spirit dog like Big Yellow can't be broken just like that. Chen Ming said with some anxiety. Chen Fan laughed. Second uncle. Let it be. Big Yellow is resourceful. When it really can't be beaten, it will definitely run back. And I believe in Big Yellow. It will definitely be able to finish off the other party. Even if Rhubarb can't, there are others. As Luo Chengkuan fled, Chen Fan had already sensed that another figure had darted from the ground, chasing Luo Chengkuan over. Today, if Luo Chengkuan dared to strike out at the Chen family, it would be a certain death. Swish, swish, in the void north of the city, Luo Chengkuan flew away in anger. How could he not expect that he, a lord for a lifetime, would one day be chased by a dog? Elder 2 and Elder 3, you guys quickly go and support father. Luo family. Luo Hongquan ordered with a gloomy face. Luo Pengying froze. Big brother, aren't you going? Luo Hongqiao's face twitched slightly and he said in a deep voice. There has to be someone left at home to keep watch. Big brother is really a good big brother. Luo Pengying smiled coldly. Then grunted towards Luo Yuan Wu. Old 3, let's move faster. Luo Yuan Wu, however, shook his head and said, I have the lowest strength and can't be of much help in the past, so it's better for me to stay at home. Big brother, you're in the late stage of the spirit lake realm, with you and second brother together. You can definitely help father return from the dog beheading. Luo Pengying sneered. Big brother, I think Lao San has a point. It's better for big brother to come with me to support father. Luo Hongxiao's face darkened as he responded. That's good. The second seems to have already been a bit dissatisfied with him. If he doesn't act like a boss at this time, I'm afraid that neither of the two brothers will serve him anymore in the future. Father is only slightly inferior to that yellow dog. As long as Lao Er and I can get there in time, we can definitely kill this Chen family's big yellow dog back. Luo Hongwan gave a dark cry in his heart, and immediately swept away in the direction of the north of the city. Luo Pengying laughed evilly and quietly gave a thumbs up towards Luo Yuanwu. Before chasing after Luo Hongwan, Luo Yuanwu froze. This Luo Pengying even gave him a thumbs up? Obviously a family of silly birds, yet they all still have a racy bird name. It's really ironic. Luo Yuanwu laughed and shook his head. Although he didn't put up a fight, he knew that in the end, there wouldn't be any suspense. After today, this Luo family is his Luo Yuanwu's to say. Outside the city, Luo Chengkuan guessed that his son, for sure, would run out of the city to come to his aid. So after running out of 60 miles, he began to run around and back. In this way, he can join his son and together they can combine their efforts to decapitate the dog. Ha ha, it's true that it's still my own son who's reliable. Luo Chengkuan's eyes reddened a little with excitement after sensing the aura of Luo Hongquan and Luo Pengying. Father, father, as soon as Luo Hongqiao and Luo Pengying saw the black-robed man running over, they immediately shouted in joy. Hong Bird and Peng Eagle, you guys have come at the right time. This silly dog has been pretty much exhausted by my father. And at this moment, there's not much of its demonic spirit left. So you guys follow my father and kill it together. Luo Chengkuan laughed with confidence. Good. Luo Hongqiao and Luo Pengying answered with big smiles. Big Yellow's eyes narrowed fiercely, and his figure violently paused in the void. Silly dog, come on, chase after it, why don't you dare to come after it? Luo Chengkuan ripped off the black hood with one hand and laughed hideously and angrily as he provoked Big Yellow. Damn, he was at the clasping Dan realm, but he was being chased like a dog, and now that the situation had finally turned around. It was his turn to be majestic. Ha! Three big stupid birds. Turn around and see for yourselves. Big Yellow laughed disdainfully. The Luo family, father and son, raised their eyebrows in unison. Looking back, though they didn't think there could be anything back there, they glanced back anyway. Exceptionally, the three people's pupils shrunk violently. Behind them, at some point, there was an extra sassy, beautiful woman. Who are you? Luo Hongxiao said in a shocked voice. He clearly didn't see anyone else when he flew over just now. The beautiful woman smiled faintly. Concubine Tong Xiao Xiao has come to help it behead your father and son. However, if you answer one question honestly to the concubine, the concubine can let one of you go back alive. Luo Chengkuan's face turned blue as he said. What a crazy tone. I'd like to see if you're qualified to threaten us father and son like this. Tong Xiao Xiao laughed softly. Although my concubine is not considered powerful, only having a cultivation of the middle stage of the clutching Dan realm. 
I think it should be enough to kill the three of you, Luo Chenkuan's father and son. Their three faces shook hard in unison. Middle clutching Dan Realm. Where the hell did a middle stage of the clasping Dan Realm pop up? I don't know if I can live with that. You, are really in the middle stage of the clutching Dan Realm? Luo Chenkuan asked in a trembling voice. The corner of Tong Xiaoxiao's lips lifted and she smiled. Since you don't believe me, then my concubine will show her hand first? But when I make a move, I will take someone's life. You three, father and son, who's going to give it a try? Father, father, if she really is in the middle stage of the clutching Dan realm, then we really have no way to live. Luo Hongwan said in a trembling voice. Luo Chengkuan's face was white, his eyes angry and unwilling. He couldn't figure out why that was the case. Obviously, he had broken through into the clasping Dan realm and could be invincible in Tiger Spirit City. Immediately, he would also be able to realize his lifelong dream of making the Luo family the number one family in Tiger Spirit City. However, he could not have imagined that he was just going to kill a Chun Changsheng. And first he jumped out of a demonic dog of the fourth realm that was so formidable that it was even enough to rival him as a clutching Dan realm. And now a mysterious woman of the middle clutching Dan realm suddenly appeared. Why was he, Luo Chenkuan, so unlucky? What do you, you want to ask? Luo Chenkuan asked through gritted teeth. Tang Xiaoxiao's eyes narrowed slightly as he faintly said, The death of Qin Ping of the Chen family. Which of the three of you, father and son, did it? Luo Hongqiao was shocked. Are you, you also a helper of the Chen family? You fool, asking such questions even now. If she's not a helper of the Chen family, can she still be a helper of our Luo family? Luo Chenkuan glared furiously and fiercely at Luo Hongquan. If there is still a chance to live, he would like to change the name of this eldest son to Luo Days. Concubine's patience isn't very good. So please answer quickly. Tong Xiaoxiao smiled faintly and urged. At some point, in her right hand, there was already a two-foot-long thick black needle. Chapter 54, Soul-Piercing Needle. Taking lives, two feet long and two inches wide at the thickest point. It was unusual to see what could no longer be called a needle, but more like a mortar and pestle that had been sharpened. But this is Tong Xiaoxiao's blade, the soul-piercing needle. Even though the materials were limited and she could only get a spirit item to play with first, it was enough to deal with ordinary opponents. Looking at the soul-piercing needle in Tong Xiaoxiao's hand, Luo Chengkuan's throat rolled. He had never seen anyone use this kind of strange weapon blade, but he knew that those who were good at using strange weapon blades were not ordinary people. Qi Men's blades are more harnessed than ordinary swords and knives. I'm sorry for Chen Ping's death, but his death has absolutely nothing to do with my Luo family. Luo Chengkuan said in a deep voice. You're not telling the truth. Tong Xiaoxiao's eyes narrowed, and black light suddenly flashed in her hand. The three members of the Luo clan were shocked and Luo Chenkuan could even sense that the black light was coming towards him. Green Spirit Wall. Boom. In his haste, Luo Chenkuan once again offered up the Green Spirit Wall, but this time, he was facing Tong Xiaoxiao. Pust. The black light, directly piercing through the Green Spirit Wall, penetrated through Luo Chenkuan's brow location. Whoosh. The soul-piercing needle made a turn behind Luo Chenkuan's head and turned into a black light, flying back into Tong Xiaoxiao's hand. Father. Father. Luo Hongwan and Luo Pengying, one on the left and one on the right, grabbed Luo Chenkuan's corpse that had almost fallen, their eyes bloodshot as they shrieked in shock, you bitch, my father is telling the truth, why are you still out to kill, Luo Pengying roared, Tong Xiaoxiao said indifferently, Chen Ping was the genius of the Chen family, he was killed and died, your father would feel sorry for him, lying to hell, Luo Pengying's pupils shrank, and he said in a trembling voice in anger, this is also considered a lie, of course, as long as it's not sincere, it's not the truth. The corner of Tong Xiaoxiao's mouth hooked up in a bad smile and said, Rhubarb was in the back, grinning a grim smile. These islanders, who have long been suffocating in the sin immortal island, which is not easy to come out, shall not find someone to have a good time? That's right. When Chen Ping was killed, my Luo family really wouldn't feel sorry for him, but instead would be secretly pleased. After all, Chen Ping was incredibly talented back then, and once he grew up, he was indeed a threat to my Luo family. But Chen Ping's death is indeed not related to my Luo family. At this point, I can assure you with my identity as the Luo family head. Luo Hongwan's eyes turned slightly as he said in a cold voice. Phew! The black light flashed once again. Luo Hongqiao's eyes glared. Before he had time to launch his defense, he felt a stabbing pain in his brow. And then the power of his soul and spirit dispersed at a rapid pace. Boo! This time no one grabbed Luo Hongqiao's body. And his body would have to crash to the ground. Luo Pengying's eyelids violently fluttered furiously, and then a fierce intent erupted from his eyes. I'll fight you. Swish. He let go of his old father's body. Between the storm swept, his right hand raised, the long sword was just taken out, 
it was pirouette back to the soul-piercing needle, from the back of his head into, and then from the brow out. Boo! Luo Pengying glared unwillingly as his body slammed into the ground. It's no fun. It's played out. Tong Xiaoxiao bristled. Big yellow grinned. It will be interesting when the island master kills the Tian Bao sect. At that time, that clutching Dan Realm Great Circle of the Tian Bao sect will be yours to play with. Tong Xiaoxiao face skin a twitch. Hold Dan Realm Great Circle. That cannot be fun. Golden Spirit Dog. You are forgetting the days when you were on the island and were beaten all over. Right? How dare you make fun of this girl. Tong Xiaoxiao blared. Big Yellow laughed dryly, seeing that soul-piercing needle. I knew it was you little witch. What's the point of mentioning it after what happened back then? Now we are all people who serve the island master. No. I'm a human and you're a dog. Don't confuse this girl with you. Tong Xiaoxiao lightly hummed. Big Yellow rolled his eyes and said. Right. You're a human and I'm a dog. Okay? Master Dog is going to do the right thing. After saying that, it scurried and fell into the bottom, peeling off the Shin Kong rings of all three of the Luo family's father and son, then spat out a golden flame from its mouth and burned all three corpses. The Luo family seems to have another Luo Yuan Wu, so I'll leave it to you, Tong Xiaoxiao said. Da Huang said, that Luo Yuan Wu, like us, cannot be moved. Tong Xiaoxiao froze and laughed. In that case, the Luo family is completely finished. Big Yellow laughed badly and said, as long as the remaining people of the Luo family stop committing acts of death, the island master should not be able to drive them to extinction. But I feel that the people of the Luo family, all of them have the attribute of being death-defying, and most of them are going to become extinct. Tong Xiaoxiao covered her mouth with a smile and said, I don't know why the island master is so careful. Directly bring out all the Dan Realm holders on the island. And won't the Chen family be the local emperors of Tiger's Pillar City in the future? Where else would these clowns dare to look for trouble? Big Yellow Dog frowned and said, you're questioning the island master? Tong Xiaoxiao's face changed, then hurriedly piled on the smiles and said, I'm just talking off the top of my head. Little Huang Huang, don't spread the word. Big Yellow skimmed his lips and said, The island master has his own island master's arrangement. You listen to the command to act on the line. Don't blame the dog master didn't remind you. The island master looks gentle, always good to talk, but in reality, he is armed with the means of cultivation. When the killing heart moves, no one will be spared. Tong Xiaoxiao took a low breath and said, Well, I'll remember that is. Although she served the island master, there were very few encounters between her and Chen Fan, both inside and outside the island. So she didn't know much about Chen Fan's character, and could only see Chen Fan's easygoing appearance. Seeing that Chen Fan keeps them all hidden in the shadows, he even thinks that the island master is too cautious in the outside world, that he is a timid and fearful person. However, the golden spirit dog, Big Yellow, had followed Chen Fan for the longest time, and Tong Xiaoxiao would take its word seriously. Retreat. Master Dog has returned to the Chen family. The island master is still waiting for news from me. Grinning, Big Yellow's body longitudinally turned into a golden light and swept towards Tiger Spirit City. The Lo family. Luo Yuanwu saw a golden light flying back. His heart settled. The corners of his lips lifted. And he began to go and start working on taking over the power of the Luo family. Although he could have just forced his way into the power of the Luo family, it was a bit more logical now. Although Luo Dingtian was the Luo family's youngest, but not to mention that his legs were already ruined. Even if his legs were still intact, how could he be able to fight Luo Yuan Wu? At most, Luo Qian Jun will come back and there will be just a little bit of a twist. The Chan family, Shen Ming and the others were a bit distracted as they waited. After all, in case Rhubarb was undefeated and killed, that black-robed man would definitely kill back again. Chen Shang Sheng, on the other hand, had yet to complete his breakthrough. Young Master Fan, Miss Su is here again, and this time she brought her master. It says that with her master here, she can ensure that the Chen family will be safe today. Uncle Zhou came over and said. Chen Fan laughed and said. This niece, she has a heart, but there's no need. Big Yellow has already returned. So you can just tell her that the Chen family has a lot of things to do today and has no time to meet the guests. Yes, Uncle Zhou answered and retreated. Whoosh. Sure enough, on the void, a golden light scurried in. The Chen family crowd was pleasantly surprised. Swish, big yellow a vertical landing, full of golden light convergence and away, revealing the naive silly dog appearance. Young master, big yellow is fortunate to be able to fulfill his orders. The black-robed man has been killed. Big yellow spat out human words. Chen Ming was overjoyed and hurriedly asked, who exactly is that person? Chapter 55, Mutual Hacking of Father and Son. When big yellow was about to reveal Luo Chenkuan's identity, Chen Fan transmitted, there is no need to reveal his identity. Big Yellow only had to punch Chen Ming dry smile. I am sorry, second master. At that time, 
The fight was too intense. I was fierce for a moment. I did not hold back, and a bite of his head burst. By the time I thought of taking a look at him, I could not recognize him, so I spat out a demonic fire, and burned him. When the crowd heard this, their pupils contracted fiercely. Biting a man's head off with one bite? This rhubarb, it's too ferocious. It's worthy of being the most vicious dog in Tiger's Paw City. Ah, uh, this, Chen Ming was a little disappointed, so he still didn't know who was actually dealing with the Chen family. Chen Fan laughed. Second uncle, it doesn't matter who that person is anymore. Grandpa will soon succeed in congealing the Dan. No matter who the opponent is, my Chen family will be able to handle it. Chen Ming said in a low voice, I'm afraid that the opponent is more than just one clasping Dan realm. Not knowing who the opponent is, it's always hard to feel at ease in this heart. Then let the Chun clan have more clasping Dan realm as well. As long as we are hard, we are not afraid of anyone. Whether or not the Chun family can still have more clasping Dan realms, it depends on you. Second uncle, Chen Fan grinned. Chen Ming's face heated up as he lightly coughed. It's just a pity that I'm empty of cultivation passion and ambition, but I'm too lacking in terms of qualifications. In this life, it is estimated that being able to cultivate to the Spirit Lake Realm Great Circle is the limit. I think it would be good for you to cultivate to the middle stage of the Spirit Lake Realm. It's been three years, and you're still stuck at the early stage of the Spirit Lake Realm without moving a muscle. Chen Shua muttered in a low voice. The future of this Chen family. Ah, it still depends on me. Chen Ming's face darkened and he glared fiercely at Chen Shua. Something that can't spit ivory out of a dog's mouth. Do you curse your own old man like that? Look at your second brother. But he thinks that you're old man and I can even step into the clasping Dan realm. Chen Shua bristled. What else can he do on his own besides pinning his hopes on others? Your second brother is better than you. Chen Ming was about to say the words your second brother is much better than you out of his mouth. Chen Fan hurriedly interrupted Chen Ming and laughed. Cough cough. Second uncle. Although I'm a bit smarter than Shua Di, I really can't compare to Shua Di in this piece of martial talent. Chen Shua said smugly. Father, this is what he said himself. You heard it, right? Chen Ming sneered, I hear you, your second brother is indeed smarter than you, and much smarter than you. Chen Shuo was speechless, you only listen to half of what you're told, and you pretend not to hear the other half, right? Chen Ming glared, alright, it's alright now, so hurry up and roll back to continue your cultivation. Everyone else, disperse as well. Chen Ming waved his hand and dismissed the crowd. He still wanted to ask Chen Fan about hiding his cultivation earlier, to be honest, the fact that Chen Fan had already mastered the art of voice transmission had always shocked Chen Ming. After all, the art of transmitting sound, but one needed to reach the Spirit Lake realm in order to do so. After the crowd dispersed, Chen Ming then hurriedly and excitedly asked, Little Fan, could it be that you have really stepped into the Spirit Lake realm? Second uncle, as I said, don't get too excited. Chen Fan lightly laughed. Ha ha, don't worry. Second uncle's heart is steady. Besides, Second uncle is already mentally prepared. Chen Ming laughed lightly. Chen Fan touched his nose and laughed. Actually, I'm the first one to hold the Dan realm in Tiger Spirit City. What? You you you. Chen Ming jumped up in shock. A pair of eyes, staring like bull's eyes, incredulously looking up and down at Chen Fan. Chen Fan lightly coughed. Second uncle, my cultivation should be kept a secret. After all, the murderer of my elder brother has yet to be found. Once this heaven-defying talent of mine is revealed. The other party is afraid that they will send out powerful martial cultivators beyond the clasping Dan realm to deal with my Chen family. Chen Ming's gaze condensed and he said in a deep voice, So it's because of this that you've been hiding your cultivation. Little fan, you're really smart. If you didn't know how to hide your clumsiness, I'm afraid that you really might not be able to grow up unharmed. Chen Fan said, But today, big yellow strength was revealed, and grandpa is about to successfully condense Dan. So the Chen family's performance is still too dazzling. I believe that this news should soon reach the murderer's ears, and he will definitely make a move. But as long as the person who comes is within the clasping Dan realm, I am sure that I can handle it. During this period of time, second uncle will just focus on closed door cultivation. At a time like this, how could second uncle go into seclusion? Aren't you asking second uncle to hide? Little fan, even though second uncle is only at the early stage of the spirit lake realm, he is not afraid of them. Let second uncle face those damn thieves with you, Chen Ming said in a deep voice. Chen Fan laughed. Second uncle's courage. Of course my nephew knows about it. Only, it is not even known when this person will appear. Martial cultivation. An inch of in must be fought for. And now, it is time to pass on my elder brother's cultivation technique to you and Shu Di. Before not passing it on, really is not dare. Afraid of disaster the whole Chen family. Now the Chen family has a certain self-preservation power but also do not need to be afraid anymore. 
Instead of being surprised, Chen Ning was shocked. Could it be that Pinger's murder was not only because of his talent, but also related to the technique he practiced? Chen Fan nodded his head inside, saying, Well, there should be a great relationship, after all, the method cultivated by Big Brother is indeed very strong. Grandpa precisely cultivated this technique to be able to feel the opportunity to condense Dan so quickly. Chen Fan had always blamed himself for Chen Ping's death, although the truth was not clear. Chen Fan felt that it had a lot to do with the gong method, after all. Just in terms of qualifications, Chen Ping's qualifications were not as good as Luo Qianjun in Gu Buyu. Chen Ming said in a deep voice, We must find out the truth about Pinger's death, and your parents. Well, take it step by step. Everything will always come out one day. Chen Fan narrowed his eyes and said, Chen Ming didn't know about the fact that Mr. and Mrs. Chen Jin were still alive. And Chen Fan didn't mention it. That's when Chopper came back. Chen Fan and Chen Ming tacitly stopped talking. Su so Wenjun hasn't left yet? Chen Fan raised his eyebrows slightly and asked. Uncle Zhou laughed. Miss Su has already been dragged back by her master. But she asked the old servant to bring a message. Chen Fan laughed. What words? Zhou Bo awkwardly said. She said that she hasn't seen a man as careful as you. Young Master Fan. Ha, that's because she's seen too few men. Chen Fan skimmed his lips. Chen Ming teased. Little Fan. This Su Wenjun doesn't want to marry Shuor. It can't be because she has eyes for you. Right? If it had been before. Chen Ming definitely wouldn't have thought so. But now after knowing Chen Fan's extraordinary, Chen Ming felt that it was very likely that this was the case. If not, Su Wenjun was also considered a famous talented woman, and was also the eldest miss of the Su family, always stable and dignified. She should not have let Zhou Bo bring such angry words to Chen Fan. Chen Fan laughed helplessly. Second uncle, don't talk nonsense. If this is misunderstood by Shu Di when he hears it, he won't whack me to death. Ha ha. Who can blame him for being useless himself and letting people look at him? Chen Ming laughed. Chen Fan only made a smile. Although Chen Ming and Chen Shua, the father and son pair, hacked each other from time to time, he was truly envious. I wonder, how are his parents doing today? Under house arrest or in captivity? Grandfather said that he must wait until I step into the immortal infant realm before he will tell me the whereabouts of my father and mother. Which means that the force that took them away is by no means an ordinary force. I only hope that the death of my big brother has nothing to do with this force. Otherwise, no matter what relationship this force has with my Chen family, I will never let them go. In Chen Fan speculation, the power that took his parents away, although it made him and his parents suffer the pain of separation of flesh and bone, it should not harbor murderous intentions towards the Chen family. Otherwise, the Chen family should have died long ago. Chapter 56 Uncle and Nephew they chatted shallowly for a few moments more. A powerful aura suddenly surged out of Chen Chengqing's courtyard, leaking out in all directions. Chen Fan's eyes were delighted as he bowed and smiled towards the courtyard. Congratulations, Grandpa, for successfully condensing the Dan and stepping into the clasping Dan realm. Congratulations, Father, for stepping into the clutching Dan. Chen Ming shouted excitedly. Congratulations, family head. Uncle Zhou was also excited. Ha ha, it's really thanks to Big Yellow that I was able to hold the Dan successfully today. Chen Shangsheng laughed loudly and walked out, bowing to Big Yellow from afar. Big Yellow lifted his dog paw, rubbed his dog nose, and laughed somewhat embarrassedly. Old master, you are too polite. However, this is really the first time someone has bowed to me. He he he, just for this gift from you old man. Big Yellow will definitely defend the Chen family to the death in this world. Chen Shangsheng laughed. In that case, from today onwards, you will enjoy the same treatment as my Chen clan's guest ministers. Big Yellow's eyes lit up. In that case, it could also receive a monthly salary? However, Big Yellow still glanced at Chen Fan. The islanders are going to disagree. And it's all for naught. Chen Fan laughed. You'll take what grandpa gives you. He he he. Many thanks to the old man. Big Yellow grinned and followed the human's example. Clasping his two front paws together and making a bow to return the favor. Second uncle. Let's go inside and chat. Chen Fan laughed. Uncle Zhou smiled knowingly and said. Then the old servant will go prepare the banquet. Chen Chongsheng stepped into the clasping Dan realm, such a great joyous event, it was necessary to celebrate. Uncle Zhou had been a housekeeper in the Chen family for decades, so this small matter, naturally, did not need to be ordered by the master's family. Thank you, Uncle Zhou. Chen Fan smiled. This is what an old servant should do. Uncle Zhou smiled and retreated. Shortly after Chen Fan and Chen Ming entered the courtyard, Chen Shuo was also called over by Chen Ming's voice transmission. The three generations, who had been in the house for a long time. When they came out, Chen Ming and Chen Shua's expressions were both extremely uplifted. Father, I won't be attending the banquet later. I've already congratulated Grandpa anyway. He he he, 
I'm going to go directly to cultivate. Although we are currently practicing the same technique, but my child has a feeling that I will definitely be able to condense the Dan one step ahead of you. As soon as he left the courtyard, Chen Shuo was excited. Chen Ming's face instantly darkened, and he couldn't help but directly knock a popping chestnut on Chen Shuo's head. Oh, father, how did you? You even get your hands on ah. Uh. Chen Shuo hurriedly jumped away in pain, alertly pulling a large distance away from Chen Ming. Chen Ming grunted, you son of a bitch, what cultivation level do you have now? Even if you cultivate faster, if you want to condense Dan, it will be a decade or two later. You said that you are one step ahead of me to condense Dan. That is to curse me that I have no hope to step into the realm of holding Dan in this life. How could I have raised such a loser like you? Cough cough, your qualifications are right there. No wonder the child is honest. Chen Shuo muttered in aggravation. Chen Ming was so angry that he was about to get on again, and Chen Shu rushed away. Raising a child is not ladylike. Chen Ming shook his head with a bitter smile. Chen Fan laughed. Shuo Di was just joking. When some time passes, I'll find a way to get some spiritual materials back, and by then I should be able to help second uncle and Shuo Di improve quite a bit. Chen Ming excitedly said, Little Fan Ah, then second uncle won't be polite to you. Second uncle's qualifications are not good, and he really does need the help of external objects to improve. In my life, if I can step into the clasping Dan realm, I will have no more regrets. By the way, if you buy spirit materials, you will definitely need a lot of spirit stones. Second uncle still has some savings here. Although not much, you take it all. Saying that, Chen Ming was going to take the spirit stones out. Chen Fan was busy saying, Second uncle, now that grandpa has put me in charge of the family, the spirit stones for purchasing spirit materials, I will pay out of the family account. No need for you to pay for it yourself. Ahem. That's fine, second uncle doesn't have much savings, so I won't take it out to shame people. Chen Ming laughed dryly. Chen Fan also knew that a person like Chen Ming who buried his head in bitter cultivation, where could he have much savings? A bit of spirit stones were taken to cultivate. Chen Fan laughed. Now that the Chen family has the income from the spirit mines, it's not that difficult to buy some spirit materials. Chen Ming laughed. Little Fan, you're really great. Cultivating and being in charge of the family are two things at once. With a child like you, my Chen family will surely rise to great prosperity. Ha ha ha. Chen Fan humbly smiled. Second uncle is too kind. If the Chen family is prospering, it will never be my work alone, but the result of the joint efforts of our Chen family members. Second uncle is afraid that he only has the credit of hard work. Ha ha. But don't worry, no matter what you want to do, second uncle will definitely support you. Chen Ming laughed. Many thanks, second uncle. Chen Fan stopped being polite and bowed to thank him. At today's banquet, there were only the Chen family's own people. Upon hearing that Chen Changsheng had stepped into the clasping Dan realm, waves of guests from outside the Chen mansion had come to visit, but they were all stopped by Uncle Zhou. It only replied back that the Chen family would set up an afternoon banquet three days later to entertain guests who were willing to come and congratulate each other. City Lord's Mansion Tang Fei Yang had been kneeling outside City Lord Tang Zhu K's study for most of the day. Ever since Tang Fei Yang broke both of Luo Dingtian's legs and threw him out of the City Lord's Mansion, the first time Tang Zhu K learned about it, he called Tang Fei Yang to kneel outside his study. He didn't reprimand Tang Fei Yang either. He just made Tang Fei Yang kneel. If it wasn't for the fact that Tang Fei Yang had already changed his soul at this moment, I'm afraid that he wouldn't have been able to hold on and fainted. At this moment, Tang Fei Yang did not dare to show too much endurance, pretending to be weak and staggering, and might faint at any time. Do you know what's wrong? A cold, deep voice finally came from the study. Child knows that I am wrong. Tang Fei Yang snapped, recognizing his mistake. Squeak, the door of the study opened, and a stout middle-aged man, with two chilling lights blundering out of his godly eyes, asked in a cold voice, Since you know you're wrong, then tell me where you're wrong. Tang Fei Yang busily said, My child was wrong twice. The first mistake was that I shouldn't have been egged on by Luo Dingtian, forcing the Su Chen two families to see 30% of their spirit minds for the sake of a small profit. The second mistake was that he shouldn't have impulsively broken Luo Dingtian's legs and offended the Luo family as well. The coldness in Tang Juk's eyes eased slightly. It seems that he truly knows that he's wrong, so it's not like he's kneeling for nothing. Tang Juk faintly said, Child is willing to accept any punishment. Tang Fei Yang was busy saying. A touch of relief swept across Tang Juk's eyes, but then he sighed and said, For the places in the earth spirit abyss trial, give one to each of their families. As for which three slots to appropriate, this is a matter for you to weigh. Tung Fei Yang's eyes flickered lightly as he said, Father, although my child admits to the punishment, but the quota for the Earth Spirit Abyss trial, you have long since allocated it to the clan disciples behind the major guest secretaries, and at this time, 
The quota for their clan disciples' trial was used to make up for the three great clans. I'm afraid that these guest secretaries would be uncomfortable in their hearts. In the beginning, they were willing to pledge allegiance to the city lord's mansion for the sake of this trial quota. Although Tang Fei Yang was indifferent to that quota, now that he was using Tang Fei Yang's identity, he naturally had to speak in that capacity. Otherwise, it will be easy for people to become suspicious. Chapter 57 What are you going to do about it? Tang Juk naturally could think that by making changes to the established quota, there would definitely be some people among those guest ministers who would be upset. But now, the strength of the three great clans has changed, and Tang Fei Young has offended all three great clans at once, so he has to make a statement. Although the city lord's office has the power to override all the clans in the city, but if you want to manage a city well, it's not just by virtue of official authority. Tang Juk knew that the only way to be secure in his position as the city's lord was to use both grace and authority. Of course, the most important thing is still, the Tang family's own strength is not hard enough. Spirit Lake Realm guest ministers although there are many, there is no clutching Dan Realm powerhouse sitting in the town. Tang Ju Kei pondered for a moment and explained to Tang Fei Yang, if it was before, when the three families were resentful, my father could have ignored it. But now that Chen Changsheng has stepped into the clasping Dan Realm, the Su family has a mysterious powerhouse in their midst, and the Luo family's Luo Qianjun is on his way back. At times like this, it's better to calm their anger first. As for the guest ministers, if anyone is not happy, they can either tolerate it or leave. This is not the only trial. There will still be opportunities in the future. If you can't even stand this aggravation, how can you talk about loyalty? Tung Fei Young pretended to be shocked and said, Chen Shangsheng has actually stepped into the clasping Dan realm. No wonder he wouldn't agree to seed the spirit mine. Tang Juk shook his head and said, Chen Changsheng is today only breakthrough. And the process also had some twists and turns. But also because of these twists and turns. But let the father of the Chen family more impressed. But also let the father remembered some of the past. Fei Yang, you and remember. At any time, do not go to mess with the Chen family again. I'm not sure if you're a good person or a good person. Behind this Chen family, there are still some things you don't know. Tung Fei Yang's eyes narrowed slightly as he asked, Father, what is behind this Chen family? Tung Juk shook his head, You don't need to know, there are some things that knowing more may not be a good thing. Tung Fei Yang secretly made a note of it, and said on his lips, Good, if father doesn't say anything, my child won't ask. Go back. Three days later, accompany my father to the Chen family. Tung Juk waved his hand, I, the child excuses himself. Tempest got up with a shudder and left on shaky legs. Don't pretend. You're a true spirit realm. Are you as vain as this? Tang Juk's voice came from behind him with a light hum. Tang Fei Yang's face was a moment of embarrassment. Had he overplayed his hand? The following day, the Chen, Su, and Luo families all received notifications from the city lord's mansion granting places in the trial. Grandpa, what's this earth spirit abyss trial all about? It seems like I've never heard of it. Chen Fan asked Chen Chongsheng. Chen Chongsheng lightly laughed. The earth spirit abyss trial, which is held once every ten years is the most important kind of trial within the Qingzhou prefecture, and for martial cultivators, it is also an extremely rare and great opportunity. It is said that within the earth spirit abyss, there are countless precious spiritual materials, rare mineral deposits to be found, and even, there are people who have discovered the legacy of ancient powerhouses in it. Of course, there are also many remnant formations, killing prohibitions, and ferocious beasts, which are extremely dangerous. Every time there is a trial, there are quite a few people who have been buried in it. Chen Fan raised his eyebrows lightly. There shouldn't be many spots for this kind of trial opportunity, right? Chen Changsheng nodded his head and said, Indeed, there aren't many, and the quotas are only available to those great powers alone. The great martial arts clans within the state capitals are entitled to 20 slots per clan, and each city lord's mansion under the rule of the Qingzhou prefecture is only entitled to 10 slots. The Qingzhou mansion itself, on the other hand, possessed a hundred quotas. However, these quotas were not only used by the Qingzhou mansion itself, but some would also be allocated to the large clans within the Qingzhou city. However, within Tiger's Pillar City, such a trial opportunity would not even have been the turn of our families in the past. It was all assigned by the Tang family to those guest ministers who were loyal to the city lord's mansion. This time, I think it must be because the city lord also knows that Tang Fei Yang has gone too far, and that's why he's allocated three slots to compensate the three families. It dawned on Chen Fan. No wonder he had never heard of any earth spirit abyss trials. So it turned out that the previous quotas had all been internally digested by the city lord's mansion. Little fan, what are you going to do with this quota given by the city lord's mansion? Chen Changsheng asked with a smile. Chen Fan laughed. I thought grandpa would just give it to me. Ha ha, you're a clasping Dan realm. 
What's the point of going to join in the fun? Chen Chongcheng laughed and scolded. Although the Earth Spirit Abyss only places an age restriction on the martial cultivators who enter it, this kind of trial shouldn't mean much to you anymore. How about letting Chen Shua go? This kid, although his qualifications are poorer, he has always been very motivated. This time is a chance for him. Chen Fan shook his head and said, Grandpa, it's better to let me go. Now that Shua Di has cultivated the Tao Martial Heart Sutra, there is no need to let him take this risk again. You have also said that the people who normally enter the trial are disciples of great clans and descendants of great clans. These people have extraordinary strengths and deep hearts. Their dangers are even greater than the dangers that exist in the Earth Spirit Abyss itself. Chen Chongsheng mused, What you said is correct. Then you should go, but you should also pay attention to safety. Don't act recklessly just because of your cultivation. Chen Fan laughed. Don't worry, Grandpa. My grandson is just going to dig up some spirit materials to subsidize the household. Ha ha, it's grandpa who's incompetent and has to make you go to such a treacherous place to dig for spirit materials to subsidize the household. Chen Changsheng stroked his beard and laughed. In that case, let you represent the Chen family and go to the city lord's mansion to thank them. What happened before is considered in the past. Chen Changsheng laughed again. All right, then grandson will make a trip to the city lord's mansion. Chen Fan smiled and got up to leave. Chen Fan had just arrived near the city lord's mansion when a voice came from behind him. Chen Ursheo stay back. Chen Fan turned to look at Su Wenjun and smiled. Miss Su is also here. Su Wenjun's eyes flickered slightly as he said, Your Chen family's trial quota. Who did you give it to? Chen Fan laughed lightly. Miss Su is unwilling to be my Chen family's daughter-in-law, yet she is so concerned about my Chen family's affairs. Su Wenjun blushed and glared at Chen Fan in annoyance. I'm just asking casually. Chen Fan laughed. Since it's just a casual question, it doesn't matter if I answer back or not. Miss Su, I'm in a hurry to finish thanking the city lord and go to the sparse shadow workshop to listen to the music, so I won't be accompanying you here to gossip. Chen Fan smiled and arched his hand, immediately striding towards the gate of the city lord's mansion. The corner of Su Wenjun's mouth twitched. This guy, how dare he go to a place like sparse shadow place? Is he doing this to stand up to Gu Bu Yu's obsession? Su Wenjun grunted, secretly being unworthy of Gu Bu Yu. However, she had also heard about Gu Bu Yu running away from home, and had once felt sorry for what had happened to Gu Bu Yu. Now, even more sympathetic, after being informed by the city guards, Chen Fan and Su Wenjun quickly entered the city lord's mansion and met Tang Juk and Tang Fei Young. On behalf of the two families, the two expressed their gratitude to Tang Juk, while Tang Fei Young apologized a few more times in front of the two. The previous unhappiness is considered to be over. The Lo family, Luo Yuan Wu was depressed. Although his true age was perfectly in line with the requirements for entering the Earth Spirit Abyss, but nay, the age of this physical body had already exceeded the limit. According to reason, this place should be given to Luo Dingtian, but Luo Dingtian's legs are still crippled, so he can't go even if he wants to. How about giving it to Luo Chinkue? This woman is considered to be the one with the most righteous character in the Luo family's litter, and her age also matches, Luo Yuanwu secretly said in his heart. Luo Chinkite is Luo Chinkuan's youngest daughter although already 29 years old, but still to be in the boudoir, has not been married. It wasn't that she was strangely ugly and couldn't marry, it was that no one dared to. Chapter 58 Luo Qian Jun Returns Third Master, Young Master Qian Jun is back, just as Luo Yuanwu made his decision and was about to give the spot to Luo Qinkue. Outside the study, the voices of the Luo family guards were heard. Luo Yuanwu's eyes narrowed and he responded with a faint smile. It's not just him who's back, is it? The guards were busy saying, Yes, together with young master Qian Jun, who entered the mansion, there was also elder Su of the Mountain River Sword sect as well as four disciples, Luo Yuanwu said, then greet them, order down and prepare a luncheon to receive the Mountain River Sword sect's group of honored guests, third master, as soon as young master Qian Jun entered the mansion, he led the Mountain River Sword sect and his party to the guest courtyard, and then went directly towards the eldest young master's courtyard, and the ones guarding the door, they should have said something to young master Qian Jun, Go and do what you need to do. I'll deal with the other things myself. Luo Yuanwu said indifferently. This guard outside, named Zhao Kuang, used to be Luo Yuanwu's close confidant and was loyal to Luo Yuanwu. Yes, Zhao Kuang said no more and respectfully retreated. The corner of Luo Yuanwu's mouth lifted up a touch of disdain. Even if Luo Qianjun knew that the power of the Luo family had fallen into his hands, so what? Even with the Mountain River Sword sect backing him up, Luo Yuanwu didn't care. He took a sip of tea before he idly got up and walked towards Luo Dingtian's small courtyard. Second brother. Ah, big brother miserable. Oh, the wailing sounds of Luo Dingtian's crying were heard in Luo Dingtian's small courtyard. On the way over, I've already heard about some things. Big brother, 
Don't worry, this revenge, I will definitely avenge you. In the house, a sword browed, starry-eyed youth said with eyes flashing with a cold light. Lying on the bed, Luo Dingtian froze and asked miserably, Second brother, the one who broke my legs is the young city master. This revenge, how do we report it? Luo Qianzhuan's face stiffened as he lightly coughed. The young city lord naturally cannot be moved. However, I will break the legs of the Su and Chen family members to avenge big brother. Luo Dingtian sighed and gritted his teeth. That's fine. Anyway, I can't be the only one to break my legs. Then I want Chen Fan and Su Wenjun's legs to be broken as well. If it wasn't for their disagreement, the young city lord wouldn't have been angered by this and broken both of my legs. Luo Qianjun sneered. Okay, within three days, I will break the legs of these two. It's still second brother who is good and willing to stand up for big brother. Luo Dingtian said excitedly. By the way, second brother, has a matter that I don't know if it is true. Luo Dingtian said hesitantly. Luo Qianjun raised an eyebrow and asked. What is it? Luo Dingtian's face turned slightly white and said. Third uncle said that grandpa, father, and second uncle, are all gone. From yesterday until now, I and the others in the house, really did not see them again either. What? Luo Qianjun was so shocked that his eyes shook and he rose up angrily. How is this possible? When father sent the letter, he said that grandfather was about to condense Dan. So how could he have suddenly disappeared along with father and second uncle? Luo Dingtian trembled. It's not disappeared. It, is the people who are gone? What exactly happened? Is it because of the trouble you caused that you dragged them down? Luo Qianjun asked with a fierce roar. Luo Dingtian hurriedly said, Second brother, this is none of my business. Third uncle said that the black-robed man who went to the Chen family to attack and kill Chen Changsheng on the occasion of Chen Changsheng's Dan condensation yesterday was actually grandpa. Only, grandpa was unable to defeat that big yellow dog of the Chen family and was chased out of the city. Worried about grandpa's safety, father and second uncle also chased after him. But they didn't come back until now. But the Chen family's big yellow dog went back to the Chen family. So third uncle reckons that father and the others are more than likely gone. Luo Chenjuan's fists were tightly clenched. His eyes coldly sank as he said, If that's really the case, since grandpa and the others have perished at the hands of the Chen family, then why hasn't the Chen family killed the Luo family? Third uncle's speculation is too arbitrary. The fact that the Chen family didn't come to kill them means that grandfather and father should still be alive. At least, they didn't fall into the hands of the Chen family. Luo Dingtian's eyes lit up in surprise. That's right. Otherwise how could the Chen family not have killed over? Humph. I really didn't expect that third uncle would have such ambitions. No wonder he came to see me last night and said that both of my legs were ruined and that he would be in charge of the Luo family from now on. He's just itching for something to happen to grandpa and father and the others. Luo Dingtian huffed. Anger exploded in Luo Qianjuan's eyes. Third uncle even said such words? Well, a thousand times over. Luo Dingtian hurriedly said. Humph. He won't be able to get what he wants, Luo Qianjun said in a cold voice. Even if grandpa and the others really can't come back, the Luo family, it's not his turn to be in charge. Big brother, why don't you rest first? I'll go find third uncle and ask for clarification. Luo Qianjun grunted angrily and had just rushed out of the small courtyard when he saw Luo Yuanwu idly walking this way. What should be said? Top heaven has told you? Luo Yuanwu said indifferently. Luo Qianjun's eyes narrowed coldly as he stared deathly at Luo Yuanwu. Third uncle, You've been too hasty. Luo Yuanwu shook his head. Child, you've misunderstood third uncle. Is that so? Luo Qianjun coldly said. Then what did third uncle mean when he told my elder brother that my father and the others were gone? Luo Yuanwu said in a deep voice. If they are still alive, why haven't they returned? Luo Qianjun's eyes flashed as he grunted. Perhaps he just suffered some injuries and is afraid that the Chen family will see the signs after he returns. Luo Yuanwu shook his head. Child, you are too naive. Third uncle has eyes and ears in the Chun family, and that big yellow dog has already killed the black-robed man in one bite. According to his own words, chopped in one bite? Luo Qianjun looked skeptical. Luo Yuanwu said in a low voice, it is the meaning of a bite to death. That big yellow dog said, it bit your grandfather's head. This kind of ferocity, the third uncle really do not want to say too much understanding, but also because of this, they do not know yet that black-robed man, in fact, is your grandfather. This damned beast. Luo Qianjuan's eyes were bloodshot. What about my father and second uncle? Luo Yuanwu shook his head and said, He has not returned so far. Although that big yellow dog didn't mention your father and your second uncle, but most likely it is already a bad situation. In order for the Luo family not to be leaderless, the third uncle is temporarily leading the entire family, coordinating all matters. Your elder brother is in this state now. He can't take on the heavy responsibility either. Besides third uncle me standing out, who else can the Luo family count on? 
The corners of Luo Qianjun's mouth twitched. Wasn't he human? Now I'm back. Luo Qianjun reminded Luo Yuanwu in a deep voice. Luo Yuanwu shook his head and said, It's useless for you to come back. The Chun family now has the Clutching Dan realm sitting at the helm. And there's also a big yellow dog with enough battle power to rival the Clutching Dan realm. It's frighteningly strong. Third uncle came over just to advise you. Rest for one night. Tomorrow you will go back to Mountain River Sword Sect. Don't think about revenge. Otherwise, not only will you die prematurely, but the Luo family will also be exterminated. Luo Qianjun laughed angrily. Third uncle is really cold-blooded. Grandpa was killed. My father and second uncle's whereabouts are unknown. You dare not pursue the matter yourself, but also let me be a shrinking violet with you? I Luo Qianjun, born to be a human male. The revenge of killing relatives, if I do not report, in vain. Luo Yuanwu frowned and said in a cold voice, Since you want to take revenge so badly, then go by yourself. The rest of the Luo family will never participate, much less accompany you to your death. Chapter 59 That's not enough to die for. Luo Qianjun's eyes were icy cold as he said in a cold voice, This is a family feud, and any person in the Luo family is responsible. Doesn't third uncle find it too ridiculous to say such things? Luo Yuanwu smiled faintly, Child, it's better to be ridiculous than to let the Luo family perish. Stop calling me a child, Luo Qianjun said with fire spewing from his eyes. He's in his twenties. Moreover, the Luo Yuanwu at this moment, calling him a child. Luo Qianjun always had a feeling of being disgusted. Luo Yuanwu shrugged his shoulders and said, All right, since you don't like to hear it, then third uncle won't be called. However, as the Luo family's highest and oldest person, the Luo family's affairs must be coordinated by me right now. You have to go for revenge. Third uncle won't stop you but I have to leave a way out for the rest of the Luo family. Luo Qianjun laughed coldly and said, Third uncle is really talking in a grandiose manner. I think it's just that third uncle is afraid of death. Luo Yuanwu sighed. Third uncle is not afraid to die. He doesn't dare to die. Your elder brother is impulsive and useless. And you are headstrong. So third uncle must live. If I die again, what will the Luo family do in the future? Luo Qianjun's face darkened. So, you're the only useful person in the Luo family. Luo Yuanwu? Luo Qianjun took a deep breath, suppressed his anger, and said in a cold and deep voice, When I have avenged myself and the Luo family is free of worries, the Luo family won't need third uncle to work so hard. Luo Yuanwu said in a deep voice, If you can really take revenge, third uncle will hand over the Luo family into the hands of you two brothers, and from then on go far away from home and never come back. Third uncle remember what you said. Luo Qianjun sneered. Luo Yuanwu nodded solemnly and said, Child. Third uncle will advise you one last time. Don't go to your death. You obviously still have a great future ahead of you. Third uncle should still think more about where he's going to go in the future. Luo Qianjun said icily, striding away. Luo Yuanwu looked at his back, shook his head, and laughed in his heart, not listening to third uncle's words, looking for death in front of me. Originally, I didn't want the island master to be hostile to the mountain river sword sect again, but now it seems that I can't stop him. However, it doesn't matter. If the Mountain River Sword Sect can't carry on, at that time, they will die together with the Heavenly Treasure Sect and exterminate the sect, outside the Luo family guest house. Boo! Luo Qianjun's knee sank and he directly knelt down, crying bitterly under his breath. Elder Su, please still do right by my disciple. Inside the guest courtyard, an old man frowned as he walked out and asked, Qian Jun, what are you doing? Su Donglin was still angry in his heart originally. He was an elder of the Mountain River Sword Sect. He came to the Luo family for so long, but the Luo family didn't even come to show their faces to a person in charge of the matter. This was completely not taking him seriously. However, this outburst from Luo Qianjun had left Su Dongling somewhat baffled. Immediately, Luo Qianjun knelt down and told Su Donglin some of the Luo family's situation. Su Donglin was silent for a moment and said, So, your grandfather was killed instead of destroying someone's chances by sneaking in and striking at them while they were condensing pills? Luo Qianjun's face stiffened and he could only nod his head stiffly. Yes, Su Donglin said in a cold and deep voice. Your grandfather's such a villainous behavior. That's a death not to be spared. Do you still presume to borrow the power of the clan to avenge such a person? I, Mountain River Sword Sect, will never go out on a limb for something that is already unjustified. Luo Qianjun hurriedly said. Elder Su, but, but that is my grandfather ah. Disciple cannot let his old man just die in vain ah. There's also my father, my second uncle. Their whereabouts are unknown today, Su Donglin said indifferently. Luo Qianjun, you should be satisfied. The Chen family is still benevolent and did not publicize your grandfather's matter. Otherwise, your Luo family would be infamous and hated by all. At that time, 
It's hard to say if you can still continue to be a disciple of my Mountain River Sword sect. You stand down. Your Luo family's affairs. This elder doesn't care and won't care. Tomorrow morning, I will lead the others back to Mountain River Sword sect. Whether you return to the sect or not is up to you. After Su Donglin finished speaking, he turned around and walked towards the house, leaving Luo Qianjun alone and kneeling outside. Luo Qianjun froze for a long time. Wasn't he himself a genius disciple that the Mountain River Sword sect had focused on cultivating? When he was in the sect, it was Elder Su who took the initiative to ask his master to accompany him back to Tiger Spirit City Ah, along the way, he and Elder Su also get along very well Ah, how really came to the need for Elder Su to stand up for him. This Elder Su flip-flopped? He also said that his grandfather was not dead enough. Su Dong Lin, you old bastard. It turns out that from the very beginning, you only wanted to take my Luo family's benefits and didn't even think of contributing. Fine, after I return to the clan, I will definitely tell my master all about your ugly face. Luo Qianjun gritted his teeth and got up, and after scolding Su Donglin severely in his heart, he went to find Luo Dingtian again. Luo Yuanwu couldn't be counted on, and Elder Su couldn't be relied on, so he could only look for Luo Dingtian, his big brother, to talk about what was on his mind. Although this big brother, too, was completely useless in the slightest, at least talking wouldn't give him a hard time. Oh second brother, it seems like we're isolated. I was thinking of asking you to help me ask the Mountain River Sword sect for a 5th grade spirit bone pill. Is that out of the question now as well? Luo Dingtian said with a disappointed face. Luo Qianjuan's face twitched. Although he was highly valued in the Mountain River Sword sect, the 5th grade spirit bone pill was extremely precious, which could be begged just by wanting to. The matter of the spirit bone pill. Let's see if there's a chance later. Grandfather's revenge can go unrequited for now but the whereabouts of father and second uncle must be known. I'll make a trip to the Chen family now and ask them in person. Although I'm only at the beginning of the true spirit realm, I'm after all a disciple of the Mountain River Sword sect. I don't believe that the Chen family would dare to touch me, Luo Qianjun said in a deep voice. Luo Dingtian hurriedly nodded his head and said, Yes, second brother, you are a disciple of the Mountain River Sword sect. With this identity alone, the Chen family would definitely not dare to touch you. You must retrieve father and second uncle. Otherwise, in the future, Big Brother will have to look at Third Uncle's face to live in the Luo family. Luo Qianjun said angrily, It's this time of the year, and you only think of yourself in your mind? Then who do I think about? Luo Dingtian froze. I have a broken leg now. It's useless to think about others. I, Luo Qianjun was so angry that his chest clogged up and he almost sprayed out a mouthful of blood. That's just it. The Luo family's affairs can only be carried on my shoulders after all. It's useless to count on anyone. Luo Qianjun sighed and left with a sad face. Not much longer. Luo Qianjun came to the door of the Chen mansion alone. Chen Shang Shang. Get out here. Luo Qianjun let out a furious cry. His eyes red. On the way here, he'd already thought about it. It is important to get a head start and get the momentum going. Only then could he better utilize his identity as a disciple of the Mountain River Sword sect to shock the Chen family and force them to hand over his father and second uncle. Wow. A foul-smelling water line. Openly splashed down from the sky drenching the imposing Luo Qianjun all over, blah blah blah, vom dash, stench drenching the body, Luo Qianjun was so shocked that he hurriedly retreated, his mouth kept spitting, but he was still disgusted by the strong smell, wanting to vomit, angry Luo Qianjun, viciously looked up to the sky, only to see a big yellow dog, is floating in the air against him, but also forked two hind legs, revealing the indecent things, you dog scum, how dare you, you, do you know who I am? Luo Qianjun roared. Big Yellow rolled his eyes and said disdainfully, Master Dog doesn't care who you are. If you dare to be disrespectful to the old master, it's like for Master Dog to take the urine and nourish you. If you dare to clamor again, believe it or not, the Dog Master went down and bit your head off. Chapter 60 Tian Bao Sect Hong Yuan Dao Luo Qianjun looked at Big Yellow's open dog mouth and couldn't help but shrink at the corner of his eyes. Grandpa's head was bitten off by this mouth, wasn't it? Luo Qianjun brushed his sleeve to wipe the urine stains on his face as a way to hide the flash of fear in his eyes. But after wiping it off, Fang remembered that there was urine on his sleeve too. Vom dash. Luo Qianjun let out a dry heaving sound again. So angry that his face turned red with rage. Gritting his teeth, he said, I am Luo Qianjun, a disciple of the Mountain River Sword sect. If you insult me, you are insulting the master behind me. Yu Chen family dog. How dare you? Big Yellow disdainfully said. You are just a small disciple of the Mountain River Sword sect. How can you represent the Mountain River Sword sect? This face of yours is only suitable for smearing urine. So don't think about putting gold on it. Hurry up and get lost. Or else, 
Master Dog will nourish you one more time. Luo Qianzhuan's eyes panicked, hastily retreated a few more steps, his mouth laughed angrily. I, don't believe you still have it. Big Yellow laughed evilly, looks like you haven't had a good time. Okay, then Master Dog will fulfill you. Big Yellow's figure flew towards the sky above Luo Qianzhuan's head. Luo Qianzhuan was so scared that he hurriedly flew away, his mouth saying angrily, You dog, you wait for me. When I return to my division, I will. Surely, sizzle. Ah, without waiting for Luo Qianjun to finish shouting, a powerful wind viciously grabbed him in the back. In an instant, the robe behind Luo Qianjun's back split into strips of cloth, and in the fluttering hem of the cloth, a few blood traces were eerily shocking. Big Yellow laughed coldly. Master Dog is most displeased with people like you who have no balls and still like to speak harshly. Next time you come back, Master Dog hopes that you can speak from your strength. Don't just rely on your mouth and blah, 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 blah. Luo Qianjun wanted to cry in humiliation. The back is raw, the ass is leaking, and this face, it's a disgrace. At this time, he hated Su Donglin and Luo Yuanwu again. If it wasn't for the fact that these two refused to help and he could only come alone, would he have been humiliated in this way? Big Yellow was at the peak of the fourth realm. Even his grandfather could be killed. Luo Qianjun was only at the beginning of the true spirit realm. Naturally he didn't dare to fight Big Yellow head on. He originally thought that with his identity, he would be able to meet with Chen Changsheng anyways and ask the other party to release his father and second uncle. Who would have thought that a watchdog would make him run away in a mess? After Chen Fan came out of the city lord's mansion, he went to the sparse shadow place. There's a little tail on the back. Chen Fan was also helpless. This Su Wenjun seemed to be paying more and more attention to him lately. Ms. Su, since you followed me here, let's go in and have some fun together. Chen Fan stopped outside the sharing place and turned towards a corner to shout. Su Wenjun's eyes flashed slightly as he walked out from the corner. Chen Ershao Chi practicing realm. To be able to have this kind of perception ability is really a bit uncomplicated. Su Wenjun smiled faintly. She wasn't embarrassed to be found out. Chen Fan laughed. It's not that this young man is uncomplicated. It's that your stalking level is too rookie. Ms. Su, just now, when you shrunk into the corner, your body retreated. But in some places, it still protruded that much. Su Wenjun froze. Where did he bulge out? She couldn't help but look down. And instantly her face flushed red as she cursed in shame. Chen Fan, you're really shameless. Chen Fan laughed evilly and pointed at sparse shadow place. Without being shameless, can this young man come to such a place? Miss Su, if you don't come along, this young man can go in first. Humph, I'm not going into a place like this. Su Wenjun gritted his teeth. Chen Fan nodded and said with a light smile, Miss Su is dignified and elegant, a model of a boudoir. Indeed she shouldn't enter a place like this, but she shouldn't be trailing a man either. I also hope that Miss Su will be able to show more self-respect in the future and keep her curiosity in check. Although Su Wenjun's face was a little hot, since she had followed her here, she didn't want to retreat like this. Her eyes flickered lightly as she said, Chen Fan, intuition tells me that you, a person, have many secrets hidden in your body. Moreover, you are not a body of waste, right? Chen Fan grinned and gave a thumbs up at Su Wenjun. Miss Su really has a sharp eye. I thought I hid it well, but I didn't expect that I was still discovered by you. In fact, not only am I not a waste, I am also like my grandfather. I have long been a clasping Dan Realm powerhouse. Also please Miss Su must keep the secret for me ah. Su Wenjun rolled his eyes. This guy, there's a limit to his bragging, right? 20 years old? That's a lie. It's fine if you don't say it, but I trust my intuition. Su Wenjun hummed. Miss Su's intuition is really great, but I'm really quite in a hurry, so I'll go in first. Chen Fan grinned and walked in towards the sharing place. Su Wenjun watched Chen Fan enter the gate of the sparse shadow workshop. His brows furrowed. Could it be that I really thought too much? This guy, is he just too smart? Plus a bit more courageous? Yes and shameless and shameless, perhaps, he is really just a waste who has long since resigned himself to his fate, a person, once they have resigned themselves to their fate and are indifferent to everything, they can naturally be open-minded, that calmness of his may be due to that, Su Wenjun shook her head with some disappointment, she actually hoped that Chen Fan was not a waste, because Chen Fan's figure, as well as some subtle movements, really resembled and resembled the masked male, but the masked prince, how could he possibly enter a place like the sparse shadow place? Chen Fan asked for a private room and named Yu Wing as his companion. After listening to a few songs, Chen Fan took out a spirit gathering pill and rewarded her. Taking the other one, he asked her to pass it on to Ding Chuanxiu, and asked her to act as a middleman to get Ding Chuanxiu to purchase more spirit materials for him. Chen Fan, a wasted young man, 
always went to the Thousand Spirit Merchant House to purchase spiritual materials, and still purchased them in large quantities. If this were to be spread out, it would cause people to become suspicious. Although it didn't matter if Chen Fan was hidden or not now, he still preferred to hide in the dark and beat people up. Using yourself as a base card is always the most reliable base card. The next day, the injured Luo Qin Jun followed Su Donglin and the others to leave Tiger Spirit City. When he left, Luo Dingtian cried a lot for his future life, full of worry. After leaving the city, Luo Chen Jun glanced back at Tiger Spirit City and secretly vowed that he would definitely return again soon. In the blink of an eye, it was the Chen family's big day to welcome guests and celebrate Chen Chinxing's entry into the Clasping Dan realm. Early in the morning, guests came to congratulate each other with heavy gifts. As the day approached noon and the banquet was about to begin, a group of uninvited guests came uninvited. Elder Hong Yuan Dao of the Tian Bao sect has come to congratulate Elder Chen. The voice of a light smile, transmitted shocked into the seat, so that full of guests, the face of all shocked change. Even if Chen Shangsheng stepped into the clasping Dan realm, it wasn't enough for someone from the Heavenly Treasure sect to specially come and congratulate him. What's more, the Heavenly Treasure sect had earlier wasted the fiancé of the Chen family's second youngest. On the guest table, Gu Shan Chuan and Gu Bu Zhuang, father and son, were both clenching their fists and palms, their eyes showing ferocious coldness. Chen Shangsheng's eyes narrowed lightly as he smiled lightly and said, Please invite Elder Hong of the Heavenly Treasure sect to enter the residence. Soon after, the group of people strutted with their heads held high as they stepped into the Chen family. As he passed by the place where the congratulatory gifts were registered, the rough old man at the head smiled faintly and casually threw out a spirit stone, which rolled down onto the long red cloth covered table. Mr. Hong is chatting about his intention to present a spirit stone. I hope Elder Chen won't mind. Chapter 61 Come on. Avenge your disciples' death. Accompanying a gift of one spirit stone, anyone could see that Hong Yuan Dao was not being petty, but rather slapping the Chen family's face in public. Chen Shangsheng's eyes narrowed lightly twice as he smiled faintly and said, Gifts are not light or heavy. Just feel free to do so. Zhou Shen, lead Elder Hong and his party into the seats and take their places. Grandfather, Elder Hong has an honorable status. It's better to let my grandson make the arrangements. Chen Fan said in a cold voice. Chen Shangsheng transmitted his voice. Little Fan, after all, it's the heavenly treasure sect, don't be impulsive. Chen Fan did not respond, but instead walked towards Hong Yuan Dao and his group. Chen Chongsheng was old enough to choose to hold back, but today everyone is here to congratulate Chen Chongsheng. Chen Chongsheng was originally also red-faced and happy. Chen Fan would not let his grandfather suffer this embarrassment. Seeing Chen Fan walking towards him, Hong Yuan Dao smiled coldly. You are Chen Fan, right? Hong Yuan Dao asked. After Huang Su and his group returned to the Heavenly Treasure Sect, they truthfully reported the Chen family's refusal to break off the marriage contract with Gu Buyu. Although Huang Su was Chen Fan's man, he couldn't suppress this news. Chen Fan didn't intend to let him press on either. He had decided to destroy the Tian Bao sect, so how could he use this matter to make false pretenses with the Tian Bao sect? Chen Fan said indifferently, Elder Hong is not blinded by old eyes. Recognizing this young man at a glance, Hong Yuan Dao's eyes chilled and exploded with cold light. Chen Fan, how dare you talk to Elder Hong like that? A disciple behind Hong Yuan Dao suddenly sidestepped out and shouted angrily. Chen Fan smiled disdainfully. How did this young man speak? Isn't this youngster praising Elder Hong for not being old-eyed? Can it be that you have to say that he is old and dim-eyed for you to think that this young man speaks well? You, you're being sophomoric. That tone of yours is clearly disrespectful. The Heavenly Treasure sect disciple said angrily. Chen Fan smiled faintly. Since you have disrespected my grandfather. Why should my Chen family respect you? Do you really think that you can be arrogant and presumptuous in my Chen family just because you carry the name of the Heavenly Treasure sect? Ha! <laughs> Chen family has produced a clasping Dan realm. This prestige has really grown a lot. Hong Yuan Dao laughed coldly, and the chill of his voice made everyone present. Feel a chill on their bones. Shouldn't we be fighting? The crowd secretly speculated. Little fan, don't be impulsive. Chen Shangsheng was at the back and hurriedly transmitted his voice again. Grandfather. You don't have to care. Even if the heavenly treasure sex patriarch comes today, Sunner will be able to keep the Chen family safe. You just believe in your grandson. And the Chen family doesn't have to suffer from this bad anger. Chen Fan glanced back at Chen Chongqing and transmitted his voice. Chen Chongqing's eyes shook. Although Chen Fan's tone was a bit big, this grandson, indeed, had never let him down. Chen Chongqing nodded at Chen Fan, signaling his agreement. Chen Ming and Chen Shua, on the other hand, were more or less nervous in their hearts. Father, this guy Chen Fan, when did he get so hard? On himself, Chen Shua whispered. Little Fan is a good man of my Chen family. He is hardened by himself. Chen Ming said. 
The corner of Chen Shua's mouth twitched as he said unconvincingly, he is being impulsive. If he offends the heavenly treasure sect, will the Chen family still have a good life in the future? Even if grandpa is at the clutching damn realm, the depth of the heavenly treasure sect is ultimately something my Chen family can't compare to. From the standpoint that Chen Shua didn't know what was going on, it was actually correct for him to say that. However, Chen Ming knew that Chen Fan's hardness stemmed from the fact that he was also a clasping Dan Realm underbelly. Only, the Chen clan's clasping Dan Realm was ultimately not as numerous as the Heavenly Treasure sect. So Chen Ming's heart is also very complicated now, both very relieved and anxious, worrying that a moment of speed will lead to disaster. At this moment, facing Hong Yuendao's sneering smile, Chen Fan smiled lightly and said, The Chen family has never shaken any mighty winds, but it is Elder Hong, who borrows the status of an elder of the Heavenly Treasure sect who indeed quite likes to shake the mighty winds. It's just a pity that his own strength seems to be quite average. Hong Yuan Dao laughed angrily. You, a waste of the qi practicing realm, have the nerve to laugh at Lao Fu's cultivation? Chen Fan laughed. What's wrong with you and I mocking each other as we are both foxing around with the prestige of the strong man behind us? Elder Hong, this Chen family waste is too arrogant. Let the disciples teach him a hard lesson, so that this punk knows that the heavenly treasure sex authority cannot be violated. The disciple behind Hong Yuan Dao said with murderous fury. Chen Fan glanced at this disciple, 27 or 18 years old, a true spirit realm. In terms of talent, it was indeed better than the average martial arts cultivator. Big Yellow, stop gnawing on the bones and come over to accompany the senior disciple of the Tian Bao sect, as if it's a small show for the guests and friends here. Chen Fan shouted at Big Yellow. Rhubarb grinned, purposely silent, woofed, and ran over. That disciple took a look at Big Yellow but it was just a dirt dog that had been raised a bit taller and stronger, and immediately laughed, it is said that hitting a dog depends on the master, but you, Chen Fan's dog, hitting it can't be enough, it has to be killed, when I slaughter your dog, then I will ruthlessly clean up this waste of a dog owner of yours, Chen Fan didn't pay any more attention to this heavenly treasure sex disciple, but instead said to the Chen clan's guards next to him, spread out a bit and make room for big yellow, yes, the Chen family's group of guards flashed away with a cold smile, the strongest person in the clutching Dan realm had his head blown off by a bite from the Big Yellow, and the disciple of the regional Tian Bao sect was just a clown in front of the Big Yellow. Hong Yuendao's gaze was gloomy to the extreme. He hadn't even agreed to let his disciples fight yet, but this Chen Fan was so good that he took the initiative to answer, and even set up the battle platform. Xiao Ming, there is no need to be concerned. Hong Yuendao coldly voiced out. Disciple understands. Xiao Ming smiled coldly. No need for scruples. That is, let him loose to kill the dog. Big Yellow took a few steps forward, blaring provocatively and fiercely at Xiao Ming with a woof. A dirt dog? How dare you clamor? Xiao Ming was furious. His body shape came together, and he raised his hand to condense the power of a palm print and blasted it towards Big Yellow. Big Yellow cold smile. Body shape rush rush to meet. A claw will be Xiao Ming's palm print slap broken, and body shape rushed through the palm print residual momentum. A claw slap in Xiao Ming's face. Ah! Xiao Ming screamed miserably flew out backwards, half of the left side of the face of the blood and flesh, were scraped down by the rhubarb, ah, my face, Xiao Ming smashed to the ground, his mouth constantly wailing, although he could not see the injuries on his face, but he could feel that the left side of his face seemed to be empty, sinful animal, you seek death, Hong Yuan Dao was furious with indignation, and his aura of the late stage of the spirit lake realm exploded and surged, crushing towards big yellow, but before his aura crushed into big yellow's body, his aura was counterpressed back by a ferocious demonic spirit aura. Boo! The powerful demon spirit chi directly blasted Hong Yuan Dao and his party, sending them flying backwards. With this amount of strength, how do you have the nerve to come out and disgrace yourselves? Are the people of the heavenly treasure sect, all big idiots? The big yellow dog stood upright with its two front paws clasped in front of its chest as it contemptuously let out a laugh. Hong Yuan Dao, who had stopped stabilizing his stance, had his pupils rise for a while and said in a shocked voice, so you're not an earth dog, but a demonic dog at the peak of the fourth realm. Big Yellow teased. Well, the young master said that you didn't have old eyes, so it seems that you do have a bit of an eye. Come on, avenge your disciple. Master Dog will have a good time with you. It ended too quickly just now. Master Dog hasn't had a good time yet. Hong Yuendao's face twitched. A peak fourth realm demonic dog was equivalent to the strength of the spirit lake realm's great circle. Moreover, the demonic spirit aura released by Big Yellow just now was clearly a bit stronger than the average peak fourth realm demonic beast. Hong Yuan Dao is not at all sure that he can beat the rhubarb, but Big Yellow challenged him in front of so many people. If he didn't answer the battle, where would he put his face? Words that can be answered. 
Will he really lose half his face like Xiao Ming? Chapter 62 Loss of Face Everyone was looking at Hong Yuan Dao, waiting for this Tian Bao sect elder, who had been imposing just a moment ago, to respond. Hong Yuan Dao took a deep breath, drummed up a grim look at Big Yellow, and said, I am an elder of the Heavenly Treasure sect, how can I compete with a demonic dog like you? Big Yellow grinned. It's not about competing for heights, it's about avenging your sect disciple. What? He was hurt so badly by the dog master. As his sect elder, you wouldn't want to avenge him, right? A disciple of the heavenly treasure sect is so casually bullied by a dog? That can't be right. Big yellow some words. Let a lot of people cannot help but show a smile. But a thought, how they have the qualification to laugh at the Tianbao sect elders ah, rush to hold back the smile again, or turn away. Sneer. Chen Fan was also amused by the dog. Big yellow. This guy, he didn't talk much before, but I didn't realize that his doggy mouth was so damaging. Hong Yuan Dao was so angry that his face turned blue. This Chen family's dog was too much of a dog. This was a case of forcing his hand so that he could make a fool of himself. His gaze swept a ghostly cold glance at Chun Changsheng. Dogs don't know how to be respectful. They just bark. But people should know how to get in and out and know the limits, right? However, when Chen Changsheng saw Hong Yuan Dao looking at him, he tilted his head away and did not meet his eyes. The corner of Hong Yuan Dao's mouth twitched, and he really couldn't get off the stage if Chen Changsheng didn't round up the situation. Elder, you must avenge your disciple. Xiao Ming's voice, suddenly cried and shouted from behind. His face, he can't be caught in vain. He must make the Chen family pay. Hong Yuan Dao now hated to throw a slap to the right side of Xiao Ming's face. If he could beat it, why would he hesitate? Chen Changsheng, does your Qin clan really want to be an enemy of my heavenly treasure sect? Hong Yuan Dao shouted angrily in a deep voice towards Chen Changsheng, being named. Chen Changsheng couldn't pretend any longer and said with a faint smile, Elder Hong is joking. The Chen family has never wanted to be enemies with the Heavenly Treasure sect. So many people present have seen that the person who wanted to make a move first was a disciple of your Heavenly Treasure sect. And my Chen family is merely trying to preserve a little face. Hong Yuan Dao grunted. Even if your Chen family wins face today, have you ever thought about the future? Chen Changxing's eyes narrowed. Elder Hong is threatening the Chen clan? You can interpret it like this. Hong Yuan Dao puffed out his chest. Even if he was not able to defeat the Chen family right now, he was an elder of the Heavenly Treasure sect, and as long as he didn't make a move, he didn't believe that the Chun family would dare to make a move on him. He had already thought of a good countermeasure. He only needed to say a few harsh words to earn back some face. Then he would immediately turn around and walk away, going back to the clan to move the strongest person. Chen Changxing's eyes opened up with an extra touch of coldness as he faintly said, Since Elder Hong is being so pushy, it seems like there's no need for the Chen family to be too polite to Elder Hong. Da Huang Ah. Are the old man's words good for you? Rhubarb twisted his head and laughed. Of course it works. Ha ha. Then see off the guests for old me. Don't let these incompetent fanatics who can only clamor with their mouths delay the opening of the banquet. Chen Changsheng stroked his beard and smiled. Hong Yuendo's face changed. And he hurriedly grunted angrily. There's no need to see off the guests. We'll leave on our own. After saying that, he hurriedly turned around and sprinted outside. Humph. Master Dog hasn't sent you off yet. How dare you leave on your own? Big Yellow laughed angrily, and his body suddenly sprang into a golden shadow, rushing towards Hong Yuan Dao's back, feeling the demonic aura coming from behind. Hong Yuan Dao looked shocked and furious, and hurriedly turned his body around and blasted out a heavy punch. Blazing Sun Fist Seal. Boom! The fist shadow was as red as the sun, as big as a millstone, emitting an extremely hot energy, fiercely blasting towards the pouncing rhubarb. Planar Sky Thousand Extreme Claws. Big Yellow's claw shadow swung continuously a ferocious demonic spirit energy, with the might of tearing everything apart, poof two times, then the blazing sun fist seal planes cracked and crumbled, Hong Yuan Dao's pupils shrunk, this blazing sun fist seal, was his strongest martial art, but he didn't expect that he couldn't block big yellow's two claws, pfffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffff, the clothes in front of Hong Yuan Dao's body were crisscrossed by claw shadows, directly shaved, with bloody pieces of clothes, flying like a bloody butterfly, Looking at the guests' pupils were shocked. The elders of the Tianbao sect were stripped naked by the rhubarb, that all over the body, crisscrossed with dozens of blood traces, each only an inch deep, looking terrible, but not fatal. Everyone knew that Big Yellow was intentionally not taking Han Yuendao's life and was just humiliating the other party. Boo! Big Yellow waved his hand and clawed, blasting out the last of his powerful chi, sending Han Yuendao flying diagonally into the sky, falling towards the outside of the Chen mansion. Elder! A few Tian Bao sect disciples exclaimed and ran towards the outside. I don't know if they are running so hurriedly. 
if they are really worried about Hong Yuendao's injury, or if they want to take the opportunity to escape. One of them, running out a dozen meters, hurried back to carry Xiao Ming away. Big Yellow didn't strike at these disciples again either, and let them leave. Master, the trouble seekers have been sent away. You may declare the table open. Big Yellow laughed heatedly. Chen Changsheng laughed, opened the banquet. The servants of the Chen family began to serve wine and food at a rapid pace. It's just that these guests, all of them, are sitting on pins and needles, more or less uneasy to eat. The Chen clan's assertive attitude towards the Tianbao sect today had made them realize the complete change in the Chen clan's status in Tiger's Pillar City. Although they had thought of this the moment Chen Changsheng stepped into the Clasping Dan realm, their feelings, however, were far less intuitive than today. The Chen family was not even spoiled by the Tianbao sect yet, much less a family force like them. Seeing the guests either sullenly drinking and eating their food, or smirking and agreeing to a couple sentences, not daring to say much, Chen Changsheng smiled faintly, and suddenly got up, raising his cup, thank you, old friends, for holding up the occasion to congratulate each other, the old man here, toasting all of you, at the same time, there is also a sentence that I would like to say, the guests looked at Chen Changsheng, Chen Changsheng's face suddenly became solemn and said, I am fortunate to have condensed the Dan in my twilight years, but the Chen family, still the Chen family of old, will never have the intention of bullying because of the old man holding the Dan and will never have the intention of coercing the various clans to submit to their subordination at any time. Here, I promise you all that if you are friends with the Chen family, the Chen family will also be friends with them. We will never deceive each other. Elder Chen is benevolent. We toast Elder Chen. As soon as Chen Changsheng's words fell, the guests raised their cups in welcome and laughed. But they all understood in their hearts that the Chen family would never be the Chen family of old again. He he, all of you must eat and drink well. Chen Changsheng responded with a smile as he held his wine glass. Chen Fan. Gu Shanchuan turned towards Chen Fan and beckoned. Chen Fan hurriedly walked over and made a salute with a smile. Uncle. Gu Shanchuan hesitated. Today, Hong Yuan Dao has lost face, and the Heavenly Treasure Sect will definitely come to seek revenge in the future. And among those who come, there will surely be a clasping Dan Realm powerhouse. Aren't you guys worried? Chen Fan laughed. Don't worry, uncle. The Chen family is able to take it. Gu Shanchuan raised an eyebrow, wanting to ask Chen Fan where he got the confidence from, but the words came out of his mouth, but he didn't ask. Since you're confident, I won't ask too many questions. Gu Shanchuan narrowed his eyes and suddenly said, but I've heard that you've gone to Sparse Shadow Place several times these days? Chen Fan was busy saying, Uncle, I have indeed been to the Sparse Shadow Workshop a few times, but it was all by someone else's invitation. This is just a way for my nephew to socialize. Please also ask Uncle to trust my nephew, who has always been clean and has only undying in his heart. Humph, does one have to go to a place like that to socialize? Gu Wenchang sneered, Unless you're not a man, how can you stay clean all the time? When I first went in, I could still hold it but the second time it was, hum, anyway, this kind of place, you are not allowed to go again in the future, sometimes it's not that men can't help it, but that place, it's really too tempting, Chen Fan froze, big brother Gu still seems to be a regular customer of sparse shadow place, Gu Shanchuan also looked coldly at Gu Weiwei, chapter 63, you're just a dead man, Gu Wei Chen's face flushed for a while and lightly coughed, ISNT Jinlian not at home for this period of time, the child has just gone to see a little bit, child promise, never go again, Gu Shanchuan grunted, you're not even clean yourself, and you have the face to talk about others, Gu Weiwei muttered, I am at least his great uncle brother, say a few words is not it, Gu Shanchuan lazily ignored Gu Bai, after all, when he himself was young, he had made this kind of mistake, it was understandable, but he didn't want his future son-in-law, to make this kind of mistake as well, people are, at times, contradictory, a son is wrong if he is wrong, but a son-in-law must be of good character and not negative to his daughter. Shuffle place, it's better not to go there in the future. How can you walk by the river often without wetting your shoes? Gu Shanchuan glanced at Chen Fan and said. Chen Fan laughed. Little nephew listens to uncle. Gu Shanchuan nodded in satisfaction. Although Chen Fan was a bit ruined, but now that the Chen family had risen to power, even if Bu Yu's injuries could not be cured, the rest of his life could be free of worry. At the other table, beside Su Wenjun sat Jia Yuan. Master, is this Chen Fan really a qi practicing body? Su Wenjun asked in a small voice. Jia Yuan stroked his whiskers and smiled, well, it is indeed the great circle of qi practicing. However, this son of courage, heart toughness and determination, can be called a dragon in phoenix, although the shackles are difficult to break, but for the division to see, this son in the future, there will be a submerged dragon out of the abyss, the day of the sky, the lack of, 
is only an encounter. Su Wenjun was surprised, not realizing that his master had such a high opinion of Chen Fan. Disciple, this Chen Fan, you can befriend him. It's easy to add flowers to icing on the cake, but it's hard to send charcoal in the snow. If you establish a deep friendship with him at this time, it can be much more valuable than climbing friendships later. Jia Yuan smiled. Su Wenjun laughed playfully and said, My disciple has a master like you. Do I still need to climb into friendship with others? Besides, this Chen Fan is a flower-seeking disciple. Whether he will be able to get a chance in the future or not, it's still uncertain. Disciple doesn't want to get involved with such a person. Jia Yuan froze. The island master is a flower seeker? It shouldn't be. Sin Immortal Island has so many beauties, and I haven't heard of the island master sneaking up on anyone. But Jia Yuan felt that he couldn't say any more than that, and only sighed softly. Whether Su Wenjun could grasp the opportunity or not, it was up to her. Su Wenjun thought that Jia Yuan was feeling sorry for Chen Fan because of his poor character. Hong Yuan Dao and his party, by now, had fled to the outskirts of the city in a hurry and found a secluded place to heal their wounds. After taking several healing pills in a row, Hong Yuan Dao's external injuries quickly stabilized. For him, this time, the insults outweighed the injuries. This damn Chen family, if I don't exterminate it, I vow not to be a man. Hong Yuan Dao's eyes were ferocious as he roared in vicious anger. A disciple, hesitant, wanted to open his mouth several times, but did not dare to make a sound. Hong Yuan Dao glared viciously at him and scolded. Were you scared silly by the Chen family's gang of dogs? Let go if you have any farts. The disciple hurriedly said, Elder, it seems like we haven't had time to say the words that the Grand Elder asked us to bring to the Chen family. Hong Yuan Dao froze, as if, he really didn't he say it. His face twitched as he felt more and more stifled. His own party, who had traveled a long way to the Chen family, had been bullied into fleeing in distress before the main event was even done. Shameful. Humph. It doesn't matter anymore if you say it or not. With this attitude of the Chen family, can they still take the words of the Grand Elder seriously? Since they want to seek death, then let them have it. Hong Yuan Dao sneered. The disciple said, Then how should we report to the Great Elder when we return? Hong Yuan Dao smiled coldly. We have been humiliated by this, so we have to add more fuel to the fire, so that the Chen family will be completely destroyed. You all listen to me. After going back, say that the Chen family is arrogant, defying the Great Elder as well as the prestige of our clan, still refusing to agree to break off the marriage contract with Gu Buyu, and also unwilling to enter the clan to worship the master. They also blurted out that, sooner or later, they will destroy our clan. A few disciples were stunned. No matter how crazy Chen Fan was, he wouldn't dare to be this crazy, right? But since it was commanded by the elder, they could only hastily agree. Yes. Ha. It's just a pity that it seems like you guys can't go back. A voice with a bad joke came from the mountains and forests in an open manner. Who's there? The pupils of Hong Yuan Dao's group were alarmed and they hurriedly set up a guard formation. The mountain wind attacked, and a woman in a black dress, on her right hand, twirling a two-foot-long thick black needle, with an evil smile on her face, slowly walked over. Hong Yuan Dao eyes cold and cold said, Who are you? The old man is. You're just a dead man. Tong Xiaoxiao bristled, waved his right hand, and the soul-piercing needle instantly transformed into a black thunderbolt, whooshing in piercing, piercing Hong Yuan Dao and his party through the skull falling to the ground and dying, retrieving the soul-piercing needle. Tom Xiaoxiao walked over to the corpses of Hong Yuan Dao and the others and stripped the Shenkong rings from their fingertips. You fools! I wonder how you would feel if you knew that the islander has been waiting for you to come over in waves to die. Tong Xiaoxiao laughed evilly and snapped his fingers to turn his spiritual power into fire, burning Hong Yuan Dao and his party into ashes. After the feast, the guests dispersed. Chen Shang Shang, Chan Ming, and Chen Fan gathered together. Today, my Chen family is considered to be in complete confrontation with the Tian Bao sect. I believe that it won't be long before the Heavenly Treasure sect sends a strong person to pursue the matter. Since they know that my Chen family already has a clasping damn realm, the next person to come will most likely be that Grand Elder. Chen Changcheng narrowed his eyes and said. Chen Ming couldn't help but look at Chen Fan and said. Little Fan, I heard that the Tian Bao sect's Grand Elder is a middle stage of the clasping damn realm. Even if you and your grandfather join hands, I'm afraid that you may not be able to handle it. But I see that you are not worried in the slightest. Could it be that you are still hiding a backhand? Chen Fan laughed. Don't worry. Second uncle. What goes around comes around. What goes around comes around. Although Tian Bao sex heritage is better than my Chen family, nephew is not without friends. Tomorrow morning, my nephew will send a letter to his friend and ask him to come and help. But anyone who bullies my Chen family, nephew will definitely tell him to come back with no return. Chen Ming was pleasantly surprised. You haven't even been out of Tiger Spirit City a few times, 
but you still have friends who can rival the middle stage of the clasping Dan realm. Chen Shangsheng was also very strange, but he knew that this grandson of his had a lot of magical and unknown secrets, so he smiled faintly and said, At the realm of clasping Dan, one can travel 10, 000 miles in a day, with Xiao Fan's cultivation, sneaking out for a few hours, you, as second uncle, would think that he was just nestled in the small courtyard sleeping, so where he has been, how would you know? Chen Ming froze and laughed indistinctly, right oh, I forgot about that, ha ha, Chen Fan touched his nose and laughed in his heart, this ability to round off a lie, it still has to be grandpa, all in all, the heavenly treasure sect is not considered a threat, so grandpa and second uncle can rest assured that's all, Chen Fan laughed, Chen Chongsheng laughed, even though there is external assistance to help me, I still have to be hard on myself to strike the iron, starting tomorrow, I will go into seclusion and stabilize my realm, Chan Ming, you also go and continue your seclusion and cultivate well, little fan, you have the best natural talent, all the more reason to not slack off and be satisfied, you also need to spend more time on your cultivation, if it wasn't for the fact that the period of the earth spirit abyss trial was approaching, grandpa would have hoped that you would have gone into seclusion properly for once as well, Chen Fan laughed, when the earth spirit abyss trial returns, my grandson will go into seclusion for a good period of time, Chen Changsheng smiled and said, let's talk about this then, all of you go back, the child excuses himself, grandson excuses himself, Chen Ming and Chen Fan had just left the courtyard, when Chen Fan's eyebrows, lightly raised, what's wrong, Chen Ming asked curiously, chapter 64, Luo Qingkite, Chen Fan smiled, it's fine, I was just thinking that if that Hong Yuan Dao could return to Tian Bao sect alive, he would be so embarrassed to tell the truth about how he was stripped naked by Big Yellow. Chen Ming laughed evilly and said, that must be too embarrassing to say at all. However, your family's rhubarb, that's also really bad. Where exactly did you abduct it from? Chen Fan laughed, to say the least, it's fate. Immediately, Chen Fan made up a story. Chen Ming believed it, and after a few moments of lamenting the magic of fate, uncle and nephew went back to their respective yards. The night is already deep. A line of people hurried into the house. The leader, a plain white long shirt, eyes red straight to Luo Yuan Wu's compound sprinted away. Third master, Miss Iris is back. As the guard was reporting in a rush, Luo Qingkui had already arrived behind him. You stand down, Luo Qingkui said in a deep voice. The guards laughed dryly and hastily retreated. He couldn't afford to mess with this Miss Iris's temper. Luo Yuan Wu came out of the house and when he saw Luo Qingkui, he wasn't surprised because he was the one who called the person back. Luo Qingkui basically lived in the Red Sleeve Villa 30 miles away, and usually had little contact with the Luo family. After the Luo family's accident, Luo Yuanwu took control of the Luo family and didn't inform Luo Qingkui of the deaths of Luo Qingkuan and the others at the first opportunity. It wasn't until after he decided to give Luo Qingkite the quota for the Earth Spirit Abyss trial that he caused a letter to be sent to Luo Qingkite early this morning. However, in the letter, it only mentioned the fall of Luo Qingkuan's father and son, and did not mention the matter of the quota. Whether or not this quota was given to Luo Qingkui depended on Luo Qingkui's attitude. Little sister, third brother thought you wouldn't be back until tomorrow. Come in, self brother and sister. There's no need to avoid it. Luo Yuan Wu laughed. Luo Qingkui pursed her lips, pushed open the courtyard door, and entered the house along with Luo Yuan Wu. Third brother, what you said in your letter, is it all true? Father, and big brother, second brother, they're really gone? Luo Qingkui asked with a pale face. Luo Yuanwu stared at Luo Qingkui's eyes and said gruffly, It is an indisputable fact that father has fallen. As for big brother and second brother, although there is no exact news, it is estimated that they are also in dire straits. After all, it has been three days since that day. Luo Qingkui's eyes reddened and choked out. Three days without returning. It is indeed already hard to predict life and death. Luo Yuanwu's eyes flickered slightly as he said, What happened? Third brother has already made it all clear to you in his letter. Not a single word was false. Now third brother just wants to know. What do you intend to do? Luo Qingkite said miserably. At first I advised father. And you guys, don't be overbearing and arrogant. And do more unrighteousness. You guys tend to not listen to me. Now, father is even at the time of other people's breakthroughs. With the intention of destroying the chances of others and harming people's lives. And he was killed in this situation. So what can we say? Luo Yuanwu secretly said in his heart. This Luo Qingkite is indeed a bit different from the rest of the Luo family, a person who knows right from wrong and black from white. Luo Yuan Wu sighed and said, After this matter, third brother only realized that the words you advised at first were all good words. It's just a pity that father and elder brother, second brother and the others, don't have the chance to wake up. Luo Qingkite took a deep breath and said, 
Third brother, we can't give up before we see the corpse, since father died at the hands of the Chen family. Then the Chen family should know the whereabouts of big brother and second brother. Tomorrow morning, I will visit the Chen family and ask for the results. Luo Yuanwu frowned. But if we go and ask, wouldn't that be tantamount to admitting that the black-robed man from that day was father? Luo Qingkai pursed her lips. Does third brother really think that the Chen family doesn't know? Even though father was disfigured, he still has more or less something on him that can prove his identity. Although I don't know the Chen family's intention of not announcing the identity of the black-robed man. I believe that they more or less already know the identity of the black-robed man. Luo Yuanwu nodded and said, You have a point, but if we go and ask, will the Chen family be able to tell us? Perhaps, the Chen family is just waiting for an attitude from us. Luo Qingkue sighed. Then tomorrow, third brother will accompany you. Luo Yuanwu said. Luo Qingkai shook her head and said, No need. The Chen family members don't have a good impression of third brother either. It's better for me to go alone. The corners of Luo Yuanwu's mouth twitched. But on second thought, the previous Luo Yuanwu, with his sinister tactics, was indeed not pleasing to the eye. Good, Luo Yuanwu agreed. Luo Qingkai sighed. Third brother rest, I'll go check on top sky, he should have already gone to sleep by this time, it's better to wait until you return from the Chen family tomorrow before going to see him, Luo Yuanwu said, aha, Luo Qingkui didn't think much about it, how could she know that Luo Yuanwu didn't want Luo Qingkui to care too much about Luo Dingtian, this second generation ancestor, if it wasn't for the fear of falling in love, Luo Yuanwu would have wanted to find an opportunity to poison Luo Dingtian to death, anyway, not a real nephew, living and wasting his resources. Early the next morning, Luo Qingkai brought a group of people and arrived outside the Chen mansion. She was followed by eight men, each holding a box. Please send a message. Just say that Luo Qingkai of the Luo family seeks to see Elder Chen. Luo Qingkai rushed at the gate guard and arched his hand as a salute. The two guards looked at each other in dismay. Yesterday's banquet, the Luo family didn't even come. Why did they come today? Despite the curiosity in his heart, the guards still sent the message to Chen Fan's courtyard. Chen Fan smiled faintly and said, Just bring her here to this young man. Yes. Soon, Luo Qingkui was led to the outside of Chen Fan's courtyard by the guards amidst her suspicions. This shouldn't be Elder Chen's compound, right? Luo Qingkui frowned. The guard said, This is young Master Fan's compound. Luo Qingkai's face sank, and just as she was about to question, she heard Chen Fan smile faintly. What you want to ask? This young man has the answers here. Luo Qingkui's eyes narrowed, but in her heart, she was secretly surprised. She had naturally heard of Chen Fan's reputation as a waste. All of you go down. Chen Fan's voice came again. The guards retreated in response, leaving only Luo Qingkui and her party behind. You guys wait outside. Luo Qingkui gave an explanation and walked into Chen Fan's courtyard by herself. Chen Fan sat on the rocking chair, slow rocking lightly, eyes coldly while Luo Qingkui measured some. Faintly said, rumor has it that Miss Luo is very happy with the red, often dressed in a red dress, valiant posture. Today, this plain white body is like a morning dress. Could it be that the Luo family is dead? Luo Kinkite's face was slightly green, her shell teeth biting her red lips. Although there were a few moments of sulking in her heart when she was taunted by Chen Fan, she hadn't forgotten the original purpose of coming to the Chen family today. Luo Qingkai full bowed and made a deep salute to Chen Fan, a junior, before straightening up and gazing at Chen Fan. Chen Fan, since you know that I came here with a question. There is no need for us to beat around the bush. The black-robed man who offended old family master Chen that day was none other than my father. Today, I have also come with sincerity to apologize to the Chen family. Send everything in. As soon as Luo Qingkai shouted, the eight Luo family guards outside, holding the boxes, walked in. In these eight boxes, there are a total of 100,000 spirit stones, 12 fourth grade spirit materials and the relevant documents of the Luo family's four properties in Tiger Spirit City, regardless of whether my father is alive or dead now. All of these, now belong to the Chen family, Luo Qingkite solemnly said. Chen Fan said indifferently, quite capable of holding back ah, the hatred of killing your father. Can you not go without retribution? Luo Qingkite gritted her teeth and said, It is my father who is at fault first, and his strength is not good afterward. This hatred is rooted in himself. Though I am grieving, I have never thought of revenge. And I also asked the Chun family to be magnanimous and leave the remaining heirs of the Luo family a way out. Luo Qingkite said, and with a sudden sinking of both knees, she actually knelt down. Chen Fan raised his eyebrows lightly. This Luo Qingkui's upright appearance made Chen Fan even couldn't help but wonder if he had changed a soul in Luo Qingkui's body as well at some point. Only that he had forgotten about it? Otherwise, how in the world can there be such a person who knows right and wrong so well? Chapter 65 We Congratulate the Islander Last night, 
Chen Fan had just come out of Chen Changxing's courtyard when he received a secret voice transmission from Luo Yuanwu. The content of the transmission was to inform him that Luo Qingkue was coming back, and based on the information he had, he introduced Luo Qingkue to Chen Fan. Originally, Chen Fan did not believe that Luo Qingkuan's daughter could be a person who could distinguish between black and white. But now, looking at Luo Qingkue's sincere appearance, Chen Fan could not help but nod in his heart. Such a woman, indeed rare, but he will not just believe Luo Qingkite. Chen Fan said indifferently, if this young man really wanted to destroy the Luo family, you wouldn't have the life to kneel here now. Get up and talk. Luo Qingkue's heart was relieved as she got up and cupped her fists. Many thanks. The corners of Chen Fan's lips lifted lightly as he smiled lightly. That day, this young man knew that the black-robed man was your father. You must be wondering in your heart why my Chen family knew that the person who committed the murder was your father, but did not turn on your Chen family afterward. Luo Qingkai's eyes trembled as she said, I do wonder. After all, with my father's fault, Elder Chen has also managed to advance to the Clutching Dan realm. The Chen family has every reason and strength to take advantage of the opportunity to exterminate the Luo family and also use it to establish a reputation and shock the whole city. Chen Fan nodded his head and said, You are right, the Chen family has every reason and strength. However, my grandfather was too kind and generous, not wanting to involve a clan because of the mistakes of a few people. It was his old man who wanted me to hide the identity of the black-robed man from everyone, and it was also his old man who gave up this great opportunity to take advantage of the opportunity to seize everything from the Luo family. Luo Qingkite sniffed and said excitedly, Old master is truly benevolent and generous. I admire and appreciate it to the core, but I don't have my grandfather's heart. Chen Fan's eyes suddenly sank coldly. Luo Qingkai pursed her lips and said, Then what do you want to do to spare the Luo family? Chen Fan swept a glance at the eight boxes and said indifferently, These stay, and from now on, 30% of the Luo family's yearly proceeds will be divided and delivered to the Chen family as a sign of repentance. Without the slightest hesitation, Luo Qingkai nodded and said, Okay, I can promise on behalf of the Luo family. If the Chen family wanted to destroy the Luo family, the Luo family, except for Luo Qianjun, who was far away in the Mountain River Sword sect, could be spared. Everyone else in the Luo family would have to die, and all of their industries would be swallowed up by the Chun family in their entirety. Compared to all this, what is a 30% gain? Seeing Luo Qingkui's readiness to agree, Chen Fan smiled with satisfaction. It seems that you did come with enough sincerity, and when you came, you had already thought it through. Luo Kinkai's eyes flickered lightly as she said, but I still have one more question, and I hope you can answer me truthfully. Chen Fan smiled faintly. You want to ask about the life and death of Luo Hongguan and Luo Pingying, don't you? Luo Qingkui hurriedly said, that's right, my third brother said that they trailed my father all the way out of the city and never came back. Chen Fan said indifferently, if you didn't come back, naturally, you can't come back. Luo Qingkui's eyes shook fiercely, and her face swished pale and bloodless. So, they also also died, right? Luo Qingkui's body shook. Although she had prepared her heart, it was still a little hard to accept. Father, elder brother, second brother, they are all her closest relatives. Chen Fan said coldly, the sins of heaven can be forgiven. If you do it yourself, you can't live with it. If you do more than what is right, you will die by yourself. They went out of the city to seek death. And my spirit dogs, will they show mercy under their claws? Luo Qingkai tears at the corner of her eyes, choking. Then, their corpses, can they be returned to me? It has been made into flying ash and dispersed with the wind. Chen Fan faintly said, You have the heart to recognize your father's mistake on his behalf, and have also expressed enough sincerity. So this matter of your father will not be spread by my Chen family, and it can be considered as preserving his integrity in his later years. But remember, if the Luo family has the intention of targeting my Chen family again, even if my grandfather is benevolent, there will not be a hint of appeasement. Luo Qingkui said miserably, don't worry, the Luo family won't be stupid. At this point in time, how could the Luo family have the strength to retaliate against the Chen family again? Just Chen Changcheng alone had easily overthrown the entire Luo family. Leave the things, and the people will go back. This funeral, there is no need to organize it. Otherwise, it would be a case of no silver in this place. Chen Fan waved his hand and said, Luo Kinkite's heart was miserable as she left. Unexpectedly, her father, who had been a strong man all his life, died not only with no bones left, but was even unable to organize the funeral. Looking at Luo Kinkite's departing back, Chen Fan couldn't help but pinch his chin. Falling into a foxhole, this bad seed, could it really give birth to a good seedling? This Luo Qingkite, could it be that he is not Luo Chenkuan's own child? For the next few days, Chen Fan, the head of the family, had a leisurely life. Luo family father and son were all killed. 
Luo Dingtian is still lying on the bed. Luo Qianjun was retreated by Yuren, Gray along with Su Donglin back to the Mountain River Sword sect. The Tian Bao sect's party died outside the city. And for a while, the Tian Bao sect's trouble would not come looking for them. Tiger Ridge Mountain Spirit Mine. Normal mining. Also do not need Chen Fan asked. Every few days, there will be a large number of spirit stones sent into the Chen family. The time was restful. And the spirit body within the Heavenly Sea Pearl returned good news. Finally, his spirit body cultivation, in his night and day cultivation, had risen to the peak of the early stage of the Clasping Dan realm, and he could attempt a breakthrough. When we step into the middle stage of the Clasping Dan realm, we will also have a greater base against the great circle of the Clasping Dan realm. Chen Fan smiled faintly as his mind sank into the Heavenly Sea Pearl, preparing to start impacting the breakthrough. Although he had already made arrangements for the plan to exterminate the Heavenly Treasure sect, his own strength could never be slacked off. In case, the Tian Bao sect's powerhouses also staged a sneak attack, directly allowing the Clasping Dan Realm Great Circle to finish him off. Those peripheral reinforcements would most likely not be able to come to his rescue in time. Although this possibility was very low, generally speaking, strong people all wanted to save face. How could a Great Circle of the Clasping Dan Realm put down their stature and run to sneak up on a waste of the practicing Qi Realm? But Chen Fan would not take his own life and gamble on the so-called impossibility. There are no absolutes. The only way to save your life is to be strong. Within the Heavenly Sea Pearl, as the mind sank into the spirit body, the prime diffusion technique operated crazily, and the majestic immortal spirit chi over the sin immortal island surged majestically towards the main altar. The island master is about to make another breakthrough. Ha ha, it looks like those of us at the late stage of the clasping Dan realm will be able to get out soon as well. You late stage clutching Dan realm people are all going out. Will we at the immortal infant realm be far away from going out? And I wonder how all those boys who went out are doing today? Definitely live better than us. Nowadays the ants on this island, I can't even step on them. For fear that if I step on one of them, I'll have less playmates. Ugh, really want to go out. I heard my grandpa say that the women outside are a hundred times a thousand times more slutty than those on Sin Immortal Island. Ahem, that's what my grandfather said. In Yuchi Ling's small courtyard, Yuchi Ling muttered in a somewhat depressed manner. The island master has already sent out several middle clutching Dan Realm. Should I lower my requirements a bit? After all, it's really not too easy to find girls who can look almost as good looking as me. And it's really hard for the island master. In the blink of an eye, several hours passed. Openly, on the main altar, a strong aura, majestic swings open. The disc knee in the Chen Fan, eyes then lightly open. Face also hangs a faint smile. Breaking through within the heavenly sea pearl is really much easier than outside. Chen Fan smiled faintly. We congratulate the island master on another advancement in his cultivation. Dozens of loud laughs, from all sides of the island, came in congratulations. Chen Fan rolled his eyes and laughed softly. Seniors, please don't make fun of me. With this amount of cultivation I have, how can you guys look at me? If it was in the outside world, you all could destroy me by blowing your breath, right? I don't dare to dare, even when it comes to being outside. The island master is the person we respect the most in our hearts. Yes. Island Master Chen is the most respected Island Master we've ever known. This is absolutely from the bottom of our hearts, and is in no way a compliment. Ha, huh? I'll take it seriously then. Seniors take care of their own purification, so don't worry about me. Chen Fan got up and smiled as he arched his hand towards the four directions. Chapter 66, Little Gale. The four directions of the island returned to silence. Chen Fan flew away from the main altar in search of some spiritual materials to help him stabilize his realm. On a cliff face. Chen Fan was in the middle of picking a glittering golden 6th grade immortal spirit Ganoderma when he suddenly felt a cool breeze on his back. The cool breeze was extremely gentle and comforting, as if someone was holding a small rocking fan and fanning him. Chen Fan was surprised and turned his head to look behind him. However, a giant bird with greenish-blue feathers was floating behind him, carefully and gently flapping a little bit of the tips of its wings to create some breeze for the purpose of giving Chen Fan a cool breeze. Its magnificent feathered wings, if it were to flap at full blast, it would only be able to fan Chen Fan hundreds of meters away in one go. When the green and blue giant bird saw Chen Fan looking at it, it quickly revealed a fawning smile and asked, Island Master, do you still lack a mount outside? Chen Fan smiled and said, So it's little Gale. Why? You want to go out too? This greenish blue giant bird, named Great Wind, was a ferocious divine bird with a high rank on the demonic beast list. The one in front of him, on the other hand, had just reached adulthood not long ago and had a cultivation level of the middle of the fifth realm. Its parents, on the other hand, were two of the top demon cultivators imprisoned on the island. When Chen Fan had not been able to fly in the air before, it was basically this little gale in front of him that carried him in flight. Little Big Wind quickly said, I want to, 
Little Big Wind always thinks about being able to go out and play. Chen Fan laughed. So, did your parents agree? Little Big Wind shook his head and said, They didn't agree, but I really want to go out. You are the island master. As long as you go and tell them, they will definitely agree. Chen Fan shook his head and said, Even though I am the island master, I will not force them. Little Gale. In fact, the outside world is not as fun as you think. Instead, there are many more dangers. Although Chen Fan, who was the island lord, had absolute heavenly authority and could completely disregard the feelings of Mr. and Mrs. Gale, Chen Fan would not do so. After all, the god bird reproduction, different from the general birds, want to have a descendant. Extremely difficult. Mr. and Mrs. Big Wind only had this one bird son, and they were not willing to let little Big Wind go out and take risks, so Chen Fan would not force himself. Little Big Wind sniffed, his eyes full of disappointment, and said in a depressed manner, if even the island master refuses to help me, then I really won't be able to get out in this life. Even if it's dangerous out there, I still want to go out and see the world. My father and mother used to say that a great wind should lift its wings and fly into the sky above the nine heavens, but I can't even see where the nine heavens are. This sinny mortal island is simply a huge birdcage. Where do I deserve to be called a great wind? But it is just a bird in a cage. Chen Fan laughed. You don't have to be disappointed. Perhaps it's because your cultivation is still low right now that your parents don't feel comfortable with you going out. When you have a strong enough strength, at that time your parents will naturally agree for you to go out. Little Gale laughed bitterly. Just how strong is considered strong, and how long do I have to wait? Chen Fan laughed. You'll have to go back and ask your parents about that. Little Gale was helpless. It's useless to ask. I'm afraid that in their eyes, as long as I'm not as powerful as they are, it's not even considered powerful. Chen Fan also smiled helplessly but did not say anything more. Parents under heaven do not love their children in the same way. Some just want to protect their children well. Others are willing to respect them and let them fly. Island master, if I can convince my parents, will you take me out? Little Gale said with a burning gaze. Chen Fan laughed. If your parents agree, I certainly have no problem here. If little big wind went out, it would be a ready-made flying mount, and Chen Fan would be happy to do so. Only, the suitable demon body was not too easy to find. One couldn't. For such a divine bird, just grab a random flying bird body. Could one? The condition of the demon body was too poor, and although it could be used, it would limit the utilization of the great wind's ability. Okay, I will definitely convince my parents. Little Gale said with a firm gaze, Island Master, what other spiritual materials do you want to pick? I'll drive you there. Little Big Wind laughed. Chen Fan laughed. No need. Fine water. I've picked almost enough. You go back. Little Gale let out an O before turning around and flying away. Chen Fan also returned to the main altar and began to absorb the power of the spiritual materials to stabilize his cultivation. A few days later, someone from the city lord's mansion came to inform him that two days later, he would be departing for the earth spirit abyss, with Tong Xiao Xiao, Jia Yuan, and Luo Yuanwu sitting in Tiger Spirit City. Even if there are strong people at the middle to late stage of the Clasping Dan realm coming to commit crimes, the Chen plan doesn't have to worry. However, before we leave, we still have to give them a few more words of advice. Chen Fan's eyes flashed slightly as he left the small courtyard, outside of the Tiger Spirit City, in a barren mountain. Three secretive silhouettes, successively swept into it. Subordinate Tong Xia Xiao, greetings to the island master. Subordinate Jia Yuan, greetings to the island master. Subordinate Luo Yuan Wu, greetings to the island master. The three of them half kneeled in front of Chen Fan with respectful expressions. Chen Fan smiled and said, get up, the three of you. There is no need to be so polite in the future. The three of them then got up with a smile. Island master. When will the next wave of people from the heavenly treasure sect come? My concubine has gleaned resources that are almost used up. Tong Xiao Xiao covered her mouth and laughed. Chen Fan teased with a smile and said, I guess it will take a while. After all, at this moment, they should not know that Hong Yuan Dao is dead. But you shouldn't kill people for no reason for the sake of resources. Tong Xiao Xiao busily said, my subordinate understands, other than those who wish to do harm to the Chen family, my concubine has not injured a single person. Chen Fan smiled lightly and said, there is no need to be so restrained, as long as you don't hurt the innocent. He he, concubine remembered. Tong Xiao Xiao exulted, island master, you sent a message for us to come over, but do you have something to order? Jia Yuan asked with a smile. Chen Fan said, there's nothing to command, it's just that I've gotten a lot of help from you guys recently and you've also suffered a lot of limitations because of me, so I've taken spiritual materials from the island to compensate you. Ha, this is too polite of the island master. Jia Yuan laughed in excitement. 
The spirit materials on the island were not comparable to those that could be purchased on the surface of Tiger's Pine City. All sit down, Chen Fan said with a faint smile. The three of them were not polite, and lined up in a row, and hastened to sit down. Chen Fan sat down opposite the three of them, his palms raised, and in an instant, two streams of pure spiritual material power surged out from his palms. The three of them performed their gongs, swallowing the medicinal power of the spiritual materials into their bodies and refining them at a rapid pace. After the refinement was over, Chen Fan smiled faintly and said, Two days later, I will be going to the Earth Spirit Abyss for the trial, so the Qin clan will be indebted to the three of you to look after it secretly. Don't worry Island Master, we will definitely protect the Chen family, the three of them said in unison. Chen Fan looked at Tong Xiaoxiao and said, Tong Xiaoxiao, if a late stage clutching Dan Realm powerhouse appears and intimidates the Chen family, you will appear in front of people as my friend and assist the Chen family in fighting the incoming enemy together. Tong Xiaoxiao owed her body and said, Concubine accepts the order. Early in the morning two days later, Chen Fan was alone and arrived in front of the city lord's mansion. Big Yellow had also gone into seclusion. Perhaps by the time he returned, Big Yellow would already be a fifth realm demon dog. The Chen family's quota was actually given to you. Behind him, a surprised voice came. Chen Fan smiled faintly and turned to look at the line of people behind him. Chapter 67, Got a Ladder? The Su family's quota was given to Su Wenjun without any surprise. Su Jian and Jia Yuan Zhang accompanied Su Wenjun and came together. Su Jian looked surprised when he saw Chen Fan, because in his guess, the Chen family's place would have been given to Chen Shua. Greetings to Uncle Su and Senior Jia. Chen Fan smiled and made a bow. Su Jian laughed. Chen Fan, ah, this trip to the trial is full of dangers. How can your grandfather be assured of letting you go? Chen Fan laughed. It's a danger, but it's also an opportunity. My nephew has not been able to successfully build his foundation so he can only pin his hopes on this trial. When the time comes, please ask Miss Sue to take care of me. Ha ha, with the relationship between your family and mine, between you and Wen Jun, you should be taking care of each other. Su Jian laughed lightly. As soon as Su Jian's laughter fell, he secretly transmitted his voice to Su Wen Jun. Wen Jun ah, after entering the trial, be sure to stay away from this kid, lest you be dragged down by him. This trial, for you, is the opportunity, with this kid's cultivation. He's just going to go through the motions. Whether he can come back alive or not is a question. Su Wenjun was only at the true spirit realm, so naturally he couldn't send a voice response, and his face didn't show any expression. Only saying to Chen Fan, Chen Fan, I advise you to give the spot to Chen Shua. It's not too late for him to come. Chen Fan laughed. If brother Shua knew that Miss Su was speaking for him like this, he would be very happy. Su Wenjun's face twitched as he hummed. I just don't want to see the Chen family waste a spot for nothing. The Earth Spirit Abyss is incredibly dangerous. Without a cultivation of the Foundation Establishment Realm, it's almost impossible to move an inch. So what can you do if you go? It's not bad to go and see the scenery. Chen Fan laughed lightly. Su Wenjun was speechless. At that moment, another silhouette, riding a long-haired red horse, clattered its hooves and came over. Today's Luo Qingkite had changed into a plain white robe. Su Wenjun raised an eyebrow. The Luo family's quota was surprisingly given to Luo Qingkue. Cough. Luo Dingtian can't get off the ground yet. Luo Qianjun heard that he came back and stayed for one night and left. This Luo family is suitable for traveling to the trial. Only she is left. Wen Jun Ah, after entering the trial, stay away from her as well. This woman looks to be the most decent person in the Luo family. But once her temper comes up, she is a master who doesn't even recognize her own father. Su Jian whispered. Su Wen Jun helplessly said. Father. Then do you think that it would be better for me to join those people from the city lord's mansion? Those people from the city lord's mansion who are traveling to the trial are all the sons and daughters of the families behind the guest ministers. And this time, our three families have taken up the spots that should belong to them. So they won't be harboring much goodwill towards us. Su Jian's face turned slightly white as he said. It seems that this trial trip is a bit more treacherous than what my father had imagined. Wen Jun, you must be careful with it. Daughter knows. Su Wen Jun smiled and answered. Luo Qingkai came close, got off her mount, put the long-haired red horse into her spirit beast pouch, and walked towards the crowd. Su Jian smiled. Miss Luo, it's been a long time. Luo Qingkai just gave a hum as a response, then looked at Chen Fan and said, Second young master Chen is also going to the trial? Chen Fan shrugged and laughed. Why else would I be here? Luo Qingkui laughed. I'm the one who asked a silly question. Su Jian was surprised in his heart. This Luo Qingkui would actually take the initiative to greet Chen Fan? Su Wenjun is also very strange. The people of Hupui City almost all know that Luo Qingkui likes to wear red, but her temperament is extremely cold, is a famous iceberg beauty, but she now 
even will take the initiative to greet Chen Fan. She actually wore something other than red today. Could that rumor be true? Su Wenjun's eyes flickered as he secretly said in his heart. As one of the three great families, the Su family naturally had some eyes and connections. However, regarding the news that Luo Chenkuan, Luo Hongquan, and Luo Pengying were dead, Su Wenjun had been in disbelief. After all, those were the three strongest members of the Luo family. How could they just disappear without a word? Most importantly, the Luo family hasn't moved at all. Su Wenjun even suspected that the news she received. Could it be that the Luo family intentionally released false news? As a way to lure the Su Chen two families to take action against the Luo family. And then Luo's father and son then suddenly appeared to the Su Chen two families to kill back. Ha ha, I've kept you all waiting. The sound of loud laughter came from within the city lord's mansion. The group strides out. The person at the head was none other than city lord Tang Juk. Behind Tang Juk, there were still a dozen people following. And Tang Feiyan was also among them. These people, most of their faces were gloomy, showing ill will when they looked at Chen Fan and the others. Even though Chen Fan and the others only took up three places, these guest ministers were a small group. This time, the city lord's office was able to divert the slots of those three guest ministers. And next time, they would be able to divert the slots that belonged to them. So they all had to posture to let the city lord's office know that they, the guest ministers, were disgruntled. Greetings, Lord City Lord, Su Jian, Chen Fan and the others, saluted in unison. Tang Juk waved his hand and smiled. You all don't need to be polite. Since everyone has arrived, there will be no delay. I'm sure you all want to go over to the Earth Spirit Abyss earlier to see the world. Guest Minister Yu, sacrifice a flying boat and send them over. Tang Juk is obviously not a person who likes to talk nonsense. An old man with a long, thin face behind Tang Ju K faintly responded. I honor the city lord's order. With that, he took a few steps forward and waved his right hand toward the sky. Buzz, as he raised his wrist, a black light shot straight up into the sky. The black light quickly enlarged and actually became a black ship of more than 20 meters, suspended in midair. On the hull of the ship, there were many arcane runes carved on it, and non-formation Dao masters simply couldn't understand the wonders of these runes. This flying boat, a flying spirit weapon, was expensive and could travel thousands of miles per day, while combining some means of attack and defense. The exact strength will depend on the input at the time of building the flying boat. After the flying boat stabilized, Yuhaki I bowed and made a salute. Don't worry, city lord, I will definitely send these juniors safely to the earth spirit abyss. Tung Juk laughed. This city lord trusts guest minister you since. Those who have a place in the trial may begin boarding the boat. This city lord here wishes you all, each with your own opportunities, a full load. Thank you, city lord. Tung Feiyang and the six guest descendants gave a unified thank you before leaping up and heading towards the flying boat taking off into the air, looking at the two silhouettes beside him, also following the air, Chen Fan touched his nose and smiled dryly towards Yu Hakiai, dare I ask Yu Hakiai, is there any ladder on this flying boat, it's okay to hang a rope down without one, in an instant, dozens of contemptuous gazes were directed toward him, Yu Kaching sneered, there's no ladder and no rope, Su Jian is also speechless, even the flying boat cannot go up, this could still go to try what refining ah, Chen Fan, ah, why don't you just not go, I heard that in the Earth Spirit Abyss. There are many deep canyons that you can't jump over. Su Jian lightly coughed. Chen Fan shook his head and said with a serious face, Even if I fall to my death, I still have to go. After all, this might be the only chance in my life that I can successfully build my foundation. I'll take you up. Some cold voice. From above. A long whip. With a whooshing sound. Came curling towards Chen Fan's waist. Chen Fan felt a tightness around his waist. And his person was instantly lifted up towards the flying boat. Chapter 68, Deal? The person who struck out was Luo Qingkui. Tung Fei Yang wanted to twist down and relieve Chen Fan, but Luo Qingkui was a step faster. After Chen Fan was taken on board the flying boat by Luo Qingkite, he was again greeted with a sea of contemptuous gazes. Chen Fan didn't care and smiled at Luo Qingkui. Many thanks, Miss Luo. Luo Qingkite smiled lightly. According to seniority, it would be more appropriate for you to call me Aunt Luo. The eyebrows of the people on the flying boat lifted in unison. Luo Qingkite, this iceberg beauty, even asked Chen Fan to call her Aunt Luo? Chen Fan shook his head and laughed. It's better to call Miss Luo. Luo Qingkui smiled and didn't dwell on this piece. Chen Fan was surprised in his heart. This Luo Qingkui facing him, actually can still smile, and, willing to help him out. This woman, was she really magnanimous? Or was she trying to get him to let his guard down and then find another opportunity to screw him over? It wasn't as bad as Chen Fan being suspicious. It was just that someone as perverse as Luo Qingkui was too rare. Inside the flying boat, there are cabins, 
so you can freely choose one to rest. In about two hours, you will be able to arrive at the border of Qingzhou Prefecture. Haxai Yu said indifferently. Tang Fei Yang smiled at the guest descendants. In a moment, when the flying boat is officially in flight, it will form a strong astral wind, so it will be safer to go into the cabin. With these words, he was actually reminding Chen Fan that if he wanted to continue to act like a waste, then he had to go into the cabin. Otherwise when the astral wind blew, if he didn't want to be blown down, then he would have to reveal his strength. At Tang Fei Yang's reminder, Hakai Yu frowned darkly. These words, he had already reminded these guest descendants long ago. There was absolutely no need for the young city lord to remind them again ah. He was still thinking of watching the three great families make a fool of themselves. Quickly enter the cabin. Don't get blown away. Chen Fan rushed at Luo Qingkue and Su Wingjun and said, then ran towards the interior of the cabin. Su Wingjun bristled. In her opinion, the only one here who could be blown away by the astral wind was Chen Fan. She was already in the true spirit realm, and a little bit of astral wind was just too much to blow her away. As for Luo Qingkite, she was at the peak of the true spirit realm, and among this line of people, other than Yu Haki I, it was Luo Qingkite who had the highest cultivation. So naturally, she was also fearless of the strong winds. Su Wenjun had wanted to say a few words to Luo Qingkue, but Luo Qingkue had already turned around in silence and headed towards the cabin. It seems that she is still the same cool Luo Qingkue, just not cool to Chen Fan. But why is she so special to Chen Fan? Su Wenjun couldn't figure it out. Yu Haki didn't get to see a good show. And with a black face, he launched his flying boat and flew towards the east. Chen Fan sat down in the cabin and lifted the light blocking curtain to look out. The corners of his mouth couldn't help but curl up into a faint smile as he muttered and laughed softly under his breath. This feeling is quite similar to flying in an airplane. It's just that. Why would they take a flying spirit weapon and make it look like a ship? Knock knock. Outside the cabin, a knock sounded on the door. Chen Fan gave a suspicious cry. Which one? Luo Qingkui. At the sound. Chen Fan raised his eyebrows lightly. This had just entered the cabin and Luo Qingkue was looking for him? Something wrong, Ms. Law? There's something, Luo Qingkue said. Chen Fan opened the hatch and Luo Qingkue stood outside. Is it convenient to go in for a chat? Come in. Chen Fan smiled and moved back. The cabin wasn't very big, and it had a bed in it, and there wasn't a lot of room for people to stand, so there wasn't much. Chen Fan sat at the head of the bed and pointed to the end of the bed. Miss Luo will sit there, in case it shakes. Don't bump into it. Luo Qingkue shook her head and said, There's no need. I came to make a deal with you. Chen Fan smiled and asked, What kind of deal? Luo Qingkite said with a serious face, I can keep you safe during the trial, but after I come back, I hope that the things that happened before can truly be written off. There, will be that 30%? Cancelled. Chen Fan smiled faintly and said, In this world, there is no such thing as a flat out warm heart? Miss Luo helped me out just now. So it turns out that she wanted to make such a deal with me. But my life, it's not worth that much. According to the agreement, the Luo family had to deliver 30% of the revenue to the Chen family every year, which accumulated year after year, was a great fortune. How could Chen Fan agree to cancel it? Luo Qingkai pursed her lips and said, The fact that old family master Chen was willing to give you this spot shows that you are important in his old man's heart. Therefore, you have this value. Inside the earth spirit abyss, it is actually very dangerous. Even I may not be able to return in one piece. You're only in the Qi practicing realm. So if you're unprotected, the possibility of dying inside will be very high. Since you want to take a shot at finding out where the opportunity for foundation establishment lies, can't you still not give up that 30%? Chen Fan shook his head and said, That 30%, it belongs to the Chen family. Not me personally. I also have no right to make this deal. Miss Luo, please go back. Luo Qingkite bit her lip and said, If I add one more condition, can you cancel that 30%? If we deliver 30% of the revenue year after year, my Luo family will never have a day of revival. In Luo Qingkui's opinion, Chen Shangsheng was benevolent, and these three achievements were Chen Fan's idea. As long as Chen Fan agreed, the rest of the Chen family would not disagree. That day in the Chen family, she agreed to dry. At that time only thought to be able to protect the Luo family is good, but go back to think about it. The annual delivery of 30% of the revenue to the Chen family. The Luo family will always be stepped on by the Chen family, the same as the Chen family has become subordinate. Ms. Luo please return, Chen Fan said indifferently. He didn't even have the interest to listen to that extra condition. If he didn't directly destroy the Luo family, the Luo family should be thankful. And he's still thinking about revival? Of course, if Luo Yuan Wu, who was in control of the Luo family nowadays, wasn't one of his people, the Luo family would have definitely been destroyed a long time ago as well. As long as you are willing to cancel that 
I can marry Chen Ming as a concubine to cultivate the friendship between the two families. As if she had used up all her strength, Luo Qingkai clenched her fists and said in a deep voice. Chen Fan was stunned. He didn't expect that the extra condition Luo Qingkui added was such a condition, but he could also imagine how much courage it took for the cool and lonely Luo Qingkui to make such a sacrifice. Is it worth it? Chen Fan said helplessly. Luo Qingkai's eyes reddened slightly and said, Father is gone. My elder brother and second brother are also gone. The Luo family, nowadays, there is only my third brother and those few incompetent sons and nephews left. Although I've always looked down on some of the Luo family's actions, but when my father and the others were around, they all favored me extremely. And now, it's time for me to do something for the Luo family. Chen Fan, I know that you are able to speak your mind in the Chen family, and Elder Chen also favors you extremely. I really hope that you can agree to this deal. Chen Fan fell silent and said in his heart, this Luo Qingkite really has a heart of redemption. It's just a pity that your two families and mine have a blood feud. Even if you can obliterate the hatred, how can I rest assured that you will become my second uncle's pillow? Chen Fan raised his eyes to look at Luo Qingkui and said indifferently, In the trial, I will walk my own path, and I don't need anyone to protect me. But if everything you say is sincere, you are a person worthy of my admiration. When we go back, let's cancel that 30% and there's no need to make a deal, because even if you're willing to commit yourself to marrying my second uncle, I won't agree to this marriage, Luo Qingkui surprised, you, are really willing to cancel that 30%, Chen Fan nodded, anyway, with Luo Yu and Wu around, this Luo family couldn't make waves, many thanks, Luo Qingkui hurriedly bowed her waist full and made a salute to thank her, at this time, the flying boat shook violently, Luo Qingkui's body, violently toward Chen Fan slammed into the, chapter 69, borrowing two places? Chen Fan's body was also thrown back under the force of the swaying. Well, caught off guard, Luo Qingkui arched her body and slumped forward. Her head instantly planted into between Chen Fan's two legs that were splayed apart, her mouth letting out a cry of shame. Air, Chen Fan felt topped and was a bit embarrassed. The way the two of them looked at the moment was really a bit indecent. Luo Qingkui was just about to climb up when the flying boat shook violently a few times again, and her head was as high as a chicken eating rice several times. Chen Fan was drunk and hurriedly shoved his hands over to hold Luo Qingkui's chin. This is going to get even more embarrassing if I get a few more highs. Luo Qingkui was so ashamed that she couldn't stand up for herself. So she hurriedly pressed her hands against Chen Fan's thighs and straightened her body. Her face flushed as she stepped backward. What the hell is going on with this flying boat? Luo Qingkui said angrily. Everyone on guard. Enemy attack. At the head of the flying boat, there was a voice of shock and anger. Chen Fan and Luo Qingkui's two faces changed enemy attack? We've only been out of Tiger Spirit City for a short while, and we've run into an enemy attack? I, I'll go check it out. You just didn't stay in the cabin. Luo Qingkui's face was crimson, and after dropping a sentence, she hurriedly ran out. After 29 years of living, she had never been as humiliated as she was today. Chen Fan touched his nose, then his eyes narrowed slightly and his spiritual sense quietly probed out. The swaying flying boat gradually smoothed out. At this moment, in front of the flying boat, Three silhouettes appeared. Yu Chenqi looked at him angrily and shouted. You guys are so bold. You even dare to intercept the flying boat of the Tiger Spirit City Lord's Mansion. Knock knock. Tung Fei Yang and the others surged quickly to the bow of the ship, looking coldly and angrily at the three people floating in the air in front of them. These three people, the one in the center, was an old crone wearing a black robe and coat with a head full of white hair. Behind them were two young men and women in their twenties. Boom. Between the narrowing of the old woman's eyes. She directly released a terrifying aura that pressed towards the bow of the ship. Boom! In an instant, the entire bow of the ship sank downward, almost tipping right over. The crowd exclaimed in surprise and hastily grabbed the hull beside them, which saved them from falling. Yu Chinchi's pupils shrank in shock, instantly realizing that a strong person with such might was by no means a match for him. Former, senior, please forgive Yu's offense just now. I don't know what senior stopped us. What is the matter? Yu Chinchi hastily curbed his temper and became respectful. As the young men and women looked at Yu Qingqi's appearance, sneers appeared on their faces. The old woman's eyelids were slightly raised as she faintly said, The old body is here only to borrow two places from you. If you agree, you will be released. If you do not agree, then you will die here. Yu Qingqi's face twitched. This old woman's speech, it was really direct. But this quota, it has been allocated a long time ago. How can there be any more borrowing? Senior, this has a trial quota of candidates. Are the city lord personally set? Yu Mao is only the guest secretary status. Have no right to change ah. Yu Qingqi nervous. The old woman's eyes chilled as she laughed coldly. So, you are choosing to die? Just as well. 
the old body will fulfill you. Buzz, the old woman suddenly raised her hand, and a powerful suction and pulling force instantly tore Yu Qingqi away from the bow of the ship. Although the faces of the crowd were shocked and furious, how could they dare to make a move in the face of such a mysterious and powerful person? They didn't even dare to reprimand him. Tung Fei Yang's eyes flickered lightly, and he didn't make a move either. Yu Qingqi didn't compromise in the first place, but it was just because he didn't want to take the blame and wanted him, the young city lord, to open his mouth. When it really came down to a matter of life and death, he didn't believe Yu Qingqi would be tough to the end. Sure enough, Yu Qingqi saw that he was about to fall into the hands of the old crone, and the young city lord did not speak out in order to protect him, so he could only cry out in shock, Senior spare your life, the matter of the quota can be discussed. Oomph, the old woman gave a cold and angry cry, and with a wave of her hand, a black elixir, with a whoosh, hit Yu Qingqi's mouth. Yu Qingqi's pupils stared in shock as he tried to spit it out, but the elixir was directly pressed into his throat by a forceful air and rolled down into his stomach. Boo! Yu Qingqi's body, struck by the powerful qi waved out by the old woman's sleeve, flew backward to the bow of the ship and staggered for a few steps before he could stand still. What? Did you give me to eat? Yu Qingqi's face turned white as he asked in horror. The old woman faintly said, What I gave you just now is the heart rotting Dan, but don't worry, the old body wrapped the Dan with spiritual power, which can guarantee that this Dan will not melt in your stomach for half a month, and after half a month, the spiritual power will dissipate and the poisonous Dan will melt, and in just ten breaths of time, you will die of heart rotting. Yu Qingqi's pupils flared angrily as he gritted his teeth and said, Why should Senior be so deceitful? The old woman's voice sank as she grunted. I am not interested in talking nonsense with you, as long as my two disciples can successfully enter the earth spirit abyss and return here with you, I will help you take out the poison pill, if you dare to play tricks, not only will you die, but even the tiger spirit city mansion will have no survivors, don't question my strength, it's easy for me to exterminate a city lord's mansion, after saying that, the old crone said to the young men and women beside her, you guys get on the boat, don't cause trouble, and you don't have to be afraid of anything, yes, master, the two bowed and made a bow, then flew towards the bow of the ship. Yu Chengchi gritted his teeth and naturally didn't dare to stop him. You may continue your journey, the old woman said faintly. Then her footsteps stepped on the void, was like a stream of light, instantly disappeared. What a terrifying speed. This must be a clasping Dan realm powerhouse, Luo Chinkui said in a shocked voice. Tang Fei Yang said indifferently, at least the great circle of the clasping Dan realm. When he finished speaking, he twisted around and headed toward the hatch. Luo Qingkite, Su Wenjun and the others were all stunned. Why did the young city lord dare to be so certain? Young city lord, what about this quota? Yu Qingqi asked in a hurry. You're on your own, Tang Fei Yang said without looking back. The corner of Yu Qingqi's mouth twitched. Wasn't this letting him offend people? Those guest minister's descendants, have eyes low flash, also toward the cabin back. Afraid to be Yu Qingqi took the quota. Let's go find Chen Fan. Su Wenjun pushed Luo Qingkui and whispered. Luo Qingkui blushed and said, I won't go. When she finished, she headed toward her cabin. Su Wenjun froze. What was this Luo Qingkui blushing for? Ms. Su, Yu Qingqi was just about to open his mouth when Su Wenjun said in a cold voice, I'm not a member of the city lord's mansion, and I'm not yet at the mercy of guest minister Yu. After saying that, Su Wenjun was walking away in large strides. Yu Qingqi's face darkened as he gritted his teeth. If it wasn't for the old man enduring humiliation and making compromises, you'd all be dead already. So what's the point of being tough? The young man who stood to the side and watched with cold eyes, laughed disdainfully, old man, you really know how to put gold on your face, fear of death is fear of death, then you still endure humiliation, tsk tsk, brother, this is an old grandpa after all, let's give him some face, in case he dies of anger, our quota, it won't be easy to get it, the woman covered her mouth and laughed, the man smiled faintly, dotingly touched the woman's head, and laughed, don't worry, Little sister, if he dies, we'll just go straight to kill the two people occupying the quota, and take their quota that is, that way, it will be simpler instead. Ha, huh? it seems like it. The woman's eyes lit up and she looked at Yu Qingqi with a bad smile. Old grandpa, if you're having a hard time making a decision, why don't you just let us help you? Chapter 70 at least, I won't. Yu Qingqi's face changed, and he said in a deep voice, the quotas will be given to you by the old man, but none of you may harm anyone here. He was the person in charge of this trip, and it was none of his business if the people in the trial died in the earth spirit abyss, but if someone died on the flying boat, even if he returned to Tiger Spirit City alive, he would certainly be held accountable. The young man laughed coldly, then you should decide earlier on whose spot you will give to us, if you haven't decided before arriving at the Qingzhou mansion, 
I will kill the two of them at will. Sister, let's go to the cabin as well. The two siblings coldly walked towards the cabin. Yu Qingqi gritted his teeth, secretly furious in his heart. How could I be so unlucky? These three people, and what exactly are their origins? Although Yu Qingqi could not see the identity of the three, he knew that the other party was by no means someone he could afford to mess with. Even the city lord's mansion couldn't afford to mess with them. Knock knock. Chen Fan was in the middle of plopping down his knees when he was again disturbed by a knock on the door. He was helpless for a while in his heart. Wasn't he a waste? Why did he have to come to him? A punk? For advice when he met something? Chen Fan, I'm looking for you for something. Su Wenjun's voice sunk slightly and said, Come in, the door is unlocked. Chen Fan said, Su Wenjun froze, and when he pushed the door, it did open. Why don't you even lock the door? Aren't you afraid that Yu Qingqi will come and ask you for a place? Su Wenjun was surprised. Chen Fan said indifferently, Whoever he wants, he wouldn't dare to ask for mine. If he dares to ask for my place, I'll let my grandfather waste him when I get back. The corner of Su Wenjun's mouth is drawn, as if, it is also, he he, you didn't go out just now, how do you know what happened outside? Su Wenjun raised his eyebrows lightly and said, Chen Fan rolled his eyes, it's not like I'm deaf. Su Wenjun skimmed his lips and said, this ear of yours, it's too good to be true, this place and the bow of the ship are not close to each other, does Ms. Su have anything else? Chen Fan asked. Su Wenjun's face stiffened, is this guy kicking her out? A person who was so hungry that he was willing to run to a place like the sparse shadow place to fool around. Why did he not only not have the slightest intention of greeting a virtuous and beautiful young lady like her, but also seemed to be very resistant to her? Su Wenjun really couldn't figure it out and got a bit angry. His voice was slightly cold and said, Don't know what's good for you. I'm mainly here to remind you not to mess with that pair of siblings. They even dared to intimidate the city lord's mansion. So they're definitely not characters that we can afford to mess with. Even if your grandfather is at the Clasping Dan realm, and they kill you here, Elder Chen won't be able to find anyone to take revenge. I'm very careful with my life and will definitely not mess with them. Thanks for your concern, Ms. Su. Chen Fan laughed. This reminder from Su Wenjun brought some warmth to his heart. Humph. I'm not concerned about you. I'm just looking at the fact that the two Su Chen families are in an alliance. Su Wenjun hummed lightly, turned around and left. Chen Fan smiled and got up to lock the door. True to Chen Fan's words, Yu Qingxi didn't even dare to hit Chen Fan with the idea of this quota on his body. He was afraid of these three people, the old crone, and he was equally afraid of the present day Chen Changsheng. After his search, he knocked on the cabins of two of the guest descendants. There was a slight sound of arguing, but it didn't change the outcome of anything. The elders of these two were not here, and even though they were no longer willing, they could only agree to hand over their places. The flying boat swept through the air. And there was no more storm until it entered the territory of the Qingzhou prefecture. All of you have come out and will soon arrive near the earth spirit abyss. After landing, follow this guest minister and go forward to receive your identity tags. Early tomorrow morning, after the ceiling ban opens, you can use your identity tags to enter the earth spirit abyss. Yu Qingqi's voice came out. At the sound of the crowd's voices, they opened their cabins and stepped out. Those two unlucky bastards who were robbed of their spots glanced resentfully at the backs of that pair of siblings. Brother, it looks like someone is staring at us. The woman frowned. Brother went to gouge out their eyes. A cold light narrowed out from the man's eyes, and between the light lifting of his palm, a dagger was added to his palm. The crowd's colors tightened in horror. Gouging someone's eyes out because they glared at them? Those two guest descendants, after hearing the man's words, were already pale with fear and their legs were weak, and hurriedly said in alarm, We are not glaring at you. We are glaring at that Chen Fan. Almost simultaneously, the two pointed their fingers at Chen Fan. Chen Fan's eyes were cold. Did he really think he was easy to bully? The man stopped and glanced at Chen Fan. Smiling playfully, they said that they were glaring at you. Chen Fan smiled faintly. A person of your stature shouldn't be so good at being cheated, right? The corners of the man's lips flicked up in a bad smile. Of course I know they're lying, but you're not angry that they're using you as a front? Chen Fan nodded. I'm angry. The man smiled and tossed the dagger to Chen Fan, saying, then you will be the one to gouge out their eyes. Don't worry, if they dare to resist, I will simply take their lives. Boom, boom. That two people were already weak in the legs. At this moment is even more scared directly paralyzed on the ground. Mouth wailed, this big brother. But also please spare your life off. We, we no longer dare to have a complaint. Chen Fan said indifferently, the two of them are not worthy of death. But I don't want to get blood on my hands. The man stared coldly at Chen Fan and said, what if I have to let you do it? Chen Fan said disdainfully, not everyone, will be coerced by you, at least, I won't. Let me also remind you that in terms of strength, 
the two of you can't defeat all of us here. If you make a scene now, the worst outcome will only be that after the trial is over, guest minister you will be poisoned to death, and then the rest of us, will go back a different way. The crowd, in their fear, couldn't help but be stunned by Chen Fan's words. This chi practicing realm trash actually has so much guts. For a while, those who had originally looked down on Chen Fan couldn't help but have a few moments of admiration for him. Su Wenjun and Luo Chengkue could not help but both stand behind Chen Fan. If they really fought, they wouldn't watch Chen Fan get killed. Tung Fei Yang's eyes flickered lightly as he took a few steps forward and said, Both of you, we're almost at the place, so it's better to not make trouble. Who are you to talk to me like that? The man's eyes chilled as he looked towards Tung Fei Yang. Tung Fei Yang said indifferently, I'm the young city lord of Tiger Spirit City. This identity may not count for much in your eyes, but the people of the Qingzhou Mansion, for the sake of my father's face, shouldn't care about my well-being. We also do fear your master, but that doesn't mean that even the two of you can bully us at will. The man's eyes narrowed coldly. He had actually heard Yu Qingqi address Tung Fei Yang as a young city lord long before. Only, a young city lord, he really did not place it in his eyes. But Tung Fei Yang's words were not wrong. Near the Earth Spirit Abyss, there are Qingzhou government guards guarding the area. There are also quite a number of clasping Dan Realm powerhouses sitting in the town. If things really get serious, he and his sister really can't get any benefits. Ha! <laughs> Two soft-footed shrimps are just that. They are also worthy of your defense. That's all. I won't tease you anymore. The man let out an evil laugh and glanced at Chen Fan. That kid, the dagger will be sent to you. You can collect it well. Then I will not be polite. Chen Fan smiled and put the dagger away. Chapter 71 My Hands Hurt The youth smiled grimly, took his sister by the shoulders and walked towards the bow of the boat. Just as the crowd was breathing a sigh of relief, Chen Fan was turning around and walking towards the back. Chen Fan, what are you doing to go? Su Wenjun shouted out. Chen Fan didn't turn around. His mouth responded lightly. Didn't I just say that? I'm angry. The crowd's eyebrows lifted. It was hard to believe that Chen Fan was rushing towards Wu Feng and Li Chen. Wu Feng and Li Qian the two who were paralyzed with fear. Seeing Chen Fan rushing towards them, the two of them changed their faces slightly, but soon they said viciously, Chen Fan, we are not afraid of you, is that so? Chen Fan sneered, you guys don't fear me, so are you afraid of my grandfather? The eyes of the duo trembled. They had naturally heard about Chen Changsheng stepping into the clasping Dan realm. Ten slaps for one person, obediently let me finish, and this matter will be settled. Otherwise, when we go back, it won't be something that can be solved by ten slaps. Chen Fan said expressionlessly. Chen Fan, don't go too far. Aren't we just holding you back for a bit? It's not like we really glared at you. Wu Feng said angrily. Chen Fan nodded his head and said. Since you don't want to end it like this, I won't beat you now. We'll settle the score when we get back. Wu Feng's face swished white. If he really went back to settle the score, the person who settled the score would not be Chen Fan, right? Wu Feng was furious but he was afraid that it would really bring more trouble to himself and his family, so he only gritted his teeth and said, Okay, ten slaps, you hit it, it has to be twenty now, Chen Fan said indifferently, You, thirty, you fight, Wu Feng did not dare to say more, say it again, I am afraid it will rise to forty slaps, Chen Fan snorted coldly and sat directly on Wu Feng's chest, flinging his hand at Wu Feng's face, pop pop pop, a series of blast-like sounds, like firecrackers, hurt to hear, oh, Stop. It's 32. Oh. Wu Feng almost cried out. Chen Fan stopped his hand, stood up, and said indifferently, the extra two strokes, consider it a gift to you. Wu Feng, Li Qian, who was on one side, had long been horrified by the force used by Chen Fan when he whipped, as well as the sound of the explosion, making his heart beat wildly. Then look at Wu Feng that swollen like a pig head face, his flesh eyes wildly shrinking, trembling voice, Chen Fan, I, I but did not say anything, is it just 10 slaps? Why fight when your hands hurt? Let's just get this over with. Chen Fan said indifferently. The crowd's cheeks twitched. This Chen Fan, he's sincerely trying to piss off Wu Feng, isn't he? Ha ha, ha ha, no more fighting. Great. Thank you Ah Chen Xiao. I was wrong before. I sincerely apologize like Chen Xiao. Li Chen burst into an excited laughter and rushed to thank and apologize to Chen Fan again. Although it was only a matter of 10 slaps, after seeing Wu Feng's misery, Li Chen had the feeling of a life after a robbery. But, sure enough, Wu Feng, who was on the side, was so angry that he spat out a mouthful of blood on the spot, followed by his head drooping and fainting. Chen Fan said indifferently, I am a person who does not like to cause trouble, but I have never been afraid of it either. Therefore, if there are people who look down on me, it would be best not to mess with me either. Otherwise, 
The consequences will be unpleasant. After saying that, Chen Fan turned around and walked towards the bow of the ship. Su Wenjun smiled bitterly and shook her head. Sometimes, she really couldn't understand Chen Fan. Chen Chongcheng wasn't here. What if Chen Fan really provoked Wu Feng's ferocity? But the good news is that such a thing didn't happen. This guy, isn't he just relying on having a grandpa of the clasping damn realm? What's the big deal? A person grunted in a low voice. Tang Fei Yang glanced coldly at the other party and said, You want to get smacked too? The person who spoke, rushed to cover his mouth. On the bow of the boat, the young siblings naturally saw what was happening inside. You, this person, quite interesting. My brother asked you to do it. You would rather offend my brother than go. My brother doesn't pursue the matter. You went over to find their trouble yourself. The young woman fluttered a pair of curious eyes, staring at Chen Fan and said with a smile. Chen Fan glanced at the woman and said indifferently, Can what others force you to do be the same as what you want to do? The young woman smiled wickedly. So you're really not afraid of my brother? The young man hugged his arms and smiled grimly at Chen Fan. A little scared. After all, he looks like a bad guy. Chen Fan smiled faintly. Ling Hu Guanshan's face suddenly darkened. He was quite handsome and well built. How did he look like a bad guy? Though it's true he's not a nice guy. When Ling Hu hearing Rain heard this, she covered her mouth and giggled. Brother, his guts are really big. However, it's also really funny. When we get to the Earth Spirit Abyss, let's not kill him, okay? Alright, if you say you won't kill, you won't kill. Ling Hu Guanshan dotedly scraped Ling Hu hearing Rain's nose. Originally, according to his nature, if he ran into Chen Fan in the Earth Spirit Abyss, he would definitely kill him. This action of Ling Hu Guanshan caused Chen Fan to lose his concentration a little. He also liked to scratch Gu Bu Yu's nose like this. When Ling Hu listening rain saw Chen Fan staring at herself in a daze, she thought that it was her own beauty that made Chen Fan look dumbfounded, and her face couldn't help but blush. It's just a pity that this guy only has a cultivation level of the Qi practicing realm. His natural talent is too poor to be worthy of this young lady. Otherwise, just because he's so interesting, this young lady can give him a chance to pursue him. Ling Hu listening rain secretly said in her heart. Ling Hu Guanshan also realized that Chen Fan was staring at his sister out of his mind, and coldly grunted, Don't be a toad thinking about eating swan meat, my sister is something you don't even deserve to think about. Chen Fan rolled his eyes and hummed disdainfully in his heart, I want you sister I want, uh, I wasn't even thinking about your sister. Yu Qingqi, who was at the head of the boat, had been pretending to be deaf and dumb, and he didn't care about anything that happened. Right now. He only wanted to end this trial quickly and return to that old crone so that she could take away the poison pill. He also secretly tried to force the poisonous Stan out, but his own spiritual energy, once he touched the spiritual energy mass wrapped with the poisonous Stan in his stomach, that spiritual energy mass had the tendency of collapsing, scaring Yu Chengqi no longer dared to act rashly. Gentlemen, we've arrived. Ahead is the campground at the entrance to the Earth Spirit Abyss, Yu Chengqi said as he pointed ahead. The crowd came crowding to the bow of the boat to look ahead. Sure enough, hundreds of tents, like mushrooms sprouting up after the rain, were stacked on the open ground ahead. In the 16 cities of Qingzhou, the 16 cities alone, there were 160 people who had participated in the trial. There were a total of 13 martial arts clans within the Qingzhou prefecture that were able to allocate places. Among them, 5 large clans enjoyed 20 slots, and 8 medium-sized clans enjoyed 10 slots, just like the city lord's mansions of each city. Therefore, the martial arts sects, totaling 180 people, participated in the trial, together with, the 100 slots from the Qingzhou prefecture. The total number of people in the trial, totaled 440, every trial, basically this number, and those who can come out alive, not once can be more than half, but even so, all the forces still hadn't thought of giving up on the Earth Spirit Abyss trial, because within its abyss, there were indeed many opportunities, those who were able to come back alive were basically able to raise their realm by a small stage. The flying boat, in a clearing a long way from the tents, sank slowly, with a loud boom and a massive splash of smoke. The entire ship landed smoothly. Chapter 72 Even God Can't Wait After the flying boat landed, the crowd flew off the boat. Line up properly and don't mess up. This place is guarded by a large number of Qingzhou Prefecture guards, so don't cause any trouble for me. Otherwise, not even I can protect you, Yu Qingqi reminded in a cold voice. The crowd laughed coldly in their hearts. When have you ever protected us? However, when they arrived at the place, they were always much more at ease. Yu Qingqi led the way, and the crowd followed him all the way towards one of the largest tents in the tent area. Yu Qingqi, guest secretary of the Tiger Spirit City Lord's Mansion, has come to collect the identity tags with the ten children of the trial. Outside the tent, Yu Qingqi bowed. Get in, the two guards guarding the tent, said faintly. 
Many thanks. Yu Chengqi arched his hand in thanks, turned his head and rushed at Ling Hu Guanshan and the others. You and the others follow the old man inside. Inside the tent, three men sat. The one in the center had a cold and hard face, and a powerful aura emanated from his body in a subtle manner. Both Chen Fan and Tang Fei Yang's eyes narrowed lightly. This person was a middle stage of the clasping Dan realm. The Qingzhou Mansion's heritage was really too powerful than Tiger Spirit City. And here, it's just the tip of the iceberg in terms of the strength of the Qingzhou Mansion. I, Yu Qingqi, have met Lord Tong. Yu Qingqi hurriedly saluted. Lord Tong, who was in the center, nodded his head lightly and said, Record the name on the left side, brand the breath on the right side, and open the ceiling at the hour of tomorrow, out of date. Yes, Yu Qingqi answered, then ordered behind him, go over one by one. Ling Hu Guanshan was immediately the first to approach the person on the left who was in charge of recording names. Ling Hu Guanshan. Ling Hu Guanshan said, the person in charge of recording the names took out a wordless token, and the two fingers of his right hand condensed spiritual energy and flew to handwrite on the token. Soon enough, the front of the token was engraved with the four characters of Ling Hu Guanshan by spiritual power. When Lord Tong heard the name Ling Hu Guanshan, the corners of his eyes couldn't help but narrow lightly, but didn't say anything. The Qingzhou municipality only gives quotas, and they don't really care much about who comes. Ling Hu Guanshan took the token and went to the right side, while Ling Hu listening rain then went to the left. The crowd went in order, and soon it was Chen Fan's turn. Chen Fan. Chen Fan reported his name and quickly got his identity card and went to the right side. Buzz, with the old man on the right side, his palm lightly covered on the token. The token immediately flashed out a yellow light. Take your spiritual breath and pour it into the token, the old man commanded. Chen Fan immediately guided his fingertips and injected a spiritual force. The fine and weak spiritual energy made the old man's eyes froze, wondering if he had misread the situation. Qi practicing realm? The old man asked with a frown. Aha! Chen Fan responded. Hmph, are you tired of living at a young age? You still have a chance to give up before the ban opens. Take it. The old man grunted angrily. And when the yellow light wrapped around Chen Fan's spiritual energy breath and collected as much as it could into the token, the old man threw the token to Chen Fan. Chen Fan received the token with both hands and bowed as he retreated. Although the old man's tone was not kind, Chen Fan could hear that the old man was actually reminding him with good intentions. After the group exited the tent, Su Wenjun approached Chen Fan and said, Chen Fan, that senior was right just now. It's not too late for you to give up. Chen Fan smiled lightly. If I was afraid of death, I wouldn't have come here. Su Wenjun shook his head and stopped advising more. When the time comes, you will follow me and I will do my best to protect you. Luo Qingkai dropped a sentence as she walked past Chen Fan, but her footsteps did not stop. Because of the embarrassment from before, she was still a bit embarrassed to look at Chen Fan squarely. Chen Fan smiled. His own popularity? When did it become so good? The people began to seek ground and install their tents. After all, they had to wait here for one more night. Chen Fan was under a tree. His eyes closed and his knees crossed. It's just one night. Why be so delicate? However, this appearance of his fell into the eyes of those guest sons and daughters who were traveling with him in Tiger Spirit City. But there was only ridicule. In their opinion, Chen Fan was not bringing a tent because he couldn't use the Xian Kong ring yet. This guy, he really embarrassed us. Hmph. Guess, how many days can he survive within the Earth Spirit Abyss? How many more days? With this piece of trash, it'll be lucky if he survives past the first day. As several people whispered, a line of people approached in the distance, heads slightly raised. These people, all of them in moonlight white long shirts, looked arrogant. It's someone from the Heavenly Treasure Sect. They seem to be coming at us. He he, they aren't coming for us. They are mostly coming for that loser. Have you guys forgotten about that punk's fiancé being scrapped by the Heavenly Treasure Sect? Now there's a good show to watch. As the Tian Bao Sex group approached, the youth at the head, his eyes narrowed slightly as he coldly asked, You guys are from Tiger Spirit City? Several guest sons and daughters hurriedly rose to salute, and one of them smiled flatteringly and said, We are indeed from Tiger Pillar City. I don't know what this big brother of the Heavenly Treasure Sect has to say. Hmph, our young patriarch, are you also worthy of being called Big Brother? A disciple behind the youth rebuked in a cold voice. The crowd was shocked. This youth in front of him was unexpectedly Tian Baosek's young sect master Jiang Feng, the 76th ranked heavenly pride figure on the Dragon Phoenix ranking. So it's the young patriarch. It's me and the others who have no eyes. The guest sons and daughters instantly became even more humble. Not far away, under the big tree, Chen Fan, who had his eyes closed, had his eyes coldly opened, and his gaze coldly and sharply stared at Jiang Feng. I didn't expect that he would actually meet this person he wanted to kill the most on this trip. 
truly even the heavens couldn't wait for you to come over to die. Chen Fan smiled coldly in his heart. Since they had met here, how would Chen Fan let this Jiang Feng go back alive? Only, this was not the place to kill people, and one would have to wait until they entered the earth spirit abyss. Jiang Feng said indifferently, to ask you guys about something. Has the marriage contract between the Chun family and the Gu family in Tiger Spirit City been broken? The guest sons looked at each other, and then they all carefully shook their heads. Is it not lifted, or do you not know? Jiang Feng said in a cold voice. The person who spoke just now hurriedly said, it should not be lifted. Could it be that the young sect master is not aware of anything at all about what happened a few days ago? Jiang Feng frowned. A few days ago? What was it? The man glanced in Chen Fan's direction and then whispered what he had heard about the banquet. This Chen family is simply unbridled to the extreme. How dare they bully Elder Hong like this? Ha! Just has an early stage of the Clasping Dan realm, but it has expanded to such an extent. This Chen family is looking for destruction. The Heavenly Treasure Sect Disciples. Once they heard that Hong Yuan Dao and his party had been humiliated in the Chen family, they were all furious. Zhang Feng's eyes were filled with coldness. He glanced in Chen Fan's direction and said in a cold voice, Before you spoke, you glanced at that man. Could it be that he is a member of the Chen clan? Swish, the Tian Bao sect's disciples. Their gazes looked in unison in the direction where Chen Fan was. Cough, young patriarch, not only is he a member of the Chen clan, but he is also none other than Gu Yunchan's fiancé. Chen Fan, the guest son piled on the laughter, a sinister smile flashing in his eyes. Although Chen Fan hadn't offended him, but a punk who took up such a precious spot, that made him very unhappy. Zhang Feng couldn't help but raise an eyebrow when he heard this. He's that Chen clan trash who only has a great circle of qi practicing realm and has never been able to build a foundation? Yes, that's him, the guest son hurriedly said. Ha, hey, really can't even wait for God to send him to this young man. The corner of Jiang Feng's lips hooked up into a cold and stern smile, and he said in a low and cold voice, let's go back. The guest son was stunned and hurriedly said, young sovereign, you're leaving already? Chapter 73, The Eight Immortal Elders. Jiang Feng smiled coldly and didn't pay attention to the questioning guest son. Do you think he's stupid to kill someone here? He had originally searched over here just to find out if the marriage contract between the Chun family and the Gu family had been dissolved. But he hadn't expected that there would be this kind of unexpected gain. Gu Yunchan's fiancé, who had personally delivered the door. In this way, as long as Chen Fan died, the marriage contract could be automatically nullified. It's just a pity that there's no way to let that ungrateful woman, Gu Bu Yu, see with her own eyes how this young man played her fiancé to death. Jiang Feng said grimly and darkly. The Tian Bao sex group was far away. Another gaze, also like a viper, stared towards Chen Fan under the big tree. Everyone in the Chen family deserves to die. Then let's start with you. Chen Fan. Chen Fan, who was in a cross-legged position, opened his gaze wide and looked towards the source of the killing aura, between the four eyes looking at each other. A cold smile appeared on both of their faces. Ha, hey, I told you, we can't let Shua Di come. If not, would he be able to cope with such a situation? Chen Fan secretly laughed in his heart. Regardless of whether it was Jiang Feng of the Heavenly Treasure Sect or Luo Qianjun of the Mountain River Sword Sect, as long as they encountered a member of the Chun clan, both of these goods were bound to not be soft. The time passed, and it grew to a starry night. In many places, bonfires were lit, and the smell of roasting meat wafted through the air. Chen Fan, who was originally not hungry, was also craved by these meat scents and opened his eyes. Just in time, he saw Luo Cheng Kuei, holding a roasted chicken, walking towards him. You wouldn't have even brought anything to eat, right? Luo Cheng Kue said indifferently. Chen Fan laughed softly. I really didn't bring it. I was used to letting Big Yellow carry it in the past. Without Big Yellow this time, I forgot to bring everything. The corners of Luo Cheng Kuei's mouth twitched lightly as she said. It's really a young master. For you. Luo Cheng Kue placed the roasted chicken on the ground in front of Chen Fan, then turned around and left. Chen Fan touched his nose. This woman. She really doesn't hold a grudge? He sensed that the roasted chicken was indeed not poisoned. Since it wasn't poisonous, Chen Fan was naturally nonchalant. Not long after, Su Wenjun also walked over and skimmed. Since someone has given you food, the peach blossom pastry I prepared for you. I don't think you need it. Chen Fan laughed. What an honor for this young man to have you too. One by one, come over to deliver food. Isn't this trying to make you a full dead man? Su Wenjun smiled playfully. Chen Fan's face twitched. Saturating the dead? Do these two women think he'll die in the earth spirit abyss? Makes sense. In that case, bring me your peach blossom pastry as well. Chen Fan reached out with a smile. Su Wenjun shook his head helplessly, and with a stretch of his palm, an exquisite little box appeared. You want to obtain opportunities and change your destiny against the heavens. 
But you should be clear that opportunities are not just luck. You also need to rely on strength to fight for them. Just relying on fearlessness is not enough, Su Wenjun said seriously. Chen Fan raised his hand and took the pastry box in his hand. Smiling softly, I'll take Miss Su's kind words, then I will also give Miss Su a heads up. Su Wenjun froze, she still needed Chen Fan to remind her? What do you want to remind me of? She asked curiously. Chen Fan laughed, there are quite a few people who want to kill me. From now on, you stay away from me, don't get implicated, if you really want to die, it's enough to die me alone, I'm a loser, it's not a pity to die. Su Wenjun laughed bitterly, is this considered a broken can? How could Elder Chen allow you to fool around like this? Chen Fan smiled faintly, if I have been a waste, even if I live, what is the point, and how many people can look up to me? In Miss Su's heart, hasn't she ever called me a few times a waste? Su Wenjun's face turned red, since you insist on going into the earth spirit abyss, then tomorrow you will go with me, I am now at the true spirit realm, so as long as you don't run around, I should be able to ensure that you come out alive, Su Wenjun said without a trace of anger, no, I want to go by myself, Chen Fan decisively refused, how am I supposed to have fun if I go with you guys, Su Wenjun was exasperated, don't be ungrateful, Chen Fan heckled, I appreciate Ms. Su's kindness, but I don't want to involve you. This Earth Spirit Abyss trial opportunity is a rare occurrence for all three of our families. Miss Su should take advantage of it. Don't get into trouble because of me. Not to mention wasting this opportunity for advancement. Su Wenjun frowned. Are you really not coming with me? Really don't follow. Chen Fan responded helplessly. Then will you go with Luo Ching Kue? Su Wenjun's eyes flickered lightly as he asked again. Chen Fan laughed bitterly. Neither will it, because you women's words. It's really too much. I'm afraid that my ears will get cocooned. Su Wenjun was exasperated. You, you really deserve to be hated. Humph. Then I'll wait and see if you have the ability to come out alive. After Su Wenjun finished speaking, he turned around and left in a huff. Chen Fan has said so to her. Where she will still stay. She Su Wenjun do not want to face? Phew. Finally gone. Chen Fan shook his head helplessly. When did Luo Ching Kue and Su Wenjun, the two great ladies, both like taking care of trash so much? God knows, Chen Fan only wants to explore the earth spirit abyss by himself, and by the way, kill a few people. For this reason, he had specially transmitted his voice to Tang Fei Yang, so that he should not have any half interactions with himself, but was it not because he wanted to figure out a free and clear? Island master is mighty, two great beauties are bringing you food in a row, to think that I have the status of a young city lord, I don't have this fortune. A soul voice suddenly came out derisively. Chen Fan glanced at Tung Fei Yang's tent and transmitted his voice with a faint smile. Aren't there also two women in the group around you who like to surround you? I don't care to take a second look at these mediocre people. If it weren't for the need to maintain my identity, I would have slapped all of these bastards to death long ago. Island Master. My subordinate actually wants to ask you for instructions. When we enter the Earth Spirit Abyss, let my subordinate kill all of these assholes for you. Tung Fei Yang's voice, laced with killing intent, said, these were all heard by Tang Fei Yang even though he was in the tent when he was conversing with Zhang Feng. At that time he could not wait to slaughter these grandchildren. Chen Fan said, After entering, you and I will separate and travel alone, each seeking opportunities. There's no need to bother with these people. They're not worth wasting your energy or mine yet. A bunch of jumping clowns. Would Chen Fan care? If they bumped into him and dared to offend him again, there would be no harm in killing them casually. But to deliberately target, they weren't qualified to do so. Good. What about Ling Hu Guanshan and Ling Hu Listening Rain? Tong Fei Yang asked. Chen Fan's eyes narrowed. Same. Don't mess with them. Don't kill them. And you don't have to show any mercy if they make a move against you. A master of the great circle of the clasping Dan realm is just a master. If you and I join hands, it won't be difficult to win. Ha ha. Good. With these words from you, island master, my subordinate will have no more worries. Tong Fei Yang exclaimed. He was still a bit wary of the clasping Dan realm great circle but he believed in the islander's strength. Early the next morning, before the hour, everyone had already packed up everything and was excitedly waiting for the ceiling band to open. The hour had just arrived, and eight white-clothed old men, from different directions, flew up in the air in unison. Are these the eight immortal elders of the Qingzhou mansion? It is said that these eight immortal elders are all at the great circle of the clasping Dan realm. Yes, to be able to see the eight immortal elders show up together. This trip is already not vain. While the crowd was excited, Chen Fan frowned. It was because a powerful spiritual sense had actually landed on his body just now. Although it was only a hurried moment, Chen Fan still felt it. Chapter 74, The Five Elements Sect, Changel. Chen Fan did not feel that this was a coincidence, nor could it be that the other party had found the wrong person. 
The strength of the great perfection of the clasping Dan realm was so strong that their spiritual sense was able to be so precise that it could easily capture an ant on the ground. Who could it be among these eight immortal elders that would even be interested in me? Chen Fan secretly said in his heart, narrowing his eyes falsely as he scrutinized towards the eight immortal elders. But unfortunately, at this moment, the eight immortal elders were already teaming up to cast their seals and did not reveal the slightest difference. Chen Fan was very sure that the flash of spiritual sense just now came from one of these eight people. It was a pity that he disappeared too quickly. Plus he didn't want to reveal his strength, so he didn't use his spiritual sense to fight against it, which made it impossible to capture the other party's aura. The eight gates have been unsealed and the immortal elder has opened the seal, so you may prepare to step into the earth spirit abyss. After entering, each of you will rely on your own destiny and seek your own opportunities. Do not kill each other. Today is the beginning. Return in ten days. Boom. Boom. As a thick and cold voice spread out, eight doors of light actually appeared in the place below where the eight immortal elders stood against each other in the air. Once you step through the light door, you can lead to the earth spirit abyss, where the earth spirit abyss was located. It wasn't within the reach of the naked eye, but was deep within the earth and was shrouded by a powerful sealing force. The only way for an outsider to enter is to open the sealed door. The eight gates are open. You may enter. The thick voice, once again, came out. Earth spirit abyss. Here I come. Charge. The opportunities are all mine. The crowd surged and swept toward where the eight light gates were. Chen Fan. Stay close to me. Luo Qingkui shouted sharply and ran forward. But after a few steps, she didn't hear Chen Fan's response and turned her head to see where there was Chen Fan's shadow. Su Wenjun. Have you seen Chen Fan? Luo Qingkai pulled Su Wenjun, who was passing by, and asked in an urgent voice. Su Wenjun pursed his lips and pointed in the left direction. He went that way, but there are four other entrances over there. So if you go over there now, you won't be able to determine which entrance he will enter through. Miss Luo, let him go, since he doesn't want to join us. Why should we force ourselves? Luo Qingkai's eyes sank, letting go of Su Wenjun and towards the left side of the crowd, squeezing through, Su Wenjun raised her eyebrows lightly, and wondered in her heart, this Luo Qingkui, the degree of care she has for that Gai Chen fan, it's a bit unusual, it won, TB Su Wenjun seemed to have thought of something and couldn't tea help but stare with shocked eyes, eh, Su Wenjun suddenly came back to his senses and realized that there was no one around him, then his face turned white and he hurriedly ran towards the nearest light door, swish, 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 a silhouette of people dashed and swept into the light door. Chen Fan also mixed in the crowd and rushed into the light door. Buzz. In a flash of white light, Chen Fan stumbled forward, his paws stepping on a hard stone floor. So this is what the earth spirit abyss looks like. Ha ha. Ah. Beside a person, just laughing and lamenting, suddenly issued a scream. Chen Fan inclined his head to see. This unlucky. The original is the person who came in after. Knocked out. Chen Fan hurriedly took a few steps forward lest he become the next unlucky one. The surrounding crowd thinned out a bit before Chen Fan surveyed the Earth Spirit Abyss. The entire environment within the Earth Spirit Abyss was somewhat dim, like the time when the sun had just set. The black is not black, the light is not very bright. The eye can see 50 or 60 meters. Further away, it will be blurred. And where they were now, it was like they were in a huge deep valley. And when they looked around, there were dark shadows of mountain peaks that were reflected. Don't be alarmed. My father told me that within the earth spirit abyss, there are thousands of ravines and gullies that are accessible in all directions, so you can walk at will, and the only thing that people like us who are trying out the test need to memorize is the location where the light gate is located as well as calculating a good time for the return trip, otherwise, once the day of return is too late to find the exit, then we can only be trapped within the earth spirit abyss. A young man who was not very tall, seeing the crowd looking around, said with a smile, Humph, who did you see panicking? That's right. What's the big deal? Your father told you, didn't he? We are able to enter the earth spirit abyss. Which one is not a son or daughter who is valued by the family? Before the trip, who has not been instructed by a thousand times, but also used to listen to you to say, simply ridiculous. TSK, there are people who love to show their presence so much, but they don't know that it's just a clown putting on a show. Ha ha. The people nearby, instead of appreciating the smaller youth, laughed. The small young man's face was red and stammered. Since all of you know, then, then I don't have to say much. Chen Fan smiled. This person, was simple and enthusiastic. Brother, what else has your father instructed you? Chen Fan walked over and asked with a smile and an arch. The small man smiled sheepishly and arched his hand. This big brother. My name is Chang Lu. I'm a disciple of the Five Elements sect. Big brother can just call me Little Chang. Once the identity of the small man was reported, the surrounding people's faces changed. Not expecting this kid. 
to be a disciple of the Five Elements sect. Although the Five Elements sect was not as strong as the Five Great Clans, it was still much stronger than the City Lord's Mansion. Thinking that they had just laughed at the other party, these people hurriedly grayed out and swept towards the front of the Deep Valley. In a hurry, in the blink of an eye, Chen Fan and Changle were left in this part of the entrance. Those people, as if they were afraid that the little man would remember their appearance, ran as fast as they could. Chen Fan laughed. My name is Chen Fan, from Tiger Spirit City. Oh, I've heard of Brother Chen's great name for a long time. Changle hurriedly smiled. Chen Fan's face twitched. It was hard to believe that his name as a waste had already spread to the Five Elements sect? Brother Chang, what else has your father instructed regarding this Earth Spirit Abyss? Chen Fan asked sincerely. Regarding the situation of the Earth Spirit Abyss, Chen Fan actually didn't know much about it. After all, Chen family members, he was still the first one to have the opportunity to enter the Earth Spirit Abyss. That old thing, Yu Qingqi, hadn't spoken to him in detail, just a few rough words, even if it was an explanation. Changle said, Brother Chen, how about we travel in pairs and talk on the way? If we stand here chatting, I'm afraid the spirit materials growing in this neighborhood will be dug up by them. Ha, that too, then let's walk and talk at the same time. Chen Fan laughed. Let's go this way, past this direction. The spiritual chi is the most dense, and the spirit materials obtained will definitely be better. Changle pointed to the right side. In the dimness, a few hundred meters away in the right direction. Chen Fan probed with his spiritual sense and found that there was indeed an entrance to another deep valley. Chen Fan was surprised and said, You can see hundreds of meters away? Changle said, Brother Chen is joking. With my cultivation in the middle stage of the foundation establishment realm, as far as I can reach with my spiritual sense here, it's only a hundred meters away. And how can I see what's going on a few hundred meters away? Chen Fan became even more curious and asked, Then how are you sure that this side is connected to the mouth of the valley? And also know that this direction, the spiritual chi is the most dense? Changle blushed slightly, somewhat shyly and somewhat proudly, because I am a disciple of the five elements sect ah, I am a disciple of the five elements sect, and I am a bit more sensitive than the average person when it comes to the wind and the earth's chakra. If brother Chen closes his eyes and gazes, he will be able to sense that there is a wind coming from over there, and the spiritual chi contained in this flowing wind is a bit thicker than here. There is also the foot, the earth vein fluctuation shuttles in a straight line, which means that in this direction, there must be a straight and unobstructed open land. Chen Fan sniffed and looked at Changle a bit stunned, shocked in his heart. This five elements sect. It turns out that they are all highly talented students in science. Chapter 75, 3 do not enter, 4 do not touch. Chen Fan couldn't help but admire. Brother Chang is powerful. I believe in Brother Chang. So let's go this way. Thanks to Brother Chen's trust. In fact, as long as you observe carefully, you'll be able to find it as well. Changle said modestly. Chen Fan laughed. There are specialties in the arts. With Brother Chang around, I won't bother with this. When he came in, he had already discovered that there was a mysterious force within this earth spirit abyss that was suppressing the power of martial cultivators' spiritual awareness. The distance reached by the spiritual sense was only one-tenth of the extent that it was outside. For example, the power of spiritual awareness in the middle stage of the foundation establishment realm could probe a thousand meters outside. But here, the power of spiritual awareness could only extend a hundred meters. Chen Fan's spiritual sense, although it was suppressed just the same, extending a few thousand meters was still an easy task. As the two of them walked to the right, Chanka said, Brother Chen still shouldn't be careless. My father said that there are some dangers within the Earth Spirit Abyss that are unseen, and that you shouldn't take it lightly at any time. For example? Chen Fan asked with a smile. Chanka said, My father summarized the three no entry and four no touch for me, and since Brother Chen believes in me, I will talk to Brother Chen as well. Good. I believe in Brother Chang. Please also inform Brother Chang. Chen Fan laughed. Changle's small face was slightly red again, and she laughed. These three places of inaccessibility are the place of death and silence, the place of aura as thick as thick, and the place of phantom colors. Chen Fan laughed. Deadly places are mostly places of great evil. It is understandable that we can't enter, but isn't this place where the aura is as thick as a thicket the place of opportunity that we came in to look for? Why can't we enter it as well? Changle said, my father said. During the closure of the Earth Spirit Abyss, although time has the effect of accelerating, but even so, opened once every ten years, the Abyss opportunities have long been left little, a place of spiritual chi, want to accumulate to such a thick-like situation, that is need extremely long time, and so many years, the trialists back and forth which, a place of spiritual chi can still keep full, seem to be a place of opportunity, actually must be hidden in the side of the great evil, so happen to see such a place but also to be far away from, cannot step into it. 
Chen Fan was surprised. During the closure of the Earth Spirit Abyss, time will speed up? Chang'e froze. Brother Chen doesn't even know about this? Chen Fan shook his head and said, It's really unknown. Chang'e laughed. Actually, this is not a secret. Brother Chen imagine, if the time here is the same as outside, in this neighborhood, where else can there be any valuable spirit materials? He he, brother Chen, look, suddenly, Chang'e pointed to a small flower emitting a faint yellow light not far ahead and said, that's the golden spirit flower, the golden spirit flower that blossoms only once in a hundred years. Chen Fan had discovered the golden spirit flower since a long time ago, but at this moment, he was stunned by Chang'e's cry of he he he. When he just saw Chang'e, Chen Fan felt at first glance that this Chang'e looked like a woman dressed as a man, so he purposely swept a glance at Chang'e's flat chest and then looked at the knot in his throat, the characteristics that a man should have. Except for that thing that he didn't see, Chang'e had all of them. Only then did he believe that Chang'e was just slender, overly good-looking, and soft-spoken. This buddy, more or less a little bit of mother, laugh just laugh, but also he he, really, Chen Fan cannot help but a little bit of evil cold. In a previous life, he'd been a bit of a sissy boy. When Chen Fan walked over, Chang'e had already picked the golden spirit flower and placed it in a small jade box. Brother Chen, this golden spirit flower belongs to me. The next spirit material found belongs to you. So take turns harvesting. What do you think? Chang'e fluttered his big bright eyes and asked sincerely. The corner of Chen Fan's mouth couldn't help but twitch lightly again. A man. Even if he is not tall, he is still a man. Don't be cute to another man, okay? Chen Fan took a deep breath and laughed. There is no need for that. Whoever discovered it first, it goes to whoever discovered it first. Brother Chang, just now you said that the land of illusionary colors is not to be entered. What is the reasoning? Chang said, my father said that the land of illusory colors, or the flickering lights and shadows of the remnant formations and killing prohibitions, and there is also the possibility that some of the demonic beasts surviving in it have intentionally set traps. If one were to mistakenly enter it, it would definitely be extremely dangerous. Chen Fan laughed, your father is really concerned about you, but if you can't enter any of these places, it would be very difficult to encounter great opportunities. Chang said, not necessarily, my father said that the truly great opportunities within the earth spirit abyss may instead be in places that look ordinary and unexceptional, where the spiritual chi is in full bloom, it is magical to be plain and ordinary. Chen Fan raised an eyebrow, that's a really unusual insight from your father, I'm sure your father's position in the five elements sect must not be low, right? Ha, huh, I, my father is a deacon of the five elements sect. This status, it shouldn't be considered high, right? Chang'e said with a somewhat evasive look in his eyes. Chen Fan smiled in his heart. This Chang'e was not a person who would lie. However, since the other party was unwilling to mention his father's identity, Chen Fan did not ask much. Great sect deacon, that's already very impressive. Chen Fan quipped, then asked, and the four no touch, what does that mean? Chang'e laughed, brother Chen. Let's talk as we walk. Time is gain here ah. Yeah hell. Chen Fan clenched his fists and held back the goosebumps. Chang Gil didn't notice Chen Fan's abnormality and walked ahead. Saying with a smile. My father said that the things of engraved symbols must not be touched. The things of dark tide must not be touched. The corpses of the incorruptible must not be touched. And the light of the shimmering sky must not be touched. Chen Fan narrowed his eyes and said. Uncorruptible corpse. Light of shimmering emptiness? Chang Gil said. Well. My father said that within this earth spirit abyss, there are many corpses in dead bones. Some of these corpses look like they just died, but they may actually have been dead for a long time. Inside these incorruptible corpses, there is an odd strange poison. Once touched, at first there is nothing to feel, but within three days, the whole body will surely stiffen and die, turning into a new incorruptible corpse. The light of the scintillating sky, it means some weird streams of light that flow in this space. These streams of light, small as thin as a hair thick as thunder, but no matter what kind, once touched, a person will be sucked into the streams of light. My father said that no one has ever come out alive after being sucked in. However, this kind of shimmering light of the sky will rarely appear. So Brother Chen doesn't have to worry too much about it. Thank you, Brother Chang, your father. Did he say anything else? Chen Fan asked with a smile. Well, let me think about it ah. Chang tilted his head, actually put his right index finger, stuffed into the corner of his mouth. Chen Fan's cheeks trembled and his toes went numb. Brother Changle, thank you for informing me of this, but I actually prefer traveling alone. So you and I will say goodbye here. Take care of yourself. Chen Fan arched his hand towards Chang Lu, and without waiting for Chang Lu to respond, he was transformed into a black shadow and shot away explosively. Although it was a bit rude to just run away, 
But what if this Chang'e were to pander to him and beg him to stay with him? Watching Chen Fan explode away as a black shadow, Chang'e froze for a long time before slowly pulling out the finger in his mouth and said with tears in his eyes, Am I that annoying? Even brother Chen doesn't want to be with me anymore. Although Chang'e looked a little simple, but Chen Fan ran so fast, he can think even if he is more simple. Chen Fan is trying to get rid of him. Chapter 76 Arc Sword Sect After shaking off Chang'e, Chen Fan let out a huge sigh of relief. It's unorthodox, but it's better than making yourself feel bad all the time. When his spiritual sense sensed that no one was within a hundred meters, Chen Fan's eyes narrowed and he took out a Xian Kong ring from his pocket and put it on his finger. Wow! A black robe, wrapped around his body. Chen Fan took out the tiger head mask and put it on his face. The trial trip is also a battle to seize the treasure. It is inevitable to kill people, and hiding the identity can avoid a lot of trouble. Swish! Chen Fan waved his right hand a soldier's shovel, holding it in his hand. After getting the quota, Chen Fan rented a blacksmith store and personally refined a spirit-grade soldier's shovel for today. It's still this thing that's handy, digging for treasure and killing people at the same time. Chen Fan's lips lifted and his figure whooshed and flashed, appearing 30 meters away. When he sensed if there was anyone nearby just now, he discovered that there was a third-grade spiritual material, seven diamond flower, over here. Although the grade of the spirit material wasn't very high, it was a hundred-year-old portion, and it was already considered to be a valuable treasure when placed in Tiger Spirit City. When he thought about it, Chen Fan had eaten a seven-diamond flower, and Chen Shuo was in a lot of pain. Click, click. With two consecutive strokes of the soldier's shovel, the entire seven-diamond flower was dug out by him and put away in the Xian Kong ring. There's one over there too. Chen Fan's eyes narrowed as he sprinted over. It had to be said that there were indeed a lot of spirit materials in this earth spirit abyss and one could find one almost every few dozen meters. However, after digging up a few plants, Chen Fan realized that the spirit materials in this area were basically second and third grade. Going deeper, the grade of the spirit materials should be a bit higher as well. Otherwise, that group of people wouldn't have turned a blind eye to these spirit materials. Chen Fan gave a searching thought in his heart and also flew towards the deeper direction. Unless it was some spirit materials that had a very long vintage and a strong utility, some ordinary spirit materials, he was already too lazy to pick them, both into the treasure mountain, can't always pick up sesame seeds in the periphery, strange, there doesn't seem to be any danger in this earth spirit abyss, Chen Fan had already dug up spirit materials for half an hour, but had not encountered any danger, it wasn't that he wanted to be in danger, it just seemed strange, hmm, suddenly, Chen Fan's eyes narrowed as a faint odor of blood swept over with the wind ahead, it actually tastes like two kinds of blood, Chen Fan stepped on his feet and shot explosively in the direction where the smell of blood came from. Soon, Chen Fan saw that the two were frantically mending the corpse of a demonic beast on the ground. Not far away, the body of a human lay. Senior brother Zhang, that's enough. This thing is dead as dead can be. One person stopped his chopping motion and said to the other. Senior brother Zhang gritted his teeth and said, This beast snapped senior brother son's neck in one bite. I have to break it into pieces. <laughs> senior Zhang ruthlessly added a few more slashes, and the corpse of the demonic beast was chopped into several pieces. Senior brother Zhang, there seems to be someone over there. Another person spotted Chen Fan's figure and said with a chilly gaze, Elder brother Zhang's eyes turned cold as he carried the bloody knife and turned to look at Chen Fan. Seeing that Chen Fan was only one person, the corner of his mouth hooked into a cold smile as he lifted his sword and pointed it, saying in a chorus, Come over here. Chen Fan frowned and walked towards the duo. He mainly wanted to see what kind of demonic beast this killed demonic beast was, and if there was any difference between it and the demonic beasts outside. Hoomph. Still wearing a mask, pretending to be a god. Take off the mask. Zhang Shi drank. Chen Fan said indifferently, I advise you guys not to cause any trouble. I just came over to see what kind of demonic beasts you killed. If you don't take off your mask, you're in trouble. Li Quan, this man is hiding his head. He must not be a good person. Follow me to kill him and take his Xian Kong ring. What's in the ring? You and I will share it equally. Zhang Shi coldly said. Li Quan looked towards Chen Fan's back and after realizing that there were indeed no other people, he sneered. The ones who have fallen alone like this are mostly from those small clans so indeed there won't be any trouble if they are killed. Kid, if you want to blame it, blame it on your bad luck and bumping into us. Chen Fan sneered in his heart. It was not him who had this bad luck. Since you all have murderous intentions towards me, 
then don't blame me, Chen Fan indifferently said. Ha, hey, how dare you rant when you're dying? I would like to see how much strength you have. Zhang Shi laughed angrily, his footsteps indulged. His body instantly jumped up three meters, and the battle knife in his hand was also directed at where Chen Fan was, slashing vertically, falling moon chop, so it's a scumbag from the Arc Blade sect. Chen Fan grunted disdainfully, and with the Bing Dong shovel in his hand, he casually swung it, and a sharp forceful chi chopped out diagonally from the edge of the blade. Boom! Sharp force chi. Instantly Wu Zheng Shi chopped out the knife one blast away. Force chi momentum, but also directly rushed to fall in the Zheng Shi and go. Brother spare your life. Pust. The sharp forceful chi chopped diagonally from Zheng Shi's body, and his body, which was immediately staggered into two, fell to the ground. The senior brother called Li Quan, a face instantly scared out of blood, his mouth wide open in terror but he couldn't even send out a voice to beg for forgiveness. Boo! He only saw a black shadow coming at him, a huge force pressing down on him, and then he heard a click sound. His head, as if shattered, and he lost consciousness again. Chen Fan put away the Xin Kong ring of the two of them and indifferently walked to the corpse of the demonic beast. Although the body had been hacked to pieces, the head was vaguely recognizable. So it's a second realm shadow cat demon. Since there are second realm demonic beasts infesting the area, there will be other demonic beasts present. And, most likely, there are some extremely powerful demonic beasts as well. Chen Fan's complexion was slightly condensed. After all, the Earth Spirit Abyss had already existed for an unknown number of years, and there were both living creatures, and as long as these living creatures escaped the hunt of a few trials, then they would be able to meet out their lives as old demons. The smell of blood is too strong here. It's better to leave. Chen Fan's eyes flashed, and after taking off that senior son brother Shin Kong ring, he left in a flash. The people are dead. It's useless to keep the Xian Kong ring. If Chen Fan doesn't pick it up, the people behind him will pick it off when they see it. Not long after Chen Fan had left, a group of people swept over in a hurry. Senior brother Zhua. It's senior brother Zhang and the others. Damn it. Who killed them? The young man at the head of the group, holding a bloodstained knife in his hand, had a face that was blue to the core. They, the 20 senior brothers, were divided into groups of three in order to be able to obtain spiritual materials more efficiently. So they searched the neighborhood for spiritual materials and hunted down those who had fallen by the wayside. Just now, he vaguely seemed to have heard Zhang Xi's voice begging for mercy, so he rushed over with his men to provide support. But unfortunately, he was still a step too late. After the fellow disciples had examined the bodies, they came over and said grimly, Senior brother Zhua, Senior brother Zhang and their Xin Kong rings have all been removed. The person who killed them has a somewhat uncomplicated strength. It seems like they should have met someone with the same idea as us. A murderous aura erupted in Zhu Butchuan's eyes as he angrily sank. Only my Arc Blade sect can kill others, no matter who he is. If he dares to kill someone from my Arc Blade sect, he must pay for his life. All of you pay attention to me. When you see someone fighting, show your identities and come forward to check their Xian Kong rings. Those who don't comply will be killed. Those who cooperate with the inspection. If there are any items of my sect's senior brother, immediately capture him and bring him to me. I'm going to scrape him alive one by one. Yes. A group of senior brothers behind Zhu Buchu and answered in a murderous chorus. Chapter 77, The Windy Lotus. Arcane Blade Sect. Chen Fan had heard of it a long time ago. Within the Qingzhou Prefecture domain, one of the five great clans, and one of the most hostile and murderous. Even if the Arcane Blade Sect was not so infamous, Chen Fan would never be soft in the face of someone who wanted to kill him. In this earth spirit abyss, with his cultivation, it was enough to sweep away everything, if he didn't bully these people. These people should be grateful. If someone takes the initiative to stick his face in and send himself to death, who can blame him if he is killed? Whoosh. Dim deep valley. A silhouette. Skimming like the wind. If stopping, must bend down. A handle of strange shovel in the hand. Down a shovel. Waving his hand will be a spiritual material into the Xin Kong ring. In the next few days, Chen Fan dug for spirit materials almost until his hands went limp. The number of spirit materials that had grown savagely in the enclosed space for a hundred years was quite large. In terms of numbers only, it's more than Sin Immortal Island. After all, there were still tens of thousands of islanders and countless demonic beasts consuming Sin Immortal Island every day. And here, there were only demonic beasts. Chen Fan was happy, but some people had egg on their face. The spiritual materials on my side have been dug up again. My side of it was gutted too. Not even a hair left. Damn, what kind of asshole jumped ahead of me? Gentlemen, since there are people who are so unethical and cut off our wealth, Shouldn't we also give this group a bit of color? That's right. All of us came in for the trial. Why should we tell this group of people to pick all the spirit materials? They even deliberately ran ahead of us. 
it's obvious that they don't want us to have a harvest. Their hearts are execrable. Brothers, pause the search for spirit materials and charge all the way forward. I'd like to see just what group of people dares to be so arrogant. Good. Let's find this group first. With one call, the people in the several deep valleys nearby, at the sound of their voices, ran and rushed towards the front in anger. They had originally dug all the way for spirit materials, digging happily, but as they dug, suddenly there were only plowed earth pits left in the deep valley. How can you not be angry? The disciples of the various sects and family disciples who were originally looking for spiritual materials all over the ground were furiously charging towards the front. It was a run that quickly ran for more than 10 miles, but they still only saw the plowed up mounds and not half a human figure. The hearts of the people couldn't help but start to panic. Who, exactly, was so heartless as to give several deep valleys in the neighborhood, while leaving earth pits up to a dozen miles long? The people who came in for the trial were all under 30 years old. At this age, to be able to step into the true spirit realm was already a genius among geniuses. Among them, there were also true spirit realm existences. However, they asked themselves that they simply could not manage to gather spirit materials while penetrating such a long distance. Could it be that the people ahead are those five demons? It's only them that have this kind of strength. So, that's still chasing? Catch up. Don't you dare move them. Don't dare. Then don't be a good boy and change the deep valley. Let's go. Let's directly cut across the deep valley next to us. I'm sure those people from the deep valley are still collecting second and third grade spirit materials back there. Let's let them also taste the pain of having their front path dug up. Ha ha, this idea of brother Gao is really high. Ha ha, don't even look at my last name. Brothers, hurry up. Let's cross over. Dig up the spirit materials in front of the others, so that the others have no spirit materials to dig up. Ha ha, let's go. We don't want to hurt heaven and earth. It's all because those five demons forced us to. That's right. That's right. We were forced to do this unethical thing. The several waves of teams that were originally chasing Chen Fan directly gave up on continuing to chase them forward, and instead crossed over into the several deep valleys beside them. Another day later, a violent clash erupted between those trialists who were catching up behind them, and the trialists who dug up others' front paths, and a lot of people were also killed or injured. But what shocked them was that among these later trialists, the five great demons were actually all misunderstanding. It's all a misunderstanding. In a deep valley, a trialist who was paralyzed on the ground hurriedly shouted out in a rush. Swish, a snowy long sword, with a swish sound, was placed in front of the throat of the one who shouted, his eyes like cold stars, the earth spirit abyss has thousands of ravines, you guys could have walked straight ahead along a deep valley, but at this moment you appeared in front of us and dug up all of the spirit materials in at least 5 miles of this deep valley of ours, what do you call this a misunderstanding? The youth who was paralyzed on the ground, his eyes lightly trembling as he looked at the tall woman with the sword in front of him, weakly asked, dare I ask if you are senior sister royal wind he of the mountain river sword sect? The woman's eyes narrowed slightly, so what if it is? The youth was busy saying, then it's really a misunderstanding. Senior imperial sister, listen to my explanation. Immediately, the youth spoke of what had happened to him before. Once again, royal wind lotus frowned with a green eyebrow and said, is that really true? Really? I wouldn't dare to deceive imperial sister. The youth was busy saying, this Yu Feng He, was the most outstanding genius of the Mountain River Sword sect in the last few hundred years, and was even the 41st rank supreme heavenly pride on the Dragon and Phoenix ranking. At only 26 years old, he had already stepped into the early stage of the Spirit Lake realm. If one were to only discuss the ranking of geniuses within the Qingzhou Prefecture, Royal Wind Lotus would be in second place. After making a slight contemplation, Royal Wind He said indifferently, even if it's true, it's still you who dug up my mountain river sword sex front path. The youth's face swished white, panicked. Imperial sister, I am the one who worships you the most. Are you really going to kill me for this? The royal wind lotus blushed slightly and faintly said, it's not so much to kill you, but since this deep valley is gone by my mountain river sword sect, the spirit materials in this valley belong to my mountain river sword sect. How much have you dug up? Hand it all over. The youth was overjoyed and hurriedly said, fine, fine, I'll hand it over. Worthy of being my most admired imperial senior sister. I'm sure I won't kill innocents indiscriminately. Imperial senior sister. I will always worship you. The corners of Mikado's mouth twitched. This kid. Could it be that he was really his own little fanboy? Hurry up and leave after handing over the spirit materials. Don't delay us anymore. You phone he said indifferently. Fine. A group of people who were defeated. Only those who were injured and not dead yet. Hurriedly handed over the harvested spirit materials and then ran away in a huff. As for those who were killed in the conflict, dead is dead, and no one will call for justice for them or dare to do so. Luo Qianjun. After those people ran away, 
Only then did the royal wind lotus sink in a cold color and turn her head to look at Luo Qianjun in the crowd behind her. Luo Qianjun was named and hurriedly stepped forward and bowed. What are senior imperial sister's orders? Royal wind lotus said in a cold voice. Why did you keep killing in succession just now? Of the seven corpses here, you killed four alone. Luo Qianjun froze and said, Senior sister, what's wrong with combat sparring and senior brother killing his opponent? The royal wind lotus narrowed his eyes and said, But it's just a small conflict, not a life and death enemy. Beat them until they are soft on the line. There is no need to really kill. In the future, your ruthlessness will be put away. My mountain river sword sect is not arc sword sect, remember? Luo Qianjun's lowered eyes were a bit grim as he bowed and said, Qianjun honors senior sister's teachings. This woman, how dare she lecture me in front of so many fellow disciples. Since you don't give this young man any face like that, then you'd better not give this young man a chance. Otherwise, this young man will make sure that you won't be able to return to the mountain river sword sect. At that time, this young will completely replace you and become the sect's most valued disciple. Luo Qianjun sneered in his heart. Chapter 78, The Mysterious Voice. The royal wind lotus was about to continue on, when suddenly four silhouettes, from the direction of a valley entrance on the side, swept in violently. Mikado raised his eyebrows lightly. Feng Xianting has met imperial senior sister. The young man at the head of the visitor smiled and made a salute. Greetings to senior imperial sister. The two of the other three also smiled and saluted. Among them was Zhuo Buqiuan, whose gaze wickedly glanced over royal Feng Wang's body, and said with a hefty smile, not only has senior sister royal's cultivation refined quite a bit, but her person is also getting better looking. Feng Xian Ting, the three of them, the corners of their mouths were all twitching. This Zhuo Buqiuan is really a rogue and scoundrel nature. Even the imperial sister dared to flirt with her. Royal Wind Lotus directly ignored Zhuo Buqiuan and bowed back towards Feng Xian Ting. I wonder if the world prince brought them to me. Is there something going on? This Feng Xian Ting is the son of the Qingzhou prefecture and is also recognized as the first genius. He was only 23 years old, yet he had already stepped into the spirit lake realm for half a year. Although he was in the same realm as Mikado Ho, he was three years younger. Three years later, Feng Xian Ting's cultivation would definitely surpass the current royal wind lotus, so the name of the first genius of the Qingzhou prefecture was well deserved. Feng Xian Ting glanced at the seven corpses on the ground and laughed. Senior Imperial Sister should have also heard about the matter of someone who was maliciously intercepting other spirit materials on their way forward under the guise of the five of us, right? Mikado shook his head and said, This is nothing more than their own speculation. Feng Xianting froze and said, Could it be that Senior Imperial Sister isn't the least bit curious about the identities of those people? Royal Windholm smiled faintly. I don't have such a heavy curiosity. If Shitsi is here to invite me to join him in tracking down the matter, then I can only say that I am sorry. This time, when I enter the Earth Spirit Abyss, my most important responsibility is to protect the safety of these senior brothers and sisters of mine, lest they be injured by some fanatics. As Mikado said this, he finally glanced at Zhuo Buqiuan. Zhuo Buqiuan just smiled grimly and didn't refute anything. Feng Xianting didn't expect that Royal Feng Wan didn't even give him face, so he said with some embarrassment, since senior sister Royal isn't willing to do so, then the four of us won't bother. Feng Xianting turned his body around and faintly said, let's go, swish. As soon as the words left his mouth, he sprang up and swept horizontally. Zhuo Buqiuan, the three of them, also followed and left. Although Feng Xianting's strength was not the strongest amongst the five, he was the son of the Qingzhou prefecture, and his status was honorable. Even the arrogant and overbearing Zhuo Buqiuan had to keep his temper in front of Feng Xianting. The strength of the Qingzhou mansion was not like that of the city lord's mansions of the various cities, but rather, it possessed a truly powerful heritage and strength. The previous eight immortal elders were the eight major offerings of the Qingzhou Mansion. Although the five great clans were strong, they were much inferior in front of the Qingzhou Mansion. With me and a few other senior brothers looking after this place, there shouldn't be any danger. Why would senior sister refuse the world son's invitation? Wouldn't that displease the world prince? Only after Feng Xianting and the others left did Luo Qianjun ask in disbelief. Royal wind he said indifferently, we cultivate the martial way. We only need to continuously strengthen ourselves. Why do we need to please others? If you don't want to do something, then don't do it. Let's continue forward. As long as the spirit materials ahead of us are still there, don't meddle. With a command from Mikado Ho, the disciples of the Mountain River Sword Sect, along the deep valley, continued forward. Luo Qianjun followed the procession, but in his heart he was sneering, just a woman. What's the point of pretending to be noble? Sooner or later, she's still not going to become a plaything under a man's crotch, dozens of miles away. One sat paralyzed. No wonder those hitters are shouting tired all day long. 
This five-line jumping and crazy economy grabbing is indeed tiring. Good thing. The harvest is also full. It can afford me this hard work. Chen Fan smiled and touched the Xian Kong ring on his finger. In the past few days, he had traveled back and forth between the five adjacent deep valleys in the vicinity, digging up thousands of spirit materials, and most of them were fourth-grade spirit materials. This was undoubtedly a huge fortune for the Chen family now. During this time, Chen Fan had also found quite a few caves existing on the mountain walls. But unfortunately, these caves were basically empty, and some of them would be left with a broken stone table with a missing corner. But something of value is a no. He had not encountered a single one of those deadly silence lands and illusory color lands, as well as the undecaying corpses and the light of the scintillating sky that Changle had spoken of. The demonic beasts, on the contrary, had killed about ten of them. Chen Fan guessed that this earth spirit abyss was most likely the location of a sect along, long time ago. It was only that this sect had already been annihilated in the river of years due to certain reasons. However, from the scale of what remained of the earth spirit abyss, one could tell that this sect that had once existed must have been an extremely large sect. Getting a bargain is still a good thing. You probably don't know that there are already a lot of people who hate your guts, and there are even a few little guys with good strength who are still chasing towards your side. A voice suddenly entered Chen Fan's ears. The voice wasn't old. It was magnetic. Who? Chen Fan leaped up and looked coldly alert. He wasn't afraid of someone chasing him, but the owner of this voice made him extremely jealous, because before this sound appeared, he hadn't even noticed anything unusual at all. Hey, hey, you won't find me, the voice came teasingly. Chen Fan's eyes narrowed lightly as he said, Why is your excellency spying on me in the dark? Why don't you come out to meet me? I would like to go out, but I can't. Although your cultivation is already very good compared to people of your age, it's a pity that you're still not qualified to walk to where I am, the voice said with a hint of helplessness mixed in. The corners of Chen Fan's eyes narrowed. You can see through my cultivation? Chen Fan frowned. This hidden person was probably even more terrifying than he had imagined. It's true that even I can't tell when you hide your breath, and this means of hiding your breath is a bit odd, but I've been observing you for more than a moment, judging from that battle you had with the Sphinx Emperor Poison Scorpion before. You should be amid clasping Dan Realm, am I right? The voice laughed. Chen Fan took a low breath. Three hours ago, he did encounter a fifth realm demon king Sphinx Royal Poison Scorpion. At that time, there was no one nearby. So Chen Fan went all out in order to have a quick battle and slaughtered that fifth realm demon king with two shovels. I didn't realize that there was a pair of hidden eyes that had been watching him since that time. And he, all the while, was unaware of it. Don't worry, I mean you no harm. Instead, I want to give you a little something, but I also want you to do something for me, the voice said. Chen Fan narrowed his eyes and said, Senior is an ancient powerhouse trapped within the earth spirit abyss? Ha, if you were a great power, would you still be trapped here? I'm too lazy to share my tragic story, and if you weren't the strongest junior to enter the Earth Spirit Abyss over the years, I wouldn't bother with you, the voice said. Chen Fan pondered for a moment and said, What does Senior want me to do? Do you know the Immortal God Island? The voice asked. Immortal God Island? Chen Fan froze, he was fine and had read many ancient books, but he had never heard of the existence of the Immortal God Island. The Immortal God Island that this guy said, it couldn't be the Sin Immortal Island in my body, right? but it's not right. The heavenly sea pearl appeared on the blue star, and those people on the island, they don't know about the existence of the Xi'an spirit continent. The two, it shouldn't be an island. Chen Fan's mind flew around and shook his head. Never heard of it. Well, that's also true. Considering the strength of all of you trialists, the region you are in should not be qualified to come into contact with an existence such as the immortal god island. However, your talent is not bad so perhaps you will have the opportunity to go out and contact the immortal god island in the future. The voice laughed. Chen Fan's eyes flickered lightly as he said, Is Senior wanting me to find the deceased person on immortal god island to help Senior get out of the trap? No, you just need to bring them one thing for me. The voice said. Chapter 79, Chase Again. Die, delivering something? Chen Fan froze. But I don't know where the immortal god island is. And besides, this immortal god island that Senior is talking about. It shouldn't be something that anyone is qualified to ascend to, right? Chen Fan said, that is natural, but I think you have the opportunity. Moreover, although I am delivering this matter to you, I will not require you to complete it within a limited time. As long as you have the opportunity to ascend the Immortal God Island in the future, you will be able to deliver what I am going to deliver to the Island Master, the voice said. Chen Fan said, then what if I can't climb up to the Immortal God Island even after a lifetime of exhaustion? The voice was silent for a moment and said, then it can only be counted as my bad luck, but I've waited for too many years and don't want to wait any longer, and I may not be able to meet someone more suitable than you in the future. Chen Fan said, 
since senior can have this kind of mindset, then I promise. In fact, after hearing that it was just a gift, Chen Fan had no intention of refusing. For one thing, the owner of this voice was highly unpredictable, and who knew if he would be directly obliterated by the other party after refusing. Secondly, if you promise something in this situation, when you go out, if you can help, if you can't, what can this person do to him? All right, since you have agreed, then go forward another 30 miles. After entering the chaotic spirit area, I will deliver the things gifted to you, as well as the things entrusted to you, together, the voice said. Chen Fan was surprised. Chaotic spirit area? Well, the chaotic spirit area is the most dangerous place within the earth spirit abyss, and the place you are in nowadays is actually still an outlying place of the earth spirit abyss. Of course, as long as you are careful, the chaotic spirit zone is not too dangerous for you, but remember, don't touch those white lights that move in the air. Those white lights are actually the divine mansion gaps that are free in this space. Once you are sucked into it, it will be difficult to come out from it again. The voice said, the light of the scintillating sky is a divine mansion gap? This divine mansion, could it be the remnants of a divine mansion of a divine mansion realm powerhouse? Chen Fan was shocked. The voice laughed. I didn't expect you to know about the divine mansion realm. It seems that your background outside is not simple. As far as I know, in this region where you are, the immortal infant realm is already pitifully rare, and the divine mansion realm has hardly ever appeared. Chen Fan said, although it has never appeared, it is recorded in the books. If those white lights that shimmer and move in the air are all divine mansion gaps that remain here, doesn't that mean that many divine mansion realm powers once fell here? The voice fell silent and said, divine mansion realm, what kind of a great power is that? It's just cannon fodder for that battle back then. All right, you don't need to know too much about these. Knowing too much won't actually do you any good. Those people outside let you in. Actually want you to explore the earth spirit abyss and obtain ancient messages. After you go out, do not mention the matter of talking with me to anyone, and do not show your wealth in front of people. Otherwise, those people will definitely find ways to search your soul and seize your memories. Chen Fan's eyes narrowed, and this point had occurred to him as well. The Qingzhou Mansion had taken the trouble to open the ceiling ban and let them enter the earth spirit abyss at no cost and the harvest also belonged to the trialists themselves, so if he said that he did not have any plans at all, Chen Fan did not believe it at all, perhaps the green state house is just waiting, or perhaps, they've already had some underhanded maneuvers that no one just knows about, I'll wait for you ahead, those little guys, they're about to come after us too, whether to kill or avoid, you decide for yourself, no more sound came after those words, Chen Fan narrowed his eyes and used the shovel to write three words on the ground, chase again, die, afterward, he swept towards the direction of the chaotic spirit region with a single movement of his body. This time, he didn't have five lines digging together, but along the current deep valley, straight into the forward. And naturally, when he came across spiritual materials on the way, he wouldn't let them go. Swish swish swish. Soon, for silhouettes swept and moved, staying at the place where Chen Fan had left his words. Boo! Zhou Buchuan blasted his palm on the ground, blowing out a small pit where Chen Fan had left his words. What arrogance! Even I, Zhuo Buchuan, am threatened. Ha, hey, I'm getting more and more curious about this group. As Zhuo Buchuan laughed angrily, ferocious killing intent erupted from his eyes. Among his peers, no one had ever dared to threaten him like this. There isn't a group of people. Perhaps, there is only one person. Shirzi Feng Xianting said in a low voice. One person? How is this possible? Beside Feng Xianting, a feminine looking man with a shocked face said. This person's name was Hong Hao a demonic genius of the Tianshui sect, one of the five great sections. At only 27 years old, he was also already at the early stage of the Spirit Lake Realm. To be able to step into the Spirit Lake Realm cultivation before the age of 30, not only in the Qingzhou prefecture, but in terms of the entire Longxia sacred dynasty, one could be called a demonic talent. One must know that of the nearly 1 million young martial cultivators of this generation within the Qingzhou prefecture's territory, there were only five who could step into the Spirit Lake Realm before the age of 30. The five great demons, except for Feng Xianting who was the son of the Qingzhou prefecture, the other four, were the senior disciples of four of the five great clans, among the five great sects. The heavenly treasure sect was also the only one that did not have a stunning demonic genius. Zhang Feng was now 25 years old, and his cultivation level was the great circle of the true spirit realm, so it was likely that he was the next demonic genius. But naturally, he had taken a lot of pills, but he just couldn't step into the spirit lake realm. That was why he wanted to find another way to borrow the power of the Purine Furnace Cauldron to help himself break the shackles and step into the Spirit Lake realm. However, it is a pity that the stove tripod raised dozens of. He in addition to become weak some, the bottleneck is still not half a little loose meaning. 
Right now, Feng Xinting stared at the place where Chen Fan had sat and said, See for yourselves, there are only traces of a person sitting here. Moreover, this whole way over, I also noticed some of those earth pits, and they all seem to have been dug out by the same tool. If it's really a person, then this person's speed is a bit too terrifying. Hong Hao's face showed his gravity as he said. Then he looked at Feng Xianting and asked, World Sun, then are we still chasing after him? Feng Xianting shook his head and said, 30 miles further on, it should be the chaotic spirit zone, so it's better if we don't chase after them hastily. Zhou Butuan frowned and said, World Sun, we've already chased all the way here. Do we really want to be scared off just because of a few words left by the other party? Moreover, that chaotic spirit area is where our true destination for this trial lies, and we were supposed to go there as well. Feng Xianting laughed. Senior brother Zhuo has misunderstood. We are not being scared off. We just don't feel the need to chase after them any further. If we chase after him further, it would also go against our original intention of entering the earth spirit abyss. Because of a stranger, delaying the opportunity for us to seek our own opportunities, even if we catch up, it's still not worth the loss. Although we must go to the chaotic spirit area, we can't be the only ones to go. Ah, we always have to bring up others. Jobuchuan laughed coldly in his heart, speaking in a grandiose manner. But in fact, it's still not fear. It's really the same hypocrisy as your old man. Everyone, this matter ends here. Let's all return first. Feng Xianting arched his hand and smiled. What Shitsi said makes sense. Then we'll return. Hong Hao and another youth made a salute and smiled. Okay, then I also returned. I hope that the bat can run into this kid. At that time, hum, Zhou must call him to know that madness is to pay the price. Zhou Buchu and coldly laughed, twisted his body and took a step out. His body shape was as fast as a meteor, disappearing in the blink of an eye. Chapter 80, it's a gift for you. It's only 30 miles. For Chen Fan, it didn't take long to cross over easily. Ahead, it really became different. The space became even darker. And in the distance, there was a hidden light that shook and flickered, like a sign before a thunderbolt exploded. But the entire space was dead silent, not to mention the thunder, the aura that flowed in the space. Although it was much denser, the aura here was extremely violent and it was no longer suitable for human cultivation. If these violent auras were forcibly incorporated into the meridians, it would definitely cause unimaginable trauma to the meridians. The real dangers seemed to be all here. Chen Fan gripped the soldier's shovel tightly and walked towards the front. On the ground, there were pieces of broken blades and air-dried bodies everywhere. Click 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 dash. Suddenly, a mechanical-like sound came from a deep valley on the left. Chen Fan was about to go over to take a look when two ragged and expressionless youths, Craning their stiff-looking necks and dragging their steps, came clumsily toward Chen Fan. That's an incorruptible corpse, or an undecaying corpse that can move. Chen Fan froze slightly. The faces are cleaner than zombies, and more powerful than zombies as well. There seems to be more than a dozen uncommon forces hidden inside these incorruptible zombies. If he had seen these things in his previous life, Chen Fan wouldn't be able to say that he would still be shocked. But nowadays, he was not afraid at all. And instead, he was a bit curious. These two incorruptible corpses looked clumsy and did not move fast. Chen Fan waited for a while before the other party moved to him. With his spiritual sense, he could clearly perceive that the more than ten forces hidden within these two incorruptible corpses were capable of easily exterminating any spirit lake realm primordial realm. Of course, the premise was that the spirit lake realm primordial realm would be hit. Swish. After getting closer, the two originally slow-moving incorruptible corpses suddenly erupted with amazing speed raising their hands in unison to condense their fists and blasted at Chen Fan. Chen Fan coldly smiled and moved his body like electricity, easily avoiding the attack of the two corpses. Swish, two corpses, feet and feet stomped on the ground, actually flying up in the air, palm and arm whirl around, a channel of violent spiritual power, gathered in front of the two corpses. Boom, the incorruptible corpse on the left, both fists violently handed out, and at once, the violent fist power, rumbling rushed and rolled. The momentum was like 10,000 elephants rushing, and domineeringly bombarded and pressed against Chen Fan. Chen Fan became more and more amazed. This non-decaying corpse was even able to condense martial arts. Miku. Chen Fan smiled faintly, and a force of his own energy rushed out forcefully, transforming into a curved green aura that blocked three meters in front of his body. Boom boom boom. Although the undecaying corpse's fist power was ferocious and fierce, Chen Fan was at the middle stage of the clasping Dan realm cultivation and even if it was only a shield of chi power, it was not something that the undecaying corpse's fist power could break through. At this time, the attack of the other incorruptible corpse had also been coalesced and completed. His arms made a vertical chopping gesture, and at that moment, a huge golden yellow blade shadow descended from the sky, 
ferociously chopping down on the green arc shield in front of Chen Fan. Boom! The green arc shield shook fiercely and did not break. Chen Fan's eyes, however, snowed up. Could this be where the opportunity of the inheritance lies? But how can I obtain the powerful battle skills on this incorruptible corpse? He was at the clasping Dan realm to be able to easily withstand the attack of these two incorruptible corpses. If this were to be replaced by the spirit lake realm, even if he wasn't blasted into slag by the fist power, he would most likely be chopped into mush by that huge golden yellow blade shadow just now. Seeing that both strikes failed to decapitate Chen Fan, the two incorruptible corpses also froze for a moment, and then turned around mechanically in unison, heading towards the direction behind them in the air. Undecaying corpses can escape too? Chen Fan was a bit confused. Shouldn't this thing be humongous? Although he still didn't know how to get the inheritance from the undecaying corpse, Chen Fan wouldn't let these two things get away. With a single movement of his body, he appeared in front of the undecaying corpse in the blink of an eye. The soldier's shovel in his hand, wrapped in a strong spiritual power, swung down angrily, a strong oppressive force, vibrating in the air above the heads of the two undecaying corpses. Boom! With such a powerful amount of bombardment pressure, how could the incorruptible corpses withstand it? And all of a sudden, they crumbled away and turned into countless flotsam. At the same time, there were dozens of streams of light that fled in all directions like lightning. Chen Fan coldly smiled, and with a tug of his palm in the air, he imprisoned one of the streams of light and grabbed it. This stream of light is actually a remnant of consciousness. In the residual consciousness, there are no side memories, only a set of booming thunder palm seal cultivation method. No wonder these incorruptible corpses can use martial arts. It turns out to be the power of these residual consciousnesses that are manipulating the incorruptible corpses. After checking out the essence of the flowing light's existence, Chen Fan was astonished. However, for this kind of martial skill inheritance, Chen Fan was not rare. The inheritance base possessed within the Sin Immortal Island could be much more powerful than these in the Earth Spirit Abyss. Chen Fan continued to walk forward. There seemed to be a few white rays of light in the dimly lit space that drifted toward him, the light of the shimmering sky. Chen Fan's heart was in awe. Even though he was a great artist, he didn't want to be detained in the Divine Mansion. The existence of a Divine Mansion, Chen Fan had only heard about it so far but had never actually seen it. He only knew that when a martial cultivator was powerful to a certain extent, he would be able to open up a divine mansion within his body for the immortal infant. Swish swish swish. When several flickering lights approached Chen Fan, the speed of air skimming increased violently at the same time, and Chen Fan used his stance to avoid it. Senior, I have arrived at the chaotic spirit area. Seeing that the voice never reappeared, Chen Fan arched his hand and said, Ha, just getting ready. The voice came with a light laugh. Ahead. There was a black light, pushing the space cascading like a wave, seemingly trying very hard to penetrate over. Chen Fan's eyes narrowed and his spiritual sense probed over, only to realize that the black light was actually bound by hundreds of forbidden forces that were blocking it from moving forward. This black light, what exactly is it? Chen Fan's heart sank, bound by so many prohibitions, it was definitely not an unusual item. This thing, if he brought it out, in case it caused a disaster, it was not something he could handle right now. Boom 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 boom. As the black light endeavored to rush forward, the power of the restraints that bound the black light collapsed and broke away. One by one. In the end, the band broke down as much as it could. Buzz. A black coffin suddenly pierced through the void and smashed down in front of Chin Fan with a loud bang. The black sarcophagus, only a meter long and 30 centimeters wide, and had been sealed. The body of the coffin was engraved with golden arcane runes, and when one looked at it, they felt dizzy. Chen Fan completely did not expect that the one that broke through the layers of forbidden power would be a coffin. What's more, I didn't expect it to be such a small coffin. Could it be that this is filled with the senior's aborted descendants? Letting me send it to a mortal god island just so that I can let his descendants return to their roots? Chen Fan could not help but guess. This coffin, is a gift for you? Just as Chen Fan was speculating, the voice smiled faintly. Chen Fan's face jerked. What the hell? A coffin as a gift? It's so small. He can't lie down. This coffin, called the Soul Returning Coffin, is an extremely rare treasure even in our time. You should put it away first, and after you go back and refine it, you will know its wonderful use, the voice said. Chen Fan rubbed his nose. Although he was a bit dissatisfied with this gift, he still arched his hand and said, Many thanks senior. What about the things senior asked me to bring? It's inside the Soul Returning Coffin. When you refine the Soul Returning Coffin, you will be able to open it, the voice said. Chapter 81, Picking Up Rags. Chen Fan frowned lightly, so he couldn't even know what exactly the thing he brought out was right now? What's inside? Chen Fan asked. Not being able to see, he had to ask. The voice was silent for a moment and said, It's a smaller coffin. The corners of Chen Fan's mouth twitched lightly, 
A small coffin in a large coffin? When Chen Fan wanted to ask again what was in the small coffin, the voice said, I have exhausted my strength in order to get this soul returning coffin out, and I am about to enter slumber. Also, the commotion just now has already alerted the other trialists, and they should soon gather in the chaotic spirit area. If you don't want to expose your identity, put away the soul returning coffin and leave this place before they arrive. The commotion of the soul returning coffin breaking through the hundreds of prohibitions just now was indeed not small. Even though those people were in the distance and didn't know exactly what was going on, just a little bit of commotion was enough to draw them over. After all, in their opinion, the movement in the earth spirit abyss was likely where the opportunity lay. Chen Fan was silent for a moment, but finally waved his hand and put the soul returning coffin into the Xian Kong ring. Don't worry senior, if I have the opportunity to set foot on immortal god island in the future, I will fulfill what senior has entrusted me with. Chen Fan arched his hand and said, the voice did not reply again probably having fallen into a deep sleep. Chen Fan's gaze turned to the area in front of him where the aura was rippling and the light and shadow were flickering. He didn't intend to leave just like that, although the harvest was quite a lot. But who would be contented with a mountain of treasures in front of him? Start picking up the trash. Chen Fan raised his right hand, and suddenly a piece of golden blade head exploded out of the ground 10 meters away and fell into his palm. The head of the blade was about 20 conventions long, from wide to narrow, only two palms in size, but weighing a hundred pounds. This blade head, fused with quite a bit of Xian brass, after returning it to the furnace, we can get at least 10 pounds of Xian brass and 80 pounds of golden spirit iron. Regardless of the Xian brass and golden spirit iron, this is a divine material that those refiners can only dream of. Chen Fan smiled and put the head of the blade into the Xian Kong ring. He didn't care about secret techniques, but divine weapons, he needed them. Without a complete divine weapon, a broken weapon would be fine. Of course, for those who didn't know how to refine weapons, these remnants of soldiers, were pure scrap metal. Chen Fan was not proficient in refining weapons and would only forge some trinkets, but there were capable people on Sin Immortal Island. All the way to avoid the light of the scintillating sky, blast away the approaching incorruptible corpses. Not half an hour, he picked up a few thousand pounds of scrap iron, and at this time, the other trialists who were originally digging for spirit materials in the deep valleys were also like a great migration of beasts, from the various deep valleys, frantically rushing to the chaotic spirit area. According to their original plan, the first five days were mainly spent digging for spiritual materials in the safe area to enhance their strength, and the second five days were used to enter the chaotic spirit area to explore. And today, it was only the fourth day since they entered the earth spirit abyss. They were all attracted because of a black light that seemed to be moving as if it could push against the sky. No one knew what that black light was, but they decided that it must be where the greatest opportunity of their trip lay. The black light is mine. I am the heavenly ordained lord of that black light. Hundreds of people swarmed into the chaotic spirit zone and began to search for the falling black light. Spread out and look. If it is an opportunity, I, Zhuo Buchuan, when ruthless, must return it to me. Zhuo Buchuan coldly smiled and waved his hand, and the Arc Sword sect disciples behind him scattered quickly. Senior brother Zhuo's ability to change words is first rate. Feng Xianting laughed lightly. Zhuo Buchuan laughed. Your son is joking. If Shitsi's people had found that black light true body first, Zhuo would not have robbed it by force. Feng Xianting smiled and said, then it's each to their own luck. Spread out. Feng Xianting waved his hand, and behind him, 70 to 80 silhouettes, scurried out. Originally, there were 99 people who came in with him, but in the past few days, there have been some losses. Jibuchuan's eyes darkened. In terms of massive power, no one here could compare to world son Feng Xianting. Senior sister, let's spread out and take our chances as well. Luo Chen Jun couldn't help but remind you Fingha when he saw that she hadn't made a move yet. Mikado frowned. Don't you feel anything wrong here? Luo Qianjun laughed. Senior sister, this is a chaotic spirit area. Isn't it right that something is wrong? Royal wind he raised an eyebrow. You're right. What's wrong with this is that this place is too calm. According to reason, with so many of us coming, we will surely attract the undecaying corpses to come. But why is it that not a single undecaying corpses has appeared? Luo Qianjun was a bit speechless. Wasn't it a good thing that there were no undecaying corpses? Then, According to senior sister's meaning, we're just going to stand there? The chances are limited. If we hesitate any longer, we won't get anything, Luo Qianjun said in a deep voice. Mikado Ho's eyes lowered slightly as he said, Go on, be careful all of you, I hope you all make it out alive. By the time she reached the chaotic spirit zone, she wouldn't be able to protect everyone. Life and death can only be lived in peace. Go! Luo Qianjun waved his hand and rushed out. The terrain of the chaotic spirit area was a bit more open than the deep valley in the back, but the ground was a mess, with broken walls everywhere, and vaguely, 
the remnants of some collapsed palaces could be seen. Here, is where the mountain gate of that great clan was located back then, and the further you go, the more you will be able to contact the core of this clan. That's something most people know before they come in. Brother, I didn't see that interesting chi practicing realm kid, he shouldn't be dead already, right? In the dimly lit space, the two silhouettes walked side by side, and Ling Hu listening rain suddenly asked with a smile. Ling Hu Guanshan's gaze was cold and sharp, his eyes were filled with a layer of purple light, and he was scouting around for abnormal aura fluctuations. Hearing Ling Hu hearing Rain's question, Ling Hu Guanshan said indifferently, with his little strength, it would only be normal for him to die, it would be strange if he could walk here alive. Brother, you're so meaningless, Ling Hu listening Rain was exasperated. Ling Hu Guanshan's eyes suddenly lit up and said, but I found something interesting. Boom, Ling Hu Guanshan blasted out with a palm, sending a piece of debris flying out, and underneath, there was actually a greenish-black longsword lying. This greenish-black longsword, even though no one was driving it, still had a hidden and powerful sword aura that haunted the entire sword body. Brother, this is an immortal soldier. It's definitely an immortal soldier without a doubt. Ling Hu listening Rain said in surprise, it should be a lower-grade immortal weapon. With this sword alone, we've made this trip worthwhile. Ling Hu Guanshan smiled faintly. He reached out and pulled out a spiritual energy, absorbing it towards the green and black longsword and as he watched the long sword fly towards him, a strong blade energy suddenly swept in diagonally, cutting off the chi tug between Ling Hu Guanshan and the green and black long sword. The green and black long sword clanked and crashed back to the ground. A murderous aura chilled in Ling Hu Guanshan's eyes, and he raised his eyes towards the direction where the knife chi was swinging from. Although I don't use a sword, this sword, still belongs to me. Zhuo Buqiuan smiled ferociously. If you are not convinced, you can fight me. As long as you can win against me, not only does this sword belong to you, even the ring on my finger also belongs to you. Do you know who I am? Ling Hu Guanshan asked coldly. Zhuo Buqiuan laughed coldly. I don't care who you are. The people here, except for the world's son, I don't dare to move. The others, I can move whoever I want. Chapter 82 Blood Moon Wolves Zhuo Buqiuan showed a cold smile on his face. Even if it was a demon from another big clan, he didn't put it in his eyes, let alone a little stranger that he hadn't even seen before. My surname is Ling Hu. Ling Hu Guanshan said coldly. Zhu Buqiuan's face, violently changed, and said in a deep voice, Is it that Ling Hu? Ling Hu Guanshan sneered. Is there a second Ling Hu within the Qingzhou prefecture? Zhu Buqiuan took a low breath, then arching his hand as if he had changed his face. He smiled and said, In that case, I won't rob this immortal sword. Other people's face cannot be given, but the face of the Ling Hu family, always have to be given. Both of you, I will see you again. Zhuo Buqiuan laughed, turned around and flew away. But his voice, however, echoed in this space, and those who heard the laughter almost all looked towards the side of Ling Hu Guanshan and Ling Hu listening rain. Many of them, even had obvious hatred in their eyes. This mongrel, Ling Hu Guanshan cursed angrily in his heart. Although he wasn't afraid of these people anymore, it was natural that he would be uncomfortable being stared at all the time with a hateful gaze. Ling Hu listening rain weakly stood towards Ling Hu Guanshan and pretended to be scared. Brother, their gazes are so scary. It seems like they all want to kill us. Ling Hu Guanshan swept towards those gazes in the surroundings and faintly said, If you want to kill us, you should weigh yourselves first. If you don't want to die, stay away from us. Boom. The breath of Ling Hu Guanshan's true spirit realm grand circle blasted out, and countless broken rocks and withered debris lifted away, regardless of whether they were curious or hateful. When the people around saw how fierce Ling Hu Guanshan was, their bodies all involuntarily dodged backward. The strength of Ling Hu Guanshan was not as strong as Zhuo Buqiuan, but it was much stronger than the cultivation of these people. The two of them, the brother and sister, one was a true spirit realm grand circle while the other was in the middle of the true spirit realm. With such a combination of strength, ordinary people simply did not dare to commit it. Humph, how come this Ling Hu family has also entered the earth spirit abyss? Yeah, how did they get the quota? The housemaster has personally said that he won't allocate places to the Ling Hu family anymore. Most likely they've taken someone else's spot. It's also true that top great families like this have their own means. When the names were recorded, I'm sure the house master knew about it, but still let them in. In the last Earth Spirit Abyss trial, the Linghu family produced a god-killing figure, and because there were too many people who died at the hands of that god-killer, it stirred up public anger, and the Qingzhou government was pressured to finally decide to cancel the Linghu family's qualification for the trial, but no one expected, or told the Linghu family to mix in too. The Qingzhou government's painless punishment of the Linghu family was naturally due to the powerful strength of the Linghu family. Within the Qingzhou prefecture domain, 
there were only two immortal infant realm powerhouses among the righteous martial cultivators. The Linghu family, then, accounted for one. This, the bottom line of the Linghu family, was also the arrogant capital of the Linghu Guanshan and Linghu Hearing Rain duo. No one came to disturb him again. So Linghu Guanshan picked up the green and black long sword again. Only on the sword, there were also two words engraved on it, broken water. This broken water should be the name of this immortal sword. Listening rain, this sword is suitable for you to use. So put it away and go back and refine it. Linghu Guanshan smiled dotingly and handed the broken water immortal sword. To Linghu listening rain, Linghu listening rain, however, bristled and said, I don't like this sword name. It's too tacky. It's better for you to use it. Brother, you can do whatever you want anyway, and you don't talk about it. Linghu Guanshan just smiled a warm smile. A precious existence like the immortal sword could not be found ten times in the entire Qingzhou prefecture. Why would Linghu Hearing Rain not want it just because of a name? She just wanted Linghu Guanshan to keep it for herself. The siblings marched through the rubble, and no one dared to approach them. On the other side, there were cries of alarm. Run! The undecaying corpse has come to life. I've got one on my side. Everyone must be careful in dealing with. Ah! In the land on all sides, several incorruptible corpses flew through the air, killing and injuring more than a dozen people in the blink of an eye. Zhuo Buqiuan, Hong Hao, Royal Wind Lotus, and the others, who were highly skilled and bold, killed towards the nearby incorruptible corpses. Although the undecaying corpse attacked strongly and had no fear of death and pain, as long as the undecaying corpse was blown up, it would be possible to capture the remnants of the consciousness and obtain the inheritance of a powerful martial skill. These secrets were unknown to the general public, but to the five great sects and the Qingzhou prefecture. Naturally, they had long since ceased to be secrets. As the smell of blood filled the air, a pair of scarlet eyes brightened up from afar. Blood. Blood moon wolves. Finished. Aren't the blood moon wolves only in the depths? How come they appeared at the edge of this chaotic spirit area? Who knows about that? Right now. We can either retreat back to the deep valley, or we can only fight with these beasts. It's too late to retreat. They have already rushed over. Surprisingly, all of them have stormed out with blood chi. Where is such a great revenge? Cut the crap and kill. Kill. The trialists were filled with bitterness. They didn't provoke this group of blood moon wolves. Ah, how did this group of blood moon wolves just like the dead wolf king all went crazy? Each and every one of them was in a berserk state, with blood chi lingering around them, and their battle power was extremely strong. If it wasn't for the fact that the trialists had a slight advantage in numbers, and there were some spiritual treasure objects that could defend against the attack, I'm afraid that the blood moon wolves would be able to kill quite a few of the trialists with just a single charge. What they didn't know, however, was that a huge adult male wolf carcass did lie more than five miles back. Chen Fan had chased this wolf king all the way from the inside, and had finally injured it severely here, with his life hanging in the balance. Chen Fan had wanted to move a beast soul into this wolf king, but he realized that an extremely special forbidden power had been branded into the bloodline of this wolf king. This forbidden power restricted these demonic beasts from leaving the earth spirit abyss alive at all. Chen Fan had no choice but to give up and blasted the wolf king to death with one palm, storing the wolf king's body into the ring and preparing to bring it back for a pot of wolf meat stew. Of course, the most precious thing was the demonic elixir in the wolf king's body. Hmm, suddenly, Chen Fan raised his eyebrows and realized that after the death of the wolf king, those blood moon wolves that had fled and scattered out were actually rushing towards the trialists and were frantically trying to slaughter the human trialists without sparing any of their roots torrential blood chi. Chen Fan guessed that these blood moon wolves knew that they couldn't beat him and couldn't avenge the wolf king, so they transferred the power of their hatred to the other trialists. This is too unlucky for them, isn't it? Chen Fan rubbed his nose, he didn't do it on purpose. The strength of these blood moon wolves was originally at the third realm, and after their blood chi exploded, their battle power was even fiercer. Among the trialists, although there were quite a few at the true spirit realm, there were even more at the foundation establishment realm. Between the fights, many of the foundation establishment realms had already shown despair in their eyes, feeling that death was fast approaching them. I came here to take the opportunity. I can't just die like this. I can't die either. I've dug up so many spirit materials and haven't refined them yet. How can I die? Pust. A ferocious and sharp wolf claw suddenly passed through the shadow of the sword and ruthlessly struck through the chest of the trialist. No, I'm not willing to. Click. Unwillingly, the voice tumbled to the ground with a click. The five elements formation rises. Boom. Immediately, the light of a formation rose up to the sky, instantly enveloping a hundred meter radius into the formation. As soon as the formation was stabilized, more than ten golden light swords suddenly fell down above the formation, blasting and chopping at those blood moon wolves trapped in the formation. It's the five elements sex five elements formation technique. Great. We're saved. Boom. 
The crowd was chanting in excitement when the next moment the formation was surrounded by dozens of blood moon wolves joining forces to bombard it furiously. The five elements formation was short-lived and was broken with a bang. As for the people in the main formation, a mouthful of blood sprayed wildly and fell towards the back. No one helped them over at all. With such a soft heart, no wonder you are so effeminate. Chen Fan sighed quietly, and with a single movement of his body, he rushed towards Changle. Chapter 83, Don't Detain My Soul, Okay? When the five elements formation was forcibly blasted through by the blood moon wolf, Changle, who was the person in charge of the formation, would naturally suffer a backlash. Am I going to die here? Spewing out a large mouthful of blood, Changle felt like all her strength had been drained out of her body, and before her vision blurred, she seemed to see several blood moon wolves pouncing towards her. I didn't think I'd die like this. With a bitter laugh, Changle leaned backwards and fell to the ground. Damn, this five element sex trash. What's the point of showing off when you don't have any skills? I haven't even taken a breath yet. And this blood moon wolf is pouncing again. Ugh, he probably wants to help us too. But unfortunately he's too weak. Hooray, seeing four or five blood moon wolves pouncing on Changle. No one dared to go to the rescue. After all, it was already not easy to deal with one fierce wolf like this. To deal with four or five, it would be giving meat to the blood moon wolves. Seeing that Changle was about to die in the mouth of the wolf, a dark shadow like a swift thunderbolt, crossed the chaotic battlefield, and with just a wave of his right arm, a powerful force of chi was generated, blasting the four or five blood moon wolves out. Am I blinking? Surprisingly, someone blasted away four or five blood moon wolves with a single swing? With that kind of strength, even those five can't do it, right? It's too strong. It would be great if he could help us get rid of all these blood moon wolves. Seniors, swish, without waiting for these people to call for help, Chen Fan had already picked up Changle flashed his body, turned into a black shadow, and disappeared. Holy shit, don't just leave him alone. Save us too. Damn, seeing death and saving lives, even if you're strong, you're still worse than an animal. The group of people were struggling to cope with the blood moon wolves, and when they were more than half dead or wounded, the three of them, Royal Wind He, Hong Hao, and Feng Xian Ting flew into the air and joined the battle, which stabilized the situation and reduced the casualties. Senior Imperial Sister. Don't you want to try out your newly mastered martial skill? Feng Xianting asked with a smile as he palm blasted the blood moon wolf. Royal wind he said indifferently. Hasn't the world sun also refined a martial skill? Why don't you let us open our eyes as well? Feng Xianting laughed. In that case, then I'll try it first. 10,000 elephant palm seal. Boom. Feng Xianting's palm suddenly blasted out. The strong and unparalleled spiritual power was instantly transformed into countless giant elephants rushing out. In a matter of moments. Five or six blood moon wolves were knocked away by the giant elephant figures transformed by the spiritual power. And when they landed, their bones had already rotted like mud, and their faces tasted blood. Royal wind he raised an eyebrow and praised in astonishment. Good luck, world sun. Such a powerful palm print should undoubtedly be an immortal great martial skill. Feng Xian Ting hurriedly swallowed an elixir into his stomach before he laughed. It is indeed an immortal great martial skill. It's just that this kind of martial skill is really too consuming of spiritual energy. Royal Wind he smiled faintly and said, Your son is willing to be the first, so I won't hide my clumsiness. A body martial skill I obtained, called the Flowing Cloud Step, although it's only a spirit grade high grade martial skill, but with my Mountain River Sword Seal, it should have a good effect. As soon as the words fell from her mouth, her figure suddenly moved like a streaming shadow, interspersing in the middle of the battle. The light of the sword in her hand picked and stabbed, and one blood moon wolf fell to the ground and wailed. What a fast speed. What a subtle stance. Feng Xianting couldn't help but praise. World son, there was a person in the party who was even faster than senior imperial sister. It's just a pity that he showed up for a bit, saved a disciple of the five elements sect, turned around, and left. A person gritted his teeth and said. Feng Xianting raised an eyebrow. Are you sure he can be faster than imperial sister? Yes, many people saw it. It came and went like a lightning flash, and with a wave of his hand, he shook four or five blood moon wolves out. The person next to him reported. Feng Xuanting's eyes narrowed. Among us, there is still such a strong person? Have you gotten a good look at him? Do you know which clan's disciple he is? He was dressed in black robes, his face wore a tiger mask, and apart from being extremely fast, he didn't perform any martial arts, so he couldn't see his identity. Feng Xianting took a low breath and said, blasting away four or five blood moon wolves with a wave of his hand, this requires at least the middle stage of the spirit lake realm to be able to do it, right? After all, he had just gone all out and only blasted away five or six blood moon wolves. Then the one who grabbed the front of the others to dig for spirit materials must be this one. Perhaps, 
That five element sect disciple will know something. Feng Shuanting's eyes narrowed as he commanded. If you see that five element sect disciple again, invite him to meet me. Remember, it's please. Understood. With the three major spirit lake realms striking out, the blood moon wolves were quickly killed off. But the corpses lying on the ground were not just wolf demons either, or more than 20 human martial cultivators. Strange. According to demonic wolf habits, without the wolf king's order, the wolves will not engage in charging at will. If this was the wolf king's order, why didn't the wolf king appear even after the wolves were all dead? Royal wind he frowned. Feng Xian Ting laughed. I heard that the wolf king is a fifth realm demon king and can only stay in the depths and cannot set foot in this outer land. There are many mysterious restrictions within this earth spirit abyss. And these restrictions, too, are not just for us trialists. Mikado nodded and said. It's still Shitsi who knows more. He he. It's all just experience summarized by previous generations. Senior sister royal. Senior brother Hong. The wolf demon here has been extinguished. So it's time for us to each seek our own opportunities. Feng Xianting arched his hand and laughed. Yu Fingha and Hong Hao returned the salute. That should be the case. Shitsi, take care of yourself. Senior imperial sister. These demonic wolf corpses, as well as these people's Xin Kong rings, can't just be left here. Right? Hong Hao narrowed his eyes and smiled. Yu Feng he nodded and said. Senior brother Hong just make yourself at home. After saying that, Mikado Ho's figure flashed and flew away. Hong Hao's smiling gaze, looked around at the other trialists who survived, arched his hand and said, Gentlemen, the party was really treacherous to the extreme. If not for us, I'm afraid that all of you have no life. Shitsi is lenient. Imperial sister is noble. But I, Hong Hao, am more vulgar. I don't want you guys to repay me for the favor of saving me this time. But the things on this ground, all belong to me. You guys don't have any opinions, right? The crowd's face skin twitching. This ground is more than 20 Shin Kong Ring 50 or 60 wolf demon corpses ah, but a big fortune. But Hong Hao had opened his mouth, so how could they dare to have any colorful thoughts? Ahem, since that's fine. Yes, in order to save us, senior brother Hong also lost a lot of spiritual energy. Hong Hao narrowed his eyes and smiled. All of you are very knowledgeable. Hurry up and go find a safe place to rest for a while. The crowd smiled sarcastically and bowed out. More than 10 miles away. In a dilapidated pavilion with only three pillars left barely supporting it, Changel was lying on the ground, still unconscious, but his face had gradually regained its blood color. Chen Fan looked at the unconscious Changel, and a touch of amusement appeared on his face. I never thought that even I would have a day to cheat. Chen Fan let out a light laugh and reached out to squeeze in front of Changel's throat. That protruding throat knot. Squeeze the soft sticky, kind of fun. If it wasn't for the close contact, Chen Fan really didn't realize that Changel was covered by a thin soft leather mask from his neck to his forehead. Not only is her larynx fake, but even her face is fake. While women also have a laryngeal node, it does not usually protrude. And comparably, a man's laryngeal node is a bit more pronounced. Changeling didn't have enough of a protruding knot in his throat, so it wasn't too uncomfortable to have a small piece of soft gel padded on his throat. But that flat little chest looks like it should be real. Am I already dead? Between the fluttering eyelashes. Changel opened his eyes in a daze. Ah, are you the legendary ghost Rakshasa who detains souls? Upon seeing the masked Chen Fan, Changel was frightened and pleaded with red eyes. Please, don't detain my soul, okay? I still want to live. Oh, chapter 84, Bloodline Problems. What's the point of coming to the Earth Spirit Abyss if you want to live? Chen Fan said indifferently. Changel was just about to sit up and speak when Chen Fan reached out and pressed her shoulder. Lie down for a while longer. These little shoulders, soft and slippery through her clothes. Changel was a little too frightened to move, and asked weakly, I'm afraid I won't live long if I don't come here. Then please ask, me if I am dead or not? Chen Fan raised his eyebrows, you're still alive. I saved you. Why would you die even if you don't enter the earth spirit abyss? Changel said excitedly, I'm really not dead? I'm really still alive? Who says that good people don't live long? Aren't I still alive and well? He he, it's great. I'm still alive. Looking at the excited Changel, whose mouth always repeated the word alive. Chen Fan did not laugh at her. Perhaps it is a rare blessing to be able to continue to live when being alive has become a luxury. Chen Fan looked at Changel and asked, Your body, aside from a bit of a developmental problem, there doesn't seem to be any terminal illnesses? Changel panicked and covered his chest with both hands, busy saying, You, don't look at it. Chen Fan didn't have the good sense to say, Come on, not even standing. What else can I see when I'm lying down? But you've put your heart and soul into this disguise. Even the knot in your throat is padded out. That's for sure. Without a throat knot. I wasn't seen through. At a glance ah. You. You've already seen through me? Changdel exclaimed. 
Chen Fan laughed. Don't worry, even if you're a woman, you're safe with me. The corners of Chengle's mouth were lightly drawn, and she was a bit annoyed in her heart. What does that mean? Is a woman without breasts not a woman? Tell me, what happened to your body? Chen Fan asked again. This Chengle was warm and simple, so Chen Fan was willing to help her if he could. Anyway, he was now wrapped in black robes and wearing a mask, so Chengle wouldn't be able to recognize him afterwards. Chengle pursed his lips and after hesitating for a moment, he said, My problem exists in my bloodline. Chen Fan was surprised and raised his hand to grab Chengle's thin wrist and perceived it. Chengle blushed slightly, but didn't refuse. Although she couldn't see this black-robed man's face, she now felt an inexplicable sense of security. If it wasn't for him saving me, I'm sure I'd have been bitten by those blood moon wolves by now, right? I also don't know why he is wearing a mask. Could it be that in this world, there are really people who are too ugly to see? Chengdu looked at Chen Fan's masked side face and said in his heart. A moment later, Chen Fan released Chengdu's wrist. Chengdu looked as if there was nothing wrong, but if the spiritual sense entered her blood for a closer inspection, it could be discovered that there was another symbiotic force in her blood. But now this symbiotic force was constantly devouring her bloodline power. It was like a person who was transfused with blood. Although there was no xenophobia, it was subtly changing the original bloodline attributes of the transfused person. What was even more terrifying was that Chen Fan vaguely sensed a hidden sense of life from the power of this foreign blood body. At this rate, it really wouldn't take more than a few years for Changdel to cease to be Changdel. Not only would the bloodline in her body be completely replaced by the power of the foreign blooded body, but even her entire being would become another person. Or rather, a humanoid carrier that turns into a kind of Xena blood body. How did you find out that there was something wrong with your bloodline? Chen Fan asked. Standing guest laughed. I suddenly vomited blood twice for good reason. Or the kind that almost both died. Later, my father told me that the problem with my bloodline most likely originated from the Earth Spirit Abyss. Only by returning to the Earth Spirit Abyss will I be able to continue living. Chen Fan was surprised. So, you were born in the Earth Spirit Abyss? If not, how could the cause of Changdel's illness, a person from the outside, have originated in the Earth Spirit Abyss? Changdel blushed and said, No, my father said that I should have been conceived by my mother in the Earth Spirit Abyss. Chen Fan secretly said in his heart, Your parents are really good. Others are grabbing opportunities in the Earth Spirit Abyss. They are making children here. Seeing that Chen Fan didn't say anything, Changdel laughed, It's okay, I actually resigned myself to my fate a long time ago, and this time I came in here just to take my chances and see if I could solve the problem in my bloodline. Chen Fan was silent for a while before he said in a low voice, Your problem, indeed, is a bit tricky, if it was someone else, I might not bother. Changdel couldn't help but be excited. Could it be that you have a way to save me? Chen Fan slowly got up and said, If you want to save you, you still have to go to the place where your parents did their work back then. You should first think about whether or not your father has told you where that place is. Right now, I also happen to have some things to do. So you can think here while waiting for me. Ha, huh? is it safe here? Changdel twisted his head and looked in all directions. It was eerie and a bit scary. Chen Fan laughed. You're so timid. What's the point of showing off in the party? Stay. With a wave of Chen Fan's hand, spiritual energy poured down, transforming into a round, forbidding force that enveloped Changdel. As long as you don't come out, no one can hurt you. Chen Fan dropped a sentence, and his body moved away in a single bound. The stuff was pretty much collected but the people he was supposed to kill, he hadn't gotten around to it yet, so fast. Seeing Chen Fan disappear in the blink of an eye, Changle stunned a pair of big bright eyes. Changle is not big on anything, but his eyes are especially big. However, not long after Chen Fan left, Changle exclaimed that he felt his body shaking uncontrollably. It was as if, there was a force that wanted to break free from her body. A trail of bright red blood began to crawl up her skin, frightening Changle so much that her pink face paled and she curled up in fear. Son. You're back. Come to mother's side. A mysterious voice echoed in Changle's ears. Changeling was horrified. No, you're not my mother. My mother isn't even here. Son, I'm your other mother. Giggle. But soon, I'll be your only mother. Ha ha ha. The evil sound of laughter scared Changle so much that she covered her ears and shivered. And at this moment, Chen Fan, dressed in a black robe, swept within the chaotic spirit area. A pair of eyes, icy cold, sweeping over a silhouette. Find one. Exceptionally, Chen Fan spotted a familiar figure. Ha ha, it's actually an immortal cultivation technique. With this technique, I will be able to greatly increase my cultivation speed. The realm of clasping Dan is just around the corner. In the middle of a ruin, Luo Qianjun held a black jade block in his hand and laughed excitedly. This kind of black jade block was rarely seen outside today. But a long time ago, 
It was a common thing used in the martial arts world, called a jade slip. Jade slips can be used to transmit sound, can also be used to burn important messages. To understand is like the blue star on the memory card. It was only easier to read the information within the jade slip, just by probing his spiritual sense into it. The realm of clasping Dan, you are not to think about it. With an indifferent voice pouring into his ears, before Luo Qin Jun could see the silhouette, a powerful blade, whistling past, his head flew out. Thieves, how dare you kill the senior disciples in my sect? Leave your life behind. The sound of angry shouts exploded from the side. A figure flashed continuously, a powerful sword chi, stirring and blasting, chopping down on Chen Fan's front path. To be precise, if Chen Fan hadn't stopped in time, where the sword would have landed would have been on Chen Fan's body as he was sprinting. Chapter 85, He's So Strong? Chen Fan glanced at the Royal Wind Lotus who flew over and only faintly said, Don't seek death. The Royal Wind Lotus face twitched. This person was facing her, but he still had such a big mouth? Even if he didn't recognize himself, he should have seen the power of that sword just now, right? Royal Wind Lotus pointed forward with his sword and said in a cold voice, Killing a disciple of my sword sect, no matter who you are, you must pay for his life. Chen Fan shook his head. He really wasn't interested in playing with these people. Even if he cut Luo Qianzhuan's head with a shovel, Chen Fan did not intend to let Luo Qianzhuan know who killed him, because there's no point, dead people don't need to know too much, as long as the other person has a damn good reason to kill, just kill them, no need to go through the bullshit, and even less need to still reveal the identity of the murderer. These other trialists who entered the Earth Spirit Abyss were all minor characters to Chen Fan, and he really wasn't even interested in playing alone, seeing that after exhorting, the Royal Wind Lotus had no intention of backing down. Chen Fan stopped talking nonsense, his right hand suddenly lifted up, and a terrifying spiritual force, swirled up between his palms, the corners of the eyes of the corners of the eyes of the eyes of the royal wind lotus snapped, and his heart was horrified, the speed of this spirit gathering, is by no means something an ordinary spirit lake realm can do, in a matter of moments, a facepalm sized terrifying thundercloud had already coalesced in Chen Fan's palm, this thundercloud, was not the true power of thunder and lightning, but rather a form under the extreme frenzy of spiritual energy. Mikado Ho's face instantly went white, and her delicate body couldn't help but tremble a few times. If such a palm had blasted over, would she not have perished immediately? Is it still too late for me to leave now? Royal Wind Lotus clenched her red lips and said in a trembling voice. She could clearly feel the oppressive feeling that the palm brought to her. If the palm imprint arrived, she would definitely have no chance of survival. Naturally, she didn't want to die. Chen Fan froze a little amused in his heart, his mouth said lightly, not taking revenge for him, royal wind he said with a pale face, if it is within my ability, I, as a senior sister, should seek justice for my fellow disciples, but right now, I am clearly not your excellency's opponent, taking revenge is just giving away my life for nothing, Chen Fan indifferently said, then if I let you go now, am I not asking for trouble, the royal wind lotus pursed her lips and arched her hand, I also ask your excellency to have a thought of compassion and let me live, Phone he will never seek trouble from your excellency again. Chen Fan was surprised. Although he didn't know Makaz he, this woman had the cultivation of the spirit lake realm, and her status in the mountain river sword sect should not be low. Talented, highly placed, and still manages to be able to bend the rules. Moreover, on the basis of the fact that earlier, Royal Wind he had also fought to kill the blood moon wolf and saved many people. Chen Fan slowly dropped his palm and dispersed the power of his palm print. Begging for forgiveness in the face of an unbeatable force is not something to be ashamed of, Chen Fan said indifferently. Royal Wind Lotus face flushed and she owed her body. Thank you for being merciful. Chen Fan glanced at Luo Qianzhuan's headless corpse and said indifferently. As for this person, his character is corrupt and he should have been damned. Royal Wind his eyes twitched as he hurriedly said. So that's how it is. If the sect asks, Wind he will definitely report truthfully. As you wish, Chen Fan faintly said. His figure flashed, as fast as a shock and in an instant, he disappeared from the sight of Royal Wind Lotus, this speed, and that palm print he condensed just now, it seems to be a thunderstorm palm print, how can I remember that the thunderstorm palm print condensed by the sect elder was only the size of a bowl, can't it be that he's not even at the spirit lake realm, but at the clasping dan realm, but how could such a strong person appear in the earth spirit abyss, Royal Wind Lotus was trembling with horror in her heart, her chest rising and falling violently, feeling like her heart was about to come out in fear, just now, if she had conceded a little later, I'm afraid that at this moment there is already a body in pieces, with a wipe of his forehead, Mikado realized that at some point, he was already covered in cold sweat, as Mikazho sat cross-legged on the ground, adjusting his mind, he couldn't help but echo Chen Fan's words just now in his mind, 
Begging for forgiveness in the face of an invincible force isn't something to be ashamed of. This man is a strange one, scaring me half to death and then coming to comfort me. Is this for fear of damaging my Tao? But judging from his willingness to show mercy, this is not someone who kills innocents indiscriminately. That Luo Qianjuan's character really isn't very good. If it wasn't for the sake of fellow disciples, I wouldn't have taken this out for him. But who is he? Really? Swish. At this time, two silhouettes swept over. Mikado's face sank. What brings you here? Royal Wind Lotus said in a cold voice. Who was that person just now? He killed a disciple of your Mountain River Sword sect. And Senior Sister Royal actually let him go just like that? Jobuchu and narrowed his eyes. Just now. From a distance, they all saw Mikado Ho seemingly confronting a black robed man. But the black robed man soon left. It was too far away for them to hear what the two said. Having seen Luo Qianjuan's death at this moment, he roughly guessed something about the situation. Senior Imperial Sister. What did that person say to you just now? Can you sense his specific cultivation aura? Feng Xianting also asked excitedly. He had always had people looking for that little disciple of the Five Elements sect, only to have never found him. Unexpectedly, this black-robed man had unexpectedly reappeared on his own. In Feng Xianting's opinion, this black-robed man could not possibly be a trialist hidden amongst them. It was because there were and were only five of them in the entire Qingzhou Mansion's demonic geniuses. If a Sixth Spirit Lake Realm demonic genius appeared, it was impossible for the Qingzhou Mansion to not receive any news at all. Therefore, Feng Xianting was convinced that this black-robed man was most likely a person who survived in the Earth Spirit Abyss, and if that was the case, it would be a great discovery. After all, all the previous trialists who entered the Earth Spirit Abyss had never seen any living person other than the trialists. Therefore, Feng Xianting had to find the black-robed man and determine his identity no matter what. Royal Wind Lotus Green Eyebrows frowned coldly. Are you two interrogating me? Feng Xianting busily laughed. Senior Imperial Sister is joking. We're just too curious about that black-robed man. Zhou Buchuan didn't speak so politely as he sneered. He killed your Mountain River Sword sex disciple. Yet you didn't step in to avenge your fellow disciple. That's not right. That person can't be your lover. Right? I told you. When we went to hunt down that shameless thief who cut off people's money, even the son of the world invited you, but you still flatly refused. It turns out that there was an affair between you two a long time ago. Zhuo Buchuan. Stop talking nonsense. Royal Wind Lotus stood up angrily her face reddening with anger. When did she, a big innocent girl, have an affair with someone? Jobuchuan laughed evilly, not having a leg up. Why don't you kill him? I have seen it. You guys didn't even officially fight. Don't say you can't beat that set. Royal Wind Harvest laughed coldly. In that case, there's nothing more I can say. You want to know who he is. You go after him. Royal Wind Lotus thought for a moment and looked at Feng Xinting. But I advise the world son not to be impulsive. It's fine if that person can't catch up. But if they do, it's hard to say if they can escape death. Feng Shuanting's brows lifted. He's so strong? Could it be that he's really a spirit lake realm grand circle? Zhu Buchuan's face was dark on the side. This bitch advised Feng Xianting not to go after him, but encouraged him to go after him. What does this mean? Is she trying to get him killed? Damn. This is really the most poisonous woman's heart. Chapter 86 Tian Bo Sect asks for help. Because he was silent for a moment and said, I don't think he's a spirit lake realm great circle. Jobuchuan let out a sigh of relief and laughed coldly. Since it's not a spirit lake realm great circle, there's even less need to be afraid of him. Even if he is at the late stage of the spirit lake realm, as long as the five of us join forces and add some true spirit realms, it's more than likely not a problem to take him down. Feng Xianting, however, was not too optimistic. Sure enough, royal wind he gave Jobuchuan a cold look and hummed. I suspect he's a clutching Dan realm. Clasping Dan realm? Jobuchuan's face changed drastically and he couldn't help but scream. But then he laughed angrily. Royal Wind he, I think you've been scared silly. Those who enter the Earth Spirit Abyss, although there is no cultivation limit, there is an age limit. Anyone with a bone age over 30 years old who forcefully enters the Earth Spirit Abyss will be strangled by the force of the prohibition within the Earth Spirit Abyss the moment they enter. That's why it's impossible for anyone here to be more than 30 years old. And how could anyone before the age of 30 have the cultivation of the Clasping Dan Realm? Demons like us are only at the Spirit Lake Realm. If there really is such a supreme demon within the Qingzhou prefecture, how is it possible that we haven't heard of him? Royal Wind he hummed. You really think you're a genius when others call you a demonic genius? Don't forget that those at the top of the previous Dragon and Phoenix rankings, which one didn't step into the Clasping Dan realm before the age of 30? Zhu Butchuan's face flushed red as he said. Those aren't normal people. And how could they appear within the Qingzhou prefecture domain? Stepping into the Clasping Dan realm before the age of 30, such a supreme demon was not unheard of. It was just that it hadn't appeared within the Qingzhou prefecture domain. 
Feng Xianting said in a low voice, Both of you, haven't you ever thought that he might not even be one of us? Zhu Buchuan and Royal Wind Lotus froze, and then their eyes all fluttered. They all understood Feng Xuanting's meaning. It wasn't one of them, then it was someone within the Earth Spirit Abyss. Either they were born and raised in the area, or previous trialists didn't leave in time, but survived. But either way, the idea was explosive, and once the black-robed man was captured, he would definitely be able to get a lot of information. Even so, what does the world prince want to do? Mikado Hua's eyes flickered lightly as he asked tentatively. Feng Xinting said in a low voice, This person, he is very important to us. If he is willing to help us, we will definitely be able to gain more from this trial. However, he is godlike and clearly unwilling to engage with us much, so we can only devise a way to lure him to show himself and then talk to him. Royal Wind he shook his head and said, World son, I advise you to break off this idea. This person's strength is simply not something that we can handle. Moreover, from the fact that he made a move to kill my senior brother, it can be seen that his heart is not of the usual ruthlessness. Once you displease him, the consequences will be severe. Feng Xinting frowned, This man, he is a living great opportunity. Is Imperial Sister really not moved at all? How could I not be tempted? But I just picked up a life and don't want to risk it again. Royal Wind Lotus smiled faintly. Feng Xinting raised an eyebrow. He had planned to kill you? Royal Wind he shook his head. I was the one who was out of my depth. I wanted to kill him, but under the might of his martial arts, I was so stiff and numb that I couldn't even move. Zhou Buchuan said doubtfully, Then how come he let you go? I begged for mercy. Mikado said faintly. Zhou Buchuan and Feng Xinting couldn't believe it. How could Mikado beg for mercy? There was no shame on Mikado Ho's face as he smiled lightly. He said that begging for forgiveness in the face of an unbeatable force is not something to be ashamed of. Zhou Buchuan's face twitched as he grunted. Unbeatable force? This person is really pretending. The royal wind lotus got up and arched his hand. Both of you. I don't care what your schemes are, but I'm going to go for a spin. Farewell. Feng Xianting hurriedly said, Senior Imperial Sister, are you really not going to consider it anymore? I don't want to seek death. Both of you. I hope there will be another chance to meet again. As Royal Wind he dropped his last words, his body moved and landed next to Luo Qinjuan's corpse. To the extent that he didn't even take off senior brother Luo's Xin Kong ring, it's a sure sign that he didn't kill for the sake of grabbing resources. Can't it be that he really killed someone because he couldn't stand the sight of Master Luo's character? If that's really the case, why doesn't he go kill Zhu Buchuan? This asshole? A pang of doubt ran through Mikado Ho's mind. Achu, not far away. Zhu Buchuan, openly sneezed. He shrugged his nose in exasperation and cursed in displeasure. Who the hell is cursing the old man? Feng Shuanting speculation. Royal Wind he actually did not agree with it in his heart. Only she didn't say much. 4-1. If the black-robed man was someone within the Earth Spirit Abyss, would he still need to grab spiritual materials from other trialists? Secondly, if they were really to act on behalf of heaven and get rid of evil, how could these domineering people from the Arcblade sect still be jumping around? The sins on their bodies are not less than Luo Qianjun. So why on earth would he want to kill senior brother Luo? Could it be that senior brother Luo had once offended him? Seiji. Senior brother Zhua. Senior sister royal. Please go save our young patriarch. There's a black-robed man who wants to kill our young patriarch. Right at this moment, a hasty silhouette darted over, his face anxious as he shouted at Feng Xianting's trio. Boo! World son, you guys must come to the rescue. Tian Baozong knelt directly in front of Feng Xianting. Feng Xianting and Zhuo Buchuan looked at each other in astonishment. This black-robed man, who had just killed a talented disciple of the Mountain River Sword sect, was now going to kill the Tian Bao sect's young patriarch? Royal Wen he's face also changed slightly as he swept over and asked, Do you know why the black-robed man wanted to kill your family's young patriarch? I don't know, he didn't say anything, he came up and struck, and several of my sex masters and brothers have already lost their lives in his hands. If it wasn't for the young patriarch who saw the situation and hurriedly sacrificed the heavenly shield formation disc to protect himself, otherwise it would be hard to say what would happen now. But even with the protection of the heavenly shield formation, I'm afraid it wouldn't last long three senior brothers and sisters. At such a critical moment, please be sure to lend a helping hand and save my family's young patriarch ah. The heavenly treasure sect disciple sobbed uncontrollably. If the young patriarch died in the earth spirit abyss, even if those of them who accompanied him could leave the earth spirit abyss alive, they would most likely be dead when they returned to the heavenly treasure sect. Feng Xianting's eyes narrowed as he said, the black robes have repeatedly committed murders, and the person they want to kill this time is even the Tian Bao sect's junior patriarch. Senior Sister Royal, this is not something we can afford to ignore. Zhu Buchuan laughed coldly. Royal Wind He, don't be too cold. 
The Tian Bao sect's senior brother has knelt down and begged us. Are we still going to stand by and watch? Senior sister royal, please, save my family's young patriarch. Seeing this, the heavenly treasure sect disciple hurriedly knocked at royal Feng Huang for a while, his forehead cracking. It wasn't that he was so loyal to Zhang Feng, but if he wanted to live, Zhang Feng couldn't die. He was saving Zhang Feng, and even more so, he was saving himself. Then let's go over there together and take a look. Lead the way, Mikazho said in a deep voice. Many thanks to senior imperial sister. Many thanks to world son and senior brother Zhuo. Hurry up and get up and lead the way, Zhuo Butuan grunted, but his eyes hid a touch of excitement. He wanted to see this black-robed man, just how capable he was. Chapter 87, List of Haters. Senior brother Zhuo, the matter is important. Go and get Hong Hao and Xiesun over here as well, Feng Xinting said. Zhuo Butuan nodded his head and said, what Shitsi is considering is extremely true. In case this black-robed man is really a clasping Dan realm, with less assistance from those two, just by what we are, even with all of our bottom cards, we may not be able to help him. Zhang Feng had a life-preserving base card, the Heavenly Shield Formation Disc, and they, the precious geniuses of the various clans, naturally held some powerful base cards in their hands. Mikado frowned lightly, suddenly regretting it a little. Senior Imperial Sister Let's go over and take a look first. Don't worry. If we can reconcile, we don't wish to make a move. Feng Xinting laughed. Royal wind he said in a low voice. If you guys make a move, I will never help each other. After all, he just spared my life. Feng Xinting's eyes were cloudy, but he didn't say anything more. The heavenly treasure sect disciples were running fast in front, and the two of them followed one after the other, seven or eight miles away. A gigantic formation shadow that was golden and glittering with countless golden runes stood on the ground trapping a line of people whose faces were pale with fear within it. Chen Fan stood coldly outside the formation with a soldier's shovel in hand. The defensive power of this heavenly shield formation surprised him a little. With his strength, he had bombarded it several times in a row, and the formation shadow was still as solid as gold, without the slightest intention of crumbling. Although this heavenly shield formation was bound to break under a prolonged attack, it would also deplete too much of Chen Fan's spiritual energy. So after a few blasts that failed to break through, Chen Fan stopped. Your Excellency, I don't know why you have to kill me, but now you can see, this heavenly shield formation of mine, you can't break it at all, instead of being in such a stalemate, why don't we talk it out, where exactly have I, Zhang Feng, offended Your Excellency, and ask Your Excellency to make it clear, I am also willing to offer enough sincerity to resolve the conflict, in the heavenly shield formation, Zhang Feng strengthened his mind and arched his hand, although the defense of the heavenly shield formation was very strong, this was the earth spirit abyss, so he couldn't stay in this big turtle shell all the time, he was always going to get out, and if he couldn't reconcile, he still had to die. Zhang Feng was now very depressed. Their group, searching for opportunities in this area, and not knowing where the black-robed man appeared from, he suddenly wielded a strange shovel and killed him. If it wasn't for the fact that a few of his brothers and sisters had desperately rushed up and blocked the black robe for a split second, he might not have even had the chance to offer the heavenly shield formation kill you because you deserve to die. Chen Fan indifferently said, if you have the ability, just stay in here and don't come out. After Chen Fan finished speaking, he turned around and was about to leave. Since the heavenly shield formation was not easy to break, he had no intention of wasting time here. When Zhang Feng thought he was safe and collected the array disc, it wouldn't be too late for him to pick a time to kill. Chen Fan was just about to leave when three silhouettes swept in sharply. Shi Tzu, Imperial Sister, this is the man who tried to kill my family's young patriarch. The heavenly treasure sect disciple pointed at the black-robed man, Chen Fan, and hurriedly said, without waiting for Royal Wind Lotus to open his mouth, Feng Xianting pushed the Tian Bao sect disciple out of the way and smilingly arched his hand towards Chen Fan. My name is Feng Xianting, the son of Qingzhou Prefecture. I wonder if I will have the honor of getting to know you, brother and sister? Chen Fan's eyes narrowed slightly. The son of the Qingzhou Prefecture. This identity, it was indeed extraordinary. At least it was a good large grade higher than Tang Fei Yang, that young city lord. But so what? No one can persuade him to kill who he wants to kill. You want to save him? Chen Fan asked indifferently. Feng Xinting laughed. Zhang Feng is, after all, the young master of the Tian Bao sect. With such a status, if you really kill him, you will also invite big trouble for yourself. Won't you? Why don't we make peace and let go of our grudges for a while? And let's work together to explore more hidden secrets within this earth spirit abyss. Wouldn't that be better? Since I kill people, I'm not afraid of trouble. I advise Shitsi not to make trouble for himself either. After all, this is the Earth Spirit Abyss, not in Qingzhou Mansion. Chen Fan said indifferently. Feng Xuanting's eyes narrowed. 
brother is also one of the trialists? Chen Fan raised an eyebrow. If he wasn't one of the trialists, who else could it be? He he, this Feng Xianting has reminded me, that perhaps, I can borrow an identity. Chen Fan laughed coldly in his heart, and then he said, ridiculous, just you trialists, can you have my strength? Feng Xianting's eyes were overjoyed as he excitedly said, in that case, brother Tai was originally from within the earth spirit abyss, it has nothing to do with you. Don't ask too many questions. Your status as the son of the world doesn't work well here. I am bound to kill the people of the Tian Bao sect, and whoever dares to obstruct, I will kill them all together. Chen Fan icily dropped a sentence, and with a longitudinal movement, he swept away. Feng Xianting hurriedly called out, Brother stay, I still have something to say. Kill Jiang Feng and everything will be fine. In the void, only Chen Fan's voice came out, but his silhouette had long disappeared. Jiang Feng in the heavenly shield formation. His face suddenly looked like a pig's liver as he gritted his teeth and cursed. This bastard, how dare he take my life as a condition. Feng Xianting frowned, his eyes gloomy. No matter how impulsive he was, it was impossible for him to kill Jiang Feng. Young Patriarch Jiang, what exactly is your grudge against this person that he had to put you to death? Feng Xianting turned to look at Jiang Feng and asked. Jiang Feng laughed bitterly, Shi Tzu, I don't know exactly what kind of grudge I have against him. Among the people entering the trial this time, are there any enemies of yours? Feng Xianting asked. Jiang Feng said awkwardly, There is, but there's no way any of them would be so terrifyingly strong. Feng Xianting's eyes narrowed as he said, Then please write out the names of those enemies that the young patriarch has made one by one. That man just now. He lied. He is actually one of us. The royal wind lotus was surprised. Why is the world sun so certain now? Feng Xianting laughed, Because he talks too much. If it was someone who survived within the earth spirit abyss, even if it was a survivor from the previous term, it would be someone who had endured a hundred years of loneliness in this place. Just ask, would a person who has been lonely for a hundred years communicate with others like he does? One more thing, the black robe he's wearing, the color is still bright, it's barely a new piece of clothing, if I'm not mistaken, his identity is on Jiang Feng's list of enemies. In his heart, Yu Feng he said, if one were to find out a person who has a grudge against both Jiang Feng and Luo Qianjun, this person must be the black robe without a doubt. Jiang Feng was also elated at this moment. The wisdom of the world sun is truly unrivaled in the world. Good. I will write the name now. You should remove the grand formation first. The light is too blinding. Feng Xianting said helplessly. Jiang Feng lightly coughed. It's better to keep the big formation open. It's safer. The corner of Feng Xuanting's mouth twitched. I didn't expect Jiang Feng to be so afraid of death. But yes. Really. Who wouldn't be afraid to die when a deadly threat comes to their head? Boom, boom, boom. Feng Xianting was wondering why Zhuo Buchuan had not come over by now, when a loud sound like rolling thunder suddenly came from the distance. Seiji, run, a panicked voice, coming from far away, shouted none other than Hong Hao. Feng Xianting and Royal Wind Lotus faces changed in unison, and their pupils were also shrunk to the extreme. Only a few hundred meters ahead, a huge beast shadow, treading with thick steps, came towards them. This giant beast was more than 20 feet tall with a piece of dry and cracked skin on its body, just like a dry field, uncorruptible, demon body, or such a big fellow. Feng Xianting was so shocked that his face instantly paled. Escape! Mikado gave a low shout and dashed away. Such a ferocious beast was simply not something that they, the spirit lake realm, could deal with. Chapter 88 Blood Demon Young, young sovereign, what do we do? Looking at the terrifying beast like a small mountain, striding across, the ruins along the way. Almost all of them were crushed into dust. The heavenly treasure sect disciples hiding in the heavenly shield formation also panicked. Jiang Feng turned pale and said, What else can we do? Run! Even Feng Xianting and Royal Wind Lotus turned their heads and ran when they saw this monster. How could he dare not to run? On the day that the shield formation was blasted through by this huge beast, he didn't even have his last card to save his life. As soon as Jiang Feng collected the array disc, the entire array's golden shadow was disorganized, and several silhouettes flew away. The speed of the terrifying behemoth didn't seem to be fast. It was as if it was trekking through the mountains and swimming in the water. And occasionally, when it saw the ruins of a bulging drum, it would casually flick a giant palm over the bulging drum and flatten the place to the ground. Even when it saw someone flying in front of it, it had no intention of pursuing. One person thought that this giant beast wouldn't attack humans at all, so he cautiously approached the past, wanting to take a closer look at the giant beast. Results, before he could get a good look at the giant beast, a large, thick hand slapped him to pieces and crushed him into the dust. After that, no one dared to take any chances and fled for their lives. Because of the sudden appearance of the giant beast, 
The trialists in the entire chaotic spirit area were shocked and terrified. What shocked everyone the most was that the light of the shimmering sky, which people could not avoid, when it passed by the giant beast, the beast not only didn't evade, but instead, it fished out the white light with a big hand and stuffed it into its big mouth. Chen Fan was equally shocked. This gigantic beast, it was able to devour those crippled divine mansions. What kind of monster is it? Chen Fan was shocked and curious. It was only a pity that the voice had fallen into slumber. Otherwise, it might be able to give him an explanation. Chen Fan wasn't continuing to pay attention to the giant beast. It seemed that as long as he didn't mess with this giant beast, and didn't hang around in front of this giant beast anymore, it wouldn't take the initiative to attack anyone. He saw Zhang Feng put away the heavenly shield formation and run away, but did not chase after him. Chasing Zhang Feng now was bound to be the time when Zhang Feng was at his most alert. If he didn't have the heavenly shield formation disc in his hand, it would be useless for him to be alert, but the real situation was that he had the bottom card to save his life. Since this was the case, Chen Fan planned to hang him out to dry for the time being. Letting someone like Zhang Feng live in fear for a few days was not a form of torture for Zhang Feng. Chen Fan turned around from the shadows and went over towards where Chang'e was waiting for him. As soon as he returned, he found Chang'e unconscious in the forbidden shield. What's going on? Before leaving, her injuries had already stabilized Ah. Chen Fan frowned and waved his hand to disperse the power of the restraint. Swish. What he didn't expect was that the unconscious Chang'e open a pair of blood eyes, both hands fingertips probed out half a meter long ten horrible blood ons, and swept at Chen Fan's throat. Hoomph. Chen Fan snorted coldly and the power of the clasping Dan realm within his body blasted out without hesitation. Boom! As soon as the powerful spiritual power of the middle stage of the clutching Dan realm was blasted out, Changle's body was instantly blasted out, breaking another one of the three remaining pillars of the dilapidated gazebo. The gazebo, which had lost its stability, also completely collapsed, with tiles and beams smashing down on Changle. Although such a strike would cause some injuries to Changle's body, Chen Fan preferred not to fall in the gutter. Just now that instant Changle's blood claw attack was vicious and fast, if it wasn't for his timely alertness, he might have fallen into the path. Get up. Your consciousness can't fall into a fainting spell that easily, Chen Fan said indifferently. Boom click. There was an arch in the ruins, and Changle came out of it, his face bloodstained but wearing a morose smile. Human. This is my child. I won't harm her, and I advise you to mind your own business as well, Chen Fan said indifferently. The child you're talking about is that foreign blood body in her bloodline right? Hoomph. You know quite a lot. Since you know about the foreign blood body, you should know that I'm not in existence you can mess with, Changle said. Chen Fan said disdainfully, is that so? I'd like to try to provoke you and see how much of your original body is left. Human, you're looking for death, Changle said angrily. Chen Fan walked over towards Changle and said indifferently, all I know is that if your consciousness doesn't dissipate, this injury of hers is going to be out of control. You had a hard time waiting for her to enter the earth spirit abyss and you don't want to end up getting just a corpse, right? Changle's eyes flashed and he hummed. Since you insist on meddling in this nonsense, bring her to me. After saying that, Changle's body was soft, as if he had lost his soul. Chen Fan walked over and fed her a few pills while helping her repair a few cracked ribs with his spiritual power. With that blow just now, even though Changle in his controlled state had already defended himself extremely well, he was still lightly injured. It's so painful. I, what's wrong with me? Changle frowned in pain. Regaining his consciousness and waking up, Chen Fan said indifferently, Just now, you were taken over by the power of the blood demon's heart demon and occupied your consciousness. You sneak attacked me and I could only injure you. Ah, I even sneak attacked you? No, what did you just say? What blood demon? And what heart demon power? Changle was shocked. She was completely unaware of what had just happened. Chen Fan said indifferently, The foreign blood body in your bloodline is actually a parasitic force that only a sixth realm blood demon can separate from its blood baby. So the real situation you are facing right now is actually a sixth realm blood demon that wants to occupy your body and leave the earth spirit abyss in your place. Six. Six realms. Wouldn't that be equivalent to a human immortal infant realm powerhouse? Changle's face turned pale. The sixth realm blood demon was thinking about her body. Could she still hide? If my body is really occupied by her. What will? I do. Changle asked in a trembling voice. Chen Fan said, Is there any need to ask? There will naturally be no more you in this world. All there is is a blood demon that controls your skin. Your consciousness will be wiped clean by her. Oh, why would I be so miserable? I haven't done anything bad since I was born. Instead I've always done good things. I should be considered a good person. How come I don't get good karma? Changle suddenly cried out with a wow. Chen Fan looked amused and said, Don't worry, I will help you. Ah, but... But that's a sixth realm blood demon. How can you help me? 
Changle fluttered her big eyes rolling with teardrops and asked weakly. She wanted to live, but she also didn't want to involve the masked brother who had already saved her life once. Chen Fan said indifferently, it's just the sixth realm once. Nowadays her strength shouldn't be that strong. Otherwise it wouldn't be the method of controlling you by awakening your heart demons. Brother Mask, why are you willing to help me so much? Changle asked, touched. Brother Mask? Chen Fan froze and laughed lightly. Maybe it's because you're stupid. Or maybe it's because I'm stupid. Ha, huh? I'm stupid? I'm not stupid. Brother Mask doesn't look stupid either. Changle depressedly pouted her little mouth. Chen Fan smiled. This will look at Changle again. And really do not have that kind of disgusting feeling. Chapter 89, I know a lot of things. Half an hour later, Changle's injuries were almost recovered. Chen Fan got up and said, let's go and meet that blood demon. This is a calamity you can't avoid. Although Changle was a bit scared, he knew in his heart that this was his only chance to live. She gritted her teeth and said, brother mask, have you really thought about it? This trip will be very dangerous. Chen Fan said indifferently, no one here can help you except me. Changle's eyes reddened as she gathered her courage and suddenly said, brother mask, I promise you that as long as I can go back alive, no matter what you look like, I will marry you. Chen Fan's face twitched. Marry me? Yu Nini is thinking quite beautifully. There is no need for that. Chen Fan shook his head and refused. Actually, I'm only helping you because you look like a friend of mine. The friend Chen Fan was talking about was Changle. Changle didn't realize that the black robe in front of her was Brother Chen, who had disliked her before. She sniffed a bit. Was there anyone else who looked like her? Where is the place? Have you thought about it? Chen Fan returned to the topic and asked. Changle immediately took out a map from the Xian Kong ring. It's this position of the red dot, Changle said. Chen Fan was surprised. You still have a map? Although this map was not drawn in a particularly standardized manner, Chen Fan glanced over and found that the layout of the drawing in the entire Earth Spirit Abyss was actually quite different. Changle said, My father was afraid I wouldn't be able to find the place, so he drew it for me on purpose. Chen Fan said, Then how come your father didn't arrange for some brothers and sisters to help you together? Changle said, It was arranged. But how could I let my senior brothers follow me into danger? So the day the trial started, I changed my appearance and ran away on my own, not going with them. I just thought, I'll find myself to go to this place and try. It's best if I can live naturally. If I can't, then I can't implicate others. After saying that, Changle blushed slightly and said, But I didn't expect that I'd be quite lucky to meet such a great person as Brother Mask. The corner of Chen Fan's mouth twitched. A great good guy? Was he being sent a good guy card? He was willing to help Changle purely because the little ninny was warm-hearted, simple, and somewhat kind. Chen Fan did not say anything more. His right hand violently clamped Changle's waist. Changle let out a cry of shame, and the two of them swept through the air and flashed, approaching the red dot on the map. Rumbling rumbles rang in the ears from time to time, and there were always some light and shadows leaping in the distance, attracting the trialists to go and explore. And the more they went over to the center area, the more often the undecaying corpses and undecaying demon corpses appeared. Swish swish swish. Chen Fan sandwiched Changle and continuously pranced around, avoiding a pouncing light of scintillating air, as well as the sneak attacks of some incorruptible corpses. Changle shrank in the crook of Chen Fan's arm, her little face pale with fear. Swish. With a vertical leap, Chen Fan landed on his feet. Ahead. A huge circular deep pit and the location of the red dot identified on the map. Yes. This is the place. My father said that back then. He and my mother were attracted by a mysterious force to a large round pit. And, then there was me. Changle pointed at the large pit and said, Chen Fan's spiritual sense opened up and probed towards the bottom of the circular pit. TSK, TSK, you are finally here. Come on, child. Return to mother's embrace. Evil laughter echoed from below the round pit. The blood demon knew very well that he couldn't hide himself from the probe of the clasping Dan realm's spiritual awareness, so he didn't intend to hide it. Under his spiritual sense, Chen Fan saw that the strata at the bottom of the round pit was filled with countless blood-red threads, which were invisible to the mortal eye. As for the blood demon's mother body, it was still at least a hundred feet below the ground. Changeling was about to take a step forward as he was in a trance. Chen Fan's two fingers of his right hand were together, and then his fingertips crossed rapidly, actually forming a talismanic seal to come. Buzz! With a flash of black light, the talismanic seal was actually directed at Changle's brow and directly disappeared. Soul Fixing Talisman you human, you even have the art of soul talisman, the blood demon said in a hostile voice, with the soul fixing talisman protecting his body, it would not be so easy for the blood demon to compel Changle with his heart demonic voice again, Changle also instantly came to his senses, his face turned slightly white, and he hastily took a few steps back, Chen Fan smiled faintly, 
there are many things that I know how to do. For example, this kind of heaven burning talisman, I know it too. As soon as Chen Fan's words fell, he suddenly raised his hands, his ten fingers interspersed rapidly, and a channel of pure spiritual energy, under the sketching of his fingerprints, suddenly condensed into a palm sized crimson fire talisman. Human, how dare you? The blood demon roared in shock and anger. Go, Chen Fan, however, ignored it, directly blasted the burning sky talisman towards the bottom of the round pit, the original only palm sized burning sky talisman, in the process of falling, continued to rapidly become larger and larger, and finally even larger to the extent that the entire bottom of the round pit was covered to the fullest extent. Boom! As soon as the burning heaven talisman landed and exploded, it immediately scattered and gushed out countless reddish spirit flames. Those blood-red threads hidden under the ground were instantly dispersed and extinguished when they were roasted by the power of the spirit flame. Underneath the ground of a hundred feet, a huge blood mass that looked like a spider frantically extracted back the blood demon power that had penetrated out. The blood demon's appearance was quite strangely born and terrifying to look at. A human head with a spherical body. The sphere was covered with countless swaying blood-colored tentacles. Human, I'm going to die you. The blood demon's face was hideous as it frantically danced its tentacles and roared harshly. She had managed to infiltrate the power of the blood demon, little by little, into the countless prohibitions that had trapped her, only to be burned by Chen Fan with a single fire. On top of the round pit, Chen Fan said indifferently, if you want me to die, you have to come out first, right? The blood demon's angry expression froze on his face. Yeah, how can she kill this human if she can't even get out? Make a deal, you solve her problem first, I'll let you out, and it's up to you whether you can kill me or not at that time. Chen Fan smiled faintly. Brother Mask, we can't let her out. She's a sixth realm. If she comes out, I'm afraid everyone here will be killed by it. Changle said anxiously. Chen Fan said, It's just a sixth realm blood demon that has been trapped for an unknown number of years. Its strength must have long been greatly reduced. I'm confident that I can handle it. The blood demon laughed coldly from the ground. What an arrogant and ignorant human brat. Even if I'm not as strong as my peak, killing you, a small clutching Dan realm, is not as easy as a slap in the face? Thinking of this, it responded with a cold smile, I can agree, but do you have the ability to break the prohibition and let me out? Chen Fan faintly said, this layer of prohibition below is a huge and incomparable prohibition net, I think that the person who laid down this prohibition back then, its intention was not to seal you, you are just an unlucky one who happens to also be within the scope of this prohibition net seal, belonging to the incidental sealing, am I right? The blood demon was surprised, how did you know? Chen Fan said, don't mind how I know but I have absolute certainty that I can release you. All right, then let me out first, and after I get out, I will save your girl first before I kill you. The blood demon sneered. Chapter 90 Blood Refining Technique? That's impossible. Chen Fan coldly said, if you want to come out, you'll have to solve her problem first. Jia Jia, I can't get out of my main body, so I can't help her even if I want to. Blood demon evil sneered. Chen Fan said disdainfully, do you really think that I know nothing about your blood demon's abilities? As long as you cut off that blood soul thought on your own, it won't take long for that blood infant power in her body to dissolve into her bloodline. The blood demon laughed coldly. You know quite a lot, but I didn't go out. So you want me to cut off my blood soul thoughts? Do you think I'm easy to fool? Chen Fan smiled lightly. It seems that your desire to come out is not very strong. Since this is the case, I can only use another method to save her. The blood demon laughed coldly. Other than me, no one can save her. It's even more impossible for you a mere clutching Dan realm, to do so, Chen Fan said disdainfully, I thought that as an ancient blood demon, you would have some insights, can it be that you haven't even heard of the art of blood refining, the blood demon was shot, the art of blood refining is an untold secret of my blood demon clan, so how could I not know about it, but you, a human, how could you know it, and even if you know it, so what, you can't cultivate it, I can't, she can, originally, I didn't want her to cultivate this technique, but since you're not willing to cut off your blood soul thoughts, I'll have to help her refine that blood soul thought of yours. Chen Fan said. Changle was a bit nervous. Brother Mask, this blood refining technique, it's a demon clan technique. Ah? Uh, Chen Fan glanced at her and said. Do you trust me? Faith. Changle said with almost no hesitation. If Brother Mask didn't really want to help her, who would want to waste their time on her in this earth spirit abyss? Then listen to me. Chen Fan laughed. Ah? Uh, Okay, Changle nodded her head obediently with a cute smile. Chen Fan looked toward the bottom of the round pit and said, I'll give you one last chance to cut off the blood soul thought on your own. Ha ha ha, you're dreaming. Even if she really manages to successfully cultivate the blood refining technique, 
she will completely turn into a half-demon body from now on. This isn't exactly saving her for you. Humph. The blood demon laughed hideously. Changle's face turned white. Practicing the art of blood refining, she would completely turn into a half-demon body? Half-demon body. In the cultivation world, although not much, but not no. And this kind of existence has always belonged to the kind of father does not kiss mother does not love. And this kind of existence always belongs to the father does not kiss the mother does not love the kind. No matter is human martial arts cultivator or demon race, will not accept the existence. Being able to live is more important than anything else. Chen Fan said indifferently. Changeling's eyes bugged out. Little girl, do you also agree with his words? You have to think clearly. TSK TSK, once you become a half-demon body, it's not just you who will be discriminated against and laughed at. There are also your parents who will be despised together. Do you really want to ignore your father's reputation for the sake of your own survival? The blood demon laughed evilly. Changle's eyes reddened and she inclined her head to look at Chen Fan. Chen Fan said indifferently, even if it is a half-demon body, it is nothing. Those who love you will always love you, and those who don't, why should you care? Think about your father. Why would he let you in knowing that this trip is difficult and dangerous? It's just that in the almost impossible, he still wants to seek a way for you to live. Changle's heart shook fiercely, thinking of the father who was obviously still middle-aged, but had long since grayed at the temples. She couldn't forget her father's moist red eyes before she left. It was heartache, despair, and also contained a glimmer of hope. I want to live, Changle solemnly said. Chen Fan smiled faintly, raised his hand and extended two fingers, pointing them on Changle's forehead. A force of spiritual awareness surged into Changle's soul sea, dissolving into information on the method of cultivating the art of blood refining. Impossible. You're just a human at the Clutching Dan realm. How could you possibly know the blood refining technique of my blood demon clan? You must be lying to me, the blood demon said angrily. Chen Fan said indifferently. Sometimes, it is such a coincidence. I gave you a chance, but it's a pity that you don't cherish it yourself. Sit down on your knees and start practicing the blood refining technique. I will help you suppress the agitation of the blood infant's power. Chen Fan twisted his head and said to Changle, without the slightest hesitation. Changle sat down on her knees and then began to cultivate using the method that Chen Fan had taught her. Boom. Sure enough, with the gong method only gently running, Changle felt that he was able to mobilize the power in his body that had been out of control. The blood demon underneath the ground began to be restless, and she could feel that the blood baby power that she had parasitized in Changle's body had encountered a great threat, as if it would be crushed at any time. It was only because of the soul-fixing talisman and the forbidden seal that she was also unable to feel the situation inside Changle's body in too much detail. But it was clear that if that blood baby power was really refined, not only would she have waited all these years in vain, but she would also miss an opportunity to leave the seal. Don't cultivate. I see that you are a delightful little girl, and I don't want to see you turn into a half-demon body. I will cut off the blood soul thought now, but you kid must also keep your promise and let me out, the blood demon said in a deep voice. If we waited for the blood baby power to really be refined, it would be too late to say anything. Changle stopped running his energy and glanced at Chen Fan. Chen Fan nodded and said, turning into a half-demon body is your last option, since it is willing to break the blood soul thought. You don't have to cultivate the blood refining technique. He looked towards the deep pit and said in a cold voice, Then don't mope around and cut yourself off. I will also keep my promise and let you out. After all, I also want to appreciate the strength of a sixth realm blood demon. Damn human kid. You're so wild aren't you? When I get out, let's see how I'll suck all your essence blood. The blood demon laughed angrily in his heart. Hurry up. Chen Fan impatiently urged. The blood demon's face sank and he immediately closed his eyes and cut away the blood soul idea that was inside himself and Changle. Pust. Pust. In an instant, Changle and the blood demon simultaneously spewed out a mouthful of blood furiously. The blood demon severed the blood soul thought. Even if it lifted the symbiotic relationship between that blood infant force and Changle, this would be a not so light backlash injury for the blood demon. The blood that Changle spat, on the other hand, was a mouthful of tainted blood. After spitting out blood, she felt much more relaxed instead. Brother Mask, am I going to be alright? Changle asked excitedly. Chen Fan grabbed Changle's wrist and his spiritual sense probed into his bloodline. A moment later, he laughed softly. The blood soul thought has indeed been removed. You're fine. Changle was excited. She knew that the matter of being saved seemed simple, but without the help of her masked brother, she simply couldn't do it. Even, she would have jumped into the pit uncontrollably and let the blood demon do whatever it wanted. Oftentimes, the lives of the weak are only at the whim of the strong. Kid, it's your turn to honor your promise. The blood demon sank out angrily. Changle's face changed, gritting her teeth and saying indignantly, Brother Mask, you can't let it out. 
I'll take the blame for reneging on my promise. Little girl, you seek death. The blood demon was at the bottom of the ground, furious like a bouncing ball for a while. Dozens of blood-colored tentacles, frantically knocking on the forbidden layer above. Chen Fan laughed. Being a man is still keeping his word. Besides, if I don't let it out, how can I kill it? The sixth realm blood demon's demon baby is a good thing that is indispensable for refining the blood god pill. So since I met it, I have to take it since. Ha ha ha. Good kid. District holding Dan realm. Even dare to presume to collect my demon baby. Really bold and fat. Then you will let me out. And then see if you have the strength to collect it. The blood demon laughed in anger. It had already thought that as soon as it got out. It would immediately suck this human boy dry. Chapter 91 open. Changle. Retreat to the side first and keep yourself safe. Chen Fan inclined his head. Although Changle was still worried. But seeing Chen Fan's insistence. He didn't persuade him any further and obediently stepped back some distance. The blood demon was also agitated at this time. It wanted to see if this human kid. Really had a way to let it out. Chen Fan's figure flashed, and he actually landed towards the bottom of the round pit. This made Changle's heart, for a moment, hang in the air. Don't worry, killing it is in my hands. Chen Fan transmitted a sentence, which made Changle feel a little more at ease. What exactly is this masked brother's cultivation level? Isn't he at the clasping Dan realm? When did the clutching Dan realm kill a sixth realm demonic beast? Can it all be a hand-to-hand -hand affair? Changeling couldn't figure it out, but she trusted her masked brother. After Chen Fan landed at the bottom of the round pit, his hands began to condense seals at a rapid pace. This scene gave the blood demon a whole lot of confusion. Kid, what do you mean? Why do I see that you look like you're condensing a kind of forbidden system? The blood demon asked with a dark face. It was waiting for Chen Fan to break the ban, but it turned out that this kid was condensing the ban. Could it be that he was trying to reinforce the seal? Chen Fan said indifferently, Don't talk nonsense if you don't understand. This web of prohibition laid down by the previous person. Not to mention me, even if it is a powerhouse of the divine mansion realm or the heavenly realm, they may not be able to break it. Letting you out, I can only find another way. Another way? How are you going to do it? The blood demon said in a deep voice. It was also clear in its heart that the palm under that person's rage back then had almost suppressed the entire earth spirit sect, and all the immortals, demons and evil spirits present had almost all been sealed forever under that palm print filled with huge prohibitions. It's a pure fluke that it's still alive and not dead. Even after countless years, the power of the remaining restrictions was not something that a clasping Dan realm could break. Chen Fan said indifferently, I will use the homologous prohibition technique to open up an opening for you above here. When the opening takes shape, you must come out immediately, as this opening can only exist for a maximum of three breaths of time. The blood demon was shocked. You still know the same source of forbidden means as that person? Chen Fan said indifferently, the world's dharma has been passed down through the ages, so as long as one is knowledgeable enough, one will naturally know more. The blood demon's face twitched. It was a blood demon. What did it need to be erudite? It would be good if it could suck blood. Although Chen Fan was not an erudite person, within his body, there existed this huge encyclopedic island. When he encountered something he didn't understand, all he had to do was to raise his voice, and many people would jump out and compete to answer for him. This kind of opportunity to wrestle for favor in front of the island master and also show a wave of existence. Those great powers who were erudite in the ancient and modern worlds and well versed in the 10,000 paths of Dharma. How could they miss it? This layer of forbidden power underground is indeed a very skillful means of forbidding. And the islander Kujo Jin calls it the Great Palm Seal of Voltron. This Great Palm Seal of Voltron was not just a palm technique. It was a suppression technique that combined powerful forbidden means. A palm presses the sky. And all things are put to death. The number of years of the forbidden seal is closely related to the cultivation realm of the person who casts it. Kujo Jian claimed to himself that this set of palm prints he would also know. If he were to execute a great palm print of Voltron with his cultivation at full strength, he would be able to suppress all the living things and celestial beings for at least 100. 000 years. After the cowhide blowing, Kujo Jian also flattering smile asked Chen Fan want to learn. He guaranteed that the package will teach, but also no charge. Chen Fan was somewhat interested in the great palm seal of Voltron, but he obviously didn't have the time to learn it right now, and only asked how to make an opening in the prohibition before retreating his mind. Buzz off. As Chen Fan pinched his fingerprints, a white ball of light, finally coalesced on his fingertips. When I call out for you to come out, you must come out immediately. If there is any hesitation and the openings close up, it's none of my business. Chen Fan let out a low humph, and without giving the blood demon a chance to reply, he pressed the white light mass towards the ground, open, Chen Fan let out an explosive cry, and with a buzzing sound, the white light mass actually did integrate into the underground prohibition, 
The next moment, the white light ball was even more hard to expand. Hard in the forbidden layer, hold out a round aperture too. This circular aperture was an opening in the prohibition. This kid, he actually opened an opening in the prohibition. He actually did it. The blood demon was so excited that he was on the verge of crying. I didn't realize that it had actually waited until the day it could get out. Come out. Chen Fan shouted. The blood demon's heart was beating furiously, and not daring to delay in the slightest, he directly topped his head and broke through towards the earth layer above. Boom. The earth and rocks crumbled, and a head with a blood red face broke through the earth. The blood demon was ecstatic to realize that he had seen a light that had been missing for a long time. Even though the light wasn't quite bright and was still somewhat dim, it was much better than the endless gloom of the underground. Ka dash. Suddenly, the blood demon only felt his neck tighten, as if it was stuck on something. Human boy, what's going on? How come the openings are gone? The blood demon's face screamed in panic. Chen Fan, who was next to him, smiled and said, I'm sorry, I'm just a clasping Dan realm. The time I can support the opening is too short. I originally thought that I would be able to hold it up for three breaths of time anyways, but I didn't realize that the reality was that I could only hold it up for a little over a breath of time. After all, I was too arrogant. The blood demon was so angry that he practically wanted to vomit blood. It had seen early on that this human was arrogant, but it didn't think at all that it was stuck here because of this human's arrogance. Ah, now that its head was out, its body was completely stuck in the forbidden layer, even less free than before. The blood demon took a deep breath, suppressed the man-eating rage in his heart, and said in a deep voice, It's okay, you rest for a moment, and after you recover, you can then revert to the homologous forbidden system, and open up an opening in my position that is. Chen Fan couldn't help but sneer. You're speaking much more politely now. Swish. He moved towards the Hyrule shovel and went right for the blood demon's head. The blood demon's red eyes glared angrily as he panicked. Human, what are you going to do? Didn't you say that being a human is still about keeping your word? Can't it be that you want to renege on your promise and make people dishonorable? Clunk. The shovel in Chen Fan's hand fiercely knocked a dozen times against the blood demon's head. The blood demon only felt that the sky was spinning and his head was about to explode. Chen Fan was also surprised in his eyes. Every shot he took was attached with not bad spiritual power. And this didn't even manage to shoot the blood demon's head off? Little human scumbag. I'm going to kill you. Ah. The blood demon struggled hard in anger and the earth and rocks around it, shook as it struggled. However, the power of the forbidden layer that trapped it was simply too strong, and it was simply not something that it could forcefully break through. Chen Fan smiled faintly. It seems that if you want to kill you, you really need to use some real skills. Humph, you're only at the clutching Dan realm. Even if I were stuck here for you to kill, you wouldn't be able to kill me. The blood demon sneered. The blood demon clan, cultivating the blood chi, possessed extremely strong recovery and self-healing power. Unless a blow is fatal, it only takes a short time for them to recover. This was why Chen Fan had slapped it with a dozen shovels and failed to kill it. One was the lack of attack strength, and the other was the blood demon's own unbelievable recovery ability. Is that so? Chen Fan smiled disdainfully. Although I am only at the clasping Dan realm, I am not an ordinary clasping Dan realm. Chen Fan put away his soldier's shovel, and between the false opening of his right hand, terrifying spiritual power surged out sharply from his dantian and gathered in the palm of his right hand transforming into a purple sword shadow of spiritual power. The purple sword was like a substance, slightly blooming with a layer of purple halo, and the powerful spiritual power fluctuation emanating from the sword caused the blood demon's pupils to rise and shrink. What a terrifying sword intent! This human brat, what exactly is his origin? How could he know such a terrifying sword move? The blood demon was completely flustered. Chapter 92, Demon Infant Feeling the aura of annihilation emanating from that purple sword shadow, the blood demon finally had a sense of crisis of falling. It hurriedly trembled and said, Human, I'm willing to submit to you. Don't kill me. With my help, you'll be able to get more harvests within the earth spirit abyss. Ah, between you and me, there's really no need to meet in life and death. Chen Fan raised his eyebrows lightly and said, This place is just a ruin. Apart from some remnants of martial arts, it's just some gongfa inheritance. Do you think I'll look at these? Blood demon hurriedly said, This earth spirit sect. Tens of thousands of years ago was one of the most powerful sects in the great Qin immortal dynasty. Even if it was destroyed, but the remnants of the things, for you, are still very valuable ah. For example, the Xian Kong ring on those wrecks under the ground, which is loaded with quite a lot of good things. In this way, you open another opening for me to shrink back, and I will immediately pick some up for you to show my loyalty. Chen Fan smiled faintly and said, Those leftover Xian Kong rings are indeed tantalizing. However, I still want to get your blood baby more. Human, 
Please spare my life for the sake of me having survived for so many years, it's really not easy for me to survive until now, the blood demon said with tears in his eyes, very heartbroken. If it wasn't for the fact that he had discovered that this fellow was frantically gathering blood demon power in the dark, Chen Fan had almost gone soft. Heavenly punishment sword of execution. Chen Fan coldly shouted. The purple sword light in his hand flashed, coldly and ferociously slashing at the blood demon's head. I'll fight you. The blood demon also changed its pitiful appearance, and its hideous bloody mouth opened wide, spewing out a terrifying blood-colored demonic element that blasted straight at Chen Fan. Boom. Purple sword light. Out of the corner of one's eye chopped down, the powerful sword on, the blood demon's head, immediately split apart, fell into two halves, terrifying blood-colored demonic energy was crazily spewed out from the place of that rift, boo, the demonic element that the blood demon spewed out before dying also solidly blasted Chen Fan's chest, sending his entire body flying backwards, brother mask, Changle, who was on the top, saw Chen Fan being blown away, his face turned white with fear, and he jumped down regardless, put, Chen Fan smashed to the ground and spat a mouthful of blood. I didn't expect that this blood demon would be able to gather such a terrifying amount of demonic energy with a large portion of its body stuck in the forbidden layer. Brother Mask, how are you? I have a healing elixir here. You quickly take one. Changle came down and flew to Chen Fan's side, took out an elixir bottle from the Xian Kong ring and poured out a pill in a panic. Chen Fan was not polite and took the elixir and ate it. I'm fine. I had prepared for it. I just somewhat underestimated the strength of its attack. Chen Fan smiled. Changle sniffed, then took a breath of relief, glanced at the blood demon with some fear, and asked, Then is it, this dead? Chen Fan shook his head. It's just that the demon body has been destroyed. Its blood baby is still in that half body. Where is your five elements formation disc? Lend it to me. Oh. Changle hurriedly took out a copper colored five pointed array disc. Chen Fan stood up and walked over to the blood demon. Injecting spiritual energy into the five elements formation plate. Boom. The five elements formation disc immediately shone brightly and landed into a splendid five elements formation shadow. Wow. The power of the same array disc in the hands of brother mask is just different. Changle said excitedly. Chen Fan touched his nose. This little ninny's wave after wave of horse's ass. Patting him a little embarrassed. Go to the side first. Lest the blood baby comes out and it injures you. Chen Fan said. I won't give brother mask any trouble. And you should be careful too. Brother Mask, Changle hurriedly retreated to the edge of the round pit. Chen Fan's eyes stared, and he once again performed the homologous prohibition technique, striking into the underground prohibition. When the opening opened, the blood demon, which only had half of its body left, actually shrank backwards towards the direction of the ground. Humph, is this fear? Chen Fan smiled coldly. After he had wasted so much effort, how could he let the blood demon's blood baby escape? Star Picker, Chen Fan's right hand fiercely grabbed at the gaping hole and a terrifying gripping force instantly bound the remnants of the falling blood demon and lifted it towards the top. Boo! With a fling of Chen Fan's palm, the remnants of the blood demon's body, like a hooked fish, was lifted up hard and smashed down in the five elements formation. Humans, why do you need to drive them to extinction? A weak voice angrily transmitted from the remnants of the body. Chen Fan said indifferently, why talk this nonsense? If you and I were to swap positions, would you not let me off the hook at this moment? Humph! In that case, Let's fight to the death. Boo. The remaining half of the blood demon's body exploded open. Countless blood-colored filth. Splashing out. Chen Fan waved his hand. Will be blood-colored dirt blasted away? It is also this time. A blood-colored demon baby. Bursting shot. Dozens of tiny tentacles. Instantaneous taut as blood-colored steel needles. Against Chen Fan around the body of the several vitals. Flying stabbed and came. This blood-colored demon baby. As if the size of an infant. But the eyes are malicious. Movement is also extremely sensitive, said the demon baby, in fact, is more like an adult dwarf, demon baby and human martial arts cultivator cohesion of immortal baby, from the cultivation point of view, in fact, there is no difference, are the power of their own cultivation and the essence of the soul and blood of the power, the fusion of a cultivation product, within the demon baby, the purest and most majestic demon yuan power and demon soul energy of the demon cultivator were gathered, refined by appropriate means. It could help martial cultivators enhance their cultivation power by a considerable amount. If not, Chen Fan would not have taken the risk of having to kill this blood demon. At this moment, seeing the blood baby attacking, Chen Fan was not careless and raised his hand to blast out a booming thunder palm seal. Boom! The berserk palm prince erupted with terrifying might, and the strong spiritual power bombarded the entire five elements formation, all shaking and trembling. Boo! The blood infant was blasted back by the palm print and ruthlessly impacted on the wall of the five elements formation. The demon body was destroyed, 
Coupled with being trapped for many years, the power of the blood demon's blood baby has long since been at its peak, at most only less than 40% of the power left at its peak. Shen Fan was also certain of this before he dared to kill a sixth realm blood demon with the body of a clutching Dan. If he had truly encountered a sixth realm blood demon in its peak state, he would have fled for his life long ago. Damn, this human's means of attack is too strong. At this rate, I will definitely be in trouble today. The blood infant's eyes flickered, revealing a strong look of unwillingness. Shen Fan would not give the blood infant a chance to catch his breath. After a palm blast, he resumed blasting his fist out in succession. The fist shadow was like a meteor as it whistled and rushed out, smashing into the blood baby. The blood infant cursed angrily and dodged, but as the fist shadows became denser and denser, within the five elements formation, it could no longer dodge. Boom boom boom. A fist solid bombardment in the blood baby body. Each hit, there are a large number of demonic yuan collapsed away. And soon, the blood baby is barred, fell to the ground, breathless with the eyes of the unwilling, staring at Chen Fan. Chen Fan walked over and dispersed its soul consciousness with a palm, followed by the spirit seal, sealing the demonic elemental power in the blood baby's body and putting it into the Xian Kong ring. To him, a blood baby was just a material for alchemy. Chapter 93, You and I are indeed destined for each other. After collecting the blood baby, a smile appeared on Chen Fan's face. After collecting this blood baby, it's not a wasted trip. Just waiting to go back and refine it into a blood god pill would at least raise his cultivation by a small realm. Buzz. Chen Fan raised his hand and grabbed at the location where the five elements formation plate was hidden. The formation light and shadow dispersed and the plate fell into Chen Fan's hands. Miss Changle, return your array disc. Chen Fan smiled lightly and returned the array disc to Changle. Changle blushed slightly and said, Brother Mask, this five elements formation disc will be yours. Chen Fan laughed. This is too expensive. This five elements formation disc of Changle's. The materials used were quite extraordinary, and although it did not reach the immortal level, it was still at the peak of the spirit level. Moreover, the five elemental grand formation inscribed on the array disc was also a fifth grade level grand formation. In terms of value, it was even a bit more expensive than the heavenly shield formation disc in Jiang Feng's hand. The regulars shyly bowed their heads and said, It's not expensive. My father refined it himself. Chen Fan teased, Isn't your father a deacon of the five elements sect? A deacon can't refine an array disc of such grade, right? In fact, he had long guessed that Changle's identity was by no means as simple as the deacon's daughter. It was only that Changle didn't want to say it, so he didn't poke holes in it. Changle froze and looked at Chen Fan in surprise. Chen Fan was also stunned, and in his heart I rubbed. I also told Brother Mask that my father is a deacon of the Five Elements sect? Changle said suspiciously. Chen Fan lightly coughed. Well, when you were unconscious before, you said it in a daze. Changle dawned on him and blushed. Brother Mask, actually, my father is not a deacon of the Five Elements sect. He is the sect master of the Five Elements sect. I'm also not called Changle. My name is Changle Lele. As soon as the words fell, Chang Lele tore the brocade belt that bound her hair apart, and a head of waterfall-like black hair, shook off and scattered. With her white palm, she wiped it from in front of her, and the soft-skinned mask, too, was torn off, revealing a white, flawless, and delicate face. The Changle Lele in men's clothing. Chen Fan felt that it was a little too good looking, and now the Changde Lele that revealed its true face really made Chen Fan ruthlessly stunned. Although there is no lofty, but only this small face, but absolutely can be described as a scourge of beauty. He also didn't expect that Chang Liel would actually be the daughter of the Five Elements sect master. When Chen Fan was a little infatuated, Chang Lele's cheeks were pink with a pair of bright eyes, shyly and timidly took a step toward him, whispering, Masked brother, what I said before, all counts. Chen Fan knew what words Chang Lele was referring to, only that he only had Gu Chuan Xian in his heart, so naturally he wouldn't accept this little nymph's words of affection. He smiled and said, You and I are indeed destined to be together, let me recognize you as a sister. Changeling was stunned. Sister? It's also, true that the masked brother is a super strong person who can hunt and kill a sixth realm blood demon, so how can I be worthy of him? Chang Liel lost her heart and said, Oh, then, then I called you brother? Really called you right. Chang Lele squeezed out a smile, her reddened face, slightly twisted to the side, not wanting Chen Fan to see the lost look on her face. He he, this you take back, being a brother, how can you take something from your sister? Chen Fan laughed and shoved the five elements formation disc into Chang Lele's hand. Chang Lele, however, hurriedly put her hands behind her back and said firmly in her eyes, this is Lele's first gift to brother, brother must accept it. If brother feels bad about it, then send Lele a gift as well although recognized siblings, but Chen Fan did not have the intention of unveiling the mask. 
Chang Lele knows that this brother is not yet absolute trust in her. If this time to separate, the possibility of seeing again is actually not very big, so she would like to have a gift, to do a remembrance. Chen Fan froze, he also gave a gift to Chang Lele? What's a good gift for this? He didn't have any goodies prepared on him for this visit, so he only laughed and said, then my gift can only wait until the next time we meet, and then I'll make it up to you. Changeling's eyes lit up in surprise, will we have a chance to see each other again? He he, of course there will be, then this five elements formation disc, I'll keep it. Chen Fan was not a pretentious person, Chang Liel insisted on giving it away, so he took it. It just so happens that the Chen family lacks a courtyard protection array. This five elements formation disc is just right. He he, that's great. I was worried that after going out, Brother Mask wouldn't see me. Chang Liel was happy as hell at this moment. As long as they could see each other again, maybe the masked brother would come around one day and realize that she, his sister, was actually more suitable to be a daughter-in-law. Let's go up first. When we get up there, I'll take you to your fellow sect members first, and when you rendezvous with them, I'm going to go do some things of my own. Remember, don't tell anyone that you've seen me, or else it will bring you and the five elements sect great trouble. Chen Fan seriously admonished. Chang Liel's heart tightened, and she instantly understood the purpose of her masked brother wearing a mask. What he's about to do is bound to be very offensive. Lele knows, Lele will definitely not cause trouble for brother. Chang Lele solemnly said. Chen Fan smiled slightly. This Chang Lele's appearance when she obeyed was really similar to Buyu. By the way, the blood refining technique that I passed on to you before is actually not the same blood refining technique of the demon race, but rather an auxiliary technique that can enhance your chi and blood. So when you go back, cultivate it properly. It will be very beneficial to you. Chen Fan laughed. Ah, then wouldn't the blood demon be tricked by brother? Chang Liel froze. Chen Fan laughed evilly. She just grew ahead for nothing. How many times have I lied to her? Changeling hit her mouth and snickered. Go, let's go up. Chen Fan grabbed Chang Lele's wrist and pulled her, flying up and back above the round pit. Boom boom boom. Above, rumbles still emanated from everywhere. Chen Fan brought Chang Lele with him as he traveled between pieces of dimly lit ruins, and it didn't take long before he spotted two disciples of the Five Elements sect. Only, these two disciples of the Five Elements sect were being surrounded by four people in a corner. Where exactly did our Five Elements sect offend your Arc Blade sect? To have you guys drive them to extinction like this. In the corner, a young disciple of the Five Elements sect, with wounds hanging from his body, angrily rebuked. The other Five Elements sect disciple beside him had even had an arm chopped off, and his face was currently pale beyond recognition, and he looked like he wouldn't be able to hold on. The Arc Blade sect disciple laughed coldly. I, the Arc Blade sect, bullied your Five Elements sect. Must you have offended us? The trial trip is supposed to be a battle of plundering. You can't even figure that out. What else are you going to try to refine? Ha ha, senior brother Guan, what's the point of wasting words with the two of them who are about to die? It's better to knock them out and bring them to join senior brother Zhua. Another Arc Blade sect disciple laughed evilly. Yang Peng, a disciple of the Five Elements sect, changed his face at the words and said, those missing brothers and sisters of my Five Elements sect, could it be that all of them were captured by you? Ha ha, that's right, don't worry, soon you guys will be able to meet up with the same sect. Guan Xin let out a loud laugh. And then his eyes turned hard as he droned lowly. Go, take these two guys, and the five elements sect will almost have their people together. Chapter 94, so what if you know your identity? The four arc sword sect disciples, including Guan Xin, suddenly struck out at the same time, charging towards Yang Peng and the other two. See two people will not be able to defeat to be captured. Suddenly a short shovel came flying in the air. Poof 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 three times, from three people throat before cut through. The blood that spilled out nourished Yang Pang and his duo. Yang Pang and Fang too, were so shocked that their pupils exploded and their bodies stiffened. The only one who was still alive, Guan Xin, was also terrified and hurriedly retreated and flashed, his mouth loudly and angrily roared. The Arc Blade sect is doing its job. Idlers should not meddle in it or else you can't afford the consequences. Ah, the short shovel flew with a whoosh and broke through the air, instantly shoveling past Guan Xian's left calf. The sharpness of the blade of the soldier's shovel that Chen Fan had created was no less than that of a spirit blade, and with this shovel, Guan Xian's calf could not be saved. Tubson, who had broken his leg, fell to the ground and wailed miserably. Swish, it was at this time that Chen Fan Fong flew over with Chang Lele, junior sister. How is it you? As soon as Yang Peng and Fong too saw Chang Lele, they screamed in excitement. They hadn't been able to find Chang Lele, and they thought something had happened to Chang Lele. Senior brother Fong, your arm, 
As soon as Chang Lele saw Fong Tu's broken arm, her eyes instantly filled with tears of sadness. Fong Tu squeezed out a smile and said, Junior sister, as long as you are fine, senior brother this is just a broken arm. Isn't there still one left? Junior sister, this is. Yang Peng saw that although Chang Lele was also excited, his attention, more focused on Chen Fan, the person who had just struck out, they naturally knew that it couldn't possibly be the junior sister. He's my brother, Changeling said in a hurry. Brother? Both of them were a bit confused. The patriarch only had an only daughter. Where would a brother come from? Could it be the patriarch's illegitimate son? Righteous brother. Seeing that the two seemed to be a bit confused, Changeling added another sentence. It dawned on the two. Let them heal their wounds first. I'll go ask this man why he wants to arrest your five element sect people. Chen Fan said in a cold and deep voice. The reason, in fact, he had already guessed, but just wanted to ask for confirmation. Seeing Chen Fan walking towards him, Guan Xian trembled in fear and hurriedly said, Brother Black Robe, there's no need for you to force a confession. I'll say anything. I only beg you to spare my life. Chen Fan laughed coldly. Arc Blade Sect, isn't it very arrogant? How come it's suddenly so abashed? Guan Xian's face turned pale as he said, Arrogance also depends on who you are with. In this earth spirit abyss, who dares to be arrogant with you? Even if you broke one of my legs right now, I wouldn't dare to have the slightest bit of resentment towards you. Chen Fan's eyes narrowed coldly. This arc blade sex disciple. In order to survive, he really could endure any kind of hatred. You are arresting the people from the five element sect because I saved a disciple of the five element sect in the midst of the chaos before? Chen Fan asked. Guan Xian said. Brother Black Robe is really powerful. You have already guessed it without me having to say it. We have been unable to find Brother Black Robe. So we could only think of luring Brother Black Robe to appear through the Five Elements sect. In fact, we didn't intend to kill the people from the Five Elements sect. We just invited them to go over and sit down. Nay, they weren't too willing. And that's why we moved. Chen Fan's eyes were cold. What are you looking for me for? Sure enough, it was because of him. And that had dragged the Five Elements sect down with it. Guan Xian hurriedly said. It's the world son and senior brother Jua who are looking for Brother Black Robe. Exactly what they're looking for you for. I'm actually not too sure. I'm just following orders. Where are they? Chen Fan asked. Guan Xian's eyes flashed as he said. I can take Brother Black Robe there. It's just that I'll have to trouble Brother Black Robe to help me. Chen Fan said indifferently. Just point to a direction. I will go over to them myself. Guan Xian's face turned pale. Is Brother Black Robe not going to spare my life? Do you still deserve to live? Chen Fan said icily. Ha! I seem to be unworthy of living. In that case, let's die together. Guan Xian's eyes suddenly became hard, and with an open right hand, a fist-sized, black thing was thrown towards Chen Fan. Watch out! That's a thunderbolt thunderbolt! Young Peng warned with a startled voice. Boom! With a wave of Chen Fan's sleeve, a terrifying gust of wind blasted the thunderbolt thunderfire bomb and Guan Xian together. A terrifying burst of sound boomed a hundred meters away, and a huge cloud of smoke and fire tumbled into the air. Yang Peng's face was ugly as he said. Once this thunderbolt thunderfire bomb goes off, Zhuo Buchuan and the others will definitely know our location. We can't stay here. Chen Fan nodded and said, The two of you, protect Lele and hide first. The rest of the five elements sect. I will try to rescue as much as possible. Chang Liu quickly said, Brother, I'm going to join you. Moreover, the ones who were captured are my fellow disciples, and I also have the responsibility to save them. Chen Fan glanced at her and said, You have the responsibility, but you don't have the strength. If you drag me down, you are instead harming me, so, obey, you too, take her away, junior sister, big brother black robe is right, we can't help here, and in case we fall into the hands of those people from Jobuchuan again, it will be even more troublesome, Yang Peng said, Chang Lele naturally understood these truths, it was just that this time, Chen Fan had to face the arcane blade sect and the senior of the Qingzhou prefecture, and that was why she couldn't rest assured, the human heart is, at times, more sinister than demonic beasts, Brother, you must take care of yourself and must not gullibly believe the words of those bad people. As long as we can stay alive, the Arc Sword sect and the Saya won't dare to really harm those fellow brothers of mine. Chang Liu bit her lips and said. What she meant by this was actually telling Chen Fan that in all things, he should take care of himself first. And that people, if they could be saved, they should be saved. As long as there were still people from the Five Elements sect alive, the Arcane Blade sect and the Siegen wouldn't dare to really kill the Five Elements sect's people. Although the Five Elements sect wasn't one of the five great sects, it was still a mid-level sect, and if it was massacred by the world sun, this would not have a small impact on the Qingzhou prefecture. Chang Liu believed that Feng Xianting would not be so impulsive. Chen Fan smiled. 
Don't worry, I will be fine, and so will those fellow disciples of yours, go on, they are already here. In Chen Fan's spiritual sense, he had already sensed that there were more than a hundred people that were flying towards their side, not to mention the Arc Sword sex coercion, Feng Xianting's leadership alone. This influence is not small. Sure enough, as soon as Chang Lele and the others retreated, dense silhouettes flashed from the dimly lit front. Swish swish swish, Zhuo Buqiuan, Feng Xianting, Hong Hao, Xia Sun, and the five demonic geniuses of Royal Wind Lotus, as well as the Linghu siblings and Zhang Feng, a total of eight people, were the first to storm past. As soon as he saw the corpses of the three Arcblade sect disciples lying on the ground, Zhuo Buqiuan's complexion immediately sank and he said with a dark face, Your Excellency is so ruthless. Even my Arcblade sex disciples dare to kill, are you not afraid that after you go out, you will be held accountable by the elders of my sect? Or is your excellency certain that we don't know who you are? The corner of Chin Fan's lips lifted as he said disdainfully, even if you know my identity, so what? To kill you, I don't even need to frown. As soon as Chen Fan's words fell, he raised his hand and pointed a sword finger at Zhuo Buqiuan. Chapter 95 One Finger Kills in a Second Zhuo Buqiuan was shocked. He didn't expect this black-robed man to be even more ruthless than him. Secret Technique Nine Mountain Shadow Shield Zhuo Buqiuan shouted angrily, and as his spiritual energy erupted, it actually transformed into a heavy dark green mountain shadow in front of him. Nine Mountain Shadows Nine Shields This was also the Arcane Blade Sex's strongest technique of protection. Boom! However, in the face of absolute strength, even more heavy defenses could only be shattered and broken. Chen Fan's one finger sword chi condensed the sword intent of the heavenly punishment punishing god sword, not to mention Zhuo Buqiuan in the middle stage of the spirit lake realm, even if it was in the early stage of the clasping dan realm, the only thing that could be killed was a second, boom, the nine heavy mountain shadow shield was instantly broken, while Zhuo Buqiuan's pupils were shrinking in shock, a dazzling purple aura suddenly swept up on his body, a pair of spirit grade purple armor, openly enveloped his body, holding up the last defense, pust, however, the power of the sword chi still pierced through the purple armor, piercing through Zhuo Buqiuan's heart. Zhuo Buqiuan's eyes were round and fierce and savage, and at this moment, he finally revealed a thick color of panic. How could he not expect that he, as the most talented genius disciple of the Arc Sword sect, who had been arrogant and domineering for so many years without incident, would die in the earth spirit abyss this time? All of this, in fact, all happened in the flash of lightning between, next to the people, still have not had time to make a gasp. Zhuo Buqiuan's heart, has been penetrated by the sword gas. Senior brother Zhuo. It wasn't until Zhuo Buqiuan's vitality flew away that Feng Xinting and the others exclaimed in horror. Boo! Zhuo Buqiuan's body, straight up, fell backwards and fell to the ground, his eyes still staring with terror and unwillingness. Hiss! Hong Hao! Xia Sun! And the others, sucked in cool air and flew backward in unison. They already regret it. What is the point of having to follow Zhuo Buqiuan and the world's son to mess with this black-robed killing god? Mikado's face went white, and he wanted to explain, but realized that whatever he explained now would pale in comparison. Just purse your lips and wait and see what happens. Brother killed so many arcane blade sect disciples. Senior brother Zhuo only asked, is it necessary for brother to lay such a killer? Feng Xianting asked with an angry cold face. Chen Fan's eyes narrowed coldly, and his sword finger was raised once again. Feng Xuanting's pupils tightened and his heart was in his throat. Can't it be that this one even dares to kill him? You're out of your mind. Have you not forgotten who I am? Feng Xianting asked, trembling with rage. If he didn't know that if the other party really wanted to kill him, he wouldn't be able to run away at all. He would have turned around and ran. Chen Fan said indifferently, I remember I reminded you that your status as the son of the world doesn't work here. Feng Xuanting's face tightened and he gritted his teeth. But we didn't mean any harm in the first place. Chen Fan sneered. No malice? Just because I saved a disciple of the Five Elements sect. You guys arrested all the disciples of the Five Elements sect in order to lure me to show up. And you call that no malice? Feng Xianting took a low breath and said in a sly manner. We had no choice. But the disciples of the Five Elements sect, we really didn't hurt a single one of them. At this time, the others also eventually all flew over. Seeing Zhuo Buqiu and become a corpse, everyone's faces showed horror. Especially the Arc Blade sex people. They were even more shocked and furious. Rushing over to Zhuo Buqiu's corpse, they were just a burst of furious shouts. World son, you must avenge our senior brother Zhuo. Kill the black robe. Avenge senior brother Zhuo. A few arcane blade sect disciples roared angrily. Although they knew that the black robed man was very strong, senior brother Zhuo was dead, and this could not just be left alone. What's more, they were now outnumbered, and as many ants bit the elephant, as long as Shi was willing to help, 
and the group attacked. There was hope for revenge. Feng Xianting's face twitched. He'd been sophistically arguing that he didn't mean any harm, and this group of goods were shouting for revenge as soon as they arrived? This is an attempt to send him, the son of the world, on his way. All shut up. Feng Xianting twisted his head and roared. At the moment, his heart was hanging in his throat. With just a point of the black-robed man's sword finger, he would be lying on the ground just like Zhuo Buchuan. At that time, whatever the status of a son of the world was, it was all just a corpse. Brother, even though this is a bad move on our part, we really just want to join forces with you and conspire for a greater harvest. Feng Xianting gritted his teeth. Chen Fan said in a cold voice, I remember I also told you that as long as Zhang Feng is dead, everything is fine, but now he is still alive. Zhang Feng's face changed greatly, and he said in a shocked voice, Your son, you can't be instigated by him. He dared to kill Zhu Buchuan, so he doesn't intend to cooperate with us at all. Right now, we still have so many experts, we still have the power to fight. If he kills us one by one, then we really have no power to resist. Feng Xianting's eyes were cloudy, not to mention whether what Chen Fan said was true or not, asking him, as the son of the world, to kill the Tian Bao sect's young patriarch. This was clearly a big pit, so he naturally would not jump. Seeing that he didn't respond, Chen Fan said with a cold expression, release the disciples of the five elements sect. Otherwise, I don't mind killing all of you. Chen Fan's words made the crowd's hearts flutter. Kill them all. What a horrible killing nature. Who the hell is he? He's even more arrogant than my clan brother. Ling Hu Jianzhe. Ling Hu Guanshan's eyes narrowed vainly, and a touch of fear surged from the depths of his eyes. Originally, he thought that no matter how strong the talent was, as long as they were born in the world and had not reached the top, it was impossible for them not to have a single scruple. But this person in front of him really didn't seem to have any scruples. After all, the people who converged here were all the proud sons of the heavens from various clans and tribes. And if they were all really killed, how much of a storm would it set off? Without absolutely terrifying strength and background, none of them could even suppress the consequences that arose. But if this person is really reckless, then they, these people, may really be sending themselves to a dead end. Release the people of the Five Elements sect. Feng Xianting finally compromised under the pressure of Chen Fan's powerful aura. The people who were escorting the disciples of the Five Elements sect behind them released the hostage-taking group of disciples of the Five Elements sect. These disciples were so excited that they hurriedly ran towards Chen Fan's side, arching their hands gratefully and saying, Thank you for saving me. Brother, go all the way back. Yang Pang and the others are waiting for you at the back. Chen Fan just coldly answered. Yes, the disciples of the Five Elements sect hurriedly ran backwards. Feng Xianting and the others' hearts tightened once again. The hostages were released, and if the other side still wanted to kill, they didn't even have the leverage to threaten the other side. But with such a scenario, they were even more afraid not to let go. Chen Fan coldly glanced at Mikado He. The royal wind lotus heart tightened, and he hurriedly said, The Mountain River Sword sect has never thought of making an enemy of your brother, much less participating in the hostage-taking of the disciples of the Five Elements sect. Being here, I was just afraid that the situation would get out of control and thought that I could reconcile it. Feng He knows that brother may not believe this explanation, but this is really what Feng He has in mind. Chen Fan said indifferently, I'll give you two breaths of time. Take the people from the Mountain River Sword Sect and get lost. Mikado's heart shook as he hurriedly said, Good. Mountain River Sword Sect disciples, retreat with me. Royal wind he turned around and shouted, flying away without hesitation. Feng Xianting's face darkened, and in his heart, he cursed Royal Flinghua as a smelly bitch. Hong Hao, Xias and two people, at this time also do not care about what the son of the world is not the son of the world. To save their lives is important. Rush to say, I Tianchue sect, Thunder Marshal sect, also in no way and brother as an enemy. Scram, Chen Fan said icily. The two were delighted and hurriedly ran off with the men as well. Zhu Buchu and exhausted all means, cannot block the black-robed man casually a blow? How dare they still have half a chance? They know that the only way to survive is to admit defeat and get out. Chapter 96, Your Excellency, please stay. If they were outside of the Earth Spirit Abyss, the disciples of the three sects, since they would have a strong bottom. But here, the original reliance, bumping into the unscrupulous and ruthless black robe, was completely useless. So even if it offends the world's son, they're going to bolt. As Hong Hao and CSN also led the people away, the face of the world's son Feng Xianting became even more ugly. Zhang Feng, on the other hand, was so horrified that his legs and feet went limp and he was ready to activate the heavenly shield formation plate. The eyes of the Linghu siblings, too, averted. When encountering this kind of ruthless and strong existence, the prestige of the Linghu family, I'm afraid that it won't work anymore. He he, we, 
siblings, are just tagging along to watch the fun? Ling Hu Guanshan laughed and spoke out. Chen Fan coldly looked over toward him and spat out one word from his mouth. Get lost. A grim coldness narrowed in Ling Hu Guanshan's eyes. As a member of the Ling Hu family, how had he ever been scolded like this? Brother, this guy is so fierce. Let's just go. Ling Hu hearing rain, who hadn't been afraid of anything and was always picking fights, had a small expression that was also grave at this moment. The unusual atmosphere made her smell a strong sense of danger. Okay, let's go. Ling Hu Guanshan took a deep breath, pulled Ling Hu listening Rain's hand, and turned to leave. Anyone else want to leave? Chen Fan asked indifferently. Many people had a look of emotion and wanted to leave, but they were worried that they would be pursued by the world's son afterward. Not everyone dares to offend the world's son. Feng Shenting knew that with Zhuo Bukun being forcefully killed, all of his plans had been disrupted and it was impossible for him to have another chance to coerce the black robes into serving him. He had originally thought that with his own identity, coupled with blackmailing the lives of a group of disciples from the Five Elements sect, no matter what the black robed man's identity was, he should only be able to compromise and back down. It's from the bottom of his status, but at this moment, he had realized how wrong he was. In front of a madman, any means other than strength to conquer the other party is just a joke in the other party's eyes. This joke includes his worldly son. Feng Xianting. Feng Xianting took a low breath, sank his face, and arched his hand. In that case, Feng Mao also takes his leave. Chen Fan nodded indifferently. Feng Xianting's heart was relieved as he secretly said, It seems that this person still has more or less some concerns about my identity. Let's go. As soon as Feng Xianting turned around, Zhang Feng and the Arc Blade sect people also wanted to follow and leave. Those from the Arc Blade sect and the Tian Bao sect, they can't leave. Chen Fan icily snapped. The eyes of the people of the second clan, their eyes trembled tremendously as they looked towards Feng Xianting for help. Feng Xianting gritted his teeth and said, This is a grudge between you and your black-robed brother. Settle it yourselves. Everyone else, follow this worldly son and leave quickly. Dog Shitsi, my senior brother lost his life for you, and you are so heartless. In that case, I don't care about anything else. With a roar, a true spirit realm disciple of the Arcblade sect suddenly rushed towards Feng Xianting with bloodshot eyes. He held a battle sword and ferociously chopped out a blade light, which instantly transformed into the shadow of a bloody tiger that roared and pounced on Feng Xianting. Feng Xianting's eyes were cold. He was already holding a belly full of fire. Seeing that the arc blade sex people dared to strike out at him, where would there be any hesitation? A fist blasted straight out. Seek death. Boom. The power of the spirit lake realm's fist energy was easily able to blast through the true spirit realm's blood tiger fury blade technique. The power of a single punch not only easily blasted through the shadow of the blood tiger, it also blasted down on the arc sword sect disciple. Boo! The arc blade sect disciple was instantly blasted out, his shrimp bowed body spitting out blood. When he landed, his eyes were cracked with blood and his breath was broken. It is this world son who is under Zhuo Butchuan's compulsion. Anyone who reverses black and white and entangles themselves again, will not blame this son of the world for being impolite. Feng Xianting coldly grunted and dropped a sentence before continuing to withdraw. Arc Sword Sect and Tian Bao Sex People. Where can they still not see the situation? Knowing that no one can be relied on. Suddenly in despair, but also no longer hesitate. Feng Xianting has not yet withdrawn. They have twisted around. Began to wildly escape mode. Feng Xianting also walked on his own as if he didn't see it. But the next moment, his heart was beating wildly. However, a black shadow was seen. Like a lightning flash. Zigzagging back and forth in this space and the disciples of the Arc Blade sect and Tian Bao sect were killed off in less than three breaths of time. Only remaining, Zhang Feng was trapped alone in the shadow of the hastily offered heavenly shield formation, shivering and full of fear. This speed, too, terrifying. Fortunately, Zhuo Buqiuan died early, so that I don't have the courage to strike out at the other party. This if we really fought, even though we are outnumbered and have some cards in our possession. How could we be this person's opponent? This person's strength is by no means comparable to an ordinary clasping Dan realm. As the son of the world, Feng Xianting had come into contact with powerful people of the clasping Dan realm since he was a child, so he naturally had an understanding of the strength of the clasping Dan realm. It was also because of this understanding that he felt that, relying on the strength of the crowd, he might be able to fight, but the truth was that the black robes in front of him were far too strong than those he knew of at the clasping Dan realm. Shaking his little legs, Feng Xianting trudged away before letting out a low breath. World son, lest the other party backtracks, let's just go straight back to the exit and wait for the trial to end. A person beside Feng Xianting suggested with a pale face, although Feng Xianting felt that this was a bit of a wimp, it was also just what he wanted. Then let's follow brother Lu's advice. Feng Xianting nodded, 
his gaze narrowed coldly as he said, when we get out of the earth spirit abyss, this son of the world would like to see if he can still be so arrogant, right, as long as he gets out of the earth spirit abyss, he's nothing, the crowd laughed coldly, it was as if a few harsh words could restore their lost face, Seiji stay, just as Feng Xianting and the others whispered harsh words, an indifferent voice came from behind, Feng Xuanning's pupils shrunk in shock, it was hard to believe that his words had been heard by the other side. The others were also so horrified that their bodies trembled, and some of them couldn't even help but want to cry. It's all your fault. It would have been better to run away in the dust. You have to let out some stinking fart. A person with a desperate heart couldn't help but curse. Feng Xianting gritted his teeth and said, Don't panic. Let's see what he's going to do. Feng Xianting took a deep breath and turned over. Chen Fan came flying. Feng Xianting squeezed out a smile and said, does Brother Black Robe want to ask me to join forces and blast through Jiang Feng's heavenly shield formation together? A few hundred meters away, Jiang Feng was alone, cowering in the large formation, not daring to come out. Chen Fan didn't go to break the big formation. Instead he flew over to him. Feng Xianting was scared and puzzled in his heart. Chen Fan said indifferently, I have a few words that I would like to talk to Shitsi alone. If we have a good chat, it is not impossible to explore the earth spirit abyss together. Feng Xianting's eyes were happy. He did not expect that the peak had turned around, he was immediately excited. Good, as long as brother and sister are willing to cooperate, we can talk about anything, let's talk somewhere else then. Chen Fan smiled faintly, and with a flash of his body, he swept away in the direction of the center of the chaotic spirit area. Feng Xian Ting hesitated for a moment and said with a clench of his teeth, wealth and riches, he should not dare to harm me, you guys just wait here, if I don't make it back, after you guys get out, give this list to my father. Whoever kills me will be among them. Feng Xianting took out a piece of paper and handed it to a person behind him. Then he swept his body violently and chased after Chen Fan. Chapter 97, Feng Wushuang. The two of them, one after the other, quickly swept and flashed to ten miles away. In this area, there were no more other trialists for the time being. And Chen Fan, who had his back to Feng Xianting, had a touch of icy coldness swept through his eyes. This person, Feng Xianting, even if he did not have a murderous intent towards him, but entangling the crowd and using the five elements sect as bait to try to coerce him into showing his face. This alone made Chen Fan resent him. If he was in a general capacity, perhaps Chen Fan would have just let him go as a fart. But Feng Xianting is the son of the Qingzhou prefecture. The two have already formed a grudge. Releasing it is a hidden danger. So from the beginning, Chen Fan had no intention of letting him go. Only, he originally thought that he would take care of Zhang Feng first and then come back to clean up this bastard. But naturally, Zhang Feng had now turned into a turtle and was hiding in the heavenly shield formation when he didn't move. Breaking the heavenly shield formation was actually not difficult for Chen Fan. It just required a lot of his spiritual energy to be used up. Within the crisis-ridden earth spirit abyss, it wasn't wise to overexert oneself. There was no need to be in a hurry to kill him. Chen Fan, who was a top mercenary in his previous life, had plenty of patience. Feng Xianting landed and stabilized himself 10 meters behind Chen Fan, arched his hand and asked with a smile. Brother Black Robe, what do you want to talk about? His mind was on guard since as well. Chen Fan turned around and said indifferently, You guys guessed my identity? Feng Xianting laughed, Guesses are just guesses after all. Since Brother Black Robe intends to cooperate with me, why don't you take off your mask and meet me frankly? Chen Fan smiled and took off his mask. Feng Xianting was stunned, not expecting Chen Fan to really take off his mask. The candor that World Sun wanted. I gave it. Now I also want a word from Shitsi on how I can help me kill Jiang Feng. Chen Fan asked. Feng Xian Ting's eyes flickered. Then he smiled bitterly and said, Why do you have to kill Jiang Feng? This Jiang Feng is the Tian Baosek's junior patriarch. Killing him will lead to great things. Chen Fan's eyes narrowed. It seems that what you all thought was me is not me. Otherwise, Shitsi shouldn't be unaware of the beef between Jiang Feng and me. Feng Xian Ting said, Jiang Feng just wrote a list of enemies with six names on it. Three of them have been eliminated, leaving only three that have never been found. But all three, according to Zhang Feng, are also not life and death enemies. Chen Fan said indifferently, Oh, then who are these last three people? Feng Xuanting's eyes narrowed lightly as he said, Is this the only thing that brother wants to talk about? Chen Fan shook his head and said, It's not just this matter, there is also. Buzz. Openly, Chen Fan's spiritual sense blasted out, directly pressing Feng Xianting. Feng Xianting's pupils tightened. And just as he raised his right hand, he felt an invisible and terrifying pressure that struck the top of his head heavily. Boo! His knees sank, and he snapped to his knees. The powerful sense of oppression made him feel like he was burdened with a huge mountain, and he couldn't even gasp for breath, not to mention being able to make any other movements or shouts. 
This was still the strength of Chen Fan who did not intend to destroy his physical body. Otherwise, with Chen Fan's powerful mind power at the middle stage of the clasping Dan realm, he could completely crush Feng Xianting's bones and internal organs directly. Feng Xianting could not move his body or speak. His heart was terrified to the extreme. He watched as Chen Fan approached him step by step, wanting to beg for mercy but unable to speak. Beads of sweat, as large as beans, fell like rain. Spare, me, he spat out two words with difficulty, his voice muffled and small. Chen Fan ignored it and only asked coldly, I warned you not to get yourself into trouble, but you just refused to listen. Then, be a dead man who won't cause trouble. Boom. Chen Fan opened his big hand and actually extracted Feng Xuanting's soul power. Ra, as the son of the world, too many people were watching Feng Xianting's every move. Chen Fan had to let the islanders occupying Feng Xianting's physical body know enough about Feng Xianting to not be caught off guard. Siphoning people's souls was cruel, but Chen Fan also had to be responsible for his islanders. Otherwise, once his identity was revealed, the islanders occupying Feng Xuanting's physical body would definitely end up miserable. Feng Wushuang, on the main altar, Chen Fan's spirit body let out a low cry. Swish, in a matter of moments, a young figure, from a corner of Sin Immortal Island, burst into the sky and swept into the void outside the main altar. The youth was surprised. Island master, Feng Wushuang is here. Chen Fan smiled. You're lucky to meet someone with the same surname. Go to the soul departure altar. Ha ha, good. Wushuang has been waiting for this day for a long time. Feng Wushuang let out an excited cry. His figure whooshed and scurried through the air, landing on the soul departure altar in the blink of an eye. Chen Fan flew up and down, and before his paws landed on the soul departure altar, he had already stored up the power of a sword. Feng Wushuang's face twitched. Was the island master in such a hurry? I'm in a hurry. So quickly adjust your state to your strongest state and take a sword from me. Chen Fan said indifferently. If one sword doesn't kill you, the two of you will continue to fight. A successful chopping with one sword will successfully complete the departure of the soul. Feng Wushuang sniffed and immediately adjusted his state to his strongest defense. Spinning Skyblade Shadow Formation. Boom. In an instant, dozens of terrifying spiritual power blade shadows, transformed into a wind-swirling momentum, around Feng Wushuang's circumference rotating at a fast speed. This spinning heavenly blade shadow array, not only can be defended, once rushed into the enemy formation, it also has the terrifying power of a meat grinder in general. Wild wind burst dance, layers of space, as if there are traces of being cut, this kind of horrible knife array, let Chen Fan cannot help but have the idea of stealing the teacher. This set of blade formation, pass it on to me later. Chen Fan laughed, ha ha, to be seen by the island master, that would be an honor for my Feng family's peerless blade technique. Feng Wushuang laughed out loud. Chen Fan smiled slightly. The islanders were always this warm and selfless. He was just saying it casually, but he didn't half force it. Heaven's punishment sword of execution. The strongest sword came down with a bang. Boom. With the purple shadow spirit sword, wrapped in supreme might, the powerful sword she chopped down out of the corner of one's eye, as if a purple river was pouring down, ruthlessly chopping down on Feng Wushuang's spinning heavenly blade shadow formation. Boom. In an instant, heaven and earth shook and a roaring sound resounded throughout the sky above the Sin Immortal Island, and a strong fluctuating air force radiated out from the soul separation altar, spreading out into the surrounding miles of empty space, spinning heavenly blade shadow array crazy twisting momentum, although powerful to the extreme, crazy wear and tear sword power, but only lasted for three breaths of time, is unable to withstand the terrifying power of the heavenly punishment sword of God, boom, collapse broken away, once the blade formation was broken, Fong Wushuang, who was in it, was directly chopped up in the middle of his pupil's shocked opening. Half a cup of tea later, Feng Xianting sat up from the ground, and within his pupils, there was still a residual color of panic. Island Master, the power of that sword of yours just now was too terrifying as well. A sword move derived from the prime heavenly great technique is truly powerful and unrivaled. Island Master, can Wu Shuang have an unforgiving request? Feng Xianting said excitedly. Chen Fan smiled faintly. Are you thinking of letting me diffuse the peerless blade technique for you with the prime diffusion technique after you pass it on to me? Feng Xuanning's face blushed as he busily said, Not only is Island Master's divine martial arts matchless, he is even more wise. Although Wu Shuang knows that this request is a bit excessive, Wu Shuang really wants to know to what extent the Wu Shuang blade skill can be enhanced after it has been diffused by the prime heavenly great diffusion skill. Chen Fan smiled, As long as you do things well, this is not too much to ask of you. First, devour this mass of soul power. Although I know that you cultivate the law of the righteous path, but this person's memories, you must master. Feng Xianting grinned. What is the righteous path and the devil's path? From now on, 
The island master is my little Wushuang's path. Chapter 98, A Street Rat. After Feng Wushuang finished kissing his ass, he didn't hesitate to activate the power of his spiritual consciousness to devour Feng Shuanting's soul power. The power of the soul was never something that could be devoured. The essence of the soul is also an energy. Only, the righteous martial arts practitioners believe that devouring the soul power of similar martial arts practitioners is detrimental to heavenly harmony and is an evil demonic technique. But the real situation is that it is unknown how many people are quietly devouring other people's soul power behind their backs. While Feng Wushuan was devouring and refining the power of Feng Shuanting's soul, Chen Fan also ferried Feng Wushuan's spirit body power towards him. Time flew by, and nearly an hour later, Chen Fan finally transmitted Feng Wushuan's spiritual body power completely into Feng Shuanting's physical body. As the cultivation level of the islanders moved out became higher and higher, the time taken to transmit the power of the spirit body also became longer and longer. Of course, the most important reason was that Chen Fan's own cultivation level was only at the middle stage of the Clasping Dan realm, and the level of his cultivation was also an important factor that affected the speed of spiritual energy transmission. If Chen Fan was at the Immortal Infant Realm cultivation at this time, it would only take half a tea's worth of effort to transmit Feng Wushuang, a late-stage Clasping Dan realm cultivator. Wushuang, from now on, you will be Feng Xinting. For the time being, you need to forget about your identity and completely integrate into the identity of Feng Xinting. After that, I still need you to cooperate with me in a big drama. Chen Fan smiled. Feng Wushuang grinned. Don't worry Island Master. From now on, there will be no Feng Wushuang. There will only be Feng Xinting, the Qingzhou Prefecture's world son. Ha ha, proper. Chen Fan laughed with satisfaction and got up. It's been quite a long time. It's time for you to go back and shine so that you can put that group of family descendants from Qingzhou Prefecture at ease. Brother Black Robe, then Mr. Feng will take his leave first. Feng Xianting narrowed his eyes and smiled, clasping his fists as he saluted. Chen Fan was happy. This kid, into the scene very quickly ah, good, I wish us a happy cooperation. Chen Fan arched his hand and smiled. Ha ha, it must be pleasant. Mr. Feng will go. Feng Xianting laughed out loud as his figure flew away. More than 10 miles away, a group of family descendants under the Qingzhou Prefecture's command were filled with worry. Although the sun before the trip, there has been an explanation. But if the sun really have an accident, even if they can live back, go back. I'm afraid the end will not be too good. After all, Feng Xianting was the sun that the prefecture master valued the most. What are you all crying for? Thinking that this worldly sun is dead? Amidst the derisive laughter, a silhouette flew through the air. The crowd was overjoyed at the sound, their eyes reddening with excitement. The Seiho is back. The sun is back. Ha ha, what did I say? The son of the world's lucky man will have his own heavenly fortune and will definitely be fine. That's right. Who is our son? Even if that black-robed man dares to kill Zhubuquan, he certainly wouldn't dare to touch his son. The crowd was so excited that they simultaneously slapped a smattering of ass. Feng Xianting's figure fell and laughed. All right, I'll stop kissing ass. There is still business to be done later. Su Tsong, that list can be returned to this world's son. Feng Xianting reached out to one of them, the one named Su Tsong. Hurriedly took out the piece of paper he had put away and handed it back to Feng Xianting with both hands. Feng Xianting casually put it away. This son has already made an agreement with Brother Black Robe. As long as we help him kill Zhang Feng, he will escort us and head into the depths to explore greater opportunities. Feng Xianting said with a faint smile. Su Tsong was slightly startled, and quickly said, Your son, do you really want to help him kill Zhang Feng? In case this gets into the heavenly treasure sect, that's no small trouble. Feng Xianting bristled. This is a grudge between Black Robe and Tian Bao sect. What does it have to do with us? Even if we go out and Black Robe tries to drag us down, do you guys think that the Tian Bao sect will believe him? Or me as their worldly son? Su Tsung still hesitated. Instead, there was a bit of a leap in the eyes of the others. Seiji, no matter what you do, we'll follow you. Right. Follow the world son and there will be plenty of opportunities. The Black Robe wants to kill Zhang Feng. This Zhang Feng can't escape death either way but it's just a matter of dying sooner or later. It would be better to sacrifice his little life to create more opportunities for so many of us. Ha ha, yes, if we can go to the depths of the chaotic spirit area, then what is hidden there is bound to be even stronger. If we get one of them, we can make our family's heritage stronger. This cooperation, I think it's worth it. Of course it's worth it. After all, it's not like it's the talking heads who are sacrificed. Feng Xianting sneered in his heart. Indeed. They are all a bunch of villains who see profit and forget righteousness. Since you all agree, let's go out with this world son and look for that street rat. Remember, don't expose our minds so easily. We're just cooperating with the black robe. Just don't give Zhang Feng the chance to sacrifice the array disc. 
No need to do it ourselves. Feng Xianting admonished. Understood. The crowd responded with excitement. Go. Feng Xianting sneered and swept away in the air with the crowd. Looking around for Zhang Feng. Zhang Feng saw Chen Fan leave more than an hour ago, and after carefully turtling up for a long time, and then not seeing the black robes that were going to kill him, he hurriedly collected the array plate and ran wildly toward the periphery. He had one wish right now, wishing that the trial would hurry up and end, then escape from the earth spirit abyss and return to the heavenly treasure sect. As long as he returned to the heavenly treasure sect, it would be the time for him to gather the strongest members of the sect and make a clean sweep. Feng Xianting was looking for Zhang Feng, and so was Chen Fan. After parting ways with Feng Xianting, Chen Fan did not go back to Chang Lele. The people of the Five Elements sect had already gathered in one place, and it was up to them to see if they could make it through peacefully behind them. He didn't come in here to be a bodyguard for the sidekick. Strange, this Jiang Feng wouldn't have slipped towards the exit, would he? A young sect master of the Heavenly Treasure sect, so godless? It's still nearly five days until the end of the trial. Could it be that he's going to spend more than half of that time, waiting for it to end? Chen Fan thought darkly and decided to look back. Anyway, with his speed, it wouldn't take him a day to stroll through every deep valley, beyond the chaotic spirit zone. In a deep valley, Su Wenjun, Luo Qingkue, and Tang Fei Young had formed a small team at some point. While everyone was rushing towards the chaotic spirit area, the three of them were still digging for spirit materials in the deep valley behind them. Three people in the long deep valley, digging, 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 without other people to compete. The three people harvested a lot each face, overflowing with the joy of harvest. Swish, openly, a silhouette swept rapidly, while there was even a sword light, cutting across towards where the three people were. The power of this sword was quite powerful, the sword chi arcing over 30 meters, encompassing the three locations where the three were. There's a sneak attack, you guys watch out. Luo Kinkite's face turned white with fury, and in a loud shout, she couldn't run her sword moves in time, and could only raise her right palm and blast out a palm of spiritual energy. Rushing towards the incoming sword arc of light, Su Wenjun sensed the movement. A pretty face was also cold and chilly. The spirit sword in his hand blasted out. With the vibration of the sword body, the sword actually split the shadow out of the four mighty sword ons to. Boom! Boom! Luo Kinkite's palm force, Su Wenjun's sword aura, successively clashed with the incoming sword arc, colliding with a violent boom. The three people's attacks, too, dispersed from each other in the midst of the collision, randomly bumping into three people and two of them are even at the true spirit realm? Zhang Feng's face clouded over. He passed by from here, thinking that he would kill and silence those who had seen his movements. But to his surprise, it seemed that he had kicked the iron plate. The moment Tang Fei Yang saw Zhang Feng, he couldn't help but be happy, his eyes somewhat playful. Isn't this the young patriarch of the Tian Bao sect? You actually recognize this young patriarch? Then you deserve to die. Zhang Feng said in a cold voice, Chapter 99 Windy wants to go home. Luo Qingkite and Su Wenjun's faces instantly became even more ugly when they learned that the person who had sneaked up on them was actually the Tian Bao sect's young sect master. Young Patriarch Jiang, the three of us have no grudges against you, why did you attack and kill us? Su Wenjun said angrily, there was also hostility rising in Luo Qingkite's eyes. Even if it was the Tian Bao sect's young patriarch, he couldn't just try to take her life without any reason. Zhang Feng laughed coldly, just because you saw this young patriarch, you have to die. What a pity. If it was usual, this young patriarch would still have the pleasure of accompanying you two little beauties to have a good time. But today, you won't have the chance to enjoy the pleasure. As soon as Zhang Feng's words fell, his footsteps suddenly moved the ground, and his body was like a swimming dragon, exploding and soaring, and in a matter of seconds, a sword's cold aura was pointing towards Tang Fei Yang's chest. Young city lord, get out of the way, Su Wenjun exclaimed, his face white with shock because she saw that Tang Fei Yang actually did not have the slightest intention of dodging, which was not waiting for the long sword to poke his heart, Luo Ching Kue, on the other hand, looked at Tang Fian in surprise, her cultivation level was a bit higher than Su Wenjun's, and her spiritual sense perception was stronger since, although Tang Fei Yang didn't move, a subtle aura was formed around him, buzz, when the long sword in Zhang Feng's hand was only two inches away from Tang Fei Yang's heart, a mysterious spirit pattern suddenly rippled out from Tang Fei Yang's body, Zhang Feng's pupils shrank, and his sword, which was originally rushing with a fierce momentum, could no longer advance by half at this moment, the entire body of the sword, as if it was glued to the strange spirit pattern in front of Tang Fei Yang, stabbing, unable to move forward, retreating, unable to draw, asshole, what kind of evil technique are you using? Zhang Feng cursed angrily, his left hand transformed into a palm and slapped at Tang Fei Yang's head, 
The corner of Tang Fei Yang's lips hooked up with a touch of disdain. His right hand similarly handed out, his right palm facing Jiang Feng's left palm. Boom! As the two palms connected, Jiang Feng's pupils once again contracted wildly. He only felt a terrifying palm force that exploded out of Tang Fei Yang's palm, instantly crushing the palm force on his left palm. And by this palm force of Tang Fei Yang's, it went straight to his left arm. Boo! Ah! Under the terrifying power infusion, Zhang Feng's entire left arm exploded with a bang, and the whole person flew backwards with a miserable scream. The sword that was originally held in his right hand could not be grasped and came out of his hand, and was casually thrown up by Tang Fei Yang's two fingers as he clamped the tip of the sword, and then copied the hilt of the sword with his right hand. Su Wenjun and Luo Qingkue were completely stunned at this moment. When did the young city lord's strength become so terrifying? They remembered that Tang Fei Yan was only in the middle stage of the true spirit realm Ah, Zhang Feng, although he was also in the true spirit realm, he was a true spirit realm grand circle. Moreover, he also possessed a fourth grade spirit vein, so his battle power was even stronger than an ordinary true spirit realm grand circle. By a lot. However, what happened in front of him was that Tang Fei Yan not only easily blocked Zhang Feng's surefire sword, but also crushed Zhang Feng with a palm strike in the palm sparring match. Wasting one of Jiang Feng's arms, how could Luo Qingkite and Su Wenju not be shocked by this? We can't let him get away, otherwise we and the family behind us are finished. Suddenly, Luo Qingkui's face turned pale, and with a shriek, she was about to rush out. After flying backwards and landing on the ground, Jiang Feng, although his injuries were extremely heavy and his appearance was miserable, but he had been chased by Qin Fan, he had also become even more lifethirsty. The moment he hit the ground, he braced himself for a surge of energy and bounced up not hesitating to choose to run for his life again. Luo Qingkue also saw him run out, and only then did she come back to her senses from the shock. But before she could rush out, she was grabbed by Tang Fei Yang's arm. I'll just go after it. I'm the one who hurt him. It has nothing to do with you guys. You two take care of yourselves. The people here aren't any good. Tang Fei Yang finished with a faint smile before he let go of Luo Qingkite's arm, and with a flash of his body, he chased after him. He is not going to kill Zhang Feng. If he was going to kill, he would have done it just now. The life of this dog Zhang Feng has to be reserved for the island master. However, Tang Fei Yang was also very depressed at the moment. Originally thought that the island master had assigned himself a free job, just accompanying the two beauties to dig for spiritual materials, but did not expect to encounter Zhang Feng, who had taken the initiative to come over to attack and kill them, forcing him to only make a move to reveal part of his strength. Tang Fei Yang's figure quickly disappeared in the eyes of the two women. Miss Luo. What cultivation level do you think the young city lord is at least with the strength he just erupted? Su Wenjun's eyes flickered lightly and said. Luo Qingkai took a low breath and said. At least mid-spirit lake realm. Without that kind of strength, it would be impossible to block Jiang Feng's sword so easily. And the strength of the spirit power would not be enough to shatter Jiang Feng's arm. Su Wenjun let out a long breath and smiled bitterly. I didn't expect him to hide so deeply. With his strength and cultivation, if he reveals himself, he can definitely be ranked in the top 40 of the Dragon and Phoenix ranking, right? Luo Qingkite nodded and said, the top 40 can definitely enter. I originally thought that Chen Jun and the Gu family's Gu Chuanqin would be the most dazzling geniuses in Tiger Spirit City, but unfortunately, Chen Jun is too hostile, and Gu Chuanqin has had his spirit vein abolished, but instead, it's this young city lord, who is usually unassuming, who is the most dazzling genius and the one most likely to become the next clasping Dan realm existence in Tiger Spirit City. Su Wenjun laughed. Miss Luo's talent is also very strong ah. She only needs to work a little harder to break into the Spirit Lake realm. Spirit Lake realm before the age of 30. Those are all phoenixes of the Heavenly Pride generation. Luo Qingkite raised an eyebrow. Is Miss Su reminding me that I'm almost 30? Luo Qingkue is 29 this year. If he didn't make a breakthrough, he wouldn't be able to make it in time to step into the Spirit Lake realm before the age of 30. Su Wenjun laughed bitterly, Miss Luo should not be so sensitive. Luo Qingkue pursed her lips, she used to not care, but she didn't know what was going on, but she suddenly became sensitive to her age, to her own age. Let's follow over and take a look as well. This Zhang Feng must die, Luo Qingkite said in a low voice. If Zhang Feng got out alive, at that time, the heavenly treasure sect might not dare to move easily because the city lord's mansion was the official residence of the holy dynasty but pinching her Luo and Su families to death was just a matter of turning over their hands. Only by making Zhang Feng a dead man would the stormy Luo family not be completely crushed. Miles away, Zhang Feng, who fled wildly all the way, his face was pale, running all the way, all the way his mouth and the broken arm wound were gurgling out blood. Even though he had continuously stuffed seven or eight of the best healing pills into his mouth, he couldn't stabilize his injuries. 
Out of the corner of his eye, tears of blood were even beginning to drip. Dad. Mother. Wendy wants to go home. Wendy wants to go home. At this moment, Zhang Feng's heart was miserable and incomparable, and he felt that his vision, all of it, began to become blurred. These arrogant and accustomed people may only become soft when they feel they are dying. Zhang Feng was running wildly, and in a daze, he seemed to see a person standing in front of him. Chen Fan? The fiancé of that bitch Gu Chuanqin? Ha ha ha, I didn't expect, I didn't expect, God still favors me, even letting me pull another back before I die. Zhang Feng's bloodshot eyes, openly became hideous. Chapter 100, Bring It to Your Father. The two were getting closer. The killing intent on Zhang Feng's face, grew stronger and stronger. But he was surprised that this Chen Fan was not the least bit afraid when he saw him charging over. Couldn't this kid see that he was going to rush over and kill him? Chen Fan, you're really tired of living and actually dare to show up in front of this young patriarch on your own accord. But if you are willing to kneel down and beg for forgiveness, perhaps this young patriarch will leave you a whole body. Jiang Feng laughed angrily. Chen Fan's expression was cold, and he didn't even give Jiang Feng a sneer. He just stepped forward violently. His figure was like a black shadow, appearing in front of Jiang Feng in the blink of an eye. Snap! Before Jiang Feng could react from Chen Fan's speed, an ear slap had already viciously slapped Jiang Feng's face. Jiang Feng was instantly jerked up and slammed hard into the mountain wall on one side. Boo! Wa dash! Jiang Feng wowed and spat out a large mouthful of blood, his face becoming more and more bloodless. Bastard! How dare you! Hit me! Nope! How did you? You get that kind of speed! Zhang Feng slumped to the ground. The arrogance in his eyes suddenly turned back into panic. The speed that Chen Fan had just erupted with was clearly impossible for someone in the Qi practicing realm to have. When Feng Xianting asked him to write the suspicious list, he never even thought about Chen Fan. It was because Chen Fan was a waste in his eyes who could not build his foundation and only had a great circle of Qi practicing realm. How can this kind of trash be a black robe? But at this moment, Zhang Feng's heart suddenly trembled terribly. He suddenly felt as if what he thought was impossible was that possibility. Chen Fan coldly walked up to Zhang Feng and looked down at him. Until now, you still can't figure out who has been chasing you? You, are that black robe? Zhang Feng asked horrifiedly as he shockingly convexed his bleeding eyes. Chen Fan said icily, from the time you hurt Bu Yu, you were destined to die in my hands. Today, it is your time to die. Chen Fan raised his hand and pressed it towards the top of Zhang Feng's head. Don't, don't kill me, Chen Fan, I'm wrong, I really know I'm wrong, please give me a chance to make it up to you and Gu Bu Yu, when I return, I will definitely have my father personally help Gu Qian Tian restore her spirit vein, yes, the heavenly treasure sect will also give her and you, a heavenly compensation, Zhang Feng panicked and shouted in a hurry, Chen Fan finally gave him a cold smile, there is no need, it is better to destroy the heavenly treasure sect, it would be more satisfying to my hatred. Chen Fan smiled evilly and coldly, then a terrifying spiritual power converged in his palm, a violent explosive nuisance sound, like rolling thunder rumbling in Zhang Feng's ears. Zhang Feng's right hand trembled as he took out a golden yellow array disc, but unfortunately, after several attempts, he was unable to gush out his spiritual power and activate the array disc. Chen Fan knew that he had the heavenly shield formation plate in his hand, so how would he give him another chance to activate the plate? That slap in the face was more than just a slap in the face. The power of the spirit energy from that slap drilled and surged into Jiang Feng's meridians and had long since shocked Jiang Feng's meridians, breaking all of them. You, you dare to kill me. I, my father will not let you go. And the Chen family and the Gu family. Jiang Feng shivered in fear. The terrifying palm force that Chen Fan had gathered was roaring above his head, ready to fall at any moment. It's ten times scarier than a knife to the neck. Jiang Feng can almost imagine. Chen Fan this palm fell. His head must be turned into thin. Your father should want to see you one last time. Chen Fan suddenly narrowed his eyes. Jiang Feng's eyes were happy and he quickly said, Yes, 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 my father definitely wants to see me one last time. Don't kill me first, take me to see my father. As I said, I will definitely give you guys full compensation. At that time, whatever conditions you have, just mention them. The corners of Chen Fan's lips lifted and the spiritual energy in his palm dispersed. Jiang Feng was thrilled. Swish. However, in the next moment, Jiang Feng's pupils contracted violently again. However, he saw Chen Fan suddenly take out a long sword and said indifferently, that I'll take your head and bring it to your father to have a look. It's too cheap to just send him a message of death. Chen Fan. You. Pust. In the midst of Jiang Feng's shocked fury, Chen Fan sunk his wrist and chopped Jiang Feng's head off with a sword. A spirit sealing seal then fell, wrapping it up and storing it in the Xian Kong Ring. Island Master. 
Those two ninjas are chasing after us, Tung Fei Yang's soul voice, transmitted over. Although the two of them hadn't met, they had long sensed each other's aura. Tung Fei Yang knew that Chen Fan would want to kill Zhang Feng with his own hands, so he stood hundreds of meters away and did not come over. Well, Luo Ching Kuei, is there anything unusual? Chen Fan asked indifferently. Rather, I didn't find anything out of the ordinary. This woman has a cold face and a warm heart, and seems to be really a straightforward nature. Tong Fei Yang said. It's best if there are no abnormalities. Chen Fan said. Then I'll send them away? Tong Fei Yang laughed. Jiang Feng is dead, and I'm leaving. These two, you should take care of them a little more. Chen Fan said. There's nothing wrong with taking care of it. It's just that I accidentally exposed my strength just now. Will that be a problem? Tung Fei Yang asked cautiously. Chen Fan frowned. How much strength was exposed? Cough. Almost the peak of the spirit lake realm. Tung Fei Yang said sheepishly. Chen Fan's eyes flashed with coldness, and a killing intent suddenly rose. With Tung Fei Yang's qualifications, at this age, he wouldn't be able to reach the peak of the spirit lake realm. Once this matter was rumored, it would definitely cast suspicion on Tang Fei Yang's identity. In an instant, Chen Fan had the thought of seizing the physical bodies of Luo Qingkite and Su Wenjun. The only way to keep Tang Fei Yang's secret was to make them her own. When Tang Fei Yang saw that Chen Fan did not reply, his eyes sank and after taking a deep breath, he said in a low voice, It is the fault of my subordinate. My subordinate knows how to remedy the situation. Beheading the two women. Tang Fei Yang was actually a bit intolerant. After all, after spending these few days together, he felt that the two women were good people, but in order not to cause trouble for the islander. Right now, it seemed that there was no choice but to be ruthless. Young city lord, why have you stopped here? Where's Jiang Feng? Dead? At the back. Su Wenjun and Luo Qingkite finally caught up with Tang Fei Yang, but they only saw Tang Fei Yang alone and did not see Jiang Feng. Tang Fei Yang's eye face narrowed as a murderous intent swept up. Luo Qingkite's heart jumped wildly, hurriedly pulling Su Wenjun back a few steps. Horrified. Young city lord, you, you are going to kill us? Su Wenjun's face turned white as he said in a trembling voice, Miss Luo, what are you babbling about? How could the young city lord want to kill us? Although she didn't believe it, after being reminded by Luo Ching Kuei, she looked at Tang Fei Yang's eyes when he looked at the two of them, and it seemed to be really a little bit wrong. Just when Tang Fei Yang was ruthless and ready to strike, Chen Fan's voice suddenly came from his ears. That's all. Let them go. You can just find a random reason to fool around and knock them around a bit, so that they can keep the secret for you. As for whether they can do it, it's also a chance to test their character. Tang Fei Yang immediately breathed a huge sigh of relief, but his gaze remained ice cold as he looked at the two women. I was thinking, just now, it seems like I exposed my true strength that I have been working hard to hide in front of you guys. So what do you say? Do I have to kill you guys to silence you or not? After all, I don't want anyone to know my true cultivation right now. Chapter 101, Spirit Tide. Tang Fei Yang's question caused both women's hearts to sink violently. Tang Fei Yang really did have murderous intentions towards them. Su Wenjun hurriedly said, Young city lord, don't worry about it. Miss Luo and I will keep our mouths shut about you and will never spread a word out. That's right. And if it wasn't for young city lord just now, we might have died at the hands of Zhang Feng. We are too grateful to the young city lord. How could we betray? Luo Qingkite also said, Even if Tang Fei Yang had only shown part of his strength, this part of his strength was no longer something that the two girls could fight against. The two women knew in their hearts that if Tang Fei Yang really wanted to kill them, they would surely die. The only way to save their lives was to make a promise. Hey, I believe you guys then. After all, these past few days, we still got along quite happily. And this young city lord has long taken you guys as friends. You guys don't want to do anything to apologize to your friends either. Oh, Tong Fei Yang said with a smile. The two women were stunned. The young city master's face became so fast? Young City Lord believes in us, and we will never let Young City Lord down, Luo Qingkite solemnly said. Ha ha, all right, then, are we going to keep digging and digging, or are we going to walk forward a bit? Tung Fei Yang laughed out loud. Su Wenjun hesitated. But what about Jiang Feng? Don't worry, there is no more Jiang Feng in this world. Tung Fei Yang laughed, while the two women breathed a sigh of relief. They also admonished themselves in their hearts that they must keep the secret. The young city lord really dared to kill even Zhang Feng. Wouldn't he have even less qualms about killing them? Halfway through the time, let's go to the chaotic spirit area. Even if there's nothing to gain, it's good to see it, Luo Qingkite said. All right, I agree. Now that the young city lord is here, even if there are any dangers in the chaotic spirit area, it will be much better to cope with them. Su Wenjun laughed. Tong Fei Yang smiled. As long as you treat me as a friend, I will definitely protect you all. Let's set off then. 
Immediately, a group of three people, headed in the direction of the chaotic spirit area. After traveling a few hundred meters, Luo Chinkue's eyes narrowed and she suddenly swept out. She saw a headless body with a broken arm. Judging from the clothes, it was none other than Zheng Feng, young city lord. In the past, I thought that you were just a dude, but I didn't expect that you would really even dare to kill the young patriarch of the heavenly treasure sect. This kind of boldness, Wen Jun really admires it. Su Wen Jun laughed. It's not so much horse talk as it is genuine admiration. The heavenly treasure sect was a behemoth for any clan in Tiger's Pillar City. And normally, they didn't even dare to offend it, let alone behead its young patriarch. Tung Fei Yang smiled faintly. It's not so much vigor. It's just that if he wants to kill us, can we still stick our heads out and let him? Let's go. Leave him alone. A rotten person. Rotten here is just right. Yeah, let's get out of here before anyone notices. It's best if we go through a different deep valley. Luo Chinkue solemnly said. Ha, then change the deep valley. Tung Fei Yang smiled faintly. Chaotic spirit zone. Feng Xianting was still leading the search for Zhang Feng. This brat, where did he die? Feng Xuanting's face darkened a bit. Seiji, you say, could he be dead already? A man at his side said. He might have fled to the deeper depths to avoid pursuit, and ended up being taken out by the dangers of the depths. Feng Xianting raised an eyebrow. It's not impossible that this is possible. Swish. At this time, a black robe silhouette flew through the air. Feng Xuanting's eyes lit up. Brother Black Robe is here. Zhang Feng is dead so there is no need to look for him again. Although you guys didn't contribute in this matter, I will do what I promised you. Let's go. Head deeper. Chen Fan said lightly and flew towards the depths first. If you want these people around Feng Xinting to keep their mouths shut, then you need to feed some favors to them. In this way, it can also make Feng Wuxuan's identity as a fake son of the world a little more solid. The next few days were spent in exploration. There is Chen Fan this big expert in. The crowd is naturally opportunity to pick up to the handsoft. To this once fearful black robe brother, now that is grateful, a mouthful of black robe big brother called, in the blink of an eye, the trial was coming to an end, and the most important opportunity of the trial was beginning to be ushered in, the aura of heaven and earth is starting to shake, the spirit tide is finally coming, ha ha ha, finally surviving to this stage, under the spirit tide, I will definitely break through the foundation establishment realm grand circle and step into the true spirit realm, everyone got excited. The spirit tide was the main event of the earth spirit abyss trial. It seemed to be a general agreement that on the penultimate day of each trial, the entire earth spirit abyss would set off a horrifying spiritual tide, a majestic pure spiritual chi that would erupt and gush from the ground and be absorbed by anyone. The spirit tide lasted for a day, and how much could be absorbed depended on one's own creativity. Boom! The earth shook with a rumble, countless like rain like aura, from the ground penetration upward surge, in a moment, where all people are all into a dense atmosphere. This kind of opportunity, where there is still someone nonsense, have sat down on their knees, running the gong method, crazy swallowing spiritual chi up. Chen Fan naturally wouldn't miss it. He flew and came to an uninhabited area, and with a turn of the prime diffusion technique, a terrifying tide of spirit, which was like a tsunami vortex, surged in towards his physical body. Boom boom boom. The large strands of aura, engulfing the body were rapidly refined into spiritual energy and injected towards the spirit body in the heavenly sea pearl. It was a pity that the spirit tide that lasted for a day did not allow Chen Fan to break through a layer of realm. It only raised his cultivation to the peak level of the middle stage of the Clasping Dan realm. After all, he had just advanced to the middle stage of the Clasping Dan realm not long ago, and it was indeed a bit unrealistic to want to break through again. However, if there was another day of spirit tide, Chen Fan had absolute certainty that he could step into the late stage of Clasping Dan realm. Ha ha ha, I've broken through into the true spirit realm. Ha ha ha, old me is in the middle stage of the true spirit realm. Countless cheering voices resounded everywhere. Miss Luo, you've broken through? Somewhere in the earth spirit abyss. Su Wenjun felt that Luo Chinkue's aura had become much stronger and could not help but ask excitedly. Luo Kinkite's face was also flushed with excitement at this moment. Nodding her head and saying, well, the Dantian spiritual energy transformed into a lake and I finally stepped into the spirit lake realm in time before I turned 30. Congratulations, he he, congratulations to you as well. Advancing into the middle stage of the true spirit realm, you stepped into the spirit lake realm, so I guess you don't even have to stay up until my age. Luo Chinkue laughed. Su Wenjun's face twitched and said, that's for sure, I'm only 21 this year. Luo Chinkue froze, are you that small? It doesn't look much like it. Miss Luo, ha ha, just kidding with you, and you're in a hurry. The mood was so good that even the cold Luo Chinkue also joked. In another place, a smirk swept across Ling Hu Guanshan's face. 
Sis, brother has broken into the spirit lake realm. He he he, brother is awesome. I'm in the late true spirit realm too. Ha ha, listening to the rain is great too. After the spirit tide dispersed, the crowd also began to embark on their return journey. The next trial, most of them no longer had a chance. Ha, where's big brother black robe? Don't inquire blindly. It's all going out soon. Big Brother Black Robe must have taken off his mask and blended in with the crowd. You and I, left and right, could all be Black Robe. No way. I've seen all the people to our left and right. Ha. Huh? So, when we go out, those people we basically haven't bumped into within the Earth Spirit Abyss are likely to be the Black Robe's Big Brother's real body. Even if I knew who Big Brother Black Robe was, I wouldn't say anything. If it wasn't for Big Brother Black Robe, how would I have had the chance to refine the remnants of three incorruptible corpses and pick up seven top grade spirit weapons, and also obtained an immortal grade technique? Ha ha, that's right, although Big Brother Black Robe is decisive in killing, he really didn't say anything to us after we cooperated. He even saved me once under the undecaying corpse. Unconsciously, many people's fear of the Black Robes had turned into a kind of worship and awe. Chapter 102 The Enraged Second Sect At this time, Chen Fan had indeed blended into the crowd turning into an inconspicuous foundation establishment realm. After spending so much time in the Earth Spirit Abyss, there couldn't be no changes at all. In the twinkling of an eye, the trialists returned to the place where they had entered in the first place and waited for the light door to open, through which they walked out of the Earth Spirit Abyss. Only, the crowds of people waiting at all eight places were now much thinner. Buzz, with a fluctuation in the spiritual power of heaven and earth, the light gate shimmered with white light and slowly took shape. You can get out. Someone screamed in excitement and stepped through the door of light first. Swish swish swish, a silhouette that traveled into the light door. Chen Fan silently walked into the light door as well. Although his face was raw to many people, his foundation establishment stage aura was so obvious that no one even suspected that he would be black robe. Even if the black robed big brother was low profile, then he wouldn't disguise himself as a foundation establishment realm, right? The sunlight poured down on the trialists, warm and somewhat harsh. Congratulations to all of you for being able to come out of the Earth Spirit Abyss alive. The Qingzhou Mansion has specially prepared a celebration banquet for all of you. All trial participants, follow me. A white-bearded old man appeared smilingly on the void, and with a simple statement, he turned around and flew into the air to lead the crowd. These trialists were basically eating simple dry food within the Earth Spirit Abyss, and now that they had a celebration banquet to feast on, they naturally wouldn't refuse. At this time, a middle-aged man in black with a cold face came to Feng Xinting and said in a low voice, your son, the mansion lord is here. Feng Shuanting's eyes narrowed in surprise. How did father suddenly come this way? The black-clothed middle-aged man said in a low voice. My subordinate does not know. The mansion master only instructed his subordinates to invite the world son over. Feng Xianting laughed. Uncle Lai lead the way. Feng Wushuang had fused all of Feng Shuanting's memories and naturally knew that this black-clothed middle-aged man was Shang Wan Zhao, the right-hand subordinate of Feng Wanqi, lord of Qingzhou Prefecture. Chen Fan, who was in the crowd also noticed Feng Xinting leaving the group. His eyes flickered slightly, and he could only pray in his heart that Feng Xinting wouldn't be found broken so quickly. Chen Fan. Suddenly, a surprised shout came from the crowd on the right. Chen Fan smiled. He had long since discovered Su Wenjun, Luo Qingkue, and Tung Fei Yang. He pretended to be the three who had just discovered it and said in surprise, You're all still alive too. That's great. Su Wenjun and Luo Qingkite, the two girls, were both a bit speechless but even more curious, only after personally experiencing the trial, they know how dangerous it is in the trial, not to mention the various outlaws who have the intention to kill and seize the treasure, even if it is the demonic beasts that come out from time to time, it is not something that Chen Fan can defeat, Chen Fan, how on earth did he survive, how did you survive, after getting closer, Su Wenjun asked curiously, Chen Fan laughed, I didn't go far at all, I just strolled around the neighborhood and picked up some first and second grade spirit materials. I'm different from you guys. I entered the Earth Spirit Abyss for one purpose, and that's to build my foundation with the power of the Spirit Tide. Su Wenjun was stunned, so it was no wonder. There really wasn't much danger in the deep valley near the light gate. Luo Qingkite and Su Wenjun both released a sliver of their spiritual sense and landed on Chen Fan. In the next moment, the eyes of the two of them lit up as they exclaimed at the same time, You actually succeeded in building your foundation. Ha ha, that's a must. The hardest hurdle in my life has already been rushed through, and I'm bound to soar into the sky with a great future in the future. Chen Fan smiled triumphantly. The two rolled their eyes in unison. Foundation building is just the easiest hurdle in the path of martial arts. Okay? There are many more difficult hurdles to come. However, 
The duo didn't crack down on this inexplicable confidence of Chen Fan. Chen Fan, congratulations, Tong Fei Yang smiled faintly. Thank you, young city lord. Chen Fan smiled and arched his hand. Who is Black Robe? Get the hell out of here. Goddamn Black Robe. Come out. Immediately, two angry roars rang out angrily, shaking the air. Everyone looked toward the void. Only an old man, a middle-aged man, with an incomparably blue face were seen floating on the void. Elder Qin, who was killed in your clan? When the old man saw the middle-aged man, he was also surprised for a moment in his angry eyes. Qin Fan's face was gloomy as he said, None of my Tian Bao sex party came out alive. After asking a few of my juniors, I realized that they should have all been killed by that black robe. Elder Pang, could it be that your arc blade sex disciples have also met with the poisonous hands of that black robe? Elder Pang gritted his teeth with an iron face and said, The situation in my clan is the same as yours. Not a single disciple came out alive. The anger of these two people in the air caused the leaders of the other sects and cities to be shocked. One by one, they flew off in search of a figure they cared about, the white seeker who led the way in front of him. At the sound of his voice, also raised his white eyebrows lightly. What is this black robe? Is so heartless that he exterminated the disciples of the second clan? What kind of person has such a bear's heart and guts? There were no black robes among the crowd, but they all knew that the black robes were bound to be hidden among the group of trialists. Everyone was looking left and right, trying to figure out who the black robes were. Of course no one will admit it. Elder Bai, the disciples of my two sects have suffered such a great calamity. Please ask the Qingzhou prefecture to do us justice, uncover the black robes, and behead them in public. Qin Fang and Peng Yu, at the same time, made a salute in Bai Xuindao's direction and spoke out in pleading. Bai Xuindao shook his head. The two of you should know the rules of the trial. Grudges within the Earth Spirit Abyss can only be resolved within the Earth Spirit Abyss. The fairness maintained by the Qingzhou Mansion is fairness for all. If you want to avenge the disciples of the sect, then you can only find out the identity of the black robes afterward and then seek revenge on your own. Today's celebration banquet is for all the surviving Qingzhou disciples, and no one is allowed to cause trouble and influence. Otherwise, the Qingzhou Mansion will not be forgiven lightly. Qin Fang and Pang Yu were naturally aware of this rule. The opening was just to try it out. At the same time, they were also trying to let the Black Robes know that the Arcane Blade Sect and the Heavenly Treasure Sect had the determination to kill them. Black Robe, you little scumbag. I know you're here. Listen to me carefully. If you dare to kill my Arc Blade Sect's disciples, I will definitely ask you to pay for your life. If you come out now and show your identity, I will only kill you. If you tell me to find out your identity later, at that time, not only will you die without a burial place, even your nine clans, my arc blade sect will slaughter them all. Pang Yu said grimly, daring to kill my Tian Bao sect's young sect master. Exterminating his nine clans will not repay the debt. I will flay his ten clans alive. Qin Fang clenched his fists in ferocious anger and said, anyone who has news of the black robes can also reveal it to Mr. Qin. As long as the information is true, my heavenly treasure sect is willing to pay 200, 000 spirit stones as a reward. That's right, and I, the Arc Blade sect, will definitely offer a generous reward as well. However, to Qin Fang and Pang Yu's disappointment, they did not receive a single transmission in their ears. Bai Xuendo said indifferently, Both of you, you said what you need to say, so you can step back, no matter who the black robe is, at this moment, no one can move him in the slightest. This is the rule. If the personnel of the various clans were allowed to start clearing their grudges right now, the celebration banquet was going to turn into a pandemonium. Qin Fang and Peng Yu grimaced, made a bow, and flew away. Bai Xuandao continued to lead the way across the void. The trialists, below, followed and continued to walk. Su Wenjun and Luo Qingkui's faces, which had been pale, were tense in their hearts. They didn't know who the black robes were, but they knew who Jiang Feng had died at the hands of. But it's good. With that black robe taking the fall for the young city lord, the three of us will be safe. Su Wenjun secretly said in his heart. Chapter 103, The Government Wants to See You. Tung Fei Yan clasped his arms, a faint disdain hanging in his eyes. The two guys who were clamoring above this were only at the Spirit Lake Realm Great Circle. If a real fight started, he could poke one to death with one finger. Chen Fan's face was as usual, and he was even more unconcerned. From the time he beheaded Zhu Buqiuan and Zhang Feng, he expected that it would definitely not be too peaceful after he came out. He had even thought about how he would react once he was discovered or if the Qingzhou government let it go. Luckily, the people of King Zufufu didn't let him down. The celebration is really just a more substantial meal, nothing special. In a rather luxuriously and comfortably furnished tent, Feng Xianting met his father. Feng Wang Qi, child pays his respects to father. Feng Xianting respectfully saluted. Feng Wang Qi, with a loving face, smiled and asked, 
How was the harvest this time? Feng Xianting laughed, quite lucrative. Not only did his cultivation smoothly rise by a small realm, but he also refined more than 20 types of martial skill remnants, including 7 types of immortal grade martial skills. In addition to that, 4 immortal grade techniques and 3 immortal grade battle weapons were also obtained. Swish, Feng Wanchi stood up violently, and his original smiling face instantly turned into a jaw-dropping stare. What did you, you say? 7 immortal grade martial skills, 4 immortal grade techniques, and 3 immortal grade combat armaments. Xian Ting, you, didn't lie to my father, did you? Feng Wanchi asked incredulously, his breathing ragged. Feng Xian Ting laughed, father, how could child lie to you? When I turn around, child will organize all of this and give it to father to fill up the clan treasury. Ha ha ha, good. Throughout the trials, no one has ever had such a bountiful harvest ah, my son deserves to be the number one heavenly pride of Qingzhou. Ha ha, this fortune, it's too heaven defying. Feng Wanchi laughed out loud. In the previous trials, to be able to obtain one or two immortal grade techniques and one or two immortal grade martial skills would be considered a great harvest. Father, you personally came here. Could it be that you want to know what my child has gained? Feng Xianting asked with a smile. Feng Wangqi laughed. That's not true. It's mainly to meet someone. Feng Xianting froze. Seeing someone? There is someone else here who is worth father's personal trip? Feng Wangqi shook his head and said. It is not a matter of whether it is worthwhile or not. This matter, my father does not intend to speak to you too clearly, so you should not pursue it. Child understands. Feng Xianting said in a hurry. Well, go down and rest for a while and when my father leaves in a little while, I'll ask you to go back with him. Yes, not long after, a white-robed middle-aged man, walked in. See, Feng Wanchi's eyes narrowed slightly and said, the white-robed middle-aged man nodded and said, I've seen it, and it's true that it's just like the rumors, the natural talent isn't too good, but after coming out of the earth spirit abyss, he managed to build his foundation. Feng Wanchi bristled, I didn't think that even you would be fooled by him, the white-robed middle-aged man froze, puzzled, I shouldn't have misread it. Feng Wanchi smiled faintly. If you look at it, you'll believe it, and I didn't watch it, so I always believed that he wasn't a loser. The white-robed middle-aged man smiled somewhat awkwardly, getting more and more confused. When the celebration banquet is almost over, quietly bring him here. There is news that that person will soon be leaving the gate, and when that time comes, he should make a trip back. Although the bloodline on this side may not be recognized, as long as that person is there, the Chen clan will more or less change. Moreover, I've already received news that that Chen Changcheng of the Chen family has also stepped into the Clasping Dan realm not long ago. This might be an omen of the Chen family's impending rise. Feng Wanchi narrowed his eyes and said, the white-robed middle-aged man's eyes flickered, and he responded with a smile, Prefecture Master is farsighted, Song Chuan admires it. Feng Wanchi, however, laughed bitterly, farsighted my ass. I would rather that person had not come to our Qingzhou prefecture. I don't want to get involved in anything related to this type of person. But since I have gotten involved, I have to be careful. If there's the slightest slip up, even the body of the prefecture master won't be able to protect my life. Song Chuan smiled sarcastically and only said, Then my subordinate has gone over to keep an eye on it. Feng Wanchi nodded. When the celebration banquet was almost over, Chen Fan was about to return to the campground along with the crowd, when an unfamiliar voice came to his ears. Chen Fan, come over to the east by yourself. Don't be nervous and keep quiet. It's the governor who wants to see you. Chen Fan's eyes twitched. It turned out that this person who had been secretly staring at him was actually one of the house master's people. Song Chuan had already stared at him twice in the dark, and he naturally sensed it, only that he had been pretending not to notice. You guys go back first. I'll take a turn to kill my appetite. I ate a bit too much just now. Chen Fan smiled at Su Wenjun and Luo Qingkui. Su Wenjun rolled her eyes. Just now when we were eating, I wanted to say, you are at least the second youngest master of the Chun family. Why do you eat like a wolf? I'm embarrassed to see you. Luo Qingkai laughed. He couldn't use the Xin Kong ring before and didn't bring any food with him. So I think he's had too much of a hard time in the earth spirit abyss. Ha ha, it's still Miss Luo who understands me. Chen Fan laughed. You guys hurry back and rest. For his own part, he headed toward the east. Su Wenjun and Luo Qingkui didn't doubt it. And they did want to take a good rest. After walking east for more than a hundred meters, Song Chuan stepped out from behind a large tree. Chen Fan respectfully saluted. Chen Fan has met senior. Song Chuan narrowed his eyes and smiled, his spiritual awareness once again sizing up Chen Fan's body as he asked with a smile, Are you really only just building your foundation? Chen Fan nodded his head and said, Yes, to be precise, it was only yesterday that he succeeded in building his foundation. Song Chuan muttered, Then why did the house master say I was cheated? Chen Fan raised his eyebrows. 
It was hard to believe that his disguise had been seen through by the mansion master? That's not right. His spiritual energy was converged in his spiritual body as much as possible, and it was impossible for outsiders to detect his true cultivation aura. The aura on his physical body was just that of a person who had just entered foundation establishment. Although he was puzzled, he didn't ask anything, and pretended that he didn't hear Song Chuan's mutterings. Ha, hey, come with me. Song Chuan laughed. Chen Fan followed Song Chuan all the way to outside Feng Wanchi's tent. Just let him come in by himself. From the tent, came Feng Wanchi's voice. Song Chuan looked at Chen Fan and said, You go in. Chen Fan hummed, lifted the curtain of the tent, and walked in. Buzz, he had just stepped into the tent when a powerful force of prohibition enveloped the tent. Chen Fan secretly said in his heart, holding Dan Realm Grand Circle. Chen Fan greets the mansion master. Chen Fan bowed and saluted. Feng Wanchi's smiling gaze looked Chen Fan up and down, but did not use his spiritual sense to sweep over Chen Fan's body. Spying on people with one spiritual sense was actually a very impolite behavior in the martial arts world. No need to be formal. Sit down. Feng Wangqi lightly laughed. Chen Fan hesitated for a moment, walked behind the short table on the left, and sat down. Do you know why I'm looking for you? Feng Wangqi asked with a smile. Chen Fan looked at Feng Wangqi and shook his head. Chen Fan does not know. Ha, looks like your grandfather didn't tell you anything. If you know your origins, you can more or less guess the reason why I saw you. Feng Wangqi said. Chen Fan's heart stirred. His birth, in fact, was not a secret. But when Feng Wangqi said this, Chen Fan guessed that it was more than likely somewhat related to the clan behind his mother. Chapter 104, The Return Journey. Is there something peculiar about my birth? Could it be? Chen Fan asked tentatively. Feng Wangqi smiled. Regarding your birth, it's better to let your grandfather tell you when you return. If you were in Tiger Spirit City, I wouldn't have made a special trip to see you. But since you're here, there's a small gift that I'll give you since. Feng Wangqi said, and with a stretch of his right hand, a rectangular mahogany box branded with several golden runes emerged. Chen Fan was surprised. Why did this house master want to give him a gift for no reason? Within this box, there is a 10,000-year-old blood ginseng sealed away, which should be of considerable benefit to your cultivation. Feng Wangqi laughed. Chen Fan hurriedly said, Prefect, this gift is too expensive. If an elder gives it, you may not resign. Keep it. In the future, there may be times when I need your help. Feng Wangqi laughed. Feng Wangqi had already said this. If Chen Fan didn't accept it, he would appear to be somewhat ungrateful. Then, thank you, prefect. Chen Fan did not hesitate any longer and took the long box with both hands and put it inside the Xian Kong ring. Feng Wangqi smiled in satisfaction and asked, How was the harvest from this trial trip? Chen Fan said, Finally, I have succeeded in building the foundation. Feng Wangqi laughed and said, the worst result of the effort is a great weapon. Although the foundation was built a little late, the foundation is also more solid than the next person. Cultivate well in the future, and you can still have some success. Thank you for the encouragement. Prefect, Chen Fan will definitely work hard. Chen Fan said, he is still not clear about this Feng Wanchi's intention, and since he has only coped with his words, Feng Wanchi also saw that Chen Fan was guarded against himself, so he didn't chat anymore and let Chen Fan retreat. After Chen Fan left, Feng Wangqi was about to go back to Qingzhou Mansion when Song Chuan hurriedly came in and reported, Mansion Master, have you heard about the black-robed man? Feng Wangqi said indifferently, with Peng Yu and Qin Fang shouting so loudly, there should be no one who doesn't know about the black robes by now, right? Song Chuan solemnly said, my subordinate has just gotten word that this black robe and the world sun are very close. After the black robe killed the second sex disciples, he has been exploring the Earth Spirit Abyss with the World Suns Group. I'm sure the second sect knows about this at this moment as well. Feng Wanchi raised his eyebrows. Feng Shenting and the black robes were stirred up, which was something he didn't expect. After a moment of silence, Feng Wanchi asked, What is the identity of the black robed man? Song Chuan shook his head and said, Those children of the families, they also don't know the true identity of the black robes. Since none of them know, let them find out. We'll talk about it when we find out. Between Xian Ting and Black Robe, they are only exploring the mysteries together. The two clans can't do anything about it. Feng Wangqi faintly said, Yes. Song Chuan responded and retreated. It did not take long for Feng Wangqi to call Feng Xian Ting and return to Qingzhou Mansion together. On the way, Feng Wangqi asked about the Black Robes, and Feng Xian Ting only said that the Black Robes did kill the disciples of the second sect, while he himself was spared because of his status as the son of the world. Feng Xianting also acted as if he didn't know about the identity of the black robes. Then do you have a suspect? Feng Wangqi asked. Feng Xianting took out a slip of paper and came and said, This is the list of black robed identities guessed by Tian Baosek's young patriarch Zhang Feng. However, three of them have already been ruled out. 
and the other three, who have never been seen, do not know if they are still alive. Feng Wanqi scanned the list and laughed disdainfully. This Jiang Feng is also a fool. Feng Xianting froze and said in surprise, Why did father say that? Feng Wanqi laughed lightly, Nothing, it's just laughing at the fact that he didn't even know who he died at the hands of until he died. Feng Xianting was slightly startled in his heart, secretly saying, Can it be that Feng Wanqi has already guessed the identity of the black robe? Father knows the identity of the black robe? Feng Xianting asked tentatively. Feng Wanqi smiled faintly and said, It's just a guess. This matter, you don't need to care. The identity of the black robe you don't know. Turn around if the two sects ask about it. You directly say is, This note, also together to them. The child remembers. Early the next morning, one by one, the forces began to return. Chen Fan and his group also boarded the flying boat and began to fly towards Tiger Spirit City. Ten people tried out for the Tiger's Paw City, and seven came out alive, the highest survival rate in history. However, Yu Qingqi's face did not look the least bit happy. Since the return trip, he had stood at the bow of the boat and had been trying to look ahead, hoping to see the damned old woman sooner. Knock knock. There was a knock on Chen Fan's cabin door. To his surprise, the person who knocked on the door this time was actually Ling Hu listening rain. To be honest, Chen Fan had always been very displeased with this pair of brothers from the Ling Hu family. Arrogant and domineering, its evil is no less than that of Zhuo Buchu and Stream. However, Chen Fan still got up and opened the door. What took you so long to open the door? Ling Hu listening rain glared at Chen Fan and complained. Chen Fan said indifferently, something's wrong? When Ling Hu hearing rain saw Chen Fan's cold demeanor, her eyebrows lifted. Now that everyone knows my identity, you still dare to disrespect me? Chen Fan sneered. Is the girl here for compliments? Then you might be looking for the wrong person. He he he, I like your foul temper. Ling Hu hearing rain was smiling cheekily. Chen Fan was also speechless. This woman, wasn't she a bit of a criminal? Are you alright or not? Chen Fan asked without any good humor. Ling Hu listening rain laughed. Soon my master will come to pick us up and take us back. I think that you, as a person, are quite interesting, and I want to bring you back to the family to play with me. Our Ling Hu family is also a super big family within the Qingzhou prefecture domain. If you follow me, you will have more chances to improve in the future. How about it? Promise this young lady. Chen Fan said indifferently, the water of the big families is too deep. I can't afford to trip. If the girl has nothing else to do, she should return. Ling Hu hearing rain bristled and said, I knew you would refuse. How about a bottle of true spirit pill and accompany me for a month? Chen Fan said indifferently, not good. Ling Hu hearing Rain's face darkened, finally getting a little upset, and grunted, Chen Fan, your appetite is too big, isn't it? A bottle of true spirit pill is worth more than 50, 000 spirit stones, and I'm afraid that small clans like the ones in your Tiger's Pill City would hardly have the chance to see a true spirit pill. Chen Fan laughed coldly, it is true that my Chen family is not as big as your Ling Hu family, but being weak does not mean that there is no backbone. After saying that, Chen Fan was about to close the hatch. At this time, Leng Hu Guanshan's cold voice came out and said, Since you are so ungrateful, then this young man will have no choice but to tie you back up. Brother, forget it if he's not happy. Ling Hu listening rain hurriedly said, She had sneaked in to find Chen Fan, but she didn't expect that she was still discovered by Ling Hu Guanshan. Ling Hu Guanshan walked over, dotingly touched Ling Hu hearing Yu's head and laughed, No one can refuse my sister. He, moreover, is not qualified to refuse. Ling Hu Guanshan's gaze turned as he coldly looked at Chen Fan and said, You are indeed lucky to have come back alive in that environment of the Earth Spirit Abyss, but such luck will not always accompany you. Survival relies more on strength. Now I'll give you two choices. Either obediently follow us back to the Ling Hu family, or die on the flying boat. Chapter 105 This man cannot be killed. Brother, forget it. You're forcing him like this. Even if he compromises and agrees, back in the clan, he won't play well with me. As Ling Hu listening Rain said that, she wanted to pull Ling Hu Guanshan away. However, this time, Ling Hu Guanshan shook off Ling Hu hearing Yu's palm and said in a cold voice, Now that the face of my Ling Hu family is at stake, he can only choose one of the two. Ling Hu hearing Rain's face changed slightly. She knew that if she couldn't even talk herself out of something, her brother was moving to real anger. The consequences, then, will be severe. Chen Fan, why don't you just say yes? Life is long and a month is short. Ling Hu listening rain hurriedly persuaded Chen Fan to agree. Chen Fan, why don't you just agree first? Another hatch opened and Luo Ching Kue walked out, saying in a low voice, if it was an unusual force, she would have directly stood by Chen Fan's side and protected him. But the Ling Hu family, she couldn't afford to mess with them, so she could only follow and persuade Chen Fan to concede and agree. 
This is the flying boat of my Tiger Spirit City Lord's Mansion, not your Linghu family. This young man tolerated your siblings for a time, but for once, I thought that I had allowed you to get more and more aggressive. Tang Fei Yang opened the hatch and coldly walked over. Chen Fan, if you don't want to go, no one can force you. Tang Fei Yang looked at Chen Fan and said seriously. Chen Fan smiled. Thank you, young city lord. I will close the door then. Tang Fei Yang nodded. Boo. Chen Fan did not hesitate to close the door. Ling Hu Guanshan's eyes narrowed coldly as he glanced at Tang Fian and laughed coldly. Very well, I'd like to see if you can still protect him later. Little sister, let's go to the bow. Ling Hu Guanshan pulled Ling Hu listening rein and walked towards the bow of the ship. When the brother and sister duo went to the bow of the boat, Luo Qingkite was filled with worry and said, Young city lord, this Ling Hu family is not something to be messed with. Tang Fei Yang said indifferently, The martial way cultivates the heart. How can I be coerced? No matter how bad the Linghu family is to be messed with, I can't let them be so domineering on my city lord's flying boat. Moreover, I don't believe that the Linghu family really dares to touch me. The young city lord, Luo Kinkai's eyes flickered slightly as she arched her hand and said, Unexpectedly, the young city lord is actually so righteous. Tong Fei Yang smiled. Actually, it is also you guys who have changed me. Is it true that the nearer the vermilion, the more red? When Luo Qingkuei froze, Tang Fei Yang had already turned around and returned to the cabin. Yu Qingqi on the bow of the ship had the heart to jump off the ship at the moment. Poisonous pills are still in his stomach. Chao Chang is in charge of Mao's leisure ah. His life as a guest secretary is not worth that little punk from the Chun family? Flying boat flight half an hour later. A silhouette. Suddenly burst from below. It is Yu Qingqi waiting for a long time that old woman. Master. Ling Hu Guanshan and Ling Hu hearing rain respectfully saluted. Yu Qingqi also hurriedly made a salute. Senior. Your two disciples have returned unharmed. It's better for you to quickly remove the poisonous dan from my dantian. The old woman smiled faintly. Open your mouth. Yu Qingqi opened his mouth in a hurry. The old woman casually guided her hand. And the spirit mass wrapped around the poisonous dan flew out from Yu Qingqi's stomach. And was again casually waved by the old woman. Knocking it down towards the bottom. Go! The old woman rushed at the Ling Hu siblings. Ling Hu listening rain pulled Ling Hu Guanshan and was about to leave. But Ling Hu Guanshan pulled him back. Brother, Ling Hu listening rain pleaded. Ling Hu Guanshan, however, was unmoved and said in a cold voice, Master, disciple wants to kill one person. The old woman's eyes narrowed. Kill who? Between the questions, if her gaze fell towards Yu Qingqi, Yu Qingqi's pupils shrank and he hurriedly said, It's definitely not the old man's. Ling Hu Guanshan twisted his head in a cold and heavy manner, looking into the cabin and sneered. It is a person who does not know how to live and dares to defy the majesty of my Linghu family. If it wasn't for the fact that the young city lord of Tiger Spirit City had the intention to protect him, disciple would have long ago beheaded him. Now that the city lord's office is interfering, it will be necessary for master to back up my disciple. The old woman glanced at Yu Qingqi and said indifferently, Go and call out the people. If the old body gets on board, you're afraid that you won't be able to keep this flying boat. Yu Qingqi's face turned white with horror, and he busily said, Senior. The person that little brother Ling who is going to kill has a clasping Dan Realm powerhouse behind him, and I can't afford to offend him. He couldn't afford to offend the Ling Hu family, and nowadays, he couldn't afford to offend the Chen family as well. The old woman was astonished. When did the tiny tiger spirit city also have a clasping Dan Realm? Ahem, it's Chen Changsheng, the old man of the Chen family in tiger spirit city. Before the trial, he just broke through a few days ago. If it wasn't for that, the slot in Tiger Spirit City wouldn't have been their turn. Yu Qingqi whispered. The old woman's face, however, changed violently. This Chen family you speak of, is there another son named Chen Jin? The old woman's eyes narrowed vainly. Yu Qingqi froze. This senior's reaction was a bit big. He didn't dare to hesitate and returned. Yes, but Chen Jin has been dead for more than 10 years. The old woman was silent for a moment and looked at Ling Hu Guanshan. Let's go. This person cannot be killed. Ling Hu Guanshan's face changed as he gritted his teeth and said, Why can't he be killed? I'll tell you on the way. Go! The old woman gave a cold cry, turned around, and floated away. Ling Hu listening rain looked happy and hurriedly pulled Ling Hu Guanshan and said, Brother, let's hurry up and go. Master said that he can't be killed. That must be the reason. Ling Hu Guanshan glared unwillingly and evilly at the cabin where Chen Fan was, snorted angrily and flew away. Watching the trio leave, Yu Chengqi let out a long breath and hurriedly accelerated his flight, but he was also extremely puzzled in his heart. The Linghu family, whose strength was almost enough to run rushout over the entire Qingzhou prefecture region, would actually be wary of the Chen family. Could it be that the Chen family is still hiding some great secrets? Luo Qingkite and Su Wenjun in the cabin. 
the boulder hanging in their hearts, finally fell. Even Tang Fei Yang was also a long sigh of relief. Only Chen Fan, whose complexion had not changed a bit since the beginning. If that old crone really wanted to come at him hard, he wouldn't mind exposing his strength in advance and leaving these three members of the Linghu family behind. Linghu listening Rain looked like she didn't have any malice towards him, but all of this was because of this unruly Linghu family woman. If he made a move, Chen Fan would not condone it. Finally, the flying boat sailed into the boundaries of Tiger Spirit City. Chen Fan, come out quickly, we'll be there soon. Su Wenjun knocked on the door outside. Chen Fan opened the door, and Su Wenjun and Luo Qingkui stood together outside his door. He laughed lightly. It's not like you've been gone for long. What's all the excitement about coming back? Su Wenjun rolled his eyes, although it was without leaving for a long time. But on this trip, we have been through several life and death situations. Now that we are able to arrive home safely, of course we are excited. You're so calm that you don't even look like a normal person anymore. Chen Fan touched his nose and laughed. All right, for me to look like a human being too. Then I'll pretend to be excited? He he, there seems to be people fighting in the sky above Tiger Spirit City. One of them, it looks like it's the old man of the Chun family. Chen Fan, come over and see if it's your grandfather. Yu Qingxi greeted from the bow of the ship. Chen Fan's eyes narrowed. Grandpa was fighting someone? Check it out. Su Wenjun and Luo Qingkui rushed to the bow of the boat. Chen Fan also walked over at a brisk pace. The others who heard Yu Qingqi's shouts also ran out of the cabin one after another. A battle at the Clutching Dan Realm was a rare sight. Moreover, if Chen Chongcheng is killed, Chen Fan, this waste has lost his strongest backer. Then he is a complete waste. This kind of hilarity. They love it. Chapter 106, then just killed him. Chen Fan came to the bow of the ship, coldly narrowing his eyes. He looked through the air. Although it was still more than 10 miles away from Tiger Spirit City, Yu Qingqi's eyesight was good as a Spirit Lake Realm powerhouse. It's completely invisible. It's like two black dots jumping. Guest Minister Yu, let's go a little closer. Anyway, the flying boat has a protective shield, so the aftermath of the battle won't affect us. Hey, hey, we have to take care of Brother Chen Fan's mood ah. He definitely wants to go a little closer to see more clearly. The gazes of the guest sons and daughters, as they looked at Chen Fan, were filled with playfulness. Chen Fan said indifferently, no need, just go directly back to the city lord's mansion. Chen Fan, you have no conscience either. That's your grandfather. Aren't you in the least bit anxious? Su Wenjun couldn't help but say angrily. Although she could also see that these guest sons and daughters had the intention of watching the fun. Even she couldn't wait to get closer so that she could see the battle. But Chen Fan, his own grandson, didn't have a care in the world. Chen Fan smiled lightly. What's the hurry? Those who commit crimes against my Chen family will surely die. Boom. Sure enough, as soon as Chen Fan's words fell, in the distant battle, Chen Changsheng erupted with an astonishing sword, a huge sword shadow, like a heavenly pillar pressed backwards towards his opponent, and although the opponent fought to blast out a huge palm print to try to resist, the palm print was broken and burst apart by Chen Changsheng's sword shadow, boo, the sword shadow poured down, instantly crushing that opponent with a blast and sending him straight down, it's really Master Chen who won, the crowd's eyes froze, Yu Qingqi's face was shocked as he said, old master this sword is so powerful, is this, this an immortal grade martial skill? Chen Fan just smiled and did not explain. An early stage of the clasping Dan realm. How dare you go up to the Chen family to find trouble? It's simply a death wish. The guest sons, dryly laughing, did not squeak. I didn't expect the hilarity to be over so quickly, and it didn't turn out the way they expected to see it. Cough. Then we'll go straight back to the city lord's mansion. When you get to the place, you'll each go back to your own homes. Yu Qingqi smiled and was about to drive the flying boat to the sky above the city lord's mansion when suddenly a shadow flashed in front of him in the void, but it was actually Chen Changsheng who flashed over with his sword. All of you stay back. Chen Changsheng shouted with a smile. Elder Chen, Yu Qingqi's group, too, dared to busy themselves with fists and salute. Chen Changsheng nodded in response. Grandpa, are you all right? Chen Fan asked with a smile. Chen Changsheng laughed, originally thought that he would be a bit capable, making the old man a bit nervous, only to fight and realize that it's a silver bullet. Wasteful. The crowd's cheeks twitched, even if he was a waste, he was still a strong clasping Dan realm master. In a battle of the same realm, with the Dao Martial Heart Sutra that Chen Changsheng cultivated, he basically wouldn't have an opponent. Therefore, Chen Fan was not worried at all when he sensed the other party's cultivation aura. Chen Changsheng's eyes narrowed slightly. Gentlemen, old man Xiao Fan will take him back directly. As soon as the words fell, Chen Changsheng grabbed his large hand and pulled Chen Fan through the air, then swept towards the direction of the Chen family. As the duo flew back to the Chen clan, underneath Big Yellow's paw, 
a severely injured old man was pressed to death. What origin? Chen Fan asked in a cold voice. Chen Chongsheng grunted. Tian Baosek's second eldest elder. Lu Zhansheng. Then just kill it. Chen Fan said indifferently. Lu Zhansheng, who originally still had a resigned look on his face, shivered when he heard these words and said in horrified shock. Asshole, didn't you hear your grandfather say that I am the second elder of the heavenly treasure sect? Chen Fan smiled coldly and raised his foot, then kicked at Lu Zhanqing's face. Boo! Ah! Lu Zhanqing screamed in pain, his nose bleeding furiously. It's your Tian Bao sex people that this young man has killed. Big yellow. Bite and die. Chen Fan said icily. No. Don't. As Lu Zhanqing begged for mercy, Big Yellow showed his big mouth and bit down on Lu Zhanqing's neck. Ka! Blood spurts. Chen Chongsheng, as well as the group of Chen clan guards, all had wildly dancing eyes. The scene, quite bloody. The second elder of the Heavenly Treasure sect, an early stage clasping Dan Realm powerhouse, had fallen in the Chen clan just like this. Grandpa, is he the only one from the Heavenly Treasure sect who came this time? Chen Fan asked. Chen Chongsheng said, Well, Hong Yuan Dao and his party never returned to the Heavenly Treasure Sect. He didn't find anyone himself but asked me for someone. And we didn't hold Hong Yuan Dao. So where could we hand them over? So this old kid stepped in. Chen Fan smiled faintly. Hong Yuan Dao and his group will never be able to return to Tian Bao Sect. I hope that in a few days, another Heavenly Treasure Sect's clutching Dan Realm will come to this old kid. So that we don't have to kill the Heavenly Treasure Sect personally to exterminate them. And they will come one by one to send themselves to death. But instead, it will save us a lot of trouble. Chen Changsheng was surprised. When did you kill Hong Yuan Dao? Hong Yuan Dao can't go back. So he must be long dead. Chen Fan laughed. I still have some reinforcements in the dark that they killed. Chen Changsheng's eyes lit up. Not realizing that outside of the Chun family, Chen Fan had also arranged reinforcements. Although he hadn't seen these people, he thought that their strength must be very good. You guys clean up this place and throw the bodies directly to the mass graves. Chen Changsheng instructed the guards and then smiled at Chen Fan. Go, go to Grandpa's courtyard and tell Grandpa about your gains from this trial. Well, I was just about to tell Grandpa a lot of things. Two, the grandparents and grandchildren laughed and left. Soon, the news that the second elder of the Tian Bao sect had been beheaded by the Chun clan spread throughout the entire Tiger Spirit City. While the various clans were shocked by the Chun clan's strength, they also secretly felt that Chen Changsheng was too impulsive. To kill a clasping Dan Realm powerhouse of the Tian Bao sect, this was a deadly feud with the Tian Bao sect. Chen family figure a moment of pleasure. This is sure to attract the disaster of extinction. This is too impulsive for Elder Chen. At the Su family, Su Wenjun was in Jia Yuan's courtyard and laughed bitterly. She had just finished chatting with Jia Yuan about her experience in the Earth Spirit Abyss when news came from the clan guards. Jia Yuan smiled faintly. If someone bullies the Su family, I will never be soft. The martial arts way is to fight. If even the others are bullying the door, but still have to cower. So wimpy heart and mouse courage, if others do not bully you, who will bully? Su Wenjun hesitated, but the fight can't be reckless, right? Jia Yuan smiled, how do you know that the Chen family doesn't have any other cards? Su Wenjun was surprised and suddenly thought of that old crone from the Linghu family. Even that kind of powerful person seemed to be a bit wary of the Chen family. This Chen family, what else is there to rely on? Su Wenjun was curious, Jia Yuan narrowed his eyes and smiled. This Chen family is not simple. Now the Chen Fan has also succeeded in establishing the foundation. According to my master's opinion, since you are not willing to marry Chen Shua, why don't you marry this Chen Fan? This son, in the future, will become a great man. You should not miss out on a good match. Su Wenjun's face blushed profusely at the words and blushed shyly. Master, let's not mention this matter again. In my disciple's heart, there was already a person of interest. Still the masked male? Jia Yuan teased. Su Wenjun nodded shyly and leisurely said, although I don't know if I'll have the chance to see him again, for a while, the disciple will not be able to forget him. Jia Yuan had a helpless face, he really wanted to tell Su Wenjun, the masked male you are longing for is Chen Fan ah. Chapter 107 Active Interception In the blink of an eye, half a month passed. In the half month since he returned from the Earth Spirit Abyss, Chen Fan closed his eyes for 10 days within the Heavenly Sea Pearl, and with the help of the majestic immortal spirit Qi within the Pearl, he broke through the mid-stage bottleneck and crossed over into the late stage of the Clasping Dan Realm. On the other five days, he distributed some of the resources he gained to a group of important people from the Chen family, and taught some of the martial arts and techniques he obtained from within the Earth Spirit Abyss to a group of guards from the Chun family. These guards, since they were pleasantly surprised, were also more supportive and loyal to the Chen family. On this day, a silhouette hurriedly ran into Tiger Spirit City and arrived before the Chen mansion. Both of you, 
Please inform the second young master that Huang Su is seeking an audience, outside the mansion, Huang Su said with an anxious face, the two guards looked at each other in dismay, this Huang Su, wasn't he a deacon of the heavenly treasure sect, wait, the guards promised, and one of them ran quickly into the mansion, second young master, the heavenly treasure sect has come again, but this time, the one who came is still the same deacon Huang Su Huang who came back last time, the guard reported, Chen Fan raised an eyebrow and said, quickly go and lead him over, yes, soon, Huang Su was brought before Chen Fan, Chen Fan dismissed the guards and asked with a smile, why are you here, could it be that Tian Bao sect is about to make a big move, Huang Su hurriedly said, island master, Hong Yuandao and Lu Zhanxing went out one after another without returning, and Grand Elder Dai Songrong suspected that they had both met with untimely deaths, coupled with the fact that young patriarch Zhang Feng and his party perished in the earth spirit abyss, the heavenly treasure sect was furious, and since they couldn't find the black robe, they were planning on taking on the Chen family to set up a sword to show off their power, before my subordinate departed, the heavenly treasure sect had already begun to gather their forces, and it was thought that they would soon be killing their way to tiger spirit city, among the forces they have gathered this time, there are two at the clutching dan realm, Dai Songrong at the mid clutching dan realm, and Jiang Huan, the Tian Bao sect's patriarch at the late clutching dan realm, there are as many as 16 spirit lake realm martial practitioners as well, Chen Fan narrowed his eyes and smiled, ha, with this power, do you want to destroy my Qin family, Huang Su was a bit vain and said, island master, that Jiang Huan is in the late stage of the clasping dan realm, Chen Fan smiled disdainfully, do you think that I, a late stage of the clasping dan realm, would be no match for him, a late stage of the clasping dan realm, Huang Su froze, island master, you're at the late stage of the clasping dan realm, Chen Fan smiled, kill him like a dog, cough, island master, isn't killing him easier than slaughtering a dog, Big Yellow was on the side, dryly laughing, during Chen Fan's time in the trial, Big Yellow had also successfully condensed his dan and turned into a fifth realm demon king, there are too many innocents inside Tiger Spirit City. It's better to put this place of engagement outside the city. Yellow Void. Big Yellow. Follow me out of the city and welcome this group of death defying ones. Chen Fan sneered. Huang Su was also a hidden clasping Dan Realm powerhouse. And together with Big Yellow, the trio strength was already enough to wipe out Zhang Huan and Dai Songrong's group. Hey. Hey. It's time for another killing spree. Big Yellow licked his dog tongue and grinned. His eyes smiling with an excited and bloodthirsty light. The two men and a dog had just left the city when a silhouette flew in. Island master. Tong Xiaoxiao greeted with a smile. Chen Fan smiled. It came quite quickly. He he. The island master has orders. How dare I not be quick. Tong Xiaoxiao laughed lightly. Swish. Above the void. Two more silhouettes ran and swept in. None other than Jia Yuan and Luo Yuanwu. Islander. Islander. The two men smiled and made their salute. Chen Fan smiled lightly and said. No need to be polite. This Wang Su one of our own, brother Huang, Huang Su has met you all, Huang Su laughed, although they might have all met each other within Sin Immortal Island, but now that everyone was wearing someone else's skin and not reporting their true identities, it would be really hard to tell who was who, Chen Fan only called over the three clasping Dan realms, as for Ding Chuanqiu and Yuing, Chen Fan did not call them over, the five of them, one dog, and the six clasping Dan realms were all enough to directly kill the heavenly treasure sect, there was no need for more people, gathering this lineup, Chen Fan was only trying to crush the Tian Bao sex group on all fronts, and at the same time, he also wanted to let Zhang Huan and the others know that they liked to bully others with their power, not realizing that the powerful forces that they thought they had were not worth mentioning in front of him. Chen Fan, Yellow Void led the way and the crowd followed. After about an hour, Chen Fan's powerful spiritual sense finally spotted a huge warship flying in by air, coming. The corner of Chen Fan's lips lifted as his figure traveled long distances and rushed to the front of the warship in the blink of an eye a deacon of the heavenly treasure sect who was at the helm of the ship, his pupils shrank, and just as he was about to cry out in alarm, a terrifying palm imprint was blasted onto the warship with a loud bang, boom, the terrifying power of the palm print directly bombarded the Tian Bao sect's warship, causing it to vibrate and sink downwards, clicking and cracking sounds continued to erupt from the hull, abandoned ship, a thunderous angry sound, from the cabin roared out, followed by a golden robe silhouette, angrily broke the cabin and rushed out, angrily looking towards Chun Fan who attacked the ship, which one of you, why did you attack my heavenly treasure sex warship, the gold robed man asked with an iron face and gritted his teeth, if he hadn't sensed that the power of that palm just now was too terrifying, Zhang Huan wouldn't have asked a single question, he would have directly struck out and crushed this brat who dared to destroy Tian Bao sex warship into pieces, Chen Fan sneered and did not say much, and at that moment, Zhang Huan's pupils widened wildly, 
However, several silhouettes were seen, darting out and rushing towards those Tian Bao sect elders and disciples who had abandoned the ship and rushed out. Surprisingly, it's all the aura of the clasping Dan realm. Zhang Huan's scalp went numb, and his eyes were filled with horror. Stop! Mr. Zhang is the sect leader of the Tian Bao sect. Please be merciful and have a word with me. Zhang Huan was anxious. So many clutching Dan realm. If they really want to fight, these heavenly treasure sect experts he brought out, they will all be finished Ah, However, Huang Su, Jia Yuan and the others, where would they listen to Zhang Huan's words? The moment they struck, they were life-threatening killing moves. As soon as they exchanged blows, the Tian Bao sex elders and elite disciples were decimated and fell into the falling geese, dying and injured in droves. Only the grand elder, Dai Tsong Rong, was still able to angrily redden his eyes, barely holding on, but he was being crushed by Tong Sha Shao, and he simply couldn't spare any time to save the others. Your Excellency, what exactly is this for? You have to let us die to understand. Zhang Huan roared, his heart, dripping blood, the fire of hatred that burns, but he, however, did not dare to take it easy. For one thing, the palm that Chen Fan had blasted out for the first time had shaken him. Secondly, he still hoped that this was a misunderstanding, hoping to put an end to a fight that was pure carnage. Huang Su, it's actually you who's eating out of the palm of your hand. The Grand Elder suddenly recognized Huang Su who was slaughtering the other elders. Huang Xiao smiled coldly and made no response. He only kills. Swish. As Zhang Huan also looked at Huang Su angrily, Chen Fan waved his hand and a round head was thrown towards Zhang Huan. Zhang Huan thought it was some kind of great killing weapon. And in panic, he directly raised a palm and blasted it. Boom. Before he could see what that round head was, Zhang Feng's head, by Zhang Huan's palm, burst open. Chen Fan raised his eyebrows. Originally, I was planning to let you see your son for the last time, but now it is impossible to do so. It is also true that if it wasn't for this incompetent son of yours, your heavenly treasure sect wouldn't have suffered the calamity of extermination, and he really doesn't have the face to see you again as his father. Zhang Huan's face turned white with rage, and he trembled as he asked, That, really, was my son Jiang Feng's head just now? Could it be that you are the black robe within the earth spirit abyss? Chapter 108 Heavenly Treasure Sect Patriarch Fall Chen Fan indifferently said, Not only am I black robe, I am also Chen Fan of the Chen family. Now, you should know the reason why I'm going to kill you, right? Zhang Huan's eyes shook wildly once again. You, are Chen Fan. This can't be. Zhang Huan roared in disbelief. Gu Chuanxian had a trashy fiancé, something Zhang Huan had naturally heard of. It was also this waste of a man, Chen Fan, who had been unwilling to break off his engagement with Gu Bu Yu, which caused many things to happen later. Zhang Huan had never counted on the fact that Gu Qiwei's rumored trash fiancé was actually an extremely terrifying demonic genius, someone who was still a few years younger than his son, yet his breath and strength were already on par with him, a late stage of the clasping Dan realm, what was this not a demon? The most terrifying thing was that this kid had also gathered four human martial cultivators of the clasping Dan realm around him, as well as a demon king of the fifth realm with terrifying battle strength, how could this kind of powerful battle be something the Chun family, a small town and a small clan, could have? Zhang Huan was never willing to accept such a fact, because it's the truth, it's brutal, Chen Fan indifferently said, from the day your Tian Bao sect wasted my fiancé's spiritual vein, your Tian Bao sect was destined for extinction, the reason why I haven't bothered to move you all along is only because I had an agreement with Bu Yu to kill the heavenly treasure sect together, but since you took the initiative to come and beg for death, I have no reason to let you back in, ah, at this time, a miserable cry came from behind grand elder Dai Tsongrong, as one of his arms, by Jia Yuan's sword Qi, flew out. Patriarch, run away. Quickly return to the clan and ask the Supreme Elder to make a move to exterminate these brutes of the Chen clan and avenge us. Dai Songrong roared with a trembling voice, and although he was still fighting hard, in his heart, he was already desperate. This kind of killing situation where he was completely crushed, he already had no possibility of surviving. The other Tian Bao sect people had been completely slaughtered in these few breaths. The only people still alive were the severely injured Dai Tsongrong and Zhang Huan. Dai Tsongrong's screams made Zhang Huan's heart fall to the bottom, and a scowl slowly appeared on his pale face. In the current situation, even if he could escape back, it would take an extremely heavy price to do so. Ha ha ha. It seems that this time my heavenly treasure sect has indeed miscalculated. Unintentionally even incurred a demon like you. But it's too late to say anything now. It's impossible for you to agree to a reconciliation and it's impossible for Mr. Jiang to make peace with you again, between you and me, the only thing left is a life and death battle, do you dare, to fight with Mr. Jiang alone, to the death, Zhang Huan asked Chen Fan with ferocity in his eyes, 
Chen Fan said disdainfully, Do you think that I need to play any kind of one-upmanship with you? Jiang Huan's eyes were slightly flustered as he gritted his teeth and sneered. What? You don't dare? Chen Fan said indifferently. It is unnecessary. I only need you to die. I only need your Tian Bao sec to be destroyed. People like you don't deserve a fair fight from me. Together, after slaughtering him, all of you will work harder and follow me to exterminate the heavenly treasure sect. Ha ha, good. Jia Yuan laughed. TSK TSK, I had wanted to play with this old piker for a little longer, so I'll send him on his way now. Tong Xiaoxiao let out a playful laugh, and the soul-piercing needle whooshed out explosively. Between Dai Song Rong's panic, he hastily blasted out his spiritual energy, trying to block the soul-piercing needle, but he had underestimated the soul-piercing needle's penetrating power too much. Pust, the soul-piercing needle erupted with a powerful black light, destroying and penetrating Dai Song Rong's front defense, and then from Dai Song Rong's brow, piercing through, Dai Song Rong stared with dead eyes as his body fell towards the bottom. Swish, at the same time that Tong Xiaoxiao killed Dai Song Rong, Jiang Huan finally made his move. With a single step of his feet, his body instantly transformed into a golden shadow of light and rushed towards Chen Fan. Even if Mr. Jiang can't escape death today, I'll still pull you thieves on my back. Flood wave falling whale palm. Boom. A palm blasted out. A terrifying golden palm print that was a hundred feet long and wide, towards the top of Chen Fan's head, was violently falling down. Chen Fan coldly grunted as a spirit grade longsword. Sword pointing to the sky. Terrifying spiritual power. On top of the sword swirled into a stormy wind, as if a pale dragon was curling and dancing, so powerful that the surrounding void followed the distortion, vaguely emitting the sound of being twisted and cracked. Jiang Huan's entire body was stunned. How could there be a sword of such terrifying power in the world? What level of sword skill is this? Sword opens the sky. Chen Fan's mouth faintly spat out three words. The sword body slightly shook, and a note of terrifying sword chi, vertically, shot straight up into the sky. Boom! The sword pillar broke through the air and collided violently with Jiang Huan's pressing down flood wave falling whale palm. Amidst the loud booming sound that shook the sky and cracked the air, Jiang Huan's strongest mastery martial art, the flooding wave falling whale palm, was blasted away by the sword pillar almost instantaneously. Thousand shadow sword stream kill, soul piercing needle, immortal thunder fist, ten thousand sword immortal technique, flying rain sword formation, planar sky thousand extreme claws. The Hongtao falling whale palm had just been blown up by Qin Fan's sword, when the attacks of Jia Yuan, Tong Xiao Xiao, Huang Su, Luo Yuan Wu, and Big Yellow's four men and one dog also bombarded Jiang Huan from all sides. Heavenly spirit formation shield technique. Boom. Terrified. Jiang Huan, in an instant, flew out of formation shield technique, transforming into a party of spirit wall formation shadows, enveloping himself. Boom. 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 Five powerful blasts one after another, hit on top of the heavenly spirit formation shield, and the entire formation trembled to the fourth, and was shattered with a bang, wa dash, the big formation was forcibly blasted through, suffering from the backlash, Jiang Huan, the shrimp bowed his body and wow just spat out a mouthful of blood, bullying the few with the many, you bastards, in vain you're a strong clutching Dan, pust, Jiang Huan angrily cursed, a sharp claw, ruthlessly landed on his back, not only his entire back flesh and blood ripped open, even his entire spine, are split apart, pust, a sword tip, piercing through the void, poofed through Jiang Huan's open mouth throat, Jiang Huan's dead eyes stared convexly, struggling to raise his hand, wanting to grab a hand in Chen Fan's face, but in the end, he couldn't do it anymore, and his hand dropped helplessly halfway up, pust, after peeling off the Xin Kong ring from Jiang Huan's fingertips, Chen Fan indifferently drew out his spirit sword and let Jiang Huan's corpse, fall towards the bottom, clear the battlefield and pick up the loot freely, Chen Fan said indifferently, the crowd's eyes lit up, and they swooped down towards the place where the corpses had fallen from the mountains and forests below, although they were all strong at the clutching Dan realm, nowadays, apart from Luo Yuan Wu, who held the Luo family's family business in his hands, the others basically didn't have any stable source of resources, splitting the loot is their most important source of income, after killing Zhang Huan and Dai Songrong, Chen Fan did not feel any excitement in his heart, but only his eyes looked towards the direction of the distant sky. I wonder, too, where his undying is now. When you receive the news that the heavenly treasure sect has been destroyed, you should come back to me, right? What kind of master isn't as strong as your husband? With me as the strongest husband around, why would you need to seek advice from others? Chen Fan helplessly let out a laughing sigh. In a few moments, Tong Xiaoxiao and the others joyfully flew up in the air. Islander, the rings are all picked up. Are those corpses just going to be left behind? 
Tong Xiaoxiao asked with a smile. Chen Fan said indifferently, just throw it away. Huang Su, lead the way. Go to the Heavenly Treasure Sect. Chapter 109, Senior Elder Lu Yuanchang. 800 miles to the east of Qingzhou Prefecture. There is an immortal gourd mountain. The mountain is 13. 000 feet high and difficult for mortals to climb. The whole mountain. Thick at the bottom and narrow at the top. With a horizontal embedded mountain road in the middle position. Dividing the mountain into upper and lower parts. Resembling a huge immortal gourd. For which Xianho Mountain was named. This immortal Hulk Mountain is where the Heavenly Treasure Sex Sect is located. Under the lead of Huang Su. Five people and a dog. Flying in the air for half a day. Before coming to the outside of Xianho Mountain. Island Master. This is the immortal Hulk Mountain where the Heavenly Treasure Sect is located. Everything within the sect. Except for the Yang Tian Pavilion at the top of the mountain. Which my subordinate has never been to. I already know all the other places like the back of my hand. Huang Su lightly laughed. Chen Fan said indifferently. It's a good place for bells and whistles. Jia Yuan stroked his beard and laughed. Isn't there just one supreme elder left in this heavenly treasure sect? It doesn't matter if we know him or not. But Lu Yuanshang is ultimately a strong person of the Clutching Dan Realm Grand Circle. We must not be careless even if we are outnumbered. So why don't we take a half hour to recuperate here? And then kill our way over. Chen Fan nodded and said. Then let's follow Elder Jia's words and rest for half an hour. In the battle later. You guys don't have to fight too hard. You're responsible for assisting and holding back just fine. I'll be the main force to kill Lu Yuanshang. Among the five, Jia Yuan and Tong Xiaoxiao were in the middle stage of the Clasping Dan Realm. Luo Yuanwu and Huang Su were in the early stage of the Clasping Dan Realm. And the only one who was in the late stage of the Clasping Dan Realm was Chen Fan. Clutching Dan Realm great perfection strength is terrifying. The initial stage of the battle, too desperate, easy to get killed. If not necessary, Chen Fan did not want to see any of them fall. The four felt cared for and were all a little touched in their hearts. After the crowd recovered outside the mountain for half an hour, a cold light swept across Chen Fan's eyes and he faintly said, I am not a person who is eager to kill, but the deadly feud with Tian Bao sect has already been concluded, and this Lu Yuancheng is bound to be killed. As for those Tian Bao sect disciples, surrender is not killing. Yes, the crowd responded. Chen Fan stood up, a killing intent narrowing out from his gaze as he said icily, Go! Go straight to Yang Tian Pavilion and hunt Lu Yuancheng. Whoosh. Six figures, bursting forth, headed straight for the top of Immortal Hulk Mountain. That Yang Tian Pavilion was precisely the place where Lu Yuancheng, the heavenly treasure sect's supreme elder, was in seclusion. Chen Fan and the others had not yet rushed to the top of the mountain, when an old man seated inside the Yang Tian Pavilion suddenly opened his eyes coldly, and a terrifying soul sound shook the air. Where are the rats? And what do they intend to do? Boom. As the powerful soul sound shook out, an extremely strong heaven and earth spiritual energy, like a torrential wave, came crashing towards the five people and a dog. Boom boom boom. Apart from Chen Fan, Jia Yuan and the others' faces all changed slightly as their explosive rushing figures were blocked from rushing by the force of this powerful spiritual impact, unable to take half a step closer to the mountaintop. This old thing, he really does have some strength. If he doesn't die, it's estimated that he'll be able to step into the immortal infant realm in ten years at most. Jia Yuan and Tong Xiaoxiao whispered grimly. Chen Fan's face was calm, and his indifferent voice drank in the air as it sounded. Lu Yuan Sheng, if you don't want the innocent disciples of the Heavenly Treasure Sect to suffer, then climb into the air and fight. Buzz, the void trembled, and Lu Yuan Sheng, a short bearded man in a white robe with his hands behind his back, appeared floating in the air. His pair of refined glittering eyes coldly looked Chen Fan up and down. At the age of 20, at the clasping Dan Post realm, such talent. Truly heaven defying. But I wonder, what grudges did I have with you that made you so impulsive to seek your own demise? Lu Yuanshang asked. The disciples of the Tian Bao sect had exploded at this moment. Running out of the house in droves, they stared at the sky above in horror and excitement. They had never imagined that there would be a day when someone would dare to challenge their supreme elder. An existence such as Lu Yuanshang. In their hearts, it was a symbol of invincibility. Who is this person? Only 20 years old to be in the late stage of the Clutching Dan realm. Could it be one of those top 5 people on the Dragon and Phoenix ranking? Bullshit. Which of the top 5 on the Dragon and Phoenix ranking are not 25 years old or older? There's no one that young. This person. He shouldn't be from our Long Xia. I suspect that he might be from the Overseas Immortal Dynasty mentioned in the book. How could someone from the Overseas Immortal Dynasty have a grudge against the Supreme Elder? Who knows? But when the Supreme Elder captures him, everything will naturally become clear. TSK. What a pity. Such talent. Yet he came to seek death. Strong talent and a crazy heart. Maybe he also relies on his family's background and knows that even if he loses, 
The Supreme Elder won't dare to do anything to him. You guys, look at that person. Isn't that Deacon Huang Su Huang? Ha, huh? it's really Deacon Huang. How could Deacon Huang be with these people? Many of the Tian Bao sect's disciples recognized Huang Su. However, they had not seen Chen Fan's appearance. Even those few Tian Bao sect disciples who had initially accompanied Huang Su to Tiger Spirit City had not met Chen Fan. Huang Su ignored the questioning of the disciples below. It was just silence and Jia Yuan and the other three, guarding behind Chen Fan. Chen Fan eyed Lu Yuancheng and said indifferently, Between you and me, there is no grudge, but you have to die. Lu Yuancheng laughed angrily, That's arrogant enough, but with only five of you and a dog, can you kill old me? Chen Fan said indifferently, Try it. The corner of Lu Yuancheng's eyes narrowed coldly, The price of this test is not small. There is no grudge between you and the old man. If you are willing to leave at this moment, the old man will only regard you as young and naive, and will not pursue your offense. Chen Fan laughed coldly. Your Tian Bao sect has always been bullying the weak and domineering. When did you become so nice to talk to? This young man has come today to change your heavenly treasure sect to a new day. This battle is inevitable. Lu Yuanshang frowned coldly. At Chen Fan's age and with this kind of natural talent, in his opinion, it was definitely not something that an ordinary power could cultivate. Such a youth, he didn't dare to kill at all. Even if they won today, Perhaps tomorrow the heavenly treasure sect would welcome retaliation and suffer extinction. This was also the reason why he was bullied at his door and had to hold back his anger and dissuade the other party. It seems that only by defeating you completely will you be able to listen to old me's well-intentioned words of persuasion. Lu Yuanshang gave an indifferent cry, then glanced at the sky above and said, Then rise into the air, and let me properly teach you, Junior, just how capable you are. Swish, Lu Yuanshang's body shape was a longitudinal, instantly disappeared and when his body reappeared, he was already 3,000 zhang high in the air at the top of the mountain. Go! Chen Fan faintly greeted and rushed up in unison with the crowd, directly killing Lu Yuanshan. Lu Yuanshang smiled coldly, although Chen Fan and the others, a total of five people and a dog, were all above the Clasping Dan realm, but he was at the Great Circle realm of the Clasping Dan realm, so he was not afraid at all. Buzz! Lu Yuanshang raised his right hand, and a long sword with overflowing green aura appeared in his hand. Flowing Cloud Immortal Sword. The Supreme Elder has actually sacrificed the Flowing Cloud Immortal Sword. It seems that this youth has completely angered the Supreme Elder. It's just a pity that the Patriarch and the Grand Elder and the others aren't in the clan. Otherwise the Supreme Elder wouldn't have to face the battle alone. He he. You guys look. That youth's hand seems to be an immortal sword as well. How does this sword look a bit like the windy immortal sword in the Sovereign's hand? Holy shit. That's the wind expelling immortal sword. Patriarch's wind expelling immortal sword. How could it be in the hands of this youth? The pupils of the Tian Bao sect's disciples all shrank in shock. Lu Yuanqing's eyes were dead set on the wind expelling immortal sword in Chen Fan's hand, his eyes glaring as he drank. Junior, how could my sect master's immortal sword be in your hands? Chen Fan said indifferently, is there any need to ask such an obvious question? Naturally, I killed Jiang Huan and seized his Xin Kong ring, and this sword, naturally, belongs to me. Chapter 110, Self-Destruction. What? You killed my clan master. Lu Yuanqing's eyes exploded and he was horrified with rage. If the patriarch was killed, then those elders who left the clan with the patriarch would not be spared? If all of this was true, then wouldn't the heavenly treasure sect now be unable to find even a second cultivator above the spirit lake realm besides him? You, you, Lu Yuanqing was so angry that he only felt a blockage in his heart, and a surge of qi and blood came up, nearly spurting out blood. Chen Fan waved his hand, without any intention of sympathizing or waiting. Greeting the crowd and killing Lu Yuanchang. Take advantage of the enemy's illness. Such a best time to strike is not to be missed. If you come to take a life, then take a life. And do not discuss anything else. Swish swish swish. Five people and a dog. Centered on Chen Fan. Formed a half arc and surrounded him. As soon as the distance was drawn closer. The five men and one dog. Who had been storing up enough momentum for the killing technique. Instantly made use of it. Thousand shadow sword stream kill. Soul piercing needle. Immortal Thunder Fist, 10,000 Sword Immortal Technique, Flying Rain Sword Formation, Planar Sky Thousand Extreme Claws, Heaven's Punishment Sword of Execution, Boom Boom Boom, Splendid and Powerful Top Tier Martial Arts, Sword Shadows Like Rainbows, Chi Energy Infused Rushes, Erupting into Heart-Stoppingly Terrifying Attacks, Almost Simultaneously Rushing in Front of Lu Yuancheng. This group of young people, obviously, had no intention of talking to Lu Yuancheng, the old man, about any martial virtues. Lu Yuan Shang and the five people attack a time, has been from the shock of anger back to God, this pouncing attack six attacks, no one is unusual skills, he would not dare to be careless half a point, 
But at this moment, he also completely lost his scruples. Tian Bao sect, nearly half dead. What else did he have to worry about? At this moment, he had already made up his mind that even if the Heavenly Treasure sect was going to be exterminated tomorrow, he was going to kill all of these five people and one dog today. These people must be made to pay a heavy price for the fall of the Tian Bao sect. Hexagram Spirit Mountain Shield. Boom. In the face of the six blasts, Lu Yuanqing chose to defend against a wave first. Pounds of majestic spiritual energy. From his Dantian, spewed out crazily, transforming into a six-sided square shield shadow, protecting his surroundings. The only way he could free his hands and kill those people in front of him one by one was to block this wave of bombardment first. Boom. Jia Yuan's thousand shadow sword stream kill. Thousands of spirit energy sword shadows, just like the crushing carp in the river, whooshing and chopping on the sixth spirit mountain shield. But the defense of the sixth spirit mountain shield was really strong to the extreme. Thousands of sword shadows bombarded the attack, and even a tiny gap was not able to cut through. Tong Xiaoxiao's soul piercing needle, although extremely powerful in penetration, was also ejected back with a buzzing sound when it blasted into the shield shadow. Huang Xiao's immortal thunder fist, a punch with the power of blowing up a mountain failed to shake the shield shadow by half. Luo Yuanwu's flying rain sword formation and big yellow's planar sky thousand extreme claws similarly failed to break the shield. However, the attack of the four people and one dog had drastically consumed the spiritual power above the shield shadow, and Chen Fan's heavenly punishment punishing god sword, whose attack was supposed to be the strongest, was at the weakest point of the spiritual shield when the purple sword ons, exploded and blasted down, splitting down on the top of the shield shadow. Boom! Terrifying sword might. As if there was really the power of heaven's punishment wrapped in it, the sword chi bombardment leaked out, erupting an extremely terrifying annihilation of might. Boom! The hexagonal spirit mountain shield, which was originally solid as gold, violently erupted with a crack. Lu Yuan Shang pupil alarmed Zhang, hastily sacrificed a black armor wrapped body. At the same time upward swing chopping a sword to open, the flowing cloud immortal sword in his hand had just blasted out a sword chi when Chen Fan's heavenly punishment god punishing sword had already completely crushed through the shield shadow and pressed down angrily. Boom boom. Two strands of sword chi, instantly colliding. However, what shocked everyone was that the might of the clasping Dan Realm Great Perfection sword chi had failed to blow back Chen Fan's purple sword chi. Instead, it was angrily pressed down by the purple sword chi and collapsed and dispersed in a matter of moments. Boom. The purple sword chi, as powerful as a bamboo chopped down on top of Lu Yuanqing's head. However, at the critical moment, the black armor on Lu Yuanqing's body was erupting with a burst of powerful black light, which hardened Chen Fan's purple sword chi and strongly topped it down. Boo! Lu Yuanqing was enveloped by the black armor and black light, and fell straight down, from the heights, all the way to the Yang Tian pavilion below. Boom boom! The Yang Tian pavilion quickly crumbled and collapsed, flying into ruins under the shock of the terrifying chi energy. Taishan Elder! Tian Bo sex people, all exclaimed in shock, a face, all white, some people, even clenched their teeth and leapt up towards the young Tian pavilion, this young man will only kill Lu Yuancheng today, but if there is someone who wants to seek death, this young man does not mind fulfilling him, Chen Fan said in a cold voice, the disciples of the heavenly treasure sect, all of them trembling with rage, although they were angry and unwilling, they knew very well that such a battle was not something they could participate in at all, if they made a move, they would be nothing more than dirt in the eyes of the other side. Boo! In the ruins of the Yang Tian Pavilion, with a boom, rubble flew and lifted, and a silhouette once again rushed up into the void. Lu Yuan Shang gray head, beard and hair are messy, a face, white and bloodless, the blood hanging from the corner of the mouth, sticking to some dust. At this moment, his right hand, which was holding the flowing cloud immortal sword, was already shaking slightly. Before I die, I only have one request. I also hope that you can tell me why you are targeting my heavenly treasure sect in such a way. My heavenly treasure sect, where exactly did I offend you? Little friend, Lu Yuanchong asked angrily. That sword just now, he barely blocked it though. He had already suffered considerable internal injuries. And the other party, five men and a dog, were still at full strength. In this battle, there was no way he would survive to the end. The strength of a strong man is not only in his strength, but also in his vision and grasp of the situation. One encounter and you basically see the whole picture. Unless the strength is really in between. But obviously, the strength of this enemy and ours was not equal. These five people and one dog on the other side all possessed combat power that far exceeded that of the same realm. At the early stage of the Clasping Dan realm, their battle power was not weaker than the middle stage of the Clasping Dan realm. The middle stage of the Clasping Dan realm could also kill the late stage of the Clasping Dan realm. As for Chen Fan, a late stage of the Clasping Dan realm, even if he fought him, 
a great circle of the clasping Dan realm, alone, he would still be able to occupy a not so small chance of winning. In this case, one hits six, and the die is cast. Chen Fan looked at Lu Yuancheng, who was disheartened and had most of his battle spirit deflated, and indifferently transmitted his voice. My name is Chen Fan, and Gu Yujin is my fiancé. Now, do you know why I want to destroy your Tian Bao sect? If you cut yourself to thank for your offense, this young man can spare the Tian Bao sect's disciples from death. Lu Yuanqing's body trembled as he looked incredulously at Chen Fan who was transmitting the voice, his lips and teeth trembling for a while, unable to say a word for a long time. He had never thought that the Tian Bao sect would suffer such a great disaster because of that female disciple Gu Chuan Chuan. Ha ha ha! Really is the wheel of heaven. Retribution ah! Who could have thought? Who could have thought ah! Lu Yuan Shang burst of bitter long laugh, tilted his head to look at the sky, two lines of old tears, fell like rain lines, if time could be turned back, he would definitely not let Jiang Feng plot against Gu Bu Yu, nor will they condone John's father and son bullying the weak, it's just a shame that time doesn't turn back and there are no pills for regrets in the world, when the Tian Bao sect offended someone they couldn't afford to mess with, they could only wait to be destroyed, good, I am willing to exchange my crippled life for the safety of thousands of disciples of the sect, I also ask you, little friend, to be lenient in your heart and not to hurt the innocent, Lu Yuanshang pleaded, Chen Fan nodded and said, this young man is as good as his word, Lu Yuanshang smiled miserably, his eyes lowered, looked down unwillingly, and said in a low voice, heavenly treasure sect disciples listen to the order, in the future, if there is still a chance to get the inheritance of the uninterrupted, remember to not do injustice again, God's sins can be forgiven, but self-inflicted sins cannot be lived, if you do more than what is right, you will die by yourself. Zhang Huan and his son are our clan's eternal sinners. You and others should learn from this. Pust. Lu Yuanshang roared. Right hand Lu Yuni mortal sword. Violently wiped from the front of the throat. Chapter 111. A personal disciple. Lu Yuanshang's death may seem a bit innocent. But in its essence, it is still the sadness of being less powerful than others. If Lu Yuanshang had a certainty of victory, he certainly would not have killed himself. Killing himself was nothing more than an honorable death he chose. After Lu Yuanshang's death, Chen Fan waved his hand and sucked the flowing cloudy mortal sword over and threw it to Jia Yuan. Jia Yuan grinned. Many thanks, young master. Where there were people, Jia Yuan and the others would not address Chen Fan as island master. Chen Fan narrowed his eyes and said, There are still some business to be done. Huang Su, go and gather all of the heavenly treasure sect's disciples. Yes, Huang Su responded and flew downward. Soon, thousands of disciples of the Tian Bao sect were gathered on a platform. These disciples, with trembling eyes, harbor fear and resentment. Chen Fan faced the crowd and said indifferently, Lu Yuansheng, Jiang Huan, and a host of other Tian Bao sect executives have been executed. The Tian Bao sect, as of today, no longer exists. The crowd of heavenly treasure sect disciples were gloomy. No matter what happens to Tian Bao sect, it's their home after all. It's hard and it's human. Chen Fan continued, but this young man remembers that you are all innocent disciples and does not want to make things difficult for you. From today onwards, this Xianho Mountain will be my immortal Dao sex residence, and those of you who are willing to stay will be my immortal Dao sex disciples in the future. Those who don't want to stay, can leave and return home. Chen Fan's words surprised these Tian Bao sect disciples. They could still leave unharmed? One by one, they looked at each other with suspicion in their eyes. Chen Fan said indifferently, whether or not to leave. You will be given one day to consider on your own. Those who have not left by the hour of tomorrow will be considered to have voluntarily stayed and come under the banner of my immortal Dao sect. Now, this sect wishes to accept ten personal disciples to pass down immortal great feats, in order to assist this sect in managing the immortal Dao sect's matters. If you are willing to do so, follow the sect into the main hall. Only ten people are needed. Such a great opportunity to soar to the heavens, so grasp it for yourself. After saying that, Chen Fan and Jia Yuan and the others, walked towards the main hall. Only the yellow void was left behind. Huang Su faced the Tian Bao sect disciples and faintly said, Tian Bao sect has become a thing of the past, and the strength of the immortal Dao sect, as you all have seen, is stronger than Tian Bao sect. What you have seen is only the tip of the iceberg of the immortal Dao sect's strength. If you are willing to stay, you will have an unlimited future. If you are willing to stay, you will have an unlimited future. If you join the sect leader and become a personal disciple, you will even have a great opportunity. Don't miss it, Deacon Huang. Huang, dare I ask if we really stay? Will the immortal Dao sect treat us equally? A disciple nervously asked. Huang Su laughed lightly, it will be treated equally since, apart from you guys, the immortal Dao sect doesn't have any other disciples here. Now that the new sect has been established, 
it is the time for you to perform well, and in terms of opportunities, there are many more than before. Master, disciple will always follow you. A voice rang out in excitement, but it was one of Huang Su's previous junior disciples who hurriedly ran out. Huang Su smiled. Silly boy. It's to follow the patriarch and the immortal Tao sect, not to follow master. Yes, the apprentice is willing to return to the immortal Tao sect, the young apprentice hurriedly said. Huang Su smiled with satisfaction. Good, so you and I will still be able to renew our master-disciple bond. Deacon Huang, I, have average qualifications, can I worship under the sovereign and become a personal disciple? A person asked weakly. Huang Su smiled faintly, the patriarch didn't mention the qualification requirements just now, so it's self-evident that everyone has a chance. Then I will become the sovereign's personal disciple. This disciple shouted excitedly and rushed towards the main hall. Ten spots, one had already gone and the eyes of the other thousands of disciples, at least a thousand, lit up, I want to become a pro-disciple too, don't grab it from me, this opportunity is mine, I used to be the sovereign's personal disciple, so it's only right that I should have the most priority for this kind of opportunity, cut the crap, hurry up and rush to the main hall, first come, first served, for a while, the first hundreds of people who reacted rushed frantically towards the main hall, outside the main hall, Jia Yuan and Luo Yuanwu stood guard outside the hall, after the two had put in a total of ten disciples, they drank back the others. Those who didn't get a chance just retreated in remorse, but they do not know, this so-called pro-transmission, but as Chen Fan openly enlisted means, secretly, these ten people, has been as Tian Bao's own general, in vain its form, has changed its soul. There were thousands of disciples in the Tian Bao sect, and Chen Fan could not guarantee that there were no dissidents among them. Moreover, the previous Tian Bao sect executives, almost died out. And in order to maintain the normal operation of Tian Bao sect, a new batch of strong people were also needed to sit in. These ten people, whose old sect had just been destroyed, were so actively involved in the new sect, seeming to be people who knew the time and the opportunity, but how could they not be people with a wolf's heart and a dog's lungs, who did not remember their old feelings? This kind of person, Shen Fan did not feel that they were considered innocent. Passing on the power was passed on for the night. And it was not until early the next morning that the ten personal disciples who had received personal coaching from Chen Fan, the patriarch, walked out of the main hall. Island master. The family members of the Jiang clan are all under control at the moment. What should we do with these people? Huan Su came over and asked for instructions. Jiang Huan naturally has more than just one son. Jiang Feng, just concubines. There are more than a dozen. Sons and daughters in addition to Jiang Feng. There are as many as seven or eight. These people, yesterday, had wanted to sneak out of Xianho Mountain, but Huang Su saw that they had sensitive identities, so he took it upon himself to detain them all. Chen Fan narrowed his eyes and said, Take me to meet. Yes. Huang Su responded and led Chen Fan to a large courtyard. The Jiang clan's people were all under house arrest in the compound at the moment, all of them looking terrified and anxious. Seeing Chen Fan and Huang Su walking into the courtyard, the heartstrings of everyone in Jiang's clan tensed up. Patriarch, didn't you say that those who don't want to stay can leave on their own? Why are you still holding us back? Could it be that you are not honoring your words? An extremely good-looking beautiful woman, tightly holding a seven or eight-year-old boy, said in a trembling voice. Chen Fan said indifferently, You are Jiang Huan's family members and have deep hatred towards this clan. So naturally, you should be treated differently. Come over here. Chen Fan beckoned to the boy. The boy didn't dare and shrank towards the beautiful woman's arms. The beautiful woman cried and knelt on the ground. Please, let my child go. He's still young. He doesn't know anything yet. Bastard. Are you going to spare even such a small child? A furious rebuke. Drank from the house. Followed by a young girl. Her face turning blue as she walked out. Zhang Yun. Don't be impulsive. You'll get us killed like this. The rest of Zhang's family. In a rush of alarm. Pulled the young girl. This young girl. Is the daughter of Zhang Huan. In Zhang Huan a number of children. Ranking second. Chen Fan glanced at Zhang Yun and said indifferently. Using you alone. In exchange for the life of all of them, are you willing to do so? Zhang Yun's eyes trembled. Then she gritted her teeth in death and said, As long as you can really spare them, what's the harm in dying me? Chen Fan nodded and looked at Huang Su. Plant a prohibition in their Dantian. Their lives can be kept, but their cultivation cannot be reused. Then let them go. These beautiful women. Their strength was no more than the true spirit realm at its strongest. And most of the children. They were around 10 years old. But the seeds of hatred had already been planted and Chen Fan had already been kind enough to leave them alive. However, this Jiang Yun, was a body with a heavenly spiritual vein, and with deep hatred in her eyes, Chen Fan had no intention of letting her go. 
Chapter 112, Suitable Flesh. When the beautiful woman heard this, her face turned pale and she said, You imprisoned our Dan Tian. What's the difference between this and taking our lives? Chen Fan coldly glanced at the beautiful woman and said in a deep voice, If you feel that there is no difference, you can choose to die. Do you want to choose to die? I, the beautiful woman trailed off. She certainly wouldn't choose to die. Huang Su grunted, imprisoning the Dan Tian, You can still live like ordinary people. This is already the patriarch's grace to you. Don't be unaware of it. The beautiful women didn't dare much more at this point. Chen Fan said indifferently, Take them out. Yes, Huang Hollow responded, then looked coldly at the beautiful women. All of you go with the old man. The beautiful women hung their heads and sighed softly, escorting their respective children and following Huang Su out of the courtyard. In the courtyard, only Chen Fan and Jiang Yun remained. Jiang Yun took a low breath and said in a cold and deep voice, Do it. Chen Fan slowly raised his hand. Jiang Yun's eyes trembled. Seeing that Chen Fan was really going to make a move, he hurriedly said, Don't you think that it's more valuable for me to live than to die? Chen Fan raised an eyebrow. What value do you have in living? The corner of Jiang Yun's mouth twitched as she gritted her teeth and said, I am the body of a spirit vein, and I'm at a wonderful age, and my looks are considered to be well-born. Have you never thought of taking me as a cauldron? Chen Fan froze, then he laughed. It seems that you are not willing to die like this. Jiang Yun's face flushed red and said, of course I don't want to die like this. Who is willing to die once they can live? Don't worry. Now that the Jiang family has lost its power, I won't be vindictive towards you. As long as you can let me live, I can sacrifice all I have. Saying that, Jiang Yun actually took the initiative to draw back her belt, letting a dress loosen up. Can we go? Eh? Jiang Yun bit her red lips and said. Chen Fan sneered and walked towards the house first. While Jiang Yun breathed a sigh of relief, a flash of resentment swept through her eyes. Trying to kill this man is, perhaps, the only way to do it at a time like that. The duo entered the house, one after the other. Jiang Yun looked at Chen Fan's back, took a deep breath, and was about to remove her clothes and skirt, but she was confined in her movements by Chen Fan, who suddenly turned around, and then waved out a spiritual force. Jiang Yun blushed and said, What's the point of being so I can't move, like a dead fish? Chen Fan said indifferently, Do you think that I can't see that little mind of yours? The smudge of hatred deep in your eyes betrayed you a long time ago, but I am not Jiang Feng, and I am not half interested in the body of a tripod. Jiang Yun's face turned pale as she said, You still know my big brother Jiang Feng? Chen Fan said indifferently, The destruction of your Jiang clan is all because of him. Jiang Yun was shocked, Because of my big brother? What exactly did he do? Chen Fan shook his head and said, There is no need to mention what he has done, but this flesh of yours is really good, so I'll take it. Jiang Yun said hideously, I won't let you go even if I die. Chen Fan sneered and didn't bother with her anymore. How else can a man be tossed around when he's as dead as a lamp? He sat down on his knees, his mind sinking into the heavenly sea pearl. Yu Qi Ling. Chen Fan gave a low call. Whoosh. Yu Qi Ling excitedly flew through the air and said in surprise, Island Master, is it that you finally found a suitable physical body for me? Chen Fan smiled. The physical body found for you is considered the best one so far. Go say goodbye to your loved ones. He he. Okay, I'll be back soon. Yu Qi Ling gave a playful laugh and hurriedly flew back to say goodbye to her family. Not long after, Yu Qi An and the rest of the group, accompanied by Yu Qi Ling, flew up into the void and bowed to Chen Fan in unison. Thank you Island Master for your compassionate heart in sending Linger away from the island. After this going out, if the Island Master doesn't mind, let Linger serve at the Island Master's left and right as a concubine. Yu Qi An respectfully smiled. Yu Qi Ling blushed slightly, but did not utter a rebuttal. The faces of the rest of the Yuchi family also had smiles on them. Obviously, this is something they've discussed for a long time and none of them have a problem with it. Chen Fan heard this, but he shook his head and smiled. I appreciate Senior Yuchi's intention, but I already have my heart belonging to someone, so I can only fail the Yuchi family with this intention. Yuchi and laughed, Island Master must not say so. Ordinary men can still have three wives and four concubines, such as Island Master such a great man. A few more women around, isn't that even more desirable? Linger, this child, has been favored since childhood, although there is a little bit of pampering, but in the matter of serving the island master, she will not be half disobedient. Chen Fan smiled lightly and said, Linger is very good, it's just that I don't have any plans to take a concubine for the time being. This matter, it is better not to mention it again. Seeing Chen Fan say this, Yu Qian arched his hand and smiled, good, then I will not mention this matter. After going out, whether or not Linger will have the honor of serving the island master will depend on the fate between this herself and the island master. Linger ah, what should be said? Grandpa has said it all for you. After you go out, 
you grasp it yourself. Yu Qian teased and laughed at the shy Yu Qiling. Yu Qiling shyly snapped. Grandfather, these words are clearly what you yourself had to say. How come they become said on my behalf? Although Ling'er worships the island master and is grateful to him, she knows that she is blessed and has never dared to have any improper thoughts. Ha ha, okay, it's all about what grandpa himself has to say. It has nothing to do with you. That's fine, right? Yu Qian stroked his beard and laughed. Humph, that's how it was supposed to be. You see, now it's made things more awkward between Ling'er and the island master. Yu Qi Ling huffed. Ha ha, it's a bit awkward now. But if you go out and cook raw rice with the island master, then you won't even feel awkward later. Yu Qian narrowed his eyes and laughed. Yu Qian's words blinded the Yu Qi family. Yu Qi Ling was also so shocked that her apricot eyes were rounded and her face was so red that it seemed to be dripping blood. Grandpa, you, you are so shameless. You are being disrespectful for the old. Yu Qi Ling said in exasperation. Yu Qian hurriedly covered his mouth and said with a smile, It's grandpa who's talking too much again. Chen Fan smiled lightly. He naturally knew that Yu Qian was not confused. Yu Qian was purposely putting words into words, using a joking manner to further stimulate the two of them in the direction of a Tao couple relationship. Things like relationships are, a lot of the time, driven by jokes during the trial period. As long as both parties don't take offense to such jokes, it slowly creates a mental cue that then becomes a driving factor for good things to happen. Yu Qian had lived for an unknown number of years. How could he not understand the mind of a man? These kinds of jokes, Women might not like it too much, but using Yu Qi Ling, such a delicate little beauty, to joke about Chen Fan, a man of blood and vigor, 9 out of 10 men would not be repulsed and resentful. Chen Fan's current unwillingness, in Yu Qi An's opinion, was nothing more than a kind of Chen Fan's steadfastness to his fiancée's fidelity. Chen Fan got up with a faint smile and said, It looks like you guys are ready to say goodbye. In that case, Yu Qi Ling, you will follow this island master onto the soul departure altar. Yu Qi Ling hurriedly said, Yes, grandfather, father, mother, uncles and aunts, Linger bids farewell. Yu Qi Ling bowed and saluted to the group of loved ones, then her eyes reddened and she flew towards the soul departure altar. Yu Qi and, and the others, who were no longer joking at this time, all had red eyes. It's hard to see you again after this farewell, they hoped that Yu Qi Ling would be with Chen Fan, and how was that not a kind of entrustment, because after going out, Yu Qi Ling would only have Chen Fan, the island master, as someone close to her. Chapter 113, Deputy Patriarch. Soon, Yu Qi Ling and Chen Fan stood together on the soul departure altar. Yu Qi Ling was only in the middle stage of the clasping Dan realm, while Chen Fan had stepped into the late stage of the clasping Dan realm, and even if he was up against a great circle of the clasping Dan realm, he would have a great chance of winning. This battle was simply a crushing of the opposite side. When Chen Fan blasted over with a palm, Yu Qi Ling's flesh and blood crumbled, and his soul and spirit separated. He also didn't want Yu Qi Ling, such a delicate little beauty, to die such a miserable death, but naturally this was the law of sin immortal island. After killing Yu Qi Ling, Chen Fan returned to his physical body. Jiang Yun stood in front of him like a wooden statue, terrified and tormented inside. She tried to call out to Chen Fan several times, and Chen Fan didn't respond to her. After finally seeing Chen Fan open his eyes, Jiang Yun's throat rolled and he said in a trembling voice, What exactly are you trying to do when you want my flesh? Chen Fan obviously had no intention of violating her. But then he said he wanted her flesh. This unknown situation of being about to be arranged made her heart extremely fearful. Chen Fan did not answer, just slowly got up, walked to Jiang Yun, blasted out a spiritual sense, into the heart of Jiang Yun's eyebrows. Boom! Jiang Yun only felt the sea of soul shake violently, and in the next moment, he lost all perception again. Chen Fan took her body and carried it to the bed. The latter was already a breeze for him. It didn't take long for Jiang Yun to open her eyes in surprise. So this is the outside world? Yu Qi Ling said excitedly. Chen Fan smiled. Well, this is the Xian Ling continent. I'll spend the power of your spirit body along with it. He he, good. Yu Qi Ling answered excitedly. In the time it took to burn incense, Chen Fan had completely poured Yu Qi Ling's spiritual body power into Zhang Yun. Yu Qi Ling sat up on his knees and recondensed all of his spiritual energy. Phew. Done. Yu Qi Ling let out a playful laugh. Then with a wave of her hand, she condensed a spiritual water mirror in front of her staring curiously and scrutinizing her new face. He he he, it's not bad, although it's not as good as my own face. This face is still pretty good looking. Yu Qi Ling laughed with satisfaction. Chen Fan smiled helplessly and said, The name of this physical body is Zhang Yun. You will use the identity of Zhang Yun for the time being and stay in the immortal Tao sect. I will announce to the public that I have accepted you as a personal disciple, and your alchemy skill is also inherited from me. Your cultivation, too, 
should be released slowly so as not to be suspected of your identity. Yuchi Ling playfully smiled. Don't worry, island master. I will definitely act out Jiang Yun's identity. Ha, huh? her clothes? How come? Could it be that she was originally prepared to bedroll you, island master? Yuchi Ling asked with a playful smile as she pulled on the loose dress and looked inside through the neckline to see the size. Chen Fan's face twitched. Yuchi Ling was actually pulling the neckline like this right in front of him. This was also too much not to take him as a man, right? Chen Fan said. She is just trying to find an opportunity to kill me. Her father and elder brothers all died at my hands. The immortal Dao sect that you are in nowadays was originally where her Jung family's roots were as well. Yu Qi Ling nodded solemnly and said, With such a hateful relationship, even if it's a beautiful woman, that can't be touched. Chen Fan smiled faintly. Indeed. Yu Qi Ling smiled wryly. But now the person who is in control of this body is me. And I have no bad intentions towards Island Master. That's for sure. If Island Master is fond of this body, he he, I can cooperate well oh, and just take the opportunity to familiarize myself with this body as well. Chen Fan glared. This physical body will be your body from now on. Do not act absurdly. Familiarize yourself with it. I'm going out. Just call me Sovereign from now on, and outside. Don't call me Island Master. After saying that, Chen Fan hurriedly retreated from the house. Zhang Yun was already beautiful, and Yu Qi Ling had deliberately provoked him, so he was afraid that if he stayed any longer, he might have to do something to apologize to Gu Chuanqing. After coming to this world, Chen Fan has actually long been accustomed to this world of men with three wives and four concubines, and even at a very young age, it was thought that when the body grows up to adulthood, it must be to create a great harem for itself, enjoying a happy life surrounded by warblers and swallows. However, since he and Gu Buyu settled down, and saw that Gu Buyu had paid a lot for him, and had always been infatuated with him, and his love was steadfast, Chen Fan was touched but also put away the heart to build a harem. At the very least, in the matter of concubinage, he couldn't just focus on his own wishes, but he also had to consider and respect Gu Chuanqin's feelings as well before he could do so. After Chen Fan came out of the courtyard, Huang Su had already finished his business and was waiting outside the courtyard. All sent away? Chen Fan asked. Huang Su hurriedly smiled. Well, they've all been sent away, no matter how big or small. The Dantian has been planted with a prohibition. As long as someone tries to dissolve the prohibition, the power of the prohibition will explode, thus completely destroying their Dantian. In this life, they will only be able to live like ordinary people. Chen Fan said indifferently, it's already good to be alive. Yes, the patriarch is already merciful. If it were someone else, would he have left them alive? Huang Su said. Chen Fan shook his head and said, it's just that those kids are too young. Huang Su took an ambiguous look inside the courtyard and grinned. The one inside, she's not too young, and she's also very good looking. But this Jiang Yun, seems to have a marriage contract with Lei Wu Sex young patriarch Situnan, which is a bit troublesome. Chen Fan's eyes narrowed as he said indifferently, the Tian Bao sect is all but dead, and this marriage contract is naturally nullified along with it. Yes, Huang Su smiled and answered, with the strength of the immortal Dao sect, it naturally had no fear of the Thunder Martial sect. By the way, patriarch, those tripods that Zheng Feng had before are all still around today as well. What do you think? What should we do with these women? Huang Su asked with a slight twinkle in his eyes. Zheng Feng's broken shoes. Huang Su knew that the island master should not be able to look at it. But if the island master didn't put the word out, he wouldn't dare to make a decision without authorization ah. Seeing Huang Su's thieving look, Chen Fan happily said. What? You want to take over? Ahem. Dare I ask Sovereign? What is the meaning of this takeover? Huang Su asked with a dry smile. Chen Fan laughed. It means taking over. Do you have your eyes on those cauldrons of Jiang Feng? Huang Su blushed and said. Although this Jiang Feng is not a good person, but his vision is still good. These cauldrons that he keeps, each one of them is not inferior to Jiang Yun's extreme beauty. My subordinate does have some thoughts. Of course, if Patriarch doesn't allow it, my subordinate will never do anything unethical. Chen Fan nodded and said. If they are willing to commit themselves to you, you can take care of them. If they are unwilling, you will let them go, and you must not force or compel them. Immortal Dao sect, may kill and destroy, but never force a woman to be the body of a cauldron. Huang Su excitedly said, my subordinate will definitely keep to the bottom line. Well, later on, I will announce that you are the Immortal Dao sect's vice sovereign, and when I am not in the sect, all matters of the Immortal Dao sect will be handed over to you. Chen Fan said, Huang Su had been hibernating in the Heavenly Treasure sect for a long time and he was most familiar with the situation and character relationships here, and although he wasn't the strongest in terms of cultivation, it was the most suitable for the vice sect leader to be assumed by him. 
Huang Su hurriedly knelt down on one knee and said excitedly, Thank you for the patriarch's honor. Huang Su will definitely manage the clan well and live up to the patriarch's trust. Chen Fan narrowed his eyes and said, You do have to do your best. The future of the immortal Dao sect is not just within the Qingzhou prefecture domain. Chapter 114, The Mo Family. Those cauldrons of Jiang Fangs. Chen Fan had no interest in them since. On the same day, Chen Fan announced that he appointed Huang Su as the vice sect leader of the immortal Dao sect, and ordered his disciples to spread the word to the outside world that the Tianbao sect had died as a sect, and that there would only be the immortal Dao sect on Xianho Mountain in the future. When this news came out, it had since caused quite a stir within the Qingzhou prefecture domain. After all, the heavenly treasure sect was one of the five great sects, and there was even a strong person of the great perfection of the clutching Dan realm sitting within the sect, so it was surprising that the lair had been taken over without a sound. Everyone was speculating as to where this immortal Dao sect had emerged from as a ferocious force. It was a pity that the various clans had only received the news of the immortal Dao sect's turtling, but had not received the invitation for the immortal Dao sect to open a sect, so they did not even have a chance to find out what was going on. Arcane Blade Sect, Sect Council Hall. A group of elders from the sect gathered. Tian Bao sect's young patriarch was just beheaded by the Black Robe Man within the Earth Spirit Abyss, and before the identity of the Black Robe was ascertained. Tian Bao sect was destroyed by this immortal Dao sect. Do you all think that there is a relationship between this immortal Dao sect and the black robes? On the high seat, the Arc Blade sect sect leader, Ink Blood Blade, who was dressed in a navy blue robe, opened his mouth with a gloomy look on his eyes. As soon as the trial ended and the news of Zhuo Buchuan and the others being destroyed by the group was sent back to the Arc Blade sect, the Arc Blade sect began an investigation into the identity of the black robes. But the trial participants, coming from all over the Qingzhou prefecture, wanted to line up all the survivors, and it was not an easy task. The matter of the black robes had yet to come to fruition, and then something happened to the heavenly treasure sect, and the ink blood blade quickly wondered if there wasn't some sort of correlation between the two. Patriarch, I feel that the black robe is definitely someone from the immortal Dao sect, a gnarled bearded old man said in a deep, angry voice. This person was none other than Zhuo Butchuan's father and the arc blade sect's grand elder. Shua Xian, ink blood sword's eyes narrowed. Oh, why is the Grand Elder so certain? Zhuo Xian gritted his teeth and said, It is rumored that the Black Robe is incredibly strong, far surpassing his peers. Among the known forces within the Qingzhou Prefecture, there is simply no one that exists that matches the strength of the Black Robe. This mysterious immortal Dao sect that suddenly appeared was able to destroy the Heavenly Treasure sect, so it is clear that their strength is very unusual. Perhaps, only they can cultivate a disciple like Black Robe. The Ink Blood Blade nodded and said, this clan actually thinks the same way. It's just that right now we don't have any concrete evidence. So it's not good for us to turn on the immortal Dao sect. In addition, our sect and the Tian Bao sect have similar strengths. So if the black robes are really from the immortal Dao sect, I'm afraid that it would be difficult to deal with them with our sect's strength alone. Zhuo Xian coldly laughed. Immortal Wei sect is brutal and overbearing. Killing the patriarch, the death of the clan, this act of human and god's indignation. The forces of the clan in Qingzhou should be formed into an alliance to discuss. In order to support the righteousness of my Qingzhou, Inkblood Blade's eyes flickered slightly as he said, Does the Grand Elder think that the other three clans are willing to make this alliance? Zhuo Xian smiled coldly. Other sects, I don't dare to guarantee, but the young sect master of the Thunder Marshal sect, Situ Nan, has a marriage contract with Zheng Huan's daughter, Zheng Yun. Situ Zan has to have an attitude. Otherwise, won't he be laughed at? The ink blood sword laughed. What the Grand Elder said is good. Regardless of whether or not the black robes are from the immortal Dao sect, this immortal Dao sect we will have to touch a depth. Although the immortal Dao sect has suddenly sprung up, their ambitions, I'm afraid, are not small. Today, they were able to destroy the heavenly treasure sect, and in the future, there is no guarantee that they won't have crooked thoughts about our other several great sections. In that case, the matter of uniting the other sects will be left to you, Grand Elder. But remember, before the alliance is finalized, this matter should not be publicized, so as not to be targeted by the immortal Dao sect in advance. Zhuo Xian got up and said, I'll run around the clans and convince them to ally with our clan. The ink blood blade narrowed his eyes and said, On the side of the Qingzhou mansion, the Grand Elder will also have to make a trip to see what attitude the Qingzhou mansion has. The old immortal understands. Zhuo Xian responded. After the deliberations were over and Zhuo Xian and the others retired, a black-haired, Long-faced middle-aged man then looked at Inkblood Blade in disbelief and said, Father, it's still okay to track down the black robes for the sake of a few disciples, but is it not a bit impulsive to take on a mortal Dao sect just like that? The corners of Inkblood Sword's lips rose evilly as he laughed. 
Do you think that this move by my father is still for the sake of being in the process of doing justice to Zhuo Buchuan's few little disciples? Mo Chang was surprised. Then why is father making this move? The ink blood blade licked its lips and laughed coldly. This immortal Dao sect was able to exterminate the heavenly treasure sect so easily. And the inheritance laws held in their hands are bound to be of a not so low grade. If we can eliminate them, won't the inheritance in their hands be our arc blade sects? Moreover, the immortal way sect has just established itself. The situation is not yet stabilized. Now is also the best opportunity to get rid of them. If you give them a little more time. In the future, the five great sects. I'm afraid that they are a dominant situation. Then again want to get rid of them. How difficult. On a further note, my father is also interested in those several spirit minds under the banner of the heavenly treasure sect. Since John Juan is dead, let me, the arc blade sect, keep these spirit minds for him. Only then did it dawn on Mo Chang that avenging Zhuo Buchuan and the other disciples was just a front. Father is wise. Mo Chang complimented. The ink blood blade laughed. When the immortal Dao sect has been leveled and the heavenly treasure sect's properties taken, my father will plan to go on a good retreat to impact the immortal infant realm. At that time, the position of the sect leader will be officially passed on to you. Mo Chang's eyes twitched, and he busily said, When the time comes, the child will exercise the rights of the sect leader by proxy and just manage the sect for father. Father does not have to be in a hurry to pass on the throne ah. The ink blood sword bristled. For father not to pass on the throne long ago, you're afraid that you're all anxious in your heart, aren't you? Mo Chang was terrified and quickly knelt down. Father, my child was never in a hurry. Ha, <laughs> if not for Mo Yan's unwillingness to return, the best candidate for this patriarch, it is true that it is not your turn, but you can't blame my father for being biased. Your qualification in martial arts is indeed inferior to your brother. But since Mo Yan is unwilling to compete with you, this position of patriarch will be yours sooner or later. Mo Blood Blade faintly said. Mo Chang clenched his fists, bowed his head and said in a deep voice, My child knows that he is not as good as his younger brother. But if my father is willing to give the opportunity, my child will definitely work hard to grow the clan as well. Go down. Ink Blood Blade waved his hand. Obviously, he didn't expect much from Merching. Inkbrand let out a low breath and got up to leave. After exiting the council chamber, Mo Chang's eyes couldn't help but become resentful, viciously looking towards the back of the council chamber. For so many years, you only had Mo Yen in your eyes. He's just a bit better talented than me. As for me, no matter how much I've given to the clan, you can't see it. You can't see me as a son. And I don't care about a father like you. One day, I will let everyone know that I, Mo Chang, am the most suitable heir to the Arc Blade sect. The passing of the throne in the mouth of the ink blood blade was more like a handout in the eyes of Mo Chang. It was his brother Mo Yen who didn't want it before it was given to him in charity. Qing Zhou Mansion, Bai Xuandao sent the news of the Tian Bao sect's change of heart to Feng Wanqi as well. Feng Wanqi frowned lightly after hearing this. Can you find out what exactly is the origin of this immortal Dao sect? Feng Wanqi asked. Bai Xuandao returned. I only know that on that day. It was five people and a dog that suddenly killed the Tian Bao sect and decapitated Lu Yuancheng forcefully. The identity of these five people, Tian Bao sect old disciples only recognize a Huang Su. Other people, all face is very raw. Seems to have never revealed the reputation. Perhaps, they weren't originally strong individuals within my Qingzhou prefecture domain. Chapter 115 Heavenly Grade Divine Treasure Feng Wangqi said in a cold and deep voice, if they are not from within my Qingzhou prefecture, then it's even more important to find out their details before doing so. Bai Xuendo busily said, My subordinate understands. Several people at the top of this immortal Dao sect rarely show their faces, so I'm afraid that if I want to check their details, I'll have to make a trip to the immortal Dao sect to be able to do so. Then go take a walk and explore the depths. Feng Wangqi said. Bai Xuendo's eyes flickered slightly as he said, I'm afraid that this portion is not enough if only the subordinate goes. Feng Wangqi pondered for a moment and said, Then let Suan Wang. The two old men, accompany Xian Ting on his trip, and you follow along, just in time to see if this immortal Dao sect and the black robes in the earth spirit abyss are related or not. Yes, Bai Xu Window answered. Su and Wang were the second of the eight immortal elders of the Qingzhou mansion, both of them holding the Dan Realm Grand Circle strength. With these two stepping forward, plus the world's sun, the weight would be enough. Immortal Hulk Mountain, Immortal Wei Sect. After Chen Fan entrusted the matters of the sect to Huang Su to handle, he himself stayed in Jiang Huan's previous compound, Yang Tian Pavilion, was already being rebuilt, and when the rebuilding was complete, Chen Fan intended to use Yang Tian Pavilion as his place of cultivation in the Immortal Dao sect. Inside the compound, the prohibition was shrouded. A black coffin, lying flat on the ground, emitted a strange and gloomy black millimeter of light. 
Chen Fan sat cross-legged before the black coffin and used his own spiritual energy and mind power to try to refine the black coffin. Generally speaking, immortal treasures needed to be sacrificed with one's own spiritual energy and mind before they could bring out the strongest power of the immortal treasure. As for the soul returning coffin in front of him, Chen Fan could not even open it without sacrificing it. He became more and more curious as to what kind of treasure the soul returning coffin was. The soul returning coffin was even more difficult to refine than Chen Fan had imagined and he had continued to refine it for three days, but still had not succeeded. Can it be that the grade of this soul returning coffin is too high? And with my current cultivation level, it's simply not enough to refine it? Chen Fan's face was a little dark. If that was really the case, how come the guy inside the earth spirit abyss didn't say anything clearly? Wasting his three days for nothing. Su Jin, come over here. Chen Fan's eyes narrowed lightly as he transmitted his voice to Su Jin, one of the top ten prodisciples. This Su Town, naturally, has long since ceased to be the original Su Town. This person, whose real name is Zhuga Rue, is a descendant of the Zhuga family of Sin Immortal Island, and specializes in refining weapons. Chen Fan had called him over because he wanted him to help him see what grade of immortal treasure the soul returning coffin belonged to. Soon, a youth came outside the courtyard and respectfully said, Patriarch, the disciple is here. Chen Fan waved his hand, and the prohibition cracked a gap at the courtyard gate. When Su Jin walked in and saw the black coffin placed in the courtyard, a strange color flashed in his eyes. Greetings, sovereign, Su Jin respectfully saluted. Chen Fan restored the prohibition and smiled. There is no one else here, so there is no need to be so polite. You help me see, this black coffin, what kind of grade of treasure is it, and what use does it have? Yes, Su Jin walked forward and walked around the soul returning coffin, and then touched the black coffin with his hand, a puzzled look appearing on his face from time to time. Chen Fan raised his eyebrows lightly. Could it be that even with Zhuga Rue's insight, he could not see any subtleties in this black coffin? Although Chen Fan was eager to know, he did not rush Su Jin. Su Jin pondered for a long time before he made a salute and said, Island Master, with my ability, I am not yet able to tell what wonderful use this black coffin has, but judging from the coffin's body texture, as well as the engraved symbols on it, this black coffin is at least a heavenly grade divine treasure. If I want to know what wonderful uses it has, I guess I need to completely refine it before I can know. Chen Fan was pleasantly surprised. It's actually a heavenly great divine treasure. No wonder I couldn't refine it even after spending three days. Su Jin lightly coughed. The island master is so mighty that he actually attempted to refine a Tongtian level divine treasure with his body of holding the Dan. Something we wouldn't even dare to attempt. Chen Fan face skin a draw. Mighty ah. If he had known that this soul return coffin is a Tongtian level divine treasure. He presses the root will not waste three days for nothing. It's a pity. Unable to refine it. It'll just be a collector's item for now, Chen Fan said a little depressed. If he couldn't refine it, he couldn't even open the soul returning coffin. So what was the point? Should he treat it like a big black brick and take it to smash people? If one wanted to refine a Tongtian level divine treasure, one would need to have at least the cultivation of the divine mansion realm to be able to do so. With Chen Fan's current cultivation level, not to mention three days, even if he were to refine it for three years, he would not be able to refine it successfully. Just as Chen Fan was disappointed, Su Jin laughed. It's not useless. The engraved symbols that are densely covered on this coffin are actually a very powerful triggered restriction called the return to fall. If the sovereign is outside and suffers a powerful attack that cannot be resisted, the black coffin can be used as a shield so that not only can it block the other party's attack, it can also blast the other party's attack back the way it came. And if it's taken by surprise, it can surely deal a heavy blow to the opponent itself. Chen Fan's eyes lit up as he laughed. If you hadn't told me, how would I have known that these golden engraved symbols had such wonderful uses? In that case, this soul returning coffin is not considered useless. Returning soul coffin? Su Jin was surprised. Chen Fan nodded his head and said, Well, the person who gifted me this item will call it the soul returning coffin. Su Jin gently ejaculated. I seem to have heard my grandfather mention this name. Patriarch, why don't you ask my grandfather? Chen Fan said, Ask again when you have the chance. Anyway, you can't refine it for the time being. It's useless to know too much. Su Jin laughed. Also, Chen Fan smiled as he took out a Xin Kong ring and handed it to Su Jin. Calling you here, there is another task for you. In this Xin Kong ring, there are all the broken blades I collected during the trial in the Earth Spirit Abyss, as well as some rare ores. You should melt them down and refine them into various types of battle weapons. Prioritize refining those of high grade, not quantity, but quality. Su Jin hurriedly took the Xin Kong ring and solemnly said, then disciple will go to the closed door refining. Chen Fan smiled and said, It's been hard work. Go. After Su Jin retreated, Chen Fan collected the soul returning coffin and called Jiang Yun over again. 
Jiang Yun, a fifth grade alchemist, Chen Fan naturally will not let her idle. Early the next morning, Huang Su hurriedly came to report. Patriarch, there are people from the Qingzhou mansion, Huang Su said. Chen Fan said indifferently, who is the visitor? Huang Su said, Feng Xianting, the son of the Qingzhou prefecture, was accompanied by three other old men, two of the old men. Their cultivation is so deep that my subordinates could not see their realm. The other old man called himself by Xuandao, a mid-clasping Dan realm. Chen Fan said indifferently, it seems that the news of us destroying the heavenly treasure sect has already reached the ears of the Qingzhou mansion. Otherwise, they wouldn't have sent immortal elders to probe our bottom. The others don't need to step forward. You and I will just go and meet them. Yes, Huang Su responded. When Chen Fan stepped out from the courtyard, his face was already wearing a tiger head mask. Although he didn't hide his face when he beheaded Lu Yu Wanqing that day, the people of the Heavenly Treasure sect didn't recognize Chen Fan at all. So his identity, for the time being, wasn't completely exposed. But White Seeker may have seen him before. Most importantly, Chen Fan knew in his heart that people from all forces should be suspecting his relationship with the Black Robes right now. That being the case, he told these people in no uncertain terms that he was the Black Robe. Although Chen Fan had long ago allowed Jia Yuan, Tong Xiao Xiao, and Luo Yuanwu to quietly return to Tiger Spirit City. The power within the Immortal Dao sect alone today was already stronger than any of the sects within the Qingzhou Prefecture. The ten personal disciples were all late-stage clasping Dan Realm powerhouses who had hidden their cultivation. What's more, the powerful forces under his command today were not just the Immortal Dao sect. Chapter 116, The Black Robe is My Best Friend. Immortal Way Sect, Great Hall. Chen Fan wore a mask on his face and sat on the main seat of the high seat. Yellow Hollow sits at the head of the side. A few ordinary disciples, led Feng Xianting and his group inside. Su and Wang, who were following Feng Xianting, looked gloomy and displeased. And it showed clearly. The son of the world came in person. The immortal old man accompanied. This immortal Dao sex patriarch, actually did not personally welcome, only led a few disciples to lead the way. Which in their eyes, it is obvious negligence. Feng Xianting was originally very upset as well. But when he saw the person on top of the high seat, he immediately became excited and said, Black robed brother. So this immortal Dao sex patriarch, it's really you. Su Wang, the two old men, smiled with a twinkle in their eyes, and Bai Xuandao was even more stunned, not expecting that the things they were supposed to investigate were so bluntly laid out in front of them. Chen Fan understood in his heart that Feng Xuanting's real surprise was not seeing the black robe, but should be meeting him, the island master. It was only this level of identity that neither of them was comfortable speaking about. In fact, on the way here, Feng Xianting had guessed that the person who exterminated the Tian Bao sect was most likely the island master. After all, those who had a grudge against the Tian Bao sect and had this strength, within the Qingzhou prefecture, apart from the Qingzhou prefecture only the Linghu family had this strength, Chen Fan faintly said, once the earth spirit abyss parted, still less than a month time, the sun of this breath, but again refined a lot, really is something to be congratulated, but the sun of the world came today, it will not ask me for offense, right? Feng Xianting laughed, black robe brother, what are these words, in the earth spirit abyss, if it wasn't for black robe brother taking care of me, I wouldn't be able to have that much harvest, and my cultivation wouldn't have advanced so rapidly, black robe brother is my Feng Xianting's best friend, not to mention that I won't sin against the immortal Dao sect for the Tian Bao sect's matter, within the Qingzhou prefecture domain, whoever dares to meddle in the matter is not giving face to me as the son of the world, but the Qingzhou prefecture has never been involved in clan fights, this statement by the world's son is a bit inappropriate, Elder Su reminded in a low voice, Feng Xianting bristled, Elder Su, it's your words that are inappropriate, I naturally don't care about clan fights, but if anyone bullies my best friend, then this son of the world can't ignore it, Su Lao pursed his lips and said no more, it was just that he felt that if the world's son openly defended the immortal Dao sect like this, it would have an impact on the reputation of the Qingzhou prefecture, Chen Fan then cupped his fists and smiled, in that case, it seems that Shi Tzu is truly taking me as a friend, in that case, I will also make Shi Tzu my friend, serve the wine, ha ha, I've long wanted to get drunk with brother black robe, it's just a pity that we never had such an opportunity even before within the earth spirit abyss, Feng Xianting laughed, the two old men, Su and Wang, glanced at each other, both feeling a bit helpless in their hearts, with the Seiji in the black robe chatting so happily, should the questions they brought with them still be asked, wouldn't it be too much of a spoiler to ask, let's not worry about it for now, the world son is not a jerk, perhaps it's just to draw close to each other first in order to better explore each other's bottom line, well, the world son has always been wise, so this should be the case, you and I will only need to protect the world son's safety on this trip, 
Elder Su and Elder Wang secretly transmitted their voices and decided to just watch from the sidelines. As the Tian Bao sect disciples served the wine and food, the crowd raised their glasses and drank to each other, chatting happily, but no one mentioned that the Tian Bao sect had been destroyed, which made the hearts of the Tian Bao sect disciples who were waiting by the side gloomy for a while. Even the Qingzhou prefecture ignored the destruction of the Tian Bao sect. Who else would seek justice for the Tian Bao sect? When the wine was full and he was slightly drunk, Feng Xian Ting's eyes flashed with a slight smile and said, This wine has been drunk painfully, but the sky hasn't been talked about enough. I wonder if Brother Black Robe can show his face tonight and have a long talk with me? Chen Fan laughed. What Shi Tzu said is exactly what I want. Vice Patriarch Huang, take these three seniors and go stay in another courtyard and serve them well. The world son is staying in my courtyard tonight. Chen Fan instructed Huang Su, although Elder Su and Elder Wang were hesitant. They thought that the people of the Immortal Dao sect would not be so bold as to dare to harm the world's son, so they continued to remain silent, and retreated with Huang Su. Chen Fan laughed softly, Shi Tzu, then let's change places to talk as well. Ha ha, good. Feng Xianting laughed out loud. A few moments later, the two came to Chen Fan's courtyard. Island Master, I really didn't expect that you would move so quickly. This just came out of the Earth Spirit Abyss not long ago, and you've destroyed the Tian Bao sect. Feng Xianting laughed. Chen Fan smiled faintly. Destroying the Heavenly Treasure sect has never been a difficult task for me. The trouble is how to skillfully deal with the next situation. You came here to actually probe the bottom of the Immortal Dao sect on behalf of the Qingzhou Prefecture, right? Feng Xianting laughed. Yes, after Feng Wangqi learned that the Heavenly Treasure sect had been destroyed by a mysterious group of powerful people, he wanted to know the details of the group. However, the Island Master and those people were very new to the Heavenly Treasure sect, and even though they poked around a bit from some of the Heavenly Treasure sect's disciples, they still knew nothing about the Island Master's identity. Chen Fan smiled faintly. Tiger Spirit City is thousands of miles away from Immortal Hulk Mountain, and those few disciples of the Heavenly Treasure sect who have been to Tiger Spirit City haven't seen me in person. So for a while, they really couldn't think of my identity, but even if they find out, there's no harm in it, the big deal is that I just won't pretend to be this waste. Feng Xian Ting laughed, the island master shows himself as a black-robed identity, then when I return, I will reply to Feng Wanchi that you are the young and powerful black-robed elder brother that I befriended in the earth spirit abyss, as for the rest, I will just say that I am unable to probe is all. Chen Fan hummed and said, this is fine for a reply, you and I used to work together when we were in the earth spirit abyss. And with this relationship, at least for the time being, I won't have to worry about the Qingzhou Mansion helping others to make things difficult for me. As for the other four clans, I won't have any soft hands if they dare to come and offend. Chen Fan's eyes narrowed out a murderous aura. Among the four sects, once the Arc Sword sect knew about his black-robed identity, it would definitely come to seek revenge. For this clan, Chen Fan had no good feelings in the first place. And if they came, then let them follow in the footsteps of the Heavenly Treasure sect. In doing so, he was also able to house more islanders and take up more resources. Under the Heavenly Treasure sect, there were extremely many industries, and there were six spirit mines alone. The annual revenue of spirit stones was in the hundreds and tens of millions, which was an extremely large amount of resources, with such resources as support, whether it was him or those islanders who came out. The path of cultivation would be much easier in the future. And resources, how could Shin Fan be too much? After that, the two of them chatted a lot about the Qingzhou Mansion in Qingzhou City. This mapping trip to Qingzhou Prefecture had instead allowed Chen Fan to gain more. Through Feng Xianting, Chen Fan had a more detailed understanding of the situation in Qingzhou Prefecture. The role that can be played by a fine man of the status of a siege is undoubtedly great. And even if Feng Xianting knew the immortal Dao sex situation as thoroughly as he did, there was no way that he would have truthfully reported it to Feng Wangqi. Early the next morning, Feng Xianting left the immortal Dao sect with elders Su and Wang as well as Bai Xuandao. Just after leaving, Bai Xuandao hurriedly asked, World son, last night you talked with Black Robe all night long, did you talk about where he really came from? Feng Xianting glanced at Bai Xuandao and said with a faint smile, Does Grandpa Bai think that there is really such a deep friendship between me and Black Robe? Bai Xuandao said with some disappointment, In that case, the only gain from our trip is knowing that the immortal Dao Sex Patriarch is the Black Robed One within the Earth Spirit Abyss. I'm only afraid that the Prefecture Lord won't be too satisfied with such a harvest. Feng Xianting smiled faintly and said, there is no need to worry about this matter three grandfathers. On father's side, it is up to me to report it. Chapter 117. Elder Su smiled and said, Elder brother Bai, don't worry, the mansion lord himself understands that it is not that easy to figure out the immortal Dao sect's bottom line. So even if we don't have much to gain from this trip, the mansion lord won't blame us. Bai Xuandao smiled bitterly and said, Elder Su, 
I'm not worried that the prefecture master will blame me. I just feel a little ashamed of the prefecture master's trust. I secretly probed once last night, but I was also unable to get anything, and I didn't even detect a single aura of the clasping Dan realm. Elder Su nodded. This means that this immortal Dao sect is also guarding against us. Those strong people of theirs are all hidden. But there is one thing that is quite strange. Feng Shuanting's eyes narrowed slightly as he laughed. Elder Su discovered something strange? Elder Su said. It's that vice sovereign Huang Su. Before, this person was clearly just a true spirit realm deacon within the heavenly treasure sect. Now not only has he become the immortal Dao sect's vice sovereign, his cultivation has even skyrocketed to the early clasping Dan realm all of a sudden. Feng Shuanting's eyes flickered slightly as he laughed. Elder Su knows this Huang Su, quite well, recognized it before? Elder Su shook his head and said, It's not an acquaintance, but last night, the old man used some means to read the memories of a heavenly treasure sect disciple. Knowing that this Huang Su, two months ago, was quite ordinary, either he has been keeping a low profile in hiding, or in the hands of this black robe, he holds some kind of subtle means that can quickly raise one's cultivation which has caused Huang Su's cultivation to skyrocket. If we want to obtain more secrets about the immortal Dao sect, perhaps, this Huang Su is an excellent breakthrough. Feng Xianting's footsteps lurched, his complexion slightly cold as he said, Elder Su, have you thought about the consequences of doing this? Last night, I was staying with Black Robe while you were reading the memories of the immortal Dao sect's disciples, in the event that it is revealed and causes a fight. Have you considered the safety of this world's sun, Black Robe and the Earth Spirit Abyss? had no fear of Tian Bao sect, Arcsword sect 2 sect disciples killed, is a real ruthless person, do you think that he would dare to kill my son if he were to turn his back on the world and commit a crime, or does Elder Su feel that there is enough confidence that he can save the son from the black robe's hands, when Elder Su saw Feng Xianting's anger, he hurriedly said, rest in peace, Shi Tzu, the old man is only confident in his own methods and did not take Shi Tzu's safety in vain, Oof. It seems that the rumor that Elder Su and the Inkblood Sword have an extremely deep personal relationship is not an empty rumor. Feng Xianting coldly said. Su Lao's face changed drastically, and he hurriedly said, Your son, it's not true that the old immortal and the Inkblood Blade have some personal relationships, but reading the memories of the immortal Dao sect's disciples is really just to help your son figure out the immortal Dao sect's bottom line. The old immortal swore that the information obtained this time would never reveal half a word to the Arc Blade sect. Feng Xianting chilled his face and said, I hope that Elder Su's loyalty is really only to my Feng family. I might as well tell Elder Su the truth. Although this black robe's origins are unknown for the time being, he did give this son considerable help in the Earth Spirit Abyss. As long as he does not do anything unfavorable to the Qingzhou Mansion, he is my son's friend. If anyone dares to act against him, no matter who it is, this son will not tolerate it. Su Lao's face turned slightly white as he bowed and said, I understand. Although Elder Su was one of the eight immortal elders with a powerful cultivation, the Feng family not only commanded the entire Qingzhou prefecture, but also had an immortal infant realm powerhouse. Therefore, even though Elder Su was at the great circle of the clasping Dan realm, he would never dare to disobey Feng Xianting, the son of the world. Moreover, Feng Xuanting's anger was already knocking Su Lao. Feng Xianting grunted, even if this Huang Su is the most likely breakthrough, until the immortal Dao sect reveals its hostility towards the Qingzhou mansion, this son of the world doesn't want anyone to take the liberty of striking out at him. Elder Su hurriedly said, I've remembered, old Su, you have indeed been unsteady in this matter, no matter how big the matter is, it's not as big as the safety of your son, Shi Tzu, you shouldn't be angry with old Su, his original intention was also good, he just wanted to find out the bottom of the immortal Dao sect for Shi Tzu, Elder Wang smiled and rounded off the conversation, Feng Xian Ting faintly said, it is also fortunate that last night's matter was not discovered, otherwise, the Shi Tzu really does not know how it will end. Su Lao resentfully didn't dare to speak. Feng Xianting glanced at Elder Su and said indifferently, but since the matter has already been done, it will be settled, and the next time will not be an exception. Besides Huang Su, does Elder Su have any other discoveries? Elder Su hurriedly said, after this black robe changed the heavenly treasure sect into the immortal Dao sect, he took in ten personal disciples. According to that disciple's memories, after these ten personal disciples paid homage to the master, they all went into seclusion individually thinking that they really had received some sort of powerful inheritance. Perhaps, they will all be like Huang Su, and their cultivation will get skyrocketed. Feng Xianting narrowed his eyes and said, Is there more? After Su Lao thought about it, he also told the story of the Jiang clan being confined to their Dantian and driven away from the mountain, and just Jiang Yun being detained in the immortal Dao sect. Feng Xianting nodded without commenting, only saying, Only we, as well as my father, can know this information, do not spread it out. Yes. Keep going. 
Feng Xianting let out a low cry and continued his journey. In his heart, he said, it seems that Huang Su, this breakthrough, can't be covered up. If Sui can read the memories of the immortal Dao sex disciples, so can others. We have to find another opportunity to remind the island master. Inside the immortal way sect, Huang Su came to Qin Fan's front. Patriarch, they've gone far away. Huang Su respectfully said. Chen Fan narrowed his eyes and said, Last night, were there any unusual movements? Huang Su said, Those three people have all used their spiritual sense to secretly scan the clan at different times of the night. One of them, Su Lao, even sneaked into a female disciple's house. But what exactly they did? My subordinate doesn't know. The subordinate has already gone to see this female disciple just now. And she doesn't seem to have any abnormalities. Chen Fan skimmed his lips and said, Su Yi, being a great perfection of the clasping Dan realm, even if he entered a female disciple's house by mistake, he naturally wouldn't do anything ridiculous. He should have gone to perform a soul search on this disciple. Huang Su's face sank. We treated him with courtesy, but he went so far as to search the souls of our sex disciples. This old man is truly detestable to the extreme. Chen Fan shook his head and said, It's normal. They were originally accompanying Feng Xianting to come over to feel us out. The good thing is that those disciples originally knew very little and he couldn't get much useful information. The only thing he knows should be the change in your strength. Huang Su's face changed slightly as he said, Will this be detrimental to us in any way? Chen Fan said, There is no need to care. Feng Xianting is our man. Huang Su was delighted at his words. In that case that would be great. This way even if the Qingzhou mansion is going to be unfavorable to us, we'll be able to get the news in advance and respond. Chen Fan laughed. What's the point of being so pessimistic? As long as Feng Xianting doesn't show his face, and we haven't jeopardized the interests of the Qingzhou government. The Qingzhou government shouldn't be unfavorable to us. The fact that they want to get to the bottom of us is just to make it easier to control. It is a normal operation. A mysterious and powerful force had suddenly sprung up in the area under the jurisdiction of the Qingzhou prefecture. And Feng Wangqi, as the head of the prefecture, naturally wanted to understand this new force. When Feng Wangqi learned that the immortal Dao sect patriarch was the Black Robe, Chen Fan guessed that Feng Wanqi's most likely attitude was to sit back and watch the tigers fight and not help each other. Chapter 118 Immortal Ship Approaching This break in Huang Su, Chen Fan had long known that he couldn't cover it up. After all, the body of Yellow Void was once a deacon of the Heavenly Treasure Sect, and this identity was still rather eye-catching. But it's not a big deal. After Feng Xianting and the others left, Chen Fan returned to the courtyard to continue cultivating. Those resources that were obtained were naturally not for collection. The only way that resources would be meaningful was to absorb them and turn them into spiritual cultivation. On the other hand, he was waiting. The people from the Qingzhou mansion are already here, and the others should be coming soon. Sure enough, two days later, in the void beyond the immortal Hulk Mountain, an immortal ship, air came. This immortal ship was nearly five times larger than the flying boat of the Tiger Spirit City Lord's Mansion. You could see from a distance that the bow of the boat was full of people. Swish, Huang Xiao's figure soared into the void. It's the Arc Blade Sex Immortal Ship. As the Immortal Ship approached, the disciples of the Immortal Dao Sex saw the conspicuous symbol of a huge scimitar on the flag of the Immortal Ship. The Arc Blade Sect looks like it has some badcomers. If it's not good, it's not good. What does it have to do with us? That's not true. Although the Immortal Dao Sect is the one that destroyed the Heavenly Treasure Sect, but nowadays, our days can be much better than before. And the resources we receive every month have been raised by 30%. And the competition mechanism within the sect is also a bit fairer. In comparison, I still quite like the Immortal Dao sect. Humph. These are nothing more than the Immortal Dao sect's means of buying people's hearts. As time passes, they are all the same. If you disliked it so much, why didn't you leave that day? Where can I go if I leave here? Like you and me. It's just meteoric to go anywhere. If you stay in the Immortal Dao sect just to live, then to the sect. People like you are worthless. The Immortal Dao sect does not raise wastrels. You can leave now. An ice cold voice came from behind the two disciples who were talking. The two were startled and hurriedly looked back. Greetings, senior brother Su. Su Jin walked with a cold face, his gloomy gaze landing on the disciple whose words were negative. Lu Oh Bai, did you hear my words clearly? After today, I don't want to see you again in the clan. Su Jin said in a cold voice. Lu Oh Bai's face turned white as he hurriedly knelt down and pleaded. Senior brother Su, I'm sorry, it's me who said the wrong thing. Please also ask senior brother Su to be lenient and not drive me away from the clan. Letting you go is to leave you a way out. If you don't leave, with a mindset like yours, sooner or later you will end up dead. Get up and get out. Su Jin coldly said. Luo Bai unwillingly got up with a trembling voice, arched his hand as a salute and said, Alright, then I'll be leaving, 
Many thanks to senior brother Su. Su Jin was indifferent. Luo Bai turned away in a state of disorientation. And it was only at this moment of leaving that he realized that he seemed to be very reluctant to leave this place. Su Jin looked at the other disciple, smiled, patted his shoulder, and said, Senior brother Wang Qian, as long as you have the sect in your heart, the sect will never let you down. The immortal Dao sect is a new master to you and me, but it is likewise a new beginning. Aha, thanks to senior brother Su for reminding me. I will abide by my duty as a disciple and make the new sect my home, and I won't talk about the sect in the future. Wang Qian hurriedly said nervously. Su Jin smiled faintly and said, Turn around and come to my courtyard. I will pass on a new set of gong methods to you. The patriarch has long ago instructed that anyone who is loyal to the clan can be reused. As I look at you, you are very good. Wang Qian heard the words of great joy, did not expect that he had such a fortune, and quickly to kneel down to thank, but was stopped by Su Jin said, between fellow disciples, there is no need to be like this. Only by practicing well will you be able to live up to your destiny. After a long time, you will see more differences between Immortal Dao Sect and Tian Bao Sect. Yes, Wang Qian said excitedly. He didn't realize that he was just whispering a few sentences with Luo Bai, and the two men's life encounters went in two completely different directions. Su Jin stopped talking and tilted his head and squinted his eyes vainly, looking into the void ahead. At this moment, the Arc Blade Sect's Immortal Ship, which had already approached over, was less than a thousand meters away from the peak of Immortal Hulk Mountain. Huang Su's face was cold and sullen as he said, Is Patriarch Mo going to war with my immortal Dao sect with such a large battle? On the immortal ship, the ink blood blade smiled coldly and said, What immortal Dao sect? But just a couple of martial bandits who have taken over the magpie's nest, thinking that by occupying the Tian Bao sect's premises, you are a new sect? We are here to uphold justice for the Qingzhou martial arts path, and to exterminate this group of shameless people who have taken over people's ancestral property. Ha ha ha, Huang Su sniffed but he laughed out loud. Inkblood Blade's face darkened as he grunted. You traitor of the heavenly treasure sect, what are you laughing at? Huang Su sneered and laughed. If someone else came and said this, Mr. Huang's heart might be a little ashamed, but the person who said this is you, Inkblood Blade, and Mr. Huang would only find it funny. Your arc sword sect what kind of dog virtues? You Inkblood Knife on heart have no point? You're not even worthy of mentioning anything about upholding justice. It's simply laughable. Inkblood Blade, don't say these grandiose words to make people laugh. If you really want to go to war, my immortal Dao sect will follow. If my sect can destroy a heavenly treasure sect, it can destroy another arc blade sect of yours. Ink blood knife eyes a cold, killing intent burst flash, then I would like to see. You Huang Su wear the bottom of the air. Say this kind of crazy mouth. Where is your patriarch? Let him come out to see me. Buzz. During a tremor in the void, Chen Fan stepped into the air. A black robe and a mask caused Arc Blade Sect Grand Elder Zhu Xian's pupils to shrink. Black robes, tiger head mask. Can it be that you are the black robe that beheaded my son in the Earth Spirit Abyss? Zhu Xian hissed and asked angrily. Chen Fan glanced at Zhu Xian and said indifferently, "So Zhu Buqiuan is your son? That's right. The person who killed him is none other than this clan." Boom! Zhu Xian was furious. A powerful breath that surged out. Patriarch, please allow me to take action and kill this son to avenge my son Buqiuan's death. Zhuo Xian cupped his fists and pleaded. The inkblood sword nodded and said, The hatred of killing a son is not shared. This sect grants it. Zhuo Xian took the initiative to ask for a shot, and the inkblood sword was naturally willing to let him try out the strength of this black robe. Chen Fan wore a mask and his breath was concealed. Even the ink and blood sword could not detect the breath on Chen Fan. Although the news was that Lu Yuansheng was heavily injured by the five men and a dog who surrounded him and finally committed suicide. But to be able to severely injure Lu Yuansheng, it would require an unimaginable amount of strength. However, the bottom line of the Inkblood Sword was not only that he himself had the cultivation of the Great Circle of the Clutching Dan Realm, but it was also because on this trip, he had brought all the peak combatants of the Arc Sword sect, and had also invited a few powerful external supporters to be hidden in the cabins of the ship. So, he wasn't afraid of being rounded up at all. Zhuo Xian laughed hideously, his body flashed and left the immortal ship, floating in the air, a pair of angry eyes glaring murderously at Chen Fan. Black robed dog thief. I want you to pay for my son's life. Quickly come over and suffer death. The corner of Chen Fan's lips hooked as he faintly said, Your son's death. That was his deserved death. Since you want to avenge him, this clan will send you down to meet your son and be a pair of netherworld fathers and sons again. Rampant. Zhuo Xian roared. His figure stormed up and rushed towards Chen Fan. After learning that the immortal Dao sect patriarch was the black robe, Zhuo Xian had a bottom in his heart. A young man less than 30 years of age. To be able to enter the clasping Dan realm is already an extremely horrifying talent, but this horrifying talent, 
There has to be a limit. If it was even more terrifying, could it still be so terrifying that it was stronger than him? A late stage of the clasping Dan realm? It's never going to happen. Chapter 119, Chopping Zhuo Xian with a Sword. In the void, as Zhuo Xian's figure rushed out, everyone's gazes, narrowed. This battle would have a direct impact on whether or not the immortal Dao sect would be able to gain a foothold in the Qingzhou prefecture region. If Chen Fan was killed, then the immortal Dao sect would be nothing more than a flash in the pan. After Zhuo Xian struck, Huang Su knew that he was not the opponent's enemy, so he flew away and retreated. Chen Fan reached out with his right hand, and the wind pursuing immortal sword fell into his palm. Looking at the raging, murderous burst of Zhuo Xian rushing towards him, the corner of Chen Fan's lips hooked up into a cold arc. He's not murderous, but when it comes to killing, there's never a soft touch. Having been a man for two lifetimes, his ruthless nature had long been engraved into his bones. Buzz, pounds of majestic purple sword chi exploded and surged to gather on the wind driving immortal sword. In an instant, a terrifying purple storm was formed, using the immortal sword's actual form as a base. It was more than capable of increasing the power of the heaven's punishment punishing sword by 30%. Feeling the terrifying aura around Chen Fan, Zhuo Xian's pupils, too, could not help but shrink slightly, and the spiritual energy that was running around his body also became even more violent. Chen Fan's mere aura of spirit gathering caused Zhuo Xian to no longer dare to take it lightly, and even a touch of fear rose in his heart. But at this point, it was impossible for him to retreat any further. On the immortal ship, the complexions of the ink blood blade and the others were also grave. This kid, he really is something. This kind of sword skill is definitely not extraordinary. However, such a powerful sword skill must also extremely consume spiritual energy. After this sword, it will be much easier to kill him. The ink blood sword sneered in his heart. Patriarch M.O. I'm afraid that Grand Elder Zhuo may not be able to receive this sword. In the middle of the immortal ship, a voice reached the ears of the ink blood blade. The corner of the ink blood sword's mouth hooked with a touch of disdain as he faintly said, Avenging the murder of a son. Even if you put your life on the line, that must be avenged. What's more, this clan still has confidence in the Grand Elder. As long as we could take down the immortal Dao sect and seize the heavenly treasure sect's estate, what was the point of dying a Grand Elder? As long as he, the ink blood sword, was still around, no one in the arc sword sect would be able to shake their position. He had already thought about it when he came here. Only waiting to destroy the immortal Dao sect, he would use the huge resources of the heavenly treasure sect as a boost and close the door to impact the immortal infant realm. Achieving immortal infant, not only would he be able to rank among the invincible in the Qingzhou prefecture, the Arc Blade sect status would also become the strongest sect in the Qingzhou prefecture in one fell swoop, compared to a promising future, a slight loss. The ink and blood knife has long been psychologically prepared. Zhuo Xian was in the middle of his explosive charge, completing his attack buildup, while Chen Fan was suspended in the void, not moving an inch. Only when Zhuo Xian's right arm wheeled around, whistling and chopping out a half-arc blade shadow, the wind pursuing immortal sword in Chen Fan's hand. Only then did he meet the blade's light and slash out a sword. Heaven-breaking arc shadow blade. Boom! A knife chopped out. The void rumbled and shook. The powerful power of the knife chi, as if it really wanted to split the void. The huge shadow of the blade, falling into an arc, cut through a hundred meters long. Its might could be said to be ferocious to the extreme. This saber technique, among the hundreds of saber techniques of the arc blade sect, ranked second in terms of power and was an absolute killing saber technique. However, when the heaven-breaking arc shadow blade and the purple sword shadow collided, only then did all of them completely see how big the gap between this blade and sword was. Boom! In the void, blade and sword shadows collided. An explosion in the fierce and unparalleled huge blade, instantly by the sword shadow was crushed. Amazing sword power. Out of the corner of the fall, not only will the blade instantly broken, but also will be the pupils of the horrified wild contraction. Want to avoid flying escape Zhuo Xian, pouring in the speed of the horror of the sword light. In the blood splash, Zhuo Xian was strangled by the sword chi, and landed a corpse without bones. Boom! The sword light, still crushing through the void, headed straight for the arc blade sex immortal ship to chop it down. The ink blood sword's eyelids jumped and he laughed angrily. How dare you! You really have the guts of a dog. Blood moon twin wheels. Ink blood knife arms shook. Two blood colored scimitar. Flying like a moon wheel wrapped in powerful spiritual power, while rolling cut the void, against the sword shadow of the heavenly punishment punishing god sword, flying and rushing, boom boom, the blood moon dual wheel, which was originally the arc sword sex strongest untransmitted technique, and then made by the ink blood sword, a clasping dan realm great circle powerhouse, was even more astonishingly powerful, twin rounds of blood knives, just blasted onto the sword shadow, will sword shadow on the power of the sword chi, cutting and disintegration of a large area, 
visible to the naked eye, cracked out two huge openings to, but what made the ink blood knife horrified was that even though there were two openings in the heavenly punishment sort of execution, the sword shadow was still condensed, and there had not been the slightest tendency to break apart. How is this possible? How is it possible for a sword shadow form to remain a spirit shadow form and not collapse under the stranglehold of Lafu's blood moon twin wheels? What kind of grade of sword skill is this sword of his? Swish swish swish. Seeing that the sword shadow pressed against the blood moon twin wheels and was about to be chopped down onto the immortal ship, six silhouettes burst out from the cabin, striking out in unison and blasting towards the god execution sword shadow that was chopping angrily. Boom. With the strikes of the six clasping Dan Realm powerhouses, coupled with the power of the blood moon twin wheels, the god execution sword shadow, even if it was as strong as it was, couldn't hold up, and with a loud boom, it was blasted through the void outside the immortal ship. Chen Fan's eyes sank coldly. Although this sword consumed quite a bit of his spiritual energy, it didn't matter. The spirit body was insanely ingesting the power of the immortal spirit within the heavenly sea pearl, and in a moment, it would allow him to recover his peak state. Looking at the god-punishing sword shadow that was blasted through by the crowd, Chen Fan said disdainfully, you can't even block the remnants of my sword shadow, ink blood blade, with this much strength, how did you dare to come to my immortal Dao sect and clamor for help? The ink blood sword's face was an iron blue, Chen Fan's sword not only blasted Zhuo Xian without even a crumb left, but also made him lose his face, Humph, kid, you're less crazy, how many times can you perform such a sword skill, ink blood sword said with a black face, the corners of Chen Fan's lips rose lightly, how many times can you perform it? This sect has not really tried where the limit is. Why don't you come forward and let this clan try? Inkblood Blade's face twitched. He wasn't stupid. Gentlemen, this kid is a bit evil. At first, he was the one who united many strong clasping Dan practitioners and besieged Lu Yuanqing together. So now we don't need to talk about fairness with him. Why don't we just go together and siege him while he's not consuming much? The Inkblood Blade said in a cold voice. Good. The few clutching Dan realm elders of the Arc Blade sect, since they didn't hesitate for a second, agreed in one breath. Three, however, hesitated and did not strike up a conversation. Chen Fan's sword just now had already shocked them severely. Being enemies with such a supreme demon, they were all a bit hesitant. No matter how talented or demonic you are, it's unlikely that you'll rise out of the dirt for no reason. These powerful outsiders would naturally wonder in their minds what kind of people would be behind this black robe. To be able to cultivate such a demonic person, it was definitely not something they could afford to mess with. They couldn't afford to offend an existence that they couldn't afford to mess with just for the Arc Sword sex invitation ah. Cough. Sect leader M.O. There is indeed a blood feud between your Arc Blade sect and this immortal Dao sect sect leader. But we don't have a reason to strike ah. We came along for the ride. Just wanting to see what kind of character the immortal Dao sect sect leader is ah. An old man coughed lightly and laughed dryly. The ink blood blade's face flushed with anger as he gritted his teeth and said. Dong Fong Mu. What do you mean by that? Isn't it a bit late for you to want to withdraw now? I'm telling you, since you've boarded my immortal ship, you won't be able to clear your name anymore. Today, if you don't join hands with Lao Fu to kill this son, in the future, your Dongfang family will have no good days as well. The ink blood sword was furious in his heart. The helper he had found was on the verge of a battle, but he wanted to beat a retreat? It's not just breaking his face, it's also going to make it impossible for him to write it out. Chapter 120, Seeing All the Jokes, The Swing Trio, Being Threatened by a Cry from the Ink Blood Sword, the faces of the three Dongfang Mu people, too, turned a little ugly. Patriarch M.O. Originally, we thought that this person who seized the heavenly treasure sect was just a few rather powerful loose cultivators, which is why we were willing to help you with your fist. But now, this immortal Dao sect's patriarch is actually a demonic youth under the age of 30, so we really don't dare to get involved in this mess. Yes, this black robe is so young and has such terrifying strength in him. His origin and background are by no means simple. Patriarch M.O. We also advise you not to make an enemy of him anymore. Otherwise, even if you are able to kill him today, once the forces behind him pursue over, the Arc Blade sect will not be able to withstand it. I'm afraid. That's right. Even if we offend Patriarch M.O. today, my Huang family can only stand by and watch. Dong Fang Mu, Yao Qiji, and Huang Tianhai, one after another, whispered. Although the threat of the ink and blood sword caused them all to be under pressure, they preferred not to provoke a demon like the black-robed youth. They finally realized why Mountain River Sword Sect, Tianchui Sect, and Thunder Marshall Sect didn't give a damn about Ink Blood Sword's invitation. And the other three sects were much more shrewd than their three great clans. They were also shallow-eyed, and had wanted to take this opportunity to climb the Arc Blade Sect's thighs so that the family could have a big backer. But for the moment, they saw the situation clearly. Although it was a bit immoral to retreat from the battlefield, 
It was better to be immoral than to incur extinction. So, the three of them transmitted their voices in secret, and they all decided to quit. These three people, all of whom had lived to become old foxes, naturally knew that in front of the future and the fate of the family, face was nothing at all. In the face of the threat of the ink and bloodsword and the danger of extermination, how should they choose between the two? They were still considered sober. Inkblood Sword's face was ugly to the extreme. Couldn't he have thought of the analysis these three did for him? When he saw the power of Chen Fan's sword, he had already thumped in his heart, thinking that he might have messed with an existence that he shouldn't have messed with. But he had already sailed his immortal ship and brought the entire clan's strongest men to kill him. The eldest elder, Shua Xian, had even lost his life. Can he return the ink and blood sword? No way. The Arc Blade sect had always acted in an overbearing and arrogant manner. And he, M.O. Blood Blade, would never allow himself to become a joke to the entire Qingzhou prefecture. Any more unbearable consequences, that would be a later matter. Today, he must protect his face. It seems that my usual style is still not ruthless enough. To the extent that you guys fear me far less than you fear the sun. Ink Blood Sword coldly smiled, waved his hand and said, Good, you want to go can, but the people who go, in the future, I will definitely destroy their clan. Chickens and dogs will not be left behind. Dongfang Mu's three pupils shrank in shock, and they said in horrified fury, Patriarch M.O., we were invited to come and help with the fist, and even if we backed out of the battle and caused you displeasure, we can't afford to make you hate my three clans so much, yes, although we are not righteous enough, you, Patriarch M.O., cannot be so unreasonable, helping is a favor, not helping is also our duty, Huang Tianhai gritted his teeth, the ink blood dagger smiled coldly, and his cold gaze, like a knife, Scraped across the three old faces, are you all old and confused? I, ink blood dagger, am a reasonable person? Snort, on the void, Chen Fan couldn't help but laugh out loud. Ink blood sword, you and these people you brought with you, are you here to be funny? Should you guys go back first and come back when you've had a good discussion? Chen Fan laughed playfully. The ink and blood sword had just been raging and ready to surround him, but in the blink of an eye, they themselves were quarreling, really making Chen Fan look at all the jokes. Chen Fan's laughter caused the inkblood sword to grit his teeth for a while, feeling even more humiliated. Dong Fang Mu, however, said with wildly shrinking pupils, Patriarch M.O., this black-robed youth, is completely emboldened, you just listen to a word of advice, endure for a moment and retreat first. Yes, Patriarch M.O., without real skills and a big background, how many people could dare to be so arrogant in front of you? This kid, really can't be messed with, Yao Qiji said. Huang Tianhai hurriedly continued, Patriarch M.O., before both of you have formed a true deadly enmity, it's not too late for everything, the ink and blood sword was shaking with anger, what the hell did he get these three old things for, not only don't want to help, but you want to piss him off, don't you, Huang Su and the disciples of the immortal Dao sect, who were now also mesmerized, had odd smiles on their faces, the one who helped the fight, suddenly became the one who advised the fight, that's a strange thing to say, sovereign is truly awesome, that sword not only beheaded the Ark Sword Sex Grand Elder, but it also directly severed the other party's alliance. Patriarch really doesn't seem to be afraid at all I. He's so handsome when he's arrogant. He he, if the Patriarch wants to take in a cauldron, I'll be the first to sign up. Bah, don't even think about it. Even Jiang Feng couldn't look at you in the beginning. How can this new Patriarch of ours look at you? Senior sister, how can you say that? It's not like everyone likes a different look. Maybe our Patriarch likes a meaty one like me? Okay, 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 just dream on. On the immortal ship, the inkblood blade viciously inhaled several breaths before the violent anger in his heart was suppressed. Old me will only ask you one last thing. Are you willing to join me in making a move to surround and kill this son? The inkblood blade's gloomy gaze stared deathly at the three Dongfang Mu people and said, the three of them, Dongfang Mu, with their pupils wide open in shock, all saw a thick killing intent in the eyes of the inkblood sword. Willing, to be willing, the three of them, Dongfang Mu, trembled, they knew in their hearts that if they refused, they were afraid that the three of them, right now, would die on the immortal ship, this kind of thing, the inkblood sword could definitely do it, the inkblood sword smiled coldly, count on the three of you to be sensible, if you get on my boat, then you have no retreat, and if you retreat, you will surely die, the three were saddened and bitter in their hearts, kid, I've let you see enough jokes for so long, now, it's time to send you on your way, the ink blood blade looked at Chen Fan and snorted coldly. Chen Fan simply raised his left hand indifferently and beckoned to ink blood sword and the others. Then come over here and try to see who is sending who on their way. Chen Fan's calmness and confidence made the drum of retreat in the heart of Dongfang Mu's trio thud again. 
The Inkblood Sword coldly grunted, Go, kill him, regardless of what consequences there are in the back. I, the Arc Blade sect, will take care of it, so you guys don't need to worry about it. Even if this kid has a backstage, it doesn't matter. My ammo plan also has a backer. The eyes of the three Dongfang Mu people shook, and it was only then that they remembered that the Ink Blood Blade seemed to have a son with a very demonic talent, practicing in the Ling Tian sect, one of the top great sects in Dragon Xia. Swish, the Ink and Blood Blade was the first to fly out of the immortal ship. The three clasping Dan realm members of the Arc Blade sect followed closely behind. The three Dongfang Mu people's scalps hardened, and they followed suit as they floated into the air. Chen Fan's cold gaze, glancing at the faces of the three Dongfang Mu, coldly said, it seems that the three of you have already prepared yourselves to be exterminated. I think that the clans behind you are all great clans of a thousand years, and now they are about to suffer destruction because of the stupidity of the three of you. It is a bit of a pity to think about. The three people's pupils shrunk, and their chattering teeth, biting their lips to go. However, this clan can give you an opportunity. If you are willing to help this clan kill this old dog Imo back, this clan can not only forgive you, but also accept your three clans as affiliates of our clan. And from then on, you will be sheltered by my immortal Dao sect. This is also your last chance to change your family's fate. Whether you want to cherish it or not is up to you guys. Once you've exchanged hands, it's useless even if you want to regret it. Chen Fan's faint words were like a heavy hammer that struck down in the hearts of the three. Chapter 121, Do Not Commit a Crime, or You Will Die for Committing It. Ha ha ha, kid, are you afraid? The Ink Blood Blade laughed hideously. You also don't inquire about who dares to oppose my Arc Blade sex water within this Qingzhou prefecture. The three of them, the biggest dare they have, is just not to do old man a favor. Chen Fan looked at the three of them and said indifferently, Are you really going to let this old dog M.O. look down on you like this? If this clan can kill Lu Yuancheng, it can kill him. He couldn't even block the remnants of one of this clan's swords. So how much stronger do you guys think he can be than Lu Yuancheng? The three people's faces changed once again, and their eyes couldn't help but exchange glances. If the three of them turn against, it seems like the ink and blood blade has a much bigger losing streak. If the Ink Blood Sword was dead, they were still afraid of the Arc Sword sect? Brother Huang, what do you think? Brother Yao, what do you think? Brother Dong Fong, what do you think? The three of them transmitted their voices almost simultaneously, asking each other questions. In a flash, the eyes of the three of them turned sinister at the same time, and all of them got the answer. Swish swish swish, the three of them quickly retreated, and the Arc Sword sex people pulled away. The faces of the Ink Blood Sword as well as the three clasping Dan Realm members of the Arc Sword sect instantly turned ugly to the extreme. You three old losers, do you really want to turn against us? Are you guys not afraid of being exterminated? The Ink Blood Blade gasped in anger. Dong Fong Mu gritted his teeth and said, If you die today, my three great clans will be saved. Ink Blood Sword, since you don't know how to respect us, then I won't blame us for turning against your Arc Sword sect. Respect? The Ink Blood Blade laughed angrily. Does a wavering fool like you deserve old husband's respect? Since you dare to turn against me, I will kill the three of you first. Chen Fan sneered. Your opponent is me. You three, just kill the three people from the Arc Blade sect and consider it a submission. This old dog M.O., just leave it to the sect. Chen Fan's words made the three of them, Dong Fang Mu, feel greatly relieved. The three of them, all of whom were at the late clasping Dan Realm cultivation level, were more than capable of dealing with these three people from the Arc Blade sect. Swish, as soon as Chen Fan's words fell, he did not hesitate any longer and quickly rushed towards the ink blood blade. For one thing, the three Dongfang Mu did sway, and Chen Fan did not want to give them any more time to change. Secondly, only by restraining the ink blood sword, the ink blood sword would not be able to go and decapitate the three Dongfang Mu. As soon as the battle is drawn out, there will be no more suspense about victory or defeat, and there will be no more changes in camps. As expected, with Chen Fan taking the lead, the three Dongfang Mu no longer had any hesitation and each stared at an arcane blade sect clutching Dan Realm and blasted out. Treacherous dogs and animals, Shang, I will definitely make you all regret it. The ink blood blade let out a furious cry, and the blood moon twin wheels once again flew out and blasted towards Chen Fan. He had already seen Chen Fan's strength, and at this moment, he naturally did not dare to be distracted and slow, so he could only go all out to meet Chen Fan. As for the three clasping Dan Realm members of the arc blade sect, they were also held back by the three Dongfang Mu members, and were each caught up in one side of the battle. The Arcane Blade sex people had ugly faces and hearts. Originally, when they came, they had all planned well, and with the power of the seven clasping Dan realms, they could crush the immortal Dao sect anyways. Whoever thought, plans couldn't catch up with changes, and the Oriental would trio, surprisingly,
temporarily turned against them and became their opponents. The sovereign no longer had any semblance of an advantage against the black robes either. Boom boom boom. In the void, the battle was unusually intense even though it had only just erupted. The people of the Arcblade sect hated the three people of Dongfang Mu. So naturally, they were ruthless in their moves, wanting to swiftly decapitate these three treacherous people. Oriental would three people has been threatened by the ink blood knife plus squeeze. The heart has long been holding endless anger. Now since the decision to backwash, know that there is no way back. Out of the natural is also extremely ruthless. Boom boom. Chen Fan's sword shadow, with a terrifying might, blasted and chopped down, and the heavenly punishment god punishing sword in its full state. In a single round of collision, blasted the ink and blood sword's blood moon duel will directly out. Horrified ink blood knife liver and gallbladder trembled, hastily offered another black knife, stormed the black aura, flying in the air to chop at the god execution sword shadow, heaven breaking arc shadow blade, boom, the same blade, when used from the ink blood sword's hands, was indeed much more powerful, the black blade shadow wrapped with a terrifying blade, and the pursuit of the chopping to the god execution sword shadow collision again, under the sword light sword shadow of the exchange of blows, two powerful attacks, which is the same time collapse, the eyes of the ink blood blade were fierce, Taking advantage of Chen Fan's sword shadow collapsing to the extreme, his figure made an explosive dash and quickly approached Chen Fan. In his opinion, Chen Fan had used this powerful sword stance twice in a row, and the spiritual energy in his body must have been deficient. At this time, if he got close, he would be able to easily decapitate Chen Fan. However, the ink and blood blade had just gotten close to Chen Fan, but he saw the wind expelling immortal sword in Chen Fan's hand, once again filled with purple light, and the powerful sword shadow once again gathered, impossible, how can the reserves of spiritual energy in your dantian be so majestic, it's hard to believe that you, you're an immortal infant realm, the ink blood blade roared in an incredulous, trembling voice, only at the immortal infant realm was it possible to be in possession of near endless spiritual power, a clasping dan realm, even a clasping dan realm grand circle like him, had consumed about 70% of the spiritual energy in his body by continuously executing the blood moon twin will twice, Chen Fan's sword move was obviously stronger than his blood moon twin wheels, and it was only right that it consumed more spiritual energy, but when it did, Chen Fan once again condensed that terrifying sword shadow, and in the midst of his furious roar, coldly smiled as he chopped down at him, buzz, the ink blood blade didn't hesitate to offer a blood colored immortal talisman, escape, there was only one thought in the heart of the ink blood blade, in his current state, he could not block the power of Chen Fan's sword at such a close distance, if he held on strongly to resist, he would end up the same as Zhuo Xian, black-robed patriarch. This is the blood shadow transportation immortal talisman. The ink blood blade is trying to escape. As soon as Dongfang Mu saw that ink blood blade had sacrificed a blood-colored immortal talisman, he hurriedly warned in a shocked voice, Old dog Dongfang, old man and you are incompatible. You and I have been enemies for a long time. The two dislike each other. Chen Fan said indifferently, he can't escape. Buzz. Suddenly, a large array of breath suddenly shook the void quickly enveloping the void for several miles in a radius. Damn, it's the five elements formation. The pupils of the ink blood blade shrank. Before the power of the blood shadow transportation immortal talisman was fully activated, the surrounding void was imprisoned by a large formation, and he couldn't even escape if he wanted to. Boom. With this delay, the ink blood blade escaped without escaping, and the defense technique was not performed in time, and was instantly crushed by the terrifying sword shadow that split down. Boom there was a rumble and a splash of blood, the figure of the inkblood sword disappeared into the sword light, black robed patriarch spare our lives, we are willing to submit, seeing that the inkblood blade was killed, the three elders of the arc blade sect immediately panicked and hurriedly let out cries of pleading for mercy, the three of them, Dongfang Mu, could not help but all look at Chen Fan, Chen Fan said indifferently, don't look at this sect, the three of them are your submission to the sect, if they don't die, the sect will not see your sincerity, the eastern wood trio, killing intent in their eyes, once again erupted, the ink and blood sword was dead, so they had even less to worry about, the three people from the arc blade sect, on the other hand, were desperate and incomparable, and one even wailed, black robed patriarch, we were originally elders of the arc blade sect, and this offense was all done under orders, even though we have had our faults, but after all, we are at the clasping dan realm cultivation level, you keep us, more or less still useful ah, why do you need to rush us to the end? Chen Fan indifferently said, those who offend my immortal Tao sect can only end up with death, if there is a way to live if you submit, how else can you deter other curmudgeons, this clan today, is to take your arc blade sect's demise, to tell all the clans and tribes in Qingzhou that the immortal Tao sect, 
cannot be offended, and offending will result in death. Chapter 122, Willing to be Forbidden by the Soul, Delivering Life and Death. The three clasping Dan Realm members of the Arc Blade sect were in complete despair. Their cultivation, which was already inferior to the three Dongfang Mu, was soon killed one after another. On the Arc Blade sect's immortal ship, those who were not involved in the battle had been thrown into a panic after the Ink Blood Blade was killed. They maneuvered the immortal ship, wanting to turn around and escape. But Huang Su would not sit back and watch these people leave. Flying onto the ship, a miserable howl, begging for mercy came one after another. Blood splattered on the immortal ship. As the three clasping Dan Realm members of the Arc Blade sect died, the other people on the immortal ship were also killed by Huang Xiu without a single one left. Chen Fan transmitted a message, asking Huang Su to refine the immortal ship and keep it for the immortal Dao sect's travels. While Huang Su was refining the immortal ship in the air, the three Dongfang Mu people came to Chen Fan's front with anxiety and bowed nervously to make a salute. The Dongfang family Dongfang Mu of the Qingzhou city, Yao Qijin of the Yao family and Huang Tianhai of the Huang family, pays their respects to the patriarch. Chen Fan nodded his head indifferently and said, You three, follow this clan into the hall. This clan has something to ask you. The three of them hurriedly responded. Yes. Chen Fan turned around and flew towards the immortal Dao sect's main hall. The three of them hurriedly followed closely behind Chen Fan. The disciples of the immortal Dao sect were all invigorated. Although they had no qualifications to participate in the great battle in the sky above, the fact that the Inkblood Sword and the others were killed meant that the Arcane Blade sect had already existed in name only. At the same time, the Patriarch had once again shown himself to be powerful, which made them more confident in the future as well. And all of a sudden, their sense of belonging to the Immortal Dao sect also increased a lot. Although the Immortal Dao sect had annihilated the Heavenly Treasure sect and was reasonably considered to be the enemy of these disciples of theirs, but now that the general trend was irreversible, and they had become disciples of the Immortal Dao sect, it was natural that they would also be invigorated, and even a little bit proud of the Immortal Dao sect's strength. Once a new patriarch is born, the old righteousness of the former clan actually dissipates very quickly, especially when a new patriarch is more able to show them hope. The old righteousness of the former clan is forgotten even faster. In the patriarch's great hall, Chen Fan faced the trembling Dongfang Mu trio, his gaze cold and sharp. According to the nature of this clan, the three of you deserve to die. Boom boom boom. As soon as Chen Fan opened his mouth, the three old guys were so scared that they immediately knelt down, their faces pale as they said, I still ask the patriarch to spare my life. My three great clans are willing to submit to the immortal Dao sect for eternity. From now on, I will serve faithfully and will never dare to betray. Chen Fan said indifferently, you have betrayed the ink blood blade, so how can you make the sect believe that you will not betray the sect in the future? Dongfang Mu's face changed, and with a clench of his teeth, he said, I will be subject to the sovereign soul ban and deliver the power of life and death. Yao Qiji and Huang Tianhai's pupils shrank as they glanced at Dongfang Mu in shock. If someone is allowed to plant a soul ban, then the life and death of the person who was planted with the soul ban can be at the whim of the soul ban lord Ah. Chen Fan did not respond, but only set his icy gaze, falling towards Yao Qijin and Huang Tianhai. The two's eyelids trembled, knowing that if they wanted to stay alive and preserve their family, this was the only way left to go. Although the two were extremely unwilling in their hearts, they could only follow the example of Dongfang Mu and said in a deep voice, the two of us are also willing to be forbidden by the sovereign soul and deliver the power of life and death. Chen Fan said indifferently, as long as you remain loyal, the soul prohibition will be a nullity, and the three great clans will be safe and sound. After saying that, Chen Fan took a step forward and condensed a soul forbidden force with both hands, striking into Dongfang Mu's soul C. This process would be quite painful for the person enduring the soul ban, and there could not be a single ounce of resistance, or else it would cause the soul ban to destabilize and burst directly into the recipient's soul C. Buzz. When Chen Fan withdrew his hand and left, Dong Fang Mu, an old face, pale and bloodless, was filled with sweat. The whole person dropped to the ground as if he had been deflated. Yao Qiji and Huang Tianhai looked at Dong Fang Mu's appearance and were saddened in their hearts. The three great clans had been reduced to this and they all had infinite remorse in their hearts. If they had known this would happen, wouldn't they have stayed home and gotten high? Why did they get on the ink and blood swords pirate ship? One incense stick later, Chen Fan led the three out of the patriarch's hall and beckoned a disciple. Lead these three patriarchs to a separate courtyard to rest. Yes, sovereign. The disciple respectfully received the order and led the three Dongfan Mu people away. The three of you take a good rest for the day. Tomorrow morning, follow this clan to the Ark Blade sect. The ink blood blade and the others are dead, and the arc blade sect doesn't need to continue to exist. Chen Fan looked at the trio's backs and faintly said, the eyes of the three trembled. This black robe sect master really wanted to drive the arcane blade sect to extinction? Yes. 
The three of them turned around and respectfully received the order. Go, Chen Fan waved his hand. Not long after, Huang Su flew in, his face full of smiles. Patriarch, you're too good. You killed the Inkblood Sword Gang without even exposing Su Jin and the others. My subordinate is truly impressed with you. Huang Su heatedly laughed. Chen Fan smiled lightly. It's not me. It's mainly because those three old things weren't firm enough. This title of absolute demon is enough to bluff. Ha ha, if they knew that you are Chen Fan of the Chen Clan, I'm afraid they wouldn't be so wobbly. The mystery of the unknown always tends to create scruples and more scruples. Huang Su laughed. Patriarch, this is the Xian Kong rings of the ink blood sword and the others that my subordinates found. Huang Su said, handing over the four Xian Kong rings. Chen Fan was not polite and took it. Tomorrow, you will join me in traveling to the Arc Blade sect. At that time, as you did, continue to collect ten personal disciples in the Arc Blade sect. The Arc Blade sect also has quite a few properties. Someone has to run and manage them, Chen Fan said. Yes, early the next morning, Chen Fan, Huang Su, and the three old men of Dongfang Mu, totaling five people, flew to the Arc Blade sect. The Arc Blade sect was more than 700 miles southwest of the Qingzhou prefecture, and was founded as the Falling Star Peak. Last night, Mo Chang stayed up all night. According to reason, yesterday the immortal ship should have returned in triumph. But Mo Chang waited all night and did not see the immortal ship return to the clan. This caused his mind to panic a bit, although he had a deep grudge against his own father. The Ink Blood Sword and his group of people were the Arc Sword Sect's peak fighting force, and if something happened to these people, the Arc Sword Sect would be no different from being finished. Immediately, Mo Chang's eyes shook as he sensed several powerful auras that were speedily approaching the Arcane Blade Sect. These auras, they are all so unfamiliar. Could it be that, father and the others lost the battle? Mo Chang's pupils shrunk in horror. Swish, Mo Chang's figure was soaring high into the air. Swish, swish, swish. In a few moments, the silhouettes of the five people flew up into the void above the Arc Blade sect. Patriarch, that man is Mo Chang, the eldest son of the Ink Blood Sword. Dong Fang Mu's eyes narrowed as he pointed at Mo Chang. Chen Fan nodded. What is the purpose of all? You coming to my Arc Blade sect? Mo Chang asked apprehensively as his heart trembled. Chen Fan laughed coldly. Yesterday, the Ink and Blood Sword, who had committed a crime against my immortal Dao sect, had already been executed by the sect. You say, what is the sect's business here today? Merching's face went white. His old father, was actually killed back at the immortal Dao sect? Then wouldn't the first elder, second elder, third elder, and fourth elder also be gone? Mo Chang's heart, all of a sudden, went cold. The Arcane Blade Sect, it's really going to be over. No, it can't. The Arc Blade Sect cannot be finished. I haven't become the sect leader yet. I have an ambition that I haven't had the chance to fulfill. I can't die like this. Mo Chang's heart trembled as he roared with extreme unwillingness. He clenched his teeth and then bowed and cupped his fists to Chen Fan and the others. The Ink Blood Dagger is arrogant and brainless, and runs amok. I have long ago advised him bitterly not to go forward to offend your sect, but he just wouldn't listen. Now he was killed by your clan, purely self-inflicted. Our clan absolutely not have the intention to pursue, and even more willing to offer a huge amount of compensation to calm the anger of your clan. I only beg you all, do not implicate these innocent people of our clan, let us live. The disciples of the Arc Blade sect were all blinded when they heard this. Chen Fan was also stunned. This Mo Chang, could it be another Luo Qingkui-like character? Chapter 123, Off-Island Devil Cultivator Mo Cheng's words caused the Arc Sword sect's disciples to be simply shocked. The old patriarch was killed, and Mo Chang, the son, not only didn't take revenge, but wanted to blacken it again? Dong Fang Mu's eyes sank as he said, Patriarch, this Mo Chang is the son of the Ink Blood Blade, and he can't be left behind. The grass must be cut and the roots must be removed. Although the Arc Blade sect without the Ink Blood Blade was no longer enough to be feared, the three great clans had already betrayed the Arc Blade sect, and keeping Mo Chang alive. The three of them would ultimately find it difficult to rest in peace. Are you teaching this clan to work? Chen Fan coldly glanced at Dong Fang Mu. For this kind of wallflower, Chen Fan actually didn't have much good feelings. The only reason for subduing the three was because they were the heads of the three families within Qingzhou City. Chen Fan did not intend to move the forces within Qingzhou City for the time being, so as not to create unnecessary conflicts with the Qingzhou Mansion. Dong Fang Mu hurriedly bowed and said, I don't dare. Chen Fan looked at Mo Chang and said indifferently, since you and the Ink Blood Sword are not on the same path, this clan can leave you alive. Mo Chang was overjoyed at his words and hurriedly said, Many thanks to a mortal Dao sect patriarch. The disciples of the Arcane Blade sect were also greatly relieved. If they moved, no one in the Arcane Blade sect today would be able to resist these five people in the void. 
and the arcane blade sect would surely be easily slaughtered. Then let's go in and talk about how to compensate. When you make a mistake, you always have to be punished in some way. Chen Fan indifferently said. Mo Chang's heart sank, but on his face, he respectfully saluted and said, that is how it should be. Everyone, please follow Mo Mao into the sect. Deacon Flower, quickly prepare a reparation banquet. Mo Chan commanded with a gulp in the air. An enchanting beautiful woman, hurriedly answered. Yes, I'll prepare it right now. The group, led by Mo Chang, arrived at the Ark Sword Sex main hall. Mo Chang glanced at the high seat above the main hall. His heart was vaguely excited. As long as he survived today's hurdle, this patriarch's throne would be his. Father, this is not a child seizing the throne. You went to your own death and threw your life away in the immortal Dao sect. You can't blame the child for not having a backbone even if you are in the Nine Springs. If the child did this, it was all for the sake of preserving the Arc Blade sect, Mo Chang secretly said in his heart. Chen Fan turned around and glanced at the three Dongfang Mu. You three, go and stand guard outside the hall. Don't let anyone come in to disturb us until the matter of compensation is clearly discussed. The three of them, Dong Fang Mu, did not dare to question Chen Fan's order and hurriedly said, Yes, Mo Chang had some doubts in his heart. As long as he gave an order, who else would dare to come in and disturb the Arc Blade sect now? There was absolutely no need to detach the Dong Fang Mu trio. Ah. It seems that this immortal Dao sect patriarch doesn't trust these three old bastards either. Mo Chang thought so. A cold smile hung on Huang Su's face. It had become clear in his mind. Buzz, sure enough, with a wave of Chen Fan's hand, a huge force of prohibition buzzed and scattered, enveloping the entire hall. Mo Chang's face changed as he trembled in shock. Immortal Dao sect patriarch, what are you doing? Chen Fan said indifferently, what is going to happen? This clan does not want any outsiders to know. It's better to lay down a ban to be on the safe side. Mo Chang's eyes trembled as he nervously asked, aren't we going to talk about compensation? A cold smile appeared in Chen Fan's eyes. In this situation today, is there any need to talk about compensation? Everything is naturally up to this sect. Mo Chang's heart trembled and he busily said, What you said is very true. I don't know how you want my clan to compensate? Chen Fan indifferently said, That you don't need to know. Buzz. Chen Fan waved his hand, and a powerful forbidden force, once again, blasted out. Only, this time, the forbidden power was blasted towards Mo Chang. Mo Chang was shocked and tried to dodge in fear, but with his strength, how could he dodge Chen Fan's imprisoning power? Boom! The power of the prohibition blasted down onto Mo Chang, instantly confining him. Mo Chang was terrified and hurriedly shouted, Your Honor, I have already admitted my mistake on behalf of the Arc Blade sect, and I am even willing to make any compensation. Are you still unwilling to let me go? The fact that the Ink Blood Sword offended you is really none of my business. Chen Fan said indifferently, But you are ultimately the son of the Ink Blood Blade. This sect can't trust you and doesn't want to leave behind any hidden dangers. Mo Chang's pupils rose, and he hurriedly said, Your Honor, as long as you are willing to spare my life, I am willing to lead the Arc Blade sect, and from now on, I will worship the Immortal Dao sect as my superior sect. If you still feel that I am not sincere enough, I would like to dedicate all of my wives and daughters to you as a cauldron to show my loyalty. Huang Su, who was on one side, sniffed with wide eyes, This Mo Chang really has no bottom line in order to stay alive. Surprisingly, he wanted to give all his wives and daughters to the patriarch as a cauldron. It's a beast. Chen Fan's eyes were ice cold as he said coldly. You have such no bottom line in order to stay alive. So that's all the more reason not to stay. Soul leaving leader. Chen Fan revealed his murderous aura and used his own soul power as a guide to perform the soul magic secret technique soul departure led. The secret method of soul leaving leader could forcibly extract the power of another person's soul and spirit. And extract it out of the body in a raw manner. The whole process. The person who was divorced from his soul, was since incomparably painful. Although Mo Chang had been acting groveling and did not dare to show the slightest bit of hostility, but the mere fact that he was the son of the Ink Blood Blade made it impossible for Chen Fan to let him go. In the void, he accepted that Mo Chang had gone soft and agreed to pay compensation, but it was all for those disciples of the Arc Blade sect. Slaughtering the clan would be too much killing, and Chen Fan was not willing to kill too many people if not necessary. However, Mo Chang was weak and did not give Chen Fan the opportunity to behead him in front of the Arc Blade sect's disciples. So Chen Fan changed his mindset to control the Arc Blade sect. It would undoubtedly be more effective to swap Mo Chang's soul and allow the islanders of Sin Immortal Island to take control of the Arc Blade sect under Mo Chang's identity. Ah, in the midst of the miserable howl, Mo Chang's soul was coldly extracted by Chen Fan and confined to one side. Afterward, Chen Fan sat on the ground with his knees crossed and his mind sunk into the heavenly sea pearl. Buzz. The spirit body opened its eyes and spoke out faintly. 
Are there any demonic cultivators in the great circle of the Clasping Dan realm who are willing to leave the island? Chen Fan had recently sent out a lot of islanders in bulk, and the previous situation of waiting in line hadn't occurred for a long time. Swish, my subordinate, Nya Dong Lai, is willing to leave the island and follow the island master. He he, subordinate Su Yao 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 is also willing. The sound of laughter came from two youthful looking men and women as they soared into the air. Chen Fan smiled and glanced at Su Yao Yao and said, The skin outside is a male body. You go back first. Su Yao Yao laughed evilly. With your current strength, island master. Isn't it extremely simple to capture a female flesh body in the outside world? Yao Yao can't wait to go out and serve island master. Nye Dong Lai on the side bristled. Su Yao Yao, look at your flirtatious behavior. If you only want to serve the island master, can't you serve him on the island as well? It's not like you have to go out. Our island master isn't like you and me. He won't just take someone's body. Su Yao Yao gritted her teeth and said, Nye Dong Lai, you dog, you need to meddle in my affairs? I want to serve the island master and I also want to go out to play, can't I? When Chen Fan saw the duo making noise, he frowned slightly and said in a cold voice, when you go out, collect all of your demonic qualities for me. Bringing you guys out is not for you to cause trouble for me. If you can't manage to be peaceful, then don't even think about going out. Nye Dong Lai hurriedly bowed and said, after my subordinate goes out, I will definitely restrain myself and try to be as peaceful as possible, so as not to cause trouble for the island master. Chen Fan said coldly, Remember what you said yourself. Otherwise, whether it's on Sin Immortal Island or in the outside world, it won't be difficult for this islander to clean you up. Yes, Nye Dong Lai hurriedly said. He knew that even if he was at the great perfection of the Clutching Dan realm, he was simply no match for the island master. Su Yao Yao also behaved herself and smiled sarcastically. Island master, I will also be peaceful. As long as island master can take me out, I promise to listen to everything island master. Even if you use me as a cauldron. I won't have a single complaint. Chapter 124, Sky Splitting Sword. Chen Fan's face twitched as he waved his hand and said, You can step back first. Su Yao Yao threw a wink at Chen Fan and turned away with a bad smile. Chen Fan shook his head. This demon road demon girl, really is a slut. Nye Dong Lai, do you need to bid farewell to your friends and family? Chen Fan asked. Nye Dong Lai laughed. No need. We devil cultivators don't like to engage in this. Chen Fan nodded and got up. Then follow me to the soul departure altar. Swish, the two flew back and forth, landing on the soul departure altar. Island master, Nye Dong Lai is offended. Once on stage, Nye Dong Lai's eyes were bursting with two streams of ferocious gas, and his body's powerful devilish aura was instantly stirred up. Chen Fan said indifferently, just go all out. Buzz, Chen Fan stretched his right hand diagonally, and a golden spiritual energy surged from his dantian to his right arm, and between the sweeps, it actually condensed into a golden battle sword. The devil cultivation technique was overbearing, so Chen Fan chose to use the overbearing blade technique of Heavenly Saber to meet Nye Dong Lai. Seeing the golden battle knife appear, Nye Dong Lai's pupils shrunk slightly as he said, My great-grandfather said that back then. He was severely injured by the first island master with a single knife using the technique of the heaven beheading knife, and was then imprisoned on Sin Immortal Island. I didn't expect that I would also have the opportunity to learn the power of this blade. Chen Fan smiled faintly. It's just a pity that this blade of mine is not as powerful as the first island masters. To execute it nowadays is nothing more than a feudal form. Ha ha, killing me shall be enough. Nya Dong Lai grinned. But even so, my subordinate will feel the oppressive feeling of death brought about by this blade as he goes all out. Nya Dong Lai had one more thing left unsaid in his heart. His great grandfather had told him that if he wanted to defeat the sky splitting sword, he had to die from it first. Only by comprehending the sense of deathly oppression and extreme fear brought about by a single fall of the heaven slashing blade, and enduring it, was it possible to deduce a method of breaking the move that was stronger than the heaven slashing blade. It was only a pity that the terrifying power of the first islander's blade back then had been imprinted in his great-grandfather's heart, becoming a lifelong demonic obstacle for his great-grandfather, who had never been able to dissolve that sense of fear. Therefore, after so many years, there was no technique that could be deduced to break the sky-splitting blade. The might of Chen Fan's heaven beheading blade was definitely not as terrifying as the first island lord, so the sense of oppression and fear that comes with it is still bearable if the mind is tough enough. This would be the Nye family's only chance to crack the sky splitting blade. Nerdin comes from a place to make the most of it. Boom! The demonic chi was rampant and surging like fog, enveloping Nye Dong Lai's entirety. Chen Fan's eyes narrowed. The shadow of the heaven cutting blade in his hand buzzed and vibrated. He had already finished building up his momentum and couldn't wait to chop out. Mist body demon shadow. Great heavenly demon body. Boom. Immediately, the black demonic chi around Nye Donlai's body twisted for a while, 
unexpectedly transforming into a terrifying demonic shadow that was a hundred feet tall. The demonic shadow had a hideous face and clenched his fist like a mountain, fiercely smashing towards Chun Fan. This seemingly simple punch was wrapped in the might of crushing mountains and was powerful. An ordinary clasping Dan Realm Great Circle would not be able to carry the power of this punch. Chen Fan, however, was not an ordinary martial arts cultivator. The heaven slashing sword in his hand was even less of an ordinary martial skill. Rather, it was the strongest blade technique currently derived from the prime diffusion technique. A sword that can cut through the sky. Hence the name, the sky splitting sword. Boom. As the fist shadow came, the golden blade shadow in Chen Fan's right hand also chopped out without hesitation. Golden arc shadow blade light. Go potential extremely fast and fierce, wrapped with a fierce domineering blade, swept through the void, the sky seems to have cracked out a black trace, boom, the golden blade awnings, split the black shadow demonic fists and cut into the hundred feet of demonic body, that terrifyingly huge demonic body was split into two in an instant, disintegrating into countless black streams of light, pust, below the devil body, a silhouette, staring in horror, was a flash of golden light like thunder, longitudinal split, his body, crumbling out a line of blood. Boo! Just as a line of blood burst out, Nye Donglai's entire body exploded. Good. Horror. Before he died, Nye Donglai's mind only had this one feeling. Chen Fan didn't linger at the soul separation altar, flying back to the main altar. After running the gong method and allowing his spirit body to enter a state of cultivation, he withdrew his mind. Outside, Arcane Blade Sect, Patriarch's Hall. Chen Fan opened his eyes and lightly covered Mo Cheng's eyebrows with his palm. Boom! Nye Donglai's soul body transformed into a stream of powerful soul power that surged into Mo Cheng's soul sea. Soon, Nye Dong's soul occupied Mo Cheng's soul sea. The feeling of extreme fear still lingered in his open eyes. Absorb this person's soul first, Chen Fan said in a low voice. Mo Cheng's figure sat up and hurriedly said respectfully, subordinate obeys. Mo Cheng's hands were moving in a series of seals, and a channel of soul power like silk surged towards Mo Cheng's soul body and began to nibble away at a rapid pace. A regular person's soul was formless and qualitative, but a martial arts cultivator's soul, after cultivation, was tangible and qualitative. Soul swallowing, like the act of drinking blood and eating meat, wasn't really much different. After the burning of an incense stick, a satisfied smile appeared on Mo Cheng's face. Not only had he enhanced his soul power cultivation by swallowing and melting the soul power, he had also obtained all of Mo Cheng's memories, while transmitting Nye Donglai's spiritual body power into Mo Cheng's physical body. Chen Fan asked, are there any other hidden forces in the Arc Blade sect? Mo Chun laughed, there are no hidden forces, but this Mo Chang has a very talented younger brother named Mo Yen. This Mo Yen, 20 years ago, was an extremely impressive demonic genius on the Dragon Summer's Dragon and Phoenix ranking. At his highest ranking, he had entered the top 5 of the Dragon Phoenix ranking. At the age of 27, he had already successfully condensed Dan. Chen Fan raised an eyebrow. This talent, it is indeed considered demonic. Chen Fan knew to himself that if he didn't have the resources of Sin Immortal Island and the Prime Diffusion Technique, with his qualifications, if he wanted to succeed in congealing Dan, it would at least be after he was 50 years old. This, or a more optimistic scenario, this Mo Yen, nowadays he is practicing within the Ling Tian sect, right? What cultivation level is he already at today? Chen Fan asked. That was his main concern. Mo Chang shook his head and said, Mo Yen joined the Ling Tian sect at the age of 17, rarely returning to the Arc Blade sect, and hardly contacting his family. Back then, the news of his Dan condensation, the Mo Bloody Blade father and son both learned about it through the latest change in the ranking of the Dragon and Phoenix ranking. Chen Fan froze, so, Mo Yen and the Mo family don't have a good relationship? Mo Chang shook his head and said, it's not bad, rather, what this Mo Yen cultivates is the emotionless heavenly saber technique, to cultivate this skill. One must sever family ties, cut off the six desires, and avoid karma. That's why Mo Yen doesn't contact his family, and the Mo Blood Sword basically won't go looking for the sun in order not to affect his cultivation future. But, if the news that the Ink Blood Knife was killed, spread to the ears of Mo Yen, this Mo Yen is afraid that it is also impossible to stand by and watch. After all, blood is thicker than water, and if the revenge of killing his father is not reported, then it is a waste of a human son. Ink Brand's eyes, there was some worry. At the age of 27, Mo Yen was already at the early stage of the Clasping Dan realm. Now that 20 years had passed, even if it was a conservative estimate, with Mo Yan's talent, he should be an immortal infant realm powerhouse. Immortal infant realm and Clasping Dan realm, although only a realm apart, but the gap between the strong and weak, is a difference. Even at the beginning of the immortal infant realm, 
one could easily crush a great circle of the clasping Dan realm. This was almost an absolute suppression in the realm. Chen Fan narrowed his eyes and said, if this MOEN comes back, it will indeed be a bit troublesome. At that time, perhaps we will have to rely on you to kill him with a backstabbing strike. After all, you are his elder brother. He shouldn't have too strong of a guard against you. If destined to be opponents, Chen Fan has only one thought in his mind. Get the other party killed. It doesn't matter whether the means are honorable or not. It's who stays alive that counts. Chapter 125 Strange Phenomena The corner of ink brands I narrowed. Let him backstab an immortal infant realm? Isn't that asking him to get killed? With his current strength, I'm afraid that he wouldn't even be able to pierce the protective astral aura of the immortal infant realm. Ah. Chen Fan saw Mo Chang's concern and smiled lightly. Don't worry, when it really comes to that time, I will help you make sufficient preparations and also create the timing for you. Mo Chung dryly laughed. My subordinate is not uneasy. The arrangements of the island master, my subordinate will absolutely comply. Chen Fan nodded his head and said, The old rules, you are the same as the others. You only need to pledge allegiance to me for 10 years. After 10 years, the sea is wide open and you are free. Mo Chang was busy saying, Thank you, island master. Mo Yen I Mo Yen, you stay in Ling Tian sect for 10 more years. Anyway, you haven't come back for decades. Just pretend that you don't have this home. In his mind, Merching secretly prayed. Because of the fusion of Mo Chang's memories, he was ultimately a bit wary of Mo Yen, a demonic existence. Chen Fan pondered for a moment and said, when you go out later, I will let you succeed the position of the Arcblade sect's patriarch. You, on the other hand, announce to the disciples of the Arcblade sect that from now on, you will serve the immortal Dao sect as the superior sect, and from now on, every year, you will pay a tribute of one million spirit stones to the immortal Dao sect, and permanently seed two spirit minds as compensation. Mo Chang grinned, since it is whatever the island master says, that is what it is. Chen Fan smiled with satisfaction and said, in addition to that, from now on, you are the Arcblade sect sect master, so you should restrain the disciples under the Arcblade sect from being domineering and bullying. Mo Chang nodded his head and said, my subordinate keeps this in mind. Chen Fan narrowed his eyes and said, do you know why I'm looking for a demonic cultivator to master this body of Mo Chang? This, subordinate actually doesn't quite understand. Mo Chang said awkwardly, looking at the island master's meaning, he hoped that the Arcblade sect would embark on the right path in the future. But on the contrary, the island master led him, a devil cultivator, take charge of the Arcblade sect, which seemed quite contradictory. Chen Fan faintly said, the Arcblade sect has been domineering for a long time, and the disciples in the sect have deep roots. Even though the Arcblade sect is not as good as it used to be, there are always people they can bully. Letting you take charge of the Arcblade sect is hoping to use your ruthless methods to shock these Arcblade sect disciples whose roots are hard to change. Those who should be killed, kill them for me. Mo Chang drifted off and grinned. My subordinate will definitely rectify the Arc Blade sect and purge all those black sheep. Chen Fan said indifferently, You should also restrain yourself. You were released by the sect, and the sect does not want to behead you again one day. Mo Chang's throat rolled and he busily said, Subordinate understands. I will definitely not let Island Master down. Chen Fan nodded and didn't say anything more. After another half an hour, Chen Fan withdrew the prohibition and the three of them walked towards the outside. The three Dongfang Mu people scrambled to greet them as a salute. In their hearts, they had long been eager to know what the outcome of the patriarch's talks with Mo Chang had been. Chen Fan stood outside the door of the main hall, his sole voice stirring the air. The Ink Blood Blade committed a crime against my immortal Dao sect, and was killed by our sect. However, our sect does not want to involve the innocent. Therefore, today, we have decided to accept the subjugation of the Arc Blade sect's new sect leader, Mo Chang. From now on, the Arcane Blade sect will have to worship our immortal Taoist sect as their superior sect. Each year, they will contribute millions of spirit stones and permanently seed two spirit minds. Boom! As soon as Chen Fan said this, the disciples of the Arcane Blade sect clenched their fists, although they were lucky to survive. But now such a result was full of shame for them. But the Inkblood Sword was dead, and they had no other choice but to endure the humiliation. Therefore, no matter how angry they were, they could only dare to speak out. It is a cruel fact that if you are weak, you will be trampled on, and this is a cruel fact that will never be solved is very unfair, but without equal strength. Who is in a position to demand fairness? Deacon Hua, go to the spiritual treasure pavilion and fetch a million spirit stones. Mo Cheng coldly sank his face and shouted, Arcblade sect Deacon Hua you wrong. His eyes trembled as he bit his lip and answered, Yes, not long after, a beautiful woman, flew in, her hands against holding a Xin Kong ring, her knees sank, kneeling down in front of Chen Fan, and respectfully said, Please, 
Lord of the Upper Sect, except the millions of spirit stones that our sect has contributed. Chen Fan faintly raised his hand and took the Xin Kong ring over. Upper Sect Patriarch, regarding the spirit mine, would it be possible to seed it tomorrow? Mo Chang asked. Chen Fan nodded his head and said, Tomorrow you can just butt heads with Vice Patriarch Huang on the relevant matters. Good, I think the reparation banquet is almost ready, so please invite the upper sect master to take a seat. Mo Chan laughed. Chen Fan nodded. The group moved to another large hall. In the great hall, the banquet had already been set up, just waiting for the crowd to take their seats, although flowers have a capacity of only deacon, but the work is dry and sharp, has been the right hand man of Mo Chang, between the two. In fact, also early have a leg. As soon as the reparation banquet was over, Mo Chang slipped into the courtyard of Huayu Rong and had a full meal of this deja vu beauty. After the clouds and rain, Huayu Rong hugged Mo Chang tightly, her eyes red. Patriarch, I know that you are enduring this humiliation for the sake of the clan to be able to continue its legacy. Don't worry, Yu Rong will always accompany you and support you. Huayu Rong sobbed, she was truly heartbroken for Mo Chang. When the ink blood sword was around, it actually despised Mo Chang. Incopolis has a lot of ideas that aren't cared for. When Mo Chang saw the plaything beside him, he even cried and pretended to be deep. You wrong. Thank you. In this world, you really understand me the most. Today, my heart is extremely painful. You help me alleviate some of my bitterness. Hua Yu Rong's face blushed, and her white, proud body retreated towards the quilt. Soon, on Mo Chang's face, a wickedly soothing smile appeared. He's in pain. My ass. He's high. This identity. It's really good. The next day, Chen Fan let Mo Cheng select the ten arc blade sect disciples with the most bad deeds, and said in a beautiful name, and Tian Bao sect will be treated equally, and will also pass the law to the ten, and accept them as personal disciples. The ten ended up with four of them killed and only six of them had their souls replaced. The four people who were killed, not because of any defects in their bodies, but because, Chen Fan couldn't get ten people together. This made Chen Fan very strange. The sin immortal island islanders who used to want to come out even if they squeezed their heads out. Nowadays there are actually not many people who are willing to leave the island. He called out that he needed 10 people, but he waited for half a day and only 3 people came. It seemed to be afraid that Chen Fan, the island owner, would feel disgraced, and it was only after this that 3 more people flew in one after another. After completing the 6 soul exchanges, Chen Fan entered the Heavenly Sea Pearl with questions in mind. The situation within the Heavenly Sea Pearl tensed up all of a sudden. Most of the islanders, tense and taut, looked at the main altar from a distance across the room. They were afraid that this island lord would be moved to kill in a fit of rage. Senior Yuchi, Senior Ku, can you come and solve my confusion? Chen Fan smiled and ordered the duo. Yuchi was relaxed and had a smile on his face as he flew into the void. Kujo Jian also had a smile on his face, but the smile was a bit stiff, and deep in the bottom of his eyes, there was apprehension. Cough, I have met the island master. I wonder if the island master has any questions that the two of us need to solve for you? Kujo Jian asked with a dry smile and arched his hand. Yu Qian laughed. Is the island master wondering why suddenly not many people are willing to leave the island nowadays? Chen Fan nodded his head and said, Senior Yu Qi is right. That is exactly why I am puzzled. Chapter 126 Alarm Bells Yu Qian glanced at Kujo Jian with a smirk and said, Kujo Jian, your Ka family alone has several clasping Dan Realm Juniors, right? This question is best answered by you. Kujo Jian glared at Yu Qian. Chen Fan laughed. Senior Ku, I'm just wondering. There's no harm in you saying so. Leaving or not leaving the island is supposed to be voluntary. I won't force anyone. Kujo Jian made a bow towards Chen Fan. Island master. In fact, the juniors of each family are all willing to leave the island. It's just that lately, island master has sent out too many people. So we have some concerns in our hearts. When Chen Fan heard that too many people had been sent out, his heart suddenly understood the concerns in the minds of Kujo Jian and the others. He nodded his head and said, I should be understanding your concerns. You guys are worried that, with too many people sent out, the matter of borrowing a body and exchanging a soul will easily be discovered. And once this matter is discovered, it will definitely invite the intervention of powerful people from the outside world. And at that time, it will affect the safety of your clan's descendants. Is that right? Kujo Jian hurriedly said, Island Master is wise. That is exactly the concern we have. Although being trapped within Sin Immortal Island limits their growth and vision, they are at least safe. These juniors, all of them are the heart and soul of each family. And since they realize the danger, who would be willing to let them go out and take risks again? That's why the elders of each family, basically, don't want the juniors to go out nowadays. Chen Fan nodded his head and said, I can understand. 
I did arrange too much recently. This is not only a hidden danger for them, but also for me. Once it is noticed by the strong outside world, I'm afraid that I'm the one that they want to get rid of the most. Yuchian solemnly said, Island Master, you are right about what you said. Once someone discovers that you have the means to borrow a body and change your soul, those people from the outside world will either kill you or try to control you and make you a puppet to help them grow in strength. In short, anyone who discovers the clues will not turn a blind eye to an existence like you, nor will they harbor good intentions. This is because an existence like you is definitely a terrifying threat to those in the outside world. If they cannot master it, they will definitely choose to get rid of it. Yuchian hesitated for a moment and added, Moreover, for the islanders of Sin Immortal Island, even if you were to fall outside, there would be nothing inside Sin Immortal Island. It would just be silent for a period of time, and a new island master would appear since. Therefore, many people have chosen to wait and see at this time. Chen Fan smiled helplessly and said, Has something happened in the past that you guys are worried about? Yu Qian nodded. Yes, as a matter of fact, before you, Sin Immortal Island has already had six island lords. You are the seventh island lord. Other than the first island lord, the next five, all failed to receive a good end. And those islanders who were taken out by the five island lords, Nowadays, it is also hard to know whether they are alive or dead. Shen Fan took a low breath, and a touch of gravity also rose up in his heart. A foregone conclusion is not to be missed. He didn't want to be like those five island lords and be killed in the east. Most importantly, he wasn't strong enough right now, and even though there were quite a few strong people gathered around him, these strong people were only people who weren't too different from his realm. Once the incident occurred, even if it only alarmed an immortal infant realm, it might not be something he could easily handle right now. This strange phenomenon has been a wake-up call for me, thanks to the two seniors for clearing up my confusion. Afterward, I will be more cautious. Chen Fan got up and sincerely made a bow to Yu Qian and Kujou Jin. Kujou Jin hurriedly said, Island Master, it's good that you don't blame us. This gift, can't be allowed. Chen Fan laughed, I have never blamed you guys for this matter from the beginning to the end. As I said, whether or not to leave the island is entirely up to your volition and I will never force anyone. I think that the mighty power given to me by the heavenly sea pearl was never meant for me to coerce you all. This kind of heavenly might power, in my opinion, is just a deterrent. When Yuchian and Kujo Jian heard this, their eyes were slightly shaken. Successive island masters. The only person who respected them in this way was actually Chen Fan. Island master. When you step into the realm of void ascension, I am willing to leave the island and go to the outside world to help you. Kujo Jian clasped his fists openly and said solemnly, Yuchian also solemnly said, Yuchian is also waiting for the day when Island Master steps into the realm of Void Ascension. Chen Fan touched his nose and laughed bitterly. Two seniors, you'll have to wait then, ha ha ha, I'm only in the late stage of clutching Dan now, holding Dan realm is too far away from Dingshu realm, that can be too far away, ha ha, I believe that this day will eventually come. Yuchian laughed, if by that time, that girl, Linger, can open up a group of descendants for my Yuchi family? That would be even more pleasing. Kujou Jian rolled his eyes and bristled. Even if Yuchi Ling has given birth to a group of people outside, it's not with your Yuchi family name, what are you happy about? Yuchi Jian stroked his beard and smiled, but if it's surnamed Chen, the old immortal wouldn't mind. Chen Fan's face twitched. This Yuchi Jian was properly hinting at him again. Cough. Two seniors, the doubts have been resolved. I should also go out. You guys go back. Chen Fan arched his hand and smiled. The old man will retire. The two old men hurriedly bowed in return, then turned to leave. Even if Chen Fan respected them as old-timers again, they wouldn't get carried away and pose in front of the island master. In the past, there were people in the same realm as them who posed in front of the island master, and then were killed by the then island master with a single thought. It's all a bloody lesson. Who knew if this leniency and respect Chen Fan showed was a false appearance? Although they had already lived long enough, they still didn't dare to bet their old lives on Chen Fan's true character. After his mind withdrew from the heavenly sea pearl, Chen Fan let out a long breath. He secretly decided that in the future, when he brought the islanders out again, he would make sure to keep these people dormant and hidden in the shadows. This reduces the risk of exposure. This arrangement of protodisciples is really not very safe. Although the more people he brought out, the greater the possibility of being exposed. Chen Fan would not choke on it and be scared outright. Moreover, the islanders of Sin Immortal Island were indeed reliable powerful and trustworthy helpers for him. There was no way he was going to let it go. Just have to be a little more subtle about it. After destroying the heavenly treasure sect, I did inflate a bit and let my guard down. It's a good thing that these problems were not discovered too late. After reflecting on himself, Chen Fan transmitted his voice to Huang Su. Huang Su. After that, the immortal Dao sect, 
I will leave it to you, this sect will return to Tiger Spirit City. Although Huang Su was surprised that Chen Fan suddenly wanted to leave, he didn't ask too many questions and hurriedly returned the soul tone. Yes, subordinate will definitely manage the immortal Dao sect for the patriarch, not for the sect, but for yourself and those islanders who are settled in the immortal Dao sect. The immortal Dao sect is your home on the Xianling continent, Chen Fan said indifferently. Huang Su's heart shook as he transmitted. Yes, we will definitely run our new home well. Chen Fan smiled and got up and quietly left the arcane blade sect. He had never been more than a user of these islanders, and had genuinely hoped that they would live in the true light of day, free from the stigma of the word sin, and begin a new life. Chapter 127, Murderous Youth, Five Major Suspicions. In the blink of an eye, months passed. After Chen Fan returned to Tiger Spirit City, life returned to Kong. The news about the Tianbao sect and the Arcblade sect experiencing big changes one after another, as well as the news that the immortal Dao sect's patriarch was the black robe within the Earth Spirit Abyss, had also spread throughout almost the entire Qingzhou Prefecture region during this period of time. Even though Tiger Spirit City was remote, the news had been passed from city to city, and the news had finally reached the interior of Tiger Spirit City. Have you heard? The immortal Dao sect sect leader who destroyed the Heavenly Treasure sect is actually the black robe within the Earth Spirit Abyss. Che, I've heard about it a long time ago. I also know that that black robe looks like a young man in his early 20s, and he's very handsome. Ha, huh? how do you know this? Doesn't he always wear a tiger mask? Hey, you're not well informed enough. In fact, this black robe was not wearing a mask when he first killed on the Heavenly Treasure sect. It's just that later on, when the Qingzhou Prefecture's son went to look for him, he was afraid that the son wouldn't be able to recognize him. So he took the mask that he had worn within the Earth Spirit Abyss and put it back on. So that's how it is. I thought this immortal Dao sect patriarch just likes to play mysterious. There's something else, though, that I find a little strange. Oh, what strange thing? Tell me about it. This one's on you. I'll say, ha ha, that has to be my treat. Ro, then I'll say it. I heard that when that immortal Dao sect patriarch killed the heavenly treasure sect, he was also followed by a powerful big yellow dog. If it wasn't for the fact that that second young man of the Chen family had just built his foundation, I would almost think that that bullish immortal Dao sect leader was that second young man of the Chen family. Ha ha, how dare you even think that. If Chen Fan were the immortal Dao sect patriarch, I would eat shit upside down. Ha ha, you won't be able to eat this shit. I've heard that the second youngest of that Chen family often skips all over the streets with that big yellow dog of his. How could the immortal Dao sect's patriarch have such leisure? You guys said that Chen Fan also has a big yellow dog by his side? Just as the two of them were laughing and talking, a cold voice suddenly asked. The duo looked towards the person who had asked the question with displeasure. Who the hell are you? Asking people questions and still wearing a dead face? As soon as the two saw that the other party had a cold face, they cursed nonchalantly. The questioner was a youth. The youth sniffed and his lips twitched. Pussed. Suddenly, there was a flash of cold light. A fast sword. Piercing through the throat of one of them. Ah. Murder. Run. The other people in the restaurant fled away in fear and screams. Only the other person at the same table with the killed person was so scared that his body was stiff and numb, and he couldn't he even run. Only his lips kept shivering and said, Big. Brother. Spare my life. I said. I said everything ah. That Chen Fan sighed. There is indeed a big golden furred dog. The youth's sword. Still stabbed in the throat of the slain person. The sword body supported the body. The body fong did not fall to the ground. But the blood is along the sword. Constantly dripping. The scene is very bloody and horrible. This big dog by his side. How strong is it? The youth asked. According to. It is said to be a fifth realm demon king. The youth's eyes narrowed. Such a coincidence? Rather. It's getting more and more interesting. Pust. Pust. The youth swung his right arm horizontally, and the sharp blade of his sword not only instantly slit the neck of the slain man, but also connected with a sword, cutting off the head of this diner who answered the question. The youth waved his hand and the long sword disappeared, then walked out of the restaurant. Swish. On the street, he casually grabbed a passing man in his hands. What do you, you want to do? Take me to the Chen family, or else, die. The youth indifferently said. The passerby's pupils shrank. Sensing that this youth was not a person to be messed with, and hurriedly said, Okay, I'll lead you there. The Chan family, Chen Fan's small courtyard, Su Wenjun's pair of almond eyes stared at Chen Fan with death. Chen Fan laughed bitterly and shook his head. Miss Su, is it because I have flowers on my face? Or are you committing nymphomania? Looking at everyone like your masked male? Su Wenjun smiled coldly. Chen Fan, how much longer are you going to pretend? You really think that all of us are stupid, don't you? Chen Fan shook his head and said, not everyone, but you, 
It seems like you are a bit stupid. Otherwise you wouldn't think that I am that masked male ah. Do you see where exactly I look like your masked male? Su Wen Jun hummed. The fact that you were able to survive within the earth spirit abyss with the cultivation level of the qi practicing realm is one of the doubts. Secondly, the masked male's age is similar to yours. By your side, you both also have a big yellow dog. Thirdly, when I met the masked prince, it was just a few days after you asked me to join forces with Chen Shua, and then coincidentally you and the masked prince appeared within the earth spirit abyss at the same time. Don't you yourself feel that there is a high degree of overlap between the time you and the masked prince appeared? Fourthly, I have visually observed that you are the same height and width. As a true spirit realm martial cultivator, you wouldn't think that my visual observation would be much of an error, would you? Fifth, you are calm and collected when things go wrong. You are calm and uncharacteristic of a normal person. I had been wondering before, how could you, a chi practicing realm, develop this kind of temperament? I even thought for a while that you were giving up on yourself. So you were indifferent to everything, but now I know that I was wrong. You are because you have been hiding your true strength, and your hidden strength is your bottom line. That's why you are that calm and collected, fearless of any changes. Su Wenjun said five major doubts in one breath. Chen Fan had a faint smile on his face and couldn't help but give Su Wenjun a thumbs up. Worthy of being Ms. Su. I'm impressed with your imagination. All right, I'll show my cards. I'm your masked male. I am the famous black robe brother and immortal Dao sect patriarch of Qingzhou. Chen Fan said with a smile. Su Wenjun's eyes were delighted. You really admit it? Aha, uh -huh, I admit it. Miss Su, you want to find the masked male so badly. Do you like him? Chen Fan said with a bad smile. Su Wenjun blushed, but didn't hide it, saying, that's right, I like him a lot. Swish. Chen Fan stood up openly, rubbed his hands, and laughed, that s good. Since you are so sure that I am the masked male, then let s go into the house? I am quiet here. Absolutely no one will come to disturb us. Su Wenjun's face, swish red like blood, a pair of almond eyes, glaring. What does this Chen Fan want? Just, even if Chen Fan is a masked male, she can't hand herself over so casually, right? You, you are shameless. Su Wenjun got up in shame and anger and cursed. Chen Fan rolled both his eyes and said in a good-natured manner, How am I shameless? Am I not fulfilling your dream for you? You see what a nymphomaniac you have become. If you don't get released, I'm afraid that something is going to go terribly wrong. I'll be your masked male for the time being. However, this can only be a secret between you and me. Don't ever pass it on. I'm afraid that that really black-robed brother will come and hack me to death if he knows. Chen Fan. Su Lingjun was so angry that he swung his right hand in a long sword. Swish. Slashed at Chen Fan's neck. Chen Fan's face changed drastically and he retreated in panic and surprise. His mouth shouting, Big yellow, you dead dog, don't protect your master yet. This Su Wenjun is crazy. Chapter 128, The Tang Family. Big yellow rolled his eyes while gently lifting his claws, bursting and pulling out a demonic elemental force, ripping the longsword in Su Wenjun's hand and sending it flying. Boom. Nailed into the yard wall. Miss Su, although my second youngest is not the masked male you speak of. My second youngest isn't bad either, so just obey him. Big Yellow laughed badly. Su Wenjun gritted her teeth and said, You masters and servants are both simply assholes. Chen Fan skimmed his lips. Isn't this the case that you have to take this young man as your dream lover? This young man is kindly helping you fulfill your dream. Since you don't want to, then hurry up and leave. Don't come to tease this young man anymore. Su Wenjun's face trembled as he stared deathly at Chen Fan and said, Chen Fan, one day, I will definitely pull out your tail. Chen Fan had a wacky smile on his face. Didn't I give you the chance to pull my tail just now? It's a pity that you didn't cherish the opportunity even when you were given it. Su Wenjun froze. Chen Fan had given her the opportunity to grab her tail? Could it be that she had missed a certain detail in discovering the truth? Second young master. Second young master. It's not good. There are people outside the door to cause trouble. A hurried cry of alarm came from a guard covering his chest, his face white as he sprinted over. Chen Fan's eyes went cold as he asked. Who is the one causing trouble? There aren't many people who dare to make a move in front of my Chen clan's residence these days. The guard gritted his teeth and said, An unfamiliar youth called himself Tang Renjie, but my subordinate has never heard of this character. Why did you do it? Chen Fan asked. The guard said, After he came, he spoke out against second young master. My subordinate and the others couldn't stand it, so we theorized with him for a few moments, but I didn't want him to directly wave his hand and injure all of us. Second young. This person's strength shouldn't be weak. I'm afraid that only the big yellow guest secretary can cope with it. Big yellow immediately stood up on all fours and bullishly said. In that case, master dog will go and take a look. Second young master, how do you want this Tang Renjie to die? By biting his neck, or by pulling out his heart? 
Chen Fan frowned, Tang Renjie? He was under the impression that there was no such person. Chen Fan ignored Big Yellow and just looked at Su Wenjun. Ms. Su, I'm afraid I can't continue to entertain you. Come back to me when you think clearly. Su Wenjun's face darkened. She wanted to be clear about what ah. Chen Fan, I really didn't expect that you would be this shameless and nasty. Su Wenjun said angrily. Chen Fan shrugged his shoulders and said, Bu Yu hasn't been coming back. I'm lonely. You. Su Wenjun rounded her eyes. How did this Chen Fan manage to open his mouth with such brazen words? How could such a shameless man be her masked male? It seems that it was really Ni who overthought it. Su Wenjun sneered, turned around and left the courtyard. Chen Fan bristled. This woman has to haunt him if he doesn't lay some serious heat on her. But this woman's mind is so sensitive. I almost couldn't stabilize it. Chen Fan secretly said with some weakness. Su Wenjun raised five major doubts, and although they could not be used directly as evidence, they did make it hard for him to refute them. It was good that the other party was a woman in the end, or the kind of woman who was reserved and conservative. The trick of being a hooligan was definitely a tried and true trick to deal with a woman like Su Wenjun. After Su Wenjun walked out a few steps, he suddenly stopped again. She raised her eyebrows and twisted her head to look at Chen Fan in the courtyard. Seeing this, Chen Fan laughed. Miss Su wouldn't have thought clearly so soon, right? But today, this young man is a bit busy, so I'm afraid I don't have the time to help you fulfill your dream. Su Wenjun sneered. I almost fell for your trick again. Last time outside of sparse shadow place, when I suspected you, you forced me away in the same way. But when I didn't suspect you, you were clearly a pretty decent person. Chen Fan, I don't understand why you don't want to admit it. Is it because you're worried that I'll haunt you after you admit it? Chen Fan said with a smile. Miss Su is joking. A beauty like you. I can't wait for you to pester me. I am also willing to risk the identity of the masked male. Now it is you who are unwilling. Su Wenjun. But what she wants is that Chen Fan is frank and honest. And it is not some kind of imposter Ah, If Chen Fan insisted on denying it, she might still be convinced of her judgment. But on the contrary, while Chen Fan denied it, he was willing to risk the identity of the masked male. This made Su Wenjun suspicious again. After all, what kind of person impersonates himself? People of the Chen family, they're really bloated. How dare they neglect their honored guests like this? If you guys don't come out to greet them, I'll really have to barge in. A coldly laughing voice came vibrating over. Chen Fan's eyes narrowed and he said in a cold voice, This Tang Renjie is really arrogant. Miss Su, you'd better hurry and go back first. This person's intentions are not good. Don't get caught in the crossfire. Chen Fan urged Su Wenjun to leave. Su Wenjun's eyes flashed as he said, I'm not leaving. I'd like to see who is so bold as to dare to offend the present day Chen family. Besides, aren't the Su and Chen family's allies? Now that the Chen family has run into trouble, how can I hide? The corners of Chen Fan's mouth twitched lightly as he said, You're getting yourself into trouble. Big Yellow, go, go over and see what this Tang Renjie is all about. Big Yellow grinned. No matter what his origin is, Master Dog is going to tell him to never walk again today. Don't be too arrogant. Those who come are not good and those who come are not good, Chen Fan faintly reminded, Rhubarb grinned, somewhat unimpressed, nowadays, the Chen family was already the proper number one family in Tiger Spirit City, what's more, Big Yellow knew Chen Fan's bottom line, so naturally, he had no fear, in its view, anyone who dared to find trouble with the Chen family today would only end up dead, Chen Fan walked out of the courtyard and glanced at Su Wenjun, Miss Su, I advise you to avoid it, Su Wenjun said, okay, then I'll watch from afar how you cope. She naturally didn't want to look for trouble, but she wanted to use this trouble to probe Chen Fan again. Swish, a silhouette, suddenly flashed. The person who came was none other than the stony-faced Chen Changsheng. Grandpa, why are you out of the gate? Is it because of this Tang Renjie? Chen Fan asked in surprise. Ever since Chen Changsheng, Chen Ming, and Chen Shua cultivated the Dao Martial Heart Sutra, and the Qin clan received a large amount of cultivation resources. These three grandparents had all become cultivation maniacs in general, spending their days in seclusion. The Chen family's affairs were basically handed over to Uncle Zhou to take care of. When Zhou Bo couldn't handle something, he would come over and ask for Chen Fan's advice. Chen Changsheng did not answer Chen Fan's question, but instead looked at Su Wenjun and said in a deep voice, Miss Su, please stay in Little Fan's courtyard for a little while longer. Su Wenjun raised an eyebrow and said, Grandpa Chen, are you protecting me or are you trying to put me under house arrest? Chen Changsheng narrowed his eyes and said indifferently, It's best if you understand it as protection. One can only say that it's not the right time for Miss Su to come today. Guest Minister Big Yellow, I'll be troubling you to protect Miss Su here for a while for old me. Chen Changsheng said to Big Yellow. Big Yellow grinned and was about to speak when he heard Chen Fan say, 
Listen to my grandfather. Hey, of course Big Yellow obeys the old master's orders. Miss Su, inside please. Big Yellow narrowed his doggy eyes and said to Su Wenjun. Su Wenjun's complexion sank, bit her red lips, and without saying a word, she turned around and walked towards Chen Fan's yard. Only then did Chen Changsheng whisper to Chen Fan. Let's talk as we walk. Chen Fan nodded. The grandparents and grandchildren walked towards the door of the mansion. I didn't expect the Tang family to come after all. After walking a bit further away, Chen Changsheng said in a cold and deep voice. Chen Fan's eyes narrowed lightly. It seemed that the people of this Tang family were really not any good. Grandpa, what exactly is the origin of this Tang family? You seem to be scornful of them, Chen Fan asked. Chapter 129, Too Insulting. Chen Changsheng's eyelids fluttered. Then he took a light breath and said in a low voice. More than scorn. Chen Fan's heart tightened. In that case, the strength of this Tang family was truly extraordinary. Chen Changsheng said in a low voice. Originally, I was planning to wait for you to step into the immortal infant realm before telling you all of this. But I never thought that they would come to the Qin clan once again. Chen Fan's heart stirred as he said. Could it be that the people who took my parents away are the Tang family? Chen Changsheng nodded and said in a deep voice. Your mother's surname is Tang. The Tang family is none other than your mother's maternal clan. On top of that, the successive Tang family heads were all southern domain kings of the Longxia Sacred Dynasty. Based on the three words southern domain king alone, you can imagine the strength of the Tang family. How terrifying it is, right? Chen Fan's eyes narrowed slightly as he said. To be able to inherit the position of king of the southern domain of the Holy Dynasty, the Tang family is indeed not weak. But even if they are strong, they don't have the right to separate our family's bones and flesh. Chen Shangxing shook his head inside. Rights, they are all given by strength. Although the Chun family has become quite a bit stronger nowadays. But even so, not to mention the southern region king's house. Even the Qingzhou mansion is still in existence that is beyond my Chen family's reach. Fanner, grandpa knows that you're aggrieved and angry in your heart. But later on, you must be more patient. We can't afford to offend the Tang family right now. Chen Fan said in a deep voice. Grandson knows the importance. He wanted to ask why the Tang family took his parents away. But at this time the grandfather and grandson, already not far from the door of the mansion, the grandfather and grandson both tacitly stopped the topic. The gate was open, and the young man who had killed in the tavern was currently standing in the center of the gate with a sneer. Zhou Bo and the several severely injured Chen family guards all bowed and retreated into the mansion, gritting their teeth and being in a confrontation with them. However, a clear-eyed glance could tell that these severely injured guards were merely holding up the face of the Chen family and Tang Renjia had no intention of actually forcing his way in. Otherwise, the guards would have been corpses long ago. Chen Shangsheng walked over while saying in a low voice, Zhou Shen, take them down to receive some pills to heal their wounds. Master of the house, second young master, Zhou Shen and the others hurriedly turned around and barely managed to salute Chen Shangsheng and Chen Fan. Uncle Zhou, quickly go down, just have me and grandpa here. Chen Fan was busy saying, but a cold and heavy killing aura was hidden in his eyes. Zhou Bo, all these people, were not badly injured, although he knew very well that Tang Renjia had stayed his hand. However, it was also impossible for Chen Fan to thank Tang Renjia for staying his hand. Yes, Zhou Xin knew in his heart that it was useless for those of them to stay, so he immediately retreated with the injured guards. Tang Renjia's chin was slightly lifted as he looked at Chen Changsheng with a cold and arrogant expression. Chen Changsheng, they're not clear about my identity, but you should be aware of it, right? Chen Changsheng's eyes and face narrowed slightly as he said. You're from the Southern Domain Royal Family? The corner of Tang Renjia's lips tugged and he smiled morosely. Since you know my identity, why don't you welcome me into the residence? Chen Changsheng said indifferently. Mr. Tang, please. Chen Fan then realized that Tang Renjia didn't force his way in. Not that he more or less knew how to be polite, but that he had to put on a show to make Chen Changsheng personally come to welcome him and invite him into the mansion. Tang Renjia smiled coldly, before glancing at Chen Fan and said disdainfully. The Chen family members are really the capital of waste. He's not young at this age. Right. But he's even just a foundation establishment realm. Chen Changsheng's face remained unchanged as he indifferently said. The Chen family's martial arts qualifications cannot be compared to the Tang family's. Is not even worthy to be compared together. Tang Renjie sneered. Anger flickered in Chen Fan's eyes. Although Chen Changsheng had instructed him, Tang Renjie's arrogance and haughtiness had exceeded the limits of Chen Fan's patience. Your status in the Tang family should be quite average. Right? Otherwise, it wouldn't be your turn to run such a long distance for a hard job. Chen Fan said indifferently. Tang Renjie's face, swish red with rage, as if he had been stepped on his tail, stormed out. You punk, have the guts to take what you just said and say it again. Chen Changsheng's face changed and he hurriedly said. Fanner, don't be rude. Quickly apologize to Duke Tang. 
Chen Fan knew that Chen Changsheng was afraid of offending Tang Renji and inviting a disaster that the Chen family could not afford. But that's only if Don has the life to go back and move people. The South Kingdom, tens of thousands of miles away from the Tiger's Paw City, so far away. A little accident, the death of a person is not very normal? Grandpa, even though the Chen family is weak, it can't be bullied by others. Not to mention, Chen Fan smiled coldly and sneered at Tang Renji. He's just an errand boy of the Tang family. I guess he's not an important person. Then he's not qualified to flaunt his power in my Chen family. Rubbish. You seek death. Tang Renjie was infuriated by Chen Fan's words. And in his anger, he was storming up, blasting his palm towards Chen Fan's face. He really wanted to kill Chen Fan. Chen Changsheng was startled and hurriedly moved his body in a hurry, meeting Tang Renjie's palm imprint with a palm blast. Boom. The two palms, which clashed in front of Chen Fan's body, immediately formed two powerful waves of air that exploded and impacted. Chen Fan symbolically took a few steps back. Chen Changsheng, you've got a lot of nerve, daring to strike out at me. Tang Renjie said angrily. Chen Changsheng's face was chilly as he said. The old immortal is merely preventing the male son from making a big mistake. He is the grandson of the old immortal and the only son of Tang Wanru today. Have you thought about the consequences if you want to kill him? Your Excellency? Tang Renjie's eyes narrowed slightly, and his killing intent narrowed down a lot. Is he that young son of my little aunt? Chen Fan? As Tang Renjie asked. He also withdrew his palm force and took a slight step back. He dares to kill anyone in the Chun family. Only Tang Wan's son. He didn't dare to kill. Chen Changsheng also put away his spiritual energy and stood to Chen Fan's side, saying faintly, That's right. He is Chen Fan. Tang Renjie sneered. No wonder he dares to be so reckless in front of me. So it's because of this status. But even if he is the son of a little aunt, in my Tang Renjie's eyes, he is nothing. Chen Fan sneered. In my eyes, you are equally nothing. All right. Little fan, don't engage in this unnecessary battle of wills. Chen Changsheng lightly rebuked. Although he knew that Tang Renjie was detestable, the Tang family, the Chen family really couldn't afford to mess with him. Therefore, he usually doted on Chen Fan even more. But at this time, when he saw Chen Fan constantly provoking Tang Renjie, he was also a bit angry. Didn't we agree that we'd know the difference? Chen Fan's tit-for-tat stance was so close to exposing his strength and stepping forward to tear Tang Renjie apart with his hands off. Chen Changsheng felt a wave of helplessness in his heart. When Chen Fan saw Chen Changsheng rebuke him, he pursed his lips and held back. He turned first and headed toward the mansion. Tang Renjie looked at Chen Fan's back and narrowed his eyes, but didn't say anything else. Chen Changsheng said, Mr. Tang, please, Tang Renjie said indifferently, the Chen family is lucky to have you, Chen Changsheng. Otherwise, sooner or later, the family would have been exterminated. Chen Changsheng's eyes narrowed lightly as he did not answer. Tang Renjie smiled coldly and took a step in the direction of the mansion. Chen Changsheng walked side by side with him and asked indifferently, Is it the intention of the Southern Domain Royal House that Mr. Tang came to my Chen family this time? Tang Renjie said disdainfully, Who would come to this nook and cranny if it weren't the intention of the royal family? Chapter 130 The spine must not be bent. Tang Renjie always spoke with sarcasm. Chen Changsheng sniffed and said indifferently, The royal family has asked Duke Tang to come to my Chen family. So I don't think it's for Duke Tang to come and find trouble with my Chen family, right? Otherwise, the royal family wouldn't have sent only Duke Tang here. Tang Renjie laughed coldly. What? If I had come alone, would your Chen family have dared to touch me? Chen Changsheng said indifferently. Mr. Tang is joking. Tang Renjie said disdainfully. Chen Changsheng, you don't need to test this Gongzi either. This eunuch can clearly tell you that I am not the only one who came this time. It's just that I made everyone else stay in the Qingzhou mansion and didn't let them follow me here. Chen Changsheng drifted off. He wondered how the Tang family could let a person of Tang Renjie's character come all the way to such a faraway place as Tiger's Pillar City all by himself. Wasn't he afraid that this second generation ancestor would be beaten to death on the way? Chen Changsheng laughed. So that's how it is. Then why didn't Mr. Tang lead them over together? Tang Renjie sneered and asked rhetorically. Guess why my lord didn't lead them here together? Chen Changsheng secretly said in his heart. You little scumbag. You don't want anyone to stop you from being arrogant and domineering. Although the Southern Domain Royal House is overbearing and strong, it will never allow you to bully my Chen family like this. I don't know. Chen Changsheng pretended to be confused and said, Humph, since you're pretending to be confused, then this eunuch will make things clear for you. This eunuch will stay in your Chen family for three days. Your Chen family should do your best to fulfill the landlord's friendship. If you neglect this eunuch, then you're neglecting the Southern Domain Royal House. Tang Renjie sneered. Chen Fan, who was walking in front, narrowed a killing intent in his eyes. This is a naked attempt to ask for favors from the Chun family. Sure enough, it's an unappreciated character. Otherwise, 
with the depths of the southern domain royal house, how could someone from the Tang family be greedy for the Chen family's favors? This is starving in the Tang family and taking the opportunity to run to my Chen family to beat the autumn wind, Chen Fan secretly said in his heart. Chen Chongsheng laughed, I understand what Mr. Tang means, don't worry about Mr. Tang that is, the Chen family will definitely provide good hospitality. Tang Renjia laughed evilly, you're still an understanding person. This male is waiting to see what you've arranged. This male is a bit tired. First arrange a resting place for this male. Anyway, there is enough time. It's not too late to talk about the main matter after two days. Chen Chongqing's face twitched, and he cursed in his heart. How could a great clan like the Tang family give birth to such a dog? This little scumbag. Could it be a little bastard born to a certain member of the Tang family who was fooling around outside? Good. I'll leave Mr. Tang to rest. Chen Chongsheng smiled. Fan, just go back first. Tang Renjie didn't mention business, so there was no need for Chen Fan to accompany him. Chen Chongsheng was also afraid that Chen Fan's temper would explode. Chen Fan turned around and responded. Good. Then grandson will go back first. He thought for a moment and then turned to Tang Renjie and said in a cold and deep voice, Tang Renjie, I'm warning you, don't make trouble in my Chen family. My grandfather has a large measure and is unwilling to bother with you much but I'm even more brainless than you when I'm mad. The Chen family can't fight against the Tang family, but it's enough to clean up after you. Go back to your small courtyard. Chen Chongsheng said angrily. He's really pissed off. He put out an old face and coaxed Tang Renjie, but Chen Fan kept lighting a fire. It's simply too uninformed. Tang Renjie was so angry that his face turned blue, gritting his teeth. Packing me up enough? Ha ha ha. I'd like to see how you Chen family dare to pack me. Don't seek death. Chen Fan dropped an icy sentence and walked away. Tang Renjie clenched his fists tightly, feeling like he was going to explode with anger. But Tang Wan's son, he really didn't dare to kill. Duke Tang, you are the descendant of a noble family. While Xiao Fan has lacked discipline since his parents were away from him at a young age. So please don't be general with him. After Chen Fan left, Chen Changsheng hurriedly bowed and apologized. Tang Renjie laughed angrily. Chen Changsheng, you know what? Even in the southern domain King City, no one dares to threaten me, Tang Renjie, like this, yes, it was indeed little Fan who was too rude and went too far just now, Chen Changsheng endured and said, humph, my lord is very angry right now, if you can't let my lord vent this anger, your Chen family, don't even think about peace, Tang Renjie said with a cold face, Chen Changsheng sighed in his heart and said, old immortal understands, Mr. Tang should follow me to the other courtyard first, I will arrange everything, humph, Tang Renjie grunted and said no more, after sending Tang Renjie to the other courtyard, Chen Changsheng was rubbing his brain and called for a few pretty looking maids. Do you know why old husband called you all here? Chen Changsheng said in a low voice. The maids shook their heads. Chen Changsheng said in a low voice. There is a figure in the residence that the Chen family cannot afford to offend. And, this person is not a good person. If the Chen family wants to gain peace, someone needs to make some sacrifices. Among you, is there anyone who is willing to take the initiative to step forward? For those who are willing to make sacrifices, I will reward them with a thousand spirit stones and exempt them from slavery, returning their freedom. These maids, all of whom had signed the deed of sale, their bodies and lives had long belonged to the Chen family. As long as Chen Changsheng gave an order, even if he told them to die, they could only obey. The maids' faces reddened at the words. They naturally understood what the family had was sacrificing by the so-called sacrifice. House master, slave girl is willing. So will the slave girl. If it weren't for the Chen family's acceptance, the slave girl would have died of starvation long ago, and the slave girl would be willing to do anything for the Chen family. Family master, we are originally slaves of the Chen family. As long as you give us a command, the slave girls and the others will willingly obey. Four of the seven maids that Chen Changsheng had called, had gathered their courage and took a step forward. Chen Changsheng's eyes were slightly red, not expecting that these maids with a pitiful background could be so righteous. Good. All of you are good children who know grace and justice. Ah, this time, it's the old man who is ashamed of you, Chen Changsheng said in a trembling voice. Family master, you must not say that. If it wasn't for the Chen family, it's not certain if we would have survived until now. The four girls laughed, but their eyes were red. How could they not care about their innocence? They were slaves, but the Chen family had never treated them poorly. Now it's time for them to return the favor. Boo, the door was suddenly thrown open with a jerk. Chen Fan, who had a frosty face, walked in. You guys go out first, Chen Fan said in a deep voice. The maids looked at each other and all looked at Chen Changsheng. After all, Chen Changsheng was the head of the family. Chen Changsheng sighed softly and waved his hand. The maids then bowed and retreated. Buzz. Chen Fan waved his hand to lay down a ban and said with a gloomy face. Grandpa, isn't this a wimpy thing to do? 
Chen Chongcheng said bitterly, it's a wimpy thing, but what can be done about it? For the Tang family to overthrow the Chen family, it is but as simple as crushing an ant. If a few people are not sacrificed, more will be sacrificed. Chen Fan shook his head, but our spine cannot be bent. If we bend it, when we face the Tang family in the future, we will never be able to straighten it again. I know that you endured the humiliation, all for the sake of the entire Chen family, but the Chen family shouldn't seek to survive in this way. Moreover, this Tang Renjie, he doesn't represent the attitude of the Tang family. There's absolutely no need for us to spoil him. Chapter 131, How Come It's You? But he is ultimately a member of the Tang family. Chen Shangsheng said helplessly. Chen Fan said coldly. Is it hard to believe that a piece of shit from the Tang family is more noble than my Chen family? Chen Changsheng's face trembled as anger surged in his eyes and he gritted his teeth. How could you not understand grandfather's painstaking efforts? A little impatience leads to a big plan. Can it be that you don't want another reunion with your parents? Chen Fan shook his head and said, Grandson naturally wants to, but with this kind of method, it cannot be exchanged for reunion. Existences such as the Tang family, what they value is never the fawning and flattering of a small clan, but rather talent and strength. As long as the strength of my Chen family can be recognized by the Tang family, the Tang family will naturally no longer look down on our Chen family. Although you didn't tell me the reason why the Tang family took my parents away back then. I think the reason for this would be that the Tang family felt that my father was not good enough for my mother, right? Chen Shangsheng was silent for a moment and nodded. Exactly. If it wasn't for your mother's death threat back then, perhaps the Chen family would have long been erased by the Tang family. Chen Fan's eyes narrowed as he asked. Then it's fine for them to take away my mother. Why even my father? Chen Chongsheng sighed. It's sort of a coercion against the Chen family. Your father is in their hands. So the Chen family doesn't dare to speak out of turn. Your parents' union, in the eyes of the Tang family, is a disgrace to the Tang family. As Chen Chongsheng spoke, his fists were clenched, and it was evident that he was also very angry inside. Chen Fan pursed his lips and said, Have you ever hated my mother? Chen Chongsheng froze and shook his head. What's the point of hating her? It's not like your mother did anything wrong. Chen Fan said, Grandfather, you are an open-minded person, but now you are being bullied by a dog like Tang Renjie with his face plastered on it. My grandson is really heartbroken. I don't want to let this become a barrier on the road to cultivation. Grandpa, you just believe in my grandson. This Tang Renjie, he can't make any waves. We really don't have to spoil him. Moreover, my mother has been back to the Tang family for over 10 years now, and although she hasn't heard half a thing, does grandpa think that my mother would have done nothing in the Tang family? If I want to reunite with my parents, would they not want to reunite with me? In these 10 years or so, there was no more visitor from the Tang family. And this time, when they suddenly appeared again, I feel that it will be related to some kind of change in my mother. Moreover, this change is definitely not a bad thing. Otherwise, the Tang family wouldn't have let Tang Renjie come. Because to erase the Tang family, Tang Renjie's weight is simply not enough. Chen Changxing's eyes trembled giving birth to some recognition of Chen Fan's speculation. Chen Fan narrowed his eyes and said, Grandpa, what do you think? Why is this Tang Renjie not in a hurry to reveal his intentions? Chen Changsheng pondered for a moment. His eyes lifted slightly and glowed with some brightness as he said, Is he worried that if he says it early, my Chen family will no longer be afraid of him, and he won't be able to get any more benefits? Chen Fan sneered. It must be so undoubtedly. Chen grew a breath and said in a low voice, it seems that I am really old. In the face of this kind of villain, my heart is nothing but resignation. Little fan, do as you wish. Grandpa has left the fate of the Chen family in your hands. To be honest, after enduring for so many years, Grandpa has long been tired of enduring as well. Chen Fan solemnly clasped his fists and said, Grandfather, I will definitely not let anything happen to the Chen family. I promise you. Chen Changsheng revealed a relaxed smile and said, You can always create miracles. Grandpa believes in you. Perhaps it is only your vigor that will allow the Chen family to truly stand up. Chen Fan made another salute, waved his hand to disperse the prohibition, and walked out of the room. Perhaps, the southern region royal house was not easy to deal with, but he was even more unwilling to bow down and endure humiliation. Born in the world, can endure, can not endure, then blood splash by Kang, even if the flesh and blood collapsed, but also straighten up the bones of pride, standing between heaven and earth. What's more, Everything hasn't been this bad. Since the weak races have no dignity, let's be strong for them. Chen Fan went out of the house and smiled faintly at the maids waiting outside. All of you go back. This young man is very touched by your thoughts. But the Chen family, for the time being, does not need you to make sacrifices. Second young master, 
The slave girls and the others are truly willing to do anything for the Chen family. There is no second main family like the Chun family in the entire Tiger Spirit City. So you really don't need to take us into consideration. We, we are originally a cheap life. There is nothing to feel sorry for. A maid choked with red eyes. Chen Fan's expression sank as he said in a cold voice. All of you remember that even though your status is humble, even though you are weaker than others, no one's life is a cheap life. There are many injustices in the world, and people are divided into nine classes, but only lives are equal, and all beings are one life. Therefore, at all times, do not despise your own lives. The eyes of the maids, all of them reddened, and some of them couldn't help but huff and puff. Perhaps it was only in the heart of the second young master that their lives were not cheap lives. Go back. Chen Fan waved his hand. Yes, the maids choked and retreated. Chen Fan's eyes were cold as he walked towards the guest courtyard. As Chen Changsheng delegated his authority, he could also let go of his hand and go to meet Tang Renjia. Chen Fan had a lot of respect for Chen Changsheng as his grandfather. Therefore, before obtaining Chen Changsheng's approval, Chen Fan was also unwilling to act in disobedience. In the guest courtyard, Tang Renjia had already waited with some impatience. It was then that the sound of the courtyard door being pushed open came. Tang Renjia smiled evilly and coldly. A small family with a collection of wastes is just a small family. Isn't it still at the mercy of this Gongzi? Z? But just as Tang Renjie opened the door of the house, ready to see what kind of posture Chen Changsheng had prepared for him in terms of the people who were the tools to vent the fire, his face, however, instantly stiffened. How is it you? Tang Renjie said with a darkened face. Chen Fan said indifferently, I heard that you have a lot of fire and need to let it out? Tang Renjie smiled coldly. Chen Fan, don't think that just because you're my little aunt's son, I really don't dare to touch you, I advise you to better settle down, or else, you will have to suffer in the future. Chen Fan's eyes narrowed, just some suffering? I thought you dared to kill me. Tang Manjie's face twitched, kill Chen Fan? Then isn't he looking for death? Even if the Chen family side of the bloodline wouldn't be recognized by the Tang family, Tang Wan's son wasn't something anyone could touch. Humph, little auntie only has you as her son left, I won't take your life for the sake of little auntie. Tang Renjie coldly snorted. Chen Fan's eyes narrowed. This is the first time you've come to Tiger Spirit City, isn't it? How do you know that I am the only son left of my mother? Tang Renjie said disdainfully. Of course I know. Your elder brother died young. This isn't exactly a secret in the Tang family. Chen Fan's heart suddenly sank. His elder brother's death. The Tang family actually knew about it. How would the Tang family know about this? Being thousands of miles away? Could it be that the Tang family had been keeping eyes and ears in the middle of Tiger Spirit City? If so, then this I most likely, would be a member of the city lord's Tang family, but what made Chen Fan's heart crash and sink the most was that he guessed that his elder brother's death would be directly related to the Tang family. Seeing Chen Fan suddenly fall silent, Tang Renjie sneered, Chen Fan, I advise you to cherish your little life and stop challenging the limits of my lord's patience with you. Perhaps one day, this relationship between you and your little aunt will no longer be able to protect you. At that time, your end will be very, very bad. People such as you are actually no better than grass and weeds in the eyes of my Tang family. Chapter 132 Can we still get back together? The grass is not even close. Ha! Huh? Chen Fan let out a cold laugh. Swish! He reached out suddenly, strangled Tang in a chokehold, and pushed Tang into the house. Tang Renjie was shocked and furious, instantly wanting to burst out his spiritual power and shock Chen Fan back. But he was horrified to find that he was holding the damn realm of cultivation power. At this moment, even the slightest disobedience to the call of duty, and tried his best to mobilize not. What's going on? Did. Tang Renjie was shocked in his heart and said in a shocked voice. So you're really that black-robed patriarch of the immortal Dao sect. You've been hiding yourself under the name of a waste. Chen Fan sneered. You're right. So guess again. Do I dare to kill you? Tang Renjie's pupils shrunk like the tips of needles as he gritted his teeth. If you kill me, the Tang family won't let you go. Chen Fan indifferently said. Is that so? Then let's use your life to try out the Tang family's attitude. Using his life to test the Tang family's attitude? Don was stunned. This kid is pretty much a brainless madman. You really are a madman. Aren't you afraid that trying out your attitude will cause the Chen family to be exterminated? Tang Renjie shuddered. Chen Fan said indifferently. For someone as arrogant and domineering as you to still call my mother a little aunt. This is enough to see that my mother is still cherished in the Tang family. The death of a person like you is not so bad that it will cause the Tang family to completely turn their backs on my mother. Tang Manjie's face twitched. He didn't expect that Chen Fan would guess that Tang Wan was still cherished by the Tang family just based on a name he called her. In fact, Chen Fan made this judgment not only because of the kind of awe that Tang Renjie inadvertently revealed when he mentioned Tang Wan, but more importantly, 
The Tang family had taken his parents away for more than a decade and still kept them alive and well. If the Tang family really regarded Tang Wan as a disgrace, would this bitter couple still be alive? For his parents to live, either the Tang family still cherished Tang Wan as their daughter, or in his parents' hands, they held some secret that could make even the Tang family pay attention, but the latter is highly unlikely. Chen Fan narrowed his eyes falsely and stared coldly at Tang Renji's eyes filled with terror. You, do you want to die, or do you want to live? Chen Fan asked indifferently. Tang Renji's throat rolled and he gritted his teeth. Nonsense, of course I want to live. Click. Chen Fan's palm tightened violently, pinching Tang Renji's eyes bulging out, his heart terrified. Let's go. You, you're really going to choke me to death. Quickly, let go. Tang Renji panicked and slapped Chen Fan's small arm. Shouting out with difficulty, Chen Fan laughed coldly as his palm loosened and pushed Tang Renji away. With a bang, Tang Manjia fell backwards onto the ground, a violent cough escaping his mouth. You, you jerk, crazy. Tang Renji slowed down and cursed through clenched teeth, but there was no hiding the fear in his eyes. From the fact that Chen Fan was able to easily imprison his spiritual energy, he knew that his strength was far from Chen Fan's. He only regretted now that he hadn't brought the others with him. Chen Fan pulled over a chair and sat in front of Tang Renjie, saying in a cold voice, I warned you not to make trouble in my Chen family, but you just didn't listen. Now that it's come to this, there's absolutely no need for hypocrisy to continue between you and me, since you still want to live. Talk nicely to me next. Otherwise, I don't mind burying you in my small courtyard as flower fertilizer. Tang Renjie's eyelids jumped. Just now when Chen Fan let go of him, he still got lucky in his heart, thinking that Chen Fan wouldn't dare to kill him either. But at this moment, looking at Chen Fan's ghostly cold and indifferent eyes, as well as the chilling killing aura emanating from his body, Tang Renjie was suddenly afraid. Although he was arrogant and domineering, he still treasured his little life. He didn't dare to bet on whether Chen Fan dared to kill him or not. He didn't have the same crazy energy that Chen Fan had. What exactly are you doing here in our Chen family this time? Chen Fan opened his mouth and asked. Tang Renjie grunted. In one more year, it will be the southern region king cities once every five years contest. You weren't qualified to participate. But this time, for some reason, Big Uncle suddenly allowed you to participate. I came to the Chen family to inform you of this matter. Chen Fan raised his eyebrows slightly. The Tang family had always despised the Chen family. So why would this Tang Renjie's eldest uncle suddenly involve him? Is it to get him to make a fool of himself? The southern domain king city, a gathering of heroes, under normal circumstances, what would be the point of the Chen family's children from Tiger's Pillar City going to participate in this kind of competition meeting, other than making a fool of themselves and losing face? Chen Fan said indifferently, What are all the rules of this contest? Tang Renjie coldly grunted, The contest is actually a ring competition for the same age. There are a total of 15 rings. One ring, representing one age. The minimum age requirement to participate in the contest is 21, and the maximum is 35. The ranking of each ring was determined by the number of times the ring was defended. Only those who won three consecutive matches could leave the ring to rest. But those who have lost just one game are no longer qualified to mount the ring. These Don Jie did not hide. After all, as long as Chen Fan went to the southern region King City, all of this could be easily known. On Chen Fan's face, however, there was a cold smile. The next scramble is not until next year. And he, next year, will be exactly 21 years old. It's not a sudden start. It's clearly a case of his previous age not being up to standard. What are the benefits of winning? Chen Fan asked. Tang Renjia had wanted to sneer at Chen Fan, but once he thought of the strength Chen Fan had shown, he suddenly realized that he didn't seem to be qualified to sneer at Chen Fan. Even, he felt that Chen Fan taking the first place in ring number one was almost unquestionable. After all, there didn't seem to be a single clasping Dan realm at the age of 20 in the entire southern domain King City. Thinking of this, Tang Renjia's pupils swelled wide. 20 years old at the clasping Dan realm. What a terrifyingly talented demon he had messed with. He then woke up completely. Chen Fan. Speaking of which, we are still cousins. Is it still possible for us to get back together? Tang Renjie suddenly said. Chen Fan narrowed his eyes and said. It's unlikely that we'll get back together. But there shouldn't be any problem with well water. As long as you don't cause any more trouble for me. I won't be impulsive for people like you and get myself into trouble. But if you don't listen to advice and continue to cause trouble for me. I don't mind going crazy. Tang Renjie laughed bitterly. You're a person who is truly terrifying when you're mad. But this talent of yours to cultivate is the most terrifying. It's only my fault that I realized it too late and lost the chance to be your brother. Chen Fan was stunned. After all this mess, this Tang Renjie actually wanted to be his brother? Tang Renjie pursed his lips, then suddenly raised his head again and looked at Chen Fan. Chen Fan, 
If I am willing to become your eyes and ears in the southern region king's mansion and act as a messenger between you and little ant, do I still have a chance to become a brother with you? Chen Fan said indifferently, do you think that I am the kind of person who was very good at being fooled? From the time you entered the Chen family until now, everything you have shown has made me extremely disgusted, much less likely to trust someone like you, establishing a trusting relationship with someone like you. What you end up waiting for will most likely be betrayal, right? Tang Renji aside and dropped to the ground, his eyes suddenly becoming lifeless. Chen Fan narrowed his eyes and said, just because of my talent, you want to be my brother? This change of heart of yours is quite abrupt, Tang Renji said in a deep voice because you have a great chance of being able to enter the Spirit Mountain Holy Land. Chen Fan, I know you can't trust me, but between us, can we make a deal? Chapter 133, Tang Renjie's Realization Chen Fan's heart stirred. Although he didn't know what the Spirit Mountain Holy Land was, he thought that it must be a place full of opportunities. He was also curious as to what his chance to enter the Spirit Mountain Holy Land had to do with Tang Renjie's so-called deal. What kind of deal do you want to make with me? Chen Fan asked indifferently. This Tang Renjie? In fact, cannot move, Chen Fan also do not want to move, between the two. For now, it's just a verbal battle, whether it was killing Tang Renjie or exchanging him for a soul, the risk and cost was too great, there's nothing wrong with coexistence if it can be done differently. Seeing Chen Fan's inquiry, Tang Renjie excitedly said, I want you to take me into the Spirit Mountain Holy Land, as long as you promise, I promise that I will never find any trouble with you and the Chen family before entering the Spirit Mountain Holy Land and I can do so knowing everything about you, even as long as it's not something that will get me killed. I can do whatever you tell me, Chen Fan said. To enter the Spirit Mountain's sacred ground, it should be the first place in the ring that qualifies you, right? You look like you're already in your thirties, and although you're already at the early stage of the Clasping Dan realm, but with such a cultivation level, it's a fool's errand to try to take the first place in the ring you're in, Tang Renjie busily said. It's naturally impossible for me to get first place in the ring I'm in, however, the first in the ring not only has the qualification to enter the Spirit Mountain Holy Land, but can also bring a martial servant into it. As long as you take first place in the ring, I can use your identity as a martial servant and follow you in. It dawned on Chen Fan that this was what Tang Renjie had in mind. He laughed coldly. Although I don't know much about the Spirit Mountain Holy Land, I think it must be a place full of great opportunities. With such opportunities, what makes you think that I will bring you to share them? Tang Manjie lowered his head grimly and said bitterly you really don't have this need to bring me to share. Chen Fan, it was me who underestimated you, and because of my own problems, I made you loathe me so much that I lost this only chance to enter the holy land of Spirit Mountain. It's useless for me to regret it now. Since you won't agree to it, let's pretend I didn't say anything. But I can still assure you that I won't look for any more trouble from your Chen family. Chen Fan skimmed his lips. I didn't expect that as bossy as you are, you still have the time to take the initiative to admit your mistakes. Tang Renjie said bitterly, because this opportunity one missed is enough to make me regret it for the rest of my life. I had thought that there was no chance of entering the Spirit Mountain Holy Land, but the opportunity arose, and it was me who didn't seize it. As he said that, he raised his head again and looked at Chen Fan. If I had spoken kindly to you when we first met, would you have been willing to give me the opportunity to be your martial servant? Chen Fan thought about it and nodded. Will, such an answer should make Dawn even more remorseful. Sure enough, Tang Renjie heard Chen Fan's answer. First stayed then violently clenched his right fist, fiercely pounded the ground, his hand was smashed, why do you have to enter the spirit mountain holy land, Chen Fan asked with some curiosity, Tang Renjie's eyes reddened and said, my father, he is buried in the holy land of spirit mountain, but I, am his illegitimate son, plus my mother's origin is not good, so I am not qualified to enter the spirit mountain to pay my respects as a member of the Tang clan, as you said, entering the spirit mountain holy land is indeed a rare and great opportunity, so even if I were willing to serve as a martial servant for the others, they wouldn't be willing to give such an opportunity to me, and would only reserve it for their own most important people or clan members. Chen Fan was surprised, not expecting this Tang Renjie, or a great filial son. How did your father get buried in the Spirit Mountain Holy Land? Can it be that the Spirit Mountain Holy Land is actually still where the cemetery of the Tang family members is located? Chen Fan asked. Tang Renjie nodded and said, The Spirit Mountain Sacred Ground is not the cemetery of the Tang family members, but a secret space discovered by the Tang family. However, it's true that anyone from the Tang family who passes away will be buried in it. Chen Fan narrowed his eyes and said, What else is in the Spirit Mountain Holy Land? Tang Renjie hesitated for a moment and said, I've only heard about it, and it's said that the aura in it is ten times as rich as the outside world. There are also ten heavenly martial tablets left behind by ancient powerhouses. 
as well as a marrow cleansing pond. The Heavenly Martial Tablet can be used to comprehend top-level immortal martial techniques, while the marrow cleansing pool can drastically improve the martial cultivator's martial qualifications. Chen Fan couldn't help but be a little disappointed. A chance like that would be a bit of a cockamamie for him. The immortal spirit chi within the heavenly sea pearl was hundreds of times denser than the outside world's aura. Immortal martial arts skills and the marrow washing pool, he will be even more unable to see. With your age and cultivation, taking first place in ring number one is the nail in the coffin. Other than you, the strongest of the others in ring number one is estimated to be at the early stage of the spirit lake realm. So for this contest, you can just go with your eyes closed. There's no need to have any worries at all. Seeing Chen Fan suddenly stop talking again, Tang Renjie said, Ring 1, Battlefield of the 21. Most of the martial cultivators at this age were at the foundation establishment realm, and a few were able to step into the true spirit realm. If they can step into the spirit lake realm, they are already one in a million absolute demons. Tang Renjie didn't even seem to have heard that there was a 20-year-old spirit lake realm within the southern domain king city. However, in order to be able to win the ring for the championship, there were some clans that would allow their disciples to forcibly and dramatically increase their cultivation at the cost of sacrificing their foundation. This is not only the case, but it is common in all the contests. Because it was difficult to win first place in a battlefield of the same age with true talent and strength, some clans would choose to sacrifice the future of a certain clansman at the cost of forcibly upgrading his strength so that he could take first place. Then they would allow the most promising person within the clan to enter the Spirit Mountain Holy Land as a martial servant. In the face of great benefits and opportunities, Within the clans, there would naturally be trade-offs. However, the person in ring number one, no matter how much they were promoted, they could not possibly be stronger than Chen Fan's strength anymore. Therefore, Tang Renjie was very certain that Chen Fan could definitely take the first place in ring number one. Seeing that Tang Renjie would actually comfort him, Chen Fan couldn't help but laugh. I almost thought we were friends when you talked to me like that. Tang Renjie's face flushed red as he said, I'm just disheartened and no longer have the heart to compete with you. Someone like you? As long as you don't die prematurely, you will surely reach the peak of the southern region's martial arts path in the future. Offending you again will not do me any good. I'm arrogant and bossy, but I'm not stupid. Chen Fan's eyes flashed slightly as he said, The fact that you can have such an awareness makes me somewhat impressed with you. Whether or not you can be my martial servant depends on your performance later. Tang Renjie's body shook violently and stood up in surprise. You're serious? You're willing to give me this opportunity? Chen Fan skimmed his lips and said, Didn't I say? Let's see how you behave behind you. Although Tang Renjie's character wasn't good, but with Tang Renjie, a local Tong serving at his side, this trip to the southern region King City would also save a lot of trouble. Although Chen Fan didn't know what the Tang family's true intentions were in letting him go to the competition, he would definitely go on this trip, because the only way he'd get to see his parents was to go. Chapter 134, Is There Still Fire? Tang Renjie excitedly said, Okay, I'll definitely perform well. Chen Fan stared at Tang Renjie's face his gaze filled with scrutiny. This Tang Renjie's excitement didn't seem like a disguise, but he wouldn't trust Tang Renjie just because of that. People like that have to be seen slowly. Who are the people you left over at Qingzhou Prefecture? Chen Fan asked. Tang Renjie hurriedly said, six tiger armor guards, and a Tang clan guest minister named Fong Tai. The tiger armor guards are nothing. They're just responsible for protecting me along the way. But that Fong Tai openly shows some respect for me, but I can see that this old thing actually looks down on me. It should be that the Tang family's people are uneasy about me, so they sent him to keep an eye on me. Chen Fan narrowed his eyes and said, What strength are they all? Tang Renjie said, Six tiger armor guards, three mid-clasping Dan realm, three late-clasping Dan realm, Fong Tai is in the early immortal infant realm. Chen Fan raised his eyebrows, early immortal infant realm? In his heart, he said, The strength of the southern domain royal house is indeed strong to the extreme. Even the guest ministers are all immortal infant realm powerhouses. Tang Renjie said, There are more than 20 immortal infant realm guest secretaries like Fong Tai in the Tang clan, as well as two divine mansion realm guest secretaries, and these, are just the strength of the Tang family's guest secretaries. The Tang family is far more powerful than you can imagine, so when you arrive at the southern region king city, you must not act impulsively either. Although your talent is amazing, talent is talent and strength is strength. This madness in you, you still need to put it away when you arrive at the southern domain king city, or else you'll only harm yourself. Chen Fan glanced at Tang Renjie and said indifferently, Whether I am crazy or not depends on the people I meet. If others are crazy with me, then I can only be crazy. If others don't mess with me, I naturally won't mess with others. Tang Renjie's face flushed red, knowing that Chen Fan was pointing at him. He laughed bitterly, If you think like that, 
It's better if you don't go to the southern region King City. No one from the Tang clan should be too polite to you. Chen Fan narrowed his eyes and said. Why? Tang Renjia shook his head and said. I can't say exactly. I only know that little aunt is grandpa's heart. And grandpa favors her the most. But reasonably speaking, grandpa wouldn't be so angry because his little aunt married and had a son behind his family's back. And imprisoned his little aunt and little aunt's father in the Spirit Mountain sacred ground for more than 10 years. In this, there should be something else going on. It's just that with my status, I'm not qualified enough to know about it. But as long as you take the first place in the ring and enter the Spirit Mountain Holy Land, you will have the chance to meet little aunt and little aunt. And then if you want to know why, you can ask them face to face. My parents, they are also in the Spirit Mountain Holy Land? Chen Fan was surprised. This Spirit Mountain Holy Land, isn't it a good place to practice? Tang Renjie said. Well, I heard that back then. After little aunt was brought back, she was sent directly into the Spirit Mountain Holy Land by my grandfather, and has never been released. Although this seemed like a form of house arrest, the rest of the Tang family was actually envious. After all, this place of imprisonment was the Spirit Mountain Holy Land. Also because of this, everyone knows that although grandpa is angry, in his heart, he still loves little aunt. Chen Fan breathed a sigh of relief in his heart. The news made him feel slightly better inside. The parents were under house arrest, but they shouldn't have suffered much. The only bitterness is that of the separation of flesh and bone that is endured in the heart. Chen Fans but left the chair and stood up, smiling, we'll get along normally back there. The previous unhappiness will not be taken into account. Tang Renjie was pleasantly surprised. Good, let's start over. We'll all be good from now on. The corner of Chen Fan's mouth twitched. Why did that sound a bit awkward? By the way, I don't want others to know about my hidden strength. Chen Fan admonished. Tang Renjie was busy laughing. Understood. His eyes flashed as he asked curiously. Then are you really the sect leader of that immortal Tao sect? Chen Fan smiled and didn't reply. Only saying, I'll call you for dinner in a while. So act naturally. Understood. Tang Renjie laughed. Still have a fire that needs to be let out? Chen Fan played with the flavor. Tang Renjie laughed awkwardly. No more. No more. It's almost cold. Where's the fire? Ha! <laughs> if you really want to. I can get you a few from the sharing place. After all, with your previous nature, behaving too peacefully will easily make people suspicious. Chen Fan said. Tang Renjie's eyes were delighted as he said. It seems so. Then, I'll trouble cousin to arrange a few for me. Chen Fan's mouth twitched. How many more? However, he didn't bother about it. Nodding his head and saying, after the feast, it will be delivered to your courtyard. After saying that, Chen Fan left the guest house. Looking at Chen Fan's back as he left. Tang Renjie let out a long breath. There's more than just talent to be feared in this fellow. Luckily, all these years of living meticulously have allowed me to meticulously come up with quite a bit of experience. Otherwise, I'm afraid that I'll really die here today, Tang Renjie secretly said in his heart. As he said himself, he was arrogant and bossy, but not stupid. Knowing that Chen Fan was so terrifying, he naturally would not continue to be arrogant and seek death. Moreover, Chen Fan was indeed where his only hope of being able to enter the Spirit Mountain Holy Land lay. Those heavenly prides in the Southern Domain King City who had the strength to win the first place in the ring simply wouldn't give him, the illegitimate son of the Tang Clan, the opportunity to enter the Spirit Mountain Holy Land. Although he had the identity of a member of the Tang family, he had actually been living a humble life in the Tang family. This point, not only was he clear about himself, the Tang family was clear about it, and most of the people in the Southern Domain King City were clear about it. After Chen Fan left, he first went to see Chen Changsheng. He told Chen Changsheng about the changing relationship between himself and Tang Renjie. Chen Changsheng was also pleasantly surprised and greatly relieved when he learned of this. He also didn't expect that this Tang Renjie would actually behave after being pinched. If I had known this, when I entered the door, I should have let Chen Fan pinch him hard. So why did I have to suffer so much anger later? It's true that the horizontal ones are afraid of the crazy ones. Chen Changsheng, who was in a good mood stroked his long beard and laughed. Chen Fan laughed. Grandpa, according to what Tang Renjie said, although my father and mother are under house arrest by the Tang family, they should not have suffered much. I will definitely try to meet them at this contest. If possible, I will find a way to make the Tang family release them. When Chen Changsheng heard this, his expression was serious, and he solemnly said, Xiao Fan, although Grandpa really wants to see them, but when you get there, you must not act rashly. The bigger the family, the thinner the favor. Not to mention, you're still a foreigner. Even if you're talented, the Tang family won't think too highly of you. So, be sure to act according to your strength. Chen Fan laughed. Don't worry grandpa. I know. Then I'll go to Sparse Shadow Place now to find a woman for Tang Renjie. You can make the arrangements for the hospitality banquet. 
Chen Chongqing's eyes twitched and laughed. Do you know how to find women for others? That Miss Su is still in your yard. Grandpa sees. This little ninny should be interested in you. That Gu family's little ninny doesn't know when she'll be back. You're just going to keep waiting for her like this? Chen Fan touched his nose and laughed. Grandpa, as you know, I can hide a lot of secrets on my body. And it will always be less convenient if there is more than one person around. Chen Changsheng froze, as if that was true. Chapter 135, Farewell. Thinking of Su Wen Jun, Chen Fan went back to the small courtyard first. Seeing Chen Fan come back, Su Wen Jun's face was unhappy and said, Chen Fan, how long are you going to keep me locked up? Chen Fan laughed, how is it off? Didn't Miss Su come in by herself? The corner of Su Wen Jun's mouth twitched. She knew that in a fight, she didn't seem to be able to defeat Chen Fan. She turned and asked, that Tang Renjie, what kind of person is he? What did you do with him? Chen Fan smiled faintly. The house is supplied with it. This person is a character that even my Chen family can't afford to offend. Miss Su had better not be too curious about him. He is a person who is extremely horny. I was about to go to Sparse Shadow Place to find a woman for him, thinking that Miss Su is still here. That's why I turned back. Su Wenjun's face blushed, and it was Sparse Shadow Place again. Is this woman from the sharing place that good? You're not going to find a few for yourself by the way, are you? Hoomph. Gu Qianwei is devoted to you. You have to be worthy of her. Su Wenjun lightly grunted as a reminder. Chen Fan bristled. Miss Su is underestimating me. I, as a person, am still very clean. And I only like big girls like Bu Yu as well as Miss Su. Su Wenjun's swish face turned red. And she said in shame. Don't make such jokes about me. Unless, unless you admit that you are the masked male. Alright, I admit it. I am the masked male. Why don't Miss Su not leave tonight and wait for me to come back? Chen Fan teased. Su Wenjun. Chen Fan really just so recognized. Su Wenjun instead and feel unreliable. Hoomph. Too lazy to care about you. I'm going home. Su Wenjun let out an exasperated cry and hurried towards the outside of the courtyard. Chen Fan skimmed his lips and followed. He is also going out. When he was about to walk out of the mansion door, Su Wenjun suddenly paused in his steps and said with a grave expression, There is something that I almost forgot to tell you. Over at Tiger Ridge Mountain, a few suspicious people have recently appeared, but our people traced them over but failed to find anyone. I suspect that someone is having crooked thoughts about our mineral veins. Can you send Big Yellow to Tiger Mountain to keep an eye on it? The strength of the Su and Chen families is no secret nowadays. These people still dare to have crooked thoughts. So it's obvious that the power behind them is not weak. I'm afraid that if they strike suddenly, the people over at Tiger Ridge Mountain will not be able to resist. Chen Fan lifted his eyebrows. You can forget such a big thing? Su and Jun blushed and said, Isn't this being angry with you? I originally thought to tell you about this after asking you if you were the masked male, but I ended up being angry with you and forgot. Chen Fan was speechless. This woman was also too able to shirk her responsibility, right? Obviously, he was the one who made a nymphomaniac mistake, but he still blamed him. Big Yellow can't leave for now. Let your master go. He cultivates every day anyway. Where is this cultivation not cultivation? There are mineral veins over at Tigerling Mountain. It's also more suitable for cultivation, Chen Fan said. If something really happened, Big Yellow might not be able to stop it. It's better to let J1 go. It's more stable. However, Chen Fan was also quite curious as to who was so bold as to dare to hit the idea of the spirit mine. Su Wen Jun's eyes twitched. You really don't mind if my master goes over there to cultivate? Jiayuan's cultivation was strong, and he naturally absorbed spiritual qi at a fast rate, which would undoubtedly consume the spiritual or to a certain extent. Chen Fan laughed. Do I look like such a petty person? All right. Then I'll go back and talk to my master. And when the time comes, I'll accompany my master to Tiger Ridge Mountain. Su Wen Jun said. Chen Fan nodded and said. If the other party is not weak, you will come back and report. At that time, I will have my grandfather in Big Yellow back up again. Aha. Su Wen Jun solemnly said. If you can beat it, then leave a few alive and ask for details. Chen Fan exhorted. Su Wen Jun bristled. Why do you need to say that? Ha. Also, Ms. Su is shrewd. Chen Fan teased with a smile. All right, I should go this way. In the future, if you're fine, don't run to my house. Now even my grandfather thinks that you're interested in me. I don't care, but it doesn't affect you too well. Su Wenjun's face flushed red as she hummed. I'm not interested in you. I just want to know if you're a masked male or not. Chen Fan held his forehead with his hand and laughed bitterly. Big sister, how many times do you want me to say it? If I were really a masked male, and you were acting so enthusiastically and proactively, I wouldn't have to immediately take in a beauty like you? Su Wenjun had a face that was instantly hot and steamy. It seems to be ah, oneself so heavenly beauty, heart and show so obvious, 
If Chen Fan is really the masked male, and how will she this paragraph of love, turn a blind eye to it? Alas, it seems like I really guessed wrong, Su Wen Jun sighed. However, soon her eyes hardened again and she said in a deep voice, but I won't give up. After the matter over at Tiger Ridge Mountain is resolved, I will personally go to the immortal Dao sect to look for him. Chen Fan, the masked male is in front of Su Wen Jun, appeared just a few days. Let Su Wen Jun this fascinated? Eh, then I wish Ms. Su a safe journey. Farewell. Chen Fan smiled helplessly and made a salute. Chen Fan entered the sharing place and called Yu Ying to his side. After briefly introducing Tang Renjia's situation, Chen Fan then instructed in a low voice, Tang Renjia has the cultivation of the early stage of the Clasping Dan realm. In front of him, don't use those devil cultivator tricks. Just serve him well and hook him as much as possible. It would be even better if you can get him to ransom you and stay by his side. Yu Ying smiled charmingly. Don't worry, island master. Even if he's at the Clutching Dan realm, as long as he's a man, Yu Ying will be able to seduce him. Chen Fan raised his eyebrows. Are you so confident? LOL. If Island Master doesn't believe me, do you want to try? Yu Ying is ready to go at any time. Yu Ying giggled. Her proud breasts, sticking towards Chen Fan's body. Cough. I believe you, so I don't need to try. Chen Fan awkwardly pushed away Yu Ying and said, Go find a few more sisters and go over with you. Yu Ying giggled and left. Chen Fan had just returned to the outside of the Chen Mansion with four women from the sparse shadow workshop, when he saw a woman's figure, waiting outside the door. The woman heard footsteps behind her and looked back as well, when she saw Chen Fan leading four sooty women around him, a face that was filled with dismay. Miss Luo, what brings you here? Chen Fan laughed lightly. Luo Qingkui returned to her senses and said, I'm here to say goodbye to Chen Xiao. As she spoke, she once again swept a glance at Yu Ying and the others behind Chen Fan, and said indifferently, I originally thought that since it was so difficult for Chen Xiao to succeed in building his foundation, he would be even more diligent in his cultivation, but I never thought that he would have become such a despicable person, which is quite surprising. Chen Fan laughed, Miss Luo has misunderstood, they are the ones I found for a guest in the residence. Although Chen Fan didn't care what others thought of him, he didn't want to carry this kind of black pot. Miss Luo just said she came to say goodbye to me? Where are you going? Chen Fan asked curiously. Luo Qingkite said, Chen Jun died within the Earth Spirit Abyss, and when the Mountain River Sword Sect came to deliver the news, they also gave me a chance to enter the Mountain River Sword Sect to cultivate. I decided to join the Mountain River Sword Sect after giving it a lot of thought. I plan to leave tomorrow, so I came over to bid farewell to Xiao Chen. Chen Fan smiled. Joining the Mountain River Sword Sect is indeed a good opportunity. Miss Luo rest assured that the grudge between the Chen family and the Luo family that should be settled has already been cleared, and the Luo family in the future will be safe and sound. Luo Qingkite bowed and made a salute, smiling, thank you, Xiao Chen, then I won't bother Xiao Chen entertaining the guests, farewell, Miss Luo take care, chapter 136, Fang Tai is here, after saying goodbye, Luo Qingkue left, Chen Fan looked at her tall back and said in his heart, let's hope that there is truly no hatred in your heart, in that case, you can also live an easier life, lol, this iceberg beauty of the Luo family actually came to say goodbye to young Chen, so it's no wonder that Young Chen's position in this iceberg beauty's heart is somewhat special. Yu Ying laughed badly behind her. Chen Fan said indifferently, Miss Yu Ying is overthinking. It's just that the Luo family is now defeated. And Miss Luo was worried that after she leaves, the Luo family will be suppressed by my Chen family. She came here just to ask for a tranquilizer pill so that she can leave with some peace of mind. Let's go. When you meet the honored guests of my house, just do your part and don't talk too much. With a reminder, Chen Fan walked towards the mansion. After entering the mansion, Chen Fan then had an escort, send the four women to Tang Renjie's guest house, and at this moment, Tang Renjie had already been invited to the Chen family dining hall, and Chen Ming and Chen Shuro had also been called out of the gate to accompany them. On this appearance, Tang Renjie was much more humble, which made Chen Ming and Chen Shuo both greatly surprised. After all, they had heard about the matter of Zhou Bo and the others being injured by Tang Renjie as soon as they left the gate. Tang Renjie's arrogance and domineering, Chen Ming father and son since also hated the teeth, but really to Tang Renjie, but found that this young man polite ah, is it hard to believe that it's a misunderstanding? The reason for Tang Renjie's change was only known to Chen Fan and Chen Changsheng, but Chen Changsheng did not explain it to Chen Ming's father and son. This change in Tang Renjie was all because of Chen Fan. In Chen Changsheng's opinion, the rest of the Chen family, it was better to stay away from Tang Renjie. After Chen Fan returned, the banquet began, because of the previous friction. The atmosphere was still a bit awkward even though Tang Renjie had changed considerably. Between the chats, they are basically attached to each other and don't offend each other. Toward the end, 
Tang Renjia took a few bottles of pills out of the Xin Kong ring and gave them to the four members of the Chen family as a gift. This made Chen Ming and Chen Shua even more surprised. Only after Chen Fan accompanied Tang Renjia to leave the table did Chen Ming look at Chen Chengsheng in dismay. Father, what's going on here? Didn't you say that this Tang Renjia is an arrogant and domineering little bastard? How come he seems to be quite nice? Chen Chengsheng smiled faintly and said, It's probably because he's seen through certain stakes. You guys don't need to care much as all. Just go back and continue your seclusion after eating. So what the hell is he? Then, that's something I can always know, right? Chen Ming's eyes flickered slightly as he said. As for Tang Renjie's origin, Chen Ming was still not even clear about it. Chen Changsheng hesitated for a moment and nodded. Good, there are some things that, after hiding them from you for so long, it's time to tell you. Immediately, Chen Changsheng told the news that Chen Jin and Tang Wan were still alive, as well as the fact that Tang Renjie came from the Tang family, the royal family of the southern domain. After hearing this, the father and son duo of Chen Ming and Chen Shua's faces turned white with fear. That's the southern kingdom. I really didn't expect that sister-in-law would be the southern region county lord. No wonder I felt that my sister-in-law's aura was very unusual back then. However, sister-in-law is of the Tang family's bloodline, and her talent for cultivation. Why does she look so average as well? This shouldn't be according to reason. Chen Ming said with both shock and strangeness. Chen Changsheng bristled. She intended to conceal her identity in the first place. So would she have let you guys see her true cultivation level? Back then, when she left Tiger Spirit City, she was actually already in the late stage of the Clasping Dan Realm. Late Clasping Dan Realm. Chen Ming stared at him and took a hard breath. Then after these 10 years or so have passed, wouldn't it be possible for Auntie to step into the Immortal Infant Realm? Chen Shua exclaimed. Chen Chongqing shook his head. It's hard to say, although I don't have any experience in this area either. It's not easy to step into a mortal infant from the late Clasping Dan realm in only a decade or so. In martial cultivation. In fact, the bottleneck at each level of the great realm was a hurdle. It was only that the hurdles of the lower realms were slightly easier to cross over. But the further back you go, the harder it is to cross. Some people stop at the foundation establishment realm great circle in their lives. And some people are stuck at the true spirit realm great circle. Unable to transform the lake in the Dantian spiritual power until they die. There were also people who were at the great circle of the spirit lake realm and exhausted their entire lives, but were unable to gather spirits into pills. As for the great circle of the clasping Dan realm, it was even more difficult to refine the spirit and transform it into a baby. Looking at the entire Qingzhou prefecture, there were at least 30 clasping Dan realm great completions, but at the immortal infant realm, there were only two people. Those who held the Dan realm great perfection were basically stuck in the bottleneck for tens of hundreds of years but they were still unable to refine their spirits and transform into babies. Wanting to break through, it not only depended on the limits of talent, but also on the martial cultivator's own luck. Chen Shua said with an envious face, Thanks to that, I've always been quite sympathetic to second brother. I didn't realize that second brother actually had such a powerful mother. It's just a pity that the Tang family is unwilling to recognize us as relatives. Or else wouldn't my Chen family be bullied by no one in the entire Qingzhou prefecture? Chen Chongsheng frowned, Relying on people is always better than relying on yourself. Don't ever think like this again in the future. If you really want no one in the Chun family to dare bully you, then be strong yourself. Chen Shua's face flushed red as he hurriedly responded. Grandson has remembered. Chen Changsheng grunted. The matter of the Tang family, you guys just know. Don't spread it out. You guys go back. Chen Ming got up, his eyes flickering slightly, and said in a low voice, Father, since you've known about the existence of the Tang family for a long time, haven't you ever suspected the Tang family for Pinger's death? Chen Changsheng's eyes narrowed and he was silent for a moment before he said in a deep voice, Don't suspect anything without evidence. Chen Ming sighed and understood what Chen Changsheng meant. Perhaps, Chen Changsheng was skeptical. But what's the use of doubting the Tang family? In a flash, two days later, on this day, Tang Renjie was preparing to leave the Chen family and go to the Qingzhou mansion to meet up with the others. Unexpectedly, Zhou Bo was the one who came to report in a hurry. Second young master. There are seven people outside the mansion, claiming to be Duke Tang's companions. These seven people look like they're all quite formidable characters, Zhou Body said with a gloomy expression. Chen Fan said in a deep voice, There is no harm. I will go and welcome them. Uncle Zhou, you go and order the kitchen to prepare for the reception. Yes, Zhou Shen answered and turned to leave. As Chen Fan walked towards the gate of the mansion, Tang Renjie also walked over at a brisk pace. His face didn't look too good as he said, Cousin, it wasn't me who told them to come. It seems that my words really don't work too well with them. Chen Fan smiled lightly. They have already given you face by waiting until today to come over. They are on a mission. And they always have to come over to see for themselves before they can rest assured. 
Seeing that Chen Fan didn't seem to be angry, Tang Renjie was secretly relieved. He now cared more about Chen Fan than he did about his lover. Fearing that Chen Fan would be half unhappy, the two men came side by side to the gate of the house. From afar, the seven people outside the door bowed to Tang Renjie and saluted. Young Master Renjie, Tang Renjie said in a deep voice, didn't I tell you to wait for this young man in Qingzhou Mansion? The old man at the head of the group smiled lightly and said, back to young Master Renjie, originally, we were prepared to stay in the Qingzhou Mansion all the way, waiting for you to go over and meet up. However, in the past two days, it was that we heard something, so the old man wanted to come over to verify it. This old man was Fong Tai, the immortal infant realm guest secretary of the Southern Domain Royal House. For this person, Tang Renjie didn't dare to fling his face too much, but his heart thumped instead. Can it be that Elder Fong has already suspected that Chen Fan is the immortal Dao Sek Sect leader? Chen Fan smiled and made a salute. The visitor is a guest. Why don't you all go into the mansion and talk again? Chapter 137 Absolute Demonic Talent Fong Tai smiled faintly as his gaze fell on Chen Fan. I guess you are the Chun family's second youngest master. Chen Fan? Fong Tai laughed. Chen Fan made a bow and said, My junior is none other than Chen Fan. He he, it's true that you are young and have an extraordinary temperament. Fong Tai stroked his hand through his long beard and smiled with narrowed eyes. Chen Fan laughed, seniors fallacious praise, late generation where to call what has the ability. The year has been 20. Fong just built the foundation not long it. Fong Tai just laughed and didn't argue with Chen Fan. Gentlemen, please. Chen Fan made an inviting gesture. Fong Tai nodded his head and said to the six people behind him, then we'll go in for half a day's nuisance. A group of people, along with Chen Fan and Tang Renjie, entered the mansion. Halfway there, Chen Shangsheng hurriedly greeted him with Chen Ming and Chen Shua. After some courtesy, the people entered the guest hall and took their seats. A few maids served tea, fruits and pastries, and were dismissed by Chen Shangsheng. Chen Ming and Chen Shua were a little apprehensive in their hearts, sitting in their seats with a feeling of being on pins and needles, knowing that the Tang clan had nothing good to say about the Chun clan. Now that this group of people had suddenly entered the Chun clan, they would naturally be nervous. After all, with the strength of these seven people, it would be a matter of turning over their hands to destroy the Chen family. Chen Shangsheng had also intentionally led them out to feel this sense of oppression. Only when people are under pressure do they know how to make progress. A day that is too leisurely and easy is a day that tends to make people lose their spirit. Chen Shangsheng laughed, if you all don't mind, then stay in the Chen family for a few days, so that I can fulfill my duties as a landlord. Fong Tai laughed, there's no need to be so polite. Family Master Chen, let's just sit and go. As he spoke, his gaze turned down to Chen Fan and smiled. I heard that Chen Ursheo has been stuck in the Qi practicing realm for many years, and has never been able to build a foundation. But on this trip to the Earth Spirit Abyss, he has finally succeeded in building a foundation. I wonder if this rumor, is it true? Chen Changsheng laughed, it is indeed as rumored. Fang Tai laughed, according to reason, with Chen Fan's qualifications, he shouldn't have stayed in the Qi practicing realm for so many years. This matter is really a bit strange. I wonder if Chen Ursheo can let me take a look. If there are any drawbacks, the old immortal can also help. Chen Changsheng's face changed slightly as he said. Now that Xiao Fan has successfully built his foundation, there's no need to bother old Mr. Fong, right? Fong Tai smiled faintly. Chen Ershao has only just built his foundation. Doesn't Chen family master want him to go a little farther on the path of martial arts? It would be best if there are no ills in his body. If there are, removing them would also allow Chen Ershao to step into the straight path from now on. So why would Chen family master be in a hurry to reject it? Chen Fan laughed. Then thank you, Elder Fong. Chen Fan said got up and walked to Fong Tai, saying, over the years, although there are many people who have seen it for my juniors, but those mediocre people, how can they be compared to Elder Fong? I believe that with Elder Fong here this time, he will definitely be able to see where the ills are in my body. Fong Tai smiled slightly, give me your hand. Chen Fan extended his hand. Fong Tai gripped Chen Fan's palm, and a stream of pure spiritual energy was directly transmitted towards Chen Fan's palm. Spiritual energy, through the arm, converged into the meridians, and in a circumferential manner, rushed toward Chen Fan's Dantian, and then turned out from the Dantian, through the meridians, from running toward Chen Fan's right palm, Chen Fan's eyes and face narrowed, meh, Fang Tai smiled faintly and released Chen Fan's palm as his spiritual energy surged out, Chen Fan's eyes flickered as he said, senior has a smile on his face, but has he found out where my ills are, Fang Tai laughed, this body of yours, there are no ills, Instead it is an absolute demonic talent. Although the meridians are not spirit veins, they are wide and strong, and have the appearance of swallowing rivers and chi. Normally, 
This is not the kind of veins that can be found in the foundation establishment realm. Even if it's an unusual clasping dam realm, the meridians are not strong enough to be at your level. Fang Tai's words caused the six tiger armor guards, who had been sitting silently with him without saying a word, to raise their eyebrows in flight. Chen Shu also had his mouth wide open, his eyes staring in shock as he couldn't help but ask, Elder Senior Fong, since my second brother has such a condition in his body, then why is it that he's only in the foundation establishment realm up to now? Yes, why on earth is that? Fang Tai asked Chen Fan with a smile. Chen Fan smiled helplessly and said, Why is Elder Fong still asking about Senior? It would be good if the late generation knew the reason. Fang Tai laughed lightly, There is a river vein, there will be a dragon day, perhaps, today's not good. Just still in the submerged dragon period, there is no need to worry about the second young man. Feel free to cultivate in the future. Fang Tai's words caused Chen Fan to be a bit surprised, but he still bowed and made a salute. Thank you senior for your enlightenment. Senior will definitely continue to cultivate hard and strive to have the day when he can rise up the dragon. He knew in his heart that seeing the abnormality of the meridians, this Fang Tai had already identified him as the immortal Dao sect patriarch. It was also guessed that Chen Fan was hiding his cultivation. Only, Fang Tai could not sense how Chen Fan had hidden his cultivation, which was why he did not reveal it. Cultivation can be hidden, but the wide and tough image formed by the meridians being subjected to powerful spiritual power and refining day and night cannot be hidden. Fang Tai stroked his whiskers and smiled, saying, the second youngest has a promising future. Go back and sit down. Chen Fan bowed as a salute and retreated to his seat. Now he couldn't figure out what exactly this Fang Tai was harboring. If he said that he had no ill will towards Chen Fan, then there was no need for him to speak about the abnormality of his meridians in front of the others. But if there was malice, he didn't go overboard. Young Master Renjie, when do we return? Fang Tai looked at Tang Renjie and inquired. Tang Renjie didn't want to make any more twists and turns. So he said, if Elder Fang hadn't come over, I would already be on my way to Qingzhou Prefecture at this time. I've already notified Chen Fan of the matter of the competition, so there's no need to linger any longer. Why don't we drink this tea and return? Fang Tai nodded. Good. Chen Changxing's eyes flickered slightly as he laughed. Since you all insist on returning, then I won't force myself. Zhou Shen. Chen Changxing shouted to the outside. Soon, Zhou Shen brought eight maids and walked in. In each maid's hand, she held a brocade box. He he, it's rare for all of you to come to Tiger Spirit City, so I hope that you won't mind if I prepare a slight gift for you. Chen Changsheng laughed. Tang Renjie was just about to refuse, but on second thought, he held back. Given his previous nature, it would be rather unlike him to refuse favors. Then thank you, Family Master Chun. Fang Tai smiled faintly and didn't refuse, accepting it openly. Under Zhou Shen's guidance, the maids delivered the gifts correspondingly. Although these gifts, all of them were of great value, the ones given to Tang Renjie and Fang Tai were naturally more expensive. Although Chen Fan felt that this play was unnecessary, since Chen Changsheng had already arranged it, he naturally wouldn't question it. Zhou Xin and the others retired in full after delivering their gifts. Cough, Elder Fang, you guys can wait for me here for a moment, I have someone else to bring with me. Tang Renjie lightly coughed. Fang Tai was slightly stunned and asked, who does young master Renjie want to bring with him? We are returning to the southern domain, so it's better not to bring anyone unrelated. Tang Renjie busily said, It's someone I'm more interested in keeping close. Please also ask Elder Fong for permission. Fong Tai laughed, You are the young master. You don't need my permission to act. What I say is just good advice. If young master Renjie insists, I will not oppose. This Fong Tai spoke, but it was dripping with water. Chen Fan also became more and more unable to see this person, but he was pretty sure that this Fong Tai, was a shrewd old fox without a doubt. Chapter 138 Immortal Beast Greenbird Chen Shuo's Marriage Robbery I am definitely going to bring her along. This young man has read countless women. It's still the first time a woman who understands this young man so well. Tang Renjie firmly said, the six tiger armor guards secretly showed their contempt. Fang Tai laughed lightly, such a trivial matter. Young Master Renjie can just make his own decision. Then thank you, Elder Fang. Tang Renjie smiled gratefully and left the table. Soon, he led Ewing over. Six tiger armor guards, the eyes of this is a slight light, really is a city of stunning beauty. The body has a more men like the fox charming gas. They finally understood why Tang Renjie had to bring this woman alone. If they had met them, they would have wanted to take them away. Such a foxy woman. With the side, life from now on will not have the word of loneliness. Since the people have arrived, then it's time for us to leave. Fang Tai smiled and got up, arching his hand towards Chen Changsheng, Chen family master. Thank you for your hospitality and gifts. We will take our leave now. Chen Changsheng got up to return the salute and smiled. 
Elder Fong is very kind. During next year's contest, please ask Elder Fong to take care of Little Fan more. Fong Tai laughed. I have already spoken to the Qingzhou Prefecture Prefecture Master. At the beginning of April next year, he will arrange for an immortal ship to come and pick up Elder Junior Chen, and at that time, it will set off directly from the Tiger's Pillar City and head to the King's City. As for the period of the contest, I can also guarantee the safety of the second young master. After saying that, he looked at Chen Fan and smiled. Second young master Chen, there is still one year left. With your qualifications, work hard and you will have every chance to take the first place in ring number one. I believe that second young master Chen wouldn't want to miss the opportunity to step into the spirit mountain holy land. Chen Fan said in his heart, this elder Fong has really decided that I am the black robe. Or perhaps, after coming out of the earth spirit abyss, Fong Wanchi has already suspected me? Senior will definitely work hard to live up to Senior's expectations. Chen Fan returned the salute and thanked him. Fong Tai laughed and said no more as he left the table and walked towards the outside. The Tiger Armor Guards and the Chen family, too, left the table in a hurry to see off the group. When he arrived at the courtyard, the green light around Fong Tai's waist flashed, and a phoenix sound actually came out. A huge green-feathered phoenix bird, with its wings in the air, hovered over the Chen clan. The appearance of the green bird instantly caused the entire tiger spirit city to boil. Everywhere there were cries of alarm and tilting of heads to look up high. Gentlemen, farewell. Second young Chen. See you next year. Fang Tai smiled faintly and flew up in the air first, boarding the back of the green bird. Tang Renjie and the six tiger armor guards, too, flew up into the air and landed on the back of the green bird. This green bird was huge. Even with the head and tail, it was more than 60 meters a little longer than a normal flying boat immortal ship, it was called a giant, and its breath, but also let Chen Fanyard, has always been arrogant big yellow, cannot help but dog eyes a burst of vicious shrink up, peak fifth realm immortal beast green bird, Chen Fan's eyes lit up, it wasn't that he had never seen an immortal beast at the peak of the fifth realm, but it was really the first time he had seen one on the Xin Ling continent, moreover, as a green bird with the body of an immortal beast, if nothing unexpected happened, it would definitely be able to step into the 6th realm or even the 7th realm in the future. Chen Fan admitted that he was envious. This green bird, much better looking and much more powerful than his rhubarb, he couldn't help but think of Little Gale. It was a pity that Little Big Wind's parents, didn't agree with it leaving Sin Immortal Island. The green bird didn't give the crowd much time to appreciate it, and as the 8 people landed on its back, it flew off into the air, and in a blink of an eye, it disappeared in the sky above Tiger Spirit City. The entire Tiger Spirit City, undoubtedly, was also caught up in a feverish state of astonishment and discussion. Little Fan, has this Fong Tai already noticed? Chen Shangsheng said in a low voice. Chen Fan nodded and said, it should be. Chen Shua scratched his head and said suspiciously, Grandpa, what are you and second brother talking about? Are you hiding secrets from me and my father? Are we still a family or not? Chen Ming rolled his eyes and grinned, just hiding it from you. They didn't hide it from your father. Chen Shua glared, so, you guys really have some secrets? Little Fan, why don't we just tell them? Chen Chongsheng laughed, now that even the Tang family knew, there was no point in hiding it from Chen Shua anymore. Chen Fan smiled at Chen Shua, Shua D, I actually didn't want to hide it from you, I'm just afraid that it would be too much of a blow to you if you knew. Chen Shu rolled his eyes, even if that old man Fong praised you as a demonic talent, but in the end, you only have the cultivation of the foundation establishment realm. And with this cultivation, you still want to strike me? Chen Fan touched his nose and tasted playfully. Then what if I am not in the foundation establishment realm? Chen Shua froze. You're not in the foundation establishment realm? Then what cultivation level can you be? Chen Ming laughed. Stupid. Didn't Elder Fong say so? Xiao Fan's meridians are so wide and tough that even a normal clasping Dan realm cannot possibly possess them. What cultivation level do you think he is? Chen Shua sucked in a mouthful of cool air and looked at Chen Fan in shock. Second brother. You, you shouldn't already be in the clutching Dan realm, right? Chen Fan laughed. It's already at the late stage of the clasping Dan realm. I'm sorry, Shua Di. It was actually very hard for me to hide it from you for so many years. Chen Shua's entire body was dumbfounded. He was in complete disbelief that his second brother, who had been bullied by himself for so many years, was actually already a late stage clutching Dan realm powerhouse. When he thought of the scene in which he had raised his fist to threaten Chen Fan earlier, Chen Shuo was simply so ashamed that he wanted to find a crack in the ground. Although my cultivation level, in the eyes of some people, is no longer a secret, it doesn't have to be proclaimed for everyone to know. Chen Fan reminded with a smile. Chen Chongsheng teased. You're afraid that that girl from the Su family will run over and pester you for three days, right? Chen Shuo's eyelids fluttered. 
It turned out that what Su Wenjun liked had always been his own second brother. No wonder she can't look at me. If I were her, I would also like a demon like second brother. Chen Shua laughed bitterly. Chen Changsheng laughed. Don't wear a bitter face. Grandpa will just reintroduce you to a marriage. Chen Shua depressedly said. Who's ah? Is it as good looking as Su Wenjun? I'm shallow as hell right now. I just want a pretty daughter-in-law. Chen Ming bristled. Speaking as if you've been high and mighty. Don't worry. The daughter-in-law your grandfather found for you is bound to be no worse. Chen Changsheng smiled faintly and said. Grandpa has inquired for you. There is a girl in the Lu family called Lu Qingping, who has outstanding looks and is also virtuous, although previously promised to Luo Dingtian. Lu family also verbally agreed, but because Luo Dingtian suddenly disabled, the two marriage has not been finalized. Such a good girl. It's better not to ask Luo Dingtian to scourge her. Chen Shuo was originally a little less than satisfied when he heard that it was a girl from the Lu family, but after realizing that there was a verbal marriage contract between Lu Qingping and Luo Dingtian, a cold smile suddenly swept across his eyes. All right, then I'll marry this Lu Qingping. The Luo family always bullied our Qin family in the past. Now I'll rob the Luo family of this prospective daughter-in-law. Chen Shua sneered. Chen Fan looked at Chen Changsheng in surprise. Grandpa, who has always been open-minded and generous, would actually do such a wicked thing? Chen Changsheng's old face blushed at Chen Fan's look and said, This is actually Lu Sun that old fellow's intention. It's only that he didn't dare to offend the Luo family which is why he begged Lao Fu to let the Chen family take the initiative to propose marriage. Chen Fan dawned on him and laughed, as long as Lu Qingping's character is fine, and brother Shua can look at it, then it's a good marriage. Chapter 139 Soul Eating Evil Technique Chapter 139 Soul Devouring Evil Technique Chen Shua smiled thievishly. Second brother, isn't your great uncle's daughter-in-law, Lu Qingping's sister? Why don't you ask her to help me ask Lu Qingping out and meet her first? Chen Ming laughed. This I think is fine, little fan ah, it's about your Shua Di's lifelong happiness, you must help out in this matter. Chen Fan laughed, good, tomorrow morning, I will make a trip to the Gu family. Although he was disgusted with that Lu Jinlian woman, there was no harm in going to meet her for Chen Shua's sake. Moreover, he hadn't visited Gu Shanchuan for a long time. Now that Gu Chuanxian was not at home, it was only logical that he should go and take a look. Hey, hey, thanks a lot, second brother, but this time, you can't steal my daughter-in-law again. Chen Shua laughed heatedly. Chen Fan laughed bitterly. When did I rob your daughter-in-law? It's that Su Wenjun had to chase me. What can I do? Chen Shua's face twitched. This goddamned second brother. This is in his heart. Ruthlessly inserted another knife. Ah, he likes Su Wenjun. But Su Wenjun can't see him. Su Wenjun chases after Chen Fan. But Chen Fan can't see Su Wenjun. He is undoubtedly the worst one in this love triangle because it's just him and no one likes him. The next morning, Chen Fan prepared some gifts and headed to the Gu family. When he saw Gu Shanchuan, Chen Fan realized that Gu Shanchuan was frowning with sadness, and his whole person had emaciated a lot. Uncle, is something wrong? Chen Fan asked with concern. Gu Shanchuan sighed. It's Bu Shifu who has a strange disease. It's been some time, and it hasn't gotten better. Chen Fan's face changed as he said. Then how come you didn't have anyone to tell me about it? Gu Shanchuan froze and said in his heart. What's the use of looking for you? How useful are you yourself? You don't know in your own heart. Chen Fan touched his nose. From Gu Shanchuan's expression, he more or less guessed what Gu Shanchuan had in mind. I'll go see big brother Gu, Chen Fan said. He wasn't sure what Gu Wenchuan's current situation was, so he didn't make any assurances. Well, I'll join you. Gu Shanchuan didn't think much about it, thinking that Chen Fan was just paying an ordinary visit. The two of them walked towards Gu Gu's residence. Is there any news about you you recently? Chen Fan asked. Gu Shanchuan shook his head. No, but I heard that the Tian Bao sect has been destroyed. If Bu Yu also heard about this, I think he should have returned. Chen Fan nodded his head and said, Let's hope that this news reaches her ears. I'm afraid she's too far away. Gu Shanchuan sighed. This girl, she is just too strong. If she hadn't left, you guys would have already gotten married. It's my fault for not being able to keep her. Chen Fan said in a low voice. Gu Shanchuan shook his head and said, I can only say that it was a misadventure. No one could have imagined that the heavenly treasure sect would actually be exterminated. The two of them had just reached the outside of Gu Wenjuang's courtyard, and the maid who was guarding the courtyard gate, hurriedly ran to the house. This caused Chen Fan to frown slightly. Soon, Lu Jinlian came out of the house, ushered in with a hurried step, and bowed. Daughter-in-law has met father. Gu Shanchuan nodded and asked, How is Bu Xu Wei today? Lu Jinlian raised her sleeve robe, wiped her eyes, and choked. Still no sign of improvement. Father, why do you think Bu Xu Wei is so miserable? Gu Shanchuan's face darkened and he grunted. 
What's the point of crying? Bu shifted will get better. Lu Jilian's tearless fake crying made Gu Shanchuan look really upset. Yes, 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 Bu Xuei will definitely get better. Lu Jinlian hurriedly said. Chen Fan, let's go in. Gu Shanchuan had a cold face and walked towards the house. Chen Fan glanced at Lu Jinlian, whose eyes trembled slightly and hurriedly lowered her head. Following Gu Shanchuan into the inner room, Chen Fan saw Gu, who was lying on the bed, unconscious. Gu Weiwei's face was pale, his breath was weak, and a pair of thick, black, thick eyebrows were slightly furrowed. Chen Fan's eyes narrowed slightly, a green aura that leaped in his pupils. These green-colored eyes of his were a type of pupil art called Qing Xian pupil. Qing Xian pupil not only can break the barrier of illusion, but also can observe the soul and check the spirit. Insight into the human body abnormalities. Chen Fan cast Qing Xian pupil because as soon as he came in, he sensed the power of Gu Weiwei's soul, which was extremely weak and out of place. At this moment, under the Qing Xian pupil, Chen Fan could clearly see the ten black qi, which were wrapping around Gu Weiwei's three souls and seven vampires, continuously eating away at Gu Weiwei's soul power. This kind of evil means was extremely subtle and could be said to kill without being seen. With Gu Shanchuan's realm, he couldn't even discover it. No wonder Gu Shanchuan thought that Gu Wenzhuang just had some kind of strange disease. Uncle, have any outsiders come to the residence recently? Chen Fan put away his Qing Xian pupil and asked. Gu Shanchuan shook his head and said, Ever since Bu Yu's accident, apart from you, where else in the Gu family would an outside guest come to the door? The Gu family had offended the heavenly treasure sect and everyone was eager to stay far away from the Gu family. In that case, the person who harmed Big Brother Gu was a member of his own family. Chen Fan said in a cold voice, Harm? Gu Shanchuan's face changed and he said in a chilling voice, Chen Fan, do you mean that Bu Shui isn't getting sick? Lu Jinlian, who followed her in, suddenly swished her face white and couldn't help but move her feet back. Chen Fan smiled coldly. Lu Jinlian's subtle movements could not be hidden from him. He turned around and looked at Lu Jinlian and said in a cold voice, Big Brother Gu was planted with the soul-devouring evil technique. Lu Jilian's eyes trembled as she gritted her teeth and said, What are you looking at me to say? It's hard to believe that you still think that I'm the one who harmed my husband? Chen Fan said in a cold voice, I think it's extremely possible. You're bullshitting me. Lu Jilian's face turned white with rage as she roared in shock. Bu shifted is my husband. How could I possibly harm my own husband? Chen Fan, don't think that just because your Chen family is powerful. You can turn black and white upside down and wrongly accuse people indiscriminately. Boo, said said, Lu Jinlian violently to Gu Shantuan kneeled down, and again cried, Father, this Chen Fan is harboring a grudge, but also grudges the daughter-in-law at the time wanted to seize the sister's yard, which defamed the daughter-in-law ah, uh, you can be sure to believe in the daughter-in-law, but also for the daughter-in-law to do the lord ah. Uh. Gu Shantuan's face was gloomy and his eyes flashed coldly, but he didn't quite believe that it could be Lu Jinlian who had poisoned him. The two are married. After all, Chen Fan said indifferently, did the person who taught you to use the soul-devouring evil technique tell you that once the soul-devouring evil technique is broken, the person who casts the technique will immediately suffer from the backlash and suffer from the same soul-devouring pain? Lu Jinlian pupils shrink, trembling voice, you, you Hugh want to bluff me, I have never heard of what soul-devouring evil art, just, even if there is a backlash, it can't backlash on my head, and it's not me who planted this what soul-devouring evil art for Bu shifted. Looking at Lu Jilian's frightened expression and stuttering words, Gu Shanchuan's heart sank violently. Can't it be that this poisonous woman really victimized my son? Gu Shanchuan gritted his teeth and looked at Chen Fan. Chen Fan, then do you have a way to break this evil spell? Chen Fan nodded and said, I will break this evil spell now and wake up big brother Gu. No way. You can't move unwavering. Lu Jilian yelled as she got up. Are you afraid? Chen Fan sneered. A murderous aura also surged in Gu Shanchuan's eyes. Lu Jinlian panicked. Father, this Chen Fan is a waste. How could he possibly break the soul-devouring evil art? What if he makes a mistake and kills Bu Yao because of his lack of cultivation? We must not put Bu Yao's life in the hands of a waste like him. Chapter 140, The Poisonous Woman Appears. Lu Jilian's words made Gu Shanchuan hesitate. Yes, even if Chen Fan knew how to break evil arts, he was only a foundation establishment realm after all. Once the cultivation level was unable to manage the cracking technique, not only would Chen Fan be injured, but he would also harm Gu Weiwei. Chen Fan, tell me the cracking technique and I will perform it, so there will be no hidden danger. Gu Shanchuan said in a deep voice. Chen Fan's heart stirred. This would be fine and save him from exposing his cultivation. Good thing too. Chen Fan responded. Immediately, Chen Fan taught Gu Shanchuan the Qing Xian pupil in a soul skill called the Tai Qing Soul Fixing Mantra. Gu Shanchuan was shocked. This was because whether it was the Qing Xian pupil or the Tai Qing Soul Fixing spell, 
They were both extremely profound spells that didn't seem like spirit rank spells at all. Lu Jinlian behind the two. A face, has been pale white. Several times want to quit, but she did not dare to really go. Wouldn't it be a mistake to run away at this time? Chen Fan, this Qingxian Pupil and Tai Qing Soul Fixing Mantra are not ordinary arts. You just taught them to me? Gu Shanchuan said excitedly. Chen Fan laughed. You are Bu Yu's father and my father-in-law to be. What's the point of teaching it to you? The most important thing is to be able to recall Big Brother. Chen Fan's main cultivation technique was the prime diffusion technique, but he also dabbled in other aspects of arts and techniques. Sin Immortal Island has so many seniors and countless mysterious divine techniques. Wouldn't it be a waste of resources not to learn them? There's always a use for a lot of skill. Gu Shanchuan took a low breath and laughed. Bu Yu really didn't look at the wrong person. Chen Fan laughed. Uncle. Save big brother Gu first. Gu Shanchuan nodded. And immediately cast the Tai Ching soul fixing incantation to come. His soul power surged. Quickly forming a palm-sized human-shaped black seal between the interlocking and overlapping fingerprints. Swish. Just at the moment when Gu Shanchuan's spell seal was condensed. Suddenly a strong wind suddenly attacked behind him. Stabbing straight to the back of Gu Shanchuan's heart. Chen Fan snorted coldly. His body sidestepped and his two fingers quickly probed out as if they were steel pincers, and with a buzzing sound, he clamped down on the tip of the sneak attacking sword. Sure enough, it's you. Chen Fan laughed angrily. You punk, how could you possibly block this sword of mine? Lu Jinlian shrieked, her face, pale as a sheet, with shocked convex eyes. He looked at Chen Fan in disbelief. Chen Fan, an early stage foundation establishment stage, had actually used a pair of fleshy fingers to clip the sword that she had stabbed out with all her might. This should have been impossible, but now it's happening for real. Gu Shanchuan's eyes were fierce as he turned around and said angrily, Lu Jinlian, I didn't realize that it was really you, a poisonous woman, who was victimizing my son. When I save Bu Xue and wake him up, I will settle things with you again. Buzz. Gu Shanchuan's palm drew in the human-shaped black seal that his soul power had gathered into, and struck it into Gu Wushu's body. Boom. At once, a wave of black chi stirred and dispersed from Gu Bai's body and then all of it headed towards Lu Jilian's body, crazily failing to enter. Ah! Lu Jilian's long sword came out of her hand, holding her head and screaming miserably as she fell to the ground, rolling around in pain. At this moment, it was like she was being bitten by thousands of poisonous ants, biting her body and devouring her flesh, suffering to the extreme. Chen Fan indifferently watched all of this, that maid on the side, had long since been stunned when Lu Jilian shot out to sneak attack Gu Shanchuan. At this moment, he was even kneeling on the ground, shivering, his face as white as paper, crying bitterly, for his fate, feeling despair. Chen Fan, will it be alright if we don't move like this? Gu Shanchuan asked excitedly. Chen Fan nodded his head and said, the soul devouring force has already been transferred to Lu Jilian's body. Big brother Gu only needs to rest well for a few months, then he will recover. Gu Shanchuan said gratefully, this time it's really thanks to you, if it wasn't for you. I would still have been kept in the dark by this poisonous woman and really thought that Bushue was just suffering from some kind of strange disease. Chen Fan laughed. Uncle said this politely. That's taking me as an outsider. I'm your son-in-law to be. Ha ha. What prospective son-in-law? You are my son-in-law. Gu Shanchuan laughed out loud. In the next moment, his gaze sank, coldly looking toward Lu Jinlian, who was tumbling on the ground and wailing, his eyes bursting with murderous aura. Poisonous woman, why do you want to harm your own husband? Gu Shanchuan asked angrily, Father, Father, save me, save me, Lu Jinlian, however, just wailed and screamed, Saving you? You are delusional, Gu Shanchuan said with cold fury, Chen Fan said, Uncle, this soul-devouring evil technique is a method of the devil's way, Lu Jinlian should have colluded with someone from the devil's way, in this matter, the Lu family should be notified, Gu Shanchuan said in a deep voice, You're right, even if we want her to die, we have to let the Lu family know the reason, Gu Shanchuan looked coldly at the kneeling maid and asked, Are you aware of what Lu Jilian has done? The maid hurriedly fell to the ground and cried, Family master, the slave girl doesn't know the slightest thing about it. The servant girl was only listening to the young lady's orders, looking after the young master every day, and telling the young lady who had looked at the young master every day, the matter of the young lady harming the eldest young master. The slave girl really doesn't know about it. Otherwise, even if the slave girl were to bear the name of betraying the master, she would definitely tell the family master. Gu Shanchuan grunted. If I remember correctly, you were also brought over by Lu Jinlian from the Lu family, right? How could you not be on the same page as her? The maid busily said. Eldest young master is the best master the slave girl has ever seen. It is impossible for the slave girl want to harm eldest young master. Ah, ha ha ha. 
you bitchy servant girl, you're skimming the surface, father, she is my accomplice, the devil cultivator I know was introduced to me by her, if it wasn't for her compulsion, I would have never harmed my own husband, Lu Jinlian laughed hideously, Gu Shanchuan was furious in his eyes and raised his palm to slap the maid to death, uncle, show mercy, Chen Fan hurriedly advised, Gu Shanchuan gritted his teeth and said, such a cheap servant girl, she deserves to die, family master, I really didn't, it's the young lady she wronged the slave girl, oh, the maid sobbed uncontrollably, her watery eyes full of aggression and horror, Chen Fan looked at Lu Jinlian and said in a cold voice, you woman, you are really vicious, knowing that you are bound to die, you still have to drag someone to accompany you, Lu Jinlian gritted her teeth and said, what I said is the truth, Chen Fan said indifferently, there is not a single word of truth coming out of your mouth. She only has the cultivation of the early stage of the qi practicing realm and is a maid. How can she recognize a demonic cultivator? Lu Jinlian laughed coldly. As long as a woman is shameless, there is no network that she can't get through. It's also true that for a loser like you, I'm afraid that even the maids in the Chen mansion wouldn't want to seduce you, right? Chen Fan mouth corner pumped. Chen family maids really did not want to seduce him. Uncle, send someone to invite the Lu family over. Chen Fan said to Gu Shanchuan. Gu Shanchuan nodded and immediately transmitted his voice out. Soon, the housekeeper of the Gu mansion left the mansion in a hurry and went to the Lu family to invite people. Father, my daughter-in-law has done something wrong, and I am willing to be punished. But can you first help me resolve this soul-devouring pain? My daughter-in-law really can't hold on much longer. You can at least leave me alive and let me see my father one last time. Lu Jinlian begged with an agonized face. The pain of soul-devouring? The pain into the marrow of the brain was unbearable at the end. Gu Shanchuan said icily, self-inflicted evil. You are completely to blame for being revolted by the evil art. Suffer it yourself. The men of your Gu family are all heartless dogs. Ha 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 ha. Do you want to know why I'm harming Gu Wenchang? But if he had cherished me more, I wouldn't have harmed him. Cluck 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 cluck. By the way, there's one more thing you guys don't know. I'm already pregnant. And if I die, your grandchildren will die with me. Lu Jinlian cackled. Gu Shanchuan's face changed at his words. Chapter 141, Denial. You're actually pregnant. Gu Shanchuan's face sank, and his eyes became a little hesitant. Although Lu Jinlian deserves to die, his grandson is innocent. Chen Fan frowned and went over to grab Lu Jinlian's wrist. He blushed slightly. How? Gu Shanchuan asked. Chen Fan said in a low voice, she is indeed pregnant. Gu Shanchuan took a deep breath and gritted his teeth. For the sake of the child, I'll leave you alive first. Chen Fan. Tai Ching Soul Fixing Mantra, can it dissolve the power of the backlash on her body? Although Gu Shanchuan had a rough grasp of the Tai Ching Soul Fixing Mantra, he didn't know much about it yet, Chen Fan said in a deep voice, I'll do it, Gu Shanchuan froze, could it be that Chen Fan wanted to cause a mistake and take the opportunity to kill Lu Jinlian, so that he wouldn't have to carry the guilt of killing his grandson? Cough, Chen Fan, it's better for me to do it, the child is innocent, Gu Shanchuan lightly coughed, Chen Fan laughed, Uncle. With your soul power, you can only dispel the soul-devouring demon chi. If you want to dissolve the soul-devouring demonic chi, you will need a stronger soul power congealing spell to do so. Actually, my cultivation level is slightly higher than yours. It then occurred to Gu Shanchuan that Chen Fan had just used the strength of his fleshly fingers to clamp down on Lu Jinlian's long sword that had struck with all its might. Although Lu Jinlian was also only in the foundation establishment realm, even if Chen Fan was in the same realm as him, it would be impossible for him to clip the tip of the sword with the strength of his fleshly fingers. This could only mean that Chen Fan's true strength was far greater than what he had shown. Moreover, whether it was the Qing Xin pupil or the Tai Ching soul fixing incantation, neither of them could be mastered by a foundation establishment realm. What exactly is your cultivation? Gu Shanchuan asked in shock. Lu Jinlian was also looking at Chen Fan in shock at this moment. Slightly higher than Gu Shanchuan. Could it be that Chen Fan was already a late stage spirit lake realm powerhouse? But how is that possible? Isn't Chen Fan a loser? Even if he wasn't a waste, he couldn't have stepped into the spirit lake realm at the age of 20. Could he? This matter? Let's talk about it later. Chen Fan said, then coldly looked at Lu Jinlian and said, you'd better pray that the child will be safe and sound all the time. Otherwise, your end will only be worse. Lu Jinlian smiled coldly, but did not say anything more. She also knew that a stiff upper lip at this point wouldn't do her half as much good. Chen Fan's hands rose to seal and the majestic soul power was channeled in his fingertips, causing Gu Shanchuan to be shocked beyond measure. Chen Fan's soul power, where it was a little stronger than him, but too much stronger. Buzz, as soon as the black seal was completed, it was knocked down by Chen Fan into Lu Jinlian's body. Ah, Lu Jinlian tilted her head and hissed, 
letting out a miserable scream, and the demonic chi that had devoured the Lord, with a boom, dispersed. But what was also dispersed was Lu Jilian's spiritual cultivation. Chen Fan's powerful soul force directly made Lu Jilian's peripheral meridians, all cracked, no longer able to cultivate martial arts. Chen Fan, you went so far as to destroy my meridians, you have an evil heart. Lu Jinlian went crazy and roared with crimson eyes. Chen Fan laughed coldly. I am no more poisonous than you, a snake and scorpion woman. If you are not comfortable with Brother Gu, just leave him. Why do you want to harm him? Lu Jinlian laughed miserably and said, Separation? He has broken my heart so much. Why should I divorce him? He has misused my youth. I want him to pay a heavy price. He is the only male in the Gu family. As long as he dies, in the future, my son will be the future head of the Gu family. And in the future, the entire Gu family, will fall into my hands, wouldn't that be a pleasure? Ha ha ha, what a crazy woman, Gu Shanchuan scolded, Lu Jinlian sneered, that's right, I'm just crazy, if anyone loses half of me, I will make him pay 10,000 times the price, how in the world did Bu Shue negative you, Gu Shanchuan said angrily, he still understands his son's character, always upright, according to reason, should not do anything to apologize to Lu Jinlian, how to negative me, oh, he eyes only Yugu family members. He has never defended me half a bit. When I first wanted Gu Chuanqin's yard, but was bullied and intimidated by this Chen Fan. As my husband, what did he do? Not only did he not stand up for me, he drove me back to my mother's house. Such a man. What use do I have for him? Lu Jinlian laughed in mad anger. Gu Chuanqin's face darkened and he gritted his teeth. Just because of this? The matter is small, but it is enough for me to see him clearly. Since he doesn't have me in his heart. Then don't blame me for being ruthless and planning for my future. Lu Jinlian sneered. Chen Fan shook his head. A woman as radical and crazy as this is really not to be touched at all. Otherwise, you may not even know how to die one day. The Lu family is here. Gu Shanchuan's mind moved and sensed the aura of Lu Sun, the oldest member of the Lu family, as well as Lu Zhao, the current family head. Soon, the butler led a group of people and hurriedly came. Gu Shanchuan, in the end what happened? How dare you do this to my daughter? As soon as Lu Zhao entered the house and saw Lu Jinlian lying on her side on the ground, her face white, she immediately asked with a surge of anger. Lu Sun frowned slightly and said, Zhao Er, calm down and listen to what family head Gu has to say first. He believed that if Lu Jinlian hadn't made a mistake, Gu Shanchuan wouldn't have called them, his mother's family, over while punishing Lu Jinlian. Gu Shanchuan said with a dark face, if it wasn't discovered in time, my son, Bu Shue, would have already been killed by this poisonous woman with her devilish evil arts. What she's suffering at the moment is all the result of the evil technique backfiring on her. And she's entirely to blame. Since I called the two of you here, I won't punish her in any way before the two of you arrive. Lu Jinlian is after all the daughter of your Lu family. Mr. Gu would like to ask you too. What do you think? How should this be handled? Lu Zhao's eyes were startled as he looked at Lu Jinlian incredulously. Jinlian, is this all really as he said? Lu Jinlian hurriedly said, Father. You believe my daughter. My daughter has never done anything to plot against her husband ah. She doesn't know anything about magic or evil arts. Please father must take my daughter back. My daughter can't stay in the Gu family for a single day. Otherwise, my daughter will surely be slandered to death. Gu Shanchuan was furious and said indignantly. Lu Jinlian, how dare you deny it. Family master. Jinlian knows that she didn't take good care of her husband and made you angry. But you can't slander your daughter-in-law like this. Since the Gu family dislikes the daughter-in-law so much. The daughter-in-law is willing to make peace with her husband. From now on, we will be strangers and have no more entanglements. Lu Jinlian said pitifully. You, but, Gu Shanchuan was so angry that his chest was clogged, and a mouthful of blood, immediately gushed out, rushing Lu Jinlian's face. Uncle, Chen Fan let out a cry of alarm and hurriedly fed Gu Shanchuan spiritual energy to help him stabilize his internal breath. Lu Zhao gritted his teeth and said, Gu Shanchuan, you said that my daughter victimized your son. Do you have proof? If you don't have proof, I will bring Jinlian back to the Lu family today. Lu Sun said in a deep voice. Family Master Gu, we can't take your word for it either. If you have proof, my Lu family will never condone Golden Lotus either. Gu Shanchuan gritted his teeth and laughed angrily a few times. Now that the soul-devouring demonic chi that had backfired on Lu Jinlian had been dissolved, where did he have any evidence left? What evidence right? I have it. Chen Fan said coldly. Lu Jinlian's pupils shrank. Panicked. What evidence do you? Have. You want to slander me again, don't you? Chapter 142 Chen Fan's Suspicion Gu Shanchuan and the Lu family duo also looked at Chen Fan. Chen Fan said coldly, How could I not keep my hands off a poisonous woman like you? Buzz. With a wave of his hand, 
a powerful soul force surged out. This soul power, in fact, gathered and surged into a black curtain one meter from the ground. Just when the crowd was curious about what evidence this black screen counted as, the black screen suddenly leapt and flashed some white light. As the white light leapt, it actually transformed into a clear scene of human figures. This silhouette was none other than Lu Jinlian when she had just been revolted by the demonic Chi. Father, father, save me, save me, saving you? You're delusional. Uncle, this soul-devouring evil technique is a method of the devil's way. Lu Jinlian should have colluded with someone from the devil's way. This matter, the Lu family should be notified. Ha ha ha, you bitchy servant girl, you're skimming the surface. Father, she is my accomplice. The devil cultivator I know was introduced to me by her. If I wasn't under her spell, I would never have victimized my own husband. Father, my daughter-in-law has done something wrong, and I am willing to be punished. But can you first help me resolve this soul-devouring pain? My daughter-in-law really can't hold on much longer. You can at least leave me alive and let me see my father one last time. Divorce? He broke my heart so much. Why should I divorce him? He has misused my youth. I want him to pay a heavy price. He is the only male in the Gu family. As long as he dies, in the future, my son will be the future head of the Gu family. And in the future, the entire Gu family will fall into my hands. Wouldn't that be a pleasure? Ha ha ha. Lu Jinlian on the black screen, begging for mercy. Frantic, livid, her complexion constantly changing. There were also the voices of Chen Fan and Gu Shanchuan as well as the maids that came out from the side from time to time. Lu Jinlian had a face that was pale and bloodless again and her pupils were filled with panic. The faces of the Lu family's father and son also gradually went from shock to dark. Gu Shanchuan laughed angrily. Lu Jinlian, you poisonous woman. Let's see how you can still argue now. No, this can't be possible. In this world, how could there be a miraculous art that makes scenarios reappear? Lu Jinlian exclaimed. Chen Fan said indifferently. This technique, called the soul mirror technique, is actually not a brilliant technique. It's just a way of presenting the martial cultivator's own memories in the soul mirror technique. After saying that, Chen Fan looked at Lu Sun and Lu Zhao and said faintly, If you two don't believe in my memories, you two can force your way into Lu Jilian's soul sea to check if what I said with uncle is true. There is no need. Lu Sun sighed. I did not expect that the Chen family's second young master has been hiding his clumsiness so far. With the cultivation of the second youngest, even if it were to destroy the entire Lu family, it would be an easy task. There is no need to slander the golden lotus. Snap. Lu Zhao suddenly stepped forward and slapped Lu Jilian's face. And angrily scolded. How did I? Lu Zhao. Give birth to such a bastard like you. From today onwards. My Lu family doesn't have you as a daughter. Father. You. You can't leave your daughter alone ah. They will kill me. Lu Jilian covered her face and said in fear. If even her own family didn't care about her. She'd really be dead. Even if the Gu family kills you. It's still your own death. Blame no one. Lu Zhao darkened his face and said indignantly. He took a deep breath and bowed towards Gu Shanchuan. Brother Gu, it is my Lu family that is ashamed of the Gu family. No matter how you dispose of her, my Lu family will never complain. Lu Sun said in a deep voice. Gu family master, everything will follow your Gu family's family rules. Gu Shanchuan saw the two of them say this and said in a deep voice. The reason for inviting the two of you here is to let you both know the reason. And I am not willing to let the two families form a life and death feud because of Lu Jilian's fault alone. Now that Lu Jilian's cultivation has been abolished, remembering that she is pregnant, her death sentence can be waived. But from now on, she must be secluded in the Gu family forever, and not allowed to go out for the rest of her life. Seeing that Gu Shanchuan still gave Lu Jilian a life, Lu Zhao secretly breathed a sigh of relief in his heart, arching his hand and saying, Brother Gu is still able to give her a way out. He has already done his best to be kind. Father, let's go. Lu Zhao said in a deep voice to Lu Sun. Lu Xian nodded. Father, Grandfather, you can't leave me behind. I'm your daughter and granddaughter. Lu Jinlian cried out. You are no longer a member of my Lu family. Lu Zhao coldly grunted and dropped a sentence. And Lu Sun and Lu Sun took a big step away. Gu Shanchuan summoned a few guards and escorted Lu Jinlian to an empty courtyard under guard. If she wasn't already pregnant with Bu Shui's child, I would definitely not let this poisonous woman live in the world. Gu Shanchuan said in a deep voice. Chen Fan's eyes narrowed slightly as he said. Uncle. There is something that I don't know whether I should say or not. Gu Shanchuan froze. Between you and me, what else can't we say? Just say it straight out. Chen Fan said in a deep voice. The child she's carrying must be big brother Gu's? Gu Shanchuan's eyes shook as he said in shock. It's hard to believe that this poisonous woman has even gone red? Chen Fan shook his head and said. I just think that if this child was really big brother Gu's, 
she would have brought out the child as her talisman at the beginning of the incident. However, she had suffered from the pain of the backlash for a long time before she said that she was pregnant, which means that she had been hesitant in her mind about whether to say that she was pregnant or not. The most important point was that if she was pregnant with Big Brother Goose Child, could she still bear to harm the child's father? In the future, how would she face her own child? Of course, these are all my speculations. Whether or not the child is Big Brother Goose will have to wait until Big Brother Goo wakes up before we can be sure. Gu Shanchuan glanced back at the still unconscious Gu Weiwei, his eyes gloomy to the extreme. If even the child isn't the Gu family's, I'll make sure to break this poisonous woman into pieces. Gu Shanchuan's face was overflowing with murderous aura, and his voice was cold and chilling to the core. Chen Fan glanced at the maid who had been kneeling and crouching on the ground and asked, Do you know about Lu Jilian's pregnancy? The maid hurriedly said, It was the slave girl's negligence that she hadn't been able to find out. The slave girl is willing to be punished. Chen Fan said, Uncle, this maid should be innocent, but for safety's sake, it's better for someone else to take care of Big Brother Gu. Gu Shanchuan nodded his head and said, Well, turn around and have the maids in my courtyard come over to take care of the unshifted. Chen Fan, Ah, it's really thanks to you this time. If it wasn't for you, Bu Shuwei might have really been killed by that poisonous woman. Gu Shanchuan laughed. Chen Fan laughed. Uncle is being polite with me again. Ha ha, now that Bu Shuwei is no longer in danger, you will accompany me to drink a few cups later. Yes, Chen Fan was at the Gu family, had a meal, and gave the gifts that he had prepared early to Gu Shanchuan, and then left. On the way back, he transmitted his voice to Tong Xiaoxiao, telling him to keep watch near the Gu family. Lu Jinlian and the devil cultivators have unclear connections. Chen Fan naturally want to do some precautions, in order to ensure that the Gu family will no longer have a change of heart. He had just returned to the Chen family, when Chen Shua came looking over with gusto. Second brother, what's up? Did you get a date? Chen Fan touched his nose and lightly coughed. Shua Di, this marriage of yours, may be yellow again. Chen Shuo's eyes glared. What's wrong? Can't it be that even the Lu family's girls can't look at me anymore? What am I missing? Chen Fan sighed softly. It's not your problem this time. Immediately, he told Chen Shuo what had happened at the Gu family home. Lu Jinlian has just planted herself in my hands. Even if the Lu family really won't resent me for this, I'm afraid that they may not still be willing to tie the knot with the Chen family. Chen Fan said helplessly. After what happened, even if there was no enmity, it would be difficult for the two families to be close to each other anymore. Forget it, although Lu Qingping may not be as crazy as Lu Jinlian, but I wouldn't dare to touch the women of this Lu family. Chen Shu rolled his eyes and said, he didn't want to be the next Gu Weiwei. Chapter 143, Delivering Pills in the Middle of the Night. Chen Fan was amused. The dragon has nine sons, and the sons are different. Everyone is an independent body. Lu Jinlian is evil. Lu Qingping may not be bad, and I see that the character of Elder Lu and the Lu family head is okay. So you should not think that Lu Qingping is not a good person either because of Lu Jinlian. It's just that this marriage, it's really not too easy to become. Turn around. Second brother will refine one for you. There are plenty of good girls. Chen Fan comforted again. Chen Shua helplessly said, This matter is better left to fate. Anyway, I'm still young and not particularly in a hurry. It's just that sometimes I kind of want a woman, but I don't want to be like you and run off to a place like Sparse Shadow Place to fool around. Chen Fan's face twitched but he didn't bother to explain. Midnight, Chen Fan, who was in the middle of cultivation, suddenly received a voice transmission. Island Master, the pills are all refined and I've brought them to you. Is it convenient for me to go in? Chen Fan was slightly stunned. Why was this Yu Qi Ling giving him pills in the middle of the night? But she had come, so naturally Chen Fan would not turn her away. Come in, outside the Chen Mansion, a black shadow, leaping in a series of flashes, landed in Chen Fan's courtyard. Chen Fan was already waiting in the courtyard. Linger pays her respects to the island master. Yu Qi Ling, who looked like Jiang Yun, smiled playfully and made a salute. Chen Fan laughed. So many spirit materials, refining them so quickly. Hard work. How can you call it hard work when you're doing something for the island master? Yu Qi Ling's smiling eyes flickered lightly, and with a wave of her hand at that moment, nearly a hundred bottles of pills floated out and hung in the space in front of Chen Fan. One bottle of blood god pill with four pills. One bottle of Nine Yang Spirit Ginseng Pill with 5 pills. Two bottles of Earth Soul Pill with 20 pills. Four bottles of Immortal Spirit Pill with 40 pills. And 20 bottles of True Spirit Pill with 200 pills. Yu Qi Ling took a bunch of pills and introduced them. A hundred bottles of pills. A total of a dozen different kinds of pills. Yu Qi Ling was good at refining pills. So Chen Fan naturally gave her the Blood Demon's Blood Baby, as well as the 10,000 year old Blood Ginseng that Feng Wanchi had given her at the beginning, to refine into pills. 
When he was in the earth spirit abyss, Chen Fan was picking up spiritual materials as he saw them, and he himself was not clear about what kind of pills he could make. After all the picked and robbed spiritual materials, all of them were handed over to Yu Qi Ling. Yu Qi Ling then looked at the spiritual materials, categorized them, and configured them for alchemy. It's true that it's right to leave the professional things to the professionals. Chen Fan laughed. With that, Chen Fan snapped his fingers and struck out two powerful qi, knocking a bottle of immortal spirit pill and a bottle of earth soul pill flying towards Yu Qi Ling. These two bottles of pills, count them as your fortunate fee. Chen Fan laughed. Yu Qi Ling's eyes brightened up, and without being polite, he joyfully said, Many thanks to the island master. Buzz, buzz, the two of them waved their hands at the same time, putting the pill bottles in front of each of them into the Xin Kong ring. Immortal spirit pill and earth soul pill are extremely rare fifth grade pills, precious and unusual, a bottle of value, at least a million spirit stones. By the way, there are also the battle armors refined by Sujin. I've brought them along for you as well. As Yu Qi Ling said that, he waved his hand and took out more than 40 pieces of various types of battle armors. Among the war soldiers, there were long swords and war swords, as well as lances, spears, and halberds. Battle armor, on the other hand, is only six pairs. Chen Fan swept a glance at the grades of these war soldiers and war armor and smiled. Not bad, they are all immortal grade, and more than half of them are the very best of the immortal grade. I'm afraid that there aren't even this many immortal grade war soldiers in the entire Qingzhou region combined. Yu Qi Ling laughed. It's still the island master who is powerful enough to get so many extreme mineral materials. If not, if Sujin is any good at refining weapons, then he wouldn't be able to turn out so many immortal grade warriors out of thin air. Chen Fan laughed. This little mouth of yours, it's smeared with honey. Right. This can also compliment me. Yu Qi Ling covered her mouth and smiled, her eyes fluttering as she said, Island master, it's so late. You're not going to let me go back overnight, are you? Chen Fan laughed. There is a guest house in the residence. I will lead you there. Yu Qi Ling hurriedly said, this is not good. Linger is now Jiang Yun's appearance. If people see her, won't they suspect your identity, island master? Chen Fan laughed. With your means, it's not a breeze to keep people from finding out? Cough. I think I'll just spend the night in your house tonight. I'll make a bunk and I'll leave before dawn. Yu Qi Ling blushed slightly and said. Chen Fan was a bit helpless. It seems that Yu Qi Ling came with a thief's heart. You don't need to hit the floor. Just sleep on my bed. Chen Fan said. Yu Qi Ling blushed and her eyes fluttered. Is, this good? Chen Fan laughed. There's nothing wrong with it. I happen to have something to go out for. Where did Yu Qi Ling not understand Chen Fan's meaning? Her eyes fell a bit and she smiled bitterly. Island master, what exactly is wrong with Ling'er? Chen Fan laughed. You're fine. It's just that I have to be worthy of the one who truly loves me. With a wave of his hand, Chen Fan put away all the immortal soldiers in battle armor. You go inside and rest. I'm leaving. Yu Qi Ling was depressed. What's the point of sleeping when you're alone? Wouldn't it be worse to toss and turn? Although women like devoted men. At this moment, Yu Qi Ling did not want Chen Fan to be so devoted. Yu Qi Ling hesitated. Island master, what are you going to do? Can I tag along? I've been refining pills since I came out from the island. It's really boring. Chen Fan laughed. It's not a big deal. If you want to go, come along. Just now, in order to make way for the beds, he had a change of heart and planned to explore the surroundings of Tiger Ridge Mountain. Previously, Su Wenjun said that there had been people sneaking around Tiger Ridge Mountain, and even though there was Jia Yuan sitting in on the situation, these days, there was no new news coming in. Moreover, when it was discovered during the day that Lu Jinlian had connections with demonic cultivators, Chen Fan guessed that the sneaky people in this Tiger Ridge Mountain could be related to demonic cultivators? Soul-devouring evil technique, in the method of the devil's way, it was also considered quite a clever means. Ordinary devil cultivators, could not be these. When Yu Qi Ling saw that Chen Fan was willing to take her with him, she rejoiced. Many thanks to Island Master for being willing to take Ling'er with him. Island Master is so kind. Chen Fan rubbed his nose. This is really good? Cough. Let's go then. Chen Fan laughed. Islander, I want to go too. Big Yellow said with a hefty smile. You stay and watch the house. Chen Fan skimmed his lips. Okay. Big Yellow helplessly answered. And in his heart, he couldn't help but slander. I'm a golden spirit dog and I'm too big of a demon to be used only to watch the house, right? But it and the island master even more familiar, but also do not dare to disobey the orders of the island master, can only enviously look at this pair of men and women, flying up in the air, did not into the dark night, Tiger Ridge Mountain was not far away, and the two of them were extremely fast, in a few breaths, the duo reached the sky above Tiger Ridge Mountain, both of them were concealing their auras, 
and even Jia Yuan didn't notice their arrival, and the others, even more so, were unlikely to notice. Island Master, there is a small spirit vein down here, what are we doing here? Is it to rob them of their spirit stones? Yu Qi Ling asked. Chen Fan laughed. This spirit vein is my Chen family's. What am I doing robbing my own family's spirit stones? He he. Then if you come here in the middle of the night, am I not to suspect that you are harboring some bad thoughts? Yu Qi Ling laughed evilly. Chen Fan teased. That applies to yourself as well, doesn't it? Yu Qi Ling blushed and said. Yes, it's just a pity that the island master doesn't appreciate my bad intentions. Ahem. Let's see if there are any sneaky traces nearby. Someone has been eyeing this spirit vein recently. Let's uncover him. Chen Fan changed the topic and said. Chapter 144 Blood Refining Soul Devouring Formation The two of them circled around Tiger Ling Mountain. Even though there was a night cover. If there really was someone hiding around. With the duo's strength. They should be able to detect it. But that is not the case. The two didn't even see a ghostly figure. Strange. Can't it be that after those people stepped on the spot. They realized that the Chen family was not to be messed with and took the initiative to stop? Chen Fan frowned. But that's not right either. Those people should have known the strength of the Chen family while they knew about the Tiger Ridge Mountain Spirit Vein. So if they were afraid of the Chen family, how would they still come to step on the spot? Chen Fan was suspicious in his heart. Immediately, he transmitted his voice to Jia Yuan, telling him to quietly come out and meet him. Soon, Jia Yuan arrived at the place where Chen Fan and Yu Qi Ling were resting. Seeing Chen Fan with a stunningly beautiful woman by his side in the middle of the night, Jia Yuan secretly felt pity for his disciple in his heart. The old man has met the island master. He he, you really consider yourself an old man. Chen Fan laughed. Jia Yuan laughed dryly. Get used to it, island master. This is, she is Jian Yun, daughter of Jiang Huan, in the same situation as you, one of our own. Chen Fan laughed. When Yu Qi Ling left the island, Chen Fan had already had Jia Yuan and the others return to Tiger Spirit City, and this was the first time the two had met. With an envious face, Jia Yuan looked at Jiang Yun's young and beautiful appearance. The heart is sore, but it's understood. Women, the island owner must find a young and beautiful skin to be placed. Not only eye candy, but also can be used to accompany. You came to Tiger Ridge Mountain. It's been a few days. Have you found anything? Chen Fan asked about business. Jia Yuan shook his head and said, I have carefully searched. There are no suspicious traces in this neighborhood ah. These past few days, it has also been peaceful. Chen Fan nodded and said, I just looked around and didn't find anything unusual. However, the guards of Tiger Ridge Mountain should not be aimless. Those people, they should have appeared. Yu Qi Ling suddenly said, Have you noticed that this Tiger Ridge Mountain seems to be too quiet? Chen Fan and Jia Yuan both raised their eyebrows. Right, it's too quiet. That's just not normal. Even though it was nighttime at the moment, there were some beasts and birds that just came out at night. But now, under the shroud of night in the Tiger Ridge Mountains, there was only the chirping of insects, but not a single bird call, not to mention the sound of beasts roaring. Jia Yuan thought for a moment and said, Could it be that those guards guarding Tiger Ridge Mountain have finished hunting all the flying birds and beasts here? It is not uncommon to hunt birds and beasts on the spot to improve your meals. Chen Fan shook his head and said, Under normal circumstances, Flying birds and beasts are not that easy to be killed off, unless someone does it deliberately. He narrowed his eyes and said, The three of us will separate and check on foot. If we find anything, soul sounds will be transmitted. Yes, Jia Yuan and Yu Qi Ling responded, then quickly leapt and flashed away. Chen Fan, alone, also started to turn around and cast his Qing Xian pupil. The blinding glare can be checked for omissions. However, after walking for several miles, Chen Fan did not find any hidden power fluctuations. Are we really being paranoid? Chen Fan could not help but say in his heart. But he always had the feeling that there was something here. Click. Suddenly, a crunching sound came from under Chen Fan's feet. But what really caught his attention was not the crunching sound, but the extremely subtle sinking sensation he felt on the soles of his feet. The Tiger Ridge Mountains are hard and solid, and this sinking feeling is normally only experienced when walking in wetlands where leaves have accumulated. Chen Fan took a few steps backward followed by a palm wind that blasted into the ground where he had stepped on. Boom! The powerful palm wind lifted the fallen leaves and dust off the ground. A wooden board, revealed in front of Chen Fan's eyes. Chen Fan's eyes narrowed as he stepped forward to lift the wooden board, and underneath the wooden board was actually a half-meter deep pit, in which a black and a red, two round crystals that did not need to be colored were placed. Blood prana stone, soul refining bead. Chen Fan's eyes shrunk slightly, frost suddenly piled up on his face, and his heart stormed and exploded. Seeing these two things, he finally understood what those sneaky people really wanted to do. It's true that the visitors are not good. No wonder you dare to set your eyes on the Su and Chen family's industries. 
It's just a pity that you still underestimated the strength of my Chen family. Chen Fan grunted angrily and took the blood vitality stone and soul refining bead out of the pit and put them into the Xin Kong ring. He then recovered the pit with boards, covered it with dust and fallen leaves, and restored it as if it had not been touched. Those who appeared before have secretly laid the formation base of the blood refining soul devouring formation in the mountains and forests. Pay attention to your feet. Find out where the formation base is. Take out the blood refining stone and soul refining pearl, and then restore it to its original state. Chen Fan transmitted his voice to Zhang Yun and Jia Yuan, who were several miles away. These assholes. How dare they lay such an evil formation in the Tiger Ridge Mountain. It seems that not only are they looking at the spirit mine, but they also want to refine all of us along with them. Jia Yuan said with an angry white face. Yu Qi Ling was also a bit alarmed at the sound of his voice. The blood refining soul devouring formation was an extremely vicious and overbearing devilish evil formation. Once opened, trapped in the formation. If you cannot break the formation in a short period of time to escape, all the living beings in the formation will be refined by the power of the formation into a blood soul spirit mass. After a night of busy work, the three of them found a total of 77 formation bases in the Tiger Ridge Mountains. 77 places. That's right. No omissions, Chen Fan said in a cold voice. It seems that the one that has its eyes on us is a demonic cultivation force, Jia Yuan said in a cold and deep voice. It's just a pity that for the time being, we don't know where the other party comes from. Otherwise, we can gather the crowd and kill them directly in their lair. Chen Fan narrowed his eyes and said, They have obviously laid the formation base, but they have not opened the grand formation. Guess, why is that? J1 frowned. Yeah, why is that? It's a bit strange. Yu Qi Ling said, Is it possible that some important person among them hasn't come here yet? So they're waiting? Chen Fan said, There is this possibility, but I think that there is another possibility. Jia Yuan and Yu Qi Ling all looked at Chen Fan. Chen Fan sneered. They have a big appetite. Just refining a spirit vein in these guards in the mountain won't satisfy their ambitions. Jia Yuan's face sank. What the island master means is that those previous movements were deliberately discovered by their patrolling guards? The purpose is to cause the Su Chen two families to be wary, so that they can send more manpower and come to guard the area? Chen Fan laughed coldly. Spirit veins are extremely important to a family of the size of the Su and Chen families. Calling it a lifeline is not too much to ask. The people they really want to lure to the mountain are not more ordinary guards, but a clasping Dan realm like my grandfather. Refining one clasping Dan realm. That's more blood soul spirit power than you'd get from refining hundreds of ordinary guards. Jia Yuan and Yu Qi Ling both had murderous auras exploding in their eyes. They all understood the position of Chen Shangsheng and Chen Fan's heart. Perhaps there is someone that knows their details. I'll go back to Tiger Spirit City. Zhang Yun, don't go back for now. Hide in the mountains. In case something happens, you can help, Chen Fan said in a deep voice. Zhang Yun busily said, Good. At this time, I won't leave even if the island master drives me away. Jia Yuan, go back to the camp first. Don't make any noise. Just do everything as usual. Yes. After the command, Chen Fan flew away and returned to Tiger Spirit City. He once again visited the Gu family. Chapter 145, Shameless Woman. Chen Fan naturally came for Lu Jinlian. After entering the Gu family, out of respect, Chen Fan asked for permission from Gu Shanchuan. At this time, Gu Shanchuan had complete trust in Chen Fan and naturally granted Chen Fan's request to see Lu Jinlian. Under the butler's guidance, Chen Fan arrived at the small courtyard where Lu Jinlian was imprisoned. A woman with a clean cut, rather English look came out of the house. This woman was none other than Gu Qianli's personal maid, Zi Ling. After Gu Qianli left, Gu Shanchuan asked Zi Ling to guard the spirit Lan Yuan while also giving her quite a few spirit stones so that she could cultivate properly. Now, Zi Ling had successfully built her foundation. Gu Shanchuan should be thinking that if Gu Yunchuan's cultivation could not be restored, he would have Zi Ling protect her in the future. Greetings, Auntie. Zi Ling bowed and shouted when she saw Chen Fan. Chen Fan was delighted and laughed. That's a good title. Zi Ling laughed and said, After Auntie left the house yesterday, the head of the family instructed that in the future, when the people of the Gu house see you, they should all call you Auntie. Chen Fan laughed. Then the next time I see Uncle again, I can't call uncle anymore, I have to call father-in-law. Zi Ling smiled, and a touch of gloom was added to her eyes. If Miss knew, she would be very happy. Chen Fan laughed. Boo you will come back. Aha. Uh -huh. I'm going to go in and ask something. You guard the door. After the instructions, Chen Fan walked into the house. Inside the house, Lu Jilian's hair was scattered against the edge of the bed, paralyzed on the floor. And when she saw Chen Fan come in, her eyes suddenly showed ferocity. What are you doing here? Haven't you victimized me enough? Lu Jinlian roared. Chen Fan said indifferently, The person who really harmed you is yourself. Of course, 
There is also the devil cultivator who helped you behind your back. If he didn't embolden you and teach you evil arts, you didn't have the guts or the means to lay your hands on Big Brother Gu. Lu Jinlian smiled coldly. Chen Fan, you really think that I, Lu Jinlian, am stupid, don't you? Do you think that I will be counted by you a second time? Chen Fan sneered. If you weren't stupid, you wouldn't have come this far, much less be pregnant with the child of a demon cultivator. Lu Jinlian's eyes shook and her lips and teeth trembled slightly as she said. You fart. The child is Gu Junwa's. Chen Fan, you have a poisonous heart. You wasted my cultivation. And you want to slander me for having an affair with a demonic cultivator. And completely take my life aren't you? What deep hatred do I have with you? Chen Fan indifferently said. Whether it is a slander or not. You know in your own heart. You also know that after the child is born. His birth will not be able to be hidden. You are just delaying time with the child now. But do you really think that the demonic cultivator behind you? He will come to save you? In his eyes, you are just a dispensable plaything. Lu Jilian's face was hideous as she looked at Chen Fan in death. She couldn't wait to pounce over and ruthlessly bite off a few pieces of flesh from Chen Fan's body. But after seeing Chen Fan's strength, she knew that even if she pounced on him, she would not be able to hurt him in the slightest. Tell me who this devil cultivator is and where he is now. Chen Fan narrowed his eyes. Lu Jinlian laughed angrily. All right, I'll tell you. There's actually no devil cultivator at all. That soul-devouring evil technique is nothing more than a secret book of the devil sect that I happened to get and learn from it. Chen Fan sneered. Is that so? Since you refuse to tell the truth, then I can only use some devilish means to get the information I want to know. Lu Jinlian's pupils shrunk. Horrified. What do you, you want to do? Chen Fan sneered. Although your memories are filthy, if you don't say anything, I can only enter your soul sea and rummage for the information I want to know myself. Lu Jinlian exclaimed in shock. No, don't. I risk becoming demented this way. Chen Fan coldly hummed. Even so, it's still your own choice. After saying that, he stretched out his palm and pressed it against the top of Lu Jinlian's head. Lu Jinlian was horrified to the core. Suddenly, she violently stretched out her hands, grasped Chen Fan's palms, and pressed hard against her right breast. Quickly come to people ah. Chen Fan this animal, Shang wants to force, violate me. Quickly come to save me. The shriek from Lu Jilian's mouth caused Chen Fan's brain to buzz. This woman. It's so shameless. So shameless. With a jolt of spiritual power in his palm. Chen Fan shook Lu Jilian's hands away as he sneered. Do you think anyone will believe you if you shout like that? Seeing that Zi Ling really didn't rush in. Lu Jilian gritted her teeth and said. What about this? Fizzle. Lu Jilian actually violently tore open her own clothes. So that a pair of white soft flesh. Collapsed and popped out. Exposed in front of Chen Fan. Chen Fan was stunned. This woman. She's actually crazy to this extent. Seeing that she was like this and Chen Fan had no intention of withdrawing. Lu Jinlian clenched her teeth and even put her hand under her skirt. Even pulling away the covering cloth below. If it was any other woman. Chen Fan would just let her be. It's not a loss to look at it for nothing. But Lu Jinlian was. After all. Gu Jinlian's woman. Buzz. Chen Fan raised his hand and blasted out a spiritual force, transforming it into a forbidden force that imprisoned Lu Jilian's body. Lu Jilian's hand, too, froze under her skirt, unable to move half a point further. I really underestimated your shamelessness. Chen Fan's face darkened. He originally thought that Lu Jilian was already an invalid and couldn't make any demons, but I didn't expect that this woman was even more bottomless than he imagined. In order to avoid his soul-searching technique, she even pulled her own clothes to frame him but you also underestimate me. Chen Fan snorted coldly and pressed his large hand towards Lu Jilian's head. Boom! His soul power surged towards Lu Jilian's soul C. Chen Fan was not that kind of innocent little man. This little tactic of Lu Jilian's couldn't force him back yet. He didn't even help Lu Jilian cover her body. Since she's shameless herself, let her keep that shamelessness. Buzz. Soon, Chen Fan moved his palm. Lu Jilian also fell into a coma under the impact of Chen Fan's soul power. Lu Jilian, you really deserve to die. Chen Fan's eyes were fierce and murderous. From Lu Jinlian's memories, he found the demonic cultivator named Tu Sanchi. Lu Jinlian not only betrayed Gu Steady and got pregnant with Tu Sanchi's child, but even promised Tu Sanchi that when Gu Chuanxian returned to the Gu family in the future, she would create an opportunity for Tu Sanchi so that he could defile Gu Chuanxian. Boo! Chen Fan kicked open the door of the house and walked out. Outside, Zi Ling's eyes flickered, and she said with some embarrassment, Auntie, are you? You alright? Chen Fan did not lay down a prohibition to isolate the sound inside. Zi Ling naturally heard them all. But she trusted Chen Fan and would definitely not do anything worse than a beast. Zi Ling, thank you for your trust. Chen Fan took a deep breath and said. Zi Ling blushed and said. 
Ziling believes in Mrs. Vision, so naturally she will also believe in Auntie. Chen Fan laughed. Bu Yu is also lucky to have a sister like you. Ziling's face reddened even more when she was complimented. Gu Shanchuan hurriedly arrived and asked in an urgent voice, Chen Fan, what happened? Chen Fan had already sent a message to Gu Shanchuan when he came out. Chen Fan said in a low voice, Uncle, the child is not big brother Gu's. Click, click. Gu Shanchuan's fists clenched violently, his eyes bursting with murderous anger. Then there's no need to keep this poisonous woman alive anymore. Gu Shanchuan said, about to rush in. Chen Fan pulled him back and said, Uncle, before you go in, there is something that I must explain to you first. Chapter 146 Blood Soul Sect Gu Shanchuan asked, Chen Fan, what do you want to explain? Chen Fan said, Lu Jilian's appearance at this moment is somewhat indecent. However, it is by no means because I have bullied her, but rather it is her own shirt that she has lifted in an attempt to force me out of the room and to alienate my relationship with the Gu family. Although this matter was of no concern to Chen Fan, but after all, it was about the face of the Gu family, and Chen Fan did not want to create a misunderstanding. As expected, Gu Shanchuan's face changed slightly. Lu Jinlian, no matter how bad she is, is still the daughter-in-law of the Gu family on the surface. This woman, she really has no bottom line. Gu Shanchuan gritted his teeth. He had trust in Chen Fan. So naturally, he wouldn't doubt Chen Fan. Zi Ling, go in and help her organize her clothes. Gu Shanchuan instructed Zi Ling. Zi Ling hurriedly nodded and trotted into the house. Gu Shanchuan looked at Chen Fan and said, Chen Fan, I have absolute trust in you. You don't need to worry. Just now, you said that the child is not Bu Shue's. Could it be that devil cultivator Tu Sanchi's that you mentioned in your mouth? This Tu Sanchi, who is he? Chen Fan said in a deep voice. This Tu Sanchi, a newly promoted elder of the Blood Soul sect, hooked up with Lu Jinlian about three months ago, seven days ago. Lu Jinlian and Tu Sanchi even met in a mountain forest north of the city during which she personally told Tu Sanchi that she was pregnant with Tu Sanchi's child. This bitch, Gu Shanchuan cursed angrily. However, this blood soul sect, which I haven't heard of, how strong is it? Gu Shanchuan asked. Chen Fan nodded and said, there is some strength. Tu Sanchi as well as the blood soul sect, just leave it to me to deal with. Gu Shanchuan took a low breath and said in a deep voice, I dragged you into this. Chen Fan shook his head, although Lu Jilian's memories did not have anything related to Tiger Ridge Mountain. Chen Fan guessed that the one who hit Tiger Ridge Mountain's spirit vein idea should be this blood soul sect. If he hadn't guessed wrongly, it was after this Lu Jinlian and Tu Sancher hooked up that Tu Sancher learned about the news of the spirit vein in Tiger Ridge Mountain, and then talked the blood soul sect into coming to snatch it. Timing, right on. The blood refining soul devouring array and the identity of the demonic cultivator. Also matched. At this moment, Zi Ling walked out and bowed. Family master, auntie, it's been taken care of. Gu Shanchuan's eyes flashed with murderous anger as he walked briskly towards the house. Soon, Gu Shanchuan and Chen Fan entered the bedroom. With a wave of his hand, Chen Fan dispersed the confining force on Lu Jinlian. Lu Jinlian felt her body lighten and her person slowly woke up. As soon as she woke up, she saw Gu Shanchuan's fierce eyes that wanted to kill. Father, father, I am still carrying the child of Bu Shue. You can't kill me. Lu Jinlian shouted in shock and trembling. Bitch, you still want to cheat me. Gu Shanchuan roared and he took out a long sword. Lu Jinlian exclaimed, Father, there is a real possibility that the child may not move. In case it is killed by mistake, you will also regret it. Pust. Gu Shanchuan stabbed his sword straight through, directly piercing Lu Jinlian's throat. Lu Jinlian stared with bulging eyes, blood in her mouth, gurgling and spraying out. Even if the child is really immovable, with a mother like you, the child will live a miserable life in the future. The one who killed you is me, but the one who killed this child, is you, pust. Gu Shanchuan grimly drew his longsword. Blood sprayed wildly. Lu Jinlian covered her wound with both hands to death, trying to retain her blood, but the blood continued to gush out through her fingers. Boo. Lu Jinlian's body fell sideways and kept convulsing. Men, drag this bitch out and bury her. Gu Shanchuan's bloodshot eyes drank furiously. Soon, several guards hurriedly ran in and carried Lu Jinlian's body away. Gu Shanchuan dropped into a chair, his murderous aura not yet dispersed on his face trembling slightly. When something like this happened to the Gu family, he naturally felt extremely bad in his heart. Uncle, I have a soul-nourishing qi condensing pill here. Take one. Chen Fan took out an earth soul pill and sent it to Gu Shanchuan. Gu Shanchuan didn't think much about it, took the elixir, and took it. The elixir melted in his mouth and instantly transformed into a majestic and pure soul power, causing Gu Shanchuan's entire body to be stunned. Chen Fan, this elixir, is so strong in soul power. 
I'm afraid it's not of a low grade. Gu Shanchuan said in shock. Chen Fan laughed. Uncle here absorb and refine it. There is another one here. Turn around and feed it to big brother Gu. It will help him recover soon. I still have some things to do. So I will go back first. Chen Fan. This elixir. Thanks. Gu Shanchuan was moved. Although Chen Fan didn't say what grade of elixir it was. Gu Shanchuan could naturally feel that it was by no means extraordinary when he tried the effects of the medicine himself. A son-in-law and half a son. You don't have to be so polite with me. Chen Fan smiled. Made a salute and left. A son-in-law and half a son. Good. Not you this girl. See people's vision. Really too much better than me as a father. Gu Shanchuan was both relieved and bitter. The marriage between Gu Weiwei and Chen Fan was set by Elder Gu and Chen Changcheng back then. Ever since Chen Fan's first foundation building failure, Gu Shanchuan had actually had the idea of repenting the marriage. Only that Gu Yunchuan had been infatuated with Chen Fan and refused to repent the marriage. Gu and Lu Jilian's marriage. On the other hand, he and Lu Zhao set. Chen Fan didn't go directly to Tiger Ridge Mountain. He went back to the Chen family. Last night, Yu Qi Ling sent pills, and these pills, Chen Fan did not intend to take by himself alone. If he wanted the Chen family to grow, he couldn't be the only one who was strong. He called Chen Changsheng, Chen Ming, and Chen Shua to one place and took some of the pills, as well as three pairs of immortal armor and three immortal grade long swords. The three of them, Chen Changsheng, were stunned. Little Fan, so many good things, where did you get them? Chen Ming said excitedly. Chen Fan laughed. Second uncle. As things are now, I won't hide it from you. In fact, the black robe that destroyed the heavenly treasure sect was me. Some of these things, I obtained in the earth spirit abyss, while others are from the heavenly treasure sect's collection. Chen Fan didn't say that he had Yu Qi Ling and Su Jin refine it. Saying too much is rather hard to explain. Hiss. You actually destroyed the heavenly treasure sect without realizing it. My goodness. Second brother. Wouldn't you be the immortal Dao sect sovereign then? Chen Shua exclaimed in shock. Chen Fan hummed and said. The immortal Dao sect patriarch is indeed me. However, I do not want you to enter the immortal Dao sect just yet. Exposing the relationship between the immortal Dao sect and the Chun clan will do both good and harm to the Chun clan. Chen Changsheng narrowed his eyes and said, Little Fan, you actually shouldn't be telling us this. Chen Fan said, Grandpa, all of you are my family, I trust you absolutely. Besides that, there is one more thing to tell you all. There is a devilish force called the Blood Soul sect that has its eyes on the Tigerling Mountain Spirit Vein. Moreover, it is likely that they also want to move my Chen family. Now that I have gained insight into some of their plans, I would like to ask Grandpa and Second Uncle to cooperate with me in a play. One hour later, a group of dozens of people from the Chun family left Tiger Spirit City and headed towards Tiger Ridge Mountain. At the forefront of the group were Chen Changsheng and Big Yellow. To catch a fish, you naturally need to throw a lure. Chen Fan believed that soon the Blood Soul Sect would make a move. His only pity was that Lu Jinlian didn't know where the Blood Soul Sect's people were hiding or else he would be more inclined to kill them directly instead of going through all the trouble of luring snakes out of their holes like this. Chapter 147 Not How Chen Fan also didn't want to spend time looking for the blood soul sex lair, since they had dug a trap. Chen Fan jumped in himself. But who says the prey can't become the hunter? The Chen family was not moving a lot, and the news naturally spread quickly. A manor house. Several people dressed as ordinary martial cultivators hurriedly ran into the manor. The original people on the estate have basically been killed off. Only a few young women of good looks managed to live in humiliation for the time being. Elder 2, Chen Shangsheng, and that big dog from the Chun clan have already set off for Tiger Ridge Mountain. The earwig reported. In front of the earwig, a middle-aged man with an unimpressive appearance had a morose smile on his face. This Chen Shangsheng is finally unable to sit still. TSK, what a pity. This Chen family has managed to produce a clasping Dan realm with great difficulty, and it will soon be gone. The middle-aged man was none other than the Blood Soul Sect's newly promoted elder. Tu Sancher. Elder Tu. Then when do we make our move? Earl asked. Tu Sancher narrowed his eyes and said, to avoid a long night's sleep, we will activate the Grand Formation tonight and refine all of the spirit veins and Su Chen's two families in it. As long as this is accomplished, when we return to the sect, you and the others will be credited with great merit. The congregation of the Blood Soul Sect's disciples were all excited at the words. Deep night. The bright moon hangs high. Blooming some light for the earth. Whoosh. A silhouette of people, storming and moving, arrived at Tiger Ridge Mountain. The buried formation foundations. Sure they're all okay? Tu Sancher asked with narrowed eyes. Don't worry elder. My subordinates have personally confirmed that there is absolutely no problem. A deacon said with confidence. Then it's foolproof. A Chen Changsheng. A fifth realm demon dog. Can't even make half a wave in front of the blood refining soul devouring formation. 
Tu Sancher smiled coldly. After saying that, he folded his hands and used the art of formation sealing to prepare to activate the blood refining soul devouring grand formation. What's going on? Why does the grand formation have no sense of echoing? After stacking a few hand seals, Tu Sanchi's face sank and he stopped. The deacon's face changed as he said, How could this be? There is absolutely no problem with the formation base. Elder, could it be that your handprints are wrong? Tu Sanchi's face darkened. How could his handprints be wrong? Quickly go check the formation base. See if a certain formation base has been hollowed out by a wild beast. Tu Sancher said with a dark face. Although the deacon didn't think that it would be the walking beasts that had pulled out the formation base. After all, when they set up the formation base, in order to prevent it from being destroyed, they had already cleared out all of the birds and beasts in Tiger Ridge Mountain. But the way Tu Sanchi's face was dark made the deacon not dare to resist. You guys, come with me to check the formation base situation. The deacon greeted a few demon sect disciples. They had just swept a few steps. When in the dimness, there seemed to be a black light that swept in violently. <laughs> With astonishing speed and terrifying piercing power, the black light instantly pierced through the foreheads of the deacon and the five demon sect disciples one after another. After all the fuss, it can't really be just this many of you, can it? I was thinking that I could make a big kill. What a boring night. Not as fun as I thought it would be. Yeah, these guys, they're really not living up to my expectations. Tu Sancher and the others were shocked. Their faces both shocked and angry as they looked at the four figures that walked out of the darkness, as well as a dog shadow. Four people and a dog came from five directions, surrounding Tu Sancher and the others. It seems that the Great Formation's inability to activate is a result of you guys messing with it. Tu Sancher gritted his teeth. Chen Fan said indifferently, You are Tu Sancher, right? Tu Sanchi's eyes narrowed. How dare you know about this elder? Chen Fan sneered. Lu Jinlian is dead. Tu Sancher frowned and grunted. It was this bitch who betrayed me? but she didn't know that it was me who was going to make a move against Tiger Ridge Mountain. Chen Fan said indifferently, it seems that Lu Jinlian really has no weight at all in your heart. TSK, she's just a bitch under my crotch. What more weight does she want to have? Tu Sancher laughed evilly. Chen Fan sneered, I wish she could have heard you say that with her own ears. Unfortunately, you killed her and didn't give her the chance to have her heart broken all over the place. Tu Sancher laughed evilly. Chen Fan's eyes narrowed lightly. There's no harm in it. I'll send you down here and give you the chance to say it to her again in person. Do it. At Chen Fan's command, Tong Xiao Xiao, Jia Yuan, Yu Qi Ling, and Big Yellow immediately stormed out and killed Tu Sancher and the others. Tu Sancher felt the aura of Tong Xiao Xiao and the others, and instantly his eyes bulged out in fear. Other than this dog, these three are actually all in the middle stage of the clasping Dan realm cultivation. Where did the Chen family invite so many strong supporters from? Tu Sancher was incredulous, his face white. From the information he had, there were only two clasping Dan realms in Tiger's Pillar City. The big yellow dog beside Chen Changcheng and Chen Fan. When he was surrounded just now, he was only a little surprised, but not yet afraid, because he was also with the clutching Dan realm. Even without the blood refining soul devouring formation, he was confident that he would be able to hold Chen Changcheng and big yellow back with his own strength. As for those guards of the Su Chen families in the mountains, these devil sect disciples he brought with him were enough to handle them. But now that he sees the situation clearly, he's scared. Stop. We are from the Blood Soul sect. Even if you were able to bring in these strong reinforcements, your Chin family is nothing more than dirt in front of the Blood Soul sect. If you dare to touch us tonight, the Blood Soul sect will surely bloodwash your entire Chen family in the future. Chen Fan, you better think clearly. Tu Sancher shouted angrily. Oh, Chen Fan smiled coldly and ordered. Stop first. Tong Xiaoxiao and the others immediately laughed coldly and withdrew their chi. Tell me. Just how powerful is your blood soul sect, so that I will be afraid to be afraid. If it's not powerful enough, this threat of yours, it won't be of much use. Chen Fan stared at Tu Sancher and said, since Tu Sancher wanted to blow a gasket before he died, Chen Fan didn't mind fulfilling him. After all, it would more or less allow him to understand the blood soul sect a little better. The corners of Tu Sanchi's mouth twitched. This feeling of being placed on the chopping block like a fish on a chopping board was extremely unpleasant for him. However, he was also clear about the situation at hand, which was extremely unfavorable to him, so he could only hold back his anger and grunted. A family from a small place like yours would not know the might of my blood soul sect, but you should know how powerful in existence the immortal infant realm is, right? Chen Fan's eyes narrowed. You, blood soul sect, still have the immortal infant realm? You think I would believe that? In the entire Qingzhou prefecture region, it seems that there are only two immortal infant realms, right? Tu Sancher laughed coldly. The two you know are just two immortal infant realm powerhouses in the so-called righteous martial arts cultivation. There are also immortal infant realm powerhouses in my devil's way, and my clan patriarch, 
is one of them. In addition to that, one of my rank 27 and elders is at the Clutching Dan realm, so you should be able to have a general understanding of the strength of my blood soul sect, right? Tu Sanchi's gaze had been flickering slightly as he spoke, observing the changes in the expressions on Chen Fan and the others' faces. Unfortunately, to his surprise, Chen Fan and the others, there was not a single change on their faces. It seems that the blood soul sect is quite strong. Chen Fan issued a pertinent comment. Tu Sancher let out a sigh of relief and grunted. Therefore, offending us, that will definitely be your Chen family's nightmare. This time, it was indeed me who underestimated your Chen family. Since I've planted it, I'll also admit it. While both you and I have not caused any casualties, how about you let us leave? And this elder also promises that he will not hit the spirit vein again? Not how. Chen Fan coldly spat out three words. Chapter 148, You're Really Good at Picking People. Tu Sanchi's heart tightened, but naturally his face would not show any timidity. He said in a cold voice, Then what do you want? Do you really want to make enemies with our sect? That would be an extremely foolish choice. Chen Fan said indifferently, Perhaps, but no matter what, it is impossible for you to leave alive today. Why? I don't have any deep hatred with you, right? Tu Sanchi said unwillingly. Chen Fan sneered, A little bit of enmity, not too much but I don't like to let the tiger return to the mountain. Kill. Not a single one left. Chen Fan let out a cold shout. And Jia Yuan, Tong Xiao Xiao, Yu Qi Ling, and Big Yellow sneered in unison as they pounced and rushed towards Tu Sanchur and the others. Tu Sanchur gritted his teeth and also regretted in his heart for being too greedy. If he had asked the sect to send a few more elders over, the current situation would have been completely different. However, in order to monopolize this credit, he only needed 8 spirit lake realm deacons as well as 20 ordinary sect congregations to come over and assist. These people, facing 3 middle clutching Dan realm and a 5th realm demon dog, are simply not enough for the other party to kill? Ah, uh, the people from the blood soul sect were killed one after another in a miserable scream. Dog, even if I can't escape death today, I'll drag you along with me. Tu Sancher gave a fierce and furious shout and charged straight at Chen Fan, Tong Xiao Xiao, Jia Yuan, and the others all had sneering smiles in their eyes. This too Sancher, he's really good at picking people. Chen Fan smiled faintly. It seems that I'm very much like a soft persimmon. Looking at the smile on Chen Fan's face, Tu Sanchi's heart sank violently. But Lu Jinlian had clearly told him that this Chen Fan was a waste that had just built the foundation. What tactics could a foundation establishment realm have? But why was the smile on this kid's face so subdued? Also, no one else was rushing over to help. It shouldn't. Although Tu Sancher was surprised, now he had no way back. Only by holding this kid could he have a chance to live. Swish. Tu Sanchi's speed was violently raised. Fast as a black thunder-like, terrifying demonic aura. Lingering around his body. Rushing to Chen Fan's body in an instant. Swish. Tu Sanchi's demonic chi and twine arm made a grab at Chen Fan's locked throat. However, before his palm had even touched Chen Fan, a terrifyingly powerful spiritual energy suddenly stirred up from Chen Fan's body. Boo. The terrifying force, like a 10,000 kilograms of giant hammer bombarded Tu Sanchi's chest, his right arm, which was directly crushed by this incoming powerful spiritual energy, exploded into a bloody mist. Ah! Tu Sancher screamed miserably, flying backwards and smashing into the pile of corpses. In this short period of time, the others from the Blood Soul sect had already been killed by Tong Xiaoxiao and the others. Clutching the Dan realm to kill the Spirit Lake realm and True Spirit realm was as easy as it could be. But, Tu Sanchi's internal organs were blasted by Chin Fan's spiritual power, and he landed on the ground spitting blood from his mouth. His eyes were filled with despair and horror. This Chen Fan, where is he a waste? This kind of spiritual strength was clearly no less than the clasping Dan Realm Grand Circle. It's just a pity that I'm not the soft persimmon you think I am. Chen Fan sneered as he walked up to Tu Sancher. With that, he stomped on the wound where Tu Sanchi's broken arm was. Ah, the sharp pain caused Tu Sancher to let out a mournful cry of pain. I think you should be very tough, so I'm not going to ask you too much. So why don't we just search your soul directly? Chen Fan laughed. Tu Sanchi's pupils shrank and he said in alarm. You can't search my soul. I'll tell you whatever you want to know. Chen Fan raised an eyebrow. It seems that there are times when I look at the wrong person. Tu Sanchi's face twitched, and he didn't know if it was because it hurt too much. Can you remove your foot? Tu Sanchi gritted his teeth. Eh, sorry, wasn't paying attention and stepped on you. Chen Fan laughed and moved his foot away. Tong Xiao Xiao and Yu Qi Ling, the two girls, covered their mouths with a burst of snickers. They didn't believe that Chen Fan stepped on Tu Sancher because he wasn't paying attention. Tu Sancher naturally didn't believe it either and gritted his teeth. What do you want to know? Chen Fan squatted down and laughed. You're quite proactive. Alright, then I'll start asking questions. Why did you bring just this many people? 
Do you have others hiding around Tiger Paw City? Hearing this question, Tu Sancher regretted wanting to cry. How could he have known that there would be so many clasping Dan Realm powerhouses in a small Tiger Spirit City? Moreover, there were three middle clasping Dan Realm practitioners and one suspected clasping Dan Realm Grand Circle. This kind of lineup was comparable to the strength of a Martial Dao Grand Sect. It was unusual for a city of the size of Tiger's Pillar City to have one or two clasping Dan Realm powerhouses. It was a rarity. And more than that, there wasn't even a single clasping Dan Realm powerhouse at all. It was me who underestimated you guys. There's no one else here either. And I originally thought that we, the people of us, would be enough to clean up your mess. Tu Sancher said in a hateful voice. Chen Fan laughed. It's quite good. I like it when people underestimate the Chen family. This way, when someone bullies the door, it will be much easier to kill back. Tu Sancher. He was practically in tears. You've been planted. Can you stop rubbing salt in the wound? The Blood Soul sect should know about your scheming over here, right? Chen Fan asked again. Tu Sancher said. Naturally. I know that. That's why I said that you'll get yourself in big trouble if you kill us. Chen Fan sneered. Could it be that if I let you go, this trouble will be gone? Do you like to deceive yourself and others? Or do you think I'm stupid? The corner of Tu Sanchi's mouth twitched. Indeed. Even if they were able to retreat in one piece tonight, the Chen family's troubles would still be few and far between. He would definitely ask the clan for assistance and send more elders to Tiger Spirit City to crush the Chen family. Why did you come to Tiger Spirit City? Chen Fan asked. Tu Sancher said, if the demon sect wants to be strong, it naturally needs more resources. As a newly promoted elder, you must bring in a sizable amount of income for the sect before you can be considered a qualified elder. After I came to Tiger Spirit City by chance, I befriended Lu Jinlian. I wanted to kill her when I got tired of playing with her. I didn't expect that this woman, who was so lowly that she actually developed feelings for me, not only did she tell me that there is a spirit mine here in Tiger Spirit Mountain, she also planned to conspire with me and take over the Lu family's industry together. It's just a pity that, with all my calculations, I didn't expect that your tiny Chen family is such a crouching tiger and hidden dragon. These questions asked by Chen Fan were not confidential, and Tu Sancher answered them with alacrity. Chen Fan said indifferently, Do you know that Lu Jinlian is pregnant with your child? Tu Sancher smiled disdainfully, You think I would care? A bitch. Even if she is pregnant, she is still just a pregnant bitch. This kind of lowly woman. You can't look down on her, and neither can I. Chen Fan smiled faintly. I really regret letting Lu Jinlian die too early. Tu Sanchi's eyes flickered slightly as he said, Chen Fan, on the basis that I answered the question so readily, can you promise me that you won't perform the soul-searching technique on me? Chen Fan narrowed his eyes and said, Why are you so afraid of being soul-searched? Tu Sanchi said in a deep voice, Because I have a secret that I don't want anyone to know. But this secret... There is absolutely no conflict of interest with you. I will tell you everything you want to know. Chen Fan raised his eyebrows. If you say that, what if I am instead more curious about the memories in your soul sea? Tu Sancher busily said, I know I'm going to die today, so I definitely won't lie to you or anything. So, please give me some dignity as a person who is about to die. Chapter 149 Lock Yang Mountain Chen Fan said, That depends on your attitude in answering the question later. I promise. I'll say whatever I know. I'm dying so there's no need to keep secrets for others. Tu Sancher hurriedly said. Chen Fan smiled faintly. I hope so. Then tell me, where is the blood soul sex lair? Falling Sun Mountain. Tu Sancher said without hesitation. All the elders of the blood soul sect are at the falling sun mountain? Chen Fan narrowed his eyes. Tu Sancher shook his head and said, that is not the case. In fact, at Mount Luoyang, there were only nine elders originally, and counting me, the newly promoted one, there are only 10 elders that are permanently stationed at Mount Luoyang. The other 17 elders, as well as the patriarch, are actually not in Mount Falling Sun. They all have their own independent places of cultivation. But where exactly? Basically no one knows. Only the sovereign's messenger knows. Chen Fan nodded his head and said, That's only somewhat normal. If they were all in the Falling Sun Mountain, the Blood Soul sect should have already had their lair terminated by the righteous martial cultivators. There is no point in annihilating such a Falling Sun Mountain. Instead, it will also enrage your sect leader and attract retaliation. Tu Sancher said, Yes, that's why even though many people know that the Blood Soul sect is located in the Falling Sun Mountain, no one will go over to look for trouble. Chen Fan narrowed his eyes and said, How do I find the messenger? Tu Sancher hesitated this time. You hesitated. Chen Fan said in a cold voice. Tu Sancher had a jolt and hurriedly said, There is one within the clan, named Age 13. Age 13? That name is a bit strange. Chen Fan said, Tu Sancher said, it is said that he was 13 years old when he was spotted by the patriarch and led into the clan. 
so he was given the name age 13. Chen Fan was silent for a moment and asked, Do you have a way to make this age 13 make a trip to Tiger Spirit City? Tu Sanchur froze, Is it true that if I can get him to come over, I can survive? Chen Fan said indifferently, At least, you can have a chance to live. Tu Sanchur took a deep breath and said, I have a spirit beast pouch on my waist with a cloud letter bird inside. It can send a letter back to Fallen Sun Mountain for me. Although messengers are usually not deployed by the elders, if I make up a good reason, it's still possible to trick him to Tiger Spirit City. Chen Fan's eyes lit up. It seems that you won't be able to die for the time being. The two of you should disperse first. This person, I will bring back to the Chen family. Chen Fan said to Tong Xiaoxiao and Jia Yuan. Jia Yuan laughed. Then I will return to the camp first. Well, let's keep the blood soul sex matter a secret from them for now, lest they worry. Chen Fan exhorted. Well, let's just say it's a bunch of somewhat powerful martial bandits. Jia Yuan laughed. Chen Fan laughed. You could say that. Tu Sanchur was bitter in his heart. He was an elder of the blood soul sect, and he had just become an unorthodox martial bandit? Ha, what a boring night. Tong Xiaoxiao pursed her red lips slightly, smiled, and turned to leave. Chen Fan was speechless. Wasn't it good to easily kill back? Do you have to come to a hard battle? That's without having been hurt or faced death. Let's go back to the Chen family. Chen Fan said to Yu Qi Ling in big yellow, then grabbed two Sancher and flew up in the air. The Xian Kong rings on those corpses had already been collected by Jia Yuan, Tong Xiaoxiao and a few others when Chen Fan interrogated two Sancher. Following Chen Fan, they had developed the good habit of picking up all the sesame and green beans. Tiger Ridge Mountain Campground. Su Wenjun couldn't sit still had been in the middle of the camp, pacing back and forth. Grandpa Chen, do we really not need to go help? With just my master and Big Yellow, can we deal with that gang? The anxious Su Wenjun couldn't help but ask Chen Changsheng once again. Chen Changsheng laughed, Su's girl, don't worry, they will be fine. Su Wenjun's eyes flickered slightly as she said, Grandpa Chen, tell me, is it Chen Fan who has also come? Chen Changsheng raised his eyebrows slightly, what is he doing here? A small foundation builder. He can't help even if he comes. At this hour, I guess he's sleeping soundly. Su Wen Jun bristled. Grandpa Chen, don't lie to me. Chen Fan, he is the masked male who saved me back then, right? He has actually been hiding his strength all along. And because of him, you are able to sit as steady as a mountain without any worries. Chen Changsheng laughed. Girl, you're wrong. I have confidence in your master. Su Wen Jun froze. My master? Could it be that you still don't know that your master is actually a powerful person in the middle stage of the Clasping Dan realm? Chen Changsheng teased. Ha, huh? my master is in the middle stage of the Clasping Dan realm? Su Wenjun exclaimed. I, don't know ah, uh, I only know that my master should be very strong, but I didn't expect that he is actually Clasping Dan realm, and he's already in the middle stage. Su Wenjun was surprised and delighted. At first, she had asked Jia Yuan about his cultivation level, but Jia Yuan had not answered her positively. That was why she had been unclear about Jia Yuan's cultivation. He he, so with a strong person like your master around, why should old me worry? Well, your master has returned. Sure enough, as soon as Chen Changsheng's words fell, a silhouette flew through the air and slowly landed at the campsite in an immortal-like manner. Master, Su Wenjun rushed over in surprise. Jia Yuan stroked his long beard and laughed. There's nothing wrong for the master. Those people have already been put to death as much as they can. Su Wenjun's eyes lit up as he playfully smiled. Master, you are truly amazing. That gang, what exactly are they? It's just a bunch of martial bandits with a bit of strength. The leader is an early stage of the Clasping Dan realm, although he has a bit of strength, but when he meets your master, that's his misfortune. Jia Yuan smiled. Su Wenjun said excitedly, Master, are you really in the middle stage of the Clasping Dan realm? Jia Yuan froze, glanced at Chen Changsheng, and smiled. It seems that old family Master Chen has already told you. Master didn't want to hide it from you. But I just feel that this amount of cultivation is not enough. He he. Master, you are also too capable of pretending. The middle stage of the Clutching Dan realm. But it's enough to sweep through the entire Tiger's Pillar City. It's not even enough. What else is there to say? Su Wenjun laughed. Jia Yuan shook his head and said. Disciple. Master and you have said that one must look far ahead before one can achieve greatness in the martial arts. Regardless of whether it's Tiger Spirit City or the middle stage of the Clasping Dan realm, it's not where we, master and disciple, will end up. A person, how far he can go, first depends on how far he can see. Su Wenjun's face blushed as he hurriedly made a salute and said, Yes, disciple has been taught. She secretly admired in her heart. I didn't expect that master, at his age, would still have such a magnificent ambition in him, not even being satisfied with a cultivation as powerful as the middle stage of the Clasping Dan realm. 
then I can't be stuck in the same old rut, much less be easily satisfied. One day, I want to make the name of the Su family famous throughout the Qingzhou prefecture. If Jia Yuan could hear Su Wenjun's heart, he would definitely hold his forehead with his hand and feel a headache. You're famous in Qingzhou prefecture, so you're good at it? Elder Jia, you have worked hard tonight. It's really embarrassing for the old immortal to clear his head for a night. Ha ha, Chen Changsheng smiled and arched his hand. He had wanted to participate in the battle as well. But Chen Fan sent a voice message to Jia Yuan, telling him to leave Chen Changsheng behind and stabilize the people in the Tiger Ridge Mountain campsite, especially to stabilize Su Wenjun, so as not to let them go over there and cause trouble. Chen Fan originally intended to ambush a group of strong enemies of the Blood Soul sect with the strength of four people and a dog, but the people who came were not a group of strong enemies as he thought, but a group of weak chickens. Chapter 150 Master, why are you the only one back? Where's Big Yellow? Su Wenjun asked strangely. Jia Yuan laughed. Big Yellow was worried about second young Chen's safety and has gone back to protect him. Su Wenjun frowned. Chen Fan really didn't come along? Disciple, the night is late. Go and rest. Old family master Chen, you should also return to the Chen family. There's an old immortal here to keep an eye on things. Nothing will happen. Jia Yuan laughed. Chen Changsheng laughed. That's fine. Then the old immortal will leave. Chen Changsheng flew into the air and transformed into a black shadow, disappearing into the night sky. The Chan family. Chen Fan brought the severely injured Tu Sancher back to his small courtyard. Write a letter. Chen Fan lit an oil lamp, took out a pen and ink, and placed it in front of Tu Sancher. Tu Sancher said, I think you should let me heal first. Otherwise, even if you give me a chance to live, I'm afraid this body of mine won't last. He was extremely injured, and if he didn't heal, I'm afraid that he wouldn't recover from this injury. Chen Fan said indifferently, let's talk after writing the letter. Tu Sanchi's face twitched, and after a little thought, he began to start writing a letter. There is a great surprise hidden in Tiger's Paw City, and we invite you, the ambassador, to come and share it with us in person. Looking at the written letter, Chen Fan's face darkened. With just a few words, you want to trick people? Chen Fan said coldly. Tu Sancher laughed. In this matter of deceiving people, you must be inferior to me. If you say too much, you will easily be exposed. This is just a few words, but it can arouse age 13's curiosity, regardless of whether she believes me or not. Based on these four words great surprise, she will come over to take a look. Anyway, isn't our purpose to lure her to Tiger Spirit City? Chen Fan lifted his eyebrows slightly and nodded. It is not unreasonable. Then send the letter out. You will keep your promise and let me live, right? Tu Sancher stared into Chen Fan's eyes and said. Chen Fan smiled. It will. Tu Sancher breathed a sigh of relief. Immediately, he released the cloud letter bird in his spirit beast pouch and tied the letter paper to the legs and feet of the cloud letter bird. The cloud trust bird flew off into the air and disappeared into the darkness of the night with great speed. Chen Fan, I really need to go heal my wounds. Tu Sancher said. People who are about to die. Why waste any more aura? Chen Fan laughed. Tu Sanchi's face changed drastically as he gritted his teeth. You still want to kill me? You're a righteous martial cultivator. How can you not keep your word? Chen Fan said indifferently. You are wrong. I am not some righteous martial arts cultivator. Tu Sancher was surprised. Could it be that you are also a demonic cultivator? I'm not a devil cultivator either. I'm just me. Chen Fan said indifferently. Big Yellow. Search his soul and see what unseen secrets he has in his brain. Chen Fan instructed Big Yellow. Now he didn't want to search anyone's soul at all. Lu Jilian's memories made him want to vomit when he looked at them. That full of filth is not a picture one likes. Chen Fan, you shameless man. As soon as Tu Sancher heard that he was still going to be soul searched, he shouted in shock and anger. Chen Fan hummed. If you want others to be kinder to you, first you have to be a kind person's yourself, such as you. What qualifications do you have to want to be respected by others? You bastard. You will not be allowed to die. The blood soul sect won't let you go. Searching my soul will only make you die faster too. Ha 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 ha. Tu Sancher cursed and laughed madly again. Chen Fan was a bit strange. Why would he die faster if he searched Tu Sanchi's soul? For Tu Sanchi's memories, he suddenly had some expectations. Big Yellow, do it. Chen Fan urged. Big Yellow jumped over and smiled evilly at Tu Sancher. Stop barking. When Master Dog finishes reading your memories, he'll give you a pain in the ass. Buzz. Big Yellow's demonic soul surged out with a roar. Invading towards Tu Sanchi's soul sea, Yuchi Ling curiously said, Island Master, my soul power, can be stronger than Big Yellow's? Why don't you let me search his soul? Wouldn't that save more time? Chen Fan shook his head and said, His memories are definitely dirtier than Lu Jinlian's. You, a girl, will not be able to stand reading it. Even, it will make you twist. Yuchi Ling covered her mouth and laughed. 
The island master performed a soul search on Lu Jinlian? It's just a helpless move, Chen Fan said. LOL, it's a helpless move, but it's also a move. Yu Qi Ling laughed even worse. Chen Fan was speechless. I thought that you would be the pure girl. I didn't expect I didn't expect. Chen Fan laughed bitterly. Yu Qi Ling blushed and said, I don't want to either. It's because you're too pure, Island Master. And if Ling'er wants to go further with Island Master, then she'll have to sacrifice her purity. Chen Fan said helplessly, Do you really want to be with me that much? Your grandfather and the others are worried. In case my secret is revealed one day and I get karma, you'll be a widow. If there really is such a day, Ling'er will only feel regret for not being able to come together with Island Master. Yu Qi Ling said shyly, and her hands also hooked towards Chen Fan's neck. The orchid-like scent that came to his face made Chen Fan's blood run cold. Somewhere along the line, there seemed to be another sign of a bit of hopelessness. No, just as Yu Qi Ling's red lips were about to imprint on Chen Fan's lips, Chen Fan let out a low sound and pushed Yu Qi Ling away. Yu Qi Ling's face swished red beyond recognition, and in her eyes, crystals floated. She had already taken such an initiative and Chen Fan still rejected her. Spirit understands. Spirit will never be like this again. Swish. Yu Qi Ling's body turned around and he went away in the air. Chen Fan's face changed and his soul voice chased after him. Where are you going? There's no need for the island master to worry. Ling'er is just feeling humiliated and went for a casual stroll. Yu Qi's spirit voice transmitted back. Chen Fan shook his head helplessly and walked back inside. He took a deep breath and sat down, his mind sinking into the heavenly sea pearl. Elder Yu Qi, come over for a moment. Swish. Yu Qi and flew in and said with a smile on his face, what are the island master's orders? Chen Fan's eyes were slightly cold, staring at Yu Qi Min for a while. There doesn't seem to be too many encounters between Yu Qi Ling and I, Chen Fan said indifferently. Yu Qi and laughed. It is true that there is not much crossover. Then why did you have to compel her to be with me? Elder Yu Qi, while I can still speak to you politely, I hope you can answer me honestly. My good temper will only be reserved for those who deserve my respect, Chen Fan said in a cold voice. There was something unusual about Yu Qi Ling's warmth toward him. Two people who haven't crossed paths much can't have that strong of feelings at all. Unless, Yu Qi Ling was compelled or brainwashed. Yu Qi was a peak martial arts powerhouse and was fully capable of this, easily compelling a person's mind. Yu Qi heart trembled when he saw Chen Fan's icy words. Then, he smiled bitterly and said, Island Master, Ling'er is the old man's own granddaughter. How could the old man compel her? Could it be that Island Master really doesn't remember? Chen Fan raised his eyebrows. I don't remember? What don't I remember? Fifteen years ago, the eagle's mouth cliff. Does Island Master still have any recollection of it? Yu Qi and reminded. Chen Fan frowned. Fifteen years ago, eagle's mouth cliff? HM, could it be that Yu Qi Ling? Is that little fart that was carried all over the sky by the demonic eagle back then? Chen Fan froze. Yu Qi and laughed. The Island Master finally remembered. Chapter 151, Two Sanshur's Secret. Fifteen years ago, Chen Fan's spirit body and Yu Qi Ling were both still little farts. One day, Chen Fan, whose mind happened to be on the spirit, saw a demonic eagle carrying a little girl, circling over the eagle's beak cliff. Chen Fan decisively used the power of the island master's heavenly might to blast the demonic eagle and save the little girl. However, at that time, his spiritual body was still very weak and he was unable to leave the main altar. And he didn't know what happened to the little girl afterward. He even thought that falling from a high altitude, the girl would most likely die from the fall as well. Chen Fan really didn't expect that Yu Qi Ling was the little girl from back then. Ha, I thought she fell to her death. Chen Fan laughed. Yu Qi and laughed. This girl was very lucky to have crashed into a large tree. Although she suffered some injuries, her life was saved. It's just that at that time, my Yu Qi family didn't know that it was the island master who had stepped in to kill the demonic eagle, which gave Ling'er the chance to be saved. Otherwise, I would have already come over to thank you for your kindness. It wasn't until half a year ago that Ling'er told us that you, island master, were her rescuer, but she wouldn't let us say anything about it, worrying that Island Master would think that she liked him because of her life-saving favor back then. Although Island Master and her don't have many interactions, this girl, however, has been admiring Island Master from below for many years. Chen Fan touched his nose and laughed. So that's how it is. It seems that I misunderstood you guys. Chen Fan originally thought that the Yuchi family was so enthusiastic and proactive in sending out Yuchi Ling because they wanted to use the beauty trick on him and had ulterior motives. After all, he was the island master of Sin Immortal Island, and he was in charge of life and death with a single thought. It wasn't impossible for the Yuchi family to want to use a daughter to build a closer relationship with him. Yuchi and laughed. Misunderstandings don't matter, but Ling'er is indeed sincere to the island master. Chen Fan smiled lightly and said, I've disturbed seniors purification. 
I still have things to take care of outside, so let's chat here today. Ha, huh? well, I'll be excused. Yuchi in turn to leave, and Chen Fan withdrew his mind. Chen Fan walked to the courtyard and saw that Big Yellow was still in the middle of soul searching, so he could not help but frown slightly. What's taking so long? Although Tu Sanchur was not young and his memories were complicated, but irrelevant memories could be quickly ignored, and reading useful memories shouldn't take long ah. Uh. Suddenly, Chen Fan found Big Yellow's butt, wriggling, and his face darkened. This dog, taking Tu Sanchi's memories as a movie? Come out. Chen Fan drank low. With a jolt, Big Yellow's demon soul hurriedly retreated from Tu Sanchi's soul sea. Ahem, island master. You called me. Big Yellow laughed dryly. Chen Fan's face twitched as he said, If you can't tell me any useful information, I'll castrate you. Big Yellow's eyes bulged and he busily said, Island master. I'm still a single dog. I can't be castrated. By the way, Island master. This guy lied to us. He didn't come to Tiger's Pillar City by chance at all. Chen Fan's eyes narrowed. Continue. Da Huang said, according to Tu Sanchi's memories, when he was outside of Qingzhou City, he was suppressed by an unfamiliar middle-aged man with absolute strength, and it was also this middle-aged man who, by means of threats, forced Tu Sanchi to come to Tiger Spirit City and turn against the Chen family. Only, from memory, I can't see this man's appearance. Take this part of his memory and draw it out. Chen Fan narrowed his eyes. Good. Big Yellow hurriedly entered Tu Sanchi's soul sea once again. After finding that memory, he wrapped that part of it in his demon soul and forcefully pulled it out. Ah, Tu Sanchur, who had originally passed out, hissed in pain and woke up. Buzz, a ball of soul power light that condensed memories was ripped out of Tu Sanchi's brow. Chen Fan's eyes narrowed as his mind entered it, a deserted mountain forest under the dim moonlight. Underneath Tu Sanchi's body lay a bright woman who had already been strangled to death by him. Tu Sanchur, the voice coming from behind caused Tu Sanchi's pupils to shrink, and he hurriedly got up and looked at the visitor. Seeing that it was a stranger, Tu Sanchi's eyes were cold and stern as he said, Where did this undead thing come out from? Knowing that I am Tu Sanchi, how dare you disturb my good deed? The middle-aged man's face was like a foggy mask that could not even be clearly revealed. This caused Chen Fan to frown. Obviously, this person had used means when meeting Tu Sanchi, but Tu Sanchi obviously didn't know each other either. Boom! Immediately, in the middle of the memory, the middle-aged man erupted a terrifying and powerful aura directly blasting the shouting Tu Sanchi away. Pust. Tu Sanchi's mouth full of blood spattered, his eyes full of horror. You should know very well that I show mercy, so don't seek death again, the middle-aged man said in a cold voice. What exactly are you? And what are you looking for me for? Tu Sanchi lay on the ground, raised his head and asked through clenched teeth. The middle-aged man walked over indifferently and said, You don't need to know who I am, but you can do something for me, right? Tu Sanchi gritted his teeth. Although he disliked the other party's tone of voice, he still nodded his head and said, As long as you don't kill me, I'll work for you. Very well. The middle-aged man let out a smiling sound. Then you will go to Tiger Spirit City and destroy the Chen family for me. However, you can't directly rush into the Chen family to kill people. You have to make it look like things are inevitable by chance. At the very least, you can't let people know that you were instructed by someone else to move the Chen family. Tu Sanchi's face twitched. It was the first time he'd ever needed to go to so much trouble to kill someone. Can it be done? The middle-aged man asked. Tu Sancher took a deep breath. Could he not do it? I can do it. Tu Sancher promised. You have a son, 20 years old, in the city of Qingzhou, and a daughter, 16 years old. Am I right? If you let it be known that you were instructed to move the Chen family, this son and daughter of yours will both die. Perhaps, when your daughter dies, she will be just like this woman. Tu Sancher's pupils shrunk in shock and he said horrifiedly, how do you, you know all this, don't move my son and daughter, I will definitely do what you want me to do, beautifully, ha, hey, I'll know if I want to, as long as you can keep the secret between you and me, your pair of children, will be fine, the middle-aged man laughed and turned away, Chen Fan withdrew his mind, his eyes full of gloom, you're wasting your time, I can't remember him at all, you dog scum, my son and my daughter, will also be killed by you, they're innocent, they don't even know they have a devil cultivator father. The weak Tu Sancher gritted his teeth and said in a hateful voice. Chen Fan said indifferently, although you can't remember his appearance, you should have suspected his identity, right? Tu Sancher laughed harshly. Even if there was, do you think I would tell you? Now I have no scruples whatsoever. Come on, get me killed. Chen Fan said indifferently, if you really care about your son and daughter, you should tell me your guess, because only if you let me find him and kill him, your son and daughter will be free from danger. Tu Sancher gritted his teeth, but there's no way you can kill him. His strength should be an immortal infant realm. 
Chapter 152 A Visit from Mikado Tu Sancher had felt that person's terrifying aura up close, and that was precisely why he was so afraid. Immortal Infant Realm? Chen Fan's eyes narrowed. There are only a few immortal infant realms within Qingzhou. Who do you suspect? Is it the Feng families? Or the Linghu families? Chen Fan said in a cold voice. Tu Sancher gritted his teeth and said, Didn't you guys search my soul? I should know that I haven't seen these two at all, so I can't determine who they are. I want you to name the person you suspect. Chen Fan said in a cold voice, Otherwise, I will also kill someone. Now he's not the only one who knows the identity of your pair of children. Two Sanchi's pupils shrunk. You bastards. It's no better than us devil cultivators. Really trough your ancestors. Two Sancher cursed. Speak after cursing. Don't force me to really become an asshole. That won't do you any good. Chen Fan coldly snorted. Tu Sancher gritted his teeth and said, I suspect it's Linghu Changchun. This is because the gong method of the Linghu family has the effect of keeping one's face intact. Although I've never met Feng Jiantian, I've heard that this old thing especially loves to pretend to be immortal and for this reason, he purposely grows a very long white beard, so it's definitely not him. Are there any other skeptics? You said that there are immortal infant realms among the demon sect, Chen Fan said in a deep voice. Tu Sancher shook his head. There are, but I haven't even seen them. Most people don't have the chance to see this kind of immortal infant realm existence. Then give me a list of all the immortal infant realms that you know of, Chen Fan said. Among the Devil Dao, besides my patriarch, Cold Moon Yue, I only know that the Yin Spirit Sect Sect Master, Huang Feng Yu, is also at the immortal infant realm, whether there are any others, I don't know, Tu Sancher said. Chen Fan glanced at Big Yellow, Da Huang said, it should not be a lie, I've seen very few images of the immortal infant realm in his memories. Dog, you searched my soul and had a good time watching it, didn't you? Tu Sancher glared viciously at De Huang Dao. Rhubarb grinned. It's pretty cool. Makes Master Dog want a bitch. Chen Fan. Chen Fan. But if you still have some humanity, don't move my son and daughter. Although I am full of evil, they are innocent. Tu Sancher pleadingly looked at Chen Fan and said. Chen Fan said indifferently. As long as they don't come to me for revenge, I naturally won't harm them. Tu Sancher smiled miserably. Don't worry about this. They don't even know that there is a father like me. And even if they do, they won't take revenge for a father like me. Is there anything else you want to ask? If not, just give me a pain in the ass. I'm really suffering from this internal injury plus soul C trauma. Chen Fan nodded and raised a palm, slapping it on top of Tu Sanchi's head, shattering his soul and killing him. Island Master, you have no plans to arrange for an islander to take control of his physical body? Big Yellow froze. Chen Fan brought Tu Sanchi back to the courtyard, and Big Yellow thought that Chen Fan would use Tu Sanchi's physical body. Chen Fan shook his head and said, this physical body of his has too many evil deeds, using him to house the islanders. The islanders will be in countless troubles and will be hated by many people. Rhubarb drifted off and grinned. Also, I can't even count the number of human women who have been spoiled by this guy. Dispose of the corpse. Chen Fan commanded and walked towards the house himself. Being targeted by an immortal infant realm was not a good thing. No, it should be two immortal infant realms. The blood soul sex patriarch, Cold Moon Yue was also someone he was bound to face. So, he needed to be stronger. Chen Fan, who had returned to the house, took out a blood god pill and swallowed it. Boom! The terrifying medicinal power of the sixth grade pill instantly dissolved and dispersed within his body, and pangs of power rushed wildly into his meridians. Chen Fan dared to guarantee that if it was any other clasping Dan realm that swallowed the blood god Dan, nine times out of ten, it wouldn't last more than a few breaths of time before it would explode and die. But he won't. Boom! He operated the prime diffusion technique, forcing the medicinal power of the blood god pill into his dantian, which was then engulfed by the heavenly sea pearl and converged into his spirit body. The spirit body was a body of the mixed divine vein. The meridians were much stronger, and it would be easier and faster to devour and refine this medicinal power. Chen Fan transferred 70% of the medicinal power and absorbed it into his spirit body, while he, himself, absorbed the other 30%. Even with both bodies cultivating together, the power of a single blood god pill made him refine it for a full hour before it was fully absorbed. Worthy of being a sixth grade elixir. One of these has caused my cultivation to skyrocket quite a bit. Swallowing another one should be enough to raise me to the great perfection realm. Chen Fan did not hesitate to stuff another one into his mouth. Early the next morning, Chen Fan was just about to make a trip to the city lord's mansion to pay a visit to the city lord. Tung Juk. When a guest arrived, after being informed, Royal Wind Lotus entered the Chen Mansion with a smile and was led by Uncle Zhou to Chen Fan's small courtyard. Mountain River Sword Sect Royal Wind He, I wonder if second young Master Chen still has an impression of me. Royal Wind He smiled and arched his hand. Chen Fan laughed. 
It seems like I've seen Imperial Sister from afar for a few moments. The royal wind lotus laughed. Just a few glances from afar? Chen Fan laughed. Senior Imperial Sister. Let's get right to the point. You came to find me. Could it be because of those rumors as well? Royal wind lotus laughed. Rumors? Can second young master Chen tell me what the rumors are? Chen Fan smiled lightly and said. Untrue words. It's fine if royal senior sister doesn't listen to them. Please also ask royal senior sister to tell you the intention of your visit. The genius disciple of the Mountain River Sword sect, suddenly visiting the Chen family. This really makes me feel both flattered and a little apprehensive at the same time. The royal wind lotus heart secretly said, I see you calmly very, which has half a bit of apprehensive look. If you were someone else, you would have been fawning over me at this time and setting up a banquet. Chen Fan ah Chen Fan, although you refuse to admit it, but you look like this. It is clear that you are even too lazy to pretend. A smile appeared on Royal Wind he's face as he said, Actually, I came here on the orders of my master. You should still remember Luo Qingkui, right? Chen Fan laughed. I'm quite familiar with Luo Qingkui, so I naturally remember. Royal Wind Lotus laughed. She joined our Mountain River Sword sect a few days ago. My master is very fond of her, and has also heard about you, so he is willing to take you under his door as well. So senior sister Luo will have a companion in the sect. Chen Fan was speechless. Admitting him into the Mountain River Sword sect and letting him be a companion for Luo Qingkui? What a bullshit reason. Luo Qingkui is almost 30 years old. Such a big person. She still needs someone to give her company? Chen Fan rolled his eyes. Senior Imperial Sister, tell me the truth. Is it you, Mountain River Sword sect, that has your eyes on our Chen family's spirit veins? If it is, as long as you symbolically threaten me a few times. I will definitely agree and pay tribute to give you some benefits. After all, towards a great sect like yours, where can my Chen family afford to mess with it? Mikado's face darkened. The Mountain River Sword sect wasn't a bandit sect, so how could it miss the Chen family's spirit vein? My clan isn't half interested in the Chen family's spirit veins, it's only somewhat interested in you. With your chi practicing realm cultivation, not only were you able to survive in the Earth Spirit Abyss, but you were also able to successfully build your foundation. Such a person. Even if his qualifications are poor, is bound to be someone with guts, perseverance and luck. As it happens, it is these three points that my master values the most when accepting disciples. Royal Wind Lotus laughed. Chapter 153, Demon Extermination Alliance. Chen Fan smiled faintly. Thank your master for me. Mikado Ho raised an eyebrow. Are you refusing? Chen Fan walked up to Royal Feng Huang and smiled. Senior Sister Royal, I was actually getting ready to go out. You have already delayed me quite a bit. If there's nothing else, you should also go back and convey my thanks to your master for me. Mikazho raised her head slightly and looked at Chen Fan's eyes that were looking down at her. Although Mikado was considered tall amongst the women, she was still half a head shorter when she stood with Chen Fan. She gave a smile. Is this an admission on your part? If you were just the second youngest member of the Chen family, you wouldn't dare to reject my clan's good intentions like this. Chen Fan smiled faintly. It is quite difficult for a sect to pass on its legacy. So don't invite trouble because of a little curiosity. Is the Mountain River Sword sect blind to what happened to the Heavenly Treasure sect and the Ark Sword sect? Or do you guys think that the Mountain River Sword sect is stronger than these two sects? Mikado took a deep breath. These words from Chen Fan were undoubtedly an acknowledgement that he was the immortal Dao sect sect leader. Since second young master Chun has admitted it, then I can also reveal my true intentions of coming. Royal Wind Lotus said, Mikado Ho, meet the immortal Dao sect patriarch. The royal wind lotus was proper and made about a Chen Fan. Chen Fan's eyes narrowed slightly. The real reason for coming? Royal Windhelm solemnly said. Yes. I wonder if Patriarch Chen has ever heard of the Blood Soul sect. Chen Fan smiled faintly. You might as well call me Chen Ursheo. In Tiger's Pillar City. I'm just the Chen family's second young master. Now that so many people had already suspected his identity, Chen Fan simply stopped hiding it from these skeptics. Continuing to hide it will only invite more temptation and will be annoying. Good. Then I'll call you Chun Ursheo. Royal Wind Lotus laughed. Chen Fan said. I have heard a bit about the Blood Soul sect. What? Does your Mountain River Sword sect want to annihilate them? Royal Wind Lotus lightly coughed. With only the power of my clan, I naturally can't exterminate them. However, if the Immortal Dao sect is willing to join forces with us, then great things can be accomplished. As for Cold Munyue, second young Chen doesn't have to worry. Now that my clan has convinced the old ancestor of the Linghu family, if Cold Munyue makes a move, the old ancestor of the Linghu family will also make a move to hold Cold Munyue at bay. Chen Fan's eyes narrowed slightly. There was this old ancestor of the Linghu family again? He couldn't help but sneer. In case you provoke Cold Munyue, but the old ancestor of the Linghu clan stands idly by. Have you thought about the consequences? 
Royal wind he froze and said, so possible. Immortal infant realm powerhouses are all a promise for a thousand pieces of gold. And since they have already made a promise, they will absolutely not go back on it. Chen Fan said disdainfully, senior imperial sister is quite naive, but I don't think that people with strong cultivation are necessarily reliable in character. Moreover, I would like to know why you chose this time to eliminate the blood soul sect? Royal Wind Lotus said in a deep voice, because in recent months, the blood soul sect's demonic cultivators have been wreaking havoc in all directions again and dozens of people from our sect have been tragically victimized by the demonic cultivators. For so many years, my five great clans have actually been wanting to destroy the blood soul sect. Only that without the immortal infant realm to help us, we knew that we were not strong enough, which is why we didn't dare to make a move. But this time, old ancestor Ling Hu was willing to help. So this is a rare opportunity to exterminate the demons. Chen Fan said indifferently, You haven't asked old man Ling Hu to make a move before? Royal wind he froze and said, Naturally, I have also invited them, but old ancestor Ling Hu has been in seclusion and could not even see them. So naturally, they were unable to discuss the great plan of destroying the devil. This time, it was also because old ancestor Ling Hu was about to hold a 200-year-old birthday banquet and came out of seclusion in advance, so that my sect master could meet with him. Chen Fan asked, You guys are planning to kill directly to the falling sun mountain? Royal Wind Lotus laughed. I'm not sure about that. If second young Chen is willing to join the Demon Extermination Alliance, then he can draw up a plan of action with our sect master. I'm just a disciple. I can only run errands. Second young master Chen. In fact, the immortal Dao sect is just in need of an opportunity like this isn't it? Chen Fan asked with a smile. What makes you say that? Imperial sister? Royal Wind Lotus said. Although the immortal Dao sect is powerful, after all, it has the suspicion of being a dove and a magpie's nest, it has the strength but it lacks the prestige. If the immortal Dao sect can join us in exterminating a devilish force like the blood soul sect, naturally no one will point fingers and talk behind your sex back in the future. Chen Fan smiled and said, Senior Imperial Sister, you fought wrong on this point. I have never cared about what others think of me, nor do I care about what others think of the immortal Dao sect. Let me think about this. Do you want to come back someday? Royal Feng Wang pursed her lips and said, The matter of destroying the demons can't be delayed. After all, Old man Ling Hu won't be waiting for us all the time. I hope that second young master Chen can give me a reply as soon as possible. These days, I will be staying at the Heavenly Fragrance House in Tiger Spirit City. When second young master Chen has thought about it, come find me. Chen Fan nodded. Good. Windhelm excuses himself. Let's go out together. I do have to go out. Chen Fan smiled and walked out together with Royal Feng Wang. The two men parted behind the door. Looking at the departing back of Mikado he... Chen Fan's eyes narrowed lightly as a touch of coldness raised on his face. He had just had friction with the Blood Soul Sect. When the Mountain River Sword Sect sent Royal Wind he over to unite with him in some kind of demon extermination. And Ling Hu Changchun also came out of the gate at this time, and also promised that he was willing to be the backing of the Demon Extermination Alliance. This is all too much of a coincidence. And, the coincidence is so obvious. To say that there wasn't a push behind this, Chen Fan didn't believe it. But this, again, is a phallic plot against him. Joining the coalition is a so-called righteous act. If he didn't join, the immortal Dao sect's reputation would be even worse. Although Chen Fan didn't care about any fame or so-called prestige, a clan that wanted to stand was ultimately in need of popularity and the addition of fresh blood. Relying only on resources and powerful feats would not attract true talent. Chen Fan collected his thoughts and arrived at the city lord's mansion. After a pass, Chen Fan was brought to the guest hall by the people from the city lord's mansion. He he, Chen Fan. You don't come to the city lord's mansion very often. Did you come to find me today? But is there something going on? Tang Ju Kei smilingly walked into the guest hall and directly asked with a smile. Chen Fan made a bow and smiled. Indeed, there is something that I would like to find out from you. City lord. Tang Ju Kei laughed. Sit down and chat. The two of them sat down. And two maids came over to add tea and pour water. Chen Fan glanced at the two maids. And Tang Ju Kei understood and smiled. You guys go down first. You don't need to serve here. Yes, the two maids retreated in response. Tang Juk smiled. In fact, after the Tang family came, I knew that you would come to me sooner or later, but I may not have the answers you want here. Chen Fan said, since City Lord has guessed my intention, how much do you know and how much do you tell me? Is that alright? I won't let City Lord reveal it for nothing. I have a bottle of spirit ascension pill here, which might help Lord City Lord to condense the pills as soon as possible. As he spoke, Chen Fan took out a bottle of pills. As soon as he heard the spirit ascension dan, Tang Ju Kei's pupil slightly opened and trembled in shock. A bottle of spirit ascension dan. You, you managed to get a whole bottle of spirit rising dan. 
Chen Fan smiled lightly and said, The Chen family is not what it used to be. So naturally, there are some paths. Lord City Lord, are you willing to be frank with me? What do you want to know? Tung Juk asked, taking a deep breath. The truth of my elder brother's death, Chen Fan said in a deep voice. Chapter 154, Order of the Tang King. Chen Fan looked straight into Tang Juk's eyes. In Tang Juk's eyes, there was only a bitter smile. It seems that I have no chance with this bottle of spirit rising pill. Back then, when your elder brother was killed, apart from grief, I was only terrified. I even secretly tracked it down for a long time, but I couldn't find any half useful clues, Tung Juk said. Chen Fan said in a deep voice, No clues? Any guesses? Tung Juk shook his head. I can only think that the person who killed your elder brother should not be very strong. Otherwise, he wouldn't have tortured him to death like a thug. But anyone who was a strong person wouldn't treat a teenager like that. Chen Fan was a little disappointed. He had thought that with the power of the city lord's mansion, he would have more clues. The news of my big brother's death. It was you who told the Tang family, right? Chen Fan said. Tang Juk didn't deny it and nodded. I'm the city lord of Tiger Spirit City, and the Tang family is the king of the southern region. Some of their commands, I would not dare to disobey. Chen Fan pushed the elixir towards Tung Ju Kei and asked, How did the Tang family instruct you, and how did they react when they found out about my big brother's death? As long as you can answer these two questions of mine, you can still take this bottle of elixir. Tung Ju Kei looked at the pill bottle, his eyes sizzling. He had been at the Spirit Lake Realm Great Circle for many years, and if he missed out on this bottle of valuable elixir, he might not have the chance to step into the Clasping Dan Realm in his life. Can you promise not to mention anything about our meeting to the Tang family? Tung Juk asked. I promise. Chen Fan nodded his head. Tung Ju Kei let out a long breath, grabbed the pill bottle into his hand and said in a deep voice. All right, I'll tell you. The year after your parents were taken away, a person from the Tang family came to me. What his name was, I don't know, but he took out the Tang King's order. So he must be a member of the Tang family without a doubt. And his status in the Tang family should not be low. Chen Fan narrowed his eyes and said. The Tang family took my parents away because they didn't want people to know my mother's identity. This person, and how he came over to you, isn't this the same as making my mother's identity, public? Tung Juk shook his head. I'm not sure about that. I don't even know why the Tang family took your parents. But I know that I'm not the only one within the Qingzhou mansion who knows your mother's identity. On the side of the mansion master, he should also know. Because back then, after your elder brother's accident, the mansion master had even personally come to me once. He was so angry at the time that he almost killed me. But I know that at that time, he was actually just as scared as I was. After all, you and your elder brother are the children of a county princess? After something like this happens, if the Tang family pursues the matter, neither of us will survive. Chen Fan said in a deep voice, but you are all still fine now, which means that the Tang family doesn't care about my big brother's death. Tung Juk said, it's true that the Tang family hasn't responded to us. But whether or not anyone has secretly come to investigate, who knows? Chen Fan frowned, did you guys send the message, directly to the Tang family? Tung Juk said, yes. Chen Fan said in a deep voice, in that case, the person holding the Tang King's order didn't come to see you privately. Otherwise, he wouldn't have allowed you to pass the message directly to the Tang clan. And what did he command you in the first place? Tung Juk said, one is that your mother's identity must be kept secret. Two is that there is no need to give the Chen family any special care. And the third point is that any major events that happen in the Chen family must be reported to the Tang family. Chen Fan said, So you also told the Tang family about my grandfather stepping into the Clasping Dan realm? Tung Juk lightly coughed. Naturally, there's also the matter that you've been unable to build your foundation. I thought about it and said it all together. But I didn't expect that after you came back from the Earth Spirit Abyss, you managed to build your foundation. Chen Fan said in his heart, Could it be that the Tang family is thinking of letting me participate in the competition because I, a loser, have suddenly succeeded in building a foundation, and that's why they are thinking of letting me participate in the competition, and not because my age happens to meet the minimum requirements to participate in the competition, other than that, is there anything else you can tell me, this bottle of elixir is worth a lot of money, moreover, if we can establish a relationship of trust between us, I will definitely pay you a lot of filial piety in the future, Chen Fan laughed, Tung Ju Kei busily said, I wouldn't dare to ask you to honor me. Before this layer of identity on you was uncovered, you were just the Chen family's second youngest Chen. But now, in terms of identity, you're much more noble than me. The city lord of this small, broken city. Chen Fan shook his head and said, I don't need or care about this nepotistic status of the Tang family. I only hope that in the future, if the Tang family has any more orders for you, you can let me know. Of course, 
if it's news like they are going to make a move on the Chun family, I won't make it difficult for you, and you don't have to inform me. This kind of information, Tung Ju K didn't have the guts to leak it to him, so there's no need to force it. He only wanted to go through Tung Ju K, the change in attitude towards the Chen family and beyond. Tung Ju K laughed. You're joking. With your mother's relationship, the Tang family will not strike out at the Chun family. If they were to make a move, they wouldn't wait until now. Chen Fan smiled and got up. Since there is nothing else you can tell me, then the junior will leave. He he, then I won't keep you much longer. Tung Juk laughed. Chen Fan made a salute and left. Tung Ju K's eyes narrowed, and he looked down at the elixir in his hand again. It seems that the rumors should be true. Just, how could this Chen Fan's strength suddenly become so strong? He was actually able to kill even the heavenly treasure sect's supreme elder. Could it be that he had obtained some sort of unimaginable inheritance within the earth spirit abyss? That kind of opportunity didn't just allow him to successfully build a foundation. It also allowed his cultivation to skyrocket, directly raising him to the clasping Dan realm? As crazy as that thought really is, how else can it be explained? Tung Ju K could only guess. And in front of Chen Fan, he didn't point these out. Sometimes, knowing more may not be a good thing. However, with this bottle of spirit rising pill, I finally have a chance to step into the clasping Dan realm as well. Tung Juk's gaze became burning. When Chen Fan returned to the Chen family, he found that Yu Chi Ling was already in his house. Island master. I'm sorry, I was the one who was capricious last night. I'll accept whatever punishment you want to give me. As soon as Yu Chi Ling saw Chen Fan, she immediately came up to apologize for her mistake. Chen Fan laughed. This matter is not enough for you to be punished. However, it is time for you to return to the immortal Dao sect. Yu Chi Ling's eyes reddened. You're still saying no punishment? You kicking me out is the hardest punishment for me. Chen Fan said helplessly. Didn't you come to deliver the elixir? Now this elixir has been delivered ah. If it wasn't for the matter over at Tiger Ridge Mountain, you should have gone back a long time ago. Yu Chi Ling's heart was bitter. She didn't believe that Chen Fan didn't know that her true intention of coming to Tiger Spirit City. Chen Fan laughed. Go back. After you go back, cultivate well. This outside is far more dangerous than Sin Immortal Island. And this amount of your cultivation is far from enough. Yu Chi Ling hesitated. Then in case the blood soul sex people kill them, the manpower on this side, will it be enough? Chen Fan laughed. Don't worry, they are just a dead end elder. Even if they come to commit a crime, they won't send out much strength. It's just that if Cold Moony Moon doesn't arrive in person, I'll be able to handle it all with ease. Chapter 155 Age 13 Yu Chi Ling nodded her head with a lost voice. Since the island master is determined to drive me away, then I will go back. Linger won't do anything against the island master's wishes anymore. With that, Yu Chi Ling headed out of the house. Chen Fan was helpless. Was he considered rushing? But he didn't explain much. Yu Chi Ling wasn't strong enough and neither was he. He likewise needed a quiet environment for cultivation. After Yu Qi Ling left, Chen Fan threw a few pills to Big Yellow and cultivated himself on his knees. In the blink of an eye, ten days passed. On this day, Chen Fan was on the Sin Immortal Island, asking Yu Qian for advice on spirit refining and infant transformation, when Zhou Bo's voice sounded outside the courtyard. Young Master Fan, the Mountain River Sword Sex Royal Feng Wang he has come to pay a visit. Chen Fan sniffed, withdrew his mind and walked out. He smiled lightly, tell her I haven't thought about it yet. If she's in a hurry, go back first. Joe Bo replied in a respectful voice. Yes. As Joe Bo walked away, Big Yellow said in disbelief, Island Master, sooner or later, this blood soul sect will confront us. Why don't we take this opportunity to join forces with them and eliminate the blood soul sect together? Chen Fan shook his head and said, this matter is not as simple as you think. The Mountain River Sword sect may have the intention of destroying the demons but why wouldn't they want to take this opportunity to see our cards? Moreover, once we enter this game, no matter if it's the Immortal Dao sect or the Chun family, they will all be completely involved in the battle between the righteous and the devil, and there will be no more peaceful days in the future. The Chen family has enough trouble. I'm really not interested in making any alliances with them. Chen Fan didn't have the heart to be a savior. The Blood Soul sect, as could be seen from Tu Sanshur, was indeed a nest of poisonous snakes and plague rats, but as long as they did not commit any offense against the Chun family and the immortal Dao sect, Chen Fan did not want to take the initiative to provoke them. The incoming Tu Sanshur, he has already killed. Now he was waiting for the messenger age 13. Only when he saw age 13 would he reply to Mikado Ho. As long as the blood soul sect could be temporarily stabilized from finding trouble with the Chun family. After some time, what was a small blood soul sect? Chen Fan would not put his hopes of a decisive victory on an irrelevant person. What's more? It was also highly likely that Linghu Changchun was the one who instigated Tu Sanshur to turn against the Chen family. 
Uncle Zhou came to the door of the mansion. Miss Royal, my young master said that he hasn't thought about it yet, and said that if you're in a hurry, you can go back first, Zhou Bo truthfully said. The imperial wind lotus froze, not expecting such a passing comment to be waited for. Please pass on another message. I would like to meet second young master Chen face to face, royal wind lotus said in a deep voice. Chen Fan had dragged her for 10 days, and actually wanted to drag her further. Uncle Zhou shook his head and said, young master asked the old slave to pass on the message, so it's clear that he has no intention of seeing Miss Royal. Miss Royal might as well please return. Makaz Ho bit her bright red lips, her right hand lifted and an invitation card surfaced. Please pass this invitation to second young Chen and tell him that in 5 days, it will be the 200th birthday of old ancestor Ling Hu. If he has thought about it, take this invitation and head to the Ling Hu family. Zhou Bo took the invitation and smiled. The old man will surely relay the message. Makazho said in a deep voice, Many thanks. With that, he didn't linger any longer and turned to leave. Soon, Uncle Zhou handed over the invitation to Chen Fan. Chen Fan just glanced at the invitation and put it away. Uncle Zhou, instruct the doorman to be polite and report to me immediately if there are any visitors from the living recently. Chen Fan explained, counting the days, the 13th year of age should be here. He couldn't take the initiative to find age 13 but he believed that age 13 would have a way to know that two Sancher had already died in his hands. He just couldn't conclude in what way age 13 would appear to him. He didn't want the janitor to die in vain if he could help it. Yes, Joe Bo led the way and retired. Another night, twinkling stars that spread across the sky. It was a beautiful day, but a silhouette, but ghostly, swept towards the sky above the Chen mansion. Swish, a silhouette, suddenly burst out, blocking before the black shadow. You're age 13? Tong Xiaoxiao smiled in surprise. It was because this person who attempted to attack the Chen family at night was actually a beautiful young looking woman. At the very least, it was more than 10 years younger than Tong Xiaoxiao's current body. It seems that you guys knew that I would show up. Age 13's eyes were like cold stars as he said in a cold voice. At the same time, she swept her eyes warily downward. Alas, how good it would have been if you had appeared earlier. Tong Xiaoxiao said with some regret. Age 13 raised an eyebrow, not understanding what Tong Xiaoxiao meant. Since you're here, come in and have a seat. Chen Fan's voice traveled into the void. Age 13's eyes sank slightly. Tong Xiaoxiao laughed. Don't think about escaping. You don't have a chance. Age 13 sneered. No wonder Tu Sancher planted himself here. The Chen family really does have some ability. Age 13 felt a sense of oppression from Tong Xiaoxiao's body. Although she wasn't sure of Tong Xiaoxiao's exact cultivation level, it was definitely stronger than her. Who was in the middle stage of the Clasping Dan realm? And indeed it is. Tong Xiaoxiao had already elevated to the late stage of the Clasping Dan realm a few days ago. These islanders, even if the physical body talent they occupied was not good, but relying on the powerful techniques they practiced, as well as their own uncommon enlightenment, as long as the resources were in place, their cultivation speed could still be far better than that of ordinary people. Please, pretty little girl, Tong Xiaoxiao teased and laughed. H13 coldly grunted and landed towards the location where Chen Fan had transmitted his voice. When her figure landed, the Chen clan's guards were immediately alarmed and were just about to make a move when Big Yellow's laughter vibrated. No need to be alarmed. Perhaps it's the young master's guest. The guards froze. Perhaps a guest of the young master? And what if it's not? However, when the Big Yellow guest minister spoke, they naturally would not make any more moves. H13 and Tong Xiaoxiao successively fell into Chen Fan's courtyard. Chen Fan was already sitting in front of a stone table. When he saw the appearance of H13, Chen Fan was also surprised. I didn't expect the messenger to be so young. Chen Fan laughed. Age 13 laughed coldly. I also didn't expect that the rumored waste of the Chen clan was hiding so deeply. It seems that the black robe within the earth spirit abyss, as well as the person who exterminated the heavenly treasure sect and the arc blade sect, is also you. Chen Fan smiled and said, it seems that the aged girl did her homework before coming here. Do you think that if Tu Sancher knew about all this before he committed my Chen family, would he still strike out at my Chen family? Age 13 said in a chilling voice, no matter how stupid Tu Sancher is, he is still a member of my blood soul sect. If you kill him, you are an enemy of my blood soul sect. Chen Fan shook his head and said, Miss Age, you are being a bit unreasonable. Do you really want to make enemies of my immortal Dao sect for the sake of a traitor? Age 13 narrowed his eyes. Even if he betrayed the clan and deceived me, his life should be executed by our clan. Ha, your old girl is really going to keep talking to me in that tone? I can still treat you as a guest now. Chen Fan's eyes narrowed falsely. Age 13 sneered. What? Do you think I will be at your mercy like that coward too Sancher? Then you have underestimated the messengers. Those who are able to become messengers are those who are absolutely loyal to the sect. 
they would never do anything that would jeopardize the interests of the sect, so don't even think about controlling me to achieve any of your goals. Chapter 156, Guess How I Know? Chen Fan smiled and said, I did not think of controlling you. Letting Tu Sanchur trick you into coming here was only because of your status as a messenger. Age 13's eyes narrowed. In that case, you want me to deliver a message for you. The year old girl is truly icy smart. It's a pity that such a young and beautiful girl is from the devil sect. Chen Fan laughed. Age 13 sneered. You so-called righteous martial cultivators aren't any good either. Among the righteous path, although the good and the bad are mixed, most of them still behave in a disciplined manner. Unlike the devil sect, which is basically cold-hearted thugs. This point, Miss Age does not deny it, right? Chen Fan asked. Age 13 just grunted coldly. What message do you want me to deliver for you? She stared at Chen Fan and asked. Chen Fan laughed. Tu Sancher was instructed to commit a crime against my Chen family, and was executed by me. However, both the Chun family and the immortal Dao sect have no intention of getting involved in the battle between the righteous and the devils. Therefore, I hope that the matter of Tu Sancher will be written off with his death. If the Blood Soul sect is not willing to put the matter to rest, I, the immortal Dao sect, can also accompany them to the end? Accompany me to the end? Age 13 laughed coldly. It seems that destroying the Heavenly Treasure sect and the Arcblade sect really made you overconfident. Do you know how many clasping Dan realms my sect possesses? And my sect master is even an immortal infant realm powerhouse. Destroying your immortal Dao sect is just a flip of the hand. Chen Fan laughed. Miss Age, you are just a messenger. Just deliver the message for me. For such a big event, you should not have the authority to make decisions for your patriarch. Age 13 coldly said. It is true that I do not have this power, but if you want to clear the account, it is absolutely impossible with just your words. Also, you just said that Tu Sancher was instructed by someone. Who was he instructed by? A middle-aged man of the immortal infant realm. Tu Sanchi's memories of him are already blurry. Only remembering this. But this man, he seems to know everything about Tu Sancher like the back of his hand. Chen Fan said. Age 13 frowned. You should have kept Tu Sanchi's life. Age 13 said in a cold voice. Chen Fan shook his head and said, he was a bit injured at the time and couldn't last long enough for you to arrive, so I gave him a hard time. Then you are still merciful. Age 13 sneered. He he, compared to you guys, I am indeed merciful. Chen Fan smiled faintly. Age 13's eyes flashed coldly as he stared into Chen Fan's eyes. If you don't want to cause more trouble, you need to show greater sincerity to make up for the loss of my sex personnel. Chen Fan shook his head. My sincerity. That's all. No more. Ha. <laughs> It seems like you asked me to come here just to show me how arrogant you are. Age 13 said angrily. Chen Fan laughed and said. Why should the year old girl be angry? It's best if we can talk about it. And if we can't, then we'll fight. Whatever the outcome, I will gladly accept it. The night is also late, so I won't keep Miss Age. Take those four people you left outside the city and leave. It's just the five of you. You can't touch my Chen family yet. Chen Fan's words caused Age 13's pupils to shrink. She was not, this time, alone. Accompanying her were four elders, but these four people were clearly waiting 30 miles away from Tiger Spirit City. How did you know? Age 13 asked in a deep voice. Guess how I know? Chen Fan's lips lifted up in a faint smile. Age 13's pupils were slightly dilated. As far as she knew, even for the great perfection of the Clasping Dan realm, the limit range covered by the power of the mind was only 20 miles in a radius. For Chen Fan to be able to discover the four elders so quickly, Either they happened to be discovered by Chen Fan's people who had discovered the trail and ran back to secretly send a soul voice to Chen Fan, or, Chen Fan's cultivation had already surpassed the clasping Dan realm. H13 took a low breath and said in a deep voice, You're Chen family, it's really mind-boggling. He he, thanks for the compliment. Miss Age, Chen Fan smiled faintly. Dash, see off the guests. Tong Xiaoxiao smiled evilly. Miss Age, please. H13's eyes flickered, but did not say much, and between turns, he rose up in the air and disappeared into the night sky in the blink of an eye. Island master, should I follow her and watch her leave? Tong Xiaoxiao asked. Chen Fan shook his head and said, no need. She doesn't look like someone who is looking for death. Moreover, she must also report everything she saw and heard tonight to Cold Moonyue. Tong Xiaoxiao laughed. Then what if it really invites Cold Underworld Moon here? Haven't you always found it boring? Now that it's interesting, could it be that you're afraid again? Chen Fan played with the flavor. Tong Xiaoxiao's face flushed red as she snapped. I'm not the one who's afraid. It's just that the strength of the immortal infant realm is indeed still a bit scary. Don't worry. Cold Munyue won't make an enemy of my immortal Dao sect for an insignificant Tu Sancher at this juncture. Of course, if she is a fool, then that's another story. Chen Fan smiled lightly. The Mountain River Sword sect was contacting people all over the place. 
organizing plans to exterminate the demons. Chen Fan didn't believe that the people from the Blood Soul sect hadn't received a single bit of news. In that case, it seems like there's little need for us to see this age 13, Tong Xiaoxiao said doubtfully. Chen Fan smiled lightly. If I don't see her, how can I make her sure that I am the immortal Dao sect's patriarch? The other purpose of seeing her is to tell her that Tu Sancher did not cross paths with my Chen family by chance, but was coerced by someone. When the Blood Soul sect knew this, they would naturally go after the identity of that middle-aged man as well. I have to say, although the methods of demonic cultivators are cruel, they can sometimes be much more efficient than normal means. Tong Xiaoxiao drifted off. It seems that the peace talks are nothing more than a front. Tong Xiaoxiao laughed. Chen Fan narrowed his eyes and said, It's not all a front. At least it can buy us some time to become stronger. We have a unique advantage. But again, it takes time for the advantage to manifest itself. Tong Xiaoxiao's face straightened as he solemnly said, Subordinate understands. My subordinate will definitely cultivate properly and strive to refine the spirit and transform into an infant at an early date. In this way, there will be no one within Qingzhou who can threaten us anymore. Chen Fan smiled. It's getting late. You should go back and rest as well. Tong Xiaoxiao wonderful eyes flashed. Bad smile. Island master. In fact, concubine this flesh. Although not really young, but still quite moist. Long night long. If you have the need. Get lost. I don't need it. Chen Fan glared at Tong Xiaoxiao without any good humor. Why are all these demon girls trying to charm him? The islander who occupies Tong Xiaoxiao's body is actually a female devil cultivator in her 20s. And her cultivation method is somewhat similar to that of the blood soul sect, which is also a soul cultivation method. Cluck 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 cluck. Then my concubine can really leave. Tong Xiaoxiao giggled and flew away. Alas, this island master of ours, is really good at everything? Just too infatuated. What a good age. Why suffer yourself? Tong Xiaoxiao, who had left, couldn't help but secretly sympathize with Chen Fan in his heart. Several days passed. On this day, Chen Fan was in deep thought as he held the invitation given by Royal Wind Lotus. Tomorrow is the 200th birthday of Linghu Changchun. This Linghu family, should he go or not? Chapter 157, please respect yourself. To go, he has to make his position and attitude clear. However, Chen Fan did not want to give these people a clear attitude. If you don't go, You'll miss an opportunity to meet with Linghu Changchun. Only after meeting Linghu Changchun face to face could Chen Fan possibly discover more. Chen Fan had a feeling that the death of his elder brother, Chen Ping, and the person who coerced Tu Sancher were most likely the same person. Therefore, such an opportunity was all the more reason for him not to miss it. Just as Chen Fan was hesitating, Uncle Zhou arrived outside his courtyard. Looks like we have another guest. Chen Fan smiled faintly. Uncle Zhou smiled. Yes, there is a brother and sister outside the mansion, claiming to be from the Linghu family, and wanting to pay a visit to young master. Chen Fan narrowed his eyes and said, It seems that they won't be satisfied until they pull me down. Please come in. Yes, soon. Uncle Zhou brought Linghu Guanshan and Linghu Listening Rain to the outside of the courtyard. When Linghu Listening Rain saw Chen Fan, she was beaming with joy. Her eyes were bright as she playfully said, Chen Fan, it's been a long time. Ah, you're a pleasant surprise. Chen Fan smiled lightly. The arrival of the two of you has also surprised me. Please come in. After Ling Hu Guanshan walked in, his eyes narrowed slightly as he faintly said, You're hiding really deep. So many people have been fooled by you. Chen Fan said indifferently, Those who were cheated can only blame themselves for having eyes without pearls. Ling Hu Guanshan's face sank. Wasn't Chen Fan saying that he had eyes but no pearls? He he. Then I'm not the one who has no eyes. I felt that you were very interesting at that time and there was always a heartwarming quality in your body. Ling Hu hearing Rain smiled wryly. Chen Fan just smiled. This Ling Hu listening Rain, although he had been showing some interest in him, and had even pleaded for him, he knew very well that the previous him, in Ling Hu listening Rain's eyes, was nothing more than a humanoid toy that could be played with or toyed with. It's like teasing a cat and walking a dog. Both of you, have a seat. Chen Fan invited. Ling Hu Guanshan said in a deep voice, Sitting is not necessary. You should know why we are here. Are you attending my great-grandfather's birthday banquet tomorrow? Chen Fan laughed. Is this considered a forced invitation? Ling Hu Guanshan shook his head. Not really, but the immortal Dao sex attitude is still very important to us, so we need to know your final decision. Chen Fan smiled lightly, seeing each other again. Brother Ling Hu has become much more stable. The corner of Ling Hu Guanshan's mouth twitched, which was that he had become much more stable, but rather, Today's Chen Fan was no longer the trash that he could pinch to death with his hands. Instead, it was a clutching Dan Realm powerhouse who was able to crush him with his hands. This shift in the identity of the strong and the weak left him with no choice but to curb his temper. What's more, his master had instructed him not to mess with the Chun family. Chen Fan, 
Just come, I want you to come. Seeing that Chen Fan did not respond positively, Ling Hu listening Rain actually stepped forward, grabbed Chen Fan's arm and pampered him. Seeing this, Ling Hu Guanshan's face darkened slightly. He did not like the idea of his sister, whom he regarded as a treasure, pleasing a man in this way, or so as to please a man other than him. Listen to the rain, Ling Hu Guanshan hummed, reminding Ling Hu listening Rain to pay attention. Ling Hu listening Rain didn't care about Ling Hu Guanshan's reminder, but instead, her red lips curled up, pasted into Chen Fan's ear, and said in a small playful voice, If you are willing, tomorrow I will let my great-grandfather set up a marriage contract for us in front of all the sex. How about that? With the help of my Ling Hu family, the immortal Dao sex position in Qingzhou will be even more untouchable. The Chen family, too, will soar to the heavens as a result, and no one will dare to mess with them. With a furious look in his eyes, Ling Hu Guanshan pulled Ling Hu listening rain away from Chen Fan and reprimanded. Don't fool around. Your marriage, how can it be taken lightly? Nor can you allow yourself to talk nonsense. Chen Fan, this sister of mine is just fun-loving and playful. You've seen it before. So, don't take what she said just now seriously. Ling Hu Guanshan looked at Chen Fan and said in a deep voice. Chen Fan smiled lightly. I didn't take it seriously. Besides, I already have a fiancé. Ling Hu listening rain bristled. Is that the Gu family's Gu Chuan Chuan, who was scrapped by the heavenly treasure sect? Is she as pretty as me? She's prettier than you, Chen Fan said indifferently. Ling Hu listening Rain unwillingly puffed out her cheeks and hummed. Then I'll have to meet her if I have the chance. Chen Fan didn't want to entangle with this pair of crazy siblings anymore and said indifferently. Tomorrow, I will go to wish old ancestor Ling Hu a happy birthday. But when I go there, it will only be a birthday celebration and nothing more. Ling Hu Guanshan frowned. But you know that tomorrow's birthday banquet is more than just a birthday banquet, Chen Fan said. I will only go to wish for a birthday, if you guys don't think it's appropriate, I won't go. Among Ling Hu Guanshan's eyes, he couldn't help but narrow a ferocious light as he said grimly, Chen Fan, we have already given you enough face by personally coming to invite you, you should not be ungrateful either, even if you are the immortal Dao sex patriarch, in front of my Ling Hu family, that is nothing, Chen Fan said disdainfully, since it's nothing, why do you guys still come, Humph, because you, immortal Dao sect, also have a responsibility in exterminating the forces of the devil sect. Ling Hu Guanshan said in a cold voice. Snort. Chen Fan couldn't help but laugh out loud. Ling Hu Guanshan's face darkened as Chen Fan's smile was filled with sarcasm in his eyes. In fact, Chen Fan was ridiculing him. It's not like I haven't seen what kind of virtue you, Ling Hu Guanshan, have. A person like you is also worthy of talking to me about responsibility? Between Chen Fan's sneers, his complexion also turned grim as he added under his breath. Ling Hu Guanshan, I hope you can wake up a little bit, your strength is no longer enough to be wildly angry and arrogant in front of me, and even if you are cloaked in the identity of the Linghu family, you cannot threaten me half as much, you may go. With a flick of his sleeve, Chen Fan gave his expulsion order, Linghu Guanshan's face was livid with anger, but he didn't do anything too drastic, because Chen Fan was right, with his strength, he was no longer qualified to be furiously arrogant in front of Chen Fan, Chen Fan dared to kill Jiang Feng, dared to kill Zhu Buchuan, and dared to destroy the Tian Bao sect and Arc Blade sect, all of these were enough to show that Chen Fan had a crazy energy in his bones, if he really angered Chen Fan, Chen Fan might not dare to kill him, brother, you've messed things up, Ling Hu listening rain complained, let's go, Ling Hu Guanshan grunted, you go first, I still have something in my heart that I want to talk to Chen Fan alone, Ling Hu listening rain said playfully, it was as if it was only Ling Hu Guanshan who was driven away, not her, Ling Hu Guanshan frowned tightly and grunted, don't do anything that will bring shame to the Ling Hu family. Otherwise, I won't forgive you. After Ling Hu Guanshan finished speaking, he took large strides towards the outside of the courtyard. Chen Fan glanced at Ling Hu hearing rain and said indifferently, Between us, there is nothing to talk about. Chen Fan, why are you doing this to me too? My brother is my brother and I am me. I have never targeted you. And can't you see that I like you very much? Ling Hu listening rain pouted and wanted to come up to grab Chen Fan's hand again. Snap. With a wave of his hand. Chen Fan slapped away Ling Hu hearing Rain's hand and said in a cold voice, Miss Ling Hu, please respect yourself. If you think that I am the kind of man who would soften his heart after hearing a few pampering words from a woman, you are thinking wrong. Chapter 158 The Neutered Wolf Ling Hu hearing Rain, who had her hand slapped away, her eyes reddened and she actually choked. Chen Fan, do I make you hate me that much? Chen Fan said indifferently, you and your big brother, indeed, are not pleasant people. The corner of Ling Hu listening Rain's mouth twitched. She didn't expect that this guy Chen Fan would be able to speak so directly. The men she had met in the past couldn't help but lick their way over like dogs if she showed a little. But Chen Fan, 
however, was like a sterilized wolf, fierce and ruthless. Well, it seems that the first impression I left with you was really bad, but after getting along for a long time, you'll realize that I'm just fun-loving and playful. My nature isn't bad. Ling Hu hearing rain choked back a sob, pretending to be a well-behaved person. Chen Fan laughed coldly in his heart. Because of Ling Hu hearing use fun-loving and playfulness, he did not know how many people had been killed. Although the executioner who killed was Ling Hu Guanshan, Ling Hu hearing Yu's hands were still stained with the blood of many innocent people. Her caprice, it's bloody. This kind of woman, even if she was true to him, he wouldn't like it. Seeing that Chen Fan didn't say anything, Ling Hu listening rain added, Chen Fan, you should still go tomorrow, even if it's just to celebrate my great-grandfather's birthday. My great-grandfather is a person who is very careful. If he knows that our Ling Hu family has sent you an invitation and you don't go to the banquet, he will definitely think that you are looking down on him. Although he may not pursue the matter because of this, the Immortal Dao sect has just been established not long ago. Offending a strong person of the Immortal Infant Realm, this is not a wise choice, don't you think so? Chen Fan said indifferently, what you said has some truth to it, then I will go to the Ling Hu family tomorrow to meet the world. He he, you promised. Great. Ling Hu listening rain happily wiped her tears. Then can I stay and join you tomorrow? Chen Fan frowned. Your brother is still waiting for you outside. Don't mind him. He's always minding me like I'll never grow up. I've been an adult for a long time now. Chen Fan, let me stay. I swear, I'll be a good boy in the Chen family and won't cause any trouble for you. If I dare to cause trouble, you can just get me killed. Ling Hu listening rain put up her palms in a serious manner and made an oath. When Chen Fan thought about it, he didn't seem to know where the Ling Hu family was. Having Ling Hu listening rain to lead the way would save him a lot of trouble. Go talk to your brother. If he agrees, I have no problem. Chen Fan said, he he, then I'll talk to my brother about it. Ling Hu listening rain said happily. She ran out a few steps and suddenly stopped again. Chen Fan thought that she had changed her mind, but she saw Ling Hu listening rain turn around, her face slightly red, her eyes shyly smiling. Chen Fan, the way you have a stern face, although it hurts my heart so much, it looks really manly. Green tea female watches are not as female as you. Chen Fan's face skin twitched, speechless to the extreme. Although Ling Hu listening rain acted meek and cute, this kind of trick was of little use to Chen Fan. Island master, I'm going to throw up. This woman, she's either really cheap or she's too able to pretend. After Ling Hu hearing rain left, Big Yellow said from the corner. Chen Fan said indifferently, then let's see how long she can pretend. Not long after, Ling Hu listening rain walked back with two small hands on her back and a happy face. Chen Fan, I convinced my brother. It's still early, so why don't you accompany me for a stroll in Tiger Spirit City? Ling Hu listening rain said playfully. Chen Fan smiled faintly. I'm afraid I'll have to disappoint Miss Ling Hu. I still have things to do and can't accompany the girl. If the girl likes to stroll around, I can have Uncle Zhou accompany her. Hanging out with an old grandpa. What's the point of that? Ling Hu listening rain pouted. Chen Fan laughed. Then go and rest. I'll ask Uncle Zhou to arrange shelter for you. Zhou Bo who received the voice transmission, hurried over. Uncle Zhou, arrange a guest room for Miss Ling Hu. Chen Fan commanded. Yes, Uncle Zhou smiled and agreed, turning his head to look at Ling Hu hearing rain. Miss Ling Hu, please. Ling Hu listening rain depressed followed Zhou Bo to leave. On the way out, that grudging little eyes. In other men, I'm afraid to feel guilty. Early the next morning, Ling Hu listening rain then came outside Chen Fan's courtyard and shouted with a smile. Chen Fan, it's time for us to set off. Chen Fan stepped out from the house and said with a faint smile, Miss Ling Hu, sacrifice your flying treasure weapon. Ling Hu hearing rain froze, we only have one flying treasure weapon, which is in my brother's hands. Chen Fan, don't you have a flying treasure weapon? Chen Fan's face twitched, he really didn't. Then how are you going to return to the Ling Hu family? Chen Fan said with a dark face, Ling Hu listening rain's face blushed, you carry me and fly back. It's fine if you carry me, I'll take a rope and hang you to fly, okay? Chen Fan said without any good humor. He he, if you can bear it, I'm fine. Ling Hu listening rain said wryly. Swish. Chen Fan grabbed the dress behind Ling Hu listening rain and led her to lift up into the air and swept away. A flash of anger flashed in the eyes of Ling Hu listening rain. Who was in flight? Chen Fan. This is hard for me. Ling Hu hearing rain gritted her teeth. Men and women are not close. Without a flying treasure, I can only fly with you like this. Look down at the road and tell me the direction. Chen Fan said indifferently. The low neck is even more strangled. Choked Ling Hu hearing rain. Hang in there. With my speed. It won't take long to reach the Ling Hu family. Chen Fan indifferently said. Chen Fan. Even if you don't like me. You can't treat someone who genuinely likes you like this. Right? Ling Hu hearing rain endured her anger. 
Chen Fan smiled faintly. I can only say I'm sorry. Who made us not have flying treasures? You stop. I have a flying treasure. Ling Hu hearing rain bit her lip and said, strangling all the way back like this, she was afraid her neck would be broken. Swish. Chen Fan stopped his storming flying form and frowned. How come this will be there again? Ling Hu listening rain reddened her eyes and said, Chen Fan, you're really an insensitive son of a bitch. Thanks to me liking you so much. Miss Ling Hu had better take back your favorite. Chen Fan said indifferently. Ling Hu listening rain bit her lip. And with a wave of her right hand, a silver colored canoe flashed out. Let go of me. Just as Ling Hu listening rain finished speaking, Chen Fan let go of his hand. The sudden feeling of weightlessness made Ling Hu listening rain startled, and hurriedly lifted her chi and leaped onto the flying boat. At her cultivation level, she was already able to fly in the air, only that she couldn't do it for a long time, and her flight speed wasn't fast either. Aren't you coming up? Seeing Chen Fan floating outside the flying boat, Ling Hu hearing rain could not help but frown. This flying boat of hers, although it was in the shape of a canoe, it was still no problem to sit two or three people. Chen Fan smiled lightly and said, I have flying swords. Buzz. Beneath Chen Fan's feet, a sudden green light leapt, and the wind pursuing immortal sword carried Chen Fan's body. Ling Hu hearing Rain's eyes reddened and she was suddenly watering. This flying sword of yours can clearly stand two people. Why did you tease me so much? Ling Hu listening Rain cried out angrily. Chen Fan said indifferently, Sorry, my flying sword only carries myself and the woman I like. So, does Miss Ling Hu understand my attitude? When we arrive at the Ling Hu family, I hope that Miss Ling Hu will not say anything that she shouldn't. Otherwise, it will only be a joke to the onlookers. Chen Fan was only doing this to make Ling Hu listening Rain die or put away that green tea tactic. Lest the others create misunderstandings at the birthday banquet where powerful people were gathered. He didn't want people to think that he, Chen Fan, was already tied to the Ling Hu family. Chapter 159 Immortal Taoist Patriarch Chen Fan After some teasing, Ling Hu hearing Rain seemed to be really angry and didn't continue to stick her hot face on her cold ass. Not a word more than directions. Chen Fan was happy to be quiet. About two hours later, in a huge flat valley surrounded by mountains on all sides, thousands of houses were situated. The houses, all of which were built around a huge fortress-like mansion. Below is my Linghu family. The birthday banquet will be held in the main mansion in the center. We'll go in through the east walled gate. Follow me. Whoosh. Linghu listening rain harnessed the flying boat and fell towards the bottom. Chen Fan stepped on the wind pursuing immortal sword and followed behind. Swish. The two landed at the same time. Meet Ms. Hearing Rain. The four guards guarding the east walled city gate bowed in unison and saluted. Ling Hu hearing Rain smiled faintly and said, This is the immortal Dao sect patriarch. He is the one you should rightfully salute. The four guards hurriedly saluted towards Chen Fan. Greetings, immortal Dao sect patriarch. Chen Fan nodded. Ling Hu hearing Rain said, Looking at the time, the birthday banquet is about to start. Chen Fan, let's quickly go over. Chen Fan said, You lead the way. I'll follow. Ling Hu hearing Rain smiled and immediately went through the East Wall City Gate. After the two left, the four guards only raised their heads, all of them surprised in their eyes. The immortal Dao Sex Patriarch is really so young. Yeah, looks like, like, a decade or so younger than us. To be so young and have such a cultivation in place, it seems that this Patriarch Chen's background is really quite something. It's no wonder that Miss Hearing Rain would personally go and invite it. A small murmur was left wherever the duo walked. From the East Walled City Gate to the front of the main residence, the two of them walked for more than an incense stick of time. The Linghu family, being able to stand in the Qingzhou territory for thousands of years without collapsing, is sufficient to see its power and deep roots. The two of them had just arrived outside the mansion when Linghu Guanshan hurriedly came, and after glancing at Chen Fan, he asked Linghu Listening Rain, Listening Rain, you finally come back. He didn't bully you, did he? Linghu Listening Rain laughed playfully, Brother, Patriarch Chen treats me well. How could he bully me? Linghu Guanshan raised his eyebrows and looked at Chen Fan's cold face with some suspicion. Then go in. The guests have basically all arrived. Linghu Guanshan laughed. Brother, you lead Patriarch Chen over first. I'll go back and change my clothes. Linghu listening rain laughed. Good. Patriarch Chen, please. Linghu Guanshan made a gesture to invite him. Chen Fan, along with Linghu Guanshan, entered the main residence and on the left side of the main residence's forecourt compound, there was a red cloth covered long table piled high with various gift boxes. There was also an old man ready to collect invitations and register arriving guests. Chen Fan walked over and handed over the invitation, and without waiting for the old man to ask a question, he smiled lightly and said, Immortal Dao sect patriarch Chen Fan. As he spoke, he took out a bottle of spirit rising pill and placed it on the table, on the bottle of the elixir. 
Yu Qi Ling had purposely labeled it with the three words Spirit Rising Elixir. The old man's eyes fluttered with excitement when he saw the Spirit Rising pill. Ling Hu Guanshan's eyes also showed shock. He didn't expect Chen Fan to come unwillingly and make such a generous offer. I didn't expect Patriarch Chen to be so generous, Ling Hu Guanshan said. Chen Fan smiled lightly. Isn't it because he is afraid that the congratulatory gift he sends is too shabby and will be looked down upon? Ling Hu Guanshan's face skin twitched. The feelings of this goods is for their own face. Rather than sincerely send this big gift, Patriarch Chen, not far away, a surprised voice came. Chen Fan twisted his head to look, and it was none other than Royal Wind Lotus who brought Luo Qingkue. Walking towards this side, Chen Fan raised an eyebrow and laughed. It seems that Miss Luo is really highly valued in the Mountain River Sword sect, and after just a few days of joining the sect, she is able to accompany the sect's elders and participate in such a feast. Luo Qingkite's face flushed. She always felt that in Chen Fan's words, there were a few hints of sarcasm, but at this moment, Royal Wind Lotus was by her side, so she couldn't explain. It only said, Senior sister knows that I am poorly informed, so she brought me here to see more, to be able to see young Chen here. Xin Kite is very happy. When Royal Wind Lotus saw that Chen Fan didn't take care of himself, there was some huffing in his eyes. However, seeing that Chen Fan was displeased with Luo Qingkite, he still explained for Luo Qingkite, Patriarch Chen, I guess that your identity is actually not related to senior sister Luo. Chen Fan smiled lightly and said, These are trivial matters, and I don't care. Royal Windhelm said, Windhelm admires Patriarch Chen for being so generous. Chen Fan glanced at Linghu Guanshan and laughed, Shouldn't you lead me to meet the sect leaders of the various sects? Is it possible for me to stay here all the time? Nagging with them? Several people choked in their throats as they listened to Chen Fan's words. Yeah, although Chen Fan was even younger than them. However, Chen Fan's identity was the immortal Dao sect patriarch, regardless of his status and position, or his strength. He was already a big shot capable of standing on the same level as the patriarchs of various clans and the heads of various sects. Ling Hu Guanshan took a low breath and smiled towards Mikado He and Luo Qingkite. Both of you, we'll excuse you for a moment. Patriarch Chen, this way please. Chen Fan nodded, and led by Ling Hu Guanshan, he headed further inside the mansion. As Mikado looked at the duo's backs, he smiled bitterly and said, It seems that after his identity was revealed, he has become that black-robed nature again. Luo Qingkue pursed her lips and said, Perhaps, this is the truest version of him. Upon entering the inner mansion, Chen Fan saw a courtyard full of silhouettes, gathered in twos and threes, complimenting each other and talking about the world. This scene was so similar to the mansion feast in the previous life. The only difference is that there are no highballs and crossdressers in sexy gowns. Seniors, let me introduce to you all. This is Immortal Dao Sex Patriarch Chen. With Ling Hu Guanshan's laughter, all the conversations stopped. Everyone's eyes were focused on Chen Fan's body. Some people's eyes contained indignation, revealing a fierce and murderous aura, while others revealed awe. Of course, surprise is even less of a factor. After all, such a young patriarch, the entire Qingzhou prefecture would not be able to find the second one in thousands of years. Indeed, he is young and promising. Although I have heard that the immortal Dao sex patriarch is a very young young talent, I really didn't expect that patriarch Chen would be as young as this. Ha ha, Elder Lu. Perhaps patriarch Chen is also just like Elder Ling Hu, residing in his youth and evergreen? At this time, three old men, in a panic, squeezed over from the crowd and saluted Chen Fan in unison. Dong Fang Mu. Meet Patriarch, Yao Qiji, meet Patriarch, Huang Tianhai, meet Patriarch. Chen Fan smiled faintly, the three of you are here as well. Dong Fang Mu hurriedly said, back to Patriarch, we have already asked Vice Patriarch Huang for instructions, and Vice Patriarch Huang agreed, which is why we came to the banquet. Although it was still the first time for the three Dong Fang Mu to see Chen Fan's real face, they thought that no one would dare to impersonate the immortal Dao sect Patriarch nowadays, so they didn't have the slightest doubt about Chen Fan's identity. Chen Fan nodded his head and said, Old ancestor Ling Hu is 100 years old. A feast like this really shouldn't be missed. You guys don't need to be nervous. The three of them breathed a sigh of relief. The people of the other clans, their eyes flickered and flashed as they said in their hearts. It seems that the rumors of the Dongfang clan, Yao clan, and Huang clan attaching themselves to the immortal Dao sect are also true. Old me, Lei Wu sect patriarch Situ Ji, I've known patriarch Chen for a long time, and I've finally met him today, in a laughing voice. A burly old man with half of his face covered in white gills, leading several people, walked over from the door of a remote courtyard. Chapter 160 Hot Pool Courtyard Upon hearing the name of the Thunder Marshal sect, the crowd of family figures that surrounded Chin Fan in front of him to pay their compliments consciously made way. Of the five powerful sects in Qingzhou, 
Now that the Tianbao sect had been destroyed and the Arc Sword sect had become a puppet of the Immortal Dao sect, the only truly great sects left were the Immortal Dao sect, the Tianchui sect, the Mountain River Sword sect, and the Thunder Martial sect. Even though the Immortal Dao sect's reputation for ferocious might had shaken the entire Qingzhou, the Thunder Martial sect was still in existence that the small and medium-sized sects and the great clans could not afford to mess with. Situ Ji and the others walked slowly, opposite Chen Fan. Chen Fan arched his hand and smiled lightly. This clan has also been known for a long time for senior Situ. It is indeed a pleasure to meet you today. Situ Ji's eyes narrowed with a smile as he laughed. The fact that Patriarch Chen was able to come today is enough to show that we are all of the same path. And in the future, the two sects will surely exchange quite a bit. However, the old man here, there is an unkind request. I wonder if Patriarch Chen can agree. Chen Fan smiled. Senior Situ, please speak. Situ Ji laughed. I know that Jiang Huan's daughter, Jiang Yun, is still alive today. This woman and my son, Situ Nan, had a marriage contract long ago. I wonder if Patriarch Chen can let Jiang Yun go for the sake of my face? Chen Fan froze. Is there even a marriage contract between Jiang Yun and young Patriarch Situ? This sect is completely unaware of it. Ha ha. It's not too late for Patriarch Chen to know at this time. Situ Ji laughed out loud. Chen Fan shook his head. It's already too late. Situ Ji's face froze, and a young man behind him, his pupils angrily dilated, couldn't help but angrily roar. What did you do to Jiang Yun? Chen Fan glanced at the youth and said, I guess you are Situ Nan? Situ Nan gritted his teeth. That's right, I am Situ Nan. Tell me, what did you do to Yuner? Chen Fan said with a face of pity, if I had known that there is a marriage contract between Jiang Yun and the young patriarch, I would not have taken her as a tripod. But now, the wood has become a boat. Please ask the young patriarch to choose another good fate. The moment Chen Fan's words came out, the faces of the people present, all became brilliant. As for the Thunder Martial Sects group, their faces were as black as charcoal. Chen Fan, to his surprise, had taken the fiancé of the young master of the Thunder Martial Sect and used her as a cauldron. Many people looked at Situ Nan's head and green light emerged. Situ Ji's face was stiff and half speechless. He had wanted, in front of a group of pinnacle figures in Qingzhou, to make it bad for Chen Fan to reject his request, but he had not expected to get a big green hat for the Thunder Martial Sect. On the contrary, it was not good for him to get angry. For one thing, Chen Fan had said that he had previously not known that Zhang Yun and Situ Nan had a marriage contract. Secondly, this was the birthday banquet of old ancestor Ling Hu, and even if he was angry, he wouldn't dare to make a big deal out of it. Sito Nan felt like his heart was going to break. And angry. I don't believe you don't know. Yuner is deeply in love with me. How could she be willing to become your cauldron? When he forced her, how could she not tell you that she has a marriage contract with me? Situ Nan wanted to control his emotions, but the feeling of a broken heart made him want to go crazy, so he couldn't control himself and roared out. Chen Fan shook his head and said, If the young sect master doesn't believe in it, you can go to the Immortal Dao sect tomorrow to meet with Jiang Yun. If she is willing to leave, the sect will never stop her. Sito Nan's face twitched. Even if Jiang Yun was willing to leave. So what? She was already Chen Fan's tripod. No longer the pure and flawless Jiang Yun in his heart ah. Situ Ji slowed down and said in a low voice. Patriarch Chen is right. Since the timber has been turned into a boat, my son's engagement with Jiang Yun should be considered null and void. Nanner, the person in front of you is the Immortal Dao Patriarch. You must not be rude. Situ Nan gritted his teeth, his eyes itching to eat Chen Fan alive. Chen Fan smiled. No matter, I can understand the mood of the young patriarch. You understand shit. Sito Nan mentally growled. He he, what are you all chatting about? So lively. Laughter came as a group of people walked in through the gate behind Chen Fan. Ling Hu Guanshan hurriedly turned around and saluted. Greetings father. Greetings uncles and elder brothers. Chen Fan similarly turned around when Ling Hu Guanshan turned around. At this moment, there were six people who walked through the gate. The man in the center at the head of the group was a young and middle-aged man with a handsome appearance. The looks alone seemed to be absolutely no more than 40 years old. Moreover, the others who traveled with them were almost as young in appearance. More like a group of brothers than a father and son. He he, I believe this is Patriarch Chen. Ling Hu Chong Yun arched his hand and smiled. Ling Hu Guanshan hurriedly introduced. Patriarch Chen, this is my father and the head of the Ling Hu family. Chen Fan arched his hand and returned the salute. Smiling, greetings to family master Ling Hu, Patriarch Chen, let's talk inside. Ling Hu Chong Yun laughed, in the main residence of Ling Hu, in a small secluded courtyard, groups of flowers bloom and smell like flowers, a pool of warm water, bubbling with light smoke and heat. In the pool, four women, like flowers and jade, were lying on their backs next to a man, laughing and having fun with him, a pair of lotus feet, barefoot, 
That kid from the Chin clan, has he arrived already? The man in the pool asked with a light smile. Ling Hu listening rain bowed and said, yes, old ancestor. However, he did not agree to join the Demon Destruction Alliance. It only said that he only came this time to wish old ancestor a happy birthday. Ha, <laughs> really is an unruly little guy. If he had agreed directly, I would have to look down on him a bit. Ling Hu Chang Chun laughed, seemingly not feeling surprised. The lively and playful Ling Hu listening rain, in front of Ling Hu Chang Chun, but she was too nervous to utter a single breath. If Ling Hu Chang Chun didn't ask, she didn't dare to say a word more. This kid, can he be close to you? Ling Hu Chang Chun asked. When Ling Hu listening rain heard this, she knelt down with a bang and said with a pale face, I'm sorry old ancestor, I didn't know that he was so important to you, and even less did I know that he was hiding so deeply in the first place, so when I first met him, I failed to leave any good impression on him. Nowadays, Chen Fan has not only no intention of being close to me, but instead, he has a bit of boredom. The small courtyard, which was originally enveloped by warm air currents, suddenly became icy cold. Mist moving light smoke, all turned into a white crystal frost body, fell down. The four women who were busy in the pool were even more frozen, their lips trembling and their bodies a little purple. Please calm your anger, old ancestor. Listening Rain will definitely use all means to make Chen Fan fall in love with Listening Rain. Ling Hu Listening Rain shivered and said. Ling Hu Chang Chun said in a cold voice, Do you think you still have a chance? I am a woman. He is a man. There will definitely be a chance. Ling Hu Listening Rain hurriedly said, but her twinkling eyes betrayed her. She did not have much confidence in successfully charming Chen Fan. You know in your heart that you don't stand a chance anymore. He can never look at you again. Ling Hu Chang Chun shook his head. Ling Hu Listening Rain was so scared that she fell to the ground and choked. Old ancestors spare your life. Listening Rain knows that she is wrong. Ha, <laughs> the fault is not all on you. It is just that you and this kid. There is no destiny. You don't have to be so scared. I didn't intend to chastise you. Go and tell you Zhu. This brat of the Chen family. Has vital significance with my Ling Hu family? I don't care what means she uses. Make sure to take this son for me. Ling Hu Changchun smiled faintly. As he laughed, the small courtyard became warm again and the ice crystals on the ground, at a speed visible to the naked eye, melted rapidly. Chapter 161 Ling Hu hearing Rain's eyes trembled. Her heart shocked. She did not expect that for the sake of Chen Fan. The old ancestor would actually want to send out Ling Hu Yuzhu. She had no doubt that it was worth it for the old ancestor to do so. But she knew very well now what she had missed. Yes, I'm going to see Sister Yuzhu. Ling Hu listening Rain respectfully answered. Well, in the future. You shouldn't appear in front of Chen Fan together with Yu Zhu, lest he gets sick of the house. If it's because of you that you ruined their good deed, old ancestor can't spare you anymore. Ling Hu Changchun smiled faintly. Ling Hu listening Rain looked horrified and busily said, Listening Rain keeps this in mind. Go on. Ling Hu listening Rain obediently got up and exited the Wenqi small courtyard. The corners of Ling Hu Changchun's lips slanted up as he raised his hand and pressed down on a woman's head. The inner house, the house. Prohibition shrouded. In the house. There were only 32 people, the two from the Linghu family, the two from the Mountain River Sword sect, the two from the Tianchui sect, the two from the Thunder Marshal sect, as well as a few other medium sorts of sect lords with good strengths, and the patriarchs of a few large clans. Chen Fan, too, was one of them. Chen Fan had a bit of an egg on his face since he came in. This Linghu Chong Yun, without even asking him if he wanted to join the Demon Destruction Alliance, directly brought him into this decision-making circle. If he chose to leave at this time, he was afraid that if anything happened in the future, the Demon Destruction Alliance would be the first to look for the Immortal Dao sect. This is trying to drag him hard to the boat. Ling Hu Family Master, you seem to have something important to talk about. It's not quite appropriate for me to be here, is it? Chen Fan said with a faint smile. Ling Hu Chong Yun laughed. Patriarch Chen, Guan Shan has already told me what you mean. Rest assured, whether you are willing to become a member of the Alliance afterward or not. The Linghu family absolutely trusts Patriarch Chen to lead Patriarch Chen here. There is even no intention to force Patriarch Chen to join the alliance. We just want to ask Patriarch Chen to listen to our thoughts and perhaps be able to make Patriarch Chen's thoughts change a little. The moment Linghu Changyun's words came out, the faces of the others could not help but change. Situ Ji frowned and asked directly, So, Patriarch Chen hasn't agreed to join the alliance? Linghu family master, you're taking too much of a risk. If word of our secret talks about destroying demons here gets out, I'm afraid that the Blood Soul sect will have already slaughtered our clans and tribes before we even launch an attack on Mount Lakyang. Yes, if we do not have a firm heart to exterminate the demons, how can we conspire with them at the same table? Patriarch Chen, please forgive the old man for making an unreasonable request. 
if you are unwilling to join the alliance, I'm afraid that before the demon extermination is accomplished, for the sake of the safety of our various clans and tribes, we will have to condescend to you to stay in the Linghu family for a period of time. An old man, said in a deep voice, this old man, sitting on the side of the mountain river sword sex patriarchly Chilming, was named Zhao Kuang, the grand elder of the mountain river sword sect. When the others heard Zhao Kuang's suggestion, they looked at Chen Fan with cold and sharp gazes. Although he didn't say anything, the threat, the warning, was obvious. Chen Fan narrowed his eyes and smiled faintly. It seems that old ancestor Ling Hu's birthday banquet is also a Hongmen banquet targeting me. Ling Hu Chongyun's face sank as he said in a cold voice, Grand Elder Zhao, what are you doing? I have already said that my Ling Hu family has absolute trust in Patriarch Chen. After the birthday banquet, my Ling Hu family will absolutely not hold Patriarch Chen back. Sovereign Chen can stay if he wants to, or leave if he wants to. No one in the Ling Hu family will stop him. If you all can't trust Patriarch Chen, then you can't trust the Linghu family, and the matter of demon extermination is not to be discussed. The crowd's faces changed once again. Without the support of the Linghu family, it would be impossible for them alone to exterminate the Blood Soul sect. Instead, they would be taking their own lives. Mountain River Sword Sect Patriarch Li Chioming, his face somber, spoke out. The plan to exterminate the demons was spearheaded and initiated by my Mountain River Sword Sect, so I, Li, must also consider the safety of the various clans and tribes. Ling Hu family master, can I ask why you trust Patriarch Chen so much? Could it be that you have known each other for a long time and already know each other? Ling Hu Chong Yun faintly said, not really. Chen Fan sat lightly and idly, not arguing or discerning. He wasn't going to fall for this kind of double cross, trying to get under his skin. He wished now that these old things would just kick him out. He had come to the Ling Hu family with only one purpose, just to take a look at Ling Hu Chong Chun. Li Chiuming's frown deepened as he said, since family head Ling Hu isn't familiar with Chen Zong either, where does this trust come from? Ling Hu Chongyun looked at Chen Fan and said with a faint smile, Patriarch Chen is young and talented, his talent is demonic, and his future achievements are immeasurable. Regarding the demon extermination operation, even though there are some scruples and a momentary inability to make a decision, I believe that no matter what, Patriarch Chen will never do anything to betray his fellow disciples and destroy his own future. After all, if you get involved with demonic cultivators, it will be an eternity of no light, living in the past. If all of you were in Patriarch Chen's position right now, would you make an unwise choice? I think that none of you would. After Li Chiuming pondered, he nodded and said, Family head Linghu has a point. Patriarch Chen has an unlimited future ahead of him, so there is indeed no need to get involved with demonic cultivators. But I don't understand. What exactly are your scruples? Patriarch Chen? The extermination of demons is a righteous act. The devil cultivators in the world are also everyone's to kill. As the immortal Dao sex patriarch, Patriarch Chen should have such a heart. Chen Fan smiled. What a cudgel plus moral abduction. Sure enough, they are a bunch of sophisticated old foxes. Li Chiuming's last question was said while looking at Chen Fan. The gazes of those gathered in this room once again looked at Chen Fan in unison. Seeing that Chen Fan had a smile on his face but did not speak, the crowd was unsure. How long will it take for you to exterminate the demons? Chen Fan asked with a smile. The crowd froze. Li Chiuming shook his head and said, We are gathered here today. One is to celebrate the birthday of old ancestor Ling Hu, and the other is to discuss the specific plan. There is no fixed date for the time being. Moreover, even if it is discussed, I'm afraid that the battle to exterminate the devils will not be able to end in a short period of time. What is the meaning of Patriarch Chen asking this? Chen Fan laughed. I understand that you all do not trust me enough. After all, my immortal Dao sect has suddenly risen to prominence, and it is only human nature for you all to have doubts in your hearts. That's why I plan to accept Grand Elder Zhao's offer to stay at the Linghu family until you guys finish exterminating the demons. I only hope that you all won't let me stay too long. Zhao Quan's face twitched. His proposal was merely to stimulate Chen Fan to join the alliance. Who would have thought that Chen Fan, the head of a clan, would willingly subject himself to this coercion? The faces of the others, too, were a bit confused. The immortal way sex patriarch, so good-tempered? Was this still the domineering young man who had destroyed two clans in a row? Cough. Patriarch Chen. My clan's elder Zhao's proposal is truly inappropriate. In fact, we are more interested in knowing. Before Li Chiuming could finish his words, he was interrupted by Chen Fan with a smile. This sect feels that Grand Elder Zhao's proposal is very good. Normally, when one wants to come to the Linghu family as a guest, there is not much opportunity to do so. But now that one can stay for a short period of time, this sect is eager to do so. Chapter 162 Chen Fan's Face Ha ha, Patriarch Chen is joking. My Linghu family has always intended to be close to the various clans and tribes. 
If you want to come to the Linghu family as a guest, you can do it anytime ah, but coercion as a guest, the Linghu family definitely cannot do that. Linghu Chong Yun laughed. Chen Fan laughed. I stayed voluntarily, never coerced. Linghu Chong Yun's face twitched. So, they've been talking for half a day, but Chen Fan isn't going to change his mind? Li Qiuming said in a deep voice. It seems that Patriarch Chen is truly unwilling to join the Demon Destruction Alliance. Can I ask why? Chen Fan smiled lightly and said, The Immortal Dao Sex Foundation is not yet stabilized, and the sect does not want to toss and turn for the time being. Li Qiuming frowned, But I've heard that no matter if it was the extermination of the Heavenly Treasure Sect or the subjugation of the Arc Blade Sect, the Immortal Dao Sect didn't seem to have suffered any losses. Chen Fan smiled faintly, Patriarch Li, the foundation I'm talking about is not just strength but also the hearts of the people. After all, the immortal Dao sect has controlled the disciples of the two sects through the means of beheading the two sect lords as well as the clasping Dan realm elders. If at this time, my immortal Dao sect goes on an expedition to exterminate the demons, the sect will more than likely give birth to the phase of woe and turmoil. The so-called instability is exactly here. Li Qiuming smiled faintly and said, if it's just this, Patriarch Chen need not worry. As long as we keep one clasping Dan realm realm sitter each within the immortal Dao sect and the arc blade sect, there won't be anyone who dares to stir up trouble. Chen Fan narrowed his eyes and said, Patriarch Li, are you forcing our clan to participate in the battle to exterminate the demons? Li Qiuming raised his eyebrows slightly and said, Naturally not. It's just that all the sects are responsible for the extermination of the demons. There is a responsibility. But I do not wish to be kidnapped by that responsibility. At least, for the time being, I am unwilling to make a move. If your sect wants to exterminate the demons, then make a few more efforts on your own. Chen Fan indifferently said. Seeing Chen Fan's attitude become cold and hardened, Li Qiuming took a low breath and his face was also slightly chilled as he said. In that case, I will no longer force myself. Chen Fan smiled. Thank you, Patriarch Li, for your understanding. After saying that, he got up and said. Gentlemen, it really isn't appropriate for me to stay here anymore. Master of the Linghu family, please open the prohibition and let me out. If the Linghu family still welcomes me as a guest, I will stay and drink a few cups of wine and water. If I am no longer welcome, I will leave now. Linghu Chong Yun laughed. Patriarch Chen is a guest that the Linghu family has invited with great difficulty, and the Linghu family should welcome him. Since Patriarch Chen insists on going out, then go out and sit for a while first. Linghu Chong Yun smiled and waved his hand, dispersing the prohibition. Chen Fan smiled and arched his hand. Enjoy your chat. This clan will leave first. Chen Fan did not linger any longer and left the table. Trying to force his hand in this way was not something Chen Fan was happy about. Even if he wanted to exterminate the devil, he had to hold the chips of victory in his own hands, rather than looking up to others. Just after the ban was recovered, several people clenched their fists in anger and pounded on the desktop. This Chen Fan, he's so arrogant. He really doesn't have the slightest regard for my Qingzhou righteousness. Yes, in front of so many of our seniors, still doing what I do. This kid, too rampant. If I had known this, I shouldn't have contacted him. Now, instead, we have exposed our plan to exterminate the demons. I thought he would be a hot-blooded young man after destroying the Heavenly Treasure Sect and the Arc Blade Sect. But who knows that the moment he heard about destroying the demons, he wimped out. You guys say that this Chen Fan is able to rise suddenly. Could there be a devil cultivator fostering him behind this? If he himself is a puppet being fostered by a demonic cultivator, wouldn't we be in danger this time of exterminating the demons? The crowd spoke up and began to berate Chen Fan. Some even suspected that Chen Fan was a puppet fostered by the demonic cultivator. Linghu Chong Yun smiled at his words. It seems that all of you are really not at all clear about this one's details. The crowd froze and looked at Linghu Chong Yun. Li Chiuming was surprised. Linghu family master, could it be that you know the details of this Chen Fan? Linghu Chong Yun smiled. I am not at liberty to reveal more about him, but it must have nothing to do with the devil cultivator. In fact, I won't hide it from you all. The old ancestor's promise to aid in the extermination of the devils this time around was also entirely for Chen Fan's face. It's just that we all didn't expect that he would actually be unwilling to start the battle to exterminate the demons. The crowd was dumbfounded. Old ancestor Ling Hu was willing to make a move, but he was actually looking at Chen Fan's face? Ling Hu Chong Yun smiled and said, I know that you all can't figure it out for a while, but you will all understand in the future. You all should also rest assured that as long as you still insist on destroying the demons, the old ancestor's promise will still be valid. Li Qiuming said in a deep voice, The plan to exterminate the demons has already been planned, so it cannot end without a problem. What's more, there are quite a few people who know about this plan. If we give up at this time, once the news reaches the blood soul sex ears, they will definitely retaliate against us with a vindictive style of behavior. 
We can't give the blood soul sect this chance to break us one by one. Lei Wu sect patriarch Situ Ji said in a deep voice. What patriarch Li said is very true. The blood soul sect is a tumor in Qingzhou that must be removed this time. Even if the immortal Dao sect is unwilling to join. With the combined power of our clans and tribes, we still have a chance to win. I agree with the two patriarchs decision. If the devil sect is not removed, we will never have peace. I won't hide it from you all. Recently my Hong family has already had seven clansmen die at the hands of demonic cultivators. The Hong clan and the devil sect are on a collision course and will not rest until they are dead. I'm a Pang family as it is. My Su family too. Ling Hu family master. You have seen our determination. All of us and the demonic cultivators. We will not rest in death. Li Qiongming solemnly said. Ling Hu Chong Yun smiled and said. In that case, my Ling Hu family is true to its word. In addition to my old ancestor who will hold back cold Munyue. My Ling Hu family, I am also willing to send out six clasping Dan realm members to exterminate the demons together with all of you. The crowd rejoiced. Together with these six clasping Dan realm members from the Linghu family, on their side, they could gather at least 40 or more clasping Dan realm powerhouses. With old man Linghu keeping cold Munyue in check, this battle will definitely be won. The Linghu family, worthy of being the number one clan in Qingzhou, we are in awe. Ha ha, all of you don't need to pay compliments. So let's plan when we'll do it and how much manpower and battle power each clan can deploy. Linghu Chong Yun laughed, and the people began to discuss the specific plan to exterminate the demons. The end result was that everything was done quickly, without giving the blood soul sect time to react. The various clans and tribes, all of which were determined to destroy the blood soul sect, had almost all brought out their old secrets. After the statistics, it made Li Chiuming, Situ Ji and the others even more energized. From all the sects and clans, the strong clutching Dan Realm practitioners who went out to fight together totaled 47. Spirit Lake Realm, 260 people in total. True Spirit Realm, beyond 600. It was agreed that three days after the birthday banquet, with the strength of these nearly 1, 000 people, they would directly kill Falling Sun Mountain. Beyond the conference, Chen Fan sat alone at a table idly, drinking a small amount of wine and water, occasionally taking a spirit fruit and nibbling on it. Quite a few people were glancing at him with secret curiosity. These people were all speculating about what reason Chen Fan had been kicked out by the elders of the various clans and tribes. And why did Chen Fan still have the cheek to sit here, drinking wine and eating fruit in a leisurely immortal manner? Clang. Openly, a Zhang sound rang out, followed by a burst of beautiful melody, like waves, continuously impacting. The beauty of the sound of the zither goes straight to the heart, so that one can't help but leave all distractions behind and immerse oneself in it. Even with Chen Fan's state of mind, he could not help but fall into it. It wasn't that he couldn't jump out of the sound of the zither, but he didn't want to. He didn't want to, because the sound of the piano, it's really beautiful and soothing. Chapter 163 Ling Hu Yuchu This song should only be found in heaven, and can be heard a few times on earth. As the song came to an end, Chen Fan gave out praise from the bottom of his heart. Ever since he came to this Ling Hu family, it had been quite distracting for him. The song, which rang out at just the right time, wiped out those irritating distractions in his mind. I didn't expect the Linghu family to have such wonderful hands. I just don't know. Who is the one playing the zither? I think it must be a certain Qin Dao expert that was specially invited to celebrate the birthday of elder ancestor Linghu. That's right. Unless one is a great master of the zither path, one definitely cannot play such a marvelous sound. I really want to meet this everyone who plays music. Those who heard the song were all whispering with glittering eyes. Linghu Guanshan suddenly walked up to Chen Fan and laughed. Patriarch Chen, is there any interest in meeting the one who played the zither just now? Chen Fan raised his eyebrows. Do I have this honor? Ling Hu Guanshan laughed. Naturally. Chen Fan laughed. Then what are you waiting for? Mr. Ling Hu lead the way. Patriarch Chen follow me. Ling Hu Guanshan smiled and led the way. But a cold chill swept up under his eyes. When he thought that the best cabbage of the Ling Hu family was about to become Chen Fan's cauldron, Ling Hu Guanshan's heart was in a state of displeasure. Although Chen Fan's identity has now changed greatly. So that Ling Hu Guanshan had to be treated respectfully. But in the bottom of Ling Hu Guanshan's heart, Chen Fan still has the brand of the small town's wasted young man. After passing through several round gates, Ling Hu Guanshan stopped outside the entrance of the fourth round gate. The person who played the song in the party is in this courtyard. Patriarch Chen please. Ling Hu Guanshan laughed. Chen Fan laughed. Isn't Mr. Ling Hu coming along? Ling Hu Guanshan laughed. You guys know how to meet each other. And I'm not an elegant person. So I won't accompany you. Chen Fan laughed. I just meditated and listened to a song. And this makes me a soulmate? Ling Hu Guanshan laughed. This is what my sister said. Chen Fan was about to ask again. 
In the courtyard came a crisp woman's voice, listening to the song of many people. Only the Chen Patriarch is the most heart sunk in it. God and the sound of the same. Since it is the Yuzhu know the voice undoubtedly. Yuzhu is looking forward to seeing you. And I hope that Patriarch Chen will be able to fulfill his wish. Chen Fan smiled faintly. If this is the second beauty plan, I'll admit it. After saying that, Chen Fan walked in towards the round door. With a gloomy face, Ling Hu Guanshan turned around and walked away. Inside the courtyard, there were no flowers or plants, but a huge weeping willow was planted. Willow drooped down into a not-so-large, clear rock pool only a meter square, a few red carp, frolicking in the middle of it. The door to the house within the courtyard was open, and a stunningly beautiful woman in a long green gown stood behind an ancient zither. Bowing with a smile on her face as she saluted Chen Fan, Ling Hu Yuchu, meet Patriarch Chen. Chen Fan smiled and returned the salute. Miss Yuzhu, the zither is marvelous. This clan is very impressed. Ling Hu Yuzhu laughed. Is Yuzhu's zither skill the only thing that can move Patriarch Chen's heart? Ling Hu Yuzhu brittle voice pleasant. This smile, more people sweet into the heart, just like bathing in the spring breeze. Chen Fan raised his eyebrows. Are all the girls of this Ling Hu family so direct? But he had to admit. This Ling Hu Yuzhu, is in addition to Gu Chuanju outside, the first person to let his heart incomparable woman. Absolute beauty of the face is better than the heavenly fairies. Delicate but not lose the plump body. Just one glance, will make the heart happy among them, unable to move away from the eyes. Chen Fan was very sure that Ling Hu Yuzhu did not use any charming means to charm him. This kind of liking stemmed entirely from Ling Hu Yuzhu's outstanding self, as well as Chen Fan's own primitive desires. The country's beauty, the earth's special thing, must mean such a woman as Ling Hu Yuzhu. No, there are still your people. Chen Fan poured out a breath, uncovered. Ling Hu Yuzhu smiled sweetly and said, My concubine is fortunate enough to have not lost her honor. She bowed and made a bow, then walked out from behind the ancient zither and came in front of Chen Fan. Yuzhu has stayed in her bosom for 30 years and has never left this small courtyard, just to wait for Patriarch Chen. If Patriarch Chen is willing to accept Yuzhu, Yuzhu will be able to leave this small courtyard today. From now on, the concubine's heart will be with you, night after night. In the spring breeze, Ling Hu Yuju smiled shyly. A little bit of blush surfaced on her face, her white jade hand, leading towards Chen Fan's palm. Chen Fan thought about refusing, although he had never promised like Gu Buyu that he wanted to be together for a lifetime. But such a promise, because of the various contributions of Gu Chuan Xin, he has long been ready to go to a lifetime to fulfill. But at this moment, he realized that he couldn't say anything at all if he refused as if to refuse would be a blasphemy against the beauty in front of him. A person who has won a $5 million lottery ticket will never throw away the jackpot in general because he has been adhering to the concept of self-reliance and hard work to become rich. You are willing to do this because of the order from the Linghu family, right? Chen Fan said in a low voice. Linghu Yuzhu laughed. It is indeed an order from the family. However, after meeting Patriarch Chen himself, my concubine's heart is even more joyful. At the very least, Patriarch Chen is young and amazingly talented and to be able to serve Patriarch Chen with my body. Yuzhu believes that this is fate's kindest favor to Yuzhu. Chen Fan frowned, is it hard to believe that your existence is just an attempt by the Linghu family to pull in the sidekicks? Linghu Yuzhu nodded and smiled. All the daughters of the Linghu family are like this. Patriarch Chen may not know much about my Linghu family. If Patriarch Chen is willing, we can move to the stone table in the courtyard, and Yuzhu is willing to tell all for Patriarch Chen. Chen Fan nodded his head and said, I wish to hear more. Only then did Chen Fan realize that his own palm had long been held tightly by Ling Hu Yuzhu's soft palm. Holding hands, the two walked back into the courtyard and sat down at the stone table. With a flick of Ling Hu Yuzhu's sleeve, a set of tea utensils surfaced. She took out another delicate jade bottle, poured out the clear spring, and burned the pot to fill it with water. The Ling Hu family has always inherited two sets of techniques, one of which is the overwhelming heavenly bloodshed technique, and the other is the pure elemental spring wind transition. In my clan, most of the men practice the bastardly bloodshed skill. Because of this skill, the men of the Linghu family are mostly domineering and bossy, and are good at killing. Women, on the other hand, could only cultivate the pure elemental spring wind duo. The pure element spring wind duo, in reality, is a technique that is only practiced by the body of a cauldron. The women of the Linghu family, who actively cultivate this technique, do so in order to recruit a son-in-law into their family, in order to strengthen the overall strength of my Linghu family. When Chen Fan heard this, he couldn't help but laugh. Then if I accepted you, wouldn't I still have to enter the Linghu family? Linghu Yuzhu shook her head and laughed. Patriarch Chen is a potential dragon. Would he not be trapped in a pool? Old ancestor wouldn't have thought so either. The jade bamboo is a gift from the Linghu family to Patriarch Chen. 
and it is also the jade bamboo's creation and destiny. Chen Fan was surprised. This is the arrangement of your old ancestor? Ling Hu Yuzhu nodded, yes, Yuzhu is born pure in body. Body repair 26 years of spring breeze fairy, although not much strong combat power, but already hold the Dan realm of the middle cultivation. In the Ling Hu family, the status of the equivalent of the family head, only the ancestor, only have the power to order Yuzhu promised to be whoever. As long as Patriarch Chen is willing, Jade Bamboo is always ready to offer a pure Yuan cultivation for Patriarch Chen in order to help him ascend to the immortal infant realm at an early date. Chen Fan took a low breath. This Ling Hu old ancestor really prepared a super gift for him. With such a superb body of a cauldron, Chen Fan believed that there was not a single martial arts cultivator in the world who could refuse it. Chapter 164, The Golden Girls, a stunningly beautiful creature, or the body of an excellent tripod. To be honest, Chen Fan was very moved. However, the Ling Hu family had arranged such a superb gift, and Chen Fan felt hot. Give a great gift and you will get what you want. Everything has a cause and effect. It doesn't happen for no reason. Do you know why old ancestor Ling Hu was taking such good care of me? Chen Fan asked with a smile. Although it was a question that he might not be able to get an honest answer to, he wanted to ask it anyway. Ling Hu Yuzhu, however, shook her head and said, what the old ancestor is doing must have a deeper meaning. But the intention of where? And did not tell Yuzhu. However, the family has tilted countless resources in my favor, which has led to my current cultivation. Old ancestor gifted me to Patriarch Chen, so he must have no ill will towards Patriarch Chen. Yuzhu dares to guess that old ancestor either wants to form a good bond with Patriarch Chen and work together for the future. Chen Fan secretly said in his heart, if it was really pulling the strings, Ling Hu Chang Chun would not be the one who instructed Tu Sanchur. But who could know that this wasn't the remedy that Ling Hu Chang Chun had come up with after learning that the Tang family had come to Qingzhou? Or, it was simply just to confuse him and make him give up his suspicions of the Ling Hu family. I want to meet your old ancestor first, Chen Fan said after pondering. Ling Hu Yuzhu laughed as she made a pot of tea with boiled water. The birthday banquet is about to begin, and the old ancestor is about to appear. It looks like Yuzhu won't have the chance to attend the old ancestor's birthday banquet, which is a bit disappointing. Chen Fan laughed. Do you want to go? Ling Hu Yuzhu nodded and said, since I wanted to see the bustle of this earth, I was born and raised in this courtyard. Although I understand what's going on outside, I've never been able to truly see everything outside. Chen Fan said, is it true that if I lead you out, I am telling the Ling Hu family that I have accepted you? Yes, Ling Hu Yuzhu answered with a smile, poured a cup of tea for Chen Fan and pushed it in front of him. Chen Fan touched his nose, blew two mouthfuls, tasted a mouthful. The tea fragrance was strong and the aftertaste was endless. Good tea, he praised. Ling Hu Yuzhu laughed. I heard that this is the spring hair harvested from Yunding Mountain, and the harvest is less than half a caddy a year, but every year, the family will send me one or two. If Patriarch Chen likes it, the rest of the Yuzhu can be sent to you. Chen Fan laughed. Meeting a woman like you, I think any man would soften his heart for you. Ling Hu Yuzhu's pair of clear eyes suddenly snowed up. Is this Patriarch Chen's promise to accept Yuzhu? Ling Hu Yuzhu said excitedly. Chen Fan laughed, I am also a man and cannot refuse a beauty like you, I only hope that what the Ling Hu family is asking for won't make things difficult for me, otherwise, I will have my own firmness, and when that happens, I will have to let them lose a stunning beauty like you for nothing, Ling Hu Yuzhu laughed softly, after stepping out of this courtyard, my concubine is Patriarch Chen's person, regardless of any decision Patriarch Chen makes, my concubine will stand on Patriarch Chen's side, Chen Fan just laughed, and in his heart, he thought nothing of it, Ling Hu Yuzhu is the daughter of the Ling Hu family, and the Ling Hu family tilted countless resources to cultivate the human form of the heavy gift, her heart, and will not be the first weight of a man of a foreign surname? Although the beauty was intoxicating, Chen Fan did not lose his mind. Let's go out. From today onwards, you are my Chen Fan's person. Chen Fan got up and smiled. My concubine's heart is very happy. Ling Hu Yuzhu smiled with a beaming smile and stood up. Chen Fan smiled and took the initiative to extend his palm. Ling Hu Yuzhu's eyes flashed with a smile as she placed her white jade-like palm into Chen Fan's palm. Predictably, there will be a bunch of people who are going to die of envy. Chen Fan laughed. Sovereign, please don't make fun of my concubine. Ling Hu Yuzhu laughed with a slightly reddened face. She had also thought about what kind of person she would be given by the old ancestor in the future. Perhaps, it would be an alchemist with a high level of cultivation. Perhaps, it would be an amazingly talented formation master. Or perhaps, it would be some powerful existence whose cultivation could be comparable to that of the old ancestor. None of these people, however, should be young. Ling Hu Yuzhu had never imagined that the person he had met would still be younger than he was. She was even a little afraid of the old ancestor's arrangement. 
fearing that she would be rejected by Chen Fan, because that kind of luck shouldn't be possible a second time. Fortunately, Chen Fan did not reject her, but she knew in her heart that Chen Fan had not accepted her just because of her beauty. Because, Chen Fan's eyes did not have that greedy and lustful light. She was more like a delicate flower being admired in Chen Fan's eyes. He couldn't bear to pick it, and he didn't want to be picked by others. Observing words and colors and understanding people's hearts is also a necessary lesson for the women of the Linghu family. She didn't know that Chen Fan had another thing on his mind. If Linghu Yuzhu has a future descent and dares to betray him, he is perfectly capable of giving this pair of absolutely beautiful skins and changing the owner. So why didn't he have the guts to lead away such a special thing that the Linghu family was willing to give away? Chen Fan held Linghu Yuzhu's hand and passed through several round doors, re-entering the place of the banquet. At this time, the people in the room, having finished their deliberations, all came out, and Linghu Chong Yun was arranging for the people to be seated. Seeing Chen Fan leading Linghu Yuzhu, everyone's eyes looked straight. Linghu Chong Yun's eyelids jumped hard for a moment, and his gaze swished to Linghu Guanshan. Linghu Guanshan busily said, It's not yet time to report to father. This is what the old ancestor meant. Linghu Chong Yun took a deep breath and said in a low voice, It seems that I'm still underestimating the weight he carries in my old ancestor's heart. Originally, in Linghu Chong Yun's mind, in the whole of Qingzhou, no one was worth the Linghu family's loss of Linghu Yuzhu. He had always thought that old ancestor had cultivated Linghu Yuzhu in order to lead the Linghu family into the southern region King City in preparation. Although he knew that Chen Fan had a relationship with the southern domain royal house, this layer of relationship on Chen Fan was not enough. But this is the arrangement of the old ancestor. Linghu Chong Yun since he did not dare to question, he greeted Chen Fan with a smile. Yuzhu has met father. Linghu Yuzhu owed a bow. Linghu Chong Yun nodded with a smile and looked at Chen Fan. Patriarch Chen, my daughter has not been rude and offensive, right? Chen Fan laughed. Linghu family master is joking. Such as Yuzhu this kind of gentle and virtuous woman, and will not have rude and offensive behavior. My heart is very pleased with her. After the birthday banquet, I would like to take her away. I don't know if family master Linghu agrees. Ha ha, if my daughter meets a good fate, how can I, as a father, stop it? Linghu Chong Yun laughed. Linghu listening rain in the corner, seeing Chen Fan's springy smile, couldn't help but have her eyes reddened, and she was so angry that she snapped a branch off. It's your own missed opportunity. No one else to blame. Suddenly, a voice rang out beside Linghu hearing rain. Linghu listening rain was so scared that her face turned white, and only when she inclined her head did she realize that the old ancestor had, at some point, stood beside her. Old ancestor, listening rain is just a little unwilling, and has no other thoughts. Linghu listening rain shivered in fear. If you're smart, you'd better not have other thoughts. Linghu Changchun smiled faintly. He stared at Chen Fan and Linghu Yuzhu in the distance, and in his eyes and at the corners of his mouth, there was a rich smile. It's really a good match. Golden children. That's what they say about such a pair of people. Right? Chapter 165 Necessity. Linghu Changchun watched Chen Fan and Linghu Yuzhu from the corner. Chen Fan sensed something and looked over in the direction of Linghu Changchun. Between glaring at Linghu Changchun, Chen Fan could not help but be surprised. What a bountiful, handsome, beautiful man. Chen Fan had to admit that the man in his eyes was the most handsome looking man he had seen in his two lifetimes. Sword brows and starry eyes. White skin. Completely flawless. Even if he only wore a loose white tunic with a slightly slouchy look, no one would think it was a flaw or not dignified enough. The smile that curled lightly at the corner of his mouth was all like a brisk spring breeze. The crowd noticed Chen Fan's gaze and also twisted to look. At this look, all of them saluted in surprise, calling out under their breath, Greetings, old ancestor. Chen Fan's eyes narrowed. This man, is Linghu Changchun? He let go of Linghu Yuchu's hand and walked towards Linghu Changchun. Linghu Changchun looked at Chen Fan walking towards him with a smile. The others, all of them maintained the posture of bowing as a salute, their eyes flickering lightly, not daring to make any half-excessive movements. Late generation Chen Fan, I have met elder ancestor Linghu, two meters apart. Chen Fan bowed and saluted. Linghu Changchun smiled and said, I know you have a lot of questions in your mind. So after the birthday banquet is over, let's talk alone. Chen Fan said, Good. Chong Yun, start. Linghu Changchun instructed Linghu Chong Yun. Linghu Chong Yun hurriedly said, Yes, please take your seats. The birthday banquet will begin immediately. In greeting, everyone walks to their seats. The music rises. Immortal sounds assaulted his ears. The players in the dark. Although they didn't have the attainments of Linghu Yuzhu, but each one of them was also a vocal music expert. And each note that came through was a fairy sound that mesmerized people. Suddenly, the flying sleeves rushed into the air, like colorful training. Hundreds of white-skirted women, flying, 
waved their colorful long sleeves and danced in the air. The beauty of the immortal posture is breathtaking. As the sound changes, sometimes soft as slow water, sometimes fast as a flying phoenix. This Linghu family, they know how to enjoy themselves. Chen Fan secretly said in his heart. Linghu Yuzhu was at his side, whispering, This is the Linghu family's flying phoenix song and dance troupe, with a total of 100 dancers, all of whom can be described as stunning, and all of whom have outstanding cultivation in their bodies. After the dance is over, if there is one that you like, as long as the guest opens his mouth, you can have him accompany you. However, for an occasion like today, I guess no one will ask. Chen Fan laughed. You always have to be a bit more prudish in front of people. Linghu Yuzhu hit her mouth and snickered. The music stopped, and the dancers twisted their postures and formed a flying phoenix formation, slowly floating and retreating. The crowd was still mesmerized by the beautiful dance and hesitated to withdraw their gaze. Linghu Chongyun smiled faintly. Grandson Chongyun, wishing old ancestor a long life. I wish old ancestor a long spring of 10,000 years and longevity with the heavens. Grandson Chong Fong, I wish old ancestor a happy birthday. I wish that old ancestor's immortal infant grows taller with each passing year, and that he leads Qingzhou for another 10,000 years. Grandson Shighawa, wishing old ancestor a happy birthday. As the Linghu family's group of close grandchildren and great-grandchildren finished wishing for their birthday, the heads of the various clans also rose to their feet, smiling and wishing loudly. Linghu Changchun seemed to be quite flattered and smiled to hear it, seeing that the patriarchs of the various clans had basically offered their toasts. Linghu Chongyun smiled and looked at Chen Fan. Chen Fan rose and smiled. Chen Fan of the Immortal Dao Sect, wishes old ancestor Linghu a happy birthday. I wish old ancestor Linghu an auspicious birthday and all the best, compared to the other people's toasts. Chen Fan's was slightly more ordinary. It was too pompous a toast, and Chen Fan really couldn't shout it out. He he, many thanks to Patriarch Chen. Linghu Changchun smiled, arching his hand in return. In the background, another wave of well wishes. After the toast, the feast was officially opened. Between the feasts, the wine goblets and the various voices of mutual compliments mingled into the ears. However, because of Chen Fan's refusal to join the Demon Destruction Alliance, very few people came to him for a toast. Chen Fan was also happy to be free. This kind of socializing was not something he would have liked. The banquet lasted for more than an hour and was finally over. The various clans and tribes, one after another, bid farewell to old ancestor Ling Hu and Ling Hu Chong Yun and left. Chen Fan stayed until the end. To be honest, this kind of socializing is also extremely displeasing to me. After dealing with everything, Linghu Changchun walked over to Chen Fan and said with a helpless smile. Chen Fan laughed. Old ancestors' dislike is a reverence that countless martial cultivators can't even beg for. Ha ha, if it is sincere reverence, since it is quite good, but there are many moralistic people in the world, who can know what they are thinking behind their back when they greet each other in front of their faces. Linghu Changchun laughed. Go, go sit in my small courtyard. Yu Zhu, you come along too. Yes, old ancestor, Ling Hu Yuchu respectfully said. Ling Hu Changchun led Chen Fan and Ling Hu Yuzhu towards his small warm pool courtyard. Others, since they dare not follow. When he reached the front of the courtyard, Ling Hu Changchun undid his clothes, took off his shoes and socks, and only wore a pair of clothes fitting bottoms. When Chen Fan was a bit confused, Ling Hu Changchun turned around and grinned. In my small courtyard, there is a rule that those who enter must be barefoot. You and Yuzhu, just take off your shoes and socks. You don't have to be like me. Chen Fan laughed. Good. He and Ling Hu Yuzhu both took off their shoes and socks. The moment he passed through the courtyard door, Chen Fan's eyes narrowed slightly. It seemed like there was a thin layer of forbidden power that they had penetrated through. The concentration of aura inside and outside the courtyard was also very different. Inside the courtyard, the aura was as thick as thick, at least tens of times thicker than the outside world. Everything in the courtyard is moisturized by spiritual qi, untainted by dust and exudes a surfeit of spiritual light. Under this courtyard, connected to the earth's spiritual springs, my ancestors of the Linghu family, is also looking for a long time, only to find this place, and finally fell into the clan here. After 2000 years, there is now the Linghu family. Between steps, Linghu Changchun said with a smile, Chen Fan was surprised in his heart, not knowing what kind of medicine this Linghu Changchun was selling in his gourd. However, in his mind, he did not abandon his vigilance in the slightest. At that moment, four women wearing transparent tulle walked in a delicate manner. The corners of Chen Fan's mouth twitched, because these four women, almost as if they had no clothes on, were no different. The transparent tulle could not hide the few dark colors on the white jade body. Ling Hu Changchun teased, they are all bodies that I have personally coached for more than 10 years, and have long since lost all sense of shame. Although Yuzhu is practicing pure element spring wind transition, 
There are some things that she hasn't had the chance to learn properly. We will go to the inner room to talk. Yu Zhu, you just go with them. Serving the master is not something that can be done by simply taking off your clothes. Ling Hu Yu Zhu blushed scarlet and owed her body. Yu Zhu will study hard. Shen Fan lightly coughed. Old ancestor, there's no need for this, is there? If Ling Hu Yu Chu, too, were to turn into the appearance of these four women, Chen Fan would have the feeling that he had entered a greenhouse and ordered a headboard. Ling Hu Chang Chun played with the flavor. It's very necessary. As men, we need to know how to enjoy ourselves. Viewing your body, it's still a body of pure yang. It's really rare. I was at your age, but I have already read countless women. Chen Fan was somewhat speechless. Was this worth bragging about? If he wanted to, he could have broken his body a long time ago too. Okay? Besides, in his previous life, he didn't have a lot of women. At Chen Fan's speechlessness, Ling Hu Changchun thought he was embarrassed and laughed. Let's go. Let's go inside. He he, Ms. Yu Zhu, you should come with us as well. The four women, too, playfully pulled Ling Hu Yu Zhu away. At this moment, Chen Fan suddenly felt a tinge of sadness on behalf of a perfect woman like Ling Hu Yu Zhu. Chapter 166. Is it you? Inside the house, Ling Hu Changchun set out two wine marigolds. Another alabaster wine pot was taken. The translucent decanter could be seen to be filled with an orange-yellow liquor. He poured two cups, picking one up first and sniffing it in front of his nose with an expression of enjoyment. He took a sip first, letting the liquor linger in his mouth for a long time before swallowing slowly. A truly good wine. It just feels different. Ling Hu Changchun smiled before reaching out his hand as an invitation. Patriarch Chen taste it. Chen Fan smiled and lifted the orange and yellow liquor up and sniffed it in front of his nose as well. He raised an eyebrow slightly. The aroma of the wine was overwhelming. The smell was pure and strong, and it was mixed with a sweetness and a pang of spiritual energy. Could this be spirit fruit wine? Chen Fan asked. Ling Hu Changchun laughed. That's right. This is the thousand spirit fruit wine, which is brewed from one thousand kinds of spirit fruits of the third grade or above. This pot of wine, moreover, has been cellared for a hundred years within my Xian Kong ring. Chen Fan laughed. That has to be tasted. He swallowed the liquor in his mouth and wrapped it slightly a few times. A huge amount of spiritual energy blasted into the body one step ahead of the wine chi, rushing through the veins and infiltrating the body. In just a few breaths of time, Chen Fan could clearly feel that he had grown a lot of spiritual energy. This spiritual energy, for an average person, was enough to be worth a year's worth of cultivation. Ku, Chen Fan's throat rolled and he swallowed all of the liquor. In an instant, his stomach was like fire, a burning sensation that surged through his body. This thousand spirit fruit wine actually has the effect of refining the tendons and quenching the bones. Chen Fan pretended to be surprised and said, This is the kind of good stuff that, out there, is really hard to come by. However, he has long been drinking fine wine that has been cellared for a thousand years within the Sin Immortal Island. He even knew that Yuqian still had a few jars in his collection that were long over 10,000 years old. Only, the spirit power contained in that 10,000 years collection was too huge. And even if Chen Fan's spirit body was a body of the mixed divine vein, with his current cultivation level, he could not easily swallow it. He he, there is no need to pretend to be surprised. Although you grew up in Tiger Spirit City, I know that you have this cultivation nowadays, and there must be a strong person behind you. Your insight and vision should have long surpassed the Qingzhou martial cultivators. Ling Hu Changchun smiled faintly. Chen Fan's eyes narrowed. Is Ling Hu Changchun finally getting to the point? Chen Fan laughed softly. Is this the reason why the old ancestor treats me extra favorably? Ling Hu Changchun smiled. When there are two walkers, they must be dependent on each other. Two people without a cause will not walk together without a cause. Therefore, the Ling Hu family's generous treatment today will naturally not be given for nothing. If I were to just say that I purely admire Patriarch Chen, Patriarch Chen wouldn't believe it either, right? Chen Fan laughed. Although I am very young, I have long passed the age of naivety. If old ancestor has something to say, why don't you just say it? I will answer if I can. From what he had seen so far, Chen Fan could not see a trace of hostility from Ling Hu Changchun, but that didn't mean that the Ling Hu Changchun in front of him was the real Ling Hu Changchun. To know whether the Ling Hu Changchun in front of him was a human or a ghost, a deeper contact was needed. This was one of the reasons why Chen Fan had accepted Ling Hu Yuzhu. If he wasn't admitted, I'm afraid he wouldn't have had the chance to walk into the small courtyard of Ling Hu Changchun. Ling Hu Changchun laughed softly. What I am asking for, you are not able to do right now, but I believe that one day in the future, the Ling Hu family will have a time to ask for you. You can also rest assured that the Ling Hu family's request will never make it too difficult for you. If you really reach that level, it will be nothing more than a show of hands for you. Chen Fan narrowed his eyes and said, Why doesn't old ancestor just make it clear? In this way, I can also have a bottom in my heart. 
Ling Hu Changchun shook his head and said, Now is not the time, if you know too much, it will affect the path you are going to take. I, on the other hand, do not want to influence you, if you are unwilling to help when the time comes, consider me, Ling Hu Changchun, to have looked away. Chen Fan said indifferently, the matter that the old ancestor is asking for, could it be related to the Tang family? Ling Hu Changchun shook his head, even the Ling Hu family thought that I was thinking of pulling you in because of the Tang family, but it's actually not. Chen Fan raised an eyebrow, if not this relationship, what else did he have that was worthy of a character like Ling Hu Changchun wanting to utilize? Was he looking at his martial arts potential and making a long-term investment? Chen Fan took a low breath and said, Old ancestor invited me here, saying that he wanted to solve my doubts, but after some conversation, the doubts in my heart, on the contrary, have increased. Ling Hu Changchun smiled, I did give you an answer, only, this answer cannot be given too clearly yet, if you have other doubts, you can also ask. Chen Fan narrowed his eyes and said, does the old ancestor know why I have come today? Ling Hu Changchun laughed. From the moment you entered the Ling Hu family, I realized that you have been in a state of cautious alert, but I thought that you were only on guard because you didn't know the Ling Hu family well enough. Now it seems like it's more than that. Chen Fan said in a deep voice, the Ling Hu family is indeed unfamiliar to me, but my main purpose of coming here today is to be able to meet my old ancestor. I want to know if he is the one I have been searching for. Ling Hu Changchun was surprised. You're looking for someone? That's right, a person who instructed Tu Sancher to commit a crime against my Qin family. This person is also most likely the one who killed my elder brother Qin Ping. According to Tu Sancher, the person who instructed him has a middle-aged face, is elegant, and is also an immortal infant realm powerhouse. Thinking about it, the only person who fits the description of the person he was referring to, in the entire Qingzhou, seems to be old ancestor. Chen Fan stared coldly at Ling Hu Changchun, his voice cold and deep. He he. According to the look you described, within the Qingzhou territory, it is indeed my look that best matches. Ling Hu Changchun smiled at his words. Is that you or not? Chen Fan slightly clenched his hands, ready to sacrifice the soul returning heavenly coffin at any time. He wasn't sure about killing the immortal infant realm head on. However, if Ling Hu Changchun suddenly attacked, he would use the black coffin as a shield to bounce back Ling Hu Changchun's power, and then take the opportunity to strike with all his strength. He might not be without a chance. Ling Hu Changchun shook his head and laughed, there's no way it would be me, although I know that you don't trust the Ling Hu family enough, I, Ling Hu Changchun, can swear with the Ling Hu family that the person who instructed Tu Sancher was never me, Chen Fan's heart was slightly relieved, in fact, he didn't want it to be Ling Hu Changchun, Ling Hu Changchun laughed, I might know who this person is, Chen Fan's eyes widened in excitement, who is he, Ling Hu Changchun shook his head and said, I can't tell you yet, you are very important to me as well as my Linghu clan, telling you at this time is tantamount to sending you to your death, because, this person I am guessing is a bit stronger than me, Chen Fan's heart shook, then when will the old ancestor be able to tell me, Chen Fan asked in a deep voice, at least wait until you step into the immortal infant realm before I can tell you, Linghu Changchun said, Chen Fan said in a low voice, then does old ancestor know why this person wants to deal with my Chen family, Linghu Changchun laughed, I'll answer this question together after you step into the immortal infant realm. I am curious, since Tu Sancher of the Blood Soul sect, has already made a move against the Chun family, why don't you take this opportunity to exterminate the Blood Soul sect? Chapter 167 Departure Chen Fan made a slight contemplation and said, There are actually two reasons. For one, as I said in front of all the clans, the immortal Dao sect's foundation is not yet stabilized, and I don't want to take that risk, even if I have an old ancestor to help me win in the end. The righteous martial arts cultivators will most likely only win a disastrous victory. Secondly, since old ancestor knows about my relationship with the Tang clan, he should understand that the Tang clan always has eyes and ears on the Chun clan and me. The heavenly treasure sect has a grudge against me that I must destroy, but I actually don't want to expose too much of my strength yet. Ling Hu Changchun froze slightly at his words, then shook his head and laughed. Do you know why I agreed to Li Q name? Chen Fan shook his head. He knew that Ling Hu Changchun would give an answer so he didn't bother guessing. Ling Hu Changchun laughed, there are also two reasons. One of them is that you want to make use of this battle to exterminate the devils to write the name of your immortal Dao sect, and at the same time increase the prestige of you, the immortal Dao sect's patriarch, in the green state. Of course, I have thought of the disastrous outcome in the end, but with the decline of the various sects as a result, your immortal Dao sect will have a better chance to capitalize on the situation and become the undisputed number one strongest sect within the Qingzhou territory. Secondly, through the battle to exterminate the demons, 
It would also increase your weight in the hearts of the Tang family. Even though the Tang family has inherited the throne of the southern region and has countless powerful demons under its command, it will also cherish talent. As long as you shine brightly enough, the Tang family's attitude towards you will change. Ha! <laughs> but I didn't realize that what I wanted was exactly what you didn't want. Chen Fan raised an eyebrow. Didn't old ancestor say that what you value is not this relationship between me and the Tang family? Of course, but this relationship with the Tang family is still valuable. Ling Hu Chang Chun laughed. Chen Fan could not help but suck in a breath. This Ling Hu Chang Chun, what exactly did he want him to help with? I have a feeling that it will be quite dangerous if I work with old ancestor. Chen Fan narrowed his eyes. Ling Hu Chang Chun laughed. Young people, should be a bit adventurous, dare to fight and gamble in order to win a splendid life. I think that Patriarch Chen's goal will not be to let the immortal Taoist sect be forever entrenched in this tiny Qingzhou land, right? Chen Fan's goal, naturally, was more than that. Only, he wouldn't let his ambition, flailing, get too crazy. Venturing in may look like blood and courage, but it can also capsize at any time and crash into the abyss. So, although with the help of the Linghu family, he could indeed make the immortal Tao sect quickly become the number one strongest sect in Qingzhou, and also perhaps earn some weight in the eyes of the Tang family. But if he himself does not possess great strength, all this possessed, he will not have full control. At that time, he would ultimately be nothing more than another person's puppet. A year from now, I'm going to the southern region King City to participate in the contest. If old ancestor's strike is really just to help me build up my reputation, could he wait until I return before making a move against the Blood Soul sect? Although the sect's plans have been finalized, I believe that with a word from old ancestor, they will be forced to stop for the time being. Chen Fan solemnly said. Ling Hu Chang Chun helplessly said. You are asking me to go back on my word to the clans. Although I don't care about this bit of reputation. But the reputation of the Ling Hu family is actually not very good. And if we make this mess again. I'm afraid that in the future. Not many people will be willing to trust the Ling Hu family. Chen Fan said. The old ancestor can use the epiphany and seclusion as an excuse. And just wait for a year later. When my immortal Dao sect and the Linghu family jointly take the lead in initiating the extermination of the devil, then we can win back the trust of all the sections. It's only a year, not very long. Linghu Changchun laughed softly. It feels like this year. You will change a lot. Everything. Let's do as you said. Tomorrow, I will have Chong Yun contact all the sections. Compared to those backstabbing angry curses from the sects, I'm still more excited to see what kind of changes you'll be able to make a year from now. Seeing that Linghu Changchun really agreed. Chen Fan arched his hand and smiled. Thank you, old ancestor. I now believe that the Linghu family is a friend and not an enemy. He he, if the Linghu family is your enemy, just for the sake of confusing you, I can't afford to lose that little nymph Yuzhu. Linghu Changchun teased. Chen Fan laughed. I would like to be. He he, I'll drink one more cup of this thousand spirit fruit wine, and the rest, you can take it back to your grandfather to taste. He first entered the clasping Dan realm. Drinking a cup of it will be enough to help him stabilize his realm. As Ling Hu Changchun laughed and talked, he poured himself another cup. Chen Fan was busy saying, such a rare and precious wine, it would be better for old ancestor to keep it for himself. Ling Hu Changchun shook his head and smiled, I don't have the habit of taking back what I gave away, it's just that this jug of wine has been opened, so your grandfather should not mind that it's a leftover jug of wine. Chen Fan laughed, then senior will respectfully thank old ancestor on behalf of my grandfather. This remaining thousand spirit fruit wine, which still had most of the bottle, contained a huge amount of spiritual energy that could at least be comparable to two sixth grade pills. Most importantly, this spirit wine could be swallowed in small portions, and when absorbing spiritual energy, it would not cause a spiritual load on the physical body of the clasping Dan realm. It doesn't matter what's left of such spiritual wine. Put it away. On the Yuzhu side, it should have been imparted more or less the same. You guys return at this time? And you can spend your first wonderful night in the Chen family tonight. Ling Hu Chang Chun gave a bad gangster smile. He did not leave Chen Fan to spend the night at Ling Hu's house. He could see that the trust in Chen Fan's mouth was still guarded. Only by returning to his own place could Chen Fan relax and spend a wonderful night. With a wave of his hand, Chen Fan put away the thousand spirit fruit wine, got up and smiled. In that case, Senior will not disturb the old ancestor's purification. Senior will take his leave. Ha! <laughs> Go ahead! I've already transmitted my voice to them, so the two of you will meet at the entrance later on, and then you can just leave, Ling Hu Changchun said. As expected, Chen Fan only waited for a few moments at the entrance of the courtyard before Ling Hu Yuzhu, flushed with a stunningly beautiful face, walked out. Chen Fan secretly laughed in his heart. In the end, those four women have taught Ling Hu Yuzhu what ah, actually let this seemingly unearthly stunning beauty, shy into this kind of appearance. 
Concubine has met sovereign. Ling Hu Yuzhu respectfully saluted. Chen Fan smiled. In the future, there is no need to move and curtsy. Even after arriving at the Chen family, you are still a valued guest of the Chen family. I won't treat you like a tripod. Ling Hu Yuzhu hurriedly said. How can this be? Yuju's duty is to serve the patriarch with her body as a cauldron. How can she dare to call herself an honored guest? Chen Fan smiled faintly. Do you belong to me now? Ling Hu Yuchu solemnly said. Naturally. Then listen to me. Do you hear me? Chen Fan said indifferently. Seeing that Chen Fan appeared to be slightly displeased, Ling Hu Yuju hurriedly responded. Yes, my concubine listens to everything patriarch. That is right. Go with me to bid farewell to your father. After which we will leave. Chen Fan smiled and turned to go first. Ling Hu Yuzhu hurriedly followed. To Ling Hu Chong Yun resignation. The two figures are swept into the air. Transformed into two points of light. Quickly disappeared. As Ling Hu Chong Yun watched the two of them leave. His eyes narrowed slightly. And then his body flashed to the outside of Wunchi's small courtyard. Old ancestor. Grandson Chong Yun seeks an audience. Ling Hu Chong Yun respectfully said. Do not have to ask. In the future you will understand. By the way. Tomorrow you notify the various clans and tribes that the plan to exterminate the devil has been put on hold for the time being, the old ancestor I suddenly had an epiphany, and I need to retreat for a period of time, and when the time is right, the Linghu family will take the initiative to contact them, and then restart the plan to exterminate the devil. Linghu Changchun's voice came out faintly. Linghu Chongyun was stunned. The plan to exterminate the devil, such a big thing, said to put it on hold? In that case, won't all the clans and tribes be cursed? Chapter 168, It's Really Unusual Although Ling Hu Chong Yun felt that this decision of his old ancestor was a bit unbelievable, he still respectfully said, Yes, my grandson will arrange for someone to send a message over first thing tomorrow morning. Well, stand down. Old ancestor I will begin my seclusion today. Do not disturb me for anything other than major events, Ling Hu Chong Chun said. Ling Hu Chong Yun hurriedly asked. Then the Chun family and the immortal Dao sect, do we need to keep an eye on them? Ling Hu Chong Yun have you been a family head for so many years for nothing? Since you can see that Chen Fan is extraordinary, and you can also see that old ancestor I am pulling him in, how can you let him get bored? The Chen family and the immortal Dao sect should be left to their own devices, and the Fox family should not interfere in any way. Of course, if Chen Fan has something to ask for, you can help. The best kind of relationship is one where the two of us do not get involved, and we will always help when we are asked. In this way, the friendship can be long-lasting. Ling Hu Chanchun lightly rebuked. Ling Hu Chong Yun hurriedly said, Sun Sun has remembered. Go down, Ling Hu Chang Chun said indifferently. Ling Hu Chong Yun left with a cold sweat. Before the setting sun sank, Chen Fan had already returned to the Chen family. Chen Changsheng was pleasantly surprised to see Chen Fan return with a stunningly beautiful girl. Little Fan, you've finally gotten the hang of it. This girl, you met her at the birthday banquet of elder ancestor Ling Hu? Chen Changsheng asked with a delighted smile. Ling Hu Yuchu, Meet Grandpa Chen. Ling Hu Yuchu hurriedly bowed respectfully. Chen Changsheng was shocked at his words, and quickly said, So the girl is actually the miss of the Ling Hu family. The party is the old man was abrupt, and thought. Chen Fan laughed. Grandfather, it's similar to what you thought. Grandson and Miss Ling Hu fell in love at first sight, and the two of them are considered to have already formed a bond. Hearing Chen Fan say this, Ling Hu Yuzhu's pink face flushed with delight. Chen Changsheng was even more ecstatic and laughed. Good. Ha ha. That's great, Zhou Xin. Quickly prepare the dinner. Yes, family master. Zhou Bo led the order with a smile. Yu Zhu, I'll send you to rest first. Chen Fan smiled. Although Ling Hu Yu Zhu was not tired, she would not resist Chen Fan's order. Only, when Chen Fan settled her in a separate courtyard, in her heart, she still couldn't help but feel a few moments of loss. She had thought that Chen Fan would let her live in the same yard. You stay here first. I'll show you around Tiger Spirit City tomorrow. Chen Fan laughed. Ling Hu Yuzhu's eyes lit up as she crisply responded. Many thanks, patriarch. Don't be so polite. Chen Fan laughed. You rest for a moment first. I'll come back to call you to go eat together. Aha. Uh -huh. Chen Fan left the other courtyard and returned to Chen Changsheng once again. He told Chen Changsheng everything he had experienced in the Ling Hu family. Grandpa, what do you think? What exactly is this Ling Hu Changchun trying to accomplish? Chen Fan asked. Chen Changsheng sniffed, but was silent for a long time. Chen Fan's heart stirred. It seemed that his grandfather really did know something. Only after a long time did Chen Changsheng say in a low voice, I don't know, but the intentions should not be small. Xiao Fan, this Ling Hu old ancestor, you have to be on guard. He may not have much malicious intent, but his purpose in doing so is still to use you. However, he's quite honest and hasn't fabricated a set of false sayings. 
Chen Fan's eyes flickered slightly as he smiled. Grandpa, I think you know something. Chen Changsheng froze and said helplessly, I really don't know, our Chen family, what can we expect? This Ling Hu Changchun must have valued your unlimited potential. This Ling Hu Changchun must have valued your unlimited potential. In the whole of Qingzhou, there won't be a single person of unparalleled talent like you in thousands of years. I have to say, this Ling Hu old ancestor's gaze, see very long term. But because of this, this person is even more terrifying. Male talent more belly black. Benevolence and kindness is only one of its means. An outsider's benevolence is never without a reason. Just remember this. Chen Fan bristled and laughed. I still feel that you are hiding something from me. But since you won't tell me, my grandson won't ask for now. And when you feel it's appropriate, I believe you will tell me. Chen Fan and Ling Hu Changchun talked quite a bit. He was sure that Ling Hu Changchun didn't just value his qualifications, but also, Ling Hu Changchun had said that he wasn't coming for the Tang family connection. This meant that the Chen family must still be hiding some secret that he didn't know about. What's more, he began to suspect that the union of his parents back then was also more than just a chance encounter. But the Chen family's qualifications, and indeed not too good look, these people, and in the end is in the figure what? Chen Fan's heart was filled with doubts. At the dinner party, Ling Hu Yuzhu behaved appropriately and a group of family members of the Chen family, also entered the table, which was considered a family dinner. When Chen Shua saw the beauty of Ling Hu Yuzhu, he drooled for a while and was kicked dozens of times by Chen Ming before he came back to his senses in embarrassment. It's not fair on earth. Why is it that the girls that second brother meets are all better looking than one another? And me, not a single one. Chen Shua was depressed in his heart. After the family banquet, Chen Fan accompanied Ling Hu Yuzhu and walked back to the other courtyard. Rest well. Sent to the entrance of the courtyard, Chen Fan laughed. A soft light flickered in Ling Hu Yuzhu's eyes as she reached out and gently tugged on Chen Fan's palm. Does Patriarch still have any concerns? Chen Fan laughed. Since I have brought you back to the Chen family, I won't have any more worries. It's just that we've met for the first time today, and I don't want you to dedicate yourself for the sake of dedication. After you and I get along for some more time to enhance some feelings, wouldn't it be even better if we were to be compatible at that time? Ling Hu Yuzhu's eyes burned. And then she couldn't help but blush a little. She didn't expect that Chen Fan, a man, would be so meticulous and intentional. Although she had long been instilled with a whole set of tripod thoughts by her family, allowing her to willingly surrender herself without complaint. If Chen Fan was really impatient to strip and eat her naked, how could she not have half a bit of desolation in her heart? She is also a living, breathing human being, not a piece of meat, a tool. It is my concubine's life's fortune to have met Patriarch. Ling Hu Yuzhu choked. Chen Fan smiled and touched Ling Hu Yuzhu's temples, saying, As I said, you are not a tripod in my eyes. Rest well. Tomorrow morning, I will bring you to see real life on earth. Well, then the concubine is going in. Ling Hu Yuzhu said. Chen Fan smiled faintly. Go ahead. Ling Hu Yuzhu turned around and entered the courtyard before Chen Fan walked towards his own small courtyard. He had just arrived at the entrance of the small courtyard, and the sweaty hairs around his body exploded open. A sense of extreme danger suddenly rose from his heart. Patriarch Chen's self-control is truly extraordinary. Such a delicate beauty can even be put to sleep. A cold laugh came from the corner of the courtyard. Chen Fan took a deep breath and said in a low voice, Cold underworld moon? Daring to call out the name of this clan. You really do have a lot of guts. If you don't want the Chen family to die out, then come in obediently. With a cold snort, a woman in a long black dress walked towards the stone table in the courtyard from the dark shadows in the corner of the courtyard and slowly sat down. And the rhubarb in the corner had long since fainted and lay on the ground. Chen Fan's eyes flashed coldly as he took a low breath and walked into the small courtyard. He had been waiting for a reply from age 13. However, he did not expect that Cold Munyue would show up in person. Walking into the small courtyard, Chen Fan gazed straight at Cold Munyue's pair of eyes that were as cold and penetrating as cold stars, and said in a deep voice, Patriarch Cold should not have threatened me. Chapter 169, Think Before You Answer. Cold Munyue wore her long black hair, and her cold star-like eyes, staring into Chen Fan's eyes, narrowed out a dangerous light. You mean I should just kill them? Chen Fan sat down across from Cold Munyue. Cold Moonshine's words didn't enrage him. His face was calm as he indifferently said, You won't do it, or you wouldn't be waiting for me here. As Chen Fan said this, a cold smile appeared on his face and said, Moreover, I believe that you wouldn't dare to touch me. Cold Munyue said disdainfully, Kid, you underestimate this sex guts too much. Even if you have the connections of the Tang family and the Linghu family, if this sect really wanted to kill you, it would be just as daring to do it. The reason why we haven't made a move yet is merely because we want to see with our own eyes just how crazy the brat who dared to kill my blood soul sex elders is. Chen Fan said in a cold voice, Now that you've seen it, 
Are you planning to make a move? The corners of Cold Moon's mouth twitched slightly. This kid, is he really not afraid of death? In this part of Qingzhou, it had been too many years since she had seen anyone dare to talk to her like this. It seems that you really want to see death. Cold Moon Yue swished up, and the gloomy and cold aura that made the sweaty hairs around Chen Fan explode, once again instantly enveloped Chen Fan. Boom! Just as Cold Hei Yu was waiting for Chen Fan's face to change wildly and then show weakness and beg for forgiveness, a terrifying aura exploded out from Chen Fan's body, and in an instant, the gloomy coldness that was bound to his body, was blasted away. Clutching Dan Realm Grand Circle, Cold Dark Moon's eyes shook slightly. Such a young clasping Dan Realm Great Circle was the only thing she had ever seen in her life. No wonder that old undead, Ling Hu Chang Chun, is pulling you in, this talent of yours, it's truly demonic. But because of this, there seems to be even less reason for this clan to keep you. After Cold Moon Yue was shocked, he laughed coldly. Chen Fan indifferently said, Although you are at the immortal infant realm, you are a bit too conceited. Do you think that I am an old waste like Lu Yuanqing and Ink Blood Blade? Immortal infant is strong, but not invincible. If you fight today, even if I die in the end, I have full confidence that you will be seriously injured and fall into the realm. At that time, do you think that old ancestor Ling Hu will let go of this perfect opportunity to kill you? Cold Moon Yu's gaze was grim as he said, This clan would like to see where the backbone of your wild talk lies. Even if you are stronger than Lu Yuanqing and the rest of them, the crushing power of a great realm is not something you can make up for by relying on the power of your feats and martial skills. Shen Fan snorted. When I killed Lu Yuanqing and Ink Blood Blade, I was still only at the late stage of the Clasping Dan realm, and then I crushed them with an absolute advantage. Could it be that these two battle results are not enough for you to gather some pride? If I were you, I wouldn't take the risk. Cold Moon Yu's eyes flickered slightly, then he suddenly laughed twice before sitting back on the stone bench. Not bad, you are indeed worthy of this trip by the sect itself. 13 cipher people is still quite accurate. You brat, you really aren't simple. Cold Moon Yue laughed lightly, as if the conflict just now, had never happened at all. Chen Fan smiled faintly. As soon as Cold Moon Yue appeared, she used her power to overwhelm him, but Chen Fan knew very well that this woman was merely testing him. If you really want to do it, why talk so much nonsense? He was equally clear that he had to display enough strength in order to have the right to talk to Cold Moon Yue on an equal footing. Therefore, he did not hesitate to expose his true cultivation. He also needed to arouse the scorn of Cold Moonshine to buy time for himself. Miss Age is a competent messenger, Chen Fan said indifferently. Cold Moon Yu's red lips gently hooked, suddenly laughed badly and said, Old Fox Ling Hu sent you a woman. How about this clan also send you one? Do you see how 13? Chen Fan's face twitched. When had his place become a women's shelter? Patriarch Cold is joking. I told Miss Age that I have no intention of getting involved in the battle between the righteous and the devil but I won't get involved with the devil sect either. When I approached Miss Age, I only hoped that she would send a message for me that the two sects would settle their feud and not offend each other. Chen Fan said indifferently. Cold Moon Yu's eyes revealed a cold smile, but by accepting the woman of the Linghu family, you have already declared your position. So how can you do so without intervening in the battle between the righteous and the devils? If you want me to believe you, you'll have to get involved with the demon sect. If you can't look at 13, then let the sect pick you up for one night to prove that you really don't have a demon hater's heart. How about that? Shen Fan's face darkened. Giving cold underworld moon a night's harvest? This body of pure yang of his has not yet sacrificed himself for love. How can he cheapen a female devil? Although cold moon Yue was good looking. This woman. Must be a real she-wolf. Does patriarch cold think that I might agree? Shen Fan laughed coldly. Cold moon Yue smiled evilly. Why is it impossible? Between the evil smiles. Her eyes were openly swirling with a strange energy fluctuation, and in this instant, her smile was filled with soul-stealing power, making people fall deeply into it, unable to extricate themselves. It seemed that with a word from her, she could make people willing to do anything for her. However, Chen Fan smiled. Patriarch cold. It's time to change your conceited nature. As I said, I am not Lu Yuancheng or Ink Blood Blade. Your soul-seducing charming technique may be able to successfully charm even those old men who have lost their abilities. But to me, it is not half as useful. Chen Fan's words, and the smile on his face, caused Cold Moon Yue to be unusually shocked. How is this possible? How could you possibly resist my enchanting effort? As Cold Moon Yue asked, the eyes that looked at Chen Fan finally had a hint of gravity in them. Chen Fan's lips slanted. Patriarch Cold, you and I may not be enemies, but we won't be friends either. Do you think that I would tell you my bottom card? Chen Fan was able to resist Cold Moon Yue's enchanting technique. For one thing, his mind was strong enough, and although it was not as good as Cold Munyu's, it was not much worse. Secondly, he cultivated Qingxian pupil, which could break the barrier illusion and might also resist the charming technique. 
he was already wary of Cold Munyue, so how could he fall for this woman's ways? Cold Munyue took a low breath and finally took Chen Fan seriously. Her cold eyes flashed coldly as she spoke again. Two Sanshurs matter can be left at that, but someone like you will definitely be a huge threat to my devil Dao in the future. With just your mouth, I can't trust that you won't be an enemy of my demon sect. Chen Fan said indifferently. Then how does sect leader Han want to trust me? Cold Munyue said indifferently. Guarantees and oaths are all as worthless as farts in my eyes. Only paper soaked in ink can never bleach white. Therefore, in order for me to believe you, you must involve yourself with my demon sect. Otherwise, even if I have to spell out my injuries, tonight I will rid the demon sect of its problems and leave you behind. Chen Fan, think before you answer. This time this clan is serious. If you refuse again, this sect will definitely destroy the Chen family. Even if, it means offending the Tang family. Killing intent surged up in cold Munyu's eyes, and the coldness was as if it could penetrate the bones. Chen Fan could feel that this time, cold Munyue was indeed serious. In his place, he wouldn't let someone who was a huge threat to him have the chance to grow up. Unless, of course, the sense of threat was muted. The urge to kill could be restrained. Chapter 170, The People's Minds in Trouble. Chen Fan and Cold Moon stared at each other for a long time. Only then did he faintly say, there is no harm for me to give in by taking a step back. Just do as you said earlier and let age 13 come over. Cold Moon Yu's face loosened up, playfully savoring. What? Is this sect not better than her? If you are willing, this sect can have a one-night fling with you and promise not to perform the art of harvesting on you. Chen Fan sneered. I'm sorry, I'm not interested in women who are older. Even if she has a good face, the fact that I can accept age 13 is already the biggest concession. Cold Moon Yu's face darkened. She was also a famous beauty in Qingzhou. Now she was even disliked by a brat. She couldn't help but rebuke in exasperation. What a rash. What do you know about women? Young people don't know the goodness of a young woman. Mistakenly treating a young girl as a treasure. Haven't you ever heard of this saying? Chen Fan froze. What a familiar phrase. I didn't realize that this phrase was also widely spread in the Xinling continent. Chen Fan said indifferently. Turnips and greens. To each his own. If Patriarch Cold has no other business, he may leave. When I let age 13 come over. I hope that Patriarch Cold will explain clearly that in my place. She will only be able to obediently listen to me as if she were a cauldron. If there is any disobedience, I will not be soft. Cold Munyue knew that the women of the Linghu family were all well trained and well behaved. And since she had arranged for age 13 to come to Chen Fan's side, she naturally wouldn't let Chen Fan loathe age 13. If he was alienated, there would be little value for age 13 to remain by Chen Fan's side. Don't worry. She will be very obedient and will definitely be more obedient than Ling Hu Yuzhu, Cold Munyue said with a bad smile. Chen Fan nodded his head and said, That would be best. Cold Underworld Moon got up. Her gaze fixed on Chen Fan and laughed. I hope that you can do what you say and don't make us turn against each other. Otherwise, my Cold Underworld Moon's tactics will definitely make you regret for the rest of your life. Chen Fan said indifferently, I really hate it when people threaten me. Cold Moonshine laughed softly. Actually, this clan also hates it. But this clan really doesn't want to see that you will make the wrong choice one day. So I have to admonish you a little more. Chen Fan smiled coldly and ignored Cold Munyue as he walked towards the rhubarb in the corner. Don't worry. This demon dog is fine. It just fainted. Cold Underworld Moon said. Chen Fan didn't bother with her. The corners of Cold Munyue's mouth twitched. And with an exasperated grunt. Her figure flickered away. Chen Fan's eyes narrowed as he said in his heart. The speed of the immortal infant realm's movement technique is truly terrifying. Ten miles in an instant. With this kind of speed alone, it would be impossible for me to cross the border and decapitate the immortal infant realm from the front. Even the most powerful attack was useless if it couldn't even touch the opponent's body. It's time to strengthen the physical body, Chen Fan secretly said in his heart. Previously, in order to hide his cultivation, he hadn't upgraded his physical body qualifications. Now that he had appeared at Linghu Changchun's birthday banquet as the immortal Dao Sex Patriarch, his identity had been completely revealed so there was naturally no need to hide it anymore. Chen Fan checked on the rhubarb, and it was indeed only the demon soul that had suffered some damage, which had caused it to fall into a coma. He fed Big Yellow a soul-nourishing pill, and the pure medicinal power was quickly absorbed by Big Yellow. Swish! Rhubarb opened his eyes and instantly jumped up in shock. It's fine. The person has already left. Chen Fan laughed. Big Yellow was shocked. Island Master. The person who sneaked up on me just now. What kind of person is he? This person's soul power is so powerful. I didn't even see anyone before I was knocked out by his soul power. Chen Fan narrowed his eyes and said, An old woman in a young skin. Uh, then Islander you didn't get that by her, right? I heard that old women like small youths like you. Big Yellow asked with a sympathetic face. Chen Fan's face darkened. 
You dead dog, it's better to faint. Seeing Chin Fan's ugly face and anger in his words, Big Yellow was shocked with a pair of dog eyes and screamed, Island master, you won't really be that old woman that, Chen Fan said breathlessly, she wants to, but will this young man let her have her way, this young's body of pure yang will not be cheap to an old woman, alright, you stay here, this young man is going back to the house, Chen Fan didn't have the good sense to get up and walk towards the house, Chen Fan, who had entered the house, couldn't help but rub his temples on both sides once he thought that age 13 would soon come to the Chun family as well, there's also that Nini Su Wenjun, I guess she'll be pestering me soon too. What a screaming headache. It's better to live a life of leisure when you're a punk. Chen Fan took a few deep breaths before he shook these distracting thoughts out of his mind. With a sinking heart, he entered the heavenly sea pearl. He flew away from the main altar, speeding through the lofty mountains of the island. What is the islander up to? Alas, I'm afraid the island is going to be missing quite a few extreme spiritual materials again. Is the island master in crisis in the outside world? Then will our children who are outside be in danger as well? I'm glad I didn't send Missy out. I'm sure I've invited trouble. Old Sue, let's make a bet. Guess, how long will our current island master live? Old man, I'm not going to make this bet with you. If the island master hears about this, we'll both die first. Chen Fan's big action of frantically collecting spiritual materials caused the people on Sin Immortal Island to fall into speculation. Those who were willing to let their offspring go out were even more frightened. After all, the crisis of the island master would also affect the well-being of their descendants. Swish swish swish, on the void, several silhouettes flew up in the air, chasing after Chen Fan's figure. Chen Fan, who was picking herbs in the mountains, raised his eyebrows slightly. Swish swish swish, Yu Qian and more than a dozen other martial arts supreme powers landed in front of Chen Fan. We pay our respects to the island master. Chen Fan smiled lightly and said, What are you seniors doing here? Yu Qian hesitated for a moment and asked, The island master is in the outside world, but has he encountered any crisis? Chen Fan laughed, it's not a crisis, everything is still safe and sound at the moment. Yu Qian's heart was relieved as he laughed, the island master's haste in picking herbs has frightened us and others, thought something had happened. Chen Fan laughed, it's fine, I'm just planning to strengthen my physical body in the outside world. Yu Qian was surprised, you are not going to continue hiding your strength in the outside world? Chen Fan laughed, I can't hide it even if I want to, in that case, I can only make myself stronger. Yu Qian laughed. Indeed, if the island master wants to refine any pills, feel free to command the old immortal, I am always at your disposal. Chen Fan arched his hand and said, Thank you, Senior Yuchi, even if you don't say so, I didn't intend to be polite to you, I was thinking that I would finish collecting the spiritual materials and then go back to you. Of course, I won't let you work for nothing, for all the pills, you refine a double portion, and the medicinal power of one of the portions. I will transmit to Yuchi spirit to enhance her physical body qualifications in the outside world. Yuchi and excitedly said, Many thanks to the island master. Island master, do you think there is anything I can do to help? My family's boy, is he doing well out there now? Islander, I am also willing to do my bit. As soon as they saw that Yuchi and had one for Yuchi Ling, the other old men piled on the smiles and opened their mouths. Chen Fan waved his hand and smiled lightly. There is no need for all of you to be anxious. The people that this island master has brought out will not be treated poorly. Nowadays, they are all doing very well, and none of them have been lost so far. Chapter 171 Do you believe this? The old men were relieved to hear that no one had folded. Senior Yuchi stays. Everyone else returns. Chen Fan laughed. We will retire. After the old men left, Chen Fan smiled and said, Senior Yuchi, if you are not busy, accompany me to pick spiritual materials. To be honest, there are some high-grade spirit materials that I don't quite recognize. He he, it's an honor for the old man to accompany the island master to pick herbs. Yu Qian said smilingly. Chen Fan was a little helpless in his heart. This Yu Qian is the world's top alchemist ah. Slippery but open-mouthed. Senior Yu Qi, is it convenient to ask for what reason you were imprisoned into Sin Immortal Island by the first island master back then? Chen Fan asked curiously. Yu Qian's face changed. Chen Fan said. If Senior Yu Qi does not wish to mention it, he may not. I'm just curious. After all, you don't look like someone who would do anything of great evil in my eyes. When Yu Qian saw Chen Fan say this, a look of shame appeared on his face. He sighed and said, back then, I was indeed deeply sinful. When I was young, my entire family was annihilated. My mother and sister were humiliated, and I was the only one lucky enough to survive. Later, I was fortunate enough to join my master's school and achieve the unparalleled Dan Dao. One day, I found my enemy, though a thousand years have passed, the hatred and anger in my heart has not subsided. So, Yu Qian said here, face slightly white, 
lips and teeth trembling said, hate anger. The old man almost crazy, will be tens of thousands of its clan, all trapped in the heavenly furnace formation, alive all refined into the blood demon immortal god Dan, regardless of the old and young, chickens and dogs were not left behind, in fact, the vast majority of these tens of thousands of people, were innocent, but at that time, I only thought of revenge, the enemy destroyed my clan, I will destroy his clan, the power of hatred can sometimes make one lose one's mind in calmness, and by the time I realized all this, my sins had already been committed, and it was too late for me to repent, later, the first island master found me and rebuked me for my sins, I was so ashamed that I was voluntarily imprisoned on Sin Immortal Island, of course, at that time, it was also clear to the old man that even if the old man did not volunteer, he would not be able to resist at all in front of the first island master, his strength was beyond imagination, even outside of the island, he had the power to decapitate souls with a single thought, in fact, to this day, we, the islanders, are not sure how strong the first island master's true realm was, Chen Fan was shocked at what he heard, as strong as Yu Qian, the first island master was outside the island, but he was even able to do a single thought of soul chopping, this first islander is simply terrifyingly strong, however, it was also hard for him to imagine that Yu Qian, back then, could actually do something so ruthless, living and breathing, tens of thousands of people, all of them refined into the blood demon immortal god pill, such behavior is no different from demonic cultivation, it's only when there's an injustice and a debt that the trouble is not as bad as the innocence, although at first, because of what had happened to Gu Qianwei, he also hated the idea of destroying the entire Tian Bao sect, however, when he really arrived at the Tian Bao sect and saw those unfamiliar faces in the immortal Hulk mountain, Chen Fan still held back his killing heart and didn't slaughter all of the Tian Bao sect's people, but instead gave these innocent disciples a way out, these people, should not be buried with Zheng Feng, Zheng Huan and others, 10,000 years have passed, and senior Yu Qi has remorse in his heart, so it's time to let go of what happened back then, Chen Fan comforted, Yu Qian nodded his head and said, hmm, after being imprisoned on Sin Immortal Island for 10,000 years, the old immortal's heart has calmed down a lot, if I have the chance to go out again, I will also be reincarnated and have nothing to do with the past, Chen Fan laughed, exactly, he he, island master, the old man will accompany you to continue picking herbs, yes, an old man and a young man, flew up and shuttled through various strange and dangerous places on the island, picking spiritual materials, some of the extremely precious spiritual materials on the island were protected by forbidden formations, and only the island master could enter them, if not for that, the spiritual herbs on the island would have been picked up by the islanders long ago, the spirit materials that were picked, Chen Fan gave them all to Yu Qian, Yu Qian's alchemy was not only fast, but the quality and amount of pills produced were also guaranteed, after accomplishing this, Chen Fan sat down on his knees at the main altar and absorbed the power of some spirit materials that were beneficial to the rushing realm, in just one night's work, Chen Fan had conditioned his spirit body to the best state of the rushing realm, however, Condensing an immortal infant was not a small matter, nor was it something that could be accomplished in a day or two, so Chen Fan did not intend to rush the realm and the Qin clan, early the next morning, Chen Fan arrived outside of Linghu Yuzhu's courtyard, just as he arrived, Linghu Yuzhu opened the door and stepped out with a flourish, she had gotten up long ago and was waiting for Chen Fan, Yuzhu has met patriarch, Linghu Yuzhu smiled and owed her body, Chen Fan laughed, let's go, take you to the street to stroll around and taste the fireworks of this world, Ling Hu Yuzhu's eyes snowed brightly, and with a humit, she came to Chen Fan's side, the two went out the door and left, Chen Fan led Ling Hu Yuzhu to wander around on the street, eating this one time and tasting that one time, Ling Hu Yuzhu, who was as beautiful as a heavenly fairy, couldn't even wipe the corners of her mouth clean in time, see, beside that wasted young man of the Chen clan, a heavenly beauty appeared out of nowhere, I swear, that's definitely the most beautiful woman I've ever seen in my life, such a beautiful beauty how come she's with such a loser, even if he succeeds in building his foundation, he's still just a foundation builder, what a pity for such a beauty, what a pity, there are two clasping Dan realms behind the other scrapped youngster, I would be willing to follow Chun Urshao all over the streets if he looked at me, alas, man, I only feel bad for Ms. Gu, the news that Chen Fan was strolling around with an absolute heavenly fairy-like woman quickly spread throughout Tiger's Pillar City, the Su and Gu families, naturally, had gotten the news, Gu Shanchuan didn't have much of a reaction, but Gu Wenchang, who had already recovered, couldn't help but squeeze his fists. Father, have you heard about Chen Fan? Gu Jingwei gritted his teeth and said. Gu Shanchuan smiled lightly. He's so high profile, I'm sure the whole of Tiger Spirit City knows about it. Then how can you sit still? Gu Yu's whereabouts are still unknown. 
Yet he's wandering around with his new love. Is he doing this to stand up to Buyu? Even if he is kind to us, I can't let him bully my sister like this. I have to go find him and demand an explanation. Gu Weiwei said in a deep voice. Gu Shanchuan said lightly. Isn't it normal for a man to have three wives and four concubines? As long as there is still a place for Buyu in Chen Fan's heart. Then what if we don't even have a spot? Gu Weiwei worried. Gu Shanchuan shook his head and said. It won't. I believe Buyu is always the most important one in his heart. Do you believe that yourself? There are a few men who don't love a new love and fall in love with an old one. How long has it been since you married a few of your aunts that you haven't visited my mother? Gu Jinwei grunted. Gu Shanchuan's face darkened as he got up and scolded. You've grown bold haven't you? Daring to talk to my father like that? Gu Weiwei knew that he had blundered and said with a reddened face. My child knows that I am wrong. My child is just worried about my sister. My sister has paid so much for Chen Fan. I am truly afraid that my sister won't be able to take the blow when she returns. Gu Shanchuan slowly sat down and said in a deep voice. Let Chen Fan's affairs be as they are. We can't interfere. Nor can we interfere. Whether he is with or without you. Let's listen to the destiny. Gu Shanchuan had long since known that the Chen Fan of today was long since not the same Chen Clan punk that he was back then. It was simply not something that his Gu family could influence. Making a scene would only put the Gu family in a more awkward position. Chapter 172, You Really Know Me. Although there was Gu Shanchuan to discourage him, Gu Bai still quietly slipped out of the house. He had to ask Chen Fan about it face to face, even if, for example, it was good to keep a position as a proper wife for one's sister. Chen Fan's whereabouts today were good to inquire about. Without asking a few people, Gu Wenzhuang saw Chen Fan and Ling Hu Yuzhu in the middle of the marketplace. At this moment, the two of them were squatting in front of an antique stall with great interest, and that intimate appearance caused a burst of fire in Gu Weiwei's eyes. Chen Fan! Gu Weiwei's anger surged and he clenched his fists and bellowed. Upon hearing Gu Weiwei's voice, a smirk appeared out of the corner of Chen Fan's eyes. Finally, the Gu family was waiting. Big uncle, why are you here? How is your recovery from your injuries? Chen Fan got up and greeted with a smile. Gu Wenwei sneered. Am I still your great uncle? Chen Fan laughed. What are you talking about? Great uncle, why aren't you my great uncle? Gu Wenzhuang glanced at the stunned Ling Hu Yuju and grunted. Then what's the matter with her? Chen Fan smiled and looked at Ling Hu Yuju, saying, Yu Jiu, this is my fiancé's elder brother the eldest son of the Gu family, Gu Steadfast. When Ling Hu Yuzhu heard this, she hurriedly bowed and saluted. Yuzhu has met Mr. Gu. Gu Weiwei looked at the surrounding area that was quickly filled with people watching and frowned. Chen Fan, let's talk alone. Chen Fan laughed. Let's talk here. Gu Wenwei's face sank. Do you really want to talk here? Is great uncle going to talk to me about something unseemly? Chen Fan was curious. Bah, seeing no one, it's also you who can't see no one, although I owe you a favor. But you owe my sister more. As an elder brother, I can't tolerate you bullying my sister like this. Her whereabouts are unknown now. Yet you are fooling around with other women. I ask you, can you stand up to boo you? Gu Weiwei loudly chided. A touch of shame appeared on Chen Fan's face as he nodded his head and said, It is indeed me who has apologized to boo you, but I have not forgotten what boo you has given to me. Gu Weiwei grunted. Then let me ask you, is your position as the rightful wife still my sister's? Chen Fan solemnly said, Naturally, the position of the rightful wife will only be undying. This is not because I am making up for what I owe her, but because her place in my heart will always be the most important. On this point, great uncle can rest assured. Humph, you'd better remember that. Gu Weiwei's heart was relieved. His eyes glared viciously at Chen Fan twice before he turned around and left. The people around them dispersed as soon as they saw that the fun was gone. Ling Hu Yuju said with an apologetic face, It's all because Yuju caused the trouble. Chen Fan shook his head and said, it has nothing to do with you. Everything is my own choice. Ling Hu Yuzhu looked not far away. There was a tea house. And smiled. There is a tea house over there. I want to listen to the story between the patriarch and the unyielding girl. Chen Fan sighed softly. You should also know about this. Immediately, the two of them went to the tea house. Chen Fan told the story of how he and Gu Bu Yu were childhood sweethearts and grew up together. And how because he hid his cultivation. Gu Bu Yu traveled thousands of miles to join the Tian Bao sect for her sake sent back resources to him, and then was framed by Zhang Feng and had his spirit vein abolished. She was afraid of dragging me down and resolutely left Tiger's Paw City. Now, her whereabouts are unknown, and it's hard to know whether she'll live or die. What I owe her is too much, Chen Fan said in a low voice. Ling Hu Yuzhu's eyes reddened as she listened, and she couldn't help but choke out her voice. Miss Yu Yu is truly deeply in love with the patriarch, and Yuzhu admires her. Yuzhu also understands. Patriarch accepts Yuzhu. I think one is unwilling to fold the face of the Linghu family again and again. And secondly, 
It is also to Yuzhu out of sympathy. It is not really looking at Yuzhu. Chen Fan laughed lightly, taking you away. Besides the two reasons you mentioned, the most important point is that I do have my eye on you. If it was just to take care of the face of the Linghu family, I wouldn't have rejected Linghu hearing rain. Linghu listening rain looks harmless, but she is actually bratty and willful. With a sinister heart, a person like her, even with your looks, I am unwilling to accept. Tears brimmed in Linghu Yuzhu's eyes as she excitedly said. Yuzhu is so happy to hear Patriarch say this. Chen Fan grasped Linghu Yuzhu's hand and smiled. But what I owe you is really too much. That's why I think I should wait for her to come back and explain the matter of you and me to her first, so that we can go further. Linghu Yuzhu blushed, shyly said. It is right. In fact, Yuzhu is not in a hurry. Originally, there was only some concern that the patriarch was willing to accept Yuzhu in order to stabilize the Linghu family. Oh, a woman as good looking and gentle and versatile as you. Who could refuse? I originally thought that I could not accept any other woman in my life except for Fuyu. But the moment I met you, I realized that I am also a commoner, and the love in my heart is not pure. It is also because I saw through myself that I feel even more guilty towards Bu Yu, Chen Fan said. Ling Hu Yuzhu hurriedly consoled. Sister Bu Yu was born in a martial arts family, so she would be able to understand that a strong man with many wives is the way to raise a family, and will definitely understand. We can also together, double the compensation for Sister Bu Yu, a strong body with a powerful bloodline. The direct descendants of powerful people could also possess greater talent and cultivation potential than ordinary people with this powerful bloodline. On the Xianling continent, it was actually more than normal for strong people to have many wives and children. Chen Fan shook his head and said, Even if she can understand, the guilt in my heart will not diminish. But don't worry, since I have taken you under my wing, I will not leave you alone. A person like you should not be reduced to a tool. Ling Hu Yuzhu's eyes were red and moved. By the way, there is one more thing that I need to make clear to you. Last night, the cold underworld moon came. Chen Fan suddenly said. Ling Hu Yuzhu was startled. Blood soul sect patriarch cold moon Yue? What is she doing here? Immediately, Chen Fan spoke about the agreement between him and cold moon Yue. It's not the time to go to war with the demon sect yet. So in order to stabilize cold moon Yue and protect the Chen family, I promised her that I would take H13 by my side. I think that H13 will come to Tiger Spirit City in the next few days. Chen Fan said in a deep voice. Ling Hu Yuzhu said, Patriarch don't worry, age 13's identity, Yuzhu won't spread it out indiscriminately. Yuzhu understands that this is only a stopgap measure for the Patriarch, and as long as the Patriarch destroys the Blood Soul sect a year from now, he will be able to prove his innocence. Chen Fan laughed, Yuzhu, you really understand me. Ling Hu Yuzhu blushed, come on, let's keep shopping. Aha, uh -huh. the two of them strolled until dark before returning to the Chen family. This day was the happiest day that Linghu Yuzhu had ever had in the past 30 years. I ate a lot of things I hadn't eaten before, played with a lot of gadgets I hadn't touched before, and saw a lot of rare objects I hadn't even heard of. Suddenly, she felt that her full belly and the important news of Qingzhou were far less intoxicating than this earthly minutiae. Above all, the fireworks made her feel like she was living authentically. Seeing Linghu Yuzhu's excited and happy appearance, Chen Fan's heart was also quite relieved. Only by truly capturing Linghu Yuzhu's heart would she not become the eyes of the Linghu family by his side. Chapter 173, Returning to the Immortal Dao Sect. Age 13 is an eye candy. And why wouldn't Linghu Yuzhu be? It was only that the existence of Linghu Yuzhu made it a little easier for Chen Fan to accept. The purpose of his high-profile shopping trip was to lure out the Gu family. Who would then say something about his relationship with Gu Buyu? Knowing his love story with Gu Buyu, Linghu Yuzhu could understand him more. Sure enough, two days later, age 13, who had changed into a green dress, arrived in front of the Chen mansion. Her soul power gently surged, turning into a soul sound that was transmitted into the middle of Chen Fan's small courtyard. Patriarch Chen, 13 has arrived outside the residence. Come in. Chen Fan's voice resounded outside the mansion. The few guards sniffed, so naturally they would no longer stop them. Age 13 stepped in lightly. Soon the two met in the courtyard. Age 13 owed his body and said, From today onwards, 13 is Patriarch Chen's person. If Patriarch Chen has any commands, just ask and 13 will not fail. Chen Fan's eyes narrowed lightly and said, That night when I saw you, I was still cold and proud, but today when I see you again, I am so humble. You should be very unwilling in your heart, right? Age 13 said indifferently, If not for Patriarch, 13 would have long been dead for many years. To live is to repay Patriarch. Now that Patriarch has bestowed 13 to Patriarch Chen, 13 won't have half a bit of unwillingness in his heart. Just some reluctance. Chen Fan sneered. Do you know what this is called? Age 13 said. It should count as loyalty. Chen Fan shook his head and said. 
This is slavery. Age 13's eyes sank slightly, but this time, she did not argue with Chen Fan. Whatever Patriarch Chen says it is, it is, Age 13 said. Chen Fan smiled faintly and said, You may not believe me when I say this, but I actually still like that Age 13 with a light in his eyes. Age 13's eyes trembled slightly, and he couldn't help but purse his lips. Before coming to the Chen mansion, she had already made preparations, sacrificing herself. She fell into Chen Fan's plaything, and in the midst of her sinking, she closed her eyes and waited, waiting for the day when it might be possible to be yourself. Let's go and arrange a place for you to stay. Chen Fan laughed. Age 13 raised his eyebrows slightly. You don't need me to stay close? Chen Fan smiled lightly. I am used to living alone. If I have a need, I will go to your courtyard to find you. Age 13's face couldn't help but twitch twice. Go to her if you need her? Does this asshole really think she's a tool person? Age 13 was upset in his heart. But he was also clear about his status nowadays and nodded. 13 is at your service. Chen Fan didn't say anything more and let age 13. Arranging her in the courtyard adjacent to Ling Hu Yuzhu. In this way, these two women, too, can monitor each other. If there was any movement on one side, Chen Fan believed that the other would be happy to tell him. In the evening of that day, Chen Fan called the two girls to his courtyard to have dinner together. Both women seemed unusually quiet during the meal. Age 13's expression was a bit cold, while Ling Hu Yuzhu's face, on the other hand, contained a smile all the time, and it seemed that all the meals were to her liking. After the meal, Chen Fan put down his chopsticks and laughed lightly. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to go back to the Immortal Dao sect to take care of some things, so the two of you can stay in the Chen clan for your own closed door cultivation. Of course, if you want to go out, no one will stop you. Age 13 raised an eyebrow and said, Patriarch, why don't you bring age 13 along? Ling Hu Yuzhu didn't say anything, only that there was also some loss in her eyes. Just had a few fun days and you're going to be in the yard by yourself again? Chen Fan said indifferently, do you think it's appropriate to bring you along? Age 13 pursed his lips, but isn't this exactly what I was given to the sovereign for? Chen Fan said in a cold voice, then there is no need to be in such a hurry and let everyone know that I have taken in a female demonic cultivator by my side. Age 13, I hope you remember that you only need to obey what I command. If you can't endure my dominance, hurry back to the blood soul sect while your innocence is still intact. I can give you a certain amount of respect, but the first prerequisite is that you behave yourself. Age 13 bit his lip and said, 13 knows his mistake. Chen Fan said indifferently, when you're done eating, I'll go back. If you need spirit stones, you can ask Uncle Zhou to draw on them. Patriarch, then Yuju will leave first. Ling Hu Yuju got up and smiled. Chen Fan smiled and said, Aha, I will come back as soon as possible. When I do, I will take you around the neighborhood. Ling Hu Yuju's eyes lit up and she owed her body. Many thanks, Patriarch. Age 13 skimmed his lips, a sneer in his heart. In her opinion, even if Ling Hu Yuju was born a little better looking, she was ultimately just a victim just like her. The two women left the small courtyard side by side. On the way, Age 13 smiled coldly and opened his mouth. It seems that you don't have that much charisma either. After coming here for a few days, the sovereign hasn't touched you either. Ling Hu Yuzhu smiled and said, Patriarch has the heart of a compassionate person and the style of a gentleman. Yuzhu only feels honored and does not feel half lost because of this. Thirteenth sister, we are going to be together for a long time in the future. There's no need to be so tit for tat. Age 13 sneered, worthy of being a woman cultivated by the Ling Hu family. She is indeed gentle and virtuous, generous and decent. Ling Hu Yuzhu naturally heard the mocking intent in Age 13's words but she still laughed. Sister 13 is too kind. In fact, I really like your frankness. Although you and I have different personalities, now that we have both followed the patriarch, it is a sisterhood. In the future, we should take care of each other and not cause any trouble for the sovereign. H13 disdainfully said, do you think we can really take care of it? There's no one else here. So why do you need to hang on to that hypocritical face? Ling Hu Yuzhu smiled bitterly and said, what I have said is true in every word. All I wish for is the peace of the patriarch. Age 13 smiled coldly and suddenly accelerated his pace, leaving Ling Hu Yuchu behind. No matter how true Ling Hu Yuzhu's words were, she wouldn't believe them. As Ling Hu Yuzhu looked at age 13's back, her eyes narrowed slightly in a vain manner, a smile still hanging on her face. No one knew what was really going on in her mind. The next day, before dawn, Chen Fan quietly left. Before he left, he sent a message to Tong Xiaoxiao. Jia Yuan, Tung Fei Yang, and Luo Yuan Wu, telling them that he would be away for a while and that he needed them to pay more attention to the Chen clan's situation in the shadows. Although for the time being, both the righteous and demonic paths should not make things difficult for the Chun family. Chen Fan had not forgotten that there was still a black hand that had been hidden in the shadows. 
waiting for an opportunity to be unfavorable to the Chen family. Rushing alone, the sun had just risen, and Chen Fan's figure flew down to a mortal Hulk mountain. As soon as Huang Su and Jiang Yun sensed Chen Fan's aura, they greeted him with surprise. The ten protodisciples, although they were also excited, Chen Fan had instructed that without his summons, the protodisciples were not allowed to appear in front of him at will. These ten personal disciples, each of them at the late stage of the Clasping Dan realm, were also Chen Fan's powerful undercurrent of combat power hidden within the immortal Dao sect, since it cannot be exposed at will. Patriarch, did you come back because you knew that the people from the Five Elements sect came over to visit? Huang Su asked with a smile as he made a salute. Chen Fan froze, someone from the Five Elements sect? Could it be that Chang Liel is here? Huang Su laughed. Yes, yesterday just arrived. I was still thinking, ready to send someone forward to notify the Patriarch early this morning, but I didn't expect that you, Patriarch, would be back. Chapter 174, Brother and Sister Together. Chen Fan smiled lightly and said, It's quite a coincidence, let's go and meet then. He glanced at Yu Qi Ling again and smiled. I'll be looking for you later for something, so go wait for me in my courtyard first. Yu Qi Ling's eyes lit up, and she hurriedly said with delight, Good. Chen Fan followed Huang Su and arrived at the small courtyard of Chang Lulu guest house. Miss Chang, my sovereign has returned. Huang Su said with a smile that hid a touch of ambiguity. Every time Chang Liu mentioned the patriarch, that was full of shyness, so she must be interested in the patriarch. Click, the door of the house flew open, and Chang Liu, dressed in a white dress, flew out. When she saw Chen Fan, her eyes were first stunned, then her face blushed as she said, It's really you, Brother Chen. Chen Fan laughed, Shouldn't it be called Big Brother? Chen Fan and Chang Lele, they met each other when they first entered the Earth Spirit Abyss. Only, at that time, Chen Fan was still Chen Fan and had not disguised himself in a black robe. After determining Chen Fan's identity, Chang Lele excitedly pounced over and hugged Chen Fan tightly, her mouth shyly shouting, Big Brother! Huang Su laughed dryly and retreated in a sensible manner. When he was in the Earth Spirit Abyss, Chen Fan had already recognized Chang Lele as his sister. Chang Lele was also the only one of the women Chen Fan knew who was even a year younger than him. Big brother, didn't you say that after you came out, you would visit me at the Five Elements sect? I've been waiting for you for a long time, but you didn't come to see me. Did you forget about me as your sister? Chang Lele hugged Chen Fan and complained with a small mouth. Her face, however, was flushed, and her hands clung tighter and tighter, not wanting to let go at all. Chen Fan laughed. I haven't forgotten since, it's just that after I came out. There were a lot of things going on, so I haven't had the time to visit you yet. He he, it's good that big brother hasn't forgotten me. Chang Lele laughed playfully. She naturally did not really blame Chen Fan. If it wasn't for Chen Fan, she would have died in the earth spirit abyss. Originally, my father was going to follow along to thank big brother, but I stopped and didn't let him come along. If he had come, he would have rambled on about a bunch of things. I just want to see big brother's true face and spend a few days with him in peace, Chang Liel said. She was also explaining for her father. After all, Chen Fan had not only saved Chang Lele in the Earth Spirit Abyss, but also many other Five Elements sect disciples. In reason, the Patriarch of the Five Elements sect should personally come to the door to thank him. It suddenly occurred to Chen Fan that it seemed that he hadn't seen the Five Elements sect master at Ling Hu's house. He couldn't help but ask, Your father didn't go to old ancestor Ling Hu's birthday banquet? Chang Lele shook her head and said, In the last Earth Spirit Abyss trial, Seven disciples from my clan died at the hands of Ling Hu final. My father wouldn't give old man Ling Hu a birthday wish. Although people from the Mountain River Sword sect came to my father, my father didn't seem to give them any good looks. And then the people from the Mountain River Sword sect, left with a black face. Chen Fan laughed. Your father is really straightforward. Chang Liel hesitated for a moment and said, Big brother, actually, there's something that I didn't tell you, but since you recognize me as your sister, I think I should tell you. My mother, most likely is from the demon sect. Chen Fan was surprised. Why do you say it's likely? Chang Lele's eyes were slightly red and said, I have never seen my mother. My father only said that my mother wasn't from the Five Elements sect, and that the two of them were forced to unite back then because of the blood demon's hauntings. My father thought it was just a spring dream, but I didn't expect that a year later, my mother sent me back to the Five Elements sect, and told my father that I was his daughter. But after that, my mother left and was never heard from again. My father said that he didn't know much about my mother or what she really was. Chen Fan said, Then why do you think your mother is from the devil sect? Chang Liel said, Xinjo is so big. If my mother is from a righteous sect or a certain family, it's impossible to not be able to find out her identity. The only thing that's not good to find out the identity of is a demonic cultivator who is mixed into the middle of the trial. And, even if it is found out, 
my father will not say it. After all, having an affair with a devil sect is a big taboo. Chen Fan nodded his head and said, your analysis is reasonable. Big brother, if my mother is really a devil cultivator, do you, you still recognize me as a sister? Chang Lele looked up at Chen Fan and asked nervously. Chen Fan laughed, your mother is a devil cultivator and you are not. Besides, even if you are a devil cultivator, you are still a kind devil cultivator. The identity of a righteous devil does not represent absolute good and evil. Big brother, you are so good. Chang Lele was touched and cried as she pressed against Chen Fan's chest. Chen Fan had a bitter smile on his face. He was uncomfortable with a warm, soft, magnificent little girl crying in his arms like this. Ahem. Chen Fan coughed lightly, pressed Chang Lele's shoulders, gently pushed her away, and laughed. Your mother's identity has yet to be confirmed, so you don't have to be so worried. If you want to find her, perhaps I can help. Changeling was pleasantly surprised. Really? Chen Fan laughed. It shouldn't be too much of a problem. I'll try it later. Chang Lele said excitedly, whether she is a devil cultivator or not. I want to meet her. Even if we can't recognize each other, I still want to know who she is. Chen Fan nodded his head and said, when I have news, I will let you know. However, I am returning to the sect this time to prepare for my retreat. Therefore, I can only wait until I finish my seclusion before I can inquire for you. As soon as Chang Lele heard that Chen Fan was going into seclusion, she hurriedly said, then if I come to look for Big Brother, won't I be delaying Big Brother's business? Oh, no harm done. It doesn't matter if it's a day or too late. Chen Fan laughed. After accompanying Chang Lele for a while longer, Chen Fan asked her about her cultivation of the blood refining technique, and then returned to his small courtyard. After all, Yu Qi Ling was still waiting for him. Does Patriarch have any orders for Ling'er? Yu Qi Ling asked with a smile when she saw Chen Fan return. Chen Fan laughed. Two days later, you will be in seclusion with me. Although the qualifications of this physical body of yours are good, there is still a lot of room for improvement. Yu Qi Ling's eyes lit up. Shutting down with the Patriarch? Ling'er is so happy. Thank you, Patriarch. Yu Qi Ling shouted happily. Chen Fan is helpless, just closed together, but not together to roll in bed. So happy to do what? Two days later, Chen Fan and Yu Qi Ling began their seclusion together. Although Chang Lil had come from afar and deserved more company, the closed door rushing realm was even more of a top priority for Chen Fan and could not be delayed. Only by crossing over into the immortal infant realm at an early date would he not be threatened by anyone in this part of Qingzhou. Inside the restored and intact Rangoon Pavilion, a large formation shrouded and isolated from the outside world. Chen Fan and Yu Qi Ling sat five meters apart. Yu Qi had refined a double portion of the potion to enhance the qualifications of the fleshly body. Chen Fan first ferried one portion of the medicinal power to Yu Qi Ling to allow him to enter the enhancement before he himself absorbed the other portion of the power of the potion and began to hammer the fleshly body. Soon, the two of them were surrounded by a reddish fire-colored light, and the sinews and bones in their bodies came from the sound of crackling and popping explosions. The brows of the duo frowned tighter and tighter, as wisps of black gas, continuously vaporized out of their flesh. Chapter 175 Immortal Infant's First Formation The process of upgrading the qualifications of the physical body was extremely painful. Refining the body is like forging iron. Only the body of a thousand hammers can continuously strengthen the various functions of the physical body with the momentum of the limit. The bone burning and body refining pill was still only the first pill. The further one went, the more furious the potency of the elixir the more furious it became. During that time, the more pain the duo endured, the greater it would be. But to become stronger, the physical condition must improve. As the common man seeks health, he can only swallow the bitterest and hardest potion. Boom boom boom. The berserk medicinal power continuously impacted in Chen Fan and Yu Qi Ling's bodies. The halo of medicinal power that enveloped their surroundings also changed from time to time. Each change in the halo of medicinal power was an intensification of the degree of body refining and a doubling of the pain. In a flash, five days passed. During this period, the duo swallowed ten pills each. Each elixir is a targeted enhancement. A top-tier immortal vein, blood chi like a dragon, a thunder-refined domineering body, and an immortal soul forged. With my physical body at this moment, even the body of an immortal infant cannot be compared. Aside from the fact that my spiritual energy is not as powerful as the immortal infant realm, my normal speed should be comparable to the immortal infant realm. After the end of body refining, Chen Fan clenched his fists tightly, feeling the surging power that filled his fleshly body, and secretly said in his heart. Of course, there was ultimately a gap between the immortal infant realm and the clasping Dan realm. For example, the immortal infant realm's technique of moving away could not be performed without a sufficiently strong spiritual cultivation. Therefore, Chen Fan's seclusion was not yet over. 
Chen Fan looked towards Yu Qi Ling who was feeling the changes in her flesh and smiled lightly. Linger, your seclusion is over. Next I'm going to charge the realm and refine my spirit to transform into an infant. So go out and cultivate while guarding me. Before I leave the seclusion, no one is allowed to approach Yang Tian Pavilion. Yu Qi Ling was pleasantly surprised. Island master, you're even about to refine your spirit and transform into an infant? This cultivation speed of yours is too fast. A few months ago, she was still waiting for Chen Fan to raise his cultivation to the middle stage of the Clasping Dan realm, but she didn't expect that in the blink of an eye, Chen Fan was about to condense his immortal infant. Chen Fan smiled lightly. In terms of cultivation, I have not been idle for a day. You also need to work harder. Otherwise, the gap between you and me will grow wider and wider. And at that time, I will have no choice but to leave you behind in Qingzhou. Yu Qi Ling's face turned slightly white as she busily said, Linger won't fall behind too much. After coming back, she's been cultivating hard. It's just that her previous fleshly body qualifications weren't too good, so she's been slow to improve. Chen Fan laughed, now you don't have a reason to be lazy. Top grade immortal veins. It is estimated that in the entire dragon summer, there are not many of them. What's more, at this moment, you and I possess more than just the talent of immortal veins. Immortal veins, just the qualification level of the meridians. Chen Fan and Yu Qi Ling's body refining this time was almost an all-round enhancement of their physical body qualifications. The strength of the physical body, meridians, qi and blood, soul, and so on, had all been greatly strengthened. In just five days, the physical bodies of the two of them had already metamorphosed into the top tier of martial arts talent within the Dragon Summer Holy Dynasty. Of course, all of this had Yu Qi An's credit but it was also due to the fact that Sin Immortal Island possessed a vast amount of powerful resources. After Yu Qi Ling went out, Chen Fan began the second stage of his seclusion, Punchland Immortal Infant Realm. To rush the realm, it was natural to do so within the Heavenly Sea Pearl. Within the Heavenly Sea Pearl, Chen Fan had a unique advantage. Not only was the spirit body physically stronger, the immortal spirit qi within the Heavenly Sea Pearl was also more dense than the Xian Ling continent. Most importantly, it would not trigger any heaven and earth anomalies. Even if he managed to break through, no one would know. The mind sank into the heavenly sea pearl. The spirit body's eyes narrowed open, and between his hands, seals stacked up. With that, the round dan mass and the dantian of the spirit body began to vibrate. The dan mass vibrated at a high frequency, and every time it vibrated, there was a micromillimeter of spiritual light that danced out like snowflakes. At the same time, he had to mobilize his body's chi and blood, essence and soul chi and gather them in his dantian to merge with the aura snowflakes, transforming them into a brand new form of power. This power, in the martial arts world, was called the power of the Yuan Shen. The power of the Yuan Shen, on the other hand, was the foundation for manifesting the immortal infant, the martial cultivation dan cluster, which gathered extremely majestic spiritual energy, vibrated and separated, and would also be a rather long process. And this process, is absolutely cannot suffer a little bit of interference. Otherwise, the Dan mass cannot be successfully decomposed, extremely likely to cause the burst Dan, the power of the burst Dan, no one can save, must be instantaneous, form and spirit of the end. Within the heavenly sea pearl, Chen Fan did not have to worry about being interfered with at all. A twist, two months passed. After taking a long time, Chen Fan finally broke down most of the power of the Dan cluster by the method of vibration separation. Today, the Dan cluster is only the size of a pigeon egg. It's almost time to directly shatter the Dan. Although the power of shattering the Dan is still not small, but with the power of the Dan Tian Yuan Shen protecting it, it should be able to withstand it easily. Chen Fan's mind was set, and his hand seal sank violently. Boom! In the next moment, the Dan mass in the Dan Tian was violently detonated and completely shattered. Boom boom boom. The power of the Yuan Shen was like a big net, wrapping up the power of the Dan cluster that was leaking out. At the same time, Chen Fan's Qi, blood, Essence and soul power also surged into it crazily, forming a fusion with these broken Dan cluster spiritual powers and transforming them into the power of the Yuan Shen. Buzz. As all the spiritual energy, as much as it could be, was transformed into the power of the Yuan Shen, Chen Fan changed the sealing method in his hands. Great diffusion divine skill. Make my immortal infant. Boom. All the power of the spirit are surging up, polymerization and integration, as the viscous mud body wriggling, in the continuous contraction and condensation, gradually molding, the whole process, it seemed, was like trying to pinch a clay figure with thin clay. In the beginning, naturally, it could not take shape. However, the power of the elemental spirit slowly possessed toughness in the process of constant compression and condensation. And in the process of strengthening, it also possessed a certain degree of hardness. 
The time consuming in between is naturally not a matter of three or two days, until another month passed, when Shen Fan also felt tired. The palm sized baby body in the Dantian finally blossomed with a strange beam of golden light. This golden light, which suddenly broke through the void of space, was directly and remotely mapped on the top of the dome of Sin Immortal Island. Boom! The golden light was like a blazing sun, illuminating the entire space within the heavenly sea pearl. For a moment, all the living beings within the heavenly sea pearl whose cultivation level was lower than the immortal infant realm felt a tremor in their souls. Even some of the immortal demons and demons who were also at the immortal infant realm had horrified colors in their pupils. So terrifying. The island master's immortal infant is in its infancy. And the golden light of the martial Tao has such power. Nonsense. The island master's spiritual body. But the mixed divine vein body. The quality of the immortal infant. Naturally. Is also the strongest in the world. TSK TSK. A 20 year old immortal infant realm. Those people outside. They're probably going to burst their eyes out. Aren't they? In the midst of a piece of marveling, the golden light above Sin Immortal Island slowly converged and finally turned into a little golden aura, completely disappearing. On the other hand, the small palm man in Chen Fan's Dantian slowly opened his eyes. Two channels of golden light flashed in his eyes for a few moments before converging. Chen Fan grinned, absorbing some immortal spirit chi from space, refining it into spiritual energy, wrapping it around the waist and legs of the immortal infant, transforming it into a pair of quadrill pants to cover that shy location. Although that thing was very small, the immortal baby looked like a miniature version of little Chen Fan, and it was never a good look to fling it outside. Chapter 176, The Art of Flying Swords. Congratulations, Island Master, on achieving immortal infant. A sound of congratulations echoed throughout the entire heavenly sea pearl. Chen Fan smiled and said, Thank you all. Swish, Yu Qian flew in, holding a brocade box in his hand. He laughed softly and said, There are other things that the Island Master can't bring out with him. But this bottle of three infant Bodhi pill that the old me treasures is just right for the island master to take today. So please accept it. Chen Fan was surprised. Three infant Bodhi pill? It can't be an elixir made from three immortal infants, right? Yu Qian laughed. Indeed. Back then, I killed some immortal infant villains and supplemented them with 12 7th grade spirit materials and 76 6th grade spirit materials to refine this bottle of elixir. However, at that time, the old man had already entered the realm of void ascension. So this elixir would not be of much use to the old man. So I only took two to taste it. And then I gave it to a few of my juniors one after another. And now there are only three left. So please don't think it's too little for the island master. Chen Fan's face twitched. These three infant Bodhi pills. Should be seventh grade pills without a doubt. Yu Chi and ate two in a row. Just to get a taste? This is too much of a waste. Right? Thank you. Senior Yu Chi. I will not be polite then. Chen Fan laughed. The elder gave it to me and I must not refuse it. What's more, this was a 7th grade elixir, three of them taken. It was estimated that it would allow him to easily rush to the middle stage of the immortal infant realm. With such an expensive elixir, Chen Fan had to shamelessly accept it even if he was a bit embarrassed. Swish, Island Master stepped into the new realm. Although Mr. Ku has no pills to give, he has a side technique that he can give to Island Master. I wonder if Island Master is willing to learn it. Kujo Jin flew in smilingly. Chen Fan smiled. Elder Ku's side technique. That too must not be an ordinary side technique. Why don't you tell me about it first? And if I am interested, I will definitely worship it. Ku Nine Swords grinned. The old man's name is Nine Swords. And this name of Nine Swords was actually changed by the old man himself later. Island Master please look. Buzz. Immediately, Kujo Jin's body flashed with red light around him. And a light shadow swept out from within his flesh. After the light shadow swept out, it took on a humanoid body and its appearance was completely the same as Kujo Jin. The only difference was that this Kunine Swords that came out of Kunine Swords body was surrounded by nine small swords of various styles that were one finger long. Flying Fire. Buzz. As Kujo Jin read out the word Flying Fire, one of the small sword suddenly rose up in the air. The fire aura bloomed between. The sword body is also the wind skyrocketed, turned into two feet long. Boom. The Flying Fire sword struck the air. The void trembled violently and a horrifying wave of scorching heat instantly swept through hundreds of meters of air. This was still the power of the Ku Nine Swords after they were deliberately restrained. If he were to fully utilize the power of the flying fire, this scorching power alone could have burned tens of miles of sky. Chen Fan's eyes warmed up and he said joyfully, Elder Ku, this you over here, could it be your immortal infant's body? Ku Jiu Jian laughed, Island Master, this is not an immortal infant. This is an out-of-body incarnation of an old immortal. However, you are not entirely wrong in saying that he is an immortal infant, because he precisely grew from an immortal infant. Chen Fan's eyes burned as he said, 
Then the paraplegic technique in your mouth, does it refer to this out-of-body incarnation, or these small swords? Kujo Jian stroked his whiskers and smiled, saying, out-of-body incarnations can only be cultivated if one has at least the Dingxu realm cultivation. These small swords, on the other hand, are flying swords and can be cultivated from the immortal infant realm. Once the swords are complete, they can be driven at will, and their power is okay. Unusually, to refine a flying sword is not an easy thing to do, and it's time consuming. But for the island master, it is not difficult, because there is a spirit body to do the work for him. Night and day, half a year can produce a prototype. Most importantly, the materials to refine the sword tire were available within Sin Immortal Island. As long as the flying sword has a prototype, it can be transformed into chi to penetrate the air, transferring from the spirit body to the outside world, and driven for use. Chen Fan was pleasantly surprised. Then what is there for me to hesitate? This flying sword art, I am determined to learn it. Ha ha, I happen to have the complete materials for refining the flying fire sword's sword tire here. I'll pass on the relevant essentials of refining the flying sword, nurturing the sword tire, and driving the flying sword to the island master. Kujo Jin said smilingly. Yu Qian bristled. Kujo Jin, you're quite willing to give up this time. I haven't seen you before. Willing to pass on the art of flying swords to other island masters. Not to mention, those sword tire materials that you regard as treasures. Kujo Jin laughed softly. One, they don't deserve it. And two, the old immortal doesn't really think highly of them and doesn't want to waste the old immortal sword tire materials for nothing. But this time is different. Island Master Chen is worthy of old immortals awe, and even more worthy of old immortals expectations. Yu Qian laughed. I didn't realize that you were as discerning as the old man. Kujo Jian rolled his eyes. Then he smiled at Chen Fan and said, Island Master. The old man is transmitting the law with his divine sense. You come out some and don't resist. Chen Fan laughed. Good. On the main altar. It's an absolute safe zone. Other than the immortal spirit chi that Chen Fan had absorbed, no other power could enter on its own accord. Including, the power of divine knowledge. However, when Chen Fan left the main altar, even though he had the power of the heavenly might of killing with a single thought, if he was killed in seconds before he could move his thoughts, then Chen Fan would die just the same. Therefore, in fact, passively accepting the divine sense transmission was quite a dangerous thing for Chen Fan. In case Kujo Jin suddenly had bad intentions and blasted his spirit body soul see with the power of his divine sense, Chen Fan would also die instantly due to the dispersal of his soul. But Chen Fan chose to trust Kujo Jin. Although the Ku family had not yet had any descendants taken away from Sin Immortal Island, there had never been any enmity between Chen Fan and Kujo Jin, and Kujo Jin had no reason to be unfavorable to him at all. Chen Fan got up and came outside the main altar, facing Kujo Jin. When Kujo Jin saw that Chen Fan did not hesitate in the slightest, a smile appeared on his face as well, and a little bit of divine sense surged out, crossing towards Chen Fan's brow. He had watched Chen Fan grow up, and he had always seen Chen Fan's character in his eyes. This was also the reason why he was willing to frequently show up on his own initiative and hit on Chen Fan. The island's supreme powers were far more than just Yu Qian and Kujo Jin. The others, however, were always very mentioned put, even harboring resentment towards such an existence as the islander. After all, accompanied by the king is accompanied by a tiger. In case you meet a tyrant, a horse's ass did not shoot well, maybe the island master a thought, bombed into a blood mist. That's why more supreme powers, preferring not to get close to the islander, avoided it and kept to themselves. After a long time, the power of divine sense slowly dissolved and dispersed in Chen Fan's soul sea. Chen Fan was surprised to find that in his mind. Not only was there a lot more information content, but his soul power cultivation had actually increased quite a bit. A strong person is a strong person. A little bit of the power spread out by divine consciousness can even make my soul power cultivation have such an obvious increase. Chen Fan exclaimed in his heart. He he, island master. In this ring, are the materials for refining the flying fire sword tire? Flying swords are different from ordinary sword soldiers. They must be refined personally in order to connect with the sword master's spirit and god. Kujo Jian smilingly handed a Xin Kong ring to Chen Fan. Chen Fan respectfully saluted. Chen Fan remembers the kindness of Elder cause teaching of skills and gift of the sword. Ha ha, the old immortal also wants to watch the island master. Go even farther. Kujo Jian said with a smile. He didn't dodge or reject Chen Fan's salute. After all, the value of his kunine sword's flying sword technique, as well as the materials used to refine the flying fire sword tire, were all immeasurable. Chapter 177, where is this going? After that, there were dozens of people, who flew in successively, sending their treasures as congratulatory gifts. What these people gave away were basically pills and spirit wine things, because only these would be of use to Chen Fan. Chen Fan was not polite and accepted them all. 
Just as Chen Fan was about to attempt to refine the sword tire, in the direction of the distant sky, three huge bird shadows flew in. Chen Fan raised an eyebrow. If it isn't the Gale Bird family of three, Feng Xiaotian, congratulations to Island Master for advancing to a mortal infant. The male bird with the largest size suddenly flashed with demonic light around his body and transformed into a middle-aged man, bowing towards Chen Fan. Subsequently, the female bird also appeared as a person and owed a bow. Feng Yi congratulates the Island Master. Advancing into a mortal infant, Chen Fan lightly smiled. Thank you both. Little Big Wind is still in the Clutching Dan realm, and is still unable to transform into a human body, and his expression is also excited. Wind Little Wind, congratulations to the Island Master as well. Chen Fan laughed lightly. Little Gale, so you do have a name, but this name of yours, it was acquired quite casually. Feng Xiaofeng laughed. Yeah, I also think that my name is a bit too random. Feng Xiaotian said. He he, let the island master be amused. At first, we thought that we would never let Little Wind leave us in this lifetime. So as for the name, it was casual. Little Wind was also very smooth to call, so we gave him this name. Chen Fan laughed. It's actually quite good. Calling it does sound good. Hey, island master, my father and mother agreed that I should leave the island. From now on, I'll be able to follow the island master to venture outside. I'm just so happy. Feng Xiaofeng said excitedly. Chen Fan had actually guessed the intentions of this family of three from Feng Xiaotian's words. He smiled and looked at Feng Xiaotian and the Feng Yi couple. Feng Xiaotian's eyes were unwilling to part with him, but he still smiled helplessly and said, the child is getting older, so it's time to let him decide his own life. This child has always wanted to go out. It's just that we're worried about his safety, so we've never allowed it. Now that we have decided to let go, Feng Xiaotian implored Island Master to give him a chance. Chen Fan said, there's no problem taking him out. It's just that the demon spirit carrier is not very easy to find. A normal flying bird demonic body, even if it can barely withstand his demonic spirit body, will greatly limit his talent. I'm not sure when I'll be able to find a suitable carrier for him. Feng Xiaotian said, In fact, there is a descendant of my clan called the five-colored lawn bird, and this bird should not be difficult to meet. As long as we find the five-colored lawn bird, Little Wind can use the body of the lawn bird to activate the bloodline and return to the ancestor for cultivation. Chen Fan was surprised. So the five-colored lawn bird is actually a descendant of the great wind immortal bird. Good. If I meet the lawn bird, I will take little wind away from sin immortal island. Feng Xiaotian arched his hand and said, Many thanks island master. After we go out, let little wind be your mount in return for island master's great favor. Chen Fan smiled. All those who go out have a 10-year contract with me. And so does little wind. If after 10 years, he wants to leave, I will definitely fulfill him as well. Feng Xiaotian and Feng Yi's eyes lit up as they thanked Chen Fan once again before the family turned around and left. Chen Fan sat down on his knees and began to study refining the sword tire. The closure is unknown for years. The people outside, they can be waiting. The Chan family, age 13 saw that Chen Fan had not returned for several months, and his brows were gloomy. She wasn't angry at being left out. On the contrary, she begged for Chen Fan not to touch her. However, the task given to her by the patriarch was to monitor Chen Fan's every move. Now that Chen Fan had no news for months, she couldn't explain to the patriarch. At first, she sent a message to the Blood Soul sect, informing them that Chen Fan had left her behind and had gone to the Immortal Dao sect to take care of business. The clan returned the message, telling her to stay quietly in the Chen family and wait for Chen Fan to return. But a few days ago, another message came from the sect, asking her about Chen Fan's movements. She could only report truthfully that Chen Fan had not yet returned. Early this morning, she once again received a message from the sect which told her to snub Ling Hu Yuchu and go to the immortal Dao sect together. Age 13 came to the front of Ling Hu Yuchu's courtyard. Ling Hu Yuchu, come out for a chat. Age 13 faintly shouted. Squeak. The door of the house opened. And Ling Hu Yuchu walked out with a smile on her face. Thirteenth girl, please come in. With a hook of Ling Hu Yuchu's hand, the courtyard door was tugged by spiritual energy and opened up. Age 13 walks into the courtyard. The patriarch has not returned for several months. I'm worried about his safety. I wonder what Miss Ling Hu is thinking? Age 13 narrowed his eyes and said. Ling Hu Yuchu laughed. I think it's Miss 13 who is being overly concerned. Age 13 said indifferently. I want to go to the Immortal Dao sect to have a look. And I think you should join me. Ling Hu Yuchu shook her head and said. I advise Miss 13 not to go. Since we have followed the patriarch, we should listen to the arrangements of the patriarch. But he went away for several months and left us hanging out in the Chun family like this. You're willing to do that? H13 couldn't help but say angrily. Ling Hu Yuzhu laughed. Yuzhu is but the body of a cauldron, and is not the sovereign's dainty wife and beautiful concubine. 
So how can she be qualified to be willing or unwilling? Ha, huh, you're really self-absorbed. Age 13 laughed angrily. Ling Hu Yuzhu smiled. This is Yuzhu's destiny. Fighting with destiny is futile and adds to hatred, resentment and annoyance. If you can conform and accept it, your mind will be at peace and you will not be happy or sad. Age 13's face darkened as he sneered. The women of the Ling Hu family are really pitiful. Since you're not going, I'll go myself. Ling Hu Yuzhu said helplessly, if 13th miss is unwilling to listen to advice, I won't stop you. But if you anger the patriarch, you will have to bear more than just the patriarch's wrath. Age 13 sneered. I'm different from you. I'm not as pathetic as you. After saying that, age 13 turned around and left in the air. She was determined to go to the immortal Dao sect and see what Chen Fan had been doing in the past few months. She couldn't give Chen Fan a chance to have a breakthrough. The most important task given to her by the patriarch was to think of every possible way to delay and stop Chen Fan from continuing his breakthrough. Because, once Chen Fan broke into the immortal infant realm, the blood soul sect would no longer be a threat to Chen Fan and the Chun family. Cold Moonshine didn't dare to strike out at Chen Fan at will, but she couldn't watch Chen Fan stand at the same level as her either. It was the crushing of strength that gave her a sense of control over the situation. Watching age 13 disappear at the end of the sky, Ling Hu Yuzhu's eyes narrowed, and between her right hand, she suddenly lifted up a green-colored spirit butterfly light shadow. A soul sound was injected into the spirit butterfly, and then the spirit butterfly lifted its wings and flew away. Boom! 50 miles away from Tiger Spirit City. A loud rumbling sound rang out from the void. H-13's figure that was storming through the air was suddenly struck by a strong force on his chest and flew backwards like a meteor. Boom! H-13's eyes stormed with anger, and he hastily sacrificed all his demonic chi. On full alert. Miss Age, where are you going? If I remember correctly, the freedom that the Patriarch has granted you is only to casually stroll around Tiger Spirit City. But at this moment, you are already 50 miles out of the city. Between the shaking of the void, Tong Xiao Xiao, who was dressed in a black dress, surfaced with a smile on her face. On the fingertips of her right hand, she idly twirled the great killing weapon, the soul-piercing needle. Chapter 178, The Sword Tire Becomes Complete. Chen Fan goes out of the gate. H13 stared fiercely and coldly at Tong Xiao Xiao. You've been spying on me? Tong Xiao Xiao lightly hooked the corner of her lips, playing with the flavor, if you do anything within the Chen family, I won't care about you. But after you leave the Chen family, I naturally have to keep an eye on you. What is your identity? I think I don't need to say more. You yourself will be very clear. Age 13 grunted. I'm going to the immortal Dao sect right now. You better not stop me. Tong Xiao Xiao laughed. If you insist on leaving Tiger Spirit City, I won't stop you, but I will kill you. Age 13 smiled coldly. Do you think I, age 13, am scared? She didn't believe that Tong Xiao Xiao dared to kill her. Even though she had been bestowed to Chen Fan, she was still a member of the Blood Soul sect. If she was killed, Chen Fan would never want to stop. She firmly believed that Tong Xiao Xiao would not cause trouble for Chen Fan. Tong Xiao Xiao laughed. I know you're not scared, but you probably don't know how big my guts are. Then I'd like to see just how big your guts are. With a stern shout, age 13 charged towards the front. Phew. The soul-piercing needle that was originally playing with Tong Xiao Xiao's fingertips was suddenly thrown out by her. In the void, a flash of black light met age 13 and stabbed him head on. Age 13's pupils shrank. Horrified. She's not going to back off. Because if she retired, she would have to obediently return to the Chen family. She's going to keep betting. Seeing that the black light was getting closer and closer, Tong Xiao Xiao's smile was wickedly cold. And he did not have the slightest intention of putting a stop to the soul-piercing needle. Age 13's heart was beating wildly. Pust. When the soul-piercing needle reached age 13's heel, it suddenly shifted to the upper right by a fraction of an inch. The two-foot-long thick black needle passed through age 13's shoulder. Through the bone. Hiss. Age 13 hissed in pain. But her body, still not stopping, continued to charge towards Tong Xiao Xiao. Tong Xiao Xiao coldly shouted. Get the hell back. She suddenly raised her palm and blasted it at age 13. Boo. The powerful palm force. Striking the chest and shocking. Age 13 sprayed out a mouthful of blood. And the whole person flew backwards towards the back. Buzz. Tong Xiao Xiao made a move with her right hand and the soul-piercing needle flew back into her hand as she said icily, You made the right bet. I am not going to kill you. But I can severely injure you and make you obediently lie in bed until the patriarch returns. Your courage is half useless in front of absolute strength suppression. Tong Xiao Xiao's cultivation level was already at the late stage of the clasping Dan realm. Far superior to age 13. This was the reason why age 13 didn't make a move. Because whether she made a move or not, the result would be the same if Tong Xiao Xiao wanted to kill her. H13 flew backward for hundreds of meters before his face went pale and covered his chest to stop and stabilize his body. Blood hung at the corners of her mouth, 
and she gritted her teeth with a grim gaze. She didn't say anything else, just turned around unwillingly and flew back towards Tiger Spirit City. Since Tong Xiaoxiao was determined not to let go, she didn't want to spend the rest of her days lying in bed. The other side of Tiger Paw City, a green-colored butterfly shadow flew with great speed. Immediately, the green butterfly's wings trembled, and then it was pulled downward by an invisible force. Jia Yuan sat cross-legged on the grass, smiling as he looked at the green butterfly wrapped in spiritual energy. Sovereign was right. These two women, none of them is a light. Jia Yuan let out a low laugh as his soul sense probed into the spirit butterfly. Chinjo has not returned, and the witch has gone to the clan. The Hope clan dispatches the strongest and kills them without return. Jia Yuan's eyes narrowed. After thinking about it, he blasted the green butterfly with a palm. Chen family, Ling Hu Yuzhu, who was meditating and cultivating in the house, violently opened her eyes, and a touch of pallor surfaced on her fair and pretty face. The spirit butterfly is destroyed. Ling Hu Yuzhu pursed her lips, a bitter smile on her face. In the end, it's still the same as age 13, committing stupidity ah. Knowing that he would leave a means behind, he still took a chance. Swish. Just as Ling Hu Yuzhu smiled bitterly, a vaporous aura crashed into the Chen clan. Big yellow in Chen fan small courtyard. The dog's mouth showed a sneer of disdain. Do you really think that if the patriarch is not around, no one in the Chen clan can control you? Obviously just two pathetic wretches who have to take themselves seriously. After muttering, Big Yellow threw a few spirit stones into his mouth before his head slumped down and he continued to sleep. When the spirit stone was wrapped in its mouth, it could be slowly absorbed by the demon body and transformed into the power of the demon element. Ling Hu Yuchu naturally heard the commotion. It seems that age 13 didn't leave either. Ling Hu Yuchu took a low breath. In the blink of an eye, another half a month had passed. Inside the heavenly sea pearl, in the palm of Chen Fan's right hand, he was holding a baby's fist-sized, soft and wobbly ball of crimson liquid. If it wasn't for the fact that the sword tire was described as such in the information transmitted by Kujo Jin, Chen Fan would not be able to connect this reddish liquid mass with the sword at all. Go! Chen Fan's mind moved, and the crimson liquid mass immediately flew through the air. Between the penetration of the air, the liquid mass was quickly elongated, turning into a crimson sword shadow, only that the shadow was still like a soft sword, with a somewhat wobbly feeling. Swish! In the void, the silhouette flashed, and Kujo Jin came smilingly blinking through the air. Congratulations Island Master, for successfully refining the flying fire sword tire. Chen Fan got up and smiled. I also have to thank Elder Ku for his generosity. Ha ha, the Island Master is polite. Nowadays, this sword tire is fine for practicing control, but the attacking power is just like a blunt axe chopping wood, so don't expect too much. However, as long as the Island Master insists on feeding it with his essence blood and melting it with his sword intent, in time, this flying fire sword of the Island Master will surely surpass the power of the old immortal's flying fire. Could Zhou Jin laughed. Chen Fan's spiritual body is a mixed divine vein body, the power of essence and blood, extremely powerful, and body cultivation optimistic great diffusion technique of Chen Fan, the attainments on the sword road, the same day can enter the peak. The strength of a flying sword's power was closely related to the essence blood in sword chi, and Chen Fan had endless potential in both aspects. Chen Fan rubbed his nose and laughed, that will also be an extremely long process. Right now, I'm just thinking about it getting hard like a man. Ha ha, in the long run, half a year, the flying sword will be completed. The martial way is long, the patience that should be there. Island master should still have it. Any overnight improvement is not the work of the righteous path. Could Zhou Jin laughed and reminded. Chen Fan arched his hand and said, Senior will keep this in mind. This will allow the spirit body to sacrifice the sword tire. I have been in seclusion for a long time, so it is time for me to go out for a walk. Ha! Also, then the old immortal will take his leave first. Could Zhou Jin turned away. Chen Fan sat on his knees and recalled the sword tire. The sword fetus flew back to him, but it was actually like flowing firelight, directly disappearing into the spirit body and appearing before the Dantian immortal infant. And it was also strange that not the slightest wound was left on Chen Fan's skin. Ugh. In the Dan Tian, the palm-sized immortal infant spat out a drop of essence blood and merged it into the flying fire sword tire. This sword tire, which was extremely spiritual, instantly squirmed with joy, as if it had tasted some supreme delicacy. Afterwards, the immortal infant raised his hand again and condensed a sword intent, injecting it towards the middle of the sword tire. The spirit body also began to operate the prime diffusion technique and entered into self-cultivation. Inside the Young Tse Pavilion, Chen Fan's eyes slowly opened. After a few months, he opened his eyes this time as if everything in front of him was different. Everything, it seems, went into the realm of the microscopic. All the places he wanted to perceive could be clearly reflected in his eyes with a single thought. 
dust floating particles, spiritual light like silk, and even, even the movement of the growth of a few green plants in the corner of the house could be captured with the naked eye. Chapter 179 Way A Orin The difference between the clutching Dan realm and the immortal infant realm is really like the difference between clouds and mud. Today's battle power is at least 20 times more powerful compared to before the breakthrough. Chen Fan felt the surging spiritual energy in his body, as well as the seemingly endless ferocious physical strength, and his gaze was filled with sharpness. He even had an urge to go and single out Cold Munyue. Even though he was at the beginning of his immortal infant, he would have at least a 90% chance of winning if he were to face Cold Munyue. The 10% undercount is for a little humility. Buzz. With a wave of his hand, Chen Fan dispersed the restriction that shrouded Young Tian Pavilion. Swish. Yu Qi Ling flew in and froze. Patriarch, you've come out of seclusion so soon? Could it be that you didn't succeed in condensing an immortal infant? Yu Qi Ling remembered her grandfather saying that the best qualified clan member of the Yu Qi family had taken a year and a half to condense an immortal baby. And Chen Fan hadn't even reached four months in this retreat. Chen Fan laughed lightly. Why would you think that? Of course I succeeded. Ha! Huh? You condensed an immortal infant in less than four months? My god! This talent of yours? It's simply too terrifying! Yu Qi Ling exclaimed. Chen Fan rolled his eyes and scolded with a laugh. Don't follow your grandfather's example. Yu Qi Ling's face blushed with shame as she explained. I'm not kissing ass. On Sin Immortal Island, Wei Aoran of the Wei family is recognized as the first genius, but it also took him a full ten months to successfully condense his baby from his closed door rushing to the realm. On the other hand, my fourth uncle, who has the strongest talent in my Yuchi family, took a year and a half. Successful infant condensation in less than four months. I've never even heard of it in the stories my grandfather told. Chen Fan was stunned. Was he so bullish? He he. In that case, my immortal baby is still a premature baby? Chen Fan teased with a smile. But, Yu Qi Ling was amused by Chen Fan. Chen Fan curiously said, the way Ao Ren you mentioned just now, how come I've never even heard of it? This way family, it seems, has never shown its face either. Yu Qi Ling hesitated for a moment and said, I heard my grandfather say that the way family's old man was blasted to death by the previous island master with the power of heavenly might hundreds of years ago. So the way family may not be too close to the island master. Chen Fan was stunned previous island master. Why did you kill the Wei family's old man? Chen Fan asked. Yu Qi Ling sighed, I heard that it was the previous island master, who looked at a grandson-in-law of the Wei family. The Wei family is a great clan within the Sin Immortal Island, and Elder Wei is also a supreme existence. So where can he suffer such humiliation? And angrily rebuked the previous island master with a few words. And so he was blasted to death. Chen Fan's face sank as he said in a cold voice, as the island master, he could do such a thing. Simply shameless. Yu Qi Ling lightly coughed. In fact, except for the first island master in Yu, all the successive island masters have regarded the unmarried women on Sin Immortal Island as the women in their own harem. Only, in addition to the last island master, the other four island masters, but also did not make a forced robbery of other people's Dao couples this kind of thing to, is also some bottom line. Chen Fan frowned, not realizing that those island lords in the past, were all like this. After Elder Wei died, his granddaughter-in-law, what was the outcome? Chen Fan asked in a deep voice. Yu Qi Ling said in a low voice, the couple, after Master Wei was killed, committed suicide. Later on, not long after that, the previous island master also fell in the outside world for unknown reasons. Sin Immortal Island was thus silent for hundreds of years, and the Wei family was basically silent since then. It wasn't until 70 years ago, when Wei Aoran condensed her baby in October, that the Wei family regained some of its glory, but even then, the Wei family rarely showed up. After all, Without Elder Wei, the Wei family is also worried that Wei Aoran's talent is too amazing and will be suppressed by the other great clans, right? During the time when there was no island master in control of Sin Immortal Island, there were actually quite a few fights on the island. Chen Fan sighed, it's a pity about Master Wei. Yu Qi Ling's eyes burned as she stared at Chen Fan and smiled playfully. In our generation, it's really lucky to meet an island master like you. If I had been born a few hundred years earlier, then I would have definitely been scourged as well. Chen Fan laughed and scolded. You're just dying to be scourged. Yu Qi Ling's gaze was stunned, and her originally playful and smiling face suddenly stiffened, and a layer of watery mist surged in her baffled eyes. Chen Fan knew that he had slipped up and hurriedly explained. Linger, I was just being tongue-tied and joking with you. I never thought of you as that kind of person. Yu Qi Ling choked out. I don't like you because you're the island master. I know. Chen Fan nodded. It's because I saved your life back then. Yu Qi Ling froze. You, you know it all? Chen Fan laughed. Well, your grandfather told me, to be honest, if it wasn't for your grandfather telling me, 
I really didn't think that you were the little fart girl who was carried all over the sky by the demonic eagle back then. Yu Qi Ling blushed, angrily said, how did grandpa say it? I still think, about it. She didn't have the heart to say the latter. Shen Fan froze, what are you thinking? Why did you stop talking halfway through? Yu Qi Ling shyly lowered her head and said, I originally thought that I would say it after I had my first skin to skin kiss with the island master, so that it would make Linger feel romantic. Now, it's all ruined by grandpa, if I can go back. I'll have to pull out his beard. Chen Fan smiled awkwardly. Cough. Let's go out for a walk. And by the way, let's call Huang Su over and ask what hasn't happened in the past few months. Chen Fan lightly coughed. The two walked out of Yang Tian Pavilion. Without waiting for Chen Fan to transmit his voice, Huang Su sensed Chen Fan's aura coming out of Yang Tian Pavilion and flew over at the first opportunity. Patriarch, you've come out of the gate so soon. Did you succeed in rushing the realm? Huang Su asked excitedly. Chen Fan laughed. As expected. Huang Su had a face of ecstasy as he said in an uplifting manner, worthy of being you, I guess that the speed of your infant condensation would definitely be even faster than Wei Aoran, Yu Qi Ling bristled, Huang Su, you're the one who's a big horse's ass, before this, who would have thought that someone would be able to complete infant condensation in less than 4 months, tell me honestly, how long did you guess in your heart, Huang Su dryly laughed, to be honest, my guess was 9 months, after all, Wei Aoran's time spent was indeed already very short. I firmly believe that Patriarch will be faster than him, but I didn't expect that it could be as fast as this. In fact, it only took Chin Fan three months to condense the immortal infant. The rest of the time, he was refining sword tires. Only, there was no need for him to explain any of this much, much less show it off in front of his own people. The matter of me stepping into the immortal infant realm should be kept a secret for now. Chen Fan reminded the duo with a smile. Huang Xiu hemmed and laughed. Patriarchs are always so low-key. If it were anyone else, then he would have to feast on all the clans and tribes, so that the eight parties can come to congratulate him. The corner of Chen Fan's lips lifted and he said with a bad smile, It's not that I like to keep a low profile, but the feeling of pretending to be a pig and eating a tiger is really cool. Huang Su and Yu Qi Ling both laughed lightly. These days, within Qing Zhou, has anything happened? Chen Fan asked. Huang Su's face became serious as he said in a deep voice, Something did happen. Chapter 180, Qingzhou City. Three months ago, there were four small clans that were slaughtered one after another within five days. To this day, the identity of the murderer is unknown, but the Qingzhou Marshal Dao speculates that it was most likely done by the demon sect. Two months ago, Lei Wu sect patriarch Situ Ji was murdered. The murderer has likewise failed to be found. In addition, there is a rumor against the patriarch in Qingzhou. Huang Su's face became extremely gloomy as he spoke. Chen Fan narrowed his eyes and said, Continue. Wang Su said in a deep voice, Rumor has it that the destruction of the four clans and the killing of Situ Ji were all the result of the patriarch leaking the righteous path's plan to eliminate the demons, thus inviting retaliation from the demon clan. There are also people who say that Situ Ji was most likely killed by the patriarch in secret. The reason is that in the birthday banquet of the old ancestor of Ling Hu, Situ Ji had asked the patriarch to release Zhang Yun, and the patriarch had some grudges in his heart, so he killed people, and then showed his rampage. For the sake of, is to show the martial arts of Qin Zhou, and to show that the immortal Dao sects hegemony and irreversibility. There are even some remarks that directly describe our clan as a devilish force that has forcibly occupied a righteous clan's residence. Chen Fan calmly said, after the rumor came out, has anyone committed a crime against my immortal Dao sect? Huang Su shook his head, that's not true. Chen Fan nodded his head and said, if no one comes looking for trouble, there is no need to care. Those who are clear need not prove themselves. The murderer behind this should be in league with the person who instructed Tu Sanshir. I'm just wondering why he chose to use such a troublesome way to deal with me. Perhaps, he doesn't dare to appear head on, so he can only fake it. Yu Qi Ling narrowed his eyes. Chen Fan said, then his identity should be directly or indirectly related to me. It seems that this opponent is from the side of the southern domain King City. Those who had direct and indirect relationships with Chen Fan, on the Qingzhou side, did not have anyone who fit the bill. The only place where it was possible was on the side of the southern domain king city. Huang Su narrowed his eyes and said, Patriarch, should we let Dong Qing and the others first go over to the southern region king city to do some snooping? Chen Fan shook his head and said, There is no need. The southern region king city is too dangerous for them. However, I should meet Dong Cheng. Where is he now? Huang Su laughed. It's in Qingzhou city. Chen Fan laughed. It just so happens that I also want to stroll around Qingzhou city. Tell me his address. And tomorrow morning, I'll personally go look for him. Yes, his apparent identity nowadays is the guest secretary of the Su family within the Qingzhou city, and he is also the master of the Su family's seventh young lady. 
Su Tsai, Huang Su said. Chen Fan nodded. On one side, Yu Qi Ling's eyes flickered slightly, and he opened his mouth several times to speak. Chen Fan laughed. You want to go too? Yu Qi Ling's face blushed as she shyly said. Linger has already been cultivating hard for four months, and she also wants to go out and relax, but I'm afraid that the patriarch won't agree. Then let's go together. Chen Fan agreed with a smile. Yu Qi Ling jumped up in surprise. Thank you, sovereign. He he he. I'm so happy. Chen Fan smiled helplessly. Was this worth being so happy? Has Chang Liu gone back? Chen Fan asked Huang Su. Huang Su laughed. No, the day after your retreat. Miss Chang was also retreating in her house to cultivate. Chen Fan was stunned. Before he closed down, he didn't know how long it would take for him to make a breakthrough. So he told Chang Liu that if he was bored of staying, he should go back to the Five Elements sect first, and he would visit Chang Liu again when he had time. I didn't expect Chang Liu to go straight into seclusion in the Immortal Dao sect. He he he. The island master's lustful fortune is truly enviable. Huang Xiao said with a thieving bad smile. Chen Fan rolled his eyes. What are you talking about? Chang Lele is the sister I recognized. We have a pure brother-sister relationship. Yu Qi Ling's mouth contained a bitter smile. Any blind person could see Chang Lele's heart towards Chen Fan. You guys go ahead and get busy. I'll go meet her. Chen Fan said and went to find Chang Lele. Chang Lele came to the immortal Dao sect alone. Closed door cultivation is also in order to wait for him to come out of the gate. He has already come out of the gate. Since he wants to meet this girl. The next day, Chen Fan, Yu Qi Ling, and Chang Lele left the Immortal Dao sect together and flew towards Qingzhou City. Qingzhou City, located in the most central location of the entire Qingzhou. The huge city, like a giant beast, was situated on the vast expanse of land. Within this city, apart from the Feng family, which was the hereditary lord of the Qingzhou prefecture, there were even more ten great families entrenched. Although the strength of the ten great families was not comparable to the five great clans, the number of top-tier martial cultivators was enough to rival some medium clans. The Dongfang family, the Yao family, the Huang family, and the Su family, in which Dong Cheng was now hibernating, were all among the top ten families. You guys go ahead and stroll around. I'm going to meet an old friend. After entering the city, Chen Fan smiled at the two girls. Yu Qi Ling knew that Chen Fan was going to meet Dong Cheng, whose existence was a secret. Immediately, he laughed and responded, pulling Chang Liu to go shopping. Chen Fan was alone, traveling through the wide streets of Qingzhou City by himself. The Su family, as a large family, was naturally not difficult to find. Soon, he came to the vicinity of Su's house. Su Zhang, you irresponsible dog, come out for me. In front of the Su mansion's door, a man crossed his arms and roared. Behind this person, there stood a row of powerfully dressed martial cultivators, each with a cultivation that wasn't bad. All at the peak of the true spirit realm. Isn't this the Ma family's third youngest? Ma Wucheng? You don't know yet. Right. I heard that Su Zhang, the fourth youngest of the Su family, got pregnant with the Ma family's fifth young lady, Ma Yusin, but didn't want to admit it, and said that the child Ma Yusin was carrying wasn't necessarily his child. The great clan is a mess. Hey, who says otherwise? I heard that on that night in the moon pool, the children of the various clans that met therein were drugged, and when they woke up, Regardless of gender, their asses were bare. Ha, huh? really, is it that powerful? He he, it's just so powerful. But whether it was drugged or drugged by himself, who knows? It's just a pity for Dongfang Shui. No, that night Dongfang Shui was among them? Although the Oriental family is trying their best to keep it a secret, there is no impermeable wall in this world. Chen Fan stood at the edge of the crowd, listening to the whispered gossip of the onlookers passers-by, and also froze and froze. I didn't expect such a powerful thing to happen within Qingzhou City. Boom click. The doors of the Su family were pulled open with a loud bang. With that, several middle-aged men, with dark faces, walked out. The middle-aged man in the center, who was a bit on the longer side, was none other than Su Chong, the current head of the Su family. As soon as he saw Su Chong personally appear, the corner of Ma Wuching's eyes, slightly shrunk, but did not back off half a point. Su Chong looked at Ma Wuching and said with a gloomy face, Little brat of the Ma family, stop talking nonsense in front of my Su mansion. Aren't you too ashamed? Ma Wucheng grunted, Uncle Su, even if it's a disgrace, my sister can't lose her innocence for nothing. The moon pool matter, although so far there is no result, but my fifth sister in Su Zhang matter, is not false. If Su Zhang is still a man, he should be held accountable. Su Chong angrily rebuked, this matter, if you want to resolve it, it should be for your father to come to my Su family to discuss it in private. You blocked the doorway of my Su family to say this. And what does it look like? Hurry up and take your people and get the hell out of here. Otherwise, 
Don't blame the Su family for being impolite. Su Chong was simply going to explode with anger. Moonpool that night happened. Each family is not covered up. Ma Wu Cheng is good, but even ran to the door of the Su house, screaming and drinking in the street. If not for the fact that the Ma family was also one of the top 10 families, Su Chong would have wanted to directly shoot Ma Wu Cheng with a slap. Chapter 181, Fong Family Crisis. In front of the Su mansion, Ma Wu Cheng's face was grim. If his father was willing to stand up for his own sister in this way, would he have run to the gates of the Su mansion? Exposing himself to scandal and forcing Su Zheng to take a wife? After the events of the night of the moon pool, the children of all the families panicked. In order to maintain their respective reputations, all of them kept their mouths shut at first. It wasn't until several young ladies were found to be pregnant one after another that the events of the night of the moon pool became known to the elders of the clans. The clans themselves were trying their best to cover up, wanting to erase the traces of that night. But I don't know how it happened. But the news finally leaked out and spread in the dark. With Ma Wucheng's mess today, the rumors of the night of the moon pool have undoubtedly been confirmed. It was no wonder that Su Chong personally stepped in, his eyes evil and wanting to kill. Unless Su Zheng agrees to marry my sister right now, I will never leave. Ma Wucheng clenched his fists and said through clenched teeth, he and Ma Yusin are brother and sister from the same mother. Her birth mother had unfortunately passed away when Ma Yusin was still in her infancy, so Ma Wucheng was also extraordinarily distressed by this sister. But after the accident, his father, for the sake of so-called face, Wants Ma Yusin to secretly have an abortion and to forget forever what happened that night. Ma Wuching had no choice but to come to the front of the Su mansion to cause trouble. Only by making a big deal out of it, by making it known to everyone, could his sister not have to swallow her grievances. As long as the Su family agrees to marry, the rest of his sister's life will be settled. With the Ma family as his backing, even if the Su family is reluctant to marry, they won't make things too difficult for his sister. At best, it's just cold. Su Chong looked at the stubborn Ma Wuching grimly. Notify Ma Hong Yuan and have him come here in person to bring his crazy son back. In half an hour, if anyone from the Ma family is still here, no matter who it is, kill them for me. Su Chong snorted coldly and turned around in anger, walking towards the mansion. Ma Wu Chung hissed angrily, things have clearly happened, so why can't uncle make a mistake and let Su Zhang marry my sister? Su Chong didn't reply. Boom. Everyone in the Su family went back to the mansion, and the doors closed up tightly. If, on that night, there were only two people, Ma Yusin and Su Zhang, perhaps, Su Chong would also choose to make a mistake. But the thing is, there were a dozen men and women that night. Rebel son, an angry, trembling voice came from the back of the crowd of onlookers. Ma Hong Yuan had already arrived before the Su family's people left. Apparently Ma Hong Yuan got the news in advance that Ma Wuching was going to do something stupid. Ma Wuching's eyes trembled as he turned to look in the direction the voice came from. Swish, a silhouette that swept through the air. Snap. A slap in the face that viciously smacked Ma Wuching away. You sinner. Your sister's life is ruined because of you. Get back to me right now. Ma Hong Yuan's face reddened with rage as he droned. With that, he swept his gaze sinisterly at the Ma clan guards who had followed Ma Wuching over. Damn you all. You fools. Swish. Openly. A blade light. Swept across the sky. Cold. Sharp blades attacked the body in front of the guards' terrified gazes. Pfffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffff
so I was able to cope with everything, it's just that those concubines he keeps in the mansion are too pestering, making it difficult for my subordinate to settle down and cultivate all the time. The corner of Chin Fan's mouth couldn't help but twitch. This kid, he's actually fooling around, isn't he? Since you think they are too pestering, just kick them out. Chen Fan laughed without any good humor. Feng Xianting smiled awkwardly and said, This can't be ah, those women, they are all suffering people, they should be taken in or taken in. Chen Fan bristled. He knew that this Feng Wushuan was not really disliking it. Island Master, have you heard about those recent rumors in Qingzhou? Feng Xuanting's face suddenly became solemn. Do you mean those rumor-mongering voices that suspect me and the immortal Dao sect? Chen Fan said. Yes, Feng Xianting said in a deep voice. Behind this, there must be a push. Otherwise these rumors wouldn't have spread so much. Chen Fan nodded and said. Huang Su has already spoken to me. But rumors are rumors after all. And we don't need to prove ourselves. Regarding the murderer, has the Qingzhou government found out any useful information? Feng Xianting shook his head and said. Feng Wanqi sent four immortal elders to investigate but none of them were able to find out anything useful. The murderer was decisive and incredibly strong, and did not leave the slightest trace, especially Situ Ji. He died in his own house within the Thunder Marshal sect, but there was no movement before his death. It is clear that the person who killed him was strong enough to crush him. If the person who killed him wasn't at the immortal infant realm, I'm afraid that in the eyes of the Qingzhou Marshal cultivators, only you, Island Master, would have this strength. Chen Fan narrowed his eyes and said, How did Situ Ji die? Feng Xianting said in a deep voice, the murderer chopped off his head and put his head, again, on his neck, it's like, arranging a toy, this murderer, not only is he ruthless, he also has a bit of playfulness, Chen Fan said in a cold voice, yeah, in fact, these days, the people of Qingzhou are on edge, Feng Wanqi also has an extreme headache because of this, coupled with the moon pool matter, it can be said that there is a lot of turmoil, if it were to spread to the southern region king's house, it would be hard to say if the Feng family could continue to hereditary the position of the head of the house. Feng Xianting helplessly said, there was suddenly some clarity in Chen Fan's heart, but he was somewhat unable to grasp it. If the slaughter of the four clans and Situ Ji's death were all meant to discredit and rumorize him, then the night of the moon pool, which also coincidentally happened at this time, but this matter, however, did not affect him in the slightest. These few things can shake the Feng family's position as the house master? Chen Fan asked. Feng Xianting nodded his head and said, all of these things, individually, would not affect the position of the Feng Wanqi mansion master, but added together, then it would appear that Qingzhou is in a very chaotic situation under the Feng family's jurisdiction. After the southern region royal house knows about this, it will naturally consider a change in management. Chen Fan frowned, and for a moment, he could not figure out whether this time, it was directed at him, or at the Feng family. Tell me about the night of the moon pool, Chen Fan said. Chapter 182 Night at the Moon Pool Feng Xianting said, The night of the moon pool is also the biggest headache for Feng Wanqi right now, because the person who gathered those young boys and girls onto the moon pool passenger ship was none other than Feng Xuanye, the second son of Feng Wanqi. Chen Fan was stunned. Feng Xianting continued, Actually, Feng Xian Night has already organized gatherings like this five or six times. There have been no incidents. But instead, it has allowed him to build up quite a few contacts in the various great clans. But no one expected that this time, the entire boat, all of them were poisoned by an evil charm, and all of them were messed up. The most frightening thing was that afterward, they had absolutely no recollection of what had happened on the ship. They didn't even know who had contact with whom. They only remembered that when they woke up, a man and a woman were put together. And there was even a pair of them, or half-brothers and half-sisters. But this thing, the same permeated with strange. If you really messed up and lost your mind, how could it be so normal that it's all one-on-one? -on -one? So those girls who were pregnant, basically no one was willing to recognize them. After all, all the big families, they all value bloodlines extremely highly. No one is willing to raise a child for someone else. Chen Fan was also shocked. Who in the world is this so insidious to play with these family juniors in Qingzhou? Ah? Chen Fan searched and asked. This person, Ma Wucheng, are you familiar with him? Feng Xianting nodded his head and said, although I haven't had much contact with him. Feng Xianting's memories of Ma Wuching are still quite good, although he is a bit reckless, he is sentimental and righteous, he is also a sister protector, whoever bullied his sister, he would roll up his sleeves and fight them, why is the islander suddenly asking about him, Chen Fan immediately spoke about what he had seen outside the Su mansion, Feng Xianting's eyes changed, and his face didn't look too good as he said, this reckless man, this has really made things worse, when the island master mentioned Ma Wuching, could it be that he felt that he intended to publicize what happened on the night of the moon pool? 
Chen Fan shook his head and said, Originally, I was a bit skeptical, but after hearing what you said, it may not be the case. Him making a scene in front of the Su Mansion also seems like something a sister protector could do. Feng Xianting sighed softly, but he has ultimately made the situation more chaotic. I'm afraid that Feng Wanqi won't let him off lightly. Chen Fan raised his eyebrows lightly. Feng Wanqi is already agitated to this extent? Feng Xianting said. The Feng family has inherited the position of housemaster for 672 years. He will never let the position of the house lord be lost in his hands. If necessary, he will most likely choose to kill to stop the sound. Moreover, in fact, he has already prepared to find someone out. Take the blame in order to end the matter. But Ma Wuching is so messy, the matter of the night of the moon pool can no longer be covered up, casually looking for someone to take the blame, but also cannot plug the yo-yo mouth. Chen Fan laughed softly. This house master, it's not easy to be. Feng Xian Ting laughed, yes, looking at Feng Wanqi's frown that has furrowed into a Chuan character. I will never want to inherit his position as the head of the residence even if I die in the future. If the Feng family is able to survive this calamity, I intend to have Feng Wanqi abolish my position as the son of the throne, and I will focus on cultivating and improving my strength. As long as one is strong enough, even if one is not the head of the house, one's status is still supreme. It's like that old ancestor of the Feng clan right now. His words are more powerful than Feng Wanqi's. Chen Fan laughed. It's this reasoning. Strength is everything. A strong strength is more than capable of overriding everything. Hey, let's ignore the Feng family's troubles for now. Is there anything that Island Master wants to do when he comes to Qingzhou City this time? Is there anything I need to serve? Feng Xianting said with a hefty smile. Although he fell asleep to those beautiful concubines left behind by Feng Xianting, he did not have any sense of belonging to the Feng family. Feng Wanqi was so busy every day that he had a headache. But Feng Xianting continued to do nothing but cultivate and hang out with his beautiful concubines every day. If it wasn't for his cultivation, which had indeed risen very quickly, without having to wait for him to ask for the abolition of the position of the son of the world, Feng Wanqi would have wanted to abolish this heartless thing of his. Chen Fan laughed, just came over to casually stroll around and pry information from you in the meantime. Nothing else. Chen Fan saw that it was almost time. So he said, come with me to meet someone. He is also an islander of Sin Immortal Island. So in the future, you can also take care of each other within Xingzhou City. Feng Xuanting's eyes lit up. Good. This way, I won't be alone. The two left the Ask the Immortal building and quietly left the city. The place where Qin Fan and Dong Cheng had an appointment was not in the city. Dong Cheng hadn't crossed paths since then, except for the time he appeared with Qin Fan in Crescent City. The city is crowded with people. If they bump into the meeting, Dong Cheng, the hidden nail, will lose its meaning. When he was in the Whale Shark Gang in Crescent City, Chen Fan had sent out many islanders in one breath. Twenty-one of them were directly sent to Qingzhou City by Chen Fan. These twenty-one people, surrounding Qingzhou City, had established a powerful underground network of forces, and in addition to expanding their forces by absorbing more martial cultivators from each city to join them, they would also collect intelligence from all aspects. Dong Cheng was the top leader of this underground force called Dark Front. At that time, Chen Fan was still unaware of his relationship with the Tang family and had underestimated his growth rate. All that was on my mind at the time was to take it step by step and work my way through it. Although the dark fronts of today seem to no longer be of much help to Chen Fan, the dark fronts had established a huge intelligence network. This intelligence system penetrates extremely deep. Even within the Qingzhou prefecture, apart from Feng Xianting, there are also nails buried in the dark front. Only, Chen Fan did not know. This was the first time he had summoned Dongqing since the farewell in Crescent City. Outside the city, Almond Grove. When Chen Fan and Feng Xianting arrived, they did not find any silhouettes. The island master summoned us. This guy dares to slack off. Feng Xianting said with a displeased face as he didn't see anyone. In his opinion, the fact that Chen Fan had arrived but the other party had not was a great disrespect to Chen Fan. Chen Fan laughed. He's already here. Swish. As soon as Chen Fan's words fell, a silhouette swept in from the apricot grove. My subordinate Dong Qing. Greetings to the island master. The silhouette with a brawny and cold aura, knelt down in front of Chen Fan and performed a great salute. Chen Fan smiled. Get up. Thank you, Island Master. Dong Cheng rose respectfully. He glanced at Feng Xianting and raised his eyebrows slightly. Chen Fan laughed. Don't worry, he is also an islander. His real name is Feng Wushuang. So it's Feng Wushuang of the Feng family. Dong Cheng was dazed, then laughed. I didn't realize that the son of the Qingzhou prefecture is also one of ours. This will make it easier for Dark Front to act within Qingzhou in the future. Feng Xianting grinned. You know who I am. I still don't know who you are. Dong Chang laughed. Hu Qingtao of the Hu family. We've met before on the island. 
You also chased after my third sister. Only my third sister didn't agree to your advances. Cough. This latter part could have been left unsaid. Feng Shuanting's face flushed red and he glared in embarrassment. Dong Qing laughed badly a few times. Feng Wushuang, you've even been rejected? Chen Fan also gave a derisive laugh. Feng Xianting lightly coughed. That's because his third sister has no eyes. It's also thanks to his third sister not agreeing. Otherwise, with a Daoist couple, I may not be able to bear to leave Sin Immortal Island. If I didn't leave Sin Immortal Island, how could I have the beautiful concubines I have now? Dong Qing blankly glanced at Feng Xianting before respectfully looking at Chen Fan. Island master, you summoned your subordinate. But is it for the destruction of the four clans as well as the murder of Situ Ji? Chen Fan's eyes narrowed as he nodded. Indeed. You here, do you have any valuable news? Chapter 183, The Only Clue. Xian Huang Fruit. Dong Qing said solemnly, Ever since the Spirit Shield sect was exterminated, the Brothers of Dark Strike have been concerned about this matter, but without waiting for us to find out any half-useful information, three more sects were exterminated. These four clans were exterminated. Almost the same. The murderer is extremely ruthless. Chickens and dogs did not stay. From the remnants of the four clans, this murderer is rushing to kill people. And after killing people, did not make much of a stop, and even the four clans' resource pools have not been opened. Chen Fan frowned. In that case, you guys don't hold any valuable clues either. Dong Chang said. Originally, we were also disillusioned. But Situ Ji's death led us to discover a little clue. Chen Fan's eyes brightened slightly. Dong Ching continued. Before Situ Ji was killed, he had taken on a close disciple named Duan Hongyan. This woman comes from Weishuwei City and possesses a top-tier spirit vein body. Situ Ji held her in the highest regard and was even ready to pledge her to Situ Nan. But after Situ Ji was killed, this Duan Hongyan also disappeared. My subordinate guesses that this Duan Hongyan should have been taken in by that murderer as a forbidden domain. So if we can find Duan Hongyan, we can find where the murderer is. Chen Fan said helplessly. If Duan Hongyan was really captured by the murderer, then the difficulty of finding her, and finding the murderer, is actually the same ah. Dong Cheng shook his head. No, finding Duan Hongyan is actually not difficult. Only, it requires an immortal infant realm to step in and help. Chen Fan was stunned. Isn't this a coincidence? He laughed. How does the immortal infant realm help? Dong Cheng solemnly said. There is a tracking technique called the blood attraction technique. The Nia family members on the island know this technique. If the island master asks, the Nia family will definitely offer this technique. Invite another immortal infant realm to perform this technique with the power of Duan Hongyan's blood relative's essence and blood. And then we can trace Duan Hongyan's whereabouts. Chen Fan's eyes lit up, not realizing that there was such a strange art. However, he wasn't optimistic about it. If Duan Hongyan died, would it be impossible to find her with the blood drawing technique? Chen Fan asked. Dong Chang nodded. Yes. Chen Fan said in a deep voice, although this matter has little to do with my immortal Dao sect, right now this is really the only chance to find the murderer. Xian Ting, go back and tell Feng Wanchi that I have the blood attraction technique and may be able to help the Feng family find the murderer. If the Feng family is interested, let their old ancestor and I meet. Chen Fan narrowed his eyes. He didn't count himself out. On this occasion, it would be better to sell the Feng family a favor. Feng Xian Ting laughed. Good. I'm sure the Feng clan ancestor is extremely happy to step in. Feng Wanchi will also be grateful to the island master. Chen Fan smiled lightly and said, If the Feng family is grateful, that would be the best. You go back first. Look for me back in the city. Chen Fan said, Good. Feng Xianting immediately swept away. Do you have any clues about the night of the moon pool? Chen Fan looked at Dong Cheng again and asked. Dong Cheng said, I have a list of all the people involved that night. In order to figure out what actually happened that night, my subordinate even mesmerized Su Zhang and secretly peeped into his soul sea. But I was surprised to find that Su Zhang's memories of that night in his soul sea were dark and heavy. And his memories were complete, with no traces of having been erased. Chen Fan raised an eyebrow. A black sink? Right. Dong Chang said. In this case, there are two possibilities. The first possibility is that what Su Zhang did that night happened in a completely unconscious state. In that case, it wouldn't leave any memories behind. Just like sleepwalking. The second possibility is that he just slumbered all night on the passenger ship and did nothing. Chen Fan said, it should be the first possibility. On Su Zheng's body, there is no residue of evil poison power? Dong Qing shook his head and said, when my subordinate peered into Su Zheng's soul sea, it was already a few days after the incident, and even if it was an evil poison that was at work, it could not leave any traces. Moreover, my subordinate suspected that they were not poisoned by evil poison, and most likely were controlled by someone's soul becoming puppets in general, which is why they committed the absurdity. Only, 
my subordinate has never understood. What is the significance of the other party doing this? Is it just for the sake of enjoying a big show? Chen Fan said. Xian Ting guessed that the other party could possibly be trying to cause chaos in Qingzhou as a way of targeting the Feng family, wanting to pull the Feng family down from their position as the head of the government. Dong Qing shook his head and said, My subordinate does not think so. If it's just to pull the Feng family down, such a tactic, it's too clumsy. He could have taken other more direct and effective ways. If the Feng family really falls because of this, my subordinate feels that it will only be a collateral effect of these events. Chen Fan laughed. There is some truth to it. You continue to search for clues in the matter of the moon pool. Qingzhou will eventually be my immortal Daosex world, and I don't want anyone to mess it up too much. Dong Qing's eyes lit up as he excitedly said, Yes, the immortal Dao sect hadn't made a move for a long time since they had taken in the Arc Blade sect. Dong Qing thought that the islander had been satisfied with this. Now that he heard Chen Fan's words, he was energized and invigorated. If the immortal Dao sect was able to dominate Qingzhou, Dark Strike, as the underground force of the immortal Dao sect, would naturally be able to usher in better development. After the two ended their conversation, Chen Fan took the lead and returned to Qingzhou City. With a slight exploration of his soul sense, he sensed where Yu Qi Ling and Chang Lele were, and immediately rushed in the direction of the two. At the street corner of the marketplace, the Thousand Spirit Merchant's House, Yu Qi Ling and Chang Lele were in the Thousand Spirit Merchant House, picking out their favorites. The branches of the Thousand Spirit Chamber of Commerce were spread across almost the entire Xianling continent. Inside the city of Qingzhou, naturally, Yu Qi Ling pointed to the cargo container, a golden yellow fruit that was packed in a delicate little box, and smiled, Boss, this Xian Huang fruit, I'll take it. The shopkeeper's eyes lit up slightly, and he said in surprise, Miss is very insightful, actually recognizing the Xian Huang fruit, this thing is rare, not many people know it. Yu Qi Ling laughed in her heart, how rare can the Xian Huang fruit be? I have two trees planted in my yard. Of course, the courtyard she was talking about was her courtyard on Sin Immortal Island. Boss, this Xian Huang fruit, I'll take it. Suddenly, another voice, coldly rang out. Yu Qi Ling's eyebrows were coldly furrowed as she looked in the direction the voice came from with displeasure, only to see a tall woman, dressed in a gorgeous outfit, followed by four guards with not so weak breaths, walking over. The shopkeeper quickly said, Miss Yi. This Xian Huang fruit, it is this girl who first, without waiting for the shopkeeper to finish, Miss Ye's eyes narrowed, and with a hint of coldness in her voice, she said, I said, I want it, do you not understand my words? There was a slight huff in the shopkeeper's eyes, although the Thousand Spirit Merchant Company had a great background, he was only a shopkeeper, and the identity of the Miss Ye in front of him was not simple, so it was even worse for him to be offended. The shopkeeper could only look at Yu Qi Ling and asked with a bitter smile, This girl? I wonder if you can, can't, without waiting for the shopkeeper to finish, Yu Qi Ling coldly interrupted him as well, robbing something on her Yu Qi Ling's head, simply ridiculous, chapter 184, what a great honor, this, the shopkeeper's face showed a hard look, Yu Qi Ling said indifferently, shopkeeper, I don't want to make things difficult for you, you can just do business according to the rules, as for any trouble that will come later, I'll cover it myself, can you pocket it, Missy e said with cold and chilly eyes, Yu Qi Ling turned around and looked at Miss Yi, disdainfully saying, Don't pretend in front of me, no matter what your status is, you're not qualified. Chang Lele was originally still a bit nervous, but when she saw how domineering Yu Qi Ling was, she couldn't help but raise a smile at the corner of her mouth. Miss Ye's eyes narrowed slightly, for someone who doesn't even put me, Yi Ling, in his eyes, I'm curious as to what your status is. Yu Qi Ling smiled coldly, You don't need to scare me by giving your full name, you're a name that doesn't ring a bell. I've never heard of it at all, daring to be so rude to Miss Yi, you're looking for death, behind Yi Ling, a guard shouted angrily, Yu Qi Ling said disdainfully, it's not certain who seeks death, since you've also taken a fancy to the Xian Huang fruit, I'll give you a chance to snatch it away, go out and wait, as soon as I go out, you can make your move to snatch it, Yu Qi Ling finished speaking and ignored Miss Yi and these people again, she turned her head and asked the shopkeeper, how many spirit stones, the shopkeeper said, 70,000 spirit stones. So expensive. Changeling's shocked voice came out of his mouth. After all, in her opinion, 70,000 spirit stones for a fruit was too high a price. Miss Ye's face showed sarcasm, but her heart was inexplicably relieved. How big could someone who even exclaimed out in shock at 70,000 spirit stones be? But the next thing she did was frown, because Yu Qi Ling took out a golden card. The golden card was not unfamiliar to her. She had one too. Gold card. From the Cloudy Sky Spirit Bank. Yun Tian Spirit Bank, similar to a money bank, 
would not only deal in pawning and spirit stone storage, but also some spirit stone lending. Those who had stored up to half a million spirit stones at the Cloud Sky Spirit Bank, at one time, would be able to obtain this cloud pattern gold card. A gold card, in the group of ordinary martial cultivators, was already quite a strong proof of financial strength. A strange color also appeared in the eyes of the shopkeeper. Immediately, he took the gold card handed to him by Yu Qi Ling and scratched it in an apparatus carved with Tao symbols. Okay, I will fetch the Xian Huang fruit for the girl. The shopkeeper smiled, taking the Xian Huang fruit out of the cargo container and handing it over to Yu Qi Ling. Yi Ling coldly glanced at the shopkeeper and turned towards the outside. Sister Yuner, that miss ye just now, wouldn't really dare to rob it, right? Chang Liu said with some worry. She didn't know Yu Qi Ling's true cultivation, and since Chen Fan wasn't here, it was normal for her to be worried. Yu Qi Ling laughed. Within this Qingzhou city, does my immortal Dao sect need to be afraid of anyone? The shopkeeper was surprised. The girl is from the immortal Dao sect? Yu Qi Ling smiled faintly and said, Boss, in the future, if there are any more spirit materials of the fifth grade and above, you can keep them for me, and I can buy them from you at a price of 1,000 spirit stones above the market price. And, for this 1,000 spirit stones, I'll pay with spirit stones. The shopkeeper's eyes lit up, and he hurriedly arched his hand and said, Good point. Changliel was a bit puzzled in her heart. Wasn't this volunteering to be an ingrate? She wasn't an alchemist and didn't have to buy her own spiritual materials. So naturally, she didn't know that the rarity of high-grade spiritual materials in the market. Oftentimes, they are snapped up as soon as they appear, and even those that are not currently in use become collector's items. As for Yu Qi Ling, who was an alchemist, as long as he had enough spirit materials, he could refine more valuable pills. Even if they were purchased at a premium, they could still make a huge profit. The two of them walked out of the Thousand Spirit Merchant Company. Yi Ling really blocked the door. 75,000 spirit stones. Resell the Xian Huang fruit in your hand to me. This is the best choice for you. Yi Ling said in a cold voice. If you can offer 750,000 spirit stones, perhaps I will consider it. The corners of Yu Qi Ling's lips slanted up in a playful manner. Yi Ling's face was frosty. In his eyes, a murderous aura of fierce anger swept through. In that case, I'll just have to rob it. Give it to me. Yi Ling let out a cold shout, and the four guards' breath exploded, all of them rushing towards Yu Qi Ling. Chang Lele's face changed in shock, and she was about to speak out to persuade her to stop. But she saw Yu Qi Ling whisking her hand and waving out a powerful chi. Boom! The force of his sleeve was like a million pounds of air, blasting away the four guards who had swept in. The four guards fell dozens of meters away in shock, throwing their heads back and spraying blood furiously. One of them, moreover, failed to get up, staring with bloodshot eyes, and directly hung up. Yi Ling's eyes narrowed lightly, and his originally fierce eyes became grave. I didn't expect you to be a spirit lake realm as well. Yi Ling hummed. Yu Qi Ling smiled disdainfully. Her cultivation level had already been successfully raised to the great circle of the Clasping Dan realm during the seclusion, but she naturally wouldn't explain this to Yi Ling. The Xian Huang fruit is right here. What are you waiting for? Come and grab it. Yu Qi Ling took out the Xian Huang fruit and tossed it around in his palm. Yi Ling felt scorned, and fierceness surfaced in his eyes once again. Arrogant. No matter what your origin is, today this Xian Huang fruit, I'm going to grab it. Swish. As Yi Ling bellowed. His right hand sword light flashed and his body stormed. A sword's cold light, sword chi like a waterfall, bombarded and leaked towards Yu Qi Ling. Chang Lele's pupils revealed a tense color. She wanted to step in to help, but she knew deep down that she couldn't block this sword at all. The disdain on Yu Qi Ling's face never dissipated. In the face of Yi Ling's fierce sword, she only lightly struck out a palm. Boom! Palm power rushed, like a shocking wave. The waterfall like sword chi was instantly blasted to burst apart. The rest of the palm force, even more so, penetrated straight through and blasted on Yi Ling's chest. Boo! Yi Ling was knocked backwards and flew out, spraying a bloody arrow out of his open mouth and falling down with those guards. You, are by no means from Qingzhou. Yi Ling was filled with horror. Within the Qingzhou territory, among the women who were of a similar age to her, she had not expected it all that apart from Royal Wind He and the Linghu family's Linghu Yuzhu, there was someone else who could be stronger than her. Yu Qi Ling wanted to continue taunting Yi Ling for a couple of sentences. But then he saw a silhouette that was coming from behind Yi Ling. Dare to injure my Yi family members, no matter what you are, you'll have to pay the price today. Boom! Between the cold drink of the visitor, the aura of the clasping Dan realm surged out. An invisible and powerful Qi force came pressing towards Yu Qi Ling and Chang Lele. Yu Qi Ling frowned. 
The opponent was only at the early stage of the clasping Dan realm, she didn't even put it in her eyes. But now that she was using Jiang Yun's identity, revealing the strength of the spirit lake realm was nothing, but if she revealed the strength of the clasping Dan realm, it would be too much. Not everyone in this Qingzhou city didn't recognize Zhang Yun. Second uncle, you're here. Yi Ling turned her head to see the visitor and was pleasantly surprised. But, under the powerful pressure, Chang Liu couldn't support herself and immediately spat out a mouthful of blood. The anger in Yu Qi Ling's eyes flashed, and when he was about to lose control and explode his true strength, a soul sense was revealed, breaking through the air. Boom! This soul consciousness, like an invisible blade shadow, directly chopped and exploded Yi Kongqing's pressure away. Yi family members, what a great honor! In a cold voice, Chen Fan's body was like a meteor as he came down longitudinally. Chapter 185, Do I Deserve Your Forgiveness? Yi Kongqing's eyes shrunk slightly, his heart beating wildly as he looked at the young man in front of him. Could you be immortal Dao sect patriarch Chen Fan? Other than Chen Fan, he could not think of any other young man in Qingzhou who could break through his pressure so easily. Chen Fan stared indifferently at Yi Kongcheng. Don't care who I am. Keep shaking your might. Yi Kongcheng's face twitched. If the young man in front of him was Chen Fan, he would still be shaking his ass, shaking in both legs, more or less. Yi Kongcheng took a low breath and said in a deep voice, Mr. Yi just arrived here and saw my niece being blown away, so I was angry in my heart. Even though Chen Fan did not positively acknowledge his identity, Yi Kongcheng still did not dare to be careless. After explaining, he asked Yi Ling, Yi Ling, you and these two, what exactly was the reason for the dispute? Yi Ling's face turned pale, knowing that Yi Kongcheng was already jealous. She also knew she was in the wrong, so she just pursed her lips and didn't say anything. Yu Qi Ling sneered, what? Now you don't even have the courage to speak? Where's that arrogance you had just now? Yi Ling bit her lip and said unwillingly, I was the one who looked away today, I admit my mistake. Yi Kongcheng secretly nodded his head. Although Yi Ling was usually a bit bratty and overbearing, it was good that she wasn't stupid. Yi Kongcheng arched his hand towards Chen Fan and said, So it was Mr. Yi who misunderstood these two girls. Mr. Yi is also here to say sorry to the two of you. With that, he took out a bottle of elixir from the Xin Kong ring and said with a smile, Just now, this girl suffered some injuries, so Mr. Yi would like to use this bottle of Heavenly Lin Dan as compensation. Tian Lin Dan, although it was only a fourth grade elixir, a bottle of elixir, it was still worth a lot of money. Yi Kongcheng lightly supported the pill bottle with his spiritual energy and flew towards Chang Liu. Boo! The pill bottle had just floated up in the air, but it suddenly burst open. Yi Kongcheng, who was caught off guard, was cut by the shards of the potion bottle, which made several bloody cuts on his body and face. There was anger in his eyes. Yi Ling, on the other hand, was somewhat alarmed. She hadn't seen the other party make the slightest movement, but the potion bottle had burst for no reason. What a powerful tactic. Little brother, Mr. Yi has already apologized, so why do you have to be like this? Yi Kongqing gritted his teeth. Chen Fan turned around and looked at Chang Lele. Lele, remember, not everyone who has hurt you can be forgiven by saying an apology to you and compensating you with a few pills. Our forgiveness is to be used on those who deserve to be forgiven. Now you tell me, do these two Yi family members deserve your forgiveness? Changeling froze, a little nervous, according to her original nature. Since Yi Kongcheng had apologized and was planning to pay for the pills, she would definitely forget about it. But when Chen Fan asked her so seriously, she didn't know how to answer. Do you remember how those people treated your fellow disciples when you were in the earth spirit abyss? When you were weak, they were overbearing and domineering. When you were strong, they watched their words and were weak and begged for peace. But it's not that they know from the bottom of their hearts that they are wrong, it's just that they know that they are afraid. Chen Fan said in a cold voice, Think about what happened and then answer me if they deserve your forgiveness. Chang Lele's eyes trembled, thinking that Yi Ling had been aggressive and domineering from the moment she appeared. Even after she was defeated, she only admitted that she had looked away, rather than sincerely repenting. Girl, let's be forgiving. My Yi family, your Yi family is nothing in my eyes. Chen Fan threw a cold look at Yi Kongqing's face. The coldness in Chen Fan's eyes was like an ice pick, piercing Yi Kongqing's eyes. Yi Kongqing's heart trembled violently. The eyes. It was as if it could shatter his soul. What a terrifying fellow. This kid. Must be Chen Fan without a doubt. Yi Kongqing's two legs could not help but soften a little. Everyone knows that this kid is a killer. Tian Bao sect. Arc Blade sect. Those who held the Dan realm had all died in Chen Fan's hands. If Chen Fan wanted to kill him, no one could protect him. Yu Qi Ling laughed coldly, hugged her arms and said disdainfully. How ridiculous. Up to now you guys still think that the Yi family is very powerful? Yu Ling looked at Chang Lele again and laughed lightly. Lele, just speak boldly. 
you're the righteous sister of the immortal Dao Sex Patriarch, so there's no need to care about a tiny E family. Also, don't let down the good intentions of this patriarchal big brother of yours. He's not just teaching you how to properly forgive others. He's also teaching you that if you want to become a truly strong person, you should have a heart of killing and determination. The ruthless, not tolerate, should kill, do not forgive. If you abuse mercy, you will die from it. Yi Kongchang and Yi Ling were already horrified and pale at this moment. Immortal Way Sect Patriarch. Sure enough, it was Chen Fan, the god of killing. Yi Kongchang was even more appalled with despair in his heart. The little girl who had just vomited blood was actually Chen Fan's righteous sister. Miss, Mr. Yi is truly wrong. Please also ask the girl to be lenient and forgive Mr. Yi this time. As long as the girl is willing to forgive Mr. Yi, Mr. Yi is willing to promise the girl any conditions. Yi Kongcheng trembled and said, the hallowed clasping Dan Realm powerhouse. At this moment the momentum was all gone. Only the color of miserable pleading remained in his eyes. Changeling's heart softened as he watched. But thinking about Chen Fan's words and Jiang Yun's reminder, she knew that the two in front of her did not deserve forgiveness. Her eyes, openly became cold. Yi Ling had been staring into Changeling's eyes, seeing the coldness in Chang Lele's eyes. Yi Ling guessed Chang Lele's decision. Her heart beat wildly as she hurriedly exclaimed, You can't kill me. Not only am I the daughter of the Yi family, I am also the true disciple of the heavenly water sex patriarch. I even have a marriage contract with the Linghu family's Linghu final. Although your immortal Dao sect is strong, if you kill me, you will also be in trouble. What's more, although I'm at fault for what happened today, I'm not guilty of death. Yi Ling was actually a proud person. If she hadn't felt the aura of death, haunting her, she wouldn't have revealed all of these identities in her body. Saying it, she only hoped to make Chin Fan, the god of killers, have more scruples so that she could stay alive. As expected, when she heard that Yi Ling was the true disciple of the Tianxue sex patriarch and was also the fiancé of Ling Hu final, Chang Liel hesitated a bit again. She was a kind girl by nature, and he didn't want to cause trouble for Chen Fan, so the decision that was so hard to make was loosened. Yi Kangqing nervously waited for Chen Fan and the others to respond. Pust. Exclusively, the sword light flashed. Yi Ling raised her hand in horror and covered her blood spewing neck. Ling Er. Yi Kangqing exclaimed and hurriedly ran to Yi Ling's side. Second. Second uncle. I, I don't want to die. Save, save. Yi Ling's words. Before she could finish, she broke off. Changeling looked at Yu Qi Ling in shock. That sword just now was made by none other than Yu Qi Ling. She's dead. You don't need to have any more scruples. Let's just say this old one. Should he die? Yu Qi Ling laughed at Chang Lele. Chang Liel's throat rolled and she said in a trembling voice, Sister Yuner, is this really necessary? Yu Qi Ling patted Chang Lele's shoulder and laughed. Silly girl. If you can't be ruthless enough to kill someone, what's the point of practicing martial arts? If you want to spare him, Sis advises you. In the future, you should stay in the five elements sect and grow herbs. Don't come out again. This sinister world can't accommodate your kindness. Chapter 186, well, that's it. Changeling's eyes trembled. You're going to stay at the five elements sect and grow herbs from now on? She was reluctant to do so. Wouldn't that make it hard to see your masked big brother again? Yi Kongcheng wants to run but he knew that he couldn't run away. He could only mournfully continue to look at Changeling. I hope that this girl's heart would not be as cold and hard as Yu Qi Ling's or Chen Fan's. Don't force her to make a decision. Let her think it over on her own. Chen Fan glared at Yu Qi Ling. Yu Qi Ling hurriedly said, I'm not looking at Sister Lele's inexperience and being too simple and kind. In fact, with Yi Ling's kind of nature, I'm afraid that the number of people who have been bullied by her has long been countless. By killing her today, I am not only relieving myself of anger but also seeking justice for those who have been bullied by her. By allowing people like her to live, the number of people who will be bullied in the future will only increase. To say that she doesn't have a few innocent wronged lives in her hands, I don't believe it. Chen Fan recognized Yu Qi Ling's words in his heart, seeing the big in the small. Yi Ling's mistake today is indeed not a crime punishable by death, but a man of such a nature must carry the sin of damnation on his back. If it wasn't for Yu Qi Ling's strength being strong enough just now, it would be Yu Qi Ling and Chang Lele who were lying on the ground right now. In the world of martial arts, there are actually very few times when one is reasonable. Most martial arts cultivators didn't like to bullshit about things that could be resolved with their hands. Chen Fan was only saying more today because he wanted to practice his mind for Chang Lele. When he was in the Earth Spirit Abyss, he knew that Chang Liel was simple and kind. Simplicity, kindness, all good qualities. But when abused, it's not really a good thing. At least, not good for changeling itself. Forgive those who do not deserve to be forgiven and at any moment these people may, like a poisonous snake, bite back, even if they don't bite themselves, they will bite other innocents. 
Chang Lele struggled for a long time and said in a deep voice, if Big Brother hadn't arrived, even if Sister Yuner and I wouldn't have been killed by him, we would have definitely been bullied. This kind of person does not deserve my forgiveness. Yi Kongqing's pupils shrunk as he turned around and ran, though he knew that there was no way to run away. But the instinct to survive still made him make a move to escape. Boom! A sword light, like a galaxy rushing out. The sword chi of the wind driving immortal sword was faster than Yi Kongqing's speed. In a matter of seconds, it blasted and chopped at Yi Kongqing's back. In an instant, the blood light collapsed and the person was split in half. A wave of spiritual energy was released and swept around. This was the movement triggered by Yi Kongqing's Dantian being chopped up and his Dan mass collapsing. Changeling's eyes twitched. The few guards of the Yi family that didn't die. Their faces were white and they were lying on the ground trembling. Their hearts, long ago, were shadowed by the shadow of death. But Chen Fan did not kill them. Return to the Yi family and report what happened. Truthfully, to your family head. If the Yi family is unconvinced, feel free to come to the sect to argue. Or, argue about who is more overbearing and who is more arrogant as well. Chen Fan glanced at the guards and indifferently said, The Yi family guards were pleasantly surprised that they didn't have to die. Even with his injuries, he climbed up and ran as fast as he could. Only then did Chen Fan walk up to Chang Lele. He took out a bottle of Tian Lin Dan and handed it to Chang Liel. Take one first and keep the rest. The pills have a price, but they don't represent sincerity, nor do they dispel anger. Chen Fan smiled lightly. Chang Lele nodded and said, Many thanks to Big Brother. Big Brother's good intentions. Lele understands. Chen Fan smiled and patted Chang Liel's head. It's good to understand. As Yu Qi Ling watched this scene, she couldn't help but feel envious in her heart. She also wanted the sovereign to pat her head gently like this. Patriarch, I was bullied too. Why don't you even comfort me? Yu Qi Ling said in a depressed manner. Chen Fan rolled his eyes. Not to mention Yi Kong Cheng, even if it was the entire Yi family, that couldn't bully Yu Qi Ling, right? There's still a bit of time. Do you want to continue shopping? Chen Fan laughed. Not in the mood for shopping. I want to go eat. I'd like to eat something too. Ha! Two snackers. Immediately, Chen Fan brought the two girls and arrived at a restaurant. The dishes had just been served when a team of silver-armored martial cultivators, with swift and neat footsteps, blocked the outside of the restaurant. What's this big deal that's happening? Half an incense stick ago, Miss Yi and Second Master Yi Kongcheng of the Yi family were killed outside the Thousand Spirit Merchant Company. I was not far away at the time, and the person who killed them was none other than Immortal Dao Sect Patriarch Chen Fan. Now that Chen Fan is in the restaurant, I guess the silver armored guards are coming for Chen Fan. No way. Lord Prefect would punish Patriarch Chen for the death of the Yi family duo? If it was usual, then definitely not. But now that chaos is rampant in Qingzhou, the prefecture master is being made to feel anxious. And Chen Fan dares to kill people and cause trouble at this time. The prefecture master must be ruthless and use this as a way to establish his authority. This Chen Fan, why did he kill Miss Yi and second Master Yi? Then I don't know. However, it's not like you guys don't know about Miss Ye's nature. She has always been cold, arrogant and domineering, and her ruthlessness is no less than that fiancé of hers. Ling Hu final. It's estimated that she didn't recognize Patriarch Chen this time around and made a grudge. Hey, this is finally meeting a tough guy who doesn't spoil her. Serves her right. Hush, you want to die. You don't know what the Yi family is like. If this word reaches the Yi family's ears, they won't be able to take revenge on the immortal Taoist sect, but it'll be easy to kill your family. brother. I'm only being straight in front of you when I consider you a true brother. Don't worry, I also take you as a true brother. Your parents are my parents, and your children are my children. I can't let anything happen to them. Ha ha, really good brothers. My Lord Chen Taiye, by order of the mistress of the mansion, has come to invite Patriarch Chen into the mansion. Chen Taiye, the leader of the Silver Armor Guards, stood outside the building and bowed in salute. Chen Fan smiled lightly. It seems that I can't finish this meal, so you guys eat by yourselves. Big brother, the house master is looking for you. Could it be because of what happened just now? Chang Liel said with some worry. Chen Fan laughed. No, don't worry about it. Yu Nur, take care of Lele. In this Qingzhou, we don't cause trouble, but we don't need to be afraid of it either. Yu Qi Ling playfully laughed. Don't worry, patriarch, I'm not someone who is willing to be aggravated. The only person in this world who can make me willingly subject myself to aggravation is you. Sovereign. Chen Fan touched his nose and smiled helplessly. He came outside the building and looked at Chen Taiye. Let's go, Patriarch Chen, please, the line is far away. Passersby once again fell into whispering, looking at Chen Taiye's respectful appearance. Most people could see that the prefecture master did not seem to be trying to take Chen Fan to set an example. Sister Yuner, do you, like my big brother? 
Chang Lele's eyes fluttered as she asked Yu Qi Ling. In fact, she had been curious in her mind. Big Brother is obviously Zhang Yun's father's murderer ah, why Yuner's sister can still in Big Brother's relationship? In such a harmonious? It just doesn't make sense. Yu Karin laughed badly. Yeah, but, but shouldn't you be hating my Big Brother? Changeling asked his question. Yu Qi Ling covered her mouth and laughed. Why would I hate the patriarch? In fact, I am not Jiang Huan's own child. Back then, when my birth mother was snatched back to Tian Bao Sect by Jiang Huan, she was actually pregnant with me, and my birth father was killed by Jiang Huan. That son of a bitch, to say I hate, I also hate Jiang Huan. Ha, huh? it's actually like that. Changeling dawned on him. Well, that's just it. Jiang Huan is an animal, and patriarch has given me a new life. My biggest dream in this life is that I wish to become the patriarch's woman. He he, sister Lele, you aren't willing to just be the patriarch's sister either, are you? Yuchi Ling teased. Chapter 187, Fong Family Ancestor. Fong Wan Snapdragon. Chang Lele blushed and lowered her head. What can I do if I'm not willing? Big brother only thinks of me as a younger sister. Yuchi Ling laughed evilly. I believe that sincerity is the key to success. As long as we keep liking him, one day, the patriarch's iron heart will be melted. Sister Yuner, you are so affectionate, Chang Liel admired. Yu Qi Ling's eyes languidly said, I hope that this deep love, the patriarch will not only be able to see it, even if he can keep me in his heart, I will be satisfied. Chang Lele said, I want to see Sister Gu so badly, to see what kind of woman can make a man like Big Brother so devoted. Yu Qi Ling bristled, she merely met the sovereign first, all those things she gave to the sovereign, I can do the same. Chang Ling just smiled, Ching Zhou Mansion. Chen Taiye led Chen Fan directly, to the backyard of the mansion. Chen Fan felt a fluctuation of forbidden power as he entered the last courtyard gate, and Chen Taiye, too, stopped in his tracks. Chen Fan, we meet again. The sound of a smile, coming to meet you. It was Feng Wanqi who brought Feng Xianting along with him. Chen Fan greets the mansion master. Chen Fan smiled and made a bow. Feng Wanqi laughed and said, There is no need to be polite, since you and Xianting are close friends. You can just call me Uncle Feng from now on. Good, Uncle Feng, Chen Fan smiled. Feng Wanqi's eyes narrowed slightly and his expression became serious. Do you really have a way to track down Duan Hongyan's whereabouts? Chen Fan said, the blood drawing technique. I got it by chance, and I don't have enough strength to personally cast the seal, so I can't be completely sure, but I think that it is possible to give it a try. Feng Wanqi said in a deep voice, in this current situation, indeed, as long as there is a glimmer of hope, we have to try. You guys wait here. I'll go ask the old ancestor to come out. Von Wangqi went solo. Feng Xianting smiled. Brother Chen, let's sit over here. Chen Fan said as he walked. This courtyard, what a great deal. Feng Xianting laughed. After all, it is the place where the old ancestor is in seclusion. This entire compound was as if it was a small isolated palace shrouded by a large formation. The name of the compound is actually a mansion within a mansion, covering an area of 10 hectares. And the handiwork in Chen Fan's mouth was not here. Three feet underground in this courtyard, up to a depth of three feet, was filled with spirit stones. It was like a giant spiritual vein. The two were a thousand paces away. Feng Wangqi knelt in front of a tall building. My grandson, Wang Qi, has an important request to see the old ancestor. I implore old ancestor to come out and help the Feng family through the crisis. Buzz. In the tall building, a spiritual energy that seemed to fluctuate like water ripples for a while. With that, an old man's figure surfaced in front of the tall building. Feng family, what has happened? The old man's eyes bent down low on the kneeling Feng Wanqi. Not angry but authoritative, making people not dare to look up. Feng Wanqi bowed his head and respectfully said, Recently, many major events have occurred in Qingzhou. Immediately, Feng Wanqi told the story of the slaughter of the four clans, the murder of Situ Ji, and the night of the moon pool. Von Wan Pride narrowed his eyes. All of these things reported by Feng Wanqi did not seem to have much to do with the Feng family. However, Feng Wan Snap understood the impact of these events on the Feng family. The person behind this, you have already found out? Feng Wan Snap asked with narrowed eyes. Feng Wan Chi shook his head and said, We have not yet found out. This time, I asked the old ancestor to come out. Because there is a method called the blood attraction technique, which may be able to track this person's whereabouts. However, this method can only be performed at the immortal infant realm. Feng Wan Snapdragon half narrowed his eyes. Where did you get this blood attraction technique from? Feng Wanqi immediately informed Feng Wanchu of Chen Fan's identity, as well as his demonic talent. Feng Wanchu's eyelids fluttered slightly when he heard the Chen family. For the Chen family to have produced such a genius is really surprising to the extreme. Feng Wanchu laughed lightly. Bring the man here and the old man will see him. Yes.
Feng Wangqi was delighted. The fact that the old ancestor was willing to see Qin Fan mostly meant that the old ancestor had agreed to make a move. Feng Wangqi excitedly came to Qin Fan. Qin Fan, the old ancestor wants to see you. Come with me, Xin Ting. Why don't you come along to meet the old ancestor? I'm sure the old ancestor won't mind. Feng Wangqi laughed. Feng Xin Ting hesitated for a moment and nodded. Good. Then my son will go and meet them as well. You brat. You're still acting as if you're reluctant. Do you know what a rare honor it is to be able to meet old ancestor? Feng Wangqi laughed and scolded. Feng Xin Ting laughed dryly. My child is not afraid of old ancestor's heavenly authority and is somewhat afraid to do so. In his heart, he was disdainful. Isn't it just an immortal infant realm? What's the big deal? You're a son of the Feng family. What is there to be afraid of? Let's go. Just don't talk nonsense when the time comes. Feng Wangqi barked out a warning and led the two of them to the tall building. When the three of them came over, Feng Wangqi's gaze then fell straight onto Chen Fan's body. But soon, his eyebrows were slightly frowning lightly. This Chen clan brat is really mysterious. The art of restraining breath that he practiced, even the old man's soul awareness couldn't see through it. Feng Wan Primrose gave a cry in his heart. Late generation Chen Fan, meet the Feng family ancestor. Great grandson Feng Xianting, greetings to the old ancestor. Chen Fan merely bowed as a salute, while Feng Xianting knelt down. Feng Wan Snap smiled faintly and said, There is no need to be polite. I didn't expect that after many years of my old husband's seclusion, Xinjou would produce a genius of this caliber. It's really gratifying. Old ancestor is flattering. Late generation is just lucky to have obtained some inheritance. Chen Fan smiled. He he, still a modest and straightforward nature. Not bad, but the matter of inheritance. It's better to mention it less outside. After all, harboring a jade is a sin, and it's easy to cause people to covet it. Feng Wan Snapdragon stroked his beard and laughed. Chen Fan laughed. Thank you for reminding the old ancestor. Senior will pay attention in the future. Feng Wan Snap glanced at Feng Xin Ting, nodded, and said, This great grandson, it is not bad, but your breath seems to be a little strange. Feng Xuanting's face changed slightly. Feng Wangqi, on the other hand, was alarmed. Old ancestor, what happened to Xin Ting's aura? Could it be that there is something wrong with his cultivation? Swish. Feng Wan Snapdragon's figure flashed and landed in front of Feng Xin Ting. Feng Xuanting's heart thumped. Could it be that his occupation of Feng Xian Ting's physical body had been seen by Feng Wan Snapdragon for what it was? Chen Fan's heart was also tightened. If Feng Xian Ting was exposed, I'm afraid that a bad battle would be inevitable today. After all, he would not watch Feng Wushuang have an accident in front of him. Feng Wan Snap put his palm on Feng Xian Ting's shoulder. A stream of pure spiritual energy was ferried into Feng Xian Ting's body, and soon dispersed and surged to Feng Xian Ting's entire circumference. He he, it's not a big problem. It's just that you changed your cultivation technique and were in too much of a hurry, so there was some conflict in your breath. This merit law that you cultivated later on, the grade is quite not low. Where did you get the creation from? Feng Wan Snap asked. Feng Xin Ting let out a sigh of relief and said with a startled, bitter smile, scared the living daylights out of great grandson. Just now, when I heard the words of my old ancestor, great grandson thought that changing his gong methods had given his body some sort of malady. Back to old ancestor. This technique, which was obtained by great grandson within the earth spirit abyss, is called the peerless blade skill, and although I don't know the exact grade, the grade should not be low. Ever since great grandson practiced this set of blade skills, his cultivation has skyrocketed. The peerless blade technique is a good name. If you cultivate this blade technique properly, in the future, you will definitely achieve the name of peerless. My phone family may be able to have another immortal infant realm powerhouse because of you. Phone one snapdragon laughed out loud. Feng Wanchi was ecstatic, old ancestor. Does Xin Ting really have this potential? He he, if he is diligent. In the future, his achievements may surpass those of old me. Wang Qi, in the future, you must properly cultivate Xin Ting. The Feng family resources should be poured into him as much as possible. Feng Wan Snap smiled. Wang Qi obeys. Many thanks, old ancestor. Xin Ting will be diligent and live up to the expectations of old ancestor and father. Feng Wanchi was thrilled. Feng Xin Ting was also excited. Even the old ancestor couldn't see the changes in him, so he would never have to worry again. Chapter 188 Yi Wuxing Chen Fan was also relieved. Feng Wanchu was an old immortal infant realm powerhouse, but his aura was still only at the early immortal infant realm. If he really wanted to fight, Chen Fan had no fear in his heart. Chen Fan was relieved simply because he did not want to fall out with the Feng family. The reason for taking out Feng Xian Ting in the first place was because Feng Xian Ting was hostile to him who was a black robe at the time, and in order to avoid the trouble, 
he could only lay his hands on Feng Xianting and allow Feng Wushuan to occupy this physical body. At least for now, it seemed that the Feng family did not have any hostility towards him, although Chen Fan knew in his heart that a large part of this was related to the Tang family. Otherwise, Feng Wangqi, who was the head of the house, wouldn't have sat back and watched him steal the heavenly treasure sect and take out the arc blade sect sect leader while ignoring it. Chen Fan, you will give the blood leader art, to old husband, this matter had nothing to do with you, but not only did you offer your advice, but you are also willing to grant the secret technique to old husband, my Feng family, owes you a heavenly favor, Feng Wan snap looked at Chen Fan and smiled, Chen Fan laughed, old ancestor is polite, I have known Shizi since we first met, and we even shared the same suffering within the earth spirit abyss, so we are considered life and death friends, what's more, there are rumors in the outside world that my immortal Dao sect is the one behind this, and although I'm not afraid of rumors, I would like to see who this shitstirrer really is, ha ha, you're right, the person behind this is indeed a shitstirrer, Feng Wan snap laughed, Chen Fan laughed, but this blood drawing technique, Senior can't give it to old ancestor right now, because Senior didn't practice this technique, he just topped up a lone copy and left it at home, this time, I was in a hurry to go out and didn't bring it with me, two days later, Senior will then present the orphaned copy, and before that, please ask the house master to send someone to make a trip to weak water city to invite Duan Hongyin's blood relatives, to the house, only with the blood of the closest relatives as a guide can we find where Duan Hongyin is through the blood guy technique, Feng Wanchu and Feng Wanchi did not doubt this and responded with a smile, good, then let's wait until everything is in order, Wang Qi, you quickly go and make arrangements, Xian Ting, you stay, these two days, it's just the right time for the old man to help you smooth out your breath. Yes. Feng Wanqi and Feng Xianting responded at the same time. Patriarch Chen. Let's just go out first. Feng Wanqi laughed. Farewell. Late comer. Ha ha. Go ahead. Feng Wan snap laughed and waved his hand. Chen Fan and Feng Wanqi turned to leave. Feng Xianting, on the other hand, was a bit apprehensive, but he could only stay with his head. Although he was high-minded and proud, and did not greatly look down on the old man in front of him, but after all, the current him was still not as strong as Feng Wanshu, in case anything was revealed in these two days, or if this old man forcibly searched his soul, everything would be over. Xian Ting Ah, you first passed the peerless blade technique to me, old me will slightly comprehend it, or I can give you some pointers, are you willing to do so? Feng Wan Snapdragon's eyes lightly narrowed with a smirk as he amiably looked at Feng Xian Ting and said, Feng Xian Ting was confused for a moment, but finally, he understood where this old thing, Feng Wan Snapdragon, was really aiming to leave him behind. This is coveting the unparalleled blade technique. How shameless. An old ancestor who is mindful of what his great-grandson has learned. Feng Xianting despised a handful in his heart, while on his face he said excitedly, Of course great-grandson is willing. Ha ha, the children are teachable. Come on then. Feng Wan snap smiled as he stroked his beard, and his gaze towards Feng Xianting grew more and more fond of him. After leaving the spirit Luo courtyard, Chen Fan was just about to take his leave when a guard hurriedly ran and knelt down on one knee, saying, Prefectural Lord, the Yi family's Lord, Yi Wuxing, is outside seeking an audience. Feng Wanqi frowned slightly and said, What is he doing here? The guard couldn't help but glance at Chen Fan. Chen Fan said indifferently, He should be coming at me. Feng Wanqi was surprised. The killing of Yi Ling and Yi Kongcheng had not yet had time to reach Feng Wanqi's ears. Chen Fan explained, Before entering the mansion, I killed Yi Ling and Yi Kongcheng of the Yi family. Feng Wanqi's face changed slightly, whether it was Yi Ling or Yi Kongcheng. Those were both important people in the Yi family, especially Yi Kongcheng, but he was one of the Yi family's three major clutching Dan realms, and although Yi Ling was only a junior, he was gifted, and was the personal disciple of the heavenly water sex patriarch, and was also married to the Linghu family. If anything happens to either of these two, the Yi family will go crazy. Feng Wanqi took a low breath and smiled bitterly, because why? Chen Fan said, please forgive me, prefecture master, I know I shouldn't be causing you trouble at this time, however, Yi Ling bullied my disciples before, and after being defeated, Yi Kongcheng suddenly appeared, bullying and seriously injuring my disciples, moreover, this matter was discovered right outside the door of the Thousand Spirits Merchant House, for the Yi family to so blatantly injure my sect members, this action, I see as a provocation, the immortal Dao sect already has some rumors spreading around nowadays, and the only way I can shut up all those who dare to criticize my sect is to make an example out of them. When Feng Wanqi heard this, he said in a deep voice, This Yi family, they've really lost their heads as well. In that case, Chen Fan, wait for me here. I'll meet Yi Wuxing first. Let's see what he means. Chen Fan said, Good, you go and lead Yi Buxing to the guest hall. 
Feng Wanqi gave a command to the guards and went towards the guest hall to go. Chen Fan, on the other hand, stayed where he was. Hakan Hall. Soon Yi Wuxing was brought before Feng Wanqi, mistress of the house. You must do right by the Yi family. The moment Yi Wuxing saw Feng Wanqi, he said with red eyes. Feng Wanqi hurriedly supported Yi Wuxing and asked with concern. Yi family master, what's wrong with you? What exactly happened? Yi Wuxing's eyelids fluttered. The killing of Yi Ling and Yi Kongcheng had happened not long ago, but within the city of Qingzhou, it had long been rumored. There was no way the house master wouldn't know, pretending to be confused at the moment. So it's an intentional attempt to favor Chen Fan? Yi Wuxing gritted his teeth and said, back to the master of the house. That Gai Chen Fan of the Immortal Dao sect is vicious and ruthless, killing two of my closest relatives in the street. My daughter, Yi Ling, and my younger brother, Yi Kong Cheng, were both poisoned by him half an hour ago. Please, 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 please do something for my Yi family. Anger erupted on Fong Wanqi's face. Chen Fan has done such a ferocious thing. In vain, this mistress of the mansion still regards him as a talented heavenly pride. Feng Wanqi let out a furious cry. Then he took another deep breath and asked in a deep voice. Yi family master. Tell this mansion master why this Chen Fan did this to the two of you from the Yi family. If he committed the murder without any reason, this mansion master will definitely seek justice for your Yi family. Yi Yinching's eyes trembled, gritted his teeth and said. Although it was not an unprovoked murder, but it was only a small offense. But Chen Fan killed them. His brutal heart is no different from the devil's path. If everyone is like him, how can Qingzhou be safe? Feng Wanqi frowned. It wasn't an unprovoked murder. So the fault originally lies with your Yi family? Then how do you want this mistress to administer justice? Yi Buxing said in a deep voice. Mr. Yi knows that Chen Fan is gaining fame. It is impossible to make him pay for his murder. But at least, he should make those two women beside him to accompany my daughter and sibling brother to the funeral. Mr. Ye's request is not just for the sake of the Yi family's personal grudge but also for the sake of the tranquility of Qingzhou. Only with the authority of the prefect can we suppress the arrogance of this guy Chen Fan. If we can't restrain his brutality, there will definitely be other people in Qingzhou who will be victimized by him in the future. Recently, Qingzhou has already been in a constant state of turmoil. And if people like Chen Fan aren't severely beaten up, he will definitely cause more and more trouble for the prefect in Qingzhou. Feng Wangqi said indifferently, Family Master Yi is really high-minded. So it turns out that it's all in the best interest of this housemaster in Qingzhou. Yi Wuxing's face flushed red, and he hurriedly said, Mr. Yi is ashamed, since he has both private and public grievances. Since that's the case, let's ask Chen Fan if he agrees. He happens to be in the mansion as well. Someone come, bring Chen Fan over. Feng Wanqi faintly commanded. Yi Wuxing's face changed drastically, letting him talk to Chen Fan face to face? Mistress of the house. My Yi family has always been loyal to mistress of the house. Isn't this the loyalty that your Yi family deserves? Do you want to use your due loyalty as a bargaining chip to make this house lord favor your Yi family? The person who originally deserved to die, you just let him die, but you still want to hold on to him without distinguishing between right and wrong. If I were you, I wouldn't look for Chen Fan's trouble anymore. Instead, I should obtain his forgiveness in order for the Yi family to be safe and sound. Feng Wanqi sneered. Yi Wuxing's face turned pale. Chapter 189, Remember My Words. The Yi family was dead and Feng Wanqi wanted him to beg for Chen Fan's forgiveness? Yi Wuxing completely understood. Feng Wanqi had already taken Chen Fan's side. Yi Mao, understands. Yi Wuxing smiled miserably, lost in thought. Feng Wanqi said indifferently. Also, in the future, don't treat this mansion master as a fool. Your set of flippant words makes this mansion master feel insulted. Yi Wuxing's eyes trembled. Soon, Chen Fan was brought to the guest hall by the guards. He glanced at Yi Ruwashing. Yi Wuxing also gritted his teeth and gave him a look. Four eyes. Chen Fan spoke first and said indifferently. The deaths of the Yi family duo were all due to their own faults. Yi family master should regret not restraining them properly when they were alive. Now that they are dead, it is too late to repent. So when you plan for the living, don't make any more mistakes. Otherwise, I don't mind making the ten great families of Qingzhou turn into the nine great families. Yi Wuxing was furious in his heart. He hadn't said anything yet. But Chen Fan, the murderer, had threatened him first, but without the Feng family's help, the Yi family really couldn't stop Chen Fan. Thinking of Feng Wanqi's words just now, he could only hold his tongue and said, Patriarch Chen, Mr. Yi did not come here to pursue the blame, but precisely to make amends for the offenses that my daughter and Yi Kongcheng had committed against you. Chen Fan said indifferently, it is best if Family Master Yi has this realization. I would also like to ask Family Master Yi to remember what I, 
Chen Fan, am like, if a person does not commit a crime against me, I will not kill. If a person commits a crime against me, I will never forgive. I'm a man with a bad temper and a small mind. So, if you continue to let the Yi family be arrogant, remember to keep them away from me and the immortal Dao sect. If you let me kill a few more, there won't be much left of your Yi family. Chen Fan, Yi Wuxing's eyes were red as he roared in anger. Feng Wanqi raised his eyebrows. What's Chen Fan up to? Did he want to completely enrage Yi Buxing and then kill him as well? Looking at Yi Bianqing who was about to storm out, Chen Fan sneered. Remember my words, Prefect. Mr. Chen still has business to attend to, so I'll take my leave first. Feng Wanqi smiled bitterly and said, Since Patriarch Chen has something to do, then this mansion master won't stay much longer. Chen Fan made a respectful salute and turned to leave. But, Chen Fan had just stepped out of the guest hall when Yi Wuxing spewed out a mouthful of blood, and the whole person staggered a handful of times, almost falling. Feng Wanqi looked at Yi Wuxing and also sympathized a bit, but only to sympathize in my heart. Mistress of the house, did you see that? This Chen Fan, is actually bullying my Yi family like this. Mr. Yi endured the pain and swallowed the humiliation to make amends to him, and in return, he was treated like this. Yi Buxing angrily trembled. Feng Wanqi was silent for a moment and said, It's not a good feeling to be treated by others with arrogance, is it? Yi Wuxing was stunned and gritted his teeth. What does the prefectural lord mean by this? Feng Wanqi faintly said, As far as I know, the Yi family members have always treated others with this same arrogance. Yi Wuxing's face stiffened. Having said that, how can those losers be compared to his Yi family? Go back. If you still want to keep the Yi family, be peaceful in the future. The pattern of Qingzhou is no longer the same as before. The immortal Dao sect, too, will surely become the number one sect in Qingzhou. Chen Fan is young and impetuous. He doesn't understand tolerance. Feng Wanqi indifferently said. This was also his last piece of advice to Yi Bianqing. The rise and fall of families is especially common in the world of martial arts. One thought can ride the wind and prosper for a thousand years. And one thought can also fall into defeat and fall into the realm of eternal damnation. While advising Yi Yuxing, Feng Wanqi made a decision in his own mind. After leaving the Feng family, Chen Fan found Yu Qi Ling and Chang Lele and led them back to the immortal Dao sect. With that, Chen Fan closed his eyes and sank his mind into the heavenly sea pearl. Swish! Chen Fan's figure flickered and landed towards a corner of Sin Immortal Island. The island master seems to have gone to the Nye family. TSK, it seems that our island master, who isn't a true gentleman, knows that the Nye family has the island's number one beauty. Bullshit, the island master isn't such a person. I guess the island master must have gone after the Nye family's blood ancestor divine skill. As the island lord descended, Nye's family members were startled, dodging out quickly and standing in a neat square formation. At the head of the group was a middle-aged looking man with black hair hanging down his waist, all dressed in black robes, he looked spirited. But this person, in fact, is precisely the Nye family's old ancestor Nye Jiangfeng, imprisoned Sin Immortal Island, has been tens of thousands of years. Nye Jiangfeng's eyes flashed low as he respectfully saluted. Nye Jiangfeng, with the Nye clan, welcomed the island master. Chen Fan smiled and said, I suddenly arrived today, but I really have something to ask for. Nye Jiangfeng said, if the island master has something to do, feel free to command, and the Nye family will do whatever they can. Chen Fan said, then Senior will be straightforward. I have heard that the Nye family holds the blood leader technique. I wonder if Senior would be willing to grant it. Nye Jiangfeng froze, the island master only came here for the blood leader technique? Chen Fan laughed, yes. Nye Jiangfeng's heart was relieved and he hurriedly smiled. Island master is really kind-hearted and courteous. For such a small matter, I'm still troubling you to personally come over. Next time there is an order. Island master, you can just summon a word on the altar. Chen Fan's sudden run to the Nye family's abode really scared the Nye family. They thought that the Nye family had committed a wrongdoing and angered the island master. Chen Fan laughed. It seems like I'm disturbing your purification. Sorry about that. Nye's family was terrified. Nye Jiangfeng hurriedly said, Island master, that's not what I meant. The Wei clan's old ancestor, who had only argued with the previous island lord for a few moments in the first place, was blasted into oblivion by the previous island lord. Chen Fan's sentence of interruption and apology simply caused the hearts of Nye Jiangfeng and the Nye family to all rise to their throats. Who dares to say the islander is at fault? Who dares to hear the islander apologize? Chen Fan was helpless, but also understand the mindset of Nye's family. He didn't explain much and only smiled. Please also grant the blood leader technique. I need it urgently. Little Qian, you quickly bring the blood leader technique and honor the island master. Nye Jiangfeng hurriedly said, Yes, old ancestor. With a crisp sound. Nye Xiao Qian, who was dressed in a bright red long dress, walked out from the Nye clan.
This woman's phoenix eyes were clear and her face was absolutely beautiful. It was as if the porcelain had been carefully kneaded, white and delicate and perfect. Nie Xiaoqian has met the island master. Please allow Xiaoqian to teach the island master the Dharma. Nie Xiaoqian's delicate body slightly yawned, her voice soft but not charming, like a red lotus, blooming in front of Chen Fan. Such a stunningly beautiful woman. Chen Fan also felt that it was eye-pleasing. He glanced at Nie Jiangfeng. Nie Jiangfeng quickly laughed, Xiaoqian this girl. In fact, adore the island master for a long time, but the Nie family knows its identity, did not dare to cheat gift. Today if you can let Xiao Qian this girl for the island master to teach the law, also can be regarded as around this girl's unrealistic empty dream. Chen Fan bristled and said, I understand senior Nia's intentions, but it really doesn't have to be like this. I, Chen Fan, am not one of those island lords in front of me. Today, I'm only here for the blood drawing technique. Miss Nia, please pass the spell. Nia Xiao Qian glanced at Chen Fan in surprise. The Nia family took the initiative to gift their daughter and the island master had no intention of receiving it. Could it be that over the years, this island master's goodwill and benevolence really wasn't feigned? See Yao Tsing will begin. Nie Xiaoqian crisply agreed, and then she began to put the blood drawing technique, condensing it into her soul sense. Seeing Nie Xiaoqian's soul breath surging, Chen Fan realized that this Nie Xiaoqian was actually still an immortal infant realm. Chapter 190, I'm here to withdraw from the marriage. Buzz. Nie Xiaoqian turned the power of her soul consciousness into a ball of light, and suspended it in front of Chen Fan. Chen Fan smiled faintly and surged out his soul power, entering the light mass to perceive it. Nie Xiaoqian was very understanding and didn't directly send the soul awareness light group into Chen Fan's soul sea. If she did, Chen Fan would have called it off. Not everyone can be fully trusted by Chen Fan. After the sensation ended, Chen Fan arched his hand and smiled. Many thanks to Miss Nie. Island master is polite. Nie Xiaoqian owed her body. Chen Fan laughed. Today I owe the Nye family a favor. In the future if the Nye family has a need, as long as it's not something excessive, feel free to ask. I still have things to do, so I'll take my leave first, so all of you stay. After Chen Fan said his goodbyes, his body flashed and he returned to the main altar. Nye Jiangfeng's eyes narrowed slightly as he waved his hand and said, All disperse, Xiao Qian, come with me for a moment. Nye Jiangfeng led Nye Xiao Qian into his courtyard. Nye Jiangfeng smiled, Xiao Qian. What's your impression of the island master? Nie Xiaoqian's eyes trembled slightly as she said in a low voice, Xiaoqian wouldn't dare to talk about the island master, but she'll do as the old ancestor commands. Nie Jiangfeng smiled faintly and said, Over the years, all the descendants of the island's various clans, all of them are on your beauty. Some salivation, before and after. There have been eight people came to propose to you, but the old ancestor has rejected for you. Do you know why? Nie Xiaoqian's heart was as clear as a mirror, but she still shook her head. Because, she didn't want to admit that fact. Nye Jiangfeng narrowed his eyes and said, You actually understand all of this, but in your heart, you don't want to accept this fate. Nye Xiaoqian pursed her lips. Nye Jiangfeng said indifferently, You're a child of the Nye family, an old ancestor doesn't want to see you aggravated. But you should be able to see that this term's island master is not the same as those you've heard of. Even if the family sends you out, you won't be treated as nothing more than a plaything like those previous family women. It might be a good opportunity for both you and the Nye family. Nye Xiaoqian bit her lip. Even though the islander was not like those of the past, it was no different for her. In the eyes of the family, she was equally a tool. What she really cared about was never the family's attitude. Old ancestor doesn't need to say this to little Qian. Little Qian has said that everything will be at old ancestor's command. Nye Xiaoqian said in a low voice. Nye Jiangfeng said in a low voice. But how can you make things right if you're not willing in your heart? Nye Xiaoqian's eyes flashed coldly, and she didn't know where to drum up the courage to raise her eyes to meet Nye Jiangfeng. Is old ancestor just sure that this island master can really go that far? Nye Xiaoqian asked. Nye Jiangfeng narrowed his eyes and said, This son has the ability to ride the dragon. At the very least, he's the one who has the most hope of making it to that point. And he's also the only one who's the only island master who's in the Xianling continent. But only if you are always by his side will you be able to use his power in the future to make up for what my Nye clan failed to accomplish back then. Nye Xiaoqian took a low breath and said, Xiaoqian will do her best to do well. When I return, I'll ask the island master to leave the island. Nye Jiangfeng smiled with satisfaction and said, Nowadays, all the clans are not too willing to let their juniors leave the island. And your request to leave the island at this time will definitely be extraordinarily appreciated by the island master. Old ancestor did not send you out directly. In fact, he also hopes that you can cultivate true feelings with the island master in the contact. In this way, you won't be aggrieved, and the Nye family's scheming won't seem deliberate. However, 
It needs to be remembered that before you succeed in winning the island master's heart, you must never mention to him that the matter of the Nye family's ancestral land being on the Xianling continent. Xiao Qian understands. Nye Xiao Qian indifferently answered. Nye Jiangfo knew that she was still reluctant in her heart, but he didn't want to continue convincing her either. He just looked in the direction of the main altar and smiled faintly. Judging from his attitude today, it won't be easy for you to curry favor with him. Previously, Yu Qian had taken the initiative to give Yu Qi Ling to this island master of ours, but in the end, he ended up with a face of embarrassment. Nye Xiao Qian was silent. Sendo sacked. Chen Fan was in the back of the mountain, looking for a mountain wall. He carved the method of practicing the blood drawing technique on the stone wall with his long sword, then topographed it onto paper and sewed it into a loan book. Although the Feng family was currently quite friendly to him, Chen Fan would not expose his secret. So this blood attraction technique, it always has to have a provenance. If he were to use his soul sense to transmit the method, Feng Wanchu would be able to perceive the unimpressive nature of his soul power and thus suspect his cultivation. In short, against these old foxes, he was convinced that it would do no harm to be cautious, but it would just be a bit of a hassle. Two days later, Chen Fan re-entered Qingzhou city alone. The Yi family's matter had already been rumored, but the Yi family was surprisingly quiet, and they didn't even do the funeral. Some people recognized the Yi family's stoicism. There were also people who were ridiculing the Yi family. Not even taking revenge for such a great feud, being a nest of goons. In just two days, Yi Wuxing looked like he had aged a lot, and his originally black sideburns had bred a lot of whiteness. Family master, Ling Hu final is here. When the guards came to report, Yi Wuxing's disheveled eyes fluttered open and he said angrily, Who spread the news to the Ling Hu family? The guard cringed. He didn't know and didn't dare think much about it. In these two days, there have been several guards whose throats have been slit by the sudden rage of the head of the family. They were as dead as Yi Ling was when she died tragically. Can such news be hidden from my Ling Hu family? A cold voice, along with the sound of footsteps, appeared in front of Yi Bixing. Yi Wuxing's eyes narrowed. Before he could summon him, Ling Hu final had already entered the Yi mansion and appeared in front of him. That's rude. It was also not putting his Yi family in his eyes. But this is the Ling Hu family's Ling Hu final. A character that, like Chen Fan, he, Yi Bianqing, could not mess with. Have you come to avenge Ling'er's death? If so, I advise you not to give up your life in vain. Yi Wuxing said in a deep voice. Yi Ling and Ling Hu Final had a marriage contract after all. Fiancé was killed. Ling Hu Final as the fiancé, should also have a sense of humiliation. Therefore, Yi Wuxing felt that Ling Hu Final had probably come here to avenge Yi Ling's death. Ling Hu Final said coldly, Yi family master is overthinking it. I'm here to withdraw from the marriage. Yi Wuxing's pupils flared angrily. He swished up, his blood boiling as he said, Ling Hu Final, say that again. Ling Hu Final said indifferently, then I'll say it again, I'm here to withdraw from the marriage. Put, Yi Wuxing's chest burst out, a mouthful of blood, spurting like a spring. You, you, the Ling Hu family, even want to bully my Yi family like this. Why, this is why, Yi Baxing angrily opened his blood-filled mouth and hissed as he asked. Ling Hu Final sneered, because Yi Ling, to me as well as the Ling Hu family, is insignificant. Ling'er is dead. She is already dead. The marriage contract between you two is naturally null and void. So why do you need to come and be redundant? Yi Yenqing gritted her teeth. Ling Hu Final said indifferently, in order to let all the clans in the entire Qingzhou know the attitude of my Ling Hu family. Yi family, be good to yourself. As Ling Hu Final spoke, he took out a marriage certificate from the Xian Kong ring, tore it into pieces, and threw it in front of Yi Bixing. Yi Wuxing covered her chest with her hand, anxious and angry. She couldn't help but want to vomit blood again. He knew deep down that there was no longer a place for the Yi family in this Qingzhou. Chapter 191, For Your Own Good. Qingzhou Mansion, Outside the Main Gate. Chen Fan came with light steps. Patriarch Chen, the mansion master has already explained that you can directly enter the guest hall and wait when you arrive. There is no need to inform, the guard respectfully said. Chen Fan nodded and asked, the people from the Duan family, have they been invited over? The guard said, it was brought into the mansion after noon yesterday. Chen Fan didn't say anything more and was about to walk into the mansion when an indifferent shout came from behind him. Patriarch Chen, is it possible to have a chat? Chen Fan looked back, only to see a silhouette standing more than 10 meters away. Standing as straight as a statue, his complexion was also cold and hard as a stone. Chen Fan walked over. You are Ling Hu Final. I remember you. Chen Fan said indifferently. Are you here for the Yi Ling matter? Ling Hu Final said indifferently. Going into the city was for her. Looking for you. It wasn't. Chen Fan narrowed his eyes and said. Then tell us your reason for coming. Ling Hu Final's eyes were slightly cold as he said. 
I came to you with a problem that the family is not aware of. Chen Fan smiled lightly and said, Don't worry, I won't mention it to my old ancestor about you coming to me. Ling Hu final lightly hummed, I'm not afraid even if you mention it, I want to know. My Ling Hu family has used the highest sincerity to befriend you. Why are you still half-hearted towards my Ling Hu family? I have found out that before your men killed Yi Ling, you already knew she was my fiancé, but you still killed her. Chen Fan said indifferently, Indeed, before killing her, I had already learned from her that she was your fiancé, and this, in turn, strengthened my determination to let her die. Ling Hu Final's pupils flared angrily as he gritted his teeth and said, It seems that there are times when the old ancestor misjudges people. Chen Fan shook his head, I killed her for your own good, this kind of woman is not worthy of you, nor is she qualified to be the daughter-in-law of the Ling Hu family. Ha! Ling Hu Final simply laughed in exasperation. Chen Fan said indifferently, a woman who comes begging for mercy in the name of her fiancé, you see? Ling Hu Final grunted, I naturally can't see it, but she is ultimately my fiancé. If you kill her, you're insulting my face, slighting the majesty of my Ling Hu family, and damaging your friendship with my clan. Chen Fan laughed lightly, you and I are both young people, I originally thought that you would be like me, someone who acts in an unconventional manner, I didn't expect that you, the god of killing in the mouths of outsiders, would have such archaic ideas, I helped you kill Yi Ling, this is to stop the damage for you in time, so as to save her from doing more things that you would regret after she really married you as her wife, my great uncle, who married a woman like Yi Ling, ended up being victimized, and even more so, his life almost fell into his hands, Ling Hu final sneered, so, I should even thank you? Chen Fan smiled faintly, if you are really clear about Yi Ling's character, you will be grateful to me, moreover, since you also said that you can't look at her, it means that this marriage contract is not between you and me, but a family marriage, the Ling Hu family's family rules are strict, so I think that even if you can't see Yi Ling, you won't regret the marriage, so, wouldn't I be doing you a favor by killing her? Ling Hu final's face twitched, although Chen Fan's guesses, all of them were right, he still didn't feel half grateful to this guy who was talking more and more and laughing, but regardless of whether what Chen Fan said was true or not, but at least Chen Fan did not mean to belittle the Linghu family. I won't be grateful to you. Please also remember the saying that face is mutual. Don't forget that the Linghu family has treated you favorably, and not everyone, like the old ancestor, sees you as important. Linghu Final coldly dropped these words and turned around to leave. Chen Fan looked at Linghu Final's back and touched his nose. For the sake of this bullshit from Raining Fox End, it really is his ad hoc bullshit. It wasn't that he didn't want to give the Linghu family some face at that time, but since Yu Chi Ling had already made a move, he wouldn't make a move to stop it, because in his eyes, Yi Ling wasn't worth saving. However, Yi Kongcheng did not ask questions and directly used his power to oppress people, and also injured Chang Liu, Chen Fan was definitely going to kill. Just after Linghu final left, Feng Xianting ran out from the mansion. Patriarch Chen, is Linghu final here to trouble you? Feng Xianting asked as soon as he came over. Chen Fan laughed. No, just came to ask me why I didn't give face to the Linghu family and had to kill Yi Ling. Feng Xianting said disdainfully. These guys, they all think that having an immortal infant realm sitting in their midst is a great look. Unbeknownst to them, they are at. Chen Fan waved his hand and said. There is nothing to mention about idle talk. Aren't you practicing with the Feng family ancestor? Did you come out so soon? Feng Xianting bristled and transmitted. Cultivating my ass. That old thing. He just coveted my undoubted blade skill. After I passed the blade skill to him, he let me leave. Said something about waiting for some time to comprehend it and then come back to instruct me. Chen Fan raised his eyebrows lightly. You have truly passed on the knife skill to him? Feng Xianting lightly coughed. What can be done about it? He is the Feng family's oldest ancestor. And he is also stronger than me. If I hesitate to give it, even if I am his great grandson, I am afraid that he will directly search my soul. These people of the Feng family, each one of them looks quite affable. But in fact, they are all very hypocritical. Chen Fan frowned, other than Feng Xianting back then, he did not see the hypocritical side of the rest of the Feng family. Patriarch, the Feng family, is not as easy to get along with as it appears. You have to be a little more careful. Feng Xianting whispered with a solemn expression. Chen Fan nodded his head and said, Well, I have a number. Let's go. It's time to find Duan Hongyan. Yes, not long after the two of them entered the mansion. Feng Wangqi brought a middle-aged man with a worried look to meet them. Patriarch Chen, this is Duan Hongyan's biological father, Duan Jinming, head of the Duan family. Duan Jinming hurriedly saluted first, Duan Mao has met Patriarch Chen, long heard of Patriarch Chen's reputation, and today I am fortunate to have a chance to see him, even more fortunate, although my daughter was taken captive, 
but can get the lord of the house and Chan patriarch together to rescue, really is the daughter of the blessings of a million generations of cultivation, regardless of whether my daughter is still alive or not. This great favor, Duan Mao will remember for the rest of his life and never forget it. Chen Fan laughed. Family master Duan is overstating the case. Let's go and meet the old ancestor first. The matter of rescuing the people is imminent and must not be delayed any further. Good. The crowd came together outside the Spirit Luo Academy. After Feng Wanchi invited Feng Wanchu out, Chen Fan presented the prepared loan book. Feng Wan Snapdragon made a cursory examination. His eyes flickered, and then he forced himself to smile calmly and said, This method is quite profound. All of you wait for a moment. Allow me to study it, and then come back to take the power of the Duan family master's essence blood. After saying that, Feng Wan Snapdragon rolled over and went back to the Spirit Luo courtyard. Instead, the crowd waited outside the courtyard. But what the crowd did not expect is that this wait is half a day. Feng Wanchi's face, it all changed a bit. Can it be that something has gone wrong with the old ancestor's study of the blood leader art? Feng Wanchi's eyes narrowed and he could not help but glance at Chen Fan skeptically. This glance from Feng Wanchi caused Chen Fan's heart to sink slightly. Feng Wan's snap was not enlightened enough to learn the blood drawing technique in half a day. This Feng Wanchi even suspected that the blood drawing technique he gave was faulty. Just as Feng Wanchi couldn't help but enter the spirit Luo courtyard to take a look, a figure walked out from the courtyard door. Chapter 192 Elder Ancestor Seeing Feng Wanchu come out unharmed, Feng Wanchi was instantly delighted. Feng Wan Snap smiled faintly and said, This blood attraction technique is a bit more profound than what I expected, so I have kept you all waiting for a long time. Now, I will perform the blood attraction technique to rescue the fallen daughter and find the thief who has plagued Xingzhou, Duan Family Master. Please give a drop of your essence blood. Duan Jinming hurriedly forced out a drop of essence blood and levitated it out. Feng Wan Snapdragon's hands quickly stacked seals, and between the seals, the blood souls were like silk, penetrating and connecting, eventually forming a blood-colored astrolabe-like spirit seal. In the spirit seal, there is a majestic power, not the immortal infant realm. The power of cultivation is simply not enough to gather into the seal. Buzz. Once the spirit seal was completed, Feng Wan Snapdragon took the power of Duan Jinming's essence blood and incorporated it into it. Boom. In the next moment, a blood-colored ripple swirled on the spirit seal and it began to tremble. Feng Wanshu laughed lightly. The power of the Duan family master's essence blood has formed a resonance with the bloodlines of his fellow family members, of which 72 are in the due south direction, 13 are in the southeast, and 6 are in the southwest. There is only one, in the due east direction, Duan Jin Ming quickly said. Under normal circumstances, there should be no members of my Duan clan in the east. It must be where my daughter's red face is. Feng Wanchi cheered. Then what are we waiting for? Let's kill directly over there. With the old ancestor sitting at the helm, Feng Wanchi was ambitious. Feng Wan Snapdragon said, Then only the three of us, old man, Wang Chess, and Patriarch Chen, will go. Xian Ting and Clan Master Duan, then stay in the mansion and wait. This way the speed can be a bit faster. What old ancestor said is very true. Feng Wanchi laughed. Family Master Duan, you can wait in your residence at ease. Duan Jin Ming hurriedly said, Good. Feng Xian Ting was also happy to be free. Chen Fan had no problems since. Whoosh. Feng Wan Snapdragon threw his palm into the void, and the blood-colored spirit mark shot towards the east. Go. Just follow the blood-induced spirit disc. Feng Wan Snap greeted him and swept up in the air. Chen Fan and Feng Wanchi followed closely behind. The blood-induced spirit disc flew through the void at an extremely fast speed. The three of them followed the blood leader spirit seal, and after tracking all the way for 800 miles, the blood leader spirit seal suddenly accelerated and swept towards a canyon in front of them. Feng Wanchu's eyes showed a cold smile. The thieves should be in the middle of the canyon. You two be careful. Feng Wanchi was instantly on guard. Chen Fan's eyes narrowed slightly, but he did not utilize his soul sense to check the situation in the canyon. Swish. The blood-induced spirit mark disappears into the canyon. Feng Wan snaps figure flickered and instantly disappeared before the eyes of the two. Feng Wanchi said with an envious face, the speed of the immortal infant realm is truly terrifying. I don't know if I'll be fortunate enough to step into the immortal infant in this life. Chen Fan laughed. The prefectural lord will be able to do as he wishes. Ha ha, it's just a hope. Without a great opportunity, I will most likely only be able to stop at the great circle of the clasping Dan realm in this life. Feng Wangqi laughed. As they spoke, the two of them also chased into the canyon. Boom. Immediately, an uncommon formation aura exploded up from the canyon. Boom. With that, with a rumbling sound, the large formation that had just risen, broke apart again. Chen Fan's face changed slightly. If Feng Wan Snapdragon forcefully broke the formation, wasn't he afraid of hurting Duan Hongyan inside? 
you'd better get yourself out. Feng Wan Primrose chortled coldly. Chen Fan and Feng Wanchi also fell behind Feng Wanchu. It was then that they saw that not far ahead of them, there was an entrance to a cave that was covered by vines. In the cave, it was quiet for a while, before there were footsteps, slowly making their way outward. It wasn't long before a beautiful woman in a blue dress with a slightly white face walked out. Who are you, you people? What is the purpose of coming here? Buzz, the blood-induced spirit disc rushed over and actually stopped in front of the blue-skirted woman. All three of Chen Fan's brows were slightly furrowed. You are Duan Hongyan? Chen Fan could not help but ask. This woman, but she doesn't look like a captive at all. The dress was neat and tidy, and even her hair was not a bit disheveled. Just looking at the three of them with some tension and panic in his eyes. I, I'm not, the woman hastily denied. Feng Wan Snapdragon laughed coldly, old man with your father's blood. Blood led here. You still want to deny identity? Look at your appearance. Also does not seem to be captured by outlaws. It seems that you and that killed Situ Ji's people is a gang. The woman's eyes couldn't help but flutter a little when she heard Situ Ji's name. Yet, he still gritted his teeth and said, I'm not Duan Hongyan. You've got the wrong person. I advise you all to leave here immediately. Otherwise, when my master returns, she will never forgive you lightly. Ha, hey, master? Feng Wan Snap smiled coldly. You are indeed with that thief. Chen Fan said indifferently, even if you are not Duan Hongyan, you are definitely a member of the Duan family. There is no mistaking this point. Girl, if I were you, I would open my mouth and tell the truth. Do you know who the senior is standing in front of you at this moment? The woman looked at the blood-induced spirit disc in front of her, knowing that she couldn't hide her identity anymore, and seeing that the three people in front of her had extraordinary origins. She immediately gritted her teeth and said, I don't need to know who you guys are, but you guys are right. I am Duan Hongyan. As for Situ Ji, the one who killed him, is me. Feng Wanji said disdainfully, you're just a middle stage of the true spirit realm. With your strength, how could you possibly kill Situ Ji? I, I drugged him, knocked him out, and then killed him can I? You want to kill or scrape? I am at your disposal. But this matter, has absolutely nothing to do with my master. Duan Hongyan sharply defended. Ha, is really a master and disciple love? But you seem to forget that Situ Ji is also your master. Feng Wanqi sneered. Duan Hongyan grunted. That old brute is not my master. He took me in as a closed disciple. But he just wanted to play with me behind closed doors. If it wasn't for my master, I would have been ruined by this old brute. Chen Fan laughed softly. If the truth is really like this, Situ Ji is indeed someone who deserves to die as well. Feng Wanqi froze, then laughed. Patriarch Chen. Her words, I don't think they can be trusted. Situ Ji is the Thunder Marshal Sex Patriarch. If he wanted to possess her and directly take her as a concubine, the Duan family would be overjoyed to oblige. So why would he sneak around and take her as a forbidden domain by accepting her as an apprentice? Feng Wanshu nodded his head and said, Wang Qi has a point. Old Mi also believes that Situ Ji, as the head of a clan, would never do such a shameless thing, seeing that they didn't believe me. Duan Hongyan's eyes couldn't help but redden as she gritted her teeth and said, Do people with status and position have to be noble? I used to think so, but ever since I saw Situ Ji's face, I only feel that you powerful existences, on the contrary, have dirtier hearts and people are even more hypocritical. In front of people, you are kind and loving, but behind your back, you are nasty and bottomless. You came here to seek revenge for that old beast Situ Ji. You are no different from him. You are all beasts. Asshole. Foam One Snapdragon was furious at his words. His eyes flared with murderous anger, and he raised his hand to blast Duan Hongyan to death with a palm strike. Chen Fan was just about to make a sound to stop him, when a clear, cold, stern cry came bursting out from beyond the canyon. Stop. This voice caused Feng Wanchu's eyes to tremble fiercely, and he swished his head around, looking towards the figure that was rapidly sweeping in the distant sky. Chapter 193, Feng Chengyu. A little silhouette, instantly breaking through the air. This speed caused Feng Wanchu's eyes to glaze over. Chen Fan's brows, however, were lightly furrowed. He didn't expect that the master in the mouth of this red face was actually a woman. Kiyoshi, it's really you. Feng Wan snaps throat trembled as he shouted in ecstasy. That cold cry just now made Feng Wanchu feel extremely familiar, and was also a wound that had been dormant in the deepest recesses of his heart for many years. But when he saw the visitor, all the hurt turned into a full-blown surprise. Shen Fan was surprised that Feng Wanchu knew this person? Feng Wanchu was filled with dismay. Xin Yu? Feng Cheng Yu? She is the aunt who has been missing for 60 years? Shen Fan's face twitched. Feng Wanchu's aunt? The murderer who killed Situ Ji was actually a member of Feng's family? According to the generation, Feng Wanchu's aunt, this Feng Qingyue, wouldn't she be Feng Wanchu's daughter? 
The silhouette landed on the ground and transformed into the figure of a woman in a long black dress. The woman's hair color was like silver frost, but her face was still delicate and delicate, without a single wrinkle. Feng Qingyue looked indifferent and spoke. Situji was killed by me. It has nothing to do with my disciple. It doesn't matter if Situji kills him. You are still alive. This is more important than anything. Child, for so many years, where in the world have you gone? For father has always thought that you have also died. Feng Wan Snapdragon couldn't help but choke on his voice. Von Van Snap had five sons and one daughter. Five sons, over the long years, have passed away for various reasons. The only daughter, who was also Feng Wan Chu's favorite child, turned against the Feng family 60 years ago and disappeared. He went away for 60 years and was never heard from again. From the initial remorse and expectation, Feng Wan Primrose gradually ceased to have hope. But today, for the first time, he believes that the heavens have eyes. For, again, his daughter appeared before him. Your daughter, Feng Qingyue, is indeed dead, and moreover, she died 60 years ago. The me of today is just me, and no longer has a single relationship with your Feng family. Feng Qingyue coldly said. Feng Wan snap sniffed, and it hurt like hell. He looked towards Chen Fan and Feng Wanqi and said, Old man would like to be alone with his own daughter for a moment. Chen Fan laughed. The scenery of this canyon is nice. I was thinking of going for a stroll. Miss Duan, could you act as a guide for us? Duan Hongyan looked at Feng Qingyue. Feng Qingyue didn't say anything, nor did he give any sign. Good. Duan Hongyan agreed and immediately walked towards the rest of the canyon. Feng Qingyue's lack of any response was tantamount to a promise, but he was just unwilling to open his mouth. As soon as the three of them walked away, Feng Wan Snapdragon waved his hand and laid down a layer of spiritual power restriction, enveloping himself in Feng Qingyu. Chen Fan was filled with curiosity, and so was Duan Hongyan. Before this, she did not know that her master was actually a member of the Feng family who was of the same clan as the lord of the Qingzhou prefecture, and that her seniority was so high. She was the disciple of the house master's aunt. Wouldn't that make her the house master's aunt? Miss Duan, how long have you been following your master? Strolling along? Feng Wanqi asked with a smile. Duan Hongyan said, Master saved me from Situ Ji, and seeing that my qualifications were okay, he accepted me as a disciple. Counting, it's only been a little over two months. Feng Wanqi's eyes flickered slightly as he said, Then do you know why your master killed Situ Ji? Duan Hongyan's green eyebrows slightly raised as she said, I don't know, if the prefectural lord wants to know, he can ask my master himself later. Feng Wanqi smiled faintly, Miss Duan doesn't need to be so vigilant, since we are a family, the truth of this Situ Ji's death will never get out. Patriarch Chen is also a cynical person, and since he knows about Situ Ji's shameless behavior, he will definitely keep it a secret for us as well. Right, Patriarch Chen? Feng Wanqi looked at Chen Fan with a smile and asked. Chen Fan laughed. I wouldn't have cared who killed Situ Ji. It's just that it's a bit wrong to take the blame. Ha ha, this is good to say. The Feng family will definitely make some compensation when they turn around. Feng Wanqi laughed out loud. Chen Fan laughed. It's just a joke. Those suspicions and rumors. How would I care? Those who are clear will clear themselves. And I don't need to go and prove my innocence to those who are irrelevant. Duan Hongyan's eyes shone for a moment. And she said in surprise. Could your honor be immortal Dao sex patriarch Chen? He he. Aside from immortal Dao sex patriarch Chen. Which other patriarch could be as young as him? Feng Wanqi teased with a smile. Duan Hongyan said excitedly. Patriarch Chen. I've heard quite a few stories about you. I heard that the root cause of you destroying the Heavenly Treasure Sect was because the Heavenly Treasure Sect scrapped your fiancé Gu Yunchang's spiritual vein. Isn't that so? Chen Fan hummed. The feud between him and the Heavenly Treasure Sect was indeed formed from this time. Duan Hongyan said with an envious look on her face. Gu Chenwei is really so happy to have met a man who was willing to exterminate a clan for her. It's just a pity that I heard that not long after she returned to Tiger's Pillar City, she seemed to have disappeared and no more news of her came out. Is she being protected by you? Chen Fan shook his head. She ran away. Ha, huh? why is that? Duan Hongyan said in disbelief. Chen Fan smiled and said, Miss Duan, I actually have little interest in telling stories. Duan Hongyan laughed somewhat awkwardly. Since Patriarch Chen is unwilling to speak, then I won't ask. I only hope that you and Miss Unyielding can reunite soon. Your love story has been privately rumored in all the sections. We envy Miss Fuyu, and we also admire Patriarch Chen's grandeur. Chen Fan was really a bit stunned. What happened between him and Fuyu has become a love story that has been widely circulated among the clans, he doesn't even know it himself. A beautiful woman is like a cloud, drifting without a trace. If she is well, it is a sunny day. I also believe that we will eventually be reunited. Chen Fan said in a low voice. Duan Hongyan's eyes flickered slightly as she said, 
Patriarch Chen, I have a somewhat abrupt request. I wonder if you can grant it. Chen Fan laughed. A sudden request? I don't know what Miss Duan is asking for. Duan Hongyan said with a serious look on her face. You must make Miss Fu Yu the rightful wife. Otherwise, we'll be too sad. Ahem. Chen Fan couldn't help but choke. Feng Wanqi also snickered. I didn't expect this red face. The main thing I refuse to say more, but quite like to meddle in other people's business. It seems that you have heard quite a lot of stories about me. Chen Fan laughed helplessly. He he, at the birthday banquet of elder ancestor Ling Hu, you led Ling Hu Yuzhu, the number one genius and number one beauty of Qin Zhou, to appear together. This matter, naturally, is also a good story. Duan Hongyan said with a promising smile. Chen Fan smiled lightly and said, the old ancestor gave it to me, and I have not dared to resign. No one can affect my feelings for undying. Duan Hongyan was pleasantly surprised. We really didn't worship the wrong person. Patriarch Chen, you made us believe in love. You must also promise us that in the future, you must not turn into an old bastard like Situ Ji. Chen Fan laughed. That will definitely not be the case. He he. Miss Duan, the slaughter of the four clans as well as the night of the moon pool. These two events, they shouldn't have anything to do with your master. Right? Chen Fan laughed. Feng Qingyue was both a member of Feng's family. Even if he didn't know for what reason he killed Situ Ji, he thought that he would never do something like slaughtering the four clans, as well as making a ridiculous night of the moon pool. Duan Hongyan shook her head and said, Although my master didn't mention anything to me about the four sects being destroyed, I believe that the destruction of the four sects definitely had nothing to do with my master. As for the night of the moon pool, I don't even know what it was about. Can you tell me about it? I've been practicing with my master here for the past two months or so. He he, forget about it if you don't know about it. Chen Fan laughed. Tell me about it. I'm quite curious to know. Who was killed again? Duan Hongyan was curious. Her eyes were on fire with gossip. Chen Fan touched his nose and laughed. No one died. But instead, there were several more little lives. Ahem. Fong Wangqi, who had always been steady, was choked hard by Chen Fan's words. Chapter 194 Fire Dragon Ginseng Duan Hongyan was confused. No one died. And a few more little lives? What's going on here? Patriarch Chen, I am getting more and more curious. If it's not considered a hidden secret that can't be divulged, just tell me. Duan Hongyan laughed. Chen Fan glanced at Feng Wanqi, who helplessly laughed. Miss Duan, this matter is rather indecent. Are you, a girl, sure you want to hear it? Once Duan Hongyan heard the word indecent, she finally understood the meaning of a few more little lives. It's better to forget it then. I don't want to know. Duan Hongyan blushed and said, but the fire of gossip in her heart was burning hotter and hotter, just too embarrassed to let two men dictate to her. The three of them were in the middle of the canyon, wandering around for quite a while before they heard Feng Wanchu's voice call out, Wang Qi, Patriarch Chen, we should go back. Feng Wangqi said, Patriarch Chen, let's go over there. Chen Fan laughed and answered, and the two of them flew up and swept towards the direction of the cave. When I went back, I no longer saw Feng Qingyue. Feng Wan Snapdragon did not say anything. And when he saw the two of them rushing back, he flew up in the air and swept towards Qingzhou City. The two flew to keep up. Feng Wanqi wanted to ask Feng Qingyue about it, but considering that Chen Fan was still around, he held back his questions. Chen Fan also understood in his heart that this Feng family did not want him to know anything about Feng Qingyue. Just like that, in silence all the way, the three of them returned to the Qingzhou mansion. Feng Xianting and Duan Jinming rushed to welcome them. Duan Jinming did not see Duan Hongyan. His face turned white and he asked in a trembling voice, Old ancestor, the little daughter Hong Yan Shi. Feng Wanchu smiled and said, Don't worry, Duan family master, your daughter is not only fine, but she has also gained some fortune by chance, it's just that she can't come back yet, you don't need to ask much about other things, when the time is right, she will return to the Duan family to visit you. Seeing Feng Wanchu say this, Duan Jinming didn't dare to ask any more questions and only nodded his head and said, Duan Mao understands, as long as my daughter is still alive, it is more important than anything else. Then, Duan Mao will return to Wealthy Water City first and wait for the day he reunites with his little daughter. Good, Duan family master can just relax. And today's matter must not be spread out. Feng Wanchu narrowed his eyes and said. Duan Jinming was flustered by Feng Wanchu's narrowed eyes and hurriedly responded. Duan Mao keeps this in mind and definitely keeps his mouth shut. He he, in the future, the Duan family and the Feng family, they can interact more. Duan family master, you return. Amidst Feng Wanchu's meaningful laughter, Duan Jinming bowed and left. Only then did Feng Wanchu turn to look at Chen Fan. Patriarch Chen, only would like to thank you properly. If it wasn't for your gift of the blood leader technique, 
I'm afraid that it would be difficult for me to meet my daughter again in this life. Feng Wan snap smiled. Chen Fan laughed. Old ancestor is polite. Buzz. Feng Wan snap smiled and lifted his hand. And a huge ginseng body that was fiery red and a meter long was held up in Feng Wan snap's palm. Feng Wanqi's eyes changed slightly. Chen Fan was surprised. Fire Dragon Ginseng. Although the Fire Dragon Ginseng was only a 5th grade spirit material, it was the top most extreme spirit material among the 5th grade spirit materials. More so, because it contained the purest fire spirit power. It could help martial arts cultivators refine their spirits and quench their bodies. And it was of great value. The Xian Huang fruit that Yu Qi Ling had purchased earlier, although it was the same 5th grade spiritual material, was far less valuable than this fire dragon ginseng in front of him. He he, Patriarch Chen has extraordinary insight. This is precisely the fire dragon ginseng. Today, I will present this ginseng to Patriarch Chen. Feng Wan snap smiled and handed the fire dragon ginseng to Chen Fan. Chen Fan hurriedly said, This item is too valuable, so senior cannot accept it. Feng Wan Chu laughed, No matter how valuable the spirit material is, it cannot compare to the friendship between Patriarch Chen and my Feng family. Patriarch Chen, please accept it. Otherwise, you are looking down on old me. Feng Wan Snapdragon had already said this. Why would Chen Fan still hesitate? He's got to look up to Von Van Snap. Then, the late generation will thank the old ancestor for his generous gift. Chen Fan let out a light smile and received the fire dragon ginseng with both hands. Feng Wanqi's eyes burned and his heart was envious. Patriarch Chen, we'll gather again some other time. Feng Wan Snap smiled and arched his hand. Chen Fan immediately comprehended this and smiled. Good, then Senior will take his leave first. Ha, good, Feng Wan Snap responded with a smile. After Chen Fan left, Feng Wan Snap's eyes narrowed as he said in a low voice to Feng Wanqi and Feng Xinting. You too, follow me into the Spirit Luo Academy. After leaving the Feng family, Chen Fan had planned to return to the Immortal Dao sect, but after thinking about it, he came to the front of the Eastern Family House, since the Dongfang family had affiliated with the Immortal Dao sect, and now that something had happened, he, the Patriarch, should go over to offer his condolences since he had come to Qingzhou City. As soon as Dongfang Mu heard Chen Fan's visit, he excitedly led the Dongfang family with a group of people and trotted out. I greet the Patriarch. Greetings, Sovereign. Chen Fan listened to the Dongfang family's chorus of cries and smiled lightly. There is no need to be polite. This patriarch has just come from the mansion master's mansion and heard of some unfortunate events. So I came over to take a look. Dongfang Mu laughed bitterly in his heart. The night of the moon pool is really something that can't be covered up. Thank you for your concern, patriarch. Please enter the humble abode for a moment. Good. Dongfang Mu and his party, flanking Chen Fan, arrived at the main hall. Patriarch. Please take the seat. Dong Fang Mu pointed his palm towards the main seat of the main hall and smiled respectfully. Chen Fan didn't humble himself. The Dong Fang family was an affiliated family of the Immortal Dao sect, and as he was the Immortal Dao sect's patriarch, this main seat should have come from him. It's not good for the OP to be too humble sometimes. Let the others disperse. We can just talk. Chen Fan said. All of you go down. Dong Fang Mu waved his hand and dismissed the group of clansmen. Did you find out anything about the Night of the Moon Pool? Chen Fan asked. Dongfang Mu sighed bitterly and shook his head, saying, Originally, all the clans tried their best to cover up this matter, and did not dare to pursue it with great fanfare. When things can't be hidden, there are no more clues to investigate even if they want to. Even that passenger ship was sunk to the bottom of the lake by the Ma family's angry smashing. Chen Fan frowned, This Ma family's people were really tigers. Even the scene was ruined. How is Dongfang Shui now? Chen Fan asked. Dongfang Mu I sadly said, Since that night, this child, has been like a walking corpse in general, has not spoken half a sentence, the whole day with tears, also do not eat food, full thin several circles, if it wasn't for force feeding her a few pills, I'm afraid she would have starved to death, Chen Fan said in a low voice, suffering this kind of change is indeed a great blow to her, take this clan to meet her, Dong Fang Mu didn't dare to go against it and quickly said, good, immediately, Dong Fang Mu led Chen Fan to a small secluded courtyard, ah, it's no good, the lady has committed suicide, Somebody, the two had just reached the front of the courtyard when they heard the maid's panic yells coming from the courtyard. The two of them, Dong Fang Mu and Chen Fan, their faces changed in unison as they directly rushed into the small courtyard. Chen Fan was even faster and rushed into the house first. Dong Fang Mu's red eyes filled with blood, rushed at the two maids who were kneeling in panic and said fiercely, Wastes, didn't I tell you to keep an eye on miss? If something happens to Xiao Shui, all of you will have to be buried with her. Oh, slave girl is guilty. Slave girl knows her mistake. Dong Fang Mu grunted angrily. But he heard Chen Fan's voice come in and said, The people are still saved. So all of you go stand guard outside the courtyard. 
Chapter 195 Oriental Snow Get out! All of you! Dong Fang Mu snapped and blasted the maid out. He hesitated, and followed out himself, keeping watch outside the courtyard, inside the house. Chen Fan had already carried Dong Fang Shui from the tub, to the bed, and, tucked her in, leaving only her left arm, exposed, the left wrist, which was originally bleeding profusely, had now been blocked by Chen Fan's spiritual power, stopping the bleeding and was in the process of healing at a rapid pace. Dong Fang Shui's pretty face was pale and almost bloodless, the bubbling hot tub was now the color of blood, Dong Fang Shui suddenly wanted to take a bath, the maids thought that her mood had improved and arranged it with joy, who would have thought that while soaking in the bath, Dong Fang Shui dismissed the two maids who were serving close to her on the pretext of wanting to be quiet, if it wasn't for one of the maids, who always felt uneasy, carefully pushing out a crack in the door and peering inside, I'm afraid Dong Fang Shui would really die in the tub. Chen Fan continuously ferried into Dong Fang Shui with his spiritual energy, feeding her with a source of unending vitality. Only after her situation improved a little did the party stuff a Tian Lin Dan into her mouth. The heavenly Lin pill's medicinal effect was mild and quickly dissipated within Dong Fang Shui's body. The man followed, waking up leisurely. Her pupils flinched when she opened her eyes and saw a strange man, sitting on the edge of her bed. Who are you? You? Why are you in my house? Dong Fang Shui shivered and screamed in terror. Chen Fan smiled faintly. This clan is Chen Fan, who just saved you. Dong Fang Shui's eyes trembled, and they instantly turned red. Chen Fan froze. What was this Dong Fang Shui crying about? Someone who was bent on death will not shed tears of gratitude because someone else saved her. Why would Patriarch Chen want to save me? I am already in a broken body. I am not worthy of your help. Dong Fang Shui choked out a sob and tilted her head inward, not meeting Chen Fan's eyes. Chen Fan said, What has happened to you is indeed heartbreaking, but life lasts a long time and you shouldn't give up your life in vain for a momentary setback. Moreover, don't you want to find out the person who has plagued you also? Dong Fang Shui sobbed. I have survived so far just waiting for him to be caught. Unfortunately, the Ten Great Families as well as the Qingzhou Mansion deployed so many forces, but they were unable to find this person. As for me, I don't have the strength to wait any longer. Now I just want to be relieved quickly, Chen Fan said in a deep voice. Death is easy. However, the Dong Fang family is under the patronage of this sect. And this sect hopes that you can help me find out that person, and that you will personally kill him by hand. After that, the sect will not interfere with whatever decision you make. In Dong Fang Shui's eyes, it suddenly seemed like there was a light. She turned her head and said excitedly, Is Patriarch Chen telling the truth? You're really going to personally take action and help us catch that person? Chen Fan solemnly said, Although this sect is not a righteous person, but what this person did, is really human in God's common anger. Therefore, this sect must uncover it. Situ Ji's line was no longer related to that immortal infant realm that instructed Tu Sanshur. Chen Fan could only start checking from other events. It's best if there's a connection between them, but if there isn't, consider it a good thing. Dong Fang Shui's gaze brightened slightly as she nodded her head and said, Good, I trust Patriarch Chen, and I will never seek death again until I catch that evil man. Chen Fan laughed, Good, this sect also believes that you will keep your word, although it is a bit cruel to make you recall the past, but in order to find out that person, this sex still needs to know some information about that night. Dong Fang Shui shook her head and said, I only remember what happened before I boarded the ship, and what happened after I boarded the ship is something I can't recall at all. Chen Fan said, Then tell me about what happened before you boarded the ship. Dong Fang Shui nodded, Good. As usual, we were invited by Feng Shuanye to go to Lake Yutan when the moon was in the middle of the sky. On that day, seeing that the time was close, I went out. The streets were quiet at night, and on the night of the full moon, the moonlight was clear and soft, but who would have thought that this night, became a nightmare for all of us. Then, I went to the lake of the moon pool, and in my memory, all that remained was the vague shadow of the boat, and what happened after that was all but unmemorable. Dong Fang Shui's eyes were red with tears, she didn't, even, know who it was that made her lose her virginity. She was the only one who woke up, lying in the bow of the boat, with no one around but herself. So she had a strong suspicion that the person who had destroyed her innocence was the one who had plotted it all. Chen Fan made a slight contemplation and asked, Every time you have such a gathering, is it always on the night of the full moon and when the moon is in the middle of the sky? Dong Fang Shui nodded her head and said, Yes, it is because at this time of the year, the full moon is reflected in the moon pool lake, and it is the most beautiful time for the lake. After seeing it for the first time, all of us were in awe of that absolutely beautiful moonlit lake. So later on, whenever Feng Shuanye invited us, we would all go. Chen Fan said, You are all going alone? Dong Fang Shui pursed her lips and said, Yes, and it's all behind the back of the family. After all, 
The night is already late at this time, and for us family ladies, meeting with a group of men late at night, if people knew about it, it would inevitably spread some gossip. That's why Feng Xuanya said when he invited them that those who are willing to go, should go alone. I didn't go the first time, and it was only the second time I couldn't help but be curious before going. Afterwards, after experiencing several such gatherings, nothing has ever happened. We all talked and laughed, enjoyed the moon together, and sometimes talked about things in cultivation. Everything was all those harmonious and interesting. Until this one, which ruined us all. Chen Fan's eyes flickered slightly as he asked, Haven't you ever suspected Feng Xian Knight? Dong Feng Shui was stunned and shook her head. In this matter, he is also a victim. Moreover, as the person who organized the party, he should have expected that when something happened, all the pressure would be on him. It seems that you have a good impression of Feng Xuanye. Chen Fan smiled faintly. Dong Feng Shui said, Although Feng Xuanye doesn't have the same talent as Shitsi, he is gentle and a man of integrity. Chen Fan smiled lightly. I also hope that this has nothing to do with him. Think again. Before the incident, could there have been someone who adored you but was rejected by you or the Dongfang family? Dongfang Shui blushed slightly and said, In recent years, the people who begged for marriage, there were indeed some, but Grandpa did not agree. I heard. At first Grandpa wanted me to marry the world's son, but the side of the house of the Lord has not been this intention, and then the Oriental family attached to the sovereign. Grandpa had wanted to offer me to the sovereign. I just didn't expect that before Grandpa honored the patriarch. Something happened to me, now that I am a broken flower. I think that in Grandpa's eyes, I don't have any value anymore. Dong Feng Shui smiled miserably with a miserable expression. Chen Fan was speechless, but he also understood, whether in a previous life, or in this life, the means of trying to corrupt and pull a person in is nothing more than money, power and women. The tactics are cheesy, but it is tried and true and works very well. And for the Chen Fan of today, no one could give him more power. No one could give him resources that he could look at. The only thing that is easiest to give away and has the most longevity is a woman. There is no need to realize your worth through others. If you are willing, you can enter my immortal Tao sect to cultivate in the future. You yourself should know that you are not just a woman, but also a martial cultivator. You can just as easily realize your value through your martial strength. Chen Fan said. Chapter 196 Frost and Snow Wind in Sky Curse. I can join the Immortal Way sect? Dong Feng Shui was pleasantly surprised. Chen Fan laughed. Why not? You have talent and you are still alive, which means there are still plenty of opportunities. Which of the powerful martial cultivators in this world could have achieved the pinnacle by going with the flow? It wasn't just talent that determined one's achievements, but also a strong will. Only those who can stand up with their heads held high again in the midst of setbacks have the qualifications to become strong. To give up your entire life because of a single setback is, in my opinion, really stupid. Dong Feng Shui blushed, so she was already a stupid person in Chen Fan's eyes? This sect saved you, so you have a chance to choose again. This sect believes that you won't be foolish again, because you still have a fervor for this world in your eyes. Rest well, the sect will stay in the eastern family for a few days. When you recover, then you can join the sect in tracking down the truth behind the night of the moon pool. Chen Fan smiled and stood up. Dong Feng Shui solemnly said, Don't worry, patriarch, I won't be foolish again. I will recover as soon as possible. Very good. Somewhat of a personal disciple of this clan. Chen Fan laughed lightly. Dong Feng Shui's eyes shone brightly as she said excitedly. Patriarch is going to accept me as a personal disciple? What? You're not willing? Chen Fan teased. Dong Feng Shui hurriedly said. Of course I'm willing. Ha! Get some rest. Chen Fan smiled faintly and turned to leave the house. Dong Feng Shui was excited. If not for the fact that her body was still a bit weak due to blood loss. She really wanted to get up right now to catch up with Chen Fan and go after the truth together. Hmm. Suddenly, Dong Feng Shui thought of something. She hastily lifted the covers to take a look. I, she was so ashamed that she lifted the covers over her head. Haru, Xia, you guys get in here. Dong Feng Shui shouted as she was smothered under the covers. Miss, the two maids heard Dong Feng Shui shout outside the courtyard and responded in a hurry. Looking at Dong Feng Mu again, Chen Fan was walking over and smiled. Let them go. It's also thanks to them realizing it in time. If they were one step later, even if it was me, I wouldn't be able to save her. Dong Feng Mu's dark and heavy face finally eased a bit because of Dong Feng Shui's voice. Go on. If anything goes wrong again, you will not be forgiven. Dong Feng Mu grunted. Yes. The two maids hurriedly owed a reply. Then hurriedly ran into the courtyard. Only then did Dong Feng Mu make an excited salute to Chen Fan. Many thanks to Patriarch for coming to the rescue. Chen Fan glanced at him and said indifferently. I heard that Dong Feng Shui said that you originally intended to offer her to the sect? Dong Feng Mu froze, then smiled bitterly. It's just a pity that today's Shao Shui, 
no longer has this blessing. Chen Fan said in a cold and deep voice, your Dongfang family is also one of the top 10 families, so you only think of maintaining relationships by giving away women? Although this kind of tactic is very common, but this clan does not want you to use it on this clan again. As long as the Dongfang family is loyal enough, this sect will not treat your Dongfang family poorly. Dongfang Mu's eyes trembled as he hurriedly bowed and said, I know I'm wrong, I won't have this kind of mindset again. Chen Fan said indifferently, this sect has already accepted Dongfang Shui as a personal disciple. A disciple of this sect should have the right to choose his own life. What does the Dongfang family master think? Dongfangi's heart was delighted. Is this a blessing in disguise for Snowy? God's favor. He exclaimed in excitement in his heart, but on his face, he hurriedly assured. Don't worry, patriarch, the Dongfang family will not interfere with little Shui in the future, and everything will be left to her own discretion. Chen Fan nodded his head and said, then arrange a place for this clan to stay. This clan will stay in the Dongfang family for a few days, but don't fix those things that shouldn't be for this clan again. Dongfang Mu hurriedly nodded in response. In many big families, when a guest stays overnight, the host family will arrange for some beautiful ladies to accompany them. Chen Fan didn't want Dongfang Mu to give him this. In the inner room, as soon as Dongfang Shui saw Xiao Chun and Xia, she hastily exposed her head and asked, Xiao Chun and Xia, was it you who moved me from the tub? To the bed? She was, by then, in a coma and had no idea how she got to the bed. Xiao Chun hurriedly said, No, it was Patriarch Chen who rushed in and saved Miss. Patriarch Chen told us and the family had to both wait outside. Dongfang Shui's face, in an instant, was so red that it didn't look like a person who had lost a lot of blood. I, I am disgraced. Again, Dongfang Shui gave a bitter cry and covered her head again. Xiao Chun and Xiao Xia were so scared that they hastily knelt on the ground. Miss, please, don't hurt yourself anymore. Yes, just now. The family master was so enraged that he almost all but killed the two of us. Oh, miss, if anything happens to you again, we really won't be able to live. Don't worry guys, I won't be stupid again. I want to eat. I'm so hungry. Xiao Chun, you take care of miss, I'll go to the kitchen to get food. Xiao Xia said in surprise. Good good good. Haru happily wiped tears from her eyes. A few days later, Eastern Snow has largely recovered. She hadn't been out of the house for many days, and today was the first time she'd been out of the house in a while. The sun is still so warm, and the wind is still gentle. Those encounters were nothing but a nightmare. A truly lucid person doesn't let nightmares haunt them for the rest of their lives. The patriarch is right. I still have a long life ahead of me. I'll never again set my life's footsteps and get stuck in the mud forever just because I stepped on a muddy foot. Murmuring softly, Dongfang Shui closed her eyes and took a hard, deep breath. A fragrance on the wind mixed with a hint of sweetness, nice recovery, a light laugh, came from the entrance of the courtyard, Dongfang Shui's eyes widened in delight, patriarch, you can also change your name to master, Chen Fan laughed, Dongfang Shui hurriedly walked over and excitedly knelt down in front of Chen Fan, disciple Dongfang Shui, greetings to master, Chen Fan smiled, raise your head, with a touch of shyness, Dongfang Shui looked up at Chen Fan, Chen Fan pointed both fingers on Dongfang Shui's forehead, a soul consciousness that didn't enter the sea of Dongfang Shui's soul. Dongfang Shui since will not resist. Let the power of soul consciousness in her soul see into a stream of information. Frost and snow wind and sky curse. What a powerful gong method. This gong method, it's also amazing. Disciple has never seen this type of gong method before. Dongfang Shui said in surprise. Chen Fan smiled and said, Well, this is something that this sect obtained by chance when he was a teenager. However, it does not conform to the sect's cultivation but is quite suitable for you, as long as you cultivate diligently, you will be able to achieve something in the future, Dongfang Shui solemnly said, disciple will definitely cultivate properly, Chen Fan laughed, seeing how you look today, this clan is very pleased, get up, Dongfang Shui rose with joy, would you like to accompany this clan to meet, those who have had the same encounter as you, Chen Fan asked with a smile, Dongfang Shui pursed her lips and quickly said firmly, of course disciple is willing, in this world, there are no hurdles that can't be passed, only the self that can't figure it out. Now, disciple has already figured it out. It's not like the disciple is at fault. There's nothing for the disciple to face. Chen Fan smiled gratefully. That's a good point. Let's go. Chapter 197 Yao Yuan of the Yao family. Accompanied by Dongfang Shui, Chen Fan met the victims of the Night of the Moon Pool. Seven or eight of them were seen one after another, and none of them yielded any useful clues. Patriarch, can we find out that person? After coming out of the Ma clan, Dongfang Shui said with some dismay. Chen Fan smiled. Do your best to find out first. Questioning ourselves will only take us farther and farther away from our goal. 
Dong Fang Shui's eyes were certain as she said, Disciple remembers, the next family, which one, is the victim a man or a woman? It's Yao Yuan, the Yao family's sixth young master. Soon, the duo arrived in front of the Yao mansion. The Yao family was also one of the three great families affiliated to the immortal Taoist sect. As Chen Fan arrived at the door, Yao Qiqi quickly ushered him in, warmly welcoming Chen Fan and Dong Fang Shui into the Yao residence. Yao Qiji was about to host a banquet when Chen Fan waved his hand and said, No need. We will leave soon. Take this clan to meet Yao Yuan. I will summon him here. Yao Qiji hurriedly said, No need. Go directly to where he lives. Chen Fan said indifferently. Yao Qiji froze, unsure, but did as he was told. Soon, the group of three arrived outside the courtyard where Yao Yuan was. Just stay outside. Yao family master. We'll go see him alone. Chen Fan smiled faintly. Yao Qixin was shocked and said with a bit of apprehension, Patriarch, could it be that Yao Yuan has committed some wrongdoing? Chen Fan laughed, there is no need to panic, Yao family master, this sect is just investigating the night of the moon pool, Yao Yuan was in the middle of it, so I looked for him and asked him to see if I could get some useful clues, Yao Qiji heaved a sigh of relief and said, so that's how it is, good, then I will wait outside, if there is anything, the sovereign will command again. Chen Fan didn't say much and joined Dong Fang Shui in the courtyard. Yao Yuan, this is Dong Fang Shui, come out and meet me. Dong Fang Shui didn't see Yao Yuan in the courtyard, so she shouted at the house. Clunk, there was a crash of china from inside the house. Soon, a thin figure, opened the door to the house. When he saw that beside Dong Fang Shui, there was also a young man standing beside him. He couldn't help but see a glint of gloom in his eyes that he tried his best to hide. Dong Fang Shui, why are you here, and who is this person? Yao Yuan asked. Dong Fang Shui said, This is my master and the immortal Dao sect patriarch. We came here today to ask you about the night of the moon pool. Yao Yuan's eyes were startled as he hurriedly arched his hand and said, So it's patriarch. Yao Yuan has lost his respect. You're panicking a little. What are you panicking about? Chen Fan asked with narrowed eyes. Yao Yuan's eyes trembled as he said, Please forgive me, patriarch. Ever since the night of the moon pool, my entire being has become unsettled. I have difficulty concentrating and I have also become prone to panic. I think that this should be due to the remorse and self-blame in my heart. If I hadn't participated in such a gathering, I wouldn't have plagued the young family's sister and wouldn't have brought trouble to the family. Chen Fan smiled lightly. You are the one who speaks the most amongst the crowd. Everyone else is stammering hard to speak, bereft of shame. While you are repentant of your words, with no trace of shame on your face, Yao Yuan's face changed slightly, and he said in alarm, What does Sovereign mean by that? It means that this clan is suspecting you. Chen Fan's eyes narrowed. Dong Fang Shui was surprised. Suspecting Yao Yuan? Everyone knows that Yao Yuan is a timid and shy person. Ah, outside the courtyard, Yao Qijin, his face also changed drastically, and hurriedly stood up to the entrance of the courtyard and said, Patriarch, Yao Yuan is also one of the victims. Ah, please be clear about it. Patriarch, Yao Qiji didn't believe that Yao Yuan had anything to do with the night of the moon pool. He couldn't believe it either. If it was really as Chen Fan suspected, the Yao family would be finished. Yao Yuan looked at Chen Fan angrily and gritted his teeth. Patriarch, I have not offended you, have I? The Yao family is even loyal to you. Why are you sacrificing me and making me take the blame for this unsolved case? Could it be that the Yao family's reputation is so insignificant in your eyes? Chen Fan laughed lightly. This sect is just suspicious. You don't need to be so excited. As a matter of fact, every single person that this sect has met today, this sect has suspected. And they, too, have all proven their innocence to this sect. The corners of Yao Yuan's mouth twitched. Everyone was skeptical? Dare I ask how Patriarch wants me to prove my innocence? Yao Yuan said in a deep voice. Chen Fan smiled. Simple. Just let this clan search your soul. This is never possible. Yao Yuan angrily said. Not to mention the fact that the art of soul searching is a devilish practice. If I allow the sovereign soul consciousness to peep into my soul see memory, won't I have no privacy at all? If sovereign wants me to prove my innocence, then I will prove it with my death. Yao Yuan roared with rage and violently raised his hand, so he was about to blast his palm towards his head. Buzz. His movements, however, were imprisoned in an instant. Dying does not prove your innocence, Chen Fan said in a cold voice. Yao Qiji, I'm here. Yao Qiji gritted his teeth and answered. Chen Fan's move made him furious as well. You do the soul search, Chen Fan said indifferently. Yao Qijin's gaze shook. Trembling voice said, Patriarch, does it have to be like this? Yao Yuan this child, has always been pure. It seems that this clan's words are of little use to your Yao family. Chen Fan coldly flung a glance at Yao Qiji. Yao Qixin shuddered in his heart and hurriedly said, I will follow your orders, and I will search Yao Yuan's soul here. 
The confined Yao Yuan's pupils shrunk slightly for a moment. With that, his eyes, gradually, floated up with a touch of crazy laughter. Chen Fan's eyes half narrowed and he scattered the power of confinement. It seems that you intend to tell the truth. Chen Fan indifferently said, Ha ha ha, I was not expecting that you, as the immortal Dao sect patriarch, would be so despicable and shameless that you would learn from the devil sect's tactics and use the art of soul searching to find the truth. Yao Yuan laughed angrily. Yao Yuan, stop talking nonsense. If you dare to offend the patriarch again, I'll kill you with my own hands. Yao Qijin angrily rebuked. Chen Fan said indifferently, sometimes in order to achieve one's goal, the sect can indeed be a bit despicable and shameless. So, are you choosing to accept the soul search, or are you going to tell everything yourself? Yao Yuan gritted his teeth and swept his gaze angrily over the three people, and finally placed his caricatured gaze, landing on Dong Fang Shui's face. And Jie Jie monstrously laughed. Even if I die today, you, Dong Fang Shui, having been toyed with by me in my crotch, that is already a fact for eternity. It's only a pity that I wasn't able to leave you with the memories of that night. What a pity. Ha ha ha. Dong Fang Shui's pupils dilated. Her body trembled wildly. Trembling angrily. It's really you. Why are you doing this? Why? Yao Qiji only felt five thunderbolts. Brain flower was all over his brain for a while. Yao Yuan. Don't you dare to speak out of turn out of a moment of anger. You'll get the Yao family killed this way. Yao Qiji growled angrily. If it wasn't for the fact that he knew that Chen Fan would definitely block it, Yao Qiji could not wait to blast Yao Yuan to death with a palm. Yao Yuan sneered. Don't you all want to know the truth? What I am saying now is the truth. That night, it was me who slept with Dong Fang Shui. Ha ha ha, I even got you seven times. You damned beast. I'll kill you. Dong Fang Shui's anger erupted. A green sword appeared in her hand with a swish, and she was about to stab at Yao Yuan's throat. Buzz, with two fingers, he clamped down on Dong Fang Shui's long sword. Master, let me kill him. Dong Fang Shui said with tearful eyes. Chen Fan said in a low voice, it is true that he deserves to die, but with his strength, he shouldn't be able to plot all this. Moreover, can't you see that he is provoking you to kill him? Chen Fan coldly looked at Yao Qijin. Go search his soul and find all his accomplices. Otherwise, no one can protect your Yao family. Chapter 198. Yao Qijin's eyes trembled, but he understood that this was Chen Fan in his chance. Boo! Yao Qijia sank to both knees and knelt before Chen Fan, saying gratefully, Yao Qijia thanks Sovereign for his great kindness. From this moment onwards, I will expel Yao Yuan from the Yao family, and I swear that I will definitely exhaust the entire clan's strength to bring out and kill all of his party members. Dong Fang Shui gritted her teeth and said, Master, why don't you personally search your soul? I can't trust the Yao family. Chen Fan shook his head and said, There are too many dirty things in his head. This clan doesn't want to see them. Moreover, this is the Yao family's only chance to survive. He knows what to do. Yao Qijin hurriedly said, Miss Dong Feng, I know you already hate Yao Yuan, but the Yao family is definitely not involved in this, and I can make a poisonous oath that if I harbor anything, I will let the Yao family be destroyed and all of them will not be allowed to die. Dong Feng Shui just snorted coldly. She only had the cultivation of the true spirit realm, and her soul power was simply not enough to perform the soul searching technique. The art of soul searching required at least a cultivation level above the clasping Dan realm in order to be able to barely do it. Chen Fan glanced at Yao Qiji and said, Do it. Yao Yuan laughed coldly. No need. I know I will die. What do you want to know? I will tell you. Chen Fan's eyes narrowed. Then tell me first, why are you doing this? Yao Yuan smiled eerily. Because I'm not from the Yao family at all. My last name is Fong. And I have a single name. The word Su. Yao Qiji's pupils shrunk. You're actually a remnant of the Fong clan. How is this possible? Yao Qiji was shocked. Fong Su laughed coldly. The child born to Yao Shirtsong and that blind woman was switched on the day of his birth. Over the years, the Yao Yuan that your Yao family raised is exactly the remnants of the Fong family that your Yao family didn't get rid of back then. Ha ha ha, Yao Qijin. You should still remember that when you destroyed the Fong family back then, that pregnant wife of Fong Wenyue was not in the Fong residence. Yao Qijin gritted his teeth and said, No wonder you've done so much harm to my Yao family, so you're not from my Yao family's bloodline. Chen Fan and Dong Fang Shui, too, were somewhat surprised. I didn't realize that tracking down the man behind the curtain would turn up such a secret. Dong Fang Shui said angrily, You have a grudge against the Yao family. You can just take revenge on the Yao family. Why do you want to harm us? Fang Su grunted. Before the Fang family was destroyed, my father had asked for help from all of your clans, begging them to help make peace. But what about you? All of you refused to see my father, because it was your great clans, as well as the Qingzhou prefecture, that stood by and watched the Yao family's tyrannical behavior which led to the tragic destruction of my Fong family. 
Those of you who stood by and watched are also a bunch of apathetic bastards. Of course I'll retaliate against you. TSK, on the night of the moon pool, the young ladies and young masters of all the great families, all gathered on one boat. What a great opportunity for revenge. How could I let it go? It is a pity that. I didn't anticipate that the sect leader of the hallowed immortal Dao sect would want to search my soul. Otherwise, once I was left to die, you guys would have been able to find that suicide note from my room. By then, everyone will know that the black hand behind the night of Moonpool is Yao Yuan of the Yao family. Although Yao Yuan doesn't have much weight in the Yao family, how could the major clans and the Qingzhou prefecture let go of this great opportunity to carve up the Yao family in one fell swoop? Back then, although the Fong family was destroyed by the Yao family, your clans also took the opportunity to seize my Fong family's properties. Now, I want them to treat the Yao family like they treated my Fong family back then. I only hate that the sky is not as it should be. Just one more step. Chen Fan, you self-righteous bastard. It's all because you ruined my near-perfect revenge plan. And these, these are the truths you're looking for. Now, are you satisfied? Chen Fan narrowed his eyes and said, The disaster of the Fong family. This clan doesn't know what caused it and has no intention to ask. But there is a head for the grievances and a master for the debts. If you want to take revenge, you should just rely on your strength and seek revenge from the Yao family. Instead of wreaking havoc on innocent people. Ha ha ha. Do you think everyone is like you? Chen Fan? To have peerless strength at such a young age? If I were to rely on my strength, would I be able to destroy the Yao family? Since I know that my strength is insufficient. Naturally I can only find another way. Fong family? I'm the only one left. I can't impulsively take risks. I can only plan carefully. Even if I'm destined to die, I'll drag the Yao family along with me. Fong Su laughed maniacally. Chen Fan said indifferently. The sect believes all that you have said, but your accomplice, you have yet to say. Fong Su grunted, I don't have an accomplice, the only reason I was able to manipulate them was because I mixed the soul lost grass into the incense on the ship, when they all passed out, I fed them the beast lust pill, making them become ravenous beasts in heat under the state of soul loss, you're really worse than an animal. Dong Fong Shui scolded with tears in her eyes, Fong Su laughed coldly, if you want to blame it, blame it on your elders, who are also animals like me, ha ha ha. If it wasn't for the ferocity of the Yao family, if it wasn't for the indifference of the various clans, why would I be like this in my life? Fong Su, I also want to live like a normal person, but you all, before I was born, ruined my life's peace. Dong Fong Shua pursed her lips and was speechless. Yao Qiji was even more sinister with his eyes, always wanting to shut Fong Su up forever. Chen Fan said indifferently, it is true that the grudges between martial cultivators cannot be counted clearly, but in the matter of the night of the moon pool, you are guilty beyond pardon. Hoomph. Since I've already been recognized by a meddling scumbag like you, I don't think I can still live. Come on, kill me. That way I can go see my real parents. I've been missing them for more than 20 years. Fong Su laughed maniacally, but tears fell across his face. Chen Fan narrowed his eyes and said, Your parents are both dead. And who switched you and Yao Yuan back then? Fong Su grunted. It was an old servant of my Fong family. But some years ago, he had already died of illness. Chen Fan, I have truthfully given you the truth. You can also use this to make a name for your immortal Dao sect. Chen Fan narrowed his eyes and said, Do you really think that the sect interfered in just for the truth of the night of the moon pool? Fang Su's eyes trembled slightly as he said, Then what exactly are you after? Chen Fan said indifferently, I didn't want to pry into those sordid memories of yours, but since you're trying so hard to hide them, I can only search your soul personally. Boom! Chen Fan's soul power violently surged out and forcefully poured into Fang Su's soul sea. Instantly, all sorts of cluttered memories flashed by in Chen Fan's soul consciousness. Soon, Chen Fan found Fang Su's memories of that night in the moon pool. After a long time, Chen Fan withdrew from Fang Su's soul sea. But, a mouthful of blood sprayed out from Fang Su, and his person fell to the ground in a daze. Ha, hey, even if you know all of them, so what? Can you beat them? You're just getting yourself into trouble. Fang Su laughed miserably. Chen Fan said indifferently, at least, your memories let me know that Xiao Shui is still innocent. Dong Fang Shui was full of consternation. I am still innocent? How is this possible? Yao Qiji was also dismayed. Could it be that Fang Su was suffering from a hidden disease? Or was it a lie that Chen Fan had deliberately fabricated in order to relieve Dong Fang Shui? Chen Fan laughed. Perhaps even you don't know that you have long been the white moonlight in Fang Su's heart. Although he is very maniacal, the only thing he can't bear to hurt you, or rather, he did not want to get you in that situation. The discomfort in your body was caused by a woman using a candle while leaving the passenger ship. A woman? In that case, he really does have an accomplice. Yao Qiji exclaimed. Chen Fan narrowed his eyes and said, Not only is there one, but there is more than one. 
Chapter 199, Thunderbolt from Heaven. Dong Fong Shui and Yao Qiji were both shocked. Yao Qiji, in particular, had a touch of fear in addition to shock. Little scum, tell old me who they are. Will they be unfavorable to my Yao family? Yao Qiji rushed over and grabbed Fong Su's collar, asking with his bare eyes. Just now, Fong Su was even questioning Chen Fan's strength against these people. If even Chen Fan couldn't handle those associates of Fong Su, how could the Yao family fight? With blood hanging from the corner of his mouth, Fong Su laughed morosely. Your Yao family will definitely be exterminated. Even if you subscribe to the Immortal Dao sect, it won't change the Yao family's ultimate fate. Yao Qiji's pupils suddenly shrunk. He couldn't help but look at Chen Fan and asked in horror, Patriarch, are those people really that powerful? Chen Fan shook his head and said, Actually, with his memories, he doesn't know much about that force. However, there are mixed fish and dragons amongst that force. There are spiritual Dao martial practitioners as well as devil sect powerhouses, so it is indeed not easy to deal with. Yao Qiji hurriedly said, Doesn't the sovereign already know some of them now? We can absolutely kill these people first as a way to weaken this force, without waiting for Chen Fan to answer. Fong Su sneered, even he, Chen Fan, knows that when you kill someone to seize a treasure, you need to wear a mask, how could we not know, the only one he knows is me, even if more than a dozen people appeared in my memory, he wouldn't know who all these people are, Yao Qijin's eyes trembled, Chen Fan said in a deep voice, it is indeed as he said, this group of people, they are cautious, in this matter, I need to discuss with the prefecture master as soon as possible and plan ahead, boo, with a wave of his hand, Chen Fan swept out a wave of spiritual energy and knocked Fong Su out. Take him with you and go to the mansion master's mansion. Chen Fan said in a cold voice. Yao Qiji hurriedly carried Fong Su. Soon, the few people arrived at the house master's residence. Chen Fan told Fong Wanchi all the information he had found out. And, based on Fong Su's memories, a kind of black eagle wing mask was drawn. This kind of eagle wing mask should have some special significance. Have they ever appeared in Qingzhou? Chen Fan asked. Fong Wanchi shook his head. It has never appeared, or at least, I don't know about it. How did a small character like Fong Su join this force? Fong Wanchi asked in disbelief. Two years ago, Chui Ting, an old servant of the Fong family, brought a woman to meet with Fong Su before he died. It was also at this time that Fong Su first came into contact with this force. Fong Su trusted Chui Ting, and since the other party promised him that he would take revenge on the clans of Qingzhou for him, Fong Su agreed to join this force without any hesitation. But so far, he is only a peripheral member amongst this force, so the knowledge is very limited, Chen Fan said. Chen Fan hesitated and smiled bitterly. There is one more thing that, when I say it, I'm afraid it will shock the entire Qingzhou city. Feng Wanqi also said with a bitter expression on his face, with so many things happening one after another. What else could shock me more? Chen Fan took a deep breath and said, if we hadn't searched Feng Su's memories, we wouldn't have been able to imagine how crazy these people are. Patriarch Chen. What exactly is the matter? Feng Xianting curiously prodded. Chen Fan said in a low voice, The truth of the night of the moon pool is much more than what Feng Su said. Those women who were bullied that night were not carrying the blood of the young masters of the various clans at all. Those masked women on the boat also likely took the bloodline of the young masters of the various clans away. Chen Fan's words were like a shocking thunderbolt. The crowd that heard the voice stared in unison. Those bastards. Feng Wanqi cursed out angrily. In that case, that night's frenzy didn't happen between the young masters and young ladies of the various clans in Qingzhou at all. Rather, these young masters and young ladies were all bullied by those who conspired with Feng Su. The Feng family's bloodline would also likely flow into this force because of Feng Xuanye. Such an appalling conspiracy of sowing and borrowing seeds, if Chen Fan hadn't said it, they really couldn't have imagined it. Dong Feng Shui's face, a burst of pale, she said in a trembling voice, Patriarch, you, really didn't lie to me? I, I really wasn't bullied? Chen Fan nodded and said, You can already face everything that has happened openly, so there is no need for me to lie to you anymore. This is also considered Fong Su's one thought of kindness. Those unpleasant words he said before were just to provoke you to kill him. Dong Fong Shui breathed a sigh of relief in her heart. But the thought, that he had been broken by a candle, was also bitter and inexplicable. This is a matter that must be kept quiet. It must never be mentioned again. Otherwise, if it gets out, the entire Qingzhou will be reduced to a laughing stock. Feng Wanqi gritted his teeth. Dong Feng Shui and Yao Qiji hurriedly bowed and responded. Dong Feng Shui, old man, will definitely keep his mouth shut. Feng Wanqi's eyes narrowed coldly. Xin Ting, later on, you will go to the heads of the families of those pregnant women and tell them that they must remove their children. Back in the day, this mistress will pair them up and bestow a marriage to put this all back on track. Yes, father. Feng Xin Ting agreed. 
Feng Wanji looked at Chen Fan and said gratefully, Patriarch Chen, thanks to you again this time. These truths, if they were revealed and spread by Feng Su, Xingzhou would be even more chaotic. Chen Fan arched his hand and said, You're welcome, Prefect. In fact, to investigate this matter, I also have a selfish motive. Oh, Feng Wanji was surprised. Chen Fan immediately told the middle-aged man of the immortal infant realm, instructing Tu Sanshir to deal with the Chen family. I actually wanted to bring this person out, but after Tu Sanshir, this person seemed to have no more plots against me, so I had no choice but to look for a breakthrough from these recent events. I didn't expect that the middle-aged man was not found, but this mysterious force was implicated instead. Feng Wangqi laughed. No matter what, Patriarch Chen has done my Feng family a great favor. Tomorrow, my master will announce to the public that Yao Yuan of the Yao family was behind the night at the moon pool. The cause was that Yao Yuan was in love with Dong Feng Shui and could not get what he wanted. So he used a treacherous plan and used the phase of mass chaos to hide his evil purpose. Yao Qijin's face swished white as he hurriedly said, Mistress of the house, he is Feng Su, not my Yao family's Yao Yuan Ah. If you make such a declaration, my Yao family will surely suffer the wrath of the clans. Feng Wangqi said with an icy face, for this matter, I can only aggrieve your Yao family. Moreover, Feng Su has been lurking in your Yao family, yet you don't know anything about it, so it can't be considered as much of an aggravation. Most importantly, if not, do you want to declare the real truth, to the public? Yao Qijin's eyes trembled and he could not help but look at Chen Fan for help. Chen Fan was silent for a moment and said, Mansion Master, in fact, Fong Su's identity can be made public. Everything that happened on the boat can also be explained with the same rhetoric that Fong Su had made up before, that he had used the lost soul grass and beast lust pill to plot that ridiculous night. Making Fong Su's identity public will also minimize the impact on the Yao family. To a minimum, Fong Wangqi frowned. I'm afraid that those clans will follow Fong Su's identity and dig deeper ah. In the event that the investigation leads to Chui Ting, and then from Chui Ting to that force, I'm afraid that it will lead to a lot of trouble. I'd admire them if they did find out anything. And, aren't those clues what we want? Chen Fan laughed. Feng Wangqi saw that Chen Fan was desperately trying to defend the Yao family, so he only laughed and said, Fine, then let's follow Patriarch Chen's words and end this in the name of Feng Su. Chapter 200, Wang Xiao Jun. Yao Qiji was self-grateful to Chen Fan. Prefect, then what is Feng Su going to do? Dong Feng Shui glanced at the unconscious Feng Su and asked Feng Wangqi. Feng Wangqi smiled grimly raised his hand and blasted a palm towards Fong Su's head. Boo! There was an explosive sound and blood splattered everywhere. Dong Fong Shui's face turned pale. Of course we can't give him another chance to have an opening. This kind of thief, killing him a hundred times won't be enough. Men, drag him down. Drag his body to feed the demon wolves. Fong Wanchi coldly ordered. Chen Fan's eyes narrowed slightly. Was this the other side of the Fong family? Fong Wanchi in a rage. His cold nature was revealed. Prefect. If there is any news of that middle-aged immortal infant realm, please also inform me. If there is nothing else, we will take our leave first. Chen Fan arched his hand and smiled. Good. If there is any news of that person, this mansion master has already informed and will request the old ancestor to help you take this person down. Feng Wanchi said smilingly. Thanks a lot. Ha. Between you and me, what's the point of being polite? After leaving the prefecture master's mansion, Yao Qiji bowed deeply to Chen Fan. Many thanks, patriarch. For speaking up for the Yao family in front of the prefecture master just now. I am grateful. Yao Qijin sincerely said. Chen Fan smiled lightly. Since the Yao family has affiliated with our clan. Our clan naturally cannot sit back and watch. You should also go back. I'm sure you have quite a few things to take care of. Then the old man will take his leave. Yao Qiji bowed and retreated. Chen Fan and Dong Feng Shui walked back towards the Dong Feng family. Dong Feng Shui pursed her lips. She didn't want to bring up the matter of the night of the moon pool again but she was curious about how Chen Fan found out that Fong Su had problems. Master, how did you see that Fong Su has a problem? It couldn't be just because he broke a porcelain in a panic, right? Dong Fong Shui asked. Chen Fan narrowed his eyes and said, Have you ever thought that that porcelain, it's likely that he broke it on purpose? Dong Fong Shui was stunned. He deliberately aroused your suspicion? Chen Fan shook his head. At that time, he didn't know that I was also present. He was trying to arouse your suspicion and end up dying at your hands. And then finally, through that letter, part of the truth of the night of the moon pool would be uncovered by you. Think about it, for him to be able to lurk in the Yao family for so many years, he is bound to be a person with an extremely deep city. Wouldn't he panic and lose his temper so easily and arouse suspicion? Dong Fong Shui sighed at his words and said, He is the only one left in the Fong family. Is it really worth it for him to do this? Chen Fan shook his head and said, This kind of question, 
Different people will have different answers in their hearts. How much do you know about what happened to the Fang family back then? Dong Fang Shui said. Rather, I have heard from the clan. 24 years ago, the Fang family was a family with medium strength in Qingzhou City, because Fang Xiao, the youngest master of the Fang family, killed one of the first sons of the Yao family by mistake during an argument, thus causing the Yao family to be enraged. Fang Xiao refused to admit his fault, and a few days later, the Yao family killed the entire Fang family. Previously, the Fang family did beg the various clans to help resolve this feud. However, the Fang family is only a medium family, and the various clans were naturally unwilling to offend the furious Yao family to speak for the Fang family. Chen Fan said in a low voice, The world is cold and the hearts of the people are thin, and in the martial arts world, it is even more so. I'm afraid it's not just because I don't want to offend the Yao family, but also because, like Fang Su said, once the Fang family is destroyed, the various clans will be able to nibble away at their industries as well. Right? Dong Fang Shui blushed slightly and said, Perhaps there are also thoughts in this regard. It's not uncommon for clans to fight each other openly and secretly, to die if they lose, and to prosper if they win. Chen Fan asked, Then do you hate Fang Su? Hate? Dong Fang Shui said without hesitation, but also some sympathy. The next day, Fang Wanqi summoned all the clans in the city outside the gate of his residence. Bring Fang Su's crimes to light. The city was in an uproar. The victimized clans had looked angrily at Yao Qijin, demanding that the Yao family give an explanation for what Fang Su had done. Yao Qijin could only complain that the Yao family had also been hoodwinked by Fang Su for a long time. When the clans demanded compensation, Yao Qiji said that the Fang family's properties that were divided up by the clans back then were enough to cover the compensation. The races ate their anger and hatred. Thinking that the Yao family was still covered by the immortal Dao sect, they didn't dare to go too far. Moreover, Fang Su was ultimately a member of the Fang family, not the Yao family, and they can't blackmail the Yao family for compensation. In the end, the clans got part of the truth. After all, it was the truth declared by the house master himself, and not many people dared to question it. Subsequently, Fang Wanqi will be victimized by the family heads of the various clans, led into the residence, discussing the matter of marriage. Chen Fan was not involved in any of this. He came before an ordinary family in the middle of the city. This gentleman, may I ask who you are looking for? The portal was pulled open, and an ordinary looking woman asked with some caution in her eyes. Chen Fan smiled lightly and said, Looking for you. The woman's face changed and she said, The woman doesn't know the gentleman. What does the gentleman want with the woman? Chen Fan said indifferently, Came to give you a funeral report. Tu Sancher is dead. I killed him. The woman's eyes trembled, but she forced herself to calm down and said, The woman doesn't know any Tu Sancher. Your Excellency must have found the wrong person. Chen Fan said indifferently, I searched Tu Sanchi's soul. The woman's face instantly turned white knowing that she couldn't hide it any longer, and immediately pleaded in a trembling voice, just please, don't hurt my children, they are innocent, mother, who are you talking to, a man's voice, came from inside the house, followed by a youth, striding over, no one, a little brother, inquiring about things, the woman hurriedly babbled, her eyes kept looking at Chen Fan with pleading eyes, Chen Fan swept a glance at the youth, but he had the cultivation of the foundation establishment realm in his body, as soon as the youth pulled Wang Xiaoyi away from him, he himself faced Chen Fan directly and narrowed his eyes. What do you want to inquire about? Tell me. Maybe I can tell you. As the youth spoke, his right hand lifted in vain and a spirit mass coalesced. The corner of his mouth, hooked up with a touch of gloom, seemed to be threatening Chen Fan. Chen Fan laughed. Engaging in these little maneuvers behind your mother's back, could it be that your mother still doesn't know that you are a martial arts cultivator? The youth's face changed as he gritted his teeth and said, it seems you didn't come to inquire about things. Boom. The spirit mass gathered in the youth's palm instantly blasted towards Chen Fan. However, his spirit ball, which was clearly exploding in front of Chen Fan's chest. Chen Fan was not blasted back half a step. Jun. Wang Xiaoyi exclaimed. Wang Xiaojun also looked at Chen Fan in horror and said in a trembling voice. What in the world are you? You? Chen Fan indifferently said. It seems there is no need for either of us to hide. Then invite me in for a good talk. Wang Xiaojun gritted his teeth. Knowing that he was not the hands of the man in front of him, he could only say, This is Qingzhou City. You'd better not mess around. If you cooperate a bit, I won't mess around. Chen Fan said indifferently. Hoof. Wang Xiaojun snorted coldly and turned to Wang Xiaoyi. Mother, go to the inner room and don't come out. Wang Xiaoyi looked at Chen Fan with tears in her eyes and said, This gentleman, the three of us really don't have anything to do with what that man did. Please be magnanimous and don't implicate my mother and son because of him. If someone has to pay for his life, the woman's cheap life. The gentleman can take it. 
I only beg the gentleman to spare my son and daughter's lives. Wang Xiaojuan's eyes trembled as he said excitedly, Mother, the him you speak of, could it be father? Didn't you say that father died when we were very young? Chapter 201, Caught in the Act Chen Fan's appearance was destined to bring about a change in the life of this ordinary family. However, the clues about that immortal infant realm middle-aged man were broken again, so Chen Fan could only come to Tu Sanchi's family to try his luck. Old but clean yard. Chen Fan and Wang Xiaojun were sitting one by one on a stake cut off from a thick piece of wood. Wang Xiaojun's eyes were not good, but his heart was nervous. Wang Xiaoyi didn't answer his question, but he knew that the man should be his father, and his father, the youth in front of him should know. Who is your master? Chen Fan opened his mouth and asked. Wang Xiaojun sneered. Why should I tell you? Chen Fan's lips hooked as he sneered. Do you think I look like a good person? I would advise you that every word you say afterward, in addition to telling the truth, the tone of your voice, it is best to be sensible as well. Chen Fan's words made Wang Xiaojun feel doubly threatened, but he was not as strong as others, so he could only grit his teeth and endure. I've never met my master. When I was 13 years old, a man placed a secret book and a bag of spirit stones on my bedside. He also left a letter saying that he was a close friend of my late father, but because my father and him both had too many enemies, it was inconvenient to tell me his identity. Wang Xiaojun said, and from the Xian Kong ring, he took out an envelope. The envelope is a little old. Chen Fan pulled out the letter paper inside, which was wrinkled and old, yellowish in color, and frayed at the edges. I'm sure that Wang Xiaojun has looked through this letter paper countless times. The content of the letter is also generally the same as what Wang Xiaojun said. Chen Fan was certain that the person who wrote this letter was Tu Sanchi himself, because in Tu Sanchi's Xian Kong ring, there were still a few family letters that hadn't been sent out, and the characters were written in the same ugly way. Do you know my father? Wang Xiaojun said in a deep voice. Chen Fan said indifferently, I will answer your questions after you have answered all my questions. Wang Xiaojun frowned. What do you want to know from me? Chen Fan narrowed his eyes and said, Have you ever seen a middle-aged man who, outwardly, looks, a little bit elegant? Is there a portrait? Wang Xiaojun asked. Chen Fan shook his head. There is no portrait. If you have seen him, you should be able to sense that he is not an ordinary middle-aged man. Wang Xiaojun shook his head. Never seen it. Yet he knows you all well. Think about it again. Chen Fan said in a deep voice. Wang Xiaojun frowned as he thought about it. But the answer he finally gave was still that he hadn't seen it. Chen Fan believed that Wang Xiaojun wouldn't tell lies because Wang Xiaojun was still thinking of getting news about Tu Sancher from him. Call out your mother and sister and ask them if they've seen it. Chen Fan said. Wang Xiaojun was a little hesitant. Chen Fan said indifferently. If I were to harm them, do you think it would be useful for them to hide in the house? Wang Xiaojun's expression sank. At this time, Wang Xiaoyi let a 16 or 17 year old woman open the door and walked out. This gentleman, the woman has never seen a middle aged man like that either. Wang Xiaoyi said. I haven't seen it either. Wang Xiaoyu timidly whispered. Chen Fan was a little disappointed. Also, that guy must not be a good person, but he shouldn't really come to make things difficult for an ordinary family. From now on, live your lives well. As for your father, you don't need to know who he is. Just know that he is a rotten and evil person to others. But to you, he has been extremely protective. Chen Fan got up and said indifferently. Wang Xiaojun swished up, his eyes red with rage. You say my father is a rotten man. Is he a rotten man? Who the hell are you and what gives you the right to talk about my father like that? Jun. Your father, he, is really not a good person. Wang Xiaoyi said painfully, Mother, then tell me who he really is. My father, whether he is good or bad, I should always know who my father is. Wang Xiaojun roared. Chen Fan indifferently walked towards the outside. How Wang Xiaoyi introduces Tu Sancher is a matter for their mother and son. On Chen Fan's way back to the Eastern family, an audio message suddenly reached his ears. Patriarch, my subordinate has something urgent to report. Say, half an hour ago. A man killed his way into the Spirit Fist sect. If we rush over there now, we might still run into the murderer. Dong Qing said in an urgent voice. Chen Fan's eyes lit up. Finally, there is good news. You don't have to follow. Keep gathering news. Sovereign intends to go alone? I'm afraid this will be dangerous. Dong Qing said anxiously. Chen Fan laughed. No harm done. This clan can handle it. Follow the order. Yes. Dong Qing only agreed. Ever since the four clans were destroyed, Dong Qing guessed that the murderer wouldn't stop there, so he had arranged for Dark Strikers people to keep an eye on the vicinity of the clans, and once he found out that someone had killed someone in a certain clan, he would send back the news as fast as he could. It was a pity that the Dark Frontal member responsible for staking out the Spirit Fist sect was a Spirit Lake Realm. Even if he had rushed extremely hard, 
By the time he had passed the news to Dong Chang, half an hour had already passed. Swish, Chen Fan's figure flashed and suddenly disappeared from the streets of Qingzhou City. Although he had never been to the Spirit Fist sect, since the last time he attended the birthday banquet of Old Man Linghu, Chen Fan had gotten a full map of Qingzhou. The locations of some of the larger forces in Qingzhou were marked on the map. Swish, as soon as he left the city, Chen Fan's speed skyrocketed. In a flash, dozens of miles across the air. Such a good opportunity can't be missed. Chen Fan's eyes narrowed coldly. In less than half a tea's time, Chen Fan moved through the air and arrived over the Lion Face Mountain. And this was exactly where the mountain gate of the Spirit Fist sect was situated. Chen Fan had just arrived when he smelled the scent of blood wafting through the air. As far as the naked eye could see, there were scattered and fragmented corpses all over the Lion Faced Mountain. And in the center of the top peak of Lion Face Mountain, a person wearing a black robe with an eagle wing mask on his face was sitting cross legged with a bizarre black bead the size of a fist suspended in front of him, countless soul chi, between the eagle-winged masked man's hand stacking seals, was madly pouring into the black bead, he he, deserves to be a juvenile heavenly pride, patriarch Chen is very fast, evil laughter came from the top of the mountain, Chen Fan said in a cold voice, so you slaughtered the five clans in order to absorb the power of their souls, tsk, since you caught me red-handed, I have nothing to deny, however, I still have to advise you not to make an enemy of us, it's unwise, the eagle-winged man laughed, his voice, somewhat feminine, should not be very old, Chen Fan narrowed his eyes and said, but I want to see what that face under your mask looks like, swish, as soon as the words fell, Chen Fan suddenly swept and moved, and the wind expelling immortal sword flashed out in his hand, heaven's punishment sword of execution, boom, the sword on leaped a thousand feet, and crushed towards the top of the eagle-winged man's head with a roar, in the eyes of the eagle-winged man, the gloomy and stern color flashed, and he had to end absorbing the power of the souls of the dead, and with a move of his right hand, he put the black beads into the Xian Kong ring, and the whole person hurriedly disappeared into a black light, avoiding Chen Fan's furious chopping of a sword, boom, the sword light landed with a loud bang, when the smoke and dust cleared, the 10 meter deep sword mark cut a thousand meter long gully on the top of Lion Face Mountain, at the ends of the long ravine, fine cracks, moreover, stretched from the top of the mountain, to the mountainside, indeed very demonic, this growth rate of yours is truly shocking to the extreme, I'm sure your soul power must be very considerable as well. In the void, the eagle-winged man sneered. Chapter 202 Broken Divine Soul Sword Chen Fan's eyes were icy cold and without any nonsense, he once again rushed towards the eagle-winged masked man with his sword. The eagle-winged masked man also snorted coldly, and a pair of twin swords actually appeared between his hands resting on them. Wind tornado, boom, boom, the dual swords slashed out angrily, and two powerful sword chi as if they were swirling in a gale, rushed towards Chen Fan side by side, Chen Fan slashed his sword horizontally, and the powerful sword Qi, swept out of the sword in an arc, like a monstrous wave, blasted and crashed into the two incoming sword Qi rolls, boom, boom, the horizontally rushing sword Qi, and the straight rushing sword Qi volume, violently collided above the void in an instant, with a loud sound, the two sword Qi rolls that had originally had an astonishing momentum were swept and burst apart by Chen Fan's sword Qi that cut across them, the eagle wing masked man's pupils shrunk, and he hurriedly swung his two swords crosswise and chopped, and two sword chi rushed out diagonally, intersecting Chen Fan's residual sword momentum. Boom! In the middle of the rumble, the remnants of Chen Fan's sword momentum was just completely blown away. It seems like you really have stepped into the immortal infant realm, the eagle winged masked man said in a cold voice. Chen Fan said coldly, You have a bit too much nonsense. Swish! With a flash of sword light, Chen Fan even brought his sword with him and rushed and shot over again. Up, immediately, the eagle wing masked man, his right hand lifted up the black orb, and immediately countless silhouettes, bursting up from the ground, crashed towards Chen Fan, Chen Fan's eyes were startled, these figures, all of them, are those dead bodies on the ground, this bizarre black orb could actually manipulate the corpses below, although the rush of these corpses didn't have much of an attack, there was no guarantee that the other side was harboring any underhanded tricks, so Chen Fan had no intention of letting these corpses get close to him, Three Mountain Spirit Seal. Chen Fan let out a low gulp and struck downward with a palm shock. Boom! A powerful circle of spiritual energy fluctuations shook out, instantly covering a 10 mile radius of the long sky. Shun! Boom! As the palm print pressed down, the terrifying spiritual energy shook and sank downward rapidly. Boom boom boom! In an instant, blood rained down and corpses exploded in unison. Thousands of corpses, turned into roiling blood and water, died the entire Spirit Fist sect with a layer of blood and red frost, 
The eagle-winged masked man obviously did not expect that not only was Chen Fan's sword skill powerful, but the power of his pawn seal was also so terrifying. Hoomph. Squandering your spiritual energy like this, even if you've entered the immortal infant realm, let's see how long you can last. Chi Men lead soul. Soul devouring beast shadow. Put. In a low roar, the eagle-winged masked man leapt towards the black bead in his palm and sprayed a mouthful of blood. Now. Seeing that Chen Fan had shocked thousands of corpses and was about to rush to the eagle-winged masked man, a dark red light and shadow violently rushed out from the black bead body and blasted Chen Fan straight in front of him. Hoomph. Chen Fan let out a low snort. Let him have his devious tactics. I will cut it with my sword. Heaven's punishment sword of execution. When he strikes, it is the strongest sword move. Chen Fan wasn't interested in playing any cat and mouse games with the other party. Moreover, the other party's aura was clearly an immortal infant realm as well. It's a good idea to go all out and get it over with. Boom. The powerful sword light that looked out of the corner of one's eye, angrily blasted out. But just when the sword light was about to chop up the dark red air column, the dark red air column actually split into two on its own, clashing to both sides, once again avoiding Chen Fan's surefire sword skill. Boom. When the sword light fell down, the two dark red gas pillars flew together into one place, and in the rapid writhing, transformed into a dark red illusory beast shadow. This beast shadow, like the form of a Tao Wu, roared wildly, causing Chen Fan's soul sea to tremble. Chen Fan, even though you are extremely talented and have strong battle skills, in front of the soul devouring beast, you will only end up being swallowed by the soul snatching beast. The eagle wing masked man laughed coldly. Chen Fan said in a cold voice, you should have been a mute in your previous life to be so talkative in this life. The eagle winged masked man's eyes sank, and he grunted, I see you as a rare genius, and only then will I respect you a few points but since you don't know what's good for you, then suffer death. Roar! The dark red soul devouring beast shadow openly rushed at Chen Fan with a wild whistle. A terrifying black and red sound pattern impacted towards Chen Fan. The sound pattern, which took the form of a horn, covered an extremely wide area, and unless Chen Fan utilized the art of shifting, he would not be able to avoid it at all. But once he moved, the eagle-winged masked man would have enough time to leave this place. Chen Fan had managed to find this person with great difficulty. So naturally, he would not let him escape. Boom boom boom. Layers of soul power sound waves, one after another, attacked and surged, impacting Chin Fan's soul sea with a tremor. His body, all of it, appeared to shake. It was as if the soul was unstable and the physical body was difficult to control. However, the eagle wing masked man was smiling coldly and did not take advantage of the opportunity to rush towards Chin Fan. Instead, he swung his twin swords through the air and blasted out two flying dragon scrolls again impacting towards Chen Fan. Chen Fan frowned. This eagle-winged masked man was much more cautious than he thought. Boom! Chen Fan swung his sword in his hand, and with a strong sword light, he once again swept and chopped at the two incoming wind dragon scrolls. Boom! Boom! A sword crossed the sky, and the two dragons exploded in unison. Hoomph! Do you think I'm that easy to fool? Although the power of my sword technique is not as good as yours, if I didn't have some brains, do you think someone like me would still be alive today? The eagle wing masked man laughed playfully. Chen Fan's eyes narrowed. You are indeed a bit smart. Since that's the case, then I'll break this soul devouring beast shadow of yours. And then I'll kill you. God breaking soul blade. Chop. Boom. In an instant, the soul power in Chen Fan's soul see rushed out crazily, gathering in the air above his head, transforming into a black soul power blade shadow. The eagle wing masked man's pupils couldn't help but tremble fiercely when he saw that this soul blade was actually able to coalesce and take shape despite the impact of the soul devouring beast's shadow soul power. This kid, what kind of freak is that? Not only is the spirit power exceptionally pure and majestic, even the soul power is so solid and powerful. Such a soul spirit double mastery, among the same realm, absolutely no one will be able to defeat the sun. While the eagle winged masked man was shocked in his heart, he also clenched his teeth fiercely and made a decision. Swish. With a thought, he drove the soul-devouring beast shadow to charge and pounce at Chen Fan, while he himself, with a flash of his body, instantly moved through the air to disappear. Chen Fan, you've ruined my ten years of work, I'll definitely find you again in the future to settle today's account. An angry afterimage that echoed out, the eagle-winged masked man had already stormed dozens of miles away. Boom! Behind him, there was a loud rumbling sound. Put! The eagle-winged masked man tilted his body and opened his mouth to spray out a stream of blood. Sure enough, the soul-devouring beast shadow can't withstand the power of that soul blade's one strike. Luckily I was decisive enough. Otherwise, I'm afraid that I'll have to fold in this kid's hands today. The eagle-winged masked man gritted his teeth, wiped a handful of blood from the corner of his mouth, and was about to continue fleeing when he suddenly shrank his eyes fiercely. 
How could he come after us so fast? Boom! Eagle Wing Masked Man just sacrificed a powerful spiritual power. Defense, at the same time, was about to swing the sword chopped to the back, but felt that the flesh was a soft not soft not hard things, poof, through the chest through, asterisk 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 asterisk, the eagle winged masked man's face was hard to see, and he frantically gathered spirit to the place of the wound, wanting to heal the wound at a rapid pace, but he was shocked to find that at the wound, there was an extremely scorching sword she attached to it, not only was his spiritual energy unable to heal the wound, the wound's injuries, which were still expanding rapidly, went straight to the vitals of his internal organs. Chapter 203, Under the Mask. What the hell is this? The eagle-winged masked man's face was ugly as he looked, not far in front of him, at what looked like a long lump of red mud. It was this very thing that caused the party to erupt with a searing sword chi, like a red-hot iron, piercing through his flesh. Luckily, he reacted fast enough to avoid the vitals in his haste. However, this is only temporary. If he was unable to dissolve the burning sword chi from his wound, this burning sword chi would soon surge into his internal organs. We can't be held back by this thing. We have to get out of here as soon as possible. The eagle-winged masked man gritted his teeth and said darkly. Chen Fan had already broken the soul-devouring beast shadow and would soon catch up. Swish. The eagle-winged masked man's figure had just moved. And the flying flame sword tire followed suit. Emitting a burning crimson sword aura. Once again stabbing the eagle-winged masked man head on. Get the fuck out of here. The eagle wing masked man roared in anger as his dual sword slashed at the flying fire sword tire. Boom! The dual sword sword chi was like twin dragons rushing into the air. Extremely extraordinary in its power. Whoosh! But in an instant, the flying fire sword tire had strangely disappeared. The eagle winged masked man's pupils shrunk. This thing, it has the ability to vanish? Boom! As the eagle winged masked man was shocked, fire suddenly came crashing down on him, intent on piercing the other side of his chest. Golden body spirit armor. Boom! At the time of the crisis, layers of golden light seeped out from the eagle-winged masked man's body, transforming into a golden armor completely condensed by spiritual energy, covering his body. Put. But what shocked the eagle-winged masked man was that even though he had sacrificed his golden body spirit armor, he still couldn't escape being pierced through. The scorching sword chi, almost unhindered, broke through the golden armor, and with a scalding heat and charred smell, pierced straight through his flesh. The eagle-winged masked man was completely horrified. If, this thing just went through his head, would he still be alive? Swish, a silhouette, like a meteor, flashed instantly and landed a hundred meters behind the eagle-winged masked man. Chen Fan beckoned, and the flying fire sword tire transformed into a stream of crimson fluid, like magma, which did not enter his body. You can't escape, Chen Fan indifferently said. The eagle-winged masked man gave a hideous smile and turned to look at Chen Fan. TSK. Worthy of being the most demonically gifted character in the green state for tens of thousands of years. It is really quite something. Can you tell me what that thing just now? What kind of tactic was it? Chen Fan said disdainfully. Will telling you make you obediently tie your hands? The eagle-winged masked man laughed evilly. Chen Fan, you might be mistaken. We are not enemies. Chen Fan narrowed his eyes and said. But it definitely won't be the same way. The eagle wing mask on the masked man's face had proved that this person was in the same group as the one who had caused the kind of absurdity on the night of the moon pool. Ha, even though we're not all the way, we have a common enemy, the eagle winged masked man said. Chen Fan raised his eyebrows lightly. Oh, you and I would actually have a common enemy? Then I would like to know who this common enemy is? The eagle winged masked man spat out three words. Fong Wan snap. Chen Fan sneered. Full of nonsense. I have no grievances or enmity with Fong Wan snapdragon. How could he be my enemy? Ha! <laughs> no grievances? TSK? Then what if I tell you that the person who killed your big brother Chen Ping was him? The eagle winged face man laughed evilly. Chen Fan's pupils opened. Big brother was killed by Fong Wan Snapdragon? Chen Fan's heart trembled with anger, but he didn't lose his cool and asked in a chilling voice, You have evidence? The eagle winged masked man laughed. If I had the evidence, I would have found a way to send it to you long ago. And wouldn't I have watched you get closer and closer to the Fong family? Chen Fan said coldly. Then you think that I will believe you just based on a few words from you? The eagle wing masked man said. Although I have no proof, I have a way to make you believe. As long as you and I join forces, we will be able to take down Fong one snap. At that time, you only need to search his soul, and everything will naturally be revealed. Chen Fan laughed coldly. I'm only afraid that by that time, not only will I not get the truth I want, but I will also become a public enemy of Qingzhou and be wanted by Long Xia, just like you. The eagle-winged masked man laughed evilly. If you don't kill Fong Wan Snap, you'll never get the truth. Chen Fan laughed coldly. Since you are so sure that Fong Wan Snap is the murderer of my big brother, 
I think you must have memories about this in your mind. After I search your soul, I will be able to determine whether what you are saying is true or not. The eagle-winged masked man laughed. Search my soul? You're afraid that you won't have this chance. I'm not Fong Su. The reason why he can have his soul searched by you is because he's not yet a core member of our group. And there is no soul ban planted in his soul C. Once my soul C is attacked by an external force, it will explode with a bang. At that time, not only will you not be able to see the truth, but you will also be able to sense the message of my death by the people above me. At that time, more immortal infant powerhouses will surely pour into Qingzhou, and you and the various clans of Qingzhou will meet the most vicious retaliation. Chen Fan's eyes narrowed coldly. What kind of forces are you? The eagle-winged masked man laughed evilly. I can't say that, but you should know that we have never made a move against you or the immortal Dao sect, so why should you bother with this other people's idol business? Chen Fan said icily, the person who instructed Tu Sanshir to deal with my Chen family, wasn't it you? The eagle-winged masked man froze slightly. Tu Sanshir? Who is that? I do not recognize this person. Chen Fan said icily, I don't believe a word of your words. Why don't you take off your mask first and let's get to know each other properly? The eagle-winged masked man was silent for a moment, feeling the injuries within his body, which were already showing signs of not being able to be suppressed. He said in a deep voice, since you want to see my face, there's no harm in showing it to you. After saying that, the eagle-winged masked man slightly raised his hand and removed the eagle-winged mask from his face. Chen Fan frowned. The one who came into his eyes was actually a middle-aged young man with an unimpressive appearance, about 35 or 36 years old, although his age was a bit close. His temperament was extremely different from the one Tu Sancher remembered. Ha! From the look on your face, I don't suppose I'm the one you're looking for? The man laughed. Chen Fan said in a deep voice, Indeed not. However, it's impossible to make me let you go just like that. The man laughed. That's a shame. There's no way I'm going to betray anyone or any information to you in exchange for a chance to live. That would only lead to my death. Chen Fan thought for a moment and asked, Why did you conclude that it was Feng Wanchu who killed my elder brother? Although Chen Fan remained skeptical of the man's words, it was the only clue he had as of now. The man said, Because the year your elder brother died, I happened to be in Tiger Spirit City as well, and I even saw Feng Wan Snap. Everyone knows that Feng Wan Snap has been in seclusion for many years and rarely enters the world. At that time, I was still wondering how he appeared in Tiger Spirit City. It wasn't until later, when your talent came to the fore and you hit the ground running, that I gathered some information about you and learned that you had been pursuing the truth about your big brother's murder. On the same day of the same year, a person who shouldn't have appeared appeared on the outskirts of Tiger Spirit City. Do you think that this is a coincidence? Chapter 204 A Little Advice Chen Fan frowned. In that case, this is all just your speculation. The man laughed badly. It's too easy for a powerful martial cultivator to erase some traces. There are many things in this world that have no substantial evidence. The only evidence is the memories in the mind of the person acting. Chen Fan said icily, but it's also possible that you are trying to borrow this hatred of mine so that I can deal with Feng Wanchu. The man shrugged and hissed in pain out of the corner of his mouth. Both sides of his chest were pierced by the flying fire sword tires, and the shrugging of his shoulders caused him quite a bit of pain. It also reminded him that he couldn't delay any longer. Otherwise, there really wasn't even a chance of survival. You want to find out the truth. You'll just have to take a gamble. But if you don't want to mess with us, you better let me go. My life, in your eyes, is worthless, but the lives of the Chen clan and those of the immortal Dao sect, I'm sure you value them extremely. To take the lives of countless of your own family, friends, and sect disciples in order to kill an evil person who has no grudge against you, I think it's very unworthy. What do you think? The man narrowed his eyes. Chen Fan did not answer the man but asked, and what enmity do you have with Feng Wanchu? The man laughed coldly, if you let me go and see him again, tell him that Yuan Santon's descendant has returned, he will tell you the deep hatred with my Yuan family. Chen Fan frowned lightly, Yuan family? He had not heard of it. However, the things related to Feng Wan's snapdragon should all be things from an extremely long time ago. You go, Chen Fan indifferently said. The man was stunned, although he had been begging Chen Fan to spare him. He was really surprised when Chen Fan was willing to let him go. Are you seriously letting me go? The man asked suspiciously. Chen Fan coldly grunted. Maybe I'll change my mind soon. The man took a low breath, smiled and arched his hand. I didn't expect to be able to retrieve a life. Although I, Yuan Wuji, am not a good person. But today you spared my life. And in the next day, if I capture Feng Wanchu, I will leave him breathless and allow you to search his soul in return. After saying that, Yuan Wuji turned around and flew away without another word. Chen Fan's eyes narrowed slightly. There had been struggles and hesitations in his mind when he let Yuan Wuji go. As Yuan Wuji had said, this person was not a good thing, 
and if he was allowed to leave, many innocents would surely be poisoned by him. However, Yuan Wuji was already at the immortal infant realm cultivation, and the power behind him would be so powerful that it was difficult for Qin Fan to imagine. Putting countless people from the Chun clan and the immortal Dao sect in danger just to get rid of evil is also equally unjust. Moreover, Chen Fan had a strange feeling in his heart. He trusted what Yuan Wuji said more than he doubted it. Therefore, he kept Yuan Wuji alive and used him to test Feng Wanchu. If Yuan Wuji was able to gain the upper hand in the feud between these two, Chen Fan would enter the game and strike when Feng Wan Snap was about to die, saving Feng Wan Snap before searching his soul. If Yuan Wuji was not able to defeat Feng Wancho, before he died, Yuan Wuji would most likely also tell Feng Wancho what he believed to be the truth. In order to stimulate Feng Wancho to strike out at Chen Fan, if Chen Ping's death was really related to Feng Wancho, and Chen Fan learned about it, Feng Wancho would definitely be unable to sit still. If it had nothing to do with Feng Wancho, Feng Wancho would naturally not deal with Chen Fan for Yuan Wuji's absurd speculative words. As far as Chen Fan was concerned, there was no loss in sparing Yuan Wuji. The only price was that those who were about to die at the hands of Yuan Wuji were somewhat innocent. But he can't protect everyone. Phew. Chen Fan lightly exhaled a breath and swept towards Qingzhou City as a stream of light. After returning to the city, Chen Fan called Dong Qing to the apricot grove. As soon as Dong Qing arrived, he asked excitedly, Patriarch, have you met that person? Chen Fan nodded his head and said, Bump, he killed the people of the five clans in order to absorb the power of those people's souls. Dong Cheng, help me gather news about the feud between the Yuan and Feng families. Dong Cheng was surprised. Yuan family? Chen Fan nodded and said, Well, it should be quite a long time ago. Good. As long as this Yuan family has existed in Qingzhou City, my subordinate will definitely be able to find out. Dong Qing solemnly said, Hard work. Chen Fan laughed. There are two immortal spirit pills here. One for you and one to bestow on that messenger. These five bottles of true spirit pills. You keep them and distribute them to other meritorious members of the Dark Fronts. Chen Fan took out some pills and handed them to Dong Cheng. Dong Qing hurriedly said, Serving the Patriarch is our duty and the meaning of Dark Striker's existence. How can we be given a heavy reward? The immortal spirit pill, but a fifth grade elixir, was worth a lot of money. Even though Dong Qing's mouth was raw with saliva, he was too embarrassed to take it. After all, the reward was too generous. Chen Fan laughed. When there are merits, they will be rewarded. And when there are mistakes, they will be investigated. In this way, the Dark Fronts will be able to have a long term and serve the sect with more passion. Take it. Seeing Chen Fan say this, Dong Cheng was only excited to receive it and bowed. On behalf of the brothers of the Dark Front, my subordinate thanks the Patriarch. Well, continue to keep an eye on the movements in various parts of Qingzhou, but report any abnormalities to me. Chen Fan said. Yes, after Dong Cheng left, Chen Fan also went back to the Dongfang family. He didn't ask Dong Qing to send people to investigate the Feng family. Investigating the Feng family was too sensitive and could easily expose the Dark Front. If he wanted to investigate the Feng family, it was him who did so personally. I, Dong Feng Mu, seek an audience with Patriarch. Chen Fan had just returned not a moment later. Dong Feng Mu, who had gotten the news, came to the outside of Chen Fan's yard. Chen Fan smiled lightly and said, Come in. Eastern family master, this clan is also looking for you. Dong Fong Mu entered the courtyard, made a salute and smiled. Patriarch looking for the old man. Is there something you want to order the old man? Chen Fan laughed. There's nothing to command. It's just to bid you farewell. And the sect will be leaving later. Sovereign is returning to the immortal Dao sect? Dong Fong Mu froze. Although the mastermind behind the night of the moon pool had been uncovered, the destruction of the four clans and the killing of Situ Ji had not yet ended. And Dong Fang Mu had originally thought that Chen Fan would still stay for a long time. Chen Fan smiled lightly, and may not necessarily return to the sect. Go with your heart. Feel free to idle between heaven and earth. To see some people and things that can open the eyes of this sect. I just hope that I don't meet some unenlightened people again. He he, patriarch this state of mind. The old immortal is really difficult to reach. As the head of a clan, all around are mundane matters that cannot be thrown away. Dong Fang would bitter smile. Chen Fan laughed. What are you looking for this clan for? Dong Fang Mu hurriedly said. Ahem. About Yuki. Chen Fan was surprised. What happened to Dong Fang Shui? Dong Fang Mu sighed softly. Early this morning, the master of the house has already announced the events of the night of the moon pool to the public, and has also carried out marriages for the girls and young masters of the various clans, whether the clans are willing or unwilling. The people in these events have also been settled. Only little Snow, who was humiliated, has no place in her body. Chen Fan frowned lightly and asked, So, what do you want? 
This clan remembers telling you that Dongfang Shui's lifelong matters will be left for her to decide on her own in the future. Dongfang Mu hurriedly said, I'm not trying to interfere. I just have a small suggestion. Chen Fan said indifferently, What advice? Dongfang Mu hesitated, hardened his head and said, Xiao Shui is no longer intact. I'm afraid that it is difficult to meet a good man again. I can see that this child is very close to the patriarch. So how? About the patriarch to consider it. And how about accepting this child as a tripod? Dongfang Mu, do you believe that this clan will slap you and whip you from here to the street? Chen Fan angrily rebuked. Chapter 205 Secrets of the Past Dongfang Mu hurriedly said, Don't be angry, patriarch. I just pity this child. Xiao Shui is a child who is soft on the outside and hard on the inside. And after this, I'm afraid that it will be difficult to open her heart again for the rest of her life. Instead of letting her be alone for the rest of her life, it would be better to let her become the sect leader's cauldron. And in this way, it would be considered to have someone to keep her company. Chen Fan said in a cold voice, Time will fade everything. You won't have to worry about this matter. And I won't agree to it. Dongfang Mu sighed and said, Well, the old immortal won't say any more. The old immortal just saw that even Zhang Yun could have the honor of becoming the patriarch's cauldron, and thought that the patriarch would not dislike Xiao Shui. The corner of Chen Fan's mouth twitched. Was this considered dislike on his part? Talk about something else. Chen Fan narrowed his eyes. Let me ask you, do you know about the Yuan family? Dongfang Mu's face changed slightly as he hurriedly said, Patriarch, this Yuan family is a taboo. It's best not to mention it. Chen Fan raised an eyebrow and with a wave of his hand, he shrouded down a prohibition that encompassed the two of them. It's not taboo to say anything now. Tell me what you know. Chen Fan said. Dongfang Mu didn't dare to ask Chen Fan why he was suddenly interested in the Yuan family. It only said, about a hundred years ago, there was a family in Red Maple City that suddenly rose strongly. And in less than 10 years, a family produced four strong holding Dan Realm practitioners in a row, with a strength comparable to that of a medium-sized clan. This family is the Yuan family. The Yuan family has risen too quickly, causing countless people to redden their eyes. Even the 10 great families of Qingzhou City have sent many people in the dark, trying to discover the reason for the Yuan family's rise. But without waiting for the 10 great families to find out anything, the Yuan family was suddenly wiped out overnight. And to this day, no one knows who the murderer is. This kind of thing is actually quite common. The pit bulls are not guilty of harboring the evils. And with the sudden rise of the Yuan family, everyone knows that it is no accident. Only that someone has struck a little faster and with a little tougher means. Chen Fan narrowed his eyes and said, If you were to guess, who do you think the murderer would be? Ahem, I don't know about old age. At that time, I was only less than 10 years old. A lot of things were heard from the trail later, and I guess most of them are untrue. Dongfang Mu lightly coughed. Chen Fan said indifferently, It seems that the Dongfang family is not completely loyal to this sect. When I asked you to say a few words of gossip, you were so evasive. Could it be that you think that this sect will still betray you? Dongfang Mu's face changed, and he hurriedly said in a trembling voice, I beg the patriarch's pardon. The old immortal didn't say anything, but he just didn't want patriarch to get into trouble ah, because amongst the rumors, the person who exterminated the Yuan family is none other than the current Feng family's old ancestor, Feng Wanchu. Back then, Feng Wanchu was still the lord of the Qingzhou prefecture. In the second month after the Yuan family was destroyed, Feng Wan snapped past the position of mansion lord to his son, Feng Zhao. Five years later, Feng Wan snap managed to step into the immortal infant realm. That's why some people suspect that it was Feng Wan snap that annihilated the Yuan family and received great benefits from the Yuan family, which helped him succeed in rushing the realm and stepping into the immortal infant. Later, in a fit of rage, the Feng family even nailed a hundred rumor spreaders alive, to death on top of the four city walls. Since then, the Yuan family has become a taboo within Qingzhou city, and no one dares to mention this matter anymore. Fear was hidden in Dongfang Mu's eyes even as he spoke, fearful that the word would get out and cause him to be crucified on the city walls. Chen Fan frowned, was the Feng family so ruthless back then, nailing a hundred people just because of a few rumors? Dongfang Mu took a low breath and said, I heard my father say that the Feng family's old ancestor is exceptionally iron-blooded, and nowadays, Xingzhou's reverence for the Feng family is only partly because of the position of the housemaster. More than that, it's actually because of the Feng family's old ancestor. Although the Feng clan's old ancestor has abdicated for many years and doesn't care about mundane matters, if anyone endangers the Feng clan, this old ancestor will definitely step in once again and suppress it with iron blood. Chen Fan narrowed his eyes and said, It seems that sometimes, it's really true that one knows the face of a person. I've met the Feng family's old ancestor a few times, and I think it's quite amiable. Dongfang Mu laughed dryly. With your talent and strength, sovereign, as long as you are not an enemy, 
Naturally they will all treat you closely, after all, the world can see that you have unlimited potential in the future, and sooner or later, you will definitely step into the immortal infant realm. If not for this, the Linghu family would not be thinking of drawing you in. It is the same reason that the Fong family's ancestor has been kind to you. If it were someone else, I'm afraid that if I wanted to see the Fong family's ancestor, I wouldn't be able to do so. Chen Fan's heart was a gloomy one. If what happened to the Yuan family was really Fong Wan Snapdragon's doing, then this old man, he was the one who had previous convictions. If he had really appeared on the outskirts of Tiger Spirit City when Chen Ping's accident occurred, Chen Fan thought that this old piker was indeed worthy of suspicion. Fong Cheng Yu, do you know? Chen Fan asked. Dong Fong Mu's eyelids trembled, and his heart suddenly became very nervous. Today's patriarch, something's not right. Why is he inquiring about the Fong family's affairs one after another? Now he and the Oriental family, but Chen Fan on this boat. If Chen Fan chooses to be enemies with the Fong family, then the Oriental family will also step into danger. Or, simply desperate. The person who killed Situ Ji was Fong Cheng Yu. This matter is known to me and the Fong clan ancestor. And it should have been a secret. But the sect has told you. And this is treating you as one of their own. Therefore, you wish to never hesitate to the sect again. Chen Fan said indifferently. Dong Fong Mu's pupils rose for a moment. And his heart was guilty of bitterness. Well, he doesn't want to know the secret. However, Chen Fan had already said his words here. So Dong Fong Mu could only say stiffly, more than 60 years ago, Fong Wan Primrose's youngest daughter, Fong Cheng Yu, fell in love with a young man from the devil sect named Su Han. This Su Han, was born very handsome and gifted. No one of his age could surpass him. As I remember, back then, although the Su Han did not enter the dragon and phoenix ranking because of his devil cultivator status, his talent was enough to be among the top 5 of the dragon and phoenix ranking, because of Su Han's identity as a demonic cultivator. Fong Wan Snapdragon would not be able to agree since. Later, during that Earth Spirit Abyss trial, Su Han blended in. But on the eve of the trial, he was discovered by the Fong family and secretly reported to Fong Wan Chu. After Fong Wan Snapdragon learned of this, he personally sent a message to the 15 strongest among the 5 clans and 10 tribes, telling them to surround and kill Su Han in the Earth Spirit Abyss no matter what. That trial also became the lowest survival rate ever for the Earth Spirit Abyss trial. Only 27 people came out alive. Feng Qingyue and Situ Ji were among the survivors, while Su Han was not among them, he stayed within the Earth Spirit Abyss forever. Half a month after the trial ended, Feng Qingyue ran away from home and hasn't been heard from since. I didn't expect that she would come back and kill Situ Ji. If she really came back for revenge, I'm afraid that it's not just Situ Ji that she's going to kill, but also the other survivors. Oriental Wood was also full of sighs between his words. Chen Fan narrowed his eyes and said, Back then, in that trial, were there any survivors from the Eastern family? Dongfang Mu shook his head and said, That time, the people sent by the Dongfang family all died in the Earth Spirit Abyss. At first, I was very saddened, but now I feel somewhat fortunate. The Fong family's old ancestor was the one who favored this little daughter the most back then, and now that she has been recovered, I'm afraid that he will also turn a blind eye to her revenge. There are no survivors, so we don't have to worry about this little witch coming to seek revenge. Chapter 206, Spreading the News Chen Fan was a bit speechless. All the trialists were dead and this was worth celebrating? However, back then, that Su Han, was quite a character, able to make the five clans and ten tribes, lose so much, other than Situ Ji, the rest of the survivors, besides Feng Cheng Yu, who else is still alive? Chen Fan asked. Dong Fang Mu said, there's also the Tian Shui Sex Fourth Elder. Battle Spin, the Mountain River Sword Sex Royal Chang En, and the Su Clan Xu Yong, everyone else, they are all gone. Chen Fan narrowed his eyes and said, Do you think Feng Qingyue will also go to them for revenge? Dong Fang Mu shook his head and said, They all participated in the siege of Su Han back then. If Feng Qingyue killed Situ Ji in order to avenge Su Han's death, I'm sure he wouldn't spare the others either. Chen Fan narrowed his eyes and said, If the Feng family really lets Feng Qingyue go to take revenge, then they really have no conscience and trustworthiness to speak of. Dong Fang Mu's face turned white as he busily said, Patriarch, you can't just say that. The Fong family's old ancestor is at the immortal infant realm. It would be too easy to secretly want anyone dead. Patriarch has a great future ahead of him, so he doesn't need to offend the Fong family and exhaust himself for these unrelated matters. Chen Fan didn't say much and waved his hand to disperse the prohibition. It's time for this clan to go, he said faintly, then transmitted his voice to Dong Fong Shui. On the way out, Oriental Snow hurried over to join them. First, follow this clan back to the immortal Dao sect, and from now on, you can cultivate within the sect without fear. Chen Fan smiled at Dong Fang Shui. Dong Fang Shui lightly laughed, 
Disciple listens to master. Looking at the smile on Dongfang Shui's face, Dongfang Mu was a little surprised. He thought that Dongfang Shui's mood would be gloomy and pent up for a long time. After leaving the door, Chen Fan sacrificed the wind pursuing immortal sword and pulled Dongfang Shui to stand on the sword. The sword was long enough for two people to stand side by side on it. The immortal sword rode in the air at an extremely fast speed, and in a short while, the master and disciple returned to Xianho Mountain and landed in front of Yang Tian Pavilion. Chen Fan summoned Huang Su, and after introducing Dongfang Shui's identity, he asked Huang Su to arrange a place for Dongfang Shui to stay. Although this kind of small matter shouldn't have been left to Huang Su, the vice patriarch himself, Chen Fan really wasn't too familiar with the other people in the immortal Dao sect. He, the patriarch, was more like a titular patriarch. After arranging for Dongfang Shui, Huang Su once again came to Chen Fan. On the Arc Blade sex side, has there been any news coming in lately? Chen Fan asked. Huang Su laughed. All is well, and there is no difference. Chen Fan narrowed his eyes and said, Didn't you say that the Ink Blood Sword also has a young son with a demonic talent? The Ink Blood Sword has been dead for so long, and this Mo Yen hasn't even made a move? Huang Su said, Perhaps the news hasn't reached the Ling Tian sect yet. Chen Fan narrowed his eyes and said, Send someone to notify Mo Chang and ask him to send a family letter to Mo Yen. Telling him about the death of the ink blood blade, Huang Su was surprised and said in confusion, Patriarch, why is this? Isn't it a good thing that Mo Yen doesn't know? Chen Fan said in a deep voice, What if he already knows about it and is just shading in a corner, waiting for an opportunity? Since it is destined to be a feud to be ended, let's put it on the table. There are enough people hiding in the shadows. This Mo Yen, I want him to come to the stage. Huang Su suddenly realized, and hurriedly saluted. My subordinate will send someone to the Arc Blade sect to send a message. Three days later, Yellow Hollow sends a message. Mo Chang had already arranged for someone to send a letter to the Ling Tian sect. In addition to this, the Su family's old man, Xu Yong, died violently at home, and the Mountain River Sword sect's Royal Chang En, died in a place of seclusion. The fourth elder of the Tianxue sect, Battle Spin, died. The three who survived that year were all killed and died in just a few days. Huang Su does not know who the murderer is but only guesses that it is most likely the work of the same murderer who killed Situji. As for the unknown crowd of the clans, with the five clans being destroyed and the top powerhouses of the clans and tribes being killed, the fire of hatred in their hearts became more and more intolerable. So they privately reached an agreement and gathered at the Linghu family, pleading with old man Linghu to come out of the gate and requesting that the battle against the devil be launched immediately, in their opinion. But any murderer that can't be found must be the work of the demon sect. They suspected very much that this was the serious consequence of the initial plan to exterminate the demons running aground and leaking the news. It was the devil sect that was weakening the top combatants of the various clans and tribes step by step. At the same time, the voices of dissatisfaction towards the immortal Dao sect were also increasing, claiming that if it wasn't for Chen Fan's refusal to join the Demon Destruction Alliance in the first place, Old Man Linghu wouldn't have changed his mind temporarily. In this way, the strongest members of the clans would not have sacrificed their lives in vain. On the part of the Qingzhou prefecture, has it made a statement? Chen Fan asked. Huang Su shook his head and said, Since the night of the moon pool, no more sound has come out of the Feng family. Chen Fan coldly grunted. I think the Feng family also wants to use this force to force the Linghu family and the various clans and tribes to deal with the Blood Soul sect, and while letting the rumors spread, it will also weaken my immortal Dao sect's influence in the Qing state. The Feng family knew that the person who killed Situ Ji and the others was Feng Qingyu and they also watched the Immortal Dao sect take the blame, but they didn't want to say a single word on behalf of the Immortal Dao sect, which was at the end of the day, heartless and also very shameless, send a message to Dong Cheng, telling him that the one who killed the four people, Situ Ji, Royal Chang En, War Spin, and Xu Yong, was Feng Chang Yu, and tell him to spread this news, spread it out, Chen Fan coldly said, Huang Su was shocked at his words, this Feng Ching Yu couldn't be a member of Feng's family, right? Chen Fan narrowed his eyes and said, She is the youngest daughter of Feng Wanchu, the old ancestor of the Feng family. We are unfamiliar with this name, but everyone in Qingzhou should still have memories of her. Although this clan doesn't care about those out-of-body names, it is also unwilling to keep taking the blame for people. Whoever did the deed should be made to bear it. Chen Fan had seen more and more of the ruthless side of the Feng family, and naturally, he would no longer commit himself. What's more, now that his strength had become established, if the Feng family dared to turn on him, he would not be afraid in the slightest. Feng Wan Snap dared to make a move against him. Then he didn't mind capturing Feng Wan Snap and then forcibly searching his soul. Huang Su was surprised. Then if we spread this news, won't we offend the Qingzhou mansion? If the Feng clan thinks this is offending them, then so be it. I, Immortal Dao sect, 
What is there to fear? Chen Fan said in a cold voice. The suspicion towards Feng Wanchu, coupled with the Feng family's ruthlessness and shamelessness, made Chen Fan no longer want to hold a forgiving heart. When Huang Su saw Chen Fan's cold expression, he said, My subordinate will inform Dong Cheng. Chen Fan didn't say much. He would like to see how the Feng family would cope with this already chaotic Qing Zhou, with all the things festering out. A single fire dragon ginseng would not be able to buy him off, much less keep him burdened with curses. Moreover, as the news spread out, it would also ease the pressure on the Linghu family. Comparatively speaking, Chen Fan felt that Linghu Changchun was much more righteous than Feng Wanchu. Of course, this was not because Linghu Changchun had given him Linghu Yuzhu, but rather the Linghu family had given Chen Fan enough respect. After Huang Su went to find Dong Chang, Chen Fan also left the immortal Dao sect. The situation in Xinzhou afterward would be exceptionally treacherous. So Chen Fan planned to receive Chen Changsheng and the others to the immortal Dao sect to cultivate. As for the Chen family's estate, just leave it to Uncle Zhou to take care of it. In less than half an hour, Chen Fan crossed a thousand miles in the air and came back to Tiger Spirit City. As Chen Fan's aura descended, Ling Hu Yuzhu's heart trembled and there was some bitterness on her face. Age 13. On the other hand, had a slightly cloudy look in his eyes as he directly left the compound and walked towards Chen Fan's small courtyard. Chapter 207, End of Agreement Before age 13 arrived, Tong Xiaoxiao and Jia Yuan had already transmitted their voices to complete their report. Chen Fan was not surprised. No matter if it was Linghu Yuzhu or age 13, they were originally the eyes and ears that the Linghu family and the Blood Soul sect had placed by his side. It was only that Linghu Yuchu actually wanted the Linghu family to intercept and kill age 13, which was somewhat surprising to Chen Fan. Soon, age 13 came to the entrance of the small courtyard. Chen Fan looked at her with a leisurely smile. The injury healed quite quickly. Chen Fan smiled faintly. Age 13 said in a cold voice, I also have to thank Patriarch Chen's subordinates for being merciful, or else I shouldn't be able to wait for Patriarch Chen's return with this life. Chen Fan smiled. You brought this on yourself, so who can blame you? Age 13's face twitched lightly. Patriarch Chen also seems to have forgotten about the agreement with my sect's patriarch. The sect master asked me to serve him closely, but sect master Chen went away for half a year and didn't return. I was also worried about sect master Chen's well-being and that's why I wanted to visit the immortal Dao sect. Is that also wrong? Age 13 coldly said. Chen Fan said indifferently, if you don't listen to my orders, this is a mistake. Age 13 gritted his teeth in slight anger, his eyes narrowing coldly. Fine, since Patriarch Chen said that I'm at fault. I'll admit this fault, but tonight, I still ask Patriarch Chen to allow me to serve in the bed and fulfill the task that Patriarch has given me. Even if the Patriarch needs someone to serve the bed, it's not your turn. Ling Hu Yuzhu's voice came from far and near. Walking closer to the courtyard gate, she ignored the anger in age 13's eyes and owed Chen Fan. Yuzhu has met the Patriarch, and also asked for forgiveness from the Patriarch. Age 13 raised his eyebrows lightly. This Ling Hu Yuzhu had always been peaceful. What crime did she ask for? Chen Fan smiled faintly and said, This sect already knows all of this. Since you have all admitted your mistakes, the sect will not pursue this matter. Yu Zhu, you go back first. This clan has some matters to talk to age 13 alone. Ling Hu Yu Zhu's eyes flickered slightly as she owed her body. Yes, Yu Zhu excuses herself. Ling Hu Yu Zhu obeyed and retreated. And age 13 looked at Chen Fan. Chen Fan walked over and stood in front of age 13, smiling faintly. Look at your unruly eyes. You are clearly harboring resentment in your heart. So why do you have to condemn yourself like this? Go back to Cold Munyu's side. And by the way, bring a message to the sect, telling her that the agreement between the sect and her is over. H13's face instantly turned ugly as he gritted his teeth. This isn't the end of the agreement. You are unilaterally trying to break the agreement. Chen Fan said indifferently. If Cold Munyue thinks the same way, then and so be it. This sect can promise her that as long as she doesn't come looking for trouble with the sect and the immortal Dao sect, this sect will never participate in the battle to eliminate the demons, nor will it make a move against the Blood Soul sect. As he experienced more and more things, Chen Fan realized that the Righteous Path and the Devil's Path did not really matter. In the so-called Righteous Path, there were also countless evil people without a bottom line hidden. In that case, what's the point of fighting demons? The only people who should be killed are the ones who deserve to die, not the so-called nominal battles of various names. In short, his guideline from now on will simply be to kill whoever offends me. Age 13 frowned and said coldly, You've already turned your back on us once. Can your words still be trusted? Chen Fan said indifferently, The agreement made that night was originally made under a disparity of strength. So it wasn't fair. How can this sex destruction of an unfair agreement be considered reneging? Age 13 laughed coldly, Could it be that after only half a year, Patriarch Chen feels that the disparity between you and my patriarch no longer exists? 
Chen Fan smiled. Half a year is enough to make many things change. Miss Age, shouldn't you be happy? Although this sect has destroyed the agreement, you are still intact. This sect has been kind to you, right? Age 13 pursed his lips. That's true. If Chen Fan wanted her body and then destroyed the agreement, her innocence, she would have lost too much. Age 13 grunted lowly. I wouldn't be grateful to you. Maybe you didn't touch me just because you have some hidden disease you don't want people to know about. Otherwise, I don't believe you were so kind. Chen Fan's face darkened. Put your mother's ass on the line. This clan doesn't have any hidden diseases. But any man who was told no by a woman has to be on fire. He he, so angry. Seems to be said by me. You really can't. H13 clasped his arms and laughed coldly. His smile becoming more and more wild. Chen Fan laughed coldly. It seems that it is necessary for this clan to prove something to you. Suddenly, Chen Fan grabbed H13's arm and tugged her. Heading towards the house. H13's face changed in shock. And he hurriedly tried his best to break free. But Chen Fan did not let go. Chen Fan, you let go. As you want me to leave, then let me go. H13 shouted. Chen Fan didn't even turn his head back as he said indifferently. It won't be too late to let you go after this clan proves itself. Boo. Chen Fan kicked open the door of the house and pulled H13 inside. H13's face turned white with rage and he panicked. I believe you. You're fine. You quickly let go of me. Chen Fan paused and twisted his head to look at her. Can you really believe it if you don't come for a visit? I believe. I really believe it. H13 hurriedly nodded his head. Chen Fan smiled playfully and let go of her. H13 hurriedly ran out of the house and rushed at Chen Fan with a burst of gnashing of teeth. Since you have broken the contract, I am no longer a plaything that you can come and go whenever you feel like it. I will bring your words to the patriarch word for word. I hope you don't regret it. Chen Fan smiled faintly. And hopefully, your patriarch won't give you away to others at will again. If you are given away again, the other party may not respect you as much as I do. Age 13's face stiffened, and his eyes could not help but look at Chen Fan in a daze. Chen Fan hadn't touched her because he respected her? Age 13's mind couldn't help but be a little complicated. She was so used to doing what she was told that she didn't even think about whether or not someone like herself deserved to be respected as well. Chen Fan said indifferently, We have known each other for a while, and this clan has some advice for you. You are a fresh and free person. Don't carry the favor for the rest of your life. Grace can be repaid in other ways, but as a human being, your life is given by your parents. Your dignity. Inherent. Anyone who disrespects you is not genuinely trying to be nice to you. Stop letting people use you like a tool. The rest of your life is long. Live it. And then you'll realize that the person you once were is actually sad. H13 bit his lips tightly and said. You're really vicious. You still want to leave me at parting. Chen Fan smiled faintly and said. If you really think that way, just pretend that I didn't say those words just now. If one day... You really figure it out and don't want to stay in the blood soul sect anymore. You can come back to the sect. Age 13 raised an eyebrow. Looking for you? Didn't you not want to get involved with the demon sect? Chen Fan nodded his head and said, It is true that this sect does not want to be involved with the devil sect, but it does not exclude the devil cultivators. The heavenly Tao and all laws have the same path. And a devil cultivator may not necessarily be evil. The way of good and evil should be looked at in terms of their actions, not their methods. Humph. I will never defect to you. Age 13 snorted lightly. With that, she took a deep look at Chen Fan, and without stopping any longer, her figure flew away in the air. Chapter 208, I don't take it seriously. As Ling Hu Yuzhu looked at age 13 who flew away, a flash of panic could not help but sweep across her eyes. Sovereign is dispatching age 13? Doesn't this mean that there is a possibility that I will be sent away as well? Ling Hu Yuzhu's heart was nervous for no reason. To be honest, she didn't want to leave Chen Fan, didn't want to leave the Chen family. Life here was much freer than she had been in the Linghu household. In the past, her world was only a small courtyard. But now, there was at least a city. Linghu Yuzhu pursed her lips and decided to find Chen Fan again to have a good talk. She came toward the small courtyard again. Chen Fan was also about to go and discuss things with Chen Changsheng. The two met halfway. Patriarch, is this Miss Age returning to the Blood Soul sect? Linghu Yuzhu owed her body and asked. Chen Fan laughed. Well, there is no need for her to stay anymore. Why do you want to kill her? Just because she is from the demon sect? Ling Hu Yuzhu looked at Chen Fan and said, Not only because she is from the demon sect, Yuzhu also doesn't want her to ruin the reputation of the patriarch. Being in the company of a demon sect demoness is a major taboo in the martial arts path. Age 13's existence. If word gets out, the patriarch will surely be criticized. Of course, Yuju trespassed to kill, and also sent a private message back to the clan. These are all things that shouldn't be done. Yuju implores the patriarch to impose a heavy punishment. 
and I only ask that the patriarch not drive Yuju away. A hint of weakness and pleading welled up in Linghu Yuju's eyes. Chen Fan smiled lightly. It's nothing for you to send a message back to the Linghu family, but it's true that you shouldn't have moved to kill her. There are some parts of her that are just like you. She's quite pitiful, isn't she? Linghu Yuju pursed her lips. She understood what Chen Fan meant. She and age 13, both were victims of their families or patriarchs. You go and pack up. Tomorrow morning, we will leave Tiger Spirit City, Chen Fan said. When Linghu Yuju heard that it was we, she couldn't help but feel relieved in her heart. As long as she wasn't left alone in Tiger Paw City, that was fine. Chen Fan met Chen Changsheng and spoke out his intentions. Chen Changsheng nodded his head and said, Although there is some reluctance to leave, but if we stay in Tiger Spirit City all the time, you will have to juggle both, which is truly troublesome. All right, then we'll do as you wish and leave all the family properties to Zhou Fu to take care of, even if we are all gone. I'm sure that no one will dare to hit the Chen family's properties. Chen Fan laughed. Good. Then I'll leave the arrangements on the home side to grandpa. I also want to go and invite a few friends to join us to the Immortal Dao sect. Chen Changsheng was surprised. You're taking the rest of the city to the Immortal Dao sect? Could it be that little ninny from the Su family? Chen Fan lightly coughed. The main thing is that I want to bring her master. But trying to get her master to come with me, she definitely can't get rid of her either. He he. If we can invite old brother Jia to join the Immortal Dao sect, it would indeed be a great thing. Chen Changsheng said smilingly. Chen Fan laughed. Besides Jia Yuan, there are also Luo Yuanwu, Tung Fei Yang, and Ding Chuanxiu, all of these people, I'm going to bring along with me, both to promise them an opportunity, and at the same time, to be considered as hostages held in the Immortal Dao sect. In this way, when we are not in Tiger's Pillar City, we can at least ensure that, the various clans within Tiger's Pillar City can hold together in unison, and there will not be any internal conflicts and fights. Chen Changsheng frowned, little fan, do you think it's really necessary? Other people aside, this Luo Yuanwu, in the end, is a member of the Luo family. If you really don't feel comfortable with him, just kill him quietly. The corner of Chen Fan's mouth pulled, killing Luo Yuanwu? Now this Luo Yuanwu, but it was his person, that could not be killed. But this matter, Chen Fan couldn't explain it to Chen Changsheng. He just smiled and said, Luo Yuanwu's performance has been okay these days, and since it's better to resolve grievances than to tie them up, let's leave him alive. Seeing Chen Fan say this, Chen Changsheng laughed, fine, arrange it as you wish, grandpa will just listen to you. After chatting with Chen Changsheng, Chen Fan went to the city lord's mansion, the Luo family, the Thousand Spirit Merchant Company, and the Gu family. Although Tang Ju Kei was a bit reluctant to let Tang Fei Yang leave, Tang Fei Yang firmly stated that he wanted to join the Immortal Dao sect, so Tang Ju Kei could only agree. Luo Yuan Wu and Ding Chuanxiu naturally had no doubt that they were Chen Fan's people and as long as Chen Fan said something, they would do whatever they wanted, not to mention that this time they were promised a better future in martial arts. As for the Gu family, Chen Fan had wanted to bring both the Gu Shanchuan couple as well as Gu Steadfast to the Immortal Dao sect, but the Gu Shanchuan couple did not agree. The couple insisted on staying in Tiger's Pillar City, thinking of guarding their ancestral property on the one hand, and waiting for Gu Buyu to return on the other. In the end, only Gu Weiwei would accompany Chen Fan to the Immortal Dao sect. After speaking to these people, Chen Fan finally came to the Su family. After Tu Sancher was killed, the Spirit Stone Vein entered normal mining again, and Jia Yuan and Su Wenjun returned to the Su family. On the side of the Or Vein, it was being guarded by Su Yi, the second master of Su, as well as a few guest ministers of the Chun family. Su's, Chen Fan had just met up with Jia Yuan when Su Wenjun looked over with red eyes. Cough, why don't the old man go out for a walk first while you two chat? Jia Yuan laughed dryly. Chen Fan laughed lightly. No need. He got up and looked at Su Wenjun who was just staring at him with red eyes but not saying a word. Being stared at by Su Wenjun like this, Chen Fan was a little embarrassed and touched his nose and laughed. It's indeed a little bit sorry for lying to you for so long, but I'm not just lying to you. The main thing is that before, it wasn't the right time for me to reveal my identity. While Chen Fan was speaking, Su Wenjun took a sharp, healthy step and pounced over. Before Chen Fan could react, he was already blocked by a pair of soft red lips, blocking his mouth. Chen Fan's entire body stiffened. This Su Wenjun, how can he be like this? His first kiss, just like that? Chen Fan's eyes widened, and for a moment he forgot to resist, allowing Su Wenjun to be wild and passionate, giving him an unskillful wolf nibble. Suddenly, Chen Fan tasted a touch of salty wetness. It was the taste of the tears that ran down Su Wenjun's cheeks into the corner of her mouth. Chen Fan while Su Wenjun lightly pushed away, wiped his mouth, smiled bitterly, which have you such a nibble? Paste all saliva. Chen Fan, 
You are such an asshole. Su Lenjun's face flushed red and she slapped Chen Fan's chest hard before turning around to leave. Chen Fan grabbed her arm and said helplessly, I still have something to tell you. Wait until I'm done. Then you can decide whether to leave or not. Su Lenjun didn't turn around and continued to hold the back of her head to Chen Fan, saying shyly, What are you going to say? Let me listen to your continued sophistry? If you want to say something because of what happened just now, you don't have to. Just now I just didn't control myself for a moment. I said that even if you were him, I wouldn't stalk you. Chen Fan laughed. I didn't take what happened just now seriously. What I want to tell you is something else. Su Wenjun's body shook, and tears once again welled up on his reddened face. She took the initiative like this, but Chen Fan didn't even take it seriously? Su Wenjun couldn't help but toss her head and glared at Jia Yuan in shame. Jia Yuan's heart thumped and he hurriedly averted his gaze. Secretly anxious, this girl, what are you looking at me for? If I let the island master know that this was all my idea, he would still kill me. Hoomph. Then speak quickly, Su Wenjun said in an annoyed voice. Chen Fan laughed. I have invited your master to go with me to the immortal Dao sect to cultivate. The cultivation environment there is a bit better. Do you want to follow along? Chapter 209, Jia Yuan's Plea. Su Wenjun was shocked at his words and immediately looked at Jia Yuan and asked, Master, you're going to follow him to the immortal Dao sect? Jia Yuan stroked his whiskers and smiled. Patriarch Chen invited me in good faith. So it's not good for me to decline. Moreover, today's immortal Dao sect is indeed known as the number one sect in Qingzhou. And the future has even more unlimited potential, which I am quite optimistic about. Su Wenjun pursed her lips and said, This is a bit different from what you said when you first came to the Su family. Jia Yuan laughed awkwardly. This is a different time. The Su family naturally couldn't keep Jia Yuan. If it was just the immortal Dao sect, then they wouldn't be able to invite Jia Yuan. The key was that this person who invited him was Chen Fan. Chen Fan laughed. Ms. Su, I invite you in good faith. I hope you will consider it. Su Wenjun, however, shook his head and said, There's no need to consider it. Even if my master goes with you, I won't go to the immortal Dao sect. Chen Fan was puzzled. Why? With such a good prospect, Chen Fan could not think of why Su Wenjun would refuse. Su Wenjun hummed lightly. Nothing, just don't want to go. Chen Fan nodded and said, In that case, I can't force myself on anyone. The corner of Su Wenjun's mouth gently twitched, and without further words, he turned around and left. Cough, patriarch, actually sometimes, girls still quite enjoy that, the feeling of being imposed upon. Jia Yuan laughed dryly. Chen Fan glanced at him and grunted, Do you know a lot about girls? This mouthful of spit I've been pasted with was your bad idea for Su Wenjun, wasn't it? Ha? Huh? No. Absolutely not ah, the old immortal would not come up with such an idea, Jia Yuan hurriedly denied it. Chen Fan skimmed his lips and said, see you at the Chen family early tomorrow morning. After Chen Fan finished speaking, he planned to leave the Su family. As he was about to turn away, Jia Yuan's gaze flickered slightly and said, patriarch, I have an unkind request. Chen Fan raised his eyebrows lightly and looked at Jia Yuan. Jia Yuan laughed dryly, I thought about it just now. Tiger Spirit City still needs to leave a clasping Dan realm to sit in the town. Moreover, in case there's any emergencies on this side of Tiger Spirit City, the clasping Dan realm can run errands and send letters a little faster. That's why I thought, can you let me stay? Chen Fan laughed softly. It's really a master and disciple love. It seems that you really consider her as a disciple. As long as you are willing yourself, then stay. Chen Fan could naturally see that Jia Yuan wanted to stay because of Su Wenjun. Jia Yuan laughed. As long as the relationship between the Chen and Su families does not deteriorate, she will always be my disciple. Chen Fan nodded his head and said, Then you will stay and guard Tiger Spirit City well for this clan. Chen Fan reached out with his right hand and took out several bottles of pills. Although the Su family won't be short of resources for you, these bottles of pills will be useful for you to rush the realm. So keep them. Jia Yuan said excitedly, Many thanks, Patriarch. Jia Yuan was not polite and took the elixir. The Su family's resources were fine for normal cultivation, but if they wanted to rush the realm and condense infants, they would need higher order spirit materials or pills. Chen Fan patted Jia Yuan's shoulder and smiled. See you later. Jia Yuan grinned. Patriarch take care of yourself. If there is an order, just a word from you. Jia Yuan is always ready to go through fire and water for you. Chen Fan laughed. Good. Without another word, he left Su's house. A gaze eyed Chen Fan from afar as he walked out from the Su family gate. Why did you reject it? Jia Yuan asked with a soft sigh as he stood behind Su Wenjun. Su Wenjun pursed her lips and said, He doesn't have me in his heart, so what's the point of me following him there? I'm not going to keep making a fool of myself. Jia Yuan said helplessly, Don't you realize that when you kissed him, he didn't immediately push you away? This shows that he isn't resistant to you. 
Su Wenjun blushed and said, he didn't think it was a kiss, he said it was a nibble, he didn't push me in the beginning, I guess he was confused by me, but later he still pushed me away, master, I blame you, you still have to pit me on the way out, Jia Yuan lightly coughed, if you don't go, master won't go either, why don't you go, why don't you go, if you don't go, if I want to go to the immortal Dao sect in the future, won't I not even have an excuse, Su Wenjun said with some anxiety, J1, I'm afraid it's not too good for him to change his mind now. Ahem, that can't be helped. Master has already explicitly said that he will stay. Jia Yuan laughed bitterly. Oh, in that case, I really don't have a chance. Su Wenjun was sad for a while. Jia Yuan's scalp was numb. This matter between a man and a woman was really troublesome. Fortunately he didn't have such troubles. Early the next morning, Luo Yuan Wu, Tung Fei Yang, Ding Chuan Chiu, Gu Bu Chiu, and Tong Xiao Xiao were all gathered at the Chun family. Chen Fan sacrificed an immortal ship. This immortal ship, which Chen Fan had ordered Su Jin to refine, was imprinted with the unique logo pattern of the immortal Dao sect. The pattern, with an outer ring of a kind of circular runic formation, was colored in white, like a pill. In the inner circle, there is a battle sword and a long sword exchanging blows, signifying the meaning of martial arts competition. Sento, never peaceful. There is also no way to avoid the fight. Chen Changsheng looked at the huge immortal ship, floating in the air, his face agitated. He had never dared to think that one day his Chen family would also have an immortal ship. Grandpa, please board the immortal ship. Chen Fan laughed. He he, good. Chen Changsheng responded with a smile, and was immediately the first to fly, boarding the immortal ship, followed by Mr. and Mrs. Chen Ming, Ling Hu Yuzhu, Chen Shua, Big Yellow, and Little Bit Chen An and Chen Xian. Chen An was Chen Ming's second son, just 10 years old this year. Chen Xian is Chen Ming's youngest daughter. Just seven years old this year. Chen An and Chen Xian are both still young and have been living with Chen Ming's wife, Zhao Wen. Although Chen Fan had seen less with them, it was natural to bring them along this time. After the Chen clan's people had boarded the immortal ship as many times as they could, Chen Fan shouted at Gu Weiwei with a smile. Big brother Gu, don't just stand there, I'll get on board. Ha ha, good. Gu Gu was thrilled. These days, he had gotten over the pain of Lu Jilian's injury. Nowadays. He was all about practicing martial arts diligently. Now that Chen Fan had given him another chance, he was naturally even more excited. As everyone boarded the ship in unison, Chen Fan said goodbye to Uncle Zhou and the two guest secretaries of the Chen clan, and then activated the formation on the immortal ship, catalyzing the immortal ship, and flew in the air in the direction of the immortal Dao sect. When one man gets a government position, he gets a government position. The Chen family, a remarkable character has emerged. Humph. Let's see how far they can go how high they fly, how hard they fall, that's right, what's there to show off, the life in a large clan is not that good, how can it be as comfortable as living in a small town, these people, they just can't think straight, ha, hey, what a great sour taste, I'm sour as a hammer, is there a shadow shop in the immortal Dao sect, is there a drunken fragrance house in the immortal Dao sect, you're bound by the rules, the slightest mistake could kill you, it's not like us in Tiger's Path City, where we can eat, drink, whore and gamble as much as we want, and no one dares to bother us. I'll ask you, Patriarch Chen is going to invite you to cultivate in the Immortal Dao sect, are you going or not? Then you have to let Patriarch Chen come and invite me first before I can consider this. If he doesn't even come to invite me, I'll answer your hammer. Bah, you're such a stinker. I'm too lazy to talk to you. As they watched the Immortal ship quickly disappearing into the long sky, the crowd of people who were minutely discussing the matter, also dispersed. Chapter 210 Battle is a matter of life and death. The fairy ship flew through the air. The two little ones, Chen An and Chen Xian, were excitedly lying on the bow of the boat, looking downward. Joe smiled and stood guard. Little fan, when they reach the age of cultivation, you must teach them well so that they will be as outstanding as you in the future. Zhao laughed. Auntie, don't worry. Xiao An and Xiao Xian are my own brother and sister. I will definitely teach them well. Chen Fan laughed. During the years when his parents were away, his aunt was the person who cared about Chen Fan the most besides his grandfather. Half of Chen Fan's clothes from childhood to adulthood were bought for him by Zhao. Zhao laughed. If your parents saw what you've accomplished today, they would also be happy for you. I believe it won't be long before you guys are reunited. Chen Fan's gaze, could not help but look into the distant sky, faintly said, I also want to awe, but I'm afraid things are not that easy. Since the Tang family had taken his parents, they wouldn't easily let his parents out of the Tang family's control. Although he had some achievements nowadays, it was far from enough to fight against the Tang family. Even if it's not easy, we're sure you'll be able to do it. Zhao laughed. 
Chen Fan laughed, I will try my best. The aunt and nephew were laughing and joking, when the front was suddenly cloudy, and the dark cloud seemed to be still flying towards the direction of the immortal ship. Chen Fan's eyes went cold as he said in a deep voice, Auntie, you first take Xiaoan and Xiao Xian back to the cabin. Zhao's face tightened slightly and she busied herself, do we need to call the others out? No need, I can handle it, Chen Fan said. Zhao nodded and pulled Xiaoan and Xiao Xian towards the cabin. However, Tong Xia Xiao and the others, still sensed the unusual aura approaching, and one by one, they walked out from their cabins and gathered at the bow of the ship. At this time, a large cloud, too, had approached the immortal ship. What could be in this cloudy sky? Chen Changsheng asked in a deep voice, Elder Chen, the cloudy clouds you saw are actually not real clouds, but a foreign beast called Rain Devil. Tong Xiao Xiao narrowed his eyes. Chen Changsheng was surprised. Fey beasts? There's actually a demonic beast that looks just like a cloudy sky? This is truly bizarre. Tong Xiaoxiao laughed. Well, it is indeed not too common. This kind of rain demon exotic beast usually only appears in the land of great swamps. And as far as I know, there doesn't seem to be any great swamps within Qingzhou. The one who came as blood soul sect patriarch called Munyue, Chen Fan said indifferently. Although the cold underworld moon was hidden amongst the rain demon fey beasts, Chen Fan still sensed a trace of the cold underworld moon's aura. Buzz. When the rain demon fey beast approached the immortal ship, it was suddenly like a dark puff of smoke, rapidly converging away. Eventually, the void above the sky would reveal only a single silhouette. And this person was none other than cold underworld moon, whose black skirt fluttered in the wind and whose eyes were ice cold. That's quite a quick move you've made. This sect thought that you really don't care about this sect's anger. Cold moon Yue stared at Chen Fan on the bow of the ship and said in a chilling voice. Chen Fan smiled lightly and said, What I should say. I have already asked age 13 to convey to Patriarch Cold. There is no need for this sect to repeat it again. If Patriarch Cold wants anything, just state your intentions, and this sect will proceed. Cold Munyue sneered. Then let this clan see if you have the strength to catch it. Buzz. As soon as Cold Munyue raised her hand, a crimson longsword instantly appeared in her palm. As soon as the crimson longsword appeared, the entire void was surging with an extremely sinister and chilling intent. The faces of all the people were chilled, one after another. They puffed up their spiritual energy in a welcoming manner. Chen Fan looked at Cold Munyue and said icily, Is Patriarch Cold sure that he wants to become a mortal enemy with this clan? Once we strike, you and I will definitely see life and death. This sect advises sect Master Cold to think clearly before saying anything. Cold Dark Moon frowned slightly. She rushed here. In fact, she just wanted to try to see if Chen Fan had stepped into the immortal infant realm, and didn't want to share any life and death with Chen Fan. However, she did not expect that Chen Fan would say such harsh words in public. If there is a division of life and death, it will be you who will die. Cold Moonshine said grimly. Chen Fan nodded indifferently. It seems that you have already made your decision. In that case, this clan will not avoid it. Grandfather, you will be the one to maneuver the immortal ship and take them to the immortal Dao sect. Chen Fan turned his head to Chen Changsheng. Chen Changsheng's face changed and he hurriedly said. No, you can't, little Fan. This cold Stygian moon is said to have long been at the immortal infant realm cultivation level, and is frighteningly strong. It's better to let us stay and help you. Grandpa, listen to me, Chen Fan solemnly said. Chen Chongqing's face showed bitterness. This time, he couldn't promise Chen Fan. After all, the person he was facing at this moment was the Blood Soul Sect Patriarch, a legendary immortal infant realm powerhouse. Little Fan, Grandpa can't promise you this time. It's better to let your second uncle maneuver the immortal ship. Facing such a strong enemy, it's impossible for Grandpa to lead you alone. Chen Changsheng said in a deep voice. Chen Fan laughed. Grandpa, when has Little Fan ever let you down? I promise that I will definitely catch up with you before you arrive at the Immortal Dao Sect. Grandpa Chen, you maneuver the Immortal ship and take them away. I'll stay behind to accompany the Patriarch. Ling Hu Yuzhu said. Yes, old master. You go first, we will stay and accompany the Patriarch to meet this witch. Tung Fei Yang was also busy saying. Chen Changsheng shook his head and said, None of you need to persuade the old man. In this situation, the old man will never leave little Fan. Chen Fan had a bit of a headache. It seemed that he could only expose his true strength in front of everyone. Then you will all stay. But none of you are allowed to leave the immortal ship. Chen Fan said helplessly. If you're in danger, we won't sit idly by. Chen Changsheng said in a cold voice. Little Fan, you must remember that you are now the immortal Dao sect sovereign, and the safety and future of countless people are at stake you can no longer show off your courage. If necessary, all of us here can die in battle for you. Only if you live, will the immortal Dao sect be the immortal Dao sect. Only then will there be hope for the future. I agree with Elder Chen's words, Luo Yuanwu said in a deep voice. 
I agree. Chen Ning came over and said, Little Fan, although you're amazing now, none of us in the Chen family are wimps. You can't make us lose our bloodlust just to protect us. This life of second uncle is ready to block the sword for you. Eh, this crazy bitch is holding what looks like a sword. So block the sword. Chen Ming joked, but his eyes were incomparably firm. Unfortunately, if there was really any danger, with Chen Ming's strength, he was afraid that he would not even be qualified to block the sword for Chen Fan. How could his flesh and blood body stop the power of a sword from an immortal infant realm powerhouse? Chen Fan smiled helplessly. Alright, seeing as you guys are so melodramatic, I'll show my cards. Cold Munyue is at the immortal infant realm yes, and I, in fact, am too. Ha, huh? little fan, you, are already at the immortal infant realm? Chen Chongqing's mouth widened in shock. The crowd, including Luo Yuanwu, Tung Feiyang and the others who had come out of Sin Immortal Island, had their mouths similarly wide open. When the island master brought them out, they were only at the early stage of the clasping Dan realm. Now a year hasn't even passed and you've already risen to the immortal infant realm? Ling Hu Yuzhu was even more surprised. Patriarch, these half a year that you disappeared was actually for the purpose of rushing the realm? But half a year is not even much time to prepare. Yet you have already accomplished a breakthrough. How is this? This possible? Chen Fan smiled. Nothing is impossible. Don't people always say that I am an absolute demon? The breakthrough speed of an absolute demon is naturally different from normal people. Outside the immortal ship, the pupils of cold Munyue, too, shrunk slightly. She did not expect that Chen Fan had really stepped into the immortal infant realm. This battle of life and death. She kind of doesn't want to fight. What should she do? Chapter 211, The Tide of Heavy Ranges. Chen Clan Brat, are you really already at the immortal infant realm? Cold Munyue couldn't help but ask out loud. Chen Fan glanced at Cold Munyue and said indifferently, whether or not I'm at the immortal infant realm, you'll soon find out. Grandpa, since you guys don't want to leave, let's watch the battle from the front of the boat. After saying that, Chen Fan's figure flashed and pierced through the layer of restrictions shrouding the immortal ship. This kind of prohibition, which was just an ordinary prohibition, was mainly used to isolate the gale force of Qi. Of course, the immortal ship built by Su Jin naturally had stronger protective prohibitions, but there's no need to turn it on yet. Chen Fan floated outside the immortal ship and confronted the frowning cold Munyue. Cold moonshine hummed lightly. No wonder you dared to break the contract privately. It turns out that you really do have the backbone. But even if you are already at the immortal infant realm, you are only just stepping into it. Whereas this sect has been stepping into the immortal infant realm for a full 40 years. If you really want to fight, how could you be a match for this sect? Buzz. Chen Fan raised his right hand and the wind expelling immortal sword appeared in his hand. He said in a cold voice, Cold Munyue. There's no need to say more nonsense. Earlier, when you threatened the sect with the Chen family, the sect already didn't want to bother with you, but you still came to seek provocation this time. Do you really think that the sect is that easy to talk to? Cold Munyu's eyes were chilly, and he laughed coldly. If you want to fight, this clan will accompany you. If it wasn't for the Tang family behind you, this clan would not have been so soft in killing you. Very well. With your words, this sect will never be soft in its actions. Today, you and I will share life and death. Chen Fan coldly said, he hadn't had much of an aversion to demonic cultivators in the first place. However, as Cold Hollow Moon repeatedly sought to provoke her, Chen Fan could not tolerate her. Cold Moon Yu's heart sank, her eyes indifferent as frost. Then let's split the difference between life and death. Swish, Cold Moon Yu's figure suddenly moved, and the crimson blood heavenly sword in his hand, in an instant, cut out dozens of blood-colored sword lights, slashing at Chen Fan in a hurry. Above the immortal ship, the hearts of the crowd tightened. However, Chen Fan swept his sword across the sky, and a powerful sword she blasted out of the wind chasing immortal sword out of the corner of his eye. Boom boom boom. Between the blood-colored sword chi and the sword chi across the sky, between the strikes, the blood-colored sword chi burst apart. In an instant, the entire void was filled with a blood-colored mist. These blood-colored mists, melted in the void. What made Chen Fan slightly surprised was that in the void shrouded by the blood mists, his soul sense could not easily penetrate out. This blood mist, it has the effect of corrupting the soul consciousness. So that's what she was playing at. Chen Fan smiled coldly. Whoosh. Immediately, in a corner of the blood mist, a person and a sword quickly rushed out. From behind Chen Fan, a sword stabbed straight at Chen Fan's shoulder. This cold Stygian moon was ultimately apprehensive and did not dare to stab Chen Fan's vitals with his sword. Perhaps Chen Fan was nothing in the eyes of the Tang family. But if someone dared to kill a relative of the Tang family, once the Tang family pursued the matter, the Blood Soul Sect would never be able to withstand the Tang family's wrath. It's said that you have to look at the master to beat the dog. In Cold Munyu's eyes, if she really killed Chen Fan, 
she would be failing to give face to the Tang family. Even if the Tang clan wouldn't avenge Chen Fan's death, they would probably swat down the Blood Soul sect for the sake of the so-called face, feeling that there was a sharp air breaking behind him. Speedily approaching, Chen Fan's eyes narrowed slightly, and a terrifying spiritual energy violently stirred around his body, impacting away. Boom! Cold Moon Yue, who had just gotten close, felt the terrifying spiritual power that rushed in like a tidal wave. Her eyes shrank in horror, and she hurriedly wanted to retreat and flash behind her. She did not expect that Chen Fan, a person who had just stepped into the immortal infant realm, would have a stronger level of spirit power than her. When he fought with Yuan Wuji, it was the first time Chen Fan fought with the immortal infant realm, and at that time, he did not really understand the speed of the immortal infant realm as well as the strength of his attacks, so between the exchanges, many of his advantages were not utilized, which allowed Yuan Wuji to support himself under him for a long time. But this time, Chen Fan would not give Cold Mooney Moon such an opportunity. No matter what level of combat, he prefers to win with a single blow. It had to do with his personality in his previous life. The mercenary's mindset of striking is that it is extremely purposeful. Once they strike, they don't do it for the sake of cutting, but only for the sake of killing their opponents. And, it will be a one-hit kill option whenever possible. Boom. Boo. Even though Cold Mooney Moon reacted quickly, Chen Fan's tidal wave of spiritual energy was too fast and too fierce for Cold Mooney Moon. Cold Moonshine had just retreated a few dozen meters when the crazily impacting tidal wave of spiritual energy was blasted in front of his body. In an instant, her entire body flew out backwards, and before she could stabilize herself, she was blasted away again by the tidal wave of spiritual energy. The best swimmers, in the ebb and flow of the tide, can only end up being washed away by the tide continuously. The same was true of the cold, dark moon. In just a few short breaths of time, she was blasted on her chest dozens of times by Chen Fan's tidal wave of spiritual energy. The blood had long since mixed in the tide of spiritual energy. Boo! Finally, the momentum of the great tide of spiritual energy became slower. Cold Hollow Moon finally found what he thought was a chance to get away. Swish! She forced herself to endure her injuries and rushed out from the spirit tide. Pust! But in the next instant, her right shoulder was pierced by a sword. The pupils of Cold Moonshine shrunk in shock. This sword, if it had stabbed her in the heart, wouldn't she have died? Just now, you didn't want to stab me in the heart, but instead intended to stab at my right shoulder. So with this sword, I will also stab at your right shoulder. Shen Fan stood behind Cold Heiyu and said indifferently. At this moment, Cold Moonshine no longer dared to move. Because just by Chen Fan bursting out his sword chi, she would be instantly pulverized and her heart and soul would be destroyed. Even the immortal babies were too late to escape. I lost. The loss was convincing. That spirit tied just now. It shouldn't be a mere outward release of spirit power, but an extremely powerful martial skill, right? Cold Munyue said in a deep voice. Ordinary spiritual energy outwardly released. Naturally it could not be that terrifyingly powerful. It's also not likely to be cascading and continuous like a really big tide. Chen Fan said indifferently. It is indeed a martial skill that I created myself, and I have named it the heavy range tide strike. However, it's not too skillful yet, and for the time being, it can only erupt with the power of four tide strikes in one breath. The corners of Cold Moon's mouth twitched viciously. Between one breath, burst four times that strong tidal force. This kid is still not satisfied? It was hard to believe that he wanted to kill himself in a second with a single strike. Cold Moonshine didn't know that what she thought was exactly what Chen Fan wanted to pursue. If his heavy range tide strike technique was able to kill the same realm in a second in a single breath, who would dare to get close to him in the future? Seeing that Chen Fan still had no intention of drawing his sword, Cold Moonyue gritted her teeth and said, My life is in your hands right now, what do you want? Chen Fan said indifferently, I want to kill you. Cold Moonshine's pupils shrunk as she gritted her teeth, but I didn't think of actually killing you. Chen Fan laughed coldly, It's not that you don't want to, you're just afraid that if you kill me, the Tang family will take revenge on you. If I didn't have a layer of relationship with the Tang family, do you think, you would still have no killing intent towards me? Cold Moonyue took a low breath and said in a deep voice, But after all, I didn't want to kill you. Moreover, there is no deep hatred between you and me. So why do you have to be so aggressive to take my life? If you spare my life, I can guarantee that the Blood Soul Sect will never offend your Qin Clan and Immortal Dao Sect again. Chen Fan laughed coldly. By now do you still think that the Blood Soul Sect is a threat to me? As long as I want to, tomorrow, I can wipe out your Blood Soul Sect. Chapter 212, Cold Underworld Moon. Meteor. The corners of Cold Moon's mouth twitched. Not only was she now unqualified to threaten Chen Fan anymore, she didn't even have the leverage to beg for mercy? In that case, I'll admit it. If you want to kill, then go ahead. Cold Munyu's eyes flickered as he gloomily said, Her life, 
which was in Chen Fan's hands, was not up to her at all. Trying to get her to grovel and beg for forgiveness was also out of the question. Pust. While Cold Moonshine was waiting to die with a heart full of unwillingness, Chen Fan drew out his wind pursuing immortal sword. Cold Moon Yu's pupils opened slightly, and as the long sword was withdrawn, the penetrating wound in her chest actually healed up at a rapid pace. She turned around and looked at Chen Fan. Are you not going to kill me? Chen Fan said indifferently. If you really want to beg for death, this clan will just make up another sword for you now. Cold Moonshine's face twitched. Sparing your life is fine, but this clan has a condition. Chen Fan indifferently said. Cold Moonshine took a low breath. Name your terms. Chen Fan said. This clan wants you to lead the Blood Soul Sect and secretly subordinate to my Immortal Dao Sect. Become my Immortal Dao Sect. A force hidden in the shadows. Cold Munya's eyes were shocked and angry as she laughed coldly. Chen Fan. You really dare to think. Not to mention that I won't agree to it. This kind of thinking of yours is simply taking your own life. Chen Fan's expression was cold as he said. Whether or not you take your own life. That is a matter for this sect. But since you don't agree. Then there is no need for this sect to keep you alive. Cold Munyue gritted her teeth and said. Death is death. The Blood Soul Sect will never become an affiliate of any power. This clan appreciates your toughness. Chen Fan smiled coldly and swung his sword at Cold Heiyu's neck. Cold Munyu's pupils suddenly dilated and instinctively blasted out blood-colored demonic spirit power. However, her demonic spirit power did not have the power of a heavy mountain range tidal wave strike, and could not block the stern sword chi from Chen Fan's sword. Boom! The blood-colored demonic spirits were crushed by the layers of sword chi, seeing that he was about to be killed. Cold Munua did not fly back, but hideously raised a palm and blasted at Chen Fan's face. Attacking the enemy was the only way to force Chen Fan back in order to save himself. Chen Fan laughed coldly, and the spiritual energy in his body surged out like a tidal wave. It's this move. Again, Cold Munua's face turned pale. Now that the heavy mountain tidal strike at close range, her palm force, directly crushed by the force of the tidal strike, bounced and crashed into her own body. Boo! Cold Moonshine was knocked away again. The figure flew backwards at the same time. A sword light, in her shrinking eyes, swept across the throat. Pust. Blood spurted from the sharp pain of a slit throat. A palm-sized red light, suddenly from the cold hay you abdomen burst out. Instantly moved out of the sky dozens of miles away. However, before cold hay you had time to rejoice, the void suddenly buzzed and shook. Countless black soul lines drifted in the air and appeared, transforming into a large net of soul lines that enveloped cold hay you's immortal baby. Swish. Chen Fan swept through the air, as if he was carrying a net pocket, and lifted the soul pattern great net in his hand. Chen Fan, do you really have to drive everyone to extinction? Cold Moon Yue roared. Chen Fan laughed coldly. I gave you a chance, but you didn't cherish it. A person who can't be used by me and is always trying to plot against me. If I don't kill them all, do I still have to be merciful to you? I'll tell you today, not only will you die, but I will also destroy the blood soul sect. And all of this is because of you. Cold Moon Yu's immortal infant, a small face, was incomparably white, and its pupils were filled with panic and despair. How shameless. And you don't put pants on your immortal infant. Chen Fan glanced at the porcelain doll-like naked Cold Hei Yu's immortal infant and was somewhat speechless. Cold Hollow Moon was the one who was the most speechless. What did she care about pants when her life was on the line? I really regret that I didn't kill you and the entire Chen clan that night in the Chen clan. Cold Moon Yue said in a remorseful and hateful voice. If she had killed Chen Fan that night, she might have faced the Tang family's prosecution, but if she escaped far enough, she wouldn't have died at Chen Fan's hands. It's just a pity that there are no pills of regret in the world, but what you should regret the most shouldn't be this matter, but rather that you shouldn't have threatened me, and even more so, you shouldn't have come over to seek death on your own after I revealed that I had no hostile intentions. Your death today is mainly because you were too arrogant, thinking that you were great just because you were in immortal infant realm, and were sure to eat me. Chen Fan laughed coldly. Cold Hollow Moon was stunned for a long time. Her eyes darkened. It did seem like she shouldn't have come on this trip. In fact, I only came here today to test whether you have stepped into the immortal infant realm. And from the beginning to the end, I didn't want to kill you. Cold Moon Yue said bitterly. Chen Fan sneered. It's too late to say anything now. Cold Moon Yue was busy saying. It's not too late. As long as you let me go, I can still live. I've changed my mind now. I can lead the blood soul sect and submit to you. Although Cold Moon Yue only had one immortal infant left, with the immortal infant as her body, she could still continue to cultivate, only that she would have to survive in the form of a spirit cultivator, or, find a suitable physical body and take over. There is also a chance to be reborn. An immortal infant, to a martial arts cultivator, is a second life. Only, most immortal infant realms wouldn't have a chance for the immortal infant to escape with its life when it died. 
but I don't want to change my mind. Chen Fan laughed coldly. Using your immortal infant for alchemy is also extremely good. The pupils of cold moonshine suddenly shrunk. Chen Fan also did not speak much as a strong soul force suddenly erupted from the soul pattern net, wiping out the soul consciousness within the cold underworld moon immortal infant. Once the soul consciousness was wiped out, the immortal baby would really only look like a porcelain doll, quiet and unmoving, yet containing a pang yet pure Yuan Shin power. In the world of martial arts, there is a powerful class of evil cultivators that like to feed on immortal babies. After they killed the immortal infant realm powerhouse, they directly swallowed the immortal infant alive and refined its Yuan Shin. This however, this practice seemed a bit brutal and Chen Fan didn't like it. It was still better to enter the mouth after refining it into an elixir. He couldn't bring himself to gnaw on a minifigure raw. An immortal infant with its soul dispersed was a dead mass, no different from spiritual material. Chen Fan dispersed the soul pattern wrapped around the immortal infant and put the immortal infant inside the Xian Kong ring. This soul pattern technique, called Taotian Soul Net, was something Chen Fan had learned from a senior on Sin Immortal Island, specializing in escaping immortal infants. This senior, it was because he hunted too many immortal infant realms back then that he was imprisoned by the first island master into Sin Immortal Island. Chen Fan flew and swept towards the immortal ship. The crowd was all huddled on the bow of the boat, nervously waiting for Chen Fan's return. They saw Cold Munya's body fall down with their own eyes, and at that moment, they were all incredibly energized. The fact that Chen Fan was able to kill the Cold Underworld Moon showed that Chen Fan's strength was so strong that it had surpassed their imagination. However, after seeing Cold Hei use Immortal Infant Escape, they were worried about letting Cold Hei use Immortal Infant Escape. If a demonic cultivator powerhouse with a deadly grudge was allowed to escape, it would surely usher in countless scourges. This was also the reason why Chen Fan did not spare Cold Moony Moon anymore when she finally opened her mouth to beg for forgiveness and promised to return. Deadly enmity has been concluded. So it's just a matter of immortality. Chapter 213 Yuju returns to the clan. As Chen Fan's figure returned, the crowd was thrilled. Little Fan, did you catch up with that cold underworld moon's immortal infant? Chen Chongsheng asked in an excited, trembling voice. Chen Fan laughed. Well, the cold underworld moon has completely fallen. Ha ha. Good, devils such as these must be killed. Chen Chongsheng laughed out loud. Tung Fei Yang, Luo Yuan Wu, and the others, on the other hand, were not surprised, with the method cultivated by the island master. As long as it was a battle of the same realm, there would be almost no suspense in victory or defeat. Ling Hu Yuzhu, however, was extremely shocked. She did not expect that Chen Fan was really able to easily hunt down an immortal infant realm. That's the immortal infant realm. Even the old ancestor, Ling Hu Changchun, who had stepped into the immortal infant realm for many years, was not certain that he would be able to completely exterminate Cold Munyue. Let's continue on our way. Chen Fan swept onto the immortal ship and smiled faintly as he maneuvered the immortal ship to continue flying in the air. If it wasn't for Cold Underworld Moon suddenly jumping out to find trouble, Chen Fan didn't intend to reveal his strength in front of the crowd so soon. At least, he wouldn't let Ling Hu Yuzhu know so early. Ling Hu Changchun seemed to be very hopeful that Chen Fan would be able to step into the immortal infant realm as soon as possible. However, he would never hope that Chen Fan would have the super strength to kill the immortal infant realm so soon. An excessive change in strength would also invisibly cause the relationship between the immortal Dao sect and the Linghu family to undergo a subtle change. At the very least, in the things that Linghu Changchun had plotted, Linghu Changchun could no longer be in an absolutely dominant position. Once the news of Cold Munyu's murder was spread, it would definitely shock the entire Qingzhou. Therefore, Chen Fan had to talk to Linghu Yuzhu. Yu Jiu, follow me into the cabin. After the immortal ship flew normally, Chen Fan smiled and called out to Ling Hu Yuju. Ling Hu Yuju owed her body and trailed Chen Fan's back as the two of them entered the cabin. Could it be that patriarch wants to favor this Ling Hu Yuju? Luo Yuan Wu said with a bad smile. Humph, little fan isn't as lewd as you Luo Yuan Wu. Chen Ming hummed. Although Luo Yuan Wu had behaved in a very obsequious manner all the way, Chen Ming felt irritated by how he looked at Luo Yuan Wu. As far as he was concerned, there was not a single good thing in the Luo family. Luo Yuan Wu had a bit of egg pain and really wanted to shout, I am Luo Yuan Wu's body, but not Luo Yuan Wu himself. Don't take it so personally. Chan Ming, you must not be rude. Since Little Fan trusts third master Luo, he is one of his own. Chen Changsheng frowned and rebuked Chen Ming. Yes, nowadays, Mr. Luo is definitely one of our own. Luo Yuan Wu hurriedly said. Chan Ming grunted, even if Little Fan trusts you, I, Chan Ming, can't trust you, Luo Yuan Wu. When you arrive at the Immortal Dao sect, you'd better be more peaceful. I'll keep an eye on you at all times. Fine. We'll both live in the same room at that time. Luo Yuanwu said helplessly. Chen Ming rolled his eyes. Who wants to share a room with you? 
don't live in a house, how can you keep an eye on me all the time? Luo Yuan Wu wondered. Chen Ming, in the cabin, Ling Hu Yuzhu stood behind Chen Fan in a well-behaved manner. Chen Fan slowly turned around and said with a faint smile, the reason I let you guys go first before was actually because I didn't want too many people to know my true strength today. Ling Hu Yuzhu's eyes flickered slightly as she nodded. Yuzhu understands. Yuzhu won't tell the Ling Hu family. Please also ask Patriarch to trust the Ling Hu family. The Ling Hu family has never had an ounce of ill will towards Patriarch. Chen Fan shook his head and said, The old ancestor asked you to stay by my side in order to help me rush through the realm and step into the immortal infant realm. How could I suspect that the old ancestor has bad intentions towards me? I didn't ask you to come in to keep secrets from old ancestor. You can tell old ancestor about me stepping into the immortal infant realm, but you can only tell old ancestor alone, and you need old ancestor to keep my secret for the time being. Ling Hu Yuchu was surprised and said, Can we really tell old ancestor? Chen Fan laughed, Naturally, right now, all the Saxon clans are pestering old ancestor, asking him to immediately launch a war to eliminate the demons, since cold underworld moon has already died. It is time for this blood soul sect to follow in their footsteps. Later on, you will leave the immortal ship and return to the Linghu family alone to inform the old ancestor of today's events, and tell old ancestor that I, the immortal Dao sect, am also willing to contribute to the extermination of the blood soul sect, and when they agree on a good time, you will bring the news back to the immortal Dao sect. Linghu Yuju owed her body and said, Yuju obeys the order. Thank you, patriarch, for this trust in the Linghu family. Chen Fan smiled. Trust is mutual, even for cold Munyue, I gave her a chance, it's just a pity that she didn't cherish the chance I gave her, so I had no choice but to kill her. Linghu Yuzhu's eyes flickered lightly, knowing that Chen Fan was reminding her, if the Linghu family had been trustworthy, naturally, both could be at peace, but if one day, the Linghu family betrayed Chen Fan, Chen Fan would never be soft, you go, be careful on the way, Chen Fan laughed, Linghu Yuzhu owed her body, then Yuzhu will leave first, immediately, the two walked out of the cabin. Ling Hu Yuzhu bid farewell to the crowd and then flew away from the immortal ship. The crowd was skeptical, but they didn't ask many questions. An hour later, the immortal ship arrived over the immortal Dao sect. Huang Su, Yu Qi Ling, Chang Lele, and Chen Fan's group of personal disciples came to greet them. The Chen family relatives, staying in the immortal Dao sect, the crowd of the immortal Dao sect, naturally welcomed them very warmly. After some politeness, Huang Su, the vice patriarch, personally led the crowd to the compound that had been arranged for them long in advance. After settling down, a banquet was held to welcome all the people. The people of the Chen family were, since then, overwhelmed with emotion. On the other hand, Ling Hu Yuzhu also returned to the Ling Hu family alone. Ling Hu Chong Yun was very surprised to see that Ling Hu Yuzhu had returned to the Ling Hu family alone. Yuzhu, why did you come back alone? Could it be that something happened between you and Chen Fan? Ling Hu Chong Yun asked in a hurry. Ling Hu Yuzhu smiled and said, Father rest assured, there is no bad blood between Yuzhu and Patriarch Chen. This time I came back. I was also instructed by the Patriarch to come and deliver a message to the old ancestor on behalf of the Patriarch. Ling Hu Chongyun's eyes flickered slightly as he said, Passing on a message? What message does Chen Fan want you to pass on to the old ancestor? Ling Hu Yuzhu owed her body. The Patriarch knew that all the clans and tribes were pestering old ancestor wanting him to start the great plan of eliminating the demons again. So he had Yuju come back and inform old ancestor that the immortal Dao sect will also participate in the great plan to eliminate the demons. Ling Hu Chong Yun frowned, I asked you to make a trip just for this? You are the most precious jewel of my Ling Hu family, and this kid is using you as an errand boy? This is simply too much. Ling Hu Yuju laughed, Father don't be annoyed. The patriarch originally intended to send someone else to deliver the message, but Yuzhu has been away from home for a long time and wanted to come back to take a look, so he asked for his own order to come back. Ling Hu Chong Yun laughed, if that's the case, that's fine, Yuzhu ah, even though the women of the Ling Hu family, all have this kind of fate, but my father has always loved you very much, you should know that, if you really have suffered anything on Chen Fan's side, you must tell father, although old ancestor holds this brat in high regard, father will not spoil him. Ling Hu Yuzhu smiled. Yuzhu understands. She actually knew in her heart that her father was just paying lip service. In the entire Ling Hu family, no one dared to disobey the old ancestor at all. All right, you go and see the old ancestor. Although this brat Chen Fan thinks one way or the other, but if he really decides to join the war, it will really make my Ling Hu family less troublesome. Those people from the various sects come running here every three days, and my Ling Hu family is almost being eaten up by them. Ling Hu Chong Yun helplessly laughed. Chapter 214, Why Hold It? Not long after, Ling Hu Yuchu came outside Ling Hu Changchun's small courtyard. Old Ancestor, 
Yuju has something important to ask for. Come in. In the courtyard, the voice of old man Ling Hu smiling faintly came from the courtyard. Ling Hu Yuju took off her shoes and socks and walked barefoot into the Four Seasons small courtyard. This side of the vernal pool. Old man Ling Hu's voice shouted. Ling Hu Yuju walked towards the vernal pool. In the vernal pool, a few warblers and swallows were dispatched by Ling Hu old man with a wave of his hand. Ling Hu old ancestor also put on a bathrobe and sat down at the stone table next to the pool, pouring a glass of wine and waiting for Ling Hu Yuju. Ling Hu Yuju came in a graceful manner and owed a bow. Yuju has met old ancestor. Old ancestor Ling Hu took a sip of wine. His eyes narrowed slightly. Why hasn't he broken his body yet? Is it possible that that brat cannot be humanized? Ling Hu Yuju blushed and said, Patriarch Chen should have no problems in that area. It's just that he already has a beloved in his heart. So he hasn't been able to accept Yuju for the time being. Old ancestor Ling Hu shook his head and smiled. What an innocent and foolish boy. To have such a bargain and actually be able to hold back and not take advantage of it. What is the reason for your return this time? Don't tell me you were sent back. Ling Hu Yuju busily said. It was Patriarch who asked Yuju to come back to deliver a message to Old Ancestor. Oh, Old Ancestor Ling Hu had an interested look on his face. What did he ask you to pass on? Immediately, Ling Hu Yuju told the story of Chen Fan's killing of Cold Underworld Moon. Ling Hu Changchun's grip on his wine glass stiffened for a long time. He was able to kill that old demoness, Cold Moon Yue, so easily. This strength is already beyond old me. Ling Hu Changchun took a low breath. Then a smile appeared on his face. Good. This shows that old ancestor I didn't look at the wrong person. This kid is really worth looking forward to. Ha ha. When Ling Hu Yuju saw the old ancestor's reaction like this, she was also relieved in her heart. The patriarch said that he wanted to keep the matter of him stepping into the immortal infant realm a secret for now. But he knows that old ancestor expects something from him. So he doesn't want to hide it from old ancestor. Ling Hu Yuju said smoothly. Ling Hu Changchun bristled. If you hadn't seen it with your own eyes, do you think he would have told me? This kid is afraid that you will be in a difficult position left and right, even though he didn't rush to have you. It shows that your position in his heart is much more important than that age 13. Ling Hu Yuju was surprised. Old ancestor knows about age 13? Ling Hu Changchun smiled faintly. How much do you think can be hidden from my Ling Hu family in this Qingzhou? But when did this kid step into the immortal infant realm? The Ling Hu family really hasn't received any news. Ling Hu Yuju said. Indeed. No one would have expected that Patriarch would step into the immortal infant realm after only half a year. Yes, Ling Hu Changchun also sighed with emotion. I think back then, I prepared for several years to impact the immortal infant realm. This kid's talent is truly too demonic. Now we're just waiting for him to head to the southern region King City to shine. I'm sure that even those powerful clans of the King City that have their eyes set high, when they see this kid's talent, they'll have to open their mouths and shout demonic. Ha ha, Ling Hu Yuzhu said, Old Ancestor. The patriarch has another matter that he asked me to convey to you. Ling Hu Changchun smiled faintly. Let me guess. Since he has already made his move to kill Cold Muniwei, he will not keep the Blood Soul sect as a scourge. Is he trying to launch the battle to eliminate the demons ahead of time and exterminate the Blood Soul sect? Ling Hu Yuzhu said in a shocked voice. Old ancestor really anticipates things like God. This is what the patriarch meant. Ling Hu Changchun laughed and said. There is no such thing as anticipating things like God but it is just thinking from his perspective. However, this kid is also really ruthless. An immortal infant realm, said to kill, rest at home for the night, and go back to the immortal Dao sect first thing in the morning. Go back and tell him that three days later, the Ling Hu family will unite with all the clans and tribes and run to Mount Luoyang. Yes, Ling Hu Yuzhu promised and owed her body and was about to leave. When Ling Hu old ancestor laughed again and said, remember to give yourself to him earlier. A woman can only stabilize her position in a man's heart if she gives herself to him completely. Even if it's a tripod, there will be a place for it. If it's just a clear water friendship, some twists and turns can make you collapse your relationship. Ling Hu Yuju blushed and said, Yuju will do her best. Oh, go on. Yuju excuses himself. Early the next morning, Ling Hu Yuju left the Ling Hu family and headed towards the immortal Dao sect. At sunset. She arrived in front of the Immortal Way Sex Mountain Gate. After the briefing, Ling Hu Yuchu was led outside the Young Tian Pavilion. Chen Fan smiled and came out to receive them. You came back so quickly. I think the battle is just in the near future. Chen Fan laughed. Ling Hu Yuchu owed a smile and said, Yes, the old ancestor stated yesterday that three days later, he would unite all the clans and tribes and kill the Sunset Young Mountain. So I'm afraid that the patriarch will only have two days to spend on preparations. Chen Fan laughed. There is nothing to prepare for. The immortal Dao sex roots are shallow. And the only top level combatants are this sect and Vice Patriarch Huang. Vice Patriarch Huang needs to stay behind to handle the clan's affairs. 
So the only person from the immortal Dao sect who was traveling there is this clan. Ling Hu Yuzhu was dumbfounded. Other clans would have sent out at least hundreds of people. And the immortal Dao sect just sent out one? Patriarch, if that's the case, I'm afraid that the various clans and tribes will criticize you again. Ling Hu Yuzhu said with some worry. Shen Fan smiled faintly. Then let them be non-committal. When they know in the future whose hands cold Munyue died in, they will keep their mouths shut. Chen Fan wouldn't bring out all of Immortal Dao sect's old tricks just to exterminate a blood soul sect. More importantly, the strength cultivation of the top 10 protodisciples was not easy to explain once it was displayed. Seeing that Chen Fan's mind was set, Ling Hu Yuzhu also no longer persuade more, only blushed and said, Patriarch, the old ancestor asked Yuzhu to ask Patriarch, does Patriarch dislike Yuzhu? Chen Fan laughed lightly, if I disliked you, I wouldn't have let you come back, let me lead you to your courtyard and see if you like it. Ling Hu Yuzhu pursed her lips and said in a shy voice, if Patriarch is willing to stay in it for a long time, even if it's a thatched hut and grass hut, Yuzhu would still like it. Chen Fan laughed bitterly, if you keep this up, I'm really going to be unable to hold it. Why does the Patriarch need to hold it? From the moment Yuju left the Linghu family, Yuju could only be sovereign's person in this life. Ling Hu Yuju said with slightly reddened eyes. Chen Fan said helplessly, I'll be honest with you. I'm actually afraid that Bu Yu will blame me when she comes back. I can't apologize to anyone, nor can I apologize to her. Ling Hu Yuju was stunned and said, Then what if Miss Fu Yu never comes back? Does Patriarch intend to guard Miss Fu Yu's body for the rest of her life? Chen Fan said in a deep voice, She will definitely come back. Ling Hu Yuju's heart trembled, knowing that she had slipped up. She hurriedly said, Yuju also believes that Miss Yu Yu will definitely return. Yuju just doesn't want Patriarch to condemn herself. After saying that, she suddenly stepped forward lightly and grabbed Chen Fan's hands with both of her hands, saying with affection, Patriarch, before Miss Bu Yu comes back, let Yuju accompany you. If after Miss Bu Yu returns, she doesn't want to share Patriarch with anyone, Yuju is willing to wither away in a separate courtyard and spend the rest of her life on her own, and will never affect your happiness with Miss Bu Yu. 